At 10 o'clock in the evening, the man suddenly received several photos on his phone. After viewing them, he coldly chuckled and dialed his wife Guan's number. A cold voice answered the phone. What's the matter? Didn't I tell you that I was going to see a client and come back later? After listening to Gu Wan's words, the man sneered and said, Are you going to see a client or have a passionate affair with your lover? Yi Yishan, at the hotel? Gu Wan, let's get a divorce. You despise me, and I don't want to see you anymore. Tomorrow at 3 o'clock in the afternoon, meet at Shonda Tea House, discuss and sign the divorce agreement. After the divorce, it's your freedom to sleep with anyone. If you still have a trace of shame, remember, you are still a married woman at the moment. The next day, as the time slowly approached 2.50, Gu Wan walked into the tea house and found you sitting in a secluded corner. She took a deep breath and walked towards you. You pointed to the seat in front of you and asked Gu Wan to sit down. She picked up the teapot and poured a cup of tea for Gu Wan. Gu Wan took a sip, put down the cup, and looked at you, softly saying, I'm sorry, I don't know if they sent you ambiguous photos. It's all a misunderstanding. Can we not divorce? Can we start over? You put the teacup in place and calmly look at Gu Wan and say, Gu Wan, does it make sense to say these things now? During this time, when we were walking together, you received a call from Yi Yishan and immediately left me. When I had a fever, you received his call and immediately left me to see him. I can't remember how many times you decisively left me to find Yi Yishan as soon as you received his call. How many times have you said you were working overtime to meet clients? But actually you were having dinner or drinking and chatting with Yi Yishan. If I didn't make that call that day, even if you were drugged by him, as long as he said some soft words afterwards, you wouldn't have done anything to him. At this point, a bitter smile of irony appeared on your face. Gu Wan looked at your complexion wanting to speak and explain. You spoke again. No need to explain. You and I both know that what I said is the truth. Gu Wan lowered his head and opened his mouth but didn't say anything. At this point you continued to speak. Divorce? This will not change because of anything. Dragging on is meaningless. It's not good for both of us. We can't go back to the past. Lawyer Lee will come to see you again tomorrow, hoping you will sign, end this matter decently, if you agree to sign the divorce agreement, I will tell you a secret, a secret that can save your life. Gu Wan was stunned when he heard this, he was about to ask, but when he saw your eyes, he opened his mouth but didn't say anything, he understood in his heart, even if he asked himself, you wouldn't say anything now, take care, everything that needs to be said has been said, you stood up to leave, Gu Wan grabbed your arm, tears in his eyes wanting to speak, but looking at your calm eyes, he couldn't say anything. You forcefully removed Gu Wan's hand, patted Gu Wan's shoulder, and left directly. In an instant, the strength supporting Gu Wan's body suddenly disappeared. The whole person slumped in the chair, tears uncontrollably streaming down. It was unknown how long it took for Gu Wan to stand up in a daze, like a walking corpse, and leave the tea house. Returning home, Gu Wan locked himself in the room, unable to help but start crying loudly. Regret, hate myself, hate Yi Yishan, hate Zhou Ting, hate. A day passed. Gu Wan looked very haggard when he came to work at the company again, emitting a chilling coldness all over his body. All the employees of Joyful Technology Company could see that the boss was in a bad mood. It was better not to provoke him at this time. At 10 o'clock, Lawyer Li Mingfeng arrived at Joyful Technology on time and went to Gu Wan's office. This time went very smoothly. You signed a divorce agreement with Gu Wan. Gu Wan's parents looked down on you because you were raised in an orphanage, even though you are recognized as a top talent by the country's most prestigious institution. Before you and Gu Wan obtained the marriage certificate, Gu Wan's mother, Jiang Xiaoyan, and stepfather insisted that you sign a prenuptial and postnuptial property distribution agreement. Your premarital and postmarital property all belongs to you, and within three years of marriage, you must take care of Gu Wan at home. In the event of future relationship breakdown and divorce, you can only receive up to 10% of the property under Gu Wan's name. Li Mingfeng has already calculated the assets under Gu Wan's name. Based on the current assets under Gu Wan's name, 10% amounts to over 24 million. You are not short of money. In the section on separation fees, according to your wishes, only 20 million was written. Gu Wan only needs to pay 20 million. 20 million looks like a lot, but compared to what you quietly contribute behind the scenes at Guwen, it can only be described as a drop in the bucket. At 2 o'clock in the afternoon, Guan left Changshan Technology with Li Mingfeng and met you near the Civil Affairs Bureau. When she saw you, Guan quickly took a few steps, grabbed your arm at lightning speed, tears streaming down her eyes as she looked at you and said, Su Huan, I was wrong. You can hit me, scold me, anything, but can we not get a divorce? Su Huan did not say anything, but calmly looked at Gu Bol's venting some, patted Gu Bol's shoulder and said let's go in. Li Mingfeng did not follow on the side. 
watching Su Huan and Gu Bols walk into the Civil Affairs Bureau. Forty minutes or so, the two walked out. Su Huan's face is calm. Gu Bols is a state of mind. When Li Mingfeng saw this, he wanted to come over, but Su Huan waved his hand, signaling Li Mingfeng not to come over for the time being. Su Huan turned to look at Gu Bols and said, Come with me, I have something to say to you. Gu Bols basically did not have any reaction to these words. Just like a puppet without thinking, Numli followed Su Huan to the side. Seeing the state of Gu Bols, Su Huan frowned and loudly scolded wake up. Su Huan's loud rebuke let Gu Bols a jolt. Looked up at Su Huan's serious face sobered up a lot. Took a few deep breaths to adjust himself, which looked at Su Huan and nodded, signaling that at this moment he is sober. I said that the divorce to tell you a secret that saved your life. A kind of thank you for not giving me a forgiveness hat before the divorce. Hearing this sentence Gu Bol's face changed just wanted to speak. Su Huan saw Gu Bol's look once again reprimanded a shut up. Su Huan saw Gu Bol's appearance and chided again shut up. This sentence made Gu Bol's once again return to a state of sobriety. Yi Ishan appeared prepared this time. The target is you. Your assistants, company executives, some of the employees and security personnel. And the servants at your residence have all been bought by Yi Ishan's money. Yi Ishan can keep track of your every move and mood. Whether you believe me or not is up to you. If you want to believe, contact a famous security company immediately to arrange a team of bodyguards for yourself. At the same time contact a competent private investigator to investigate all this clearly. You'd better buy a new cell phone and phone card. Your cell phone and phone card are no longer safe at this moment. Including your car has been installed with a locator under surveillance. It's up to you whether you do it or not. And it's up to you whether you believe the results of the investigation or not. And it's up to you to do whatever you want after you see the results of the investigation. I need to go out of town today to deal with something urgent. After a while I'll come back and take my things away from the house. Won't make things difficult for you. Take care. Su Huan said turned around and left. Gu Bols raised his hand to grab Su Huan's arm but was a step too late. With a reluctant expression on his face, he watched Su Huan get into Li Mingfeng's car and leave. Gu Bols watched Su Huan right away in the car. A person in the same place to stand in a daze, for a while before coming back to God, walked to the side of the road to a place that does not attract attention. The face shows a kind of pondering look, began to seriously think about Su Huan's words, if what Su Huan said is true. Thinking of this, Gu Bol's body shivered and a look of horror appeared on his face. Ten minutes passed, Gu Bol's turned toward the front, did not go back to the car but walked along the street, walked more than ten minutes into the roadside into a mobile business hall, repurchased a phone card and cell phone. Out of the business hall to the roadside public recreation area to find a chair to sit down. Open the original cell phone phone book to look for numbers. It didn't take long for him to start using the new cell phone to make a call. After 30 minutes or so, Gu Bols left the public recreation area and returned to the parking lot next to the Civil Affairs Bureau and drove back home. On the other hand, Li Mingfeng drove Su Huan to the hotel. Su Huan returned to the room to clean up and checked out. Li Mingfeng drove Su Huan to the airport again. Su Huan got out of the car and waved to Li Mingfeng. Pulling his suitcase into the airport hall. Su Huan's decision to leave Nandu City today was not made blindly. Su Huan's goal this time is Shanghai. The game company he invested in many years ago is now a large game company. After several years of high-speed development, the company has more than a thousand employees. And the four games currently running are all performing well. And the company makes billions or even tens of billions of dollars in profit every year. Su Huan's dividend last year was no less than 200 million dollars. When Zhou Kai founded Beiji Game Company. He met Su Huan by chance, and Su Huan talked more compatible. Su Huan invested funds to become more than half of the major shareholders. Subsequent to the company after several capital expansion, Su Huan's shares also fell to the fourth largest shareholder. During this period, Su Huan's mind is all on the Google's body cannot take into account the things of the Bazho Game Company. The board of directors will be authorized to vote to the company's founder and chairman of the board of directors, Zhou Kai, signing the agreement once a year. He completely ignored the affairs of Ba Dao Game Company. The annual dividends are paid into Su Huan's bank account as scheduled. Su Huan usually does not spend much money. Using another bank card, in recent years have not seen how much the dividend bank account balance. Tax issues are handled by Li Ming Summit with a professional financial team. Su Huan is not at all concerned. More than 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Su Huan walked out of the airport. Bastard Sword Game Company had already dispatched specialists to wait at the exit. And after meeting with Su Huan, he boarded a high-class commercial vehicle and left the airport. The person in charge of picking up Su Huan was Li Wen, Zhou Kai's secretary and assistant to the chairman of the board of directors, who had been with Zhou Kai since the company's inception. She knew very well that Su Huan was the fourth largest shareholder and a good friend of Zhou Kai, and she was an old friend of Su Huan, so it was easy for her to talk and laugh. After an hour or so, we arrived at the hotel. 
and after checking in at the front desk, Li Wen accompanied Su Huan up the stairs to his room. Inside the room, Li Wen smiled as she walked towards the front while introducing the suite. Brother Huan, Zhou Dong knows that you like sunrise rooms. This suite was personally selected by Zhou Dong. Su Huan looked at the suite while walking, and nodded with a smile on her face when Li Wen finished. Thank brother Zhou for me. I'm very satisfied with this room. After saying that, he walked through the living room to the bedroom and put down the suitcase, returned and started to talk with Li Wen in the living room. After chatting for a while, Li Wen said goodbye. The first thing you need to do is to get to the door. And the second thing you need to do is to get to the door. And the third thing you need to do is to get to the door. And the third thing you need to do is to get to the door. And the third thing you need to do is to get to the door. Brother Huan can have a good rest in these two days. Good. Hard work when when Su Huan smiled and thanked Li Wen. We were old friends for many years and spoke casually. Li Wen smiled and said, You're still polite with me. Let's go. Then shook Su Huan's hand and turned to leave. Su Huan sent Li Wen into the elevator before returning to his room to rest. The night passed. South Metropolis. Gu Bowl's today normal work. A work began to adjust the company's security department. The reason is that the executives unanimously requested to strengthen the security work to prevent the company to do the key project's confidential leakage. Cheerful Technology is currently working on a big project, which is an investment of more than $2 billion released by the municipal government of Nandu City, and it is considered the most important project of Cheerful Technology at the moment. Previously, there are many executives in Gubols reflect the adjustment of the security force to prevent the project leakage. Gubols just promised that there has been no action. I did not expect to do it today. Responsible for the four important departments where the floor of the security personnel have carried out a major blood change, and from the original two people increased to five people, such as the end of the project and then return to normal. At 10 o'clock in the morning, the famous security company in South Metropolis, Weihu Security Company dispatched an eight-member team to Cheerful Technology, and waited not far from the office building of Cheerful Technology after contacting Gubols. Gubols arranged the matters at hand and left the company alone, walking to meet with the eight-member bodyguard team. Talking in the car driven by the eight-man bodyguard squad. Ten minutes later this off, two security personnel escort vehicle at any time to receive. Gubols with six bodyguards into the company. Designated an administrative department of personnel to go to the six bodyguards for a special pass. This kind of pass can freely enter and exit all departments of cheerful technology. After these six people had completed the formalities, two people went to replace the escort vehicle personnel to come over and then apply for special passes for these two people. Around 11.40. Assistant Lili personally delivered a bouquet of flowers and a high-grade lunch bento to Gu Bol's office, all of which Yi Yishan had ordered and purchased for delivery. Gu Bol's face calmly pointed to the side of the coffee table. Lili put the items over before leaving, time day by day, in the blink of an eye the past week. Gu Bol's this week basically did not take care of Yi Yishan. Call Gu Bol's. Gu Bol's do not answer. When he drove to the company to look for Gu Bol's, Gu Bol's also did not see. Yi Yishan did not realize that Gu Bol's has changed but also think that he was too anxious to anger Gubols, as long as he patiently send flowers and gifts to show sincerity, Gubols will eventually accept himself, this is not Yi Yishan's self-absorption, but the voice of experience, once the rift between husband and wife, want to repair basically impossible, what Gubols did to Su Huan is a rift that is difficult to repair, the rift gradually split down, broken is sooner or later, at that time, Gubols had no other choice, he was her only choice, after formally determining the relationship with Gu Bols as a lover, spend some effort to create a few things that will move Gu Bols, and marriage will become inevitable. In the end, everything Gu Bols had would become her own. It was only a week now. Yi Yishan didn't care at all, even if it took a month. In Yi Yishan's opinion it was well worth it. Today, when Gu Bols was having a meeting with a few executives in the conference room, he turned to Li Li and said, Go to my office and open the first drawer on the right side and bring over a blue folder inside. Good Lili promised to stand up and left the conference room. Several high-ranking officials heard the words of Gubol's. Lili left her showing very calm. Lili is Gubol's assistant. Usually Gubol's office is Lili is responsible for organizing and cleaning. Also only Lili can freely enter and exit Gubol's office. Other people, no matter what position they held, could not enter Gubol's office when Gubol was not there. Without words, Lili quickly arrived at Gubol's office, came behind the desk and skillfully opened the first drawer on the right side and saw a blue folder. I didn't think he raised his hand and took it out, casually closed the drawer when he froze for a moment, saw a notebook under the corner of the document revealing a familiar color with the corner of the document. Thinking for a moment a look of surprise appeared on his face and carefully looked at the office door before reaching in and picking up the notebook and pulling out the document. Divorce certificate. Lili looked at this document was shocked, did not expect Gubol's already divorced. When she opened it, 
The photo of Gu Bols and Su Huan was stamped with a steel seal. It was a real divorce certificate. Gu Bols had really divorced Su Huan. After the shock, Li Li looked at this divorce certificate with a look of contempt on her face. Her mind was madly despising Gu Bols. So what if you graduated from the highest school in Xia? So what if you're a successful entrepreneur, but you're still being toyed with by that lousy guy Yishan? In order to divorce a husband who loves you so much, you can't have a good end in the future. Yi Yishan wants not only your property, but also your life. Wait, if Yi Yishan doesn't sell you abroad, I'll take your name from now on. If you don't die, it's really heavenly. After despising Gu Bol, he put the divorce certificate back under the notebook and covered the exposed corner as well. Only then did he take the blue folder and leave Gu Bol's office in a refreshed state. Walking towards the conference room. Inside the conference room, Li Li looked as usual and handed the blue folder to Gu Bol's who took it without thinking and opened it to start discussing things with several executives. 30 minutes or so, the meeting ended. Gu Bols with Lili left the conference room to return to the office. Back behind the desk and sat down on Lili said, A manager Chin's report to send over immediately bring me. Said waved his hand. Lili immediately said good finished turning to leave. Saw Lili left the office door closed. Gu Bols opened the right side of the first drawer. Looking at the drawer reveals a corner of the divorce certificate is completely covered by the notebook. Lili really has a problem. I just don't know how deeply Lili is involved with Yishan. Gu Bols looked up at the office door. His face darkened a lot, muttering to himself, I hope you have nothing to do with Yishan, or else, do not blame me for not showing any mercy. A day passed. The next morning Gu Bols went to work at the company. After the receptionist saw Gu Bols arrive, the clerk Qin Yuan Yuan immediately walked to Gu Bols holding a bouquet of roses holding an exquisite bento box. Mr. Gu, this was delivered early in the morning saying that you should receive it in person. Qin Yuan Yuan said, looking at Gu Bols, Gu Bols turned her head to look at Li Li, who raised her hand and took it. Gu Bols turned to Qin Yuan Yuan and said, in the future, this kind of goods directly to Li Li on it, do not need to hand over to me, said directly toward the elevator. Li Li took the goods quickly followed. After returning to the office, Li Li put the red roses and the lunchbox on Gu Bols' desk, said hello to Gu Bols and left the office to go to her own workplace. Gu Bols calmly opened the sealed card on the roses, which read, Xiao Bols, not eating in the morning will be bad for your stomach, the inscription was two simple words, Ishan. Gu Bol looked at these two words cold humph a bit, silver teeth clenched cackle straight, a while, Gu Bol deep breath a few mouths to calm their mood, now must hold back, private detectives against Yi Ishan's investigation has not yet ended, all waiting for the results to say, regardless of how the final result, you caused Su Huan and I divorce, I will never let you off easily. Take a deep breath and pick up the roses and exquisite bento box thrown directly into the trash can. Look at all feel annoyed. Time slowly passes. Noon. Yi Yishan again sent over roses and exquisite lunch. Gu Bols read the card and let Li Li through directly to. In the afternoon near the end of the day, Yi Yishan once again sent over roses, this time accompanied by an invitation card, inviting Gu Bols to dinner. Gu Bols casually threw it into the trash can at the elevator entrance, and as soon as the elevator doors opened, he quickly stepped into the elevator. Lili didn't say anything when she saw Gu Bol's actions, and followed Gu Bol's pace into the elevator as the doors slowly closed. The reason why Yi Yishan increased efforts to show more attentive today is because last night with Lili role mixing, pay a limited collector's edition coach bag after learning the news of Gu Bol's and Su Huan divorce. In Yi Yishan's opinion, Gu Bol's is at the moment in a low mood, very much in need of comfort from the opposite sex. You must strike while the iron is hot. Two days passed. Yi Yishan insisted on a bouquet every morning with a nutritious breakfast, a bouquet at noon with an exquisite lunch, a bouquet at night with an invitation to dinner, and every morning, noon and night, he was bound to send Gu Bols a greeting text message. At noon today, Gu Bols came back from the conference room, immediately saw a bouquet of roses placed on the table with the exquisite lunch, said you take these away. Lili promised to come over to pick up the roses and lunch to leave Gu Bols' office. Lili did not see, behind Gu Bols look at their own back. Eyes with a hint of sinister. Divorce this matter is Gu Bol's intentionally revealed to Li Li. Did not tell anyone about the divorce? Only Li Li a person know this news. After Li Li saw the divorce certificate, Yi Yishan's attentiveness to himself began to double. This is a typical want to take advantage of the opportunity to capture their own hearts. Taking advantage of their own mood after the divorce period to take their own. From this point can be judged. Li Li has been bought by Yi Yishan. Betrayed himself. Gu Bol's looked at the office door gritted teeth and whispered Li Li. I want to make you regret your life. Unconsciously passed more than 20 days. Su Huan this time ran Shanghai Sea City, Imperial City, Jinling, Yuhang City, Deep Evidence City, Tiancheng City, Jinwei City, Seven Cities. 
in each city to participate in one or two board of directors, while all things are arranged properly before returning to the South City. 20 million breakup fee has long entered the account of Su Huan. Li Mingfeng has in accordance with the requirements of Su Huan in the eastern part of the city to buy a set of mountains in the sunrise with lawns, woods, gardens, large swimming pools, the manor house of Su Huan, employed 11 workers a housekeeper. The original and Gu Bo live in the north of the villa area. The villa is worth more than 2 million. At the moment Su Huan live in the eastern part of the south metropolis manor area, worth more than 80 million. The two values are not the same. South Metropolis Airport. More than 9 o'clock in the morning. Su Huan was wearing a black t-shirt on his upper body. The lower half of his body was a 7-minute pants. And he was wearing a pair of sneakers on his feet. Carrying a computer bag on his back and carrying a suitcase in his hand. He walked quickly and soon stepped out of the channel. Immediately seeing Li Mingfeng waiting not far away. Smiling, he walked over. The two shook hands and walked towards the parking lot together. Got in the car and the vehicle started and soon left the airport. Heading straight to the manor that Li Mingfeng had purchased in advance. Li Mingfeng is Su Huan's private lawyer. The annual treatment is 1,200,000. Su Huan this side of something everything to Su Huan's priority. Su Huan's side is fine. Li Mingfeng can also take over other lawsuits to make money. Do not look at Li Mingfeng all year round in the law firm to take very few cases. Small life but over a very nourishing. This matter is only 4C law firm boss and barrister Yu Fan Run no. Vehicles all the way into the manor in the villa side parking lot to stop the car. The two get off towards the main building, almost to the door of the main building. A look at the appearance of the woman in his thirties came face to face. A ponytail head, eyes big, melon face, white collar professional dress set off not fat but plump body, with a rich young woman flavor. Su Huan froze slightly after seeing it and recovered. At this time, Li Mingfeng's voice appeared beside him shoe etching. You came just in time. I'll introduce you. This is Mr. Su Huan. He is the owner of this manor. After saying that, he turned his head to look at Su Huan and said this is the manor's housekeeper. Du Xu Etching. Hello. Hello. Su Huan and Du Xu Etching shook hands after saying hello to each other. Considered to be acquainted. After shaking hands with Su Huan, Du Xu Etching naturally took the luggage trolley in Su Huan's hand and invited Su Huan and Li Mingfeng to enter the villa and sit down in the living room. Putting the suitcase aside, she went to the side and brewed a pot of tea and brought it over. Before looking at Su Huan and said, Sir, please wait in the living room for a while. I'll gather all the people of the manor over, so that they can get to know the owner of the manor. Su Huan nodded to indicate that it was okay. Du Xu Etching nodded to Li Mingfeng on the side and went to call people. Li Mingfeng accompanied Su Huan to drink tea slowly. Not long after, Du Xu Etching brought 11 housekeeping staff over, looked at the 11 people and said this is the owner of the manor. Mr. Su Huan Su. In the future, when you see Mr. Su, you should address Mr. Good. And remember this face of Mr. When Du Xu Etching finished her introduction, the eleven people under the leadership of Du Xu Etching said Mr. Good, welcome home Mr. Su Huan stood up with a smile on his face, inwardly satisfied with Du Xu Etching's approach, looked at the crowd with a smile on his face and said today I came back to meet with you all for the first time. At the end of the month when the payroll is issued, each person sends an extra $500 bonus well. The eyes of the crowd are bright. A sight of Du Xu Etching immediately said, Do not thank Mr. Bonus. Eleven people immediately bowed their heads and said thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir. Su Huan nodded and glanced at Du Xu Etching. Du Xu Etching knew what to do and let the eleven people go to work. She also followed and left without disturbing Su Huan's conversation with Li Mingfeng. The two drank tea and chatted for a while. Su Huan said to Li Mingfeng, You give Gu Bulls a call later this afternoon to notify her that I will go to her side at 10 o'clock tomorrow to take away some of my things. Li Mingfeng nodded after hearing this and asked how many items are there. If there are more I will arrange for someone to go over and help you pack. Not much. A big suitcase can fit. It's mainly some clothes and books that you're used to wearing. Everything else doesn't matter. Throw it away. Su Huan said these words with a calm face. Li Mingfeng understood what was going on and nodded his head in agreement. The two chatted for a while. Li Mingfeng said goodbye. Today Su Huan just came back to the plane is very tired. Let Su Huan have a good rest. Su Huan sent Li Mingfeng to the parking lot. Saw Li Mingfeng get on the car and leave. Before turning around and returning to the villa, Du Xu Etching immediately came to Su Huan's side and asked with a gentle voice, Sir, what will you eat at noon, so that I can arrange for the kitchen to prepare? When Su Huan heard this, he thought for a while and said a winter melon rib soup, a vegetarian dish, and a small fried meat will do. In addition, the next time you make tea, you can make the tea a little bit stronger. Du Xu Etching immediately understood Su Huan's taste and nodded her head, I understand. After saying that, 
He walked to the side and picked up Su Huan's computer bag and suitcase and said, I will take Mr. Su to the bedroom. Su Huan nodded and followed behind Du Xueqing to the elevator. The main building has three floors. Each floor is higher than the standard height of an ordinary building. The actual height is equivalent to four and a half floors of an ordinary building. An elevator was specially installed to make it easier for people to go up and down. Su Huan's master bedroom is on the third floor. And after taking Su Huan into his room to put away his belongings, he took Su Huan around the third floor and the second floor. Su Huan went to the third floor to rest, and Du Xueqing went to the kitchen to arrange lunch. At 5.15 p.m., Li Mingfeng finished his work at the law firm before he made a call to Gu Bol. And the call went through quickly. Gu Wan's voice came out from within the phone. What is it? Mr. Gu, Mr. Su asked me to inform you that you should go back and retrieve your belongings by 10.30 tomorrow morning. Li Mingfeng said this sentence very calmly. Gu Bol's voice with excitement came out from the cell phone. He's back. Li Mingfeng said with a cold snort, Mr. Su just came back today, and I'm informing you now because I hope that everything will go well when Mr. Su picks up his belongings tomorrow. On the other end of the phone, Gu Bol's listened to Li Mingfeng's voice face color dark, took a few deep breaths to suppress their hearts and said, I will cooperate. Thank you, Li Mingfeng said and hung up the phone. For Gu Bol, Li Mingfeng is a little good impression or not. Do not look at the moment the development of smooth technology is good. Do not look at the Gubol is now called the South Metropolis Strong Woman Tycoon. In terms of wealth, Gubols will not be able to catch up with Su Huan for another 30 years without working hard. Su Huan is really too low-key. Low-key so that everyone thinks he is a soft rice man. Cheerful technology. Gubols face gloomy put down the phone froze for a while. Recovered and put aside the things in his head began to arrange the work. Has been busy until almost 7 o'clock before things are arranged. Gu Bol out of the office at that moment. The office of the two bodyguards immediately followed the Gu Bol out of the office. Gu Bol looked at Lili said I will not come over tomorrow morning. There is an emergency call me. Said he walked towards the elevator. The four bodyguards waiting on the side immediately followed. Lili immediately made a record. And then took the bag to the side of Gu Bol's. Before Lili spoke. Gu Bol's once again said. You don't have to follow. I deal with some personal matters. The words just fell the elevator arrived. Gu Bol's with bodyguards into the elevator. Lili stood aside did not follow into the elevator. A smiling face looking at the bowl of goo goo and other elevator doors closed. Just in the elevator doors closed at that moment. Lili face expression changed. With contempt in her eyes, she turned around and returned to her seat, and began to think in her head. And after a while, she took out a phone from her bag and sent a text message. Mr. Goo will not be working tomorrow morning. He has to deal with private matters. After the message was sent he put away his cell phone and began to pack up his belongings in preparation for leaving work. With Yi Yishan's head, he could definitely guess what private matters Gu Bols wanted to deal with. Gu Bols this period of time incarnated as a workaholic day. Every day overtime less than 10 o'clock by no means off work. Will be the company up and down all tossed very difficult. Today finally can go home early. Lili thought in her heart a moment to home to do something to comfort themselves. On the other hand, in an apartment in the Jin Gue district. Yi Shan was drinking coffee in the living room and thinking about things. When his cell phone came out with the sound of drip drip drip. When he took it out, he saw a message from Li Li. Yi Shan's brain immediately flew up. Tomorrow morning to deal with private matters. What private matters can let Gu Bols this workaholic rest for a morning? After thinking for a while, his eyes suddenly lit up. Could it be that Su Huan came back? Yes, this is the only explanation. Since knowing that Gu Bols and Su Huan divorced, Yi Shan's pursuit of Gu Bols has begun to increase. But Gu Bols has always maintained an attitude of not close to Yi Shan. The most difficult thing for Yi Shan is that Gu Bols has more than 8 bodyguards around her. And her daily trips are in security vehicles provided by the security company. So she can't know where she's going. Even if Gu Bols went to the bathroom, there would be a female bodyguard following her around. So Yi Shan who wanted to do something could not get close to Gu Bols at all. When he was having a headache, he didn't expect Su Huan to come back. Su Huan and Gu Bols divorced on the day of the rush to leave to do what no one knows, just remembered to listen to Gu Bols said, Su Huan will come back once to pack up their own belongings to take away, in order not to cause Gu Bols resentment, Yi Shan this period of time and Gu Bols meet, never mention any topic related to Su Huan, no, I have to be there tomorrow, it's not easy to get Gu Bols divorced, if Gu Bols can't control herself to get back together with Su Huan tomorrow, her layout for nearly a year will be in vain, Yi Shan's eyes flashed with a cold aura, and he had already figured out what he should do, one night passed. The third ring of the southern city. The villa area. The 19th villa. Gu Bols got up early to wash up and go out for a run before coming back for breakfast. And returned to the room after the meal to take a shower and dress himself up carefully. She also wore Su Huan's favorite dress. 
a Celadon series dress. Today, Su Huan will come to get things, no matter how the result of their own must struggle a little. As long as Su Huan agreed to remarry, beat themselves up no complaints. Gu Bol secretly made up his mind. Time passed slowly. Almost 10 o'clock, Yi Shan drove to the door of Gu Bol's house, hearing the sound of a car outside the villa. Gu Bol's immediately opened the door and ran out. And when he saw Yi Shan, he immediately turned his head, and no one could see the strong disgust in Gu Bol's eyes. This period of time in order to allow the investigation to proceed smoothly, Gu Bol's on Yi Shan's attitude has changed will be the original refusal of the attitude shortened to 800 miles hanging him. Three days ago, has seen the private detective to provide the investigation report? This report will Yi Ishan rate clean. Yi Ishan is in the great Northwest Ganjo University on the university. During the university talked about a total of two girlfriends, secretly also hooked up with a rich woman. After graduation, Yi Ishan is very dry dumped talked about more than a year of girlfriend and the rich woman bright together. Unfortunately, the rich woman like new and old too fast and Yi Ishan together for a year on the tired, to Yi Ishan 500,000 on the dumpy Ishan, Yi Ishan has been with the rich woman for a year, and has gotten used to all kinds of luxury and enjoyment, when the money given by the rich woman is almost spent, she hooked up with another rich woman, this time even faster, about half a year on the separation, Yi Ishan is not discouraged, began to hunt for rich women again, spend more than half a month time, the appearance of good Yi Ishan once again hooked up with a rich woman, as a result, this time there was an accident, and the rich woman in a scenic spot to play exciting wild, was rich woman's husband's third wife found, things are really coincidental, the junior is in a bad mood with the lover over to travel to relax, I did not expect there will be such a shocking harvest, the little three have long wanted to get on the throne, so how could let go of this heavenly opportunity, do not care about the body wearing tens of thousands of clothes immediately lying on the ground creeping close to the cell phone to shoot a small video, the next few days with the lover in the scenic area wantily indulge, but also learn Yi Shan in a number of places with the lover field a number of times. Sure enough exciting. After returning to Ganjo and then began to hang out with the rich woman's husband. A month later, only to use a foreign number cell phone to send the video to the rich woman's husband's cell phone. Immediately after that, he sent another one to his cell phone. After doing this immediately called the rich woman's husband. Said he just received a video. The message said let me send the video to you. Do not know what to do with it. Rich woman husband is very puzzled. About a good evening meeting after the end of the call. At this time, also see their own WeChat new message alert. Ghostly on the point to open the WeChat to see the video. After watching the eyes began to redden. Immediately began to arrange for people to investigate this matter. A few days later, Yi Ishan was severely beaten. Forced to sign a contract of up to tens of millions of dollars in arrears. Giving Yi Ishan a year to pay back clearly. Or else prosecute Yi Ishan. After the prosecution found Yi Ishan buried him alive. Yi Ishan these years not less money. There are a few sets of real estate and a few luxury cars under the name. Sell these debt repayment cannot afford. In the Yi Ishan in the home annoyed when. Suddenly on the TV there is an interview on the Gubol. Confirmed that the Gubol is their own recognition of the Gubol after. Yi Ishan began to investigate. Ten days after seeing the investigation report Yi Ishan shocked. Did not expect Gubols at this time actually have such assets. Under or not. Yi Ishan inner entanglement for a few days and finally clenched his teeth and made up his mind, underhand, secretly to the south metropolis to start the layout. First bought one of the executives of Huanchang Technology, the project audit department minister Wan Xiangqing. Through Wan Xiangqing began to secretly chase Li Li, and Li Li recognized a week after the drug to take Li Li, followed by Li Li's help. Yi Shan took out a few pieces of their own collection of luxury goods to take down the bowl of Gu's good girlfriend Zhou Ting, immediately after, and to the price of 8,000 per month to buy the Gu bowl home of the two old maids so that they help themselves to do things at any time to pay attention to the mood of the Gubol situation. Immediately after Li Li, Zhou Ting, Wan Xiang Chang, with the help of Li Li, Zhou Ting, Wan Xiang Cheng, and others, the attack on the city to buy a lot of good relations with Gubols, busy with the layout of these left the southern city. Before Yi Shan left the southern city, the layout for Gubols had already begun, and Gubol's girlfriend Zhou Ting, Chen Yi Yi, and other people as well as friends around them began to say bad things about Su Huan. If anything, Su Huan does not care about Gu Bols, does not understand the suffering of Gu Bols, and is slowly guiding Gu Bols. The attitude of Gu Bols towards Su Huan began to change subconsciously, and she became more and more impatient with Su Huan, quarreled with Su Huan, separated from Su Huan, and even felt disgusted at the sight of Su Huan. Yi Yishan returned to Ganjo, began a new round of plans, so by the husband of the rich woman blackmail 10 million. Yi Ishan inner very unbalanced. 
After spending a little money to figure out the whereabouts of the rich woman, one day, when the rich woman went to the nightclub to drink, suddenly met with the rich woman in the toilet, the rich woman to Yi Shan has not forgotten, the two of them had a good time in the restroom of the nightclub, and agreed on the contact information and location of the secret meeting, with the help of drugs, Yi Yishan in two months to serve the rich woman body and mind, the rich woman will be forced by her husband Yi Yishan signed the contract of arrears to steal out to Yi Yishan, after a few more days, the rich woman couldn't help but buy Yi Yishan a watch worth a million dollars, got the watch, Yi Yishan immediately disappeared, this period of time has been their own real estate in Ganjo, luxury cars, all disposed of, leaving Ganjo ran to Weiwu city rented a suite, began to crazy tonic exercise body, this period of time in order to meet the rich woman but was tossed more than 20 pounds of thin, the body deficit is extremely powerful, hard to recuperate for more than 20 days, at this moment from Yi Yishan left the southern city has been the past 4 months, thinking about it, Yi Yishan gave Gu Bol a phone call, to their own outside work for many years too tired to come back to relax for a period of time reason, after a few days back to the southern city want to see Gu Bol this old friend, Gu Bol's has been in the game at the moment, and the relationship with Su Huan has reached a tense moment, and agreed to Yi Yishan's invitation to get together in a few days. After the end of the call, Yi Yishan checked out of the room and ran to Ganjo to take a plane back to the South Metropolis, rested in the hotel for two days and then called Gu Bols, asking Gu Bols to have dinner. This meal was very happy, so that the recent mood a little irritable Gu Bols a lot happier. Afterwards, Yi Yishan began to slowly ask Gu Bols to drink coffee, go to the bar to drink, or meet Gu Bols' girlfriend Zhou Ting called Gu Bols to go to the bar to drink together. After a period of time, Yi Yishan began to meet Gu Bols frequently. Gu Bols and Yi Yishan careful, thoughtful, caring, sweet words under the attack began to slowly fall. Every time Gu Bols deceived Su Huan that he was having dinner with a client, but in fact he was having dinner with Yi Yishan and returned home, he immediately felt a twinge of guilt in his heart. The strong Su Huan also softened a lot, and the relationship with Su Huan has eased. Subsequently, as soon as you receive a phone call from Yi Yishan, you immediately find an excuse to leave Su Huan to see Yi Yishan eat with Yi Yishan, drink coffee, go to the bar to drink. Yi Yishan's layout is very successful. Originally everything is very smooth. Yi Yishan absolutely cannot think of the original Su Huan want to die. This bean can be big. The starting point of the orphanage origin, either the old cunning and ruthless lords, or the luck of the heavenly fortune of the sun, or, is a generation of lords to kill and destroy, or, it was the one that existed to welcome a certain dimension traveler over to occupy the body. When Su Huan died, he was immediately resurrected by a Su Huan who had traveled over from the blue planet to occupy his body. Huan descended. Yi Yishan's layout was doomed to failure. Before crossing over, Su Huan's father is a big director. Film contracts constantly very busy. Su Huan grew up following his father to mix in the film set, followed by the beginning of the film slowly. After many years of struggle, one the hundreds of changes in the big director, music talent, the most commercially viable director, etc. After crossing over, he broke Yi Yishan's elaborate layout as soon as he struck. Instead of divorcing Gu Bols, Gu Bols came to her senses, especially when Gu Bols witnessed Yi Yishan dating and kissing Zhou Ting, which made Gu Bols itch to tear and eat Yi Yishan. Zhou Ting and these people, the results of the investigation against Yi Yishan introduced, Gu Bols did not immediately take action, but arranged for private detectives and lawyers to secretly collect Yi Yishan and other people's illegal evidence. Su Huan and Gu Boen divorce on Gu Boen hit too much. Gu Boen vowed to make these people pay a terrible price. To make these people cannot go out of prison for the rest of their lives. Gu Bols returned to the living room and sat down with the help of deep breathing to adjust their emotions. At this moment is not the time to turn the tables with Yi Yishan. This time to turn the tables is too cheap this out of mind. Time is not long. Yi Yishan held a bouquet of flowers into the villa. See Gu Bols eyes bright. Today's Gu Bols after careful dress extraordinarily beautiful. A pair of big eyes exudes a clean and pure feeling. The body exudes a charming young woman's flavor. The close-fitting celadone porcelain dress makes Gu Bol's body pure, clean, young woman flavor fusion together, adding a more attractive temperament. Yi Shan looked at Gu Bol's with a gentle face and said, Xiao Bol's, I passed by this side to see you. This flower is for you. Gu Bol's took a deep breath to suppress the nausea in her heart and said, Thank you. She took the flowers and handed them over to the bodyguard. In her head, she thought that if Su Huan came over and saw Yi Shan here, all her preparations would be in vain, and when she thought of this, her inner disgust towards Yi Yishan increased by a few more points, I have something to go out immediately today, you see, Gu Bols finished looking at Yi Yishan, hoping that Yi Yishan would be wise enough to leave, Yi Yishan has long guessed that Gu Bols have something today, is how will not leave, very gentle said small Bols, 
What is the matter you say? I'm fine today at any time at the disposal. Gu Bull's eyes narrowed. Change the topic to let Yi Ishan leave wisely. The evidence collected is not enough. For the time being cannot immediately turn the face with this garbage. Just when the two people's language pulling, the sound of the car stopping appeared. Yi Ishan heard the face appeared a kind of really so look. Gu Bull this is the face of a lot of cold. The heart and the cry. Li Li, do not let you sit through the bottom of the jail will be sorry for you. Su Huan got out of the car and opened the trunk to carry out an oversized suitcase, pulling the suitcase into the villa. A glance to see Gu Bulls and Yi Yishan. Yi Yishan gave Su Huan a victorious smile. Su Huan's face changed. His eyes glanced coldly at Gu Bulls. Gu Bulls took a step forward and was about to speak when Yi Yishan spoke. Mister, Su is to pack their own belongings. Right. There is a need to help straight. I often fitness moving things still have a handful of strength, said Su Huan and exuded a provocative expression. Su Huan took a deep breath and suppressed his inner unhappiness and said, It seems that I came today is not the time to disturb your good things. After saying that, he carried the suitcase to the stairs, intending to go directly upstairs to pack up the items and leave, not bothering to look at this pair of dogs and men. Just now, Su Huan's icy cold eyes had already made Gu Bol's inner collapse. At this moment, when he heard what Su Huan said, Gu Bol's knew that he had to explain to Su Huan immediately, otherwise, Su Huan's misunderstanding would be deeper. Su Huan, it's not what you think. I didn't know he came over early this morning. I, Gu Bol's anxious to explain. Just walked a few steps Su Huan once again heard Yi Yishan's nasty voice mister. Su, even if you divorced with Wan Air, you should be more generous to listen to Wan Air's words. You're very unseemly. Hearing these words, Su Huan really got angry. In Blue Star as a big director in the entertainment industry over decades. What kind of nasty as well as sinister means have not seen. But today Yi Yishan repeatedly provoked so that Su Huan cannot stand. I don't want to take care of you a rotten person. But you don't know how to provoke the old man three times. Do you really think that I am the licking dog? Since you want to seek death, let's have some fun. Turning to look at Gu Bol and Yi Yishan, especially seeing Gu Bol's eyes, his heart immediately had a plan. Taking a deep breath, Su Huan looked at Gu Bol's with a calm face and said, I remember that I once told you that in the future. The divorce will also need to come to a breakup bubble. If you are willing to come to the last to a bubble, with me up. We, said here Su Huan did not say, but turned his head to look at Yi Yishan. Eyes with contempt said you can listen in the living room. Do not want to listen to go outside and wait. Said turned around carrying suitcases continue to go up the stairs. Yi Yishan listened to the words of Su Huan's stupid face. Did not expect Su Huan will say so. Are you guys too open? Immediately after seeing the Gu Bol to the steps out of a step. A want to follow the past posture. Yi Yishan immediately came to the side of the Gu Bol said small bowl. You do not impulse. The first time I saw Gu Bol's eyes were ice cold as he looked at Yi Yishan. Gu Bol ice cold look at Yi Yishan roared shut up. Yi Yishan froze on the spot, not expecting Gu Bol's attitude to be so fierce. You're willing to sit in the living room. If you're not, go out. I don't need you to say anything about what I do. After saying that, he walked up the stairs bypassing Yi Yishan and quickly chased after Su Huan's back. Yi Yishan reacted at this time, immediately said Xiao Bol, you don't get confused. Saying that, he followed over, and the bodyguard standing on the side immediately took action. Soon. The bodyguards on the stairs of the second floor stairway pressed Yi Yishan. Yi Yishan watched Su Huan open the door. Gu Bols followed into it. Then he saw Su Huan sticking out his head and said he's not willing to leave. Just hold him down and listen here. Don't let him make noise to affect my excitement. After saying that, he entered the room. The door slowly closed. Yi Yishan began to struggle. The bodyguard followed Su Huan's instructions and pressed him to death. Early this morning Gu Bols had explained about Su Huan's identity and said that Su Huan's words were her words. Yi Yishan was stuffed a panel into his mouth and made a whimpering. The sound pressed and struggled a bit and then was powerless to resist. Time slowly passed a few minutes. Just when Yi Yishan thought it was fine. Meow. 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 The sound of a cat purring came out from within the room. Hearing this sound Yi Yishan immediately red eyes to explode. The bodyguards immediately forced to hold it down. Soon. Yi Yishan mouth bread was spit out to shout. Another bodyguard immediately covered Yi Yishan's mouth to give his companion a look. Companion received the signal immediately lifted his feet and took off his socks and stuffed them into Yi Yishan's mouth to prevent him from making a sound. Su Wan from just Gu Bol's look at their eyes have seen some hints, which borrowed Gu Bol's hints bet. If you win the bet, you can severely humiliate Yi Yishan, and it doesn't matter if you don't win the bet, you can bury a thorn in Yi Yishan's heart. Aren't you chasing Gu Bol? Lao Zi let you see. Even if it is divorced, it is not something you can pry into. As soon as the bodyguard entered the house after the explanation, Su Huan pulled Gu Bols into his arms. Gu Bols immediately cooperated. And inwardly there was also an idea of disgusting Yi Yishan. 
Gu Bo's voice is getting louder and louder. The bodyguards looked at each other. And then they all used inexplicable eyes to look at Yi Yishan who was lying on the ground. I really didn't expect Su Huan and Gu Bo's to dare to do this. Today was really an eye opener. Soon, Yi Yishan spat out the socks in his mouth and said, Let go of me. I'll go out. The bodyguards looked at each other. The captain waved his hand. A few people escorted him downstairs in Gu Bo's screams, to the villa door directly thrown out. Around 20 minutes, Gu Bo's screams stopped. Inside the room, Su Huan lying on the back of Gu Bo's huffing and puffing, will be in the heart of this period of time to accumulate the anger or vent it out. Gu Bo's body like a noodle lying on the bed, closed eyes and open mouth panting. This is with Su Huan together for so long. Su Huan the most tyrannical once. Bones are soft. All body cannot lift a trace of strength. Body skin flushed scarlet. Two petals PG covered with misplaced and disorderly slap marks. Extremely many. Su Huan heart to Gu Bo's this stupid woman did not have a good impression. Hit the time did not stay at all. Leaving a mark in a short period of time is difficult to dissipate. After a while, Su Huan rolled over and lay down on the side with his head facing upwards, breathing heavily to recover his strength. Gu Bo felt Su Huan's departure. With the body just recovered a little strength to move the body to the side of Su Huan, embracing Su Huan's waist, hoping that this moment can be eternal. More than 10 minutes passed. Su Huan has regained his strength, took away Gu Bo's hand to sit up, without saying a word out of bed straight to the bathroom to wash up. Gu Bo's looked at Su Huan's back and gritted his teeth. He also stood up and followed into the restroom. Su Huan did not care about Gu Bo's, has turned on the shower in the rinse. Gu Bo's walked over from the back to hold Su Huan's waist and said gently, I'm wrong, you how to punish me can be, we remarried, okay? Su Huan hand movement did not stop to continue to clean the body, calmly said wash up, a moment before I leave we talk. Hearing Su Huan's words, Gu Bo's didn't say anything else and started to clean up honestly, the time was not very long. Su Huan first wiped his body clean and walked out of the restroom, and began to put on his clothes. Soon Gu Bols also appeared, lightly on the side of the cabinet took out a robe put on, stood on the side looking at packing things Su Huan open mouth did not say anything, Gu Bols has been standing by the side watching, inside generated a few times want to go over to stop Su Huan packing items of the impulse, but reason is telling Gu Bols, if this moment to stop Su Huan, Su Huan will certainly be mercilessly pushed away from their own directly leave, in this way, there is no more room for maneuver between herself and Su Huan. Looking at Su Huan is about to clean up the time. Gu Bols then speak thank you for saving my life. If you do not remind me, I am afraid that I will be they teamed up to count to the bankruptcy. The reason why I didn't move them now is that I'm collecting more evidence. I'm going to make them stay in jail for the rest of their lives. Su Huan didn't say anything and continued to be busy, putting his last item into the box and closing the suitcase, pulling the suitcase to the side of the standing Gu Bols side and stopping to say Gu Bols. Things happen we can't just pretend that nothing has happened. We can't go back to the old days. I'm tired. Soon we'll go on vacation to relax. Forget everything in the past to start a new life. And adjust your state. I've made up my mind to change my habits and ways of life completely. You don't need to dwell on the old me anymore because I won't be the same person you remember. If you want, you can be one of my many lovers. With Su Huan's understanding of Gu Bols, asking Gu Bols to be one of someone's lovers is something the high-minded and proud Gu Bols would rather die than do. The purpose of Su Huan's statement is very simple, so that Gu Bol's completely dead heart. The relationship between the two people will be cut off cleanly, the two of them will have no contact with each other for the rest of their lives, and each of them will be fine, avoiding the headache situation caused by Gu Bol's matter from happening again. Take care. Su Huan finished raising his hand and pinched Gu Bol's face, pulling the suitcase towards the door. When Su Huan opened the door and went out, Gu Bol had already reacted from what Su Huan said, turning around. She immediately chased after him. At this time, Su Huan had already walked to the stairway. Gu Bols quickly walked a few steps and raised her hand to pull Su Huan's arm. I'll be your lover. You can come to me anytime you need. I'll cooperate with whatever you want to play. After saying that, his eyes stared at Su Huan's eyes. A shocked expression spread across Su Huan's face after hearing this. Obviously confused by Gu Bol's words. Seeing the shock in Su Huan's eyes, Gu Bols knew that he had guessed correctly. Su Huan said these words to stimulate himself. With the aim of completely clearing the relationship with himself, the terrified mood instantly settled down a bit. Gu Bol's look at Su Huan's eyes more determined. Divorce this matter is their own fault. They must not make similar mistakes. This marriage is necessary to restore. A lover is a lover. If I can take your first marriage, I can take your second marriage. There is no one in the world who knows you better than I do. Gu Bol's inner fighting spirit once again burned up. His eyes showed the look of never give up on Su Huan looked at Su Huan's eyes. Su Huan looked at the eyes firmly looking at their own Gu Bols. Dream did not expect the Gu Bols tiger said so. 
The memory of the goobles with the immediate this goobles completely wrong. He roared you're crazy. After yelling this sentence, Su Huan immediately walked quickly downstairs, not wanting to take care of this crazy person. The corners of Gu Bo's mouth slightly upward. Face with a smile quickly walk a few steps holding Su Huan's arm downstairs. Along the way, Su Huan struggled a few times did not break free from Gu Bo's holding arm. No way but to let Gu Bo's so holding walk to the door of the villa. Just came out to see not far from the standing Yi Shan. Two bodyguards were standing on the left and right side of Yi Shan, staring at him. When Yi Shan saw that Su Huan and Gu Bo's came out, he immediately focused on Gu Bo's, and when he saw Gu Bo's face, Yi Shan's eyes turned red. As a veteran of the flower world, how could he not see that at this moment? Gu Bo's was in a state of being moisturized in place, especially when the corners of her eyes and eyebrows still had a spring in them that hadn't dissipated. Su Huan walked forward to a place not far from Yi Shan, with eyes full of anger Yi Shan stared at. Su Huan a smile, with Gu Bo's arm hand scratched the crotch and said stop itching. Very cool. Hearing these words, Yi Shan's eyes became red, and he wanted to rush over to hit Su Huan, but he was immediately controlled by the bodyguards. Gu Bo's also had a red face when he heard this sentence. He really didn't expect Su Huan to say such a let. Like words. Looking at Yi Shan, Su Huan hummed towards his car. To the car Gu Bo's loosened Su Huan's arm. Su Huan opened the trunk into the box, turned to look at Yi Shan. A pullover Gu Bo's kissed a mouthful. Immediately after, snap and Gu Bo's PG slap. This is to let go of Gubols open the car door to get on the car. Gubols looked at the car Su Huan a glance. The body walked to the side, watching Su Huan back up the car and leave. Until he couldn't see Su Huan's car anymore. Only then did he turn around and return to stop at a certain position from Yi Shan and said he completely left me. What we just did you also saw and heard. If you can't accept it, just leave. After saying that, Gubols waved his hand and turned around to enter the villa. The bodyguards let go of Yi Shan and followed Gubols into the villa. With a bang, the door of the villa closed, and the two bodyguards stood in the doorway looking at Yi Shan with a disdainful expression. Yi Shan stood there the whole person is numb, back to God with an extremely vicious gaze at the villa, quickly walked to his car in front of the door to open the door to get on the car to start the car to leave. Su Huan drove away from the villa area after driving a distance to the vehicle to the open roadside stopped, took out a cigarette lit a, took a deep breath and spit out the smoke in his mouth. Eyes looking forward to the sky whispered I occupy your body but also for you to take revenge. You and I should end the karma. At this time, Su Huan's mind suddenly had an additional thought. Be kind to Gu Bols. This thought flashed away. Su Huan suddenly felt that his body was much lighter, as if the weight of the shackles he had been carrying had been reduced. Sensing this situation, Su Huan's eyes showed a look of horror. What the hell? What is the meaning of this thought that suddenly appeared in his head? Man, why are you still doing this when you are gone? Licking a dog licking a dog. Licking until you end up with nothing. Haven't you heard this saying before? Su Huan roared loudly inside his head. Why should I care about a Gu Bol when I am so rich? There are so many good women with better body, face and skin than Gu Bol who are devoted. Why should I hang myself on her tree? You are willing to be a licking dog you win. Why let me continue your great cause? After yelling for half a day without any reply, just as Su Huan took a drag on his cigarette and spit it out, a thought once again appeared in his head. This is what you owe me. This is my last wish. You promised me to completely disperse. If you don't promise you will never be able to integrate with this body 100%. Su Huan felt this thought and couldn't help but yell out in the car holy shit. You crazy bastard. Soon after, Su Huan calmed down and replied back in his head I won't be a dog licker. Nor will I marry her. I'll at most give her the treatment of a lover. I'll help her get through three more life and death catastrophes. Other than that, there's no way I'll agree to any more conditions from you. If you don't want to we'll part ways. The traveler Su Huan. The pugnacity of his soul surged up, with a stance that he would rather be broken than be broken, and a thought quickly appeared within his mind, deal, heaven's way forensics, if you break the contract, you will never be able to get it up. After the thought disappeared, Su Huan once again felt a sense of comfort welling up within his body. For a while, the car window rolled down. Su Huan flexed his fingers and flicked the cigarette out, whispered, what the hell? Su Huan raised his hand and rubbed his aching head, pressed the button window slowly rose up. Start the vehicle away from the curb into the main road, not long to mix into the rolling traffic among the, inside the villa, goobles and bodyguards to explain some of the upstairs back to the room to rest, today's refreshing very, not a good night's sleep is really sorry for themselves, I really didn't expect Su Huan to be so fierce today, his legs are still a little soft, just went upstairs, if he didn't hold the handrail, it was difficult for him to go up the stairs, in the bedroom, goobles lying on the bed holding the quilt, face with a satisfied smile to sleep, 
This is a period of time since Gu Bowls sleep the most solid and most relaxed to sleep. On the other hand, in the Jin Gue neighborhood, Yi Shan returned to his apartment and couldn't control his inner anger and started to smash everything in the room. Never in his wildest dreams did he expect Gu Bowls to treat him this way. You bitch. I'm not finished with you. He smashed and cursed Gu Bowls again and again, venting his inner resentment and humiliation. A day passed. At noon, Yi Shan also calmed down, sitting on the sofa in a messy room. Took out his cell phone as usual to order a bouquet of roses and lunch to Gu Bol's company. After paying the fee, Yi Shan's face was full of anger and gritted his teeth and cursed him. He said, I don't know what to say, but I don't know what to do. Soon, Yi Shan's face expression twisted teeth gritted cackling roared you bitch with me wait. When I close the net, I must let you appear in the world at the same time. And Su Huan, I will definitely not let you go. I will definitely make your life worse than death. At this moment, Yi Shan's hatred for Gu Bol as well as Su Huan reached its peak in his heart. He had no idea what kind of existence his opponent was. The traveler Su Huan was no soft-hearted person. Su Huan returned home, carried his suitcase and went upstairs, categorizing and organizing his belongings. Just downstairs, he met the housekeeper Du Xu Etching. Du Xu Etching said with a smile on her face, Sir, lunch is ready. Good. After Su Huan finished speaking, he walked towards the dining room. Du Xu Etching turned around and went to busy herself with other things? Butler this job is very busy and not very busy. The income is also very considerable. Tube Food Tube live in a year 250,000 income. Du Xu Etching is not willing to give up this job? In the housekeeper industry, it was too difficult to meet a good employer. Therefore, Du Xu Etching worked very seriously every day, urging the staff to clean up the lawn, garden, pool, villa, and so on, all cleaned up. After eating lunch, Su Huan returned to the room to rest. Today's fury under no physical work was tired. Of course, this is also with the original licking dog Su Huan does not exercise. Physical fitness is too poor have a lot to do. Today a good day of rest. Tomorrow must begin to exercise. Before crossing the body as a big director. Without a strong body how to deal with those mind trick wrist online warblers. A day has passed. Early in the morning, a little more than 7 o'clock, Su Huan got up and washed up and left the main building in the manor to run and exercise walking and stopping off and on to insist on exercising for more than an hour, only to return to the main building to take a shower and go downstairs to eat breakfast. After eating, take Du Xu Etching drive away from home, to buy fitness equipment, buy some other items, so empty in the study is definitely to arrange some, to have books, but also full of bookish flavor ornaments, etc. Du Xu Etching, as a housekeeper, carried a card with a million dollars of funds in it, which was the cost of maintaining the various facilities of the manor and purchasing various supplies. Every month, she would make a trip to Beidou Investment Company to meet with the company's financial staff to reimburse various expenses as well as receive new ones. Time is not long. Su Huan's car in the fitness equipment, outdoor sports equipment, and other brands of a street parking lot stopped. The two people in the street around a circle picked a product to enter the international market of the big brand stores to enter. The giant fitness equipment stores just entered the store heard a pleasant female voice from the side. Mister. Hello. What can I help you? Su Huan turned his head and saw a young girl standing next to him. Looking about the same age as himself. In his early twenties. Su Huan calmly said. I came over to buy some fitness equipment. The young girl's eyes lit up when she heard this. And immediately stretched out her hand and said hello. My name is Chiu Yingying. And I am the store manager of this store. Hello. Su Huan shook hands with the other party and followed Xiao Yingying to the side of the reception desk to sit down and listen to the introduction. Xiao Yingying went to the side and brought two cups of water over, placing a cup in front of Su Huan and Du Xu Etching respectively, before politely inquiring, How do you call mister? And how does this lady call you? Su Huan did not speak. Du Xu Etching very eye-catching said I surname Du? This is my boss mister. Su, a sentence shows the identity of the two. Xiao Yingying smiled and nodded and immediately focused on Su Huan. Handed Su Huan a colorful booklet and began to introduce the product with Su Huan. Su Huan looked at the colorful booklet listened for a while and asked, Can I experience some of these devices in the store? Xiao Yingying asked, Can I experience these machines in the store? Xiao Yingying said politely after listening, Yes, we have a professional fitness trainer at any time for customer service. Please wait, I go to call the coach over to lead Mr. Su to experience a variety of equipment. Su Huan nodded after hearing this. Xiao Yingying made an apologetic gesture to go to the back to ask the fitness trainer. This is the pattern of the big brand franchise. Professionals for customers to explain will reflect enough compulsion. Will let customers willingly order to buy. In a short time, Xiao Yingying came over with a hot beauty with long hair, big eyes, white skin, long legs, and wearing a leotard. 
Du Xiuqing's eyes couldn't help but narrow at the sight of this fitness trainer, and with a glance, she could tell that this was a foxy girl with a heart of gold. Giant Fitness Equipment Store is a headquartered directly managed store. The store has a man and a woman two fitness trainers sitting in the class all year round. Ordinary customers do not need them to go out. Only those big customers will go out. If it is a female customer, by the handsome appearance, six-pack abs handsome man fierce man to explain the use of fitness equipment. If it's a male client, it'll be a beautiful white-skinned, long legs, wearing a tight suit of seductive pretty female trainer who will come out to explain the use of fitness equipment for the client. Follow Chiu Wingying together over the female fitness coach called Wei Yutong, 23 years old this year, is the South Metropolitan College of the Arts junior students, body etiquette major. Wei Yutong is very smart and knows that she is pretty with a hot body, which can be determined from the number of people pursuing her inside and outside the school. Those who drove a luxury car to school to pick up beautiful women it cannot see, they are looking for a really rich, and love their own men. If you want to get to capture this kind of high quality men, you have to love yourself and keep what is most precious to you, even if you lose the most precious in the future, you must lose the value. Wei Yutong in school during the study period. On the use of after school time to work out hard to get a nationally recognized formal fitness instructor certificate, they not only have the appearance and talent, so you can capture the man you want to marry in your heart, to the giant fitness equipment store to buy a lot of bosses, many are a C Wei Yutong cannot move their eyes, but today Wei Yutong C customers are different, the customer was only slightly stunned when he saw himself for the first time, and his eyes quickly regained their composure, at this time, Xiao Wenying and Wei Yutong walked to Su Huan's front mister, Su, this is our store's resident fitness trainer, M.S. Wei Yutong Wei. Coach Wei holds a nationally recognized fitness instructor certificate. She will accompany you to experience a variety of fitness equipment and explain the use of various equipment. Zhou Wenying introduced Wei Yutong, who looked at Su Huan and graciously extended her hand, saying, Mr. Su, good. Wei coach good. Hard you Su Huan politely said a sentence and Wei Yutong shook hands. The two hands lightly shook a bit and separated. Wei Yutong said Mr. Su this side please, I will introduce you to the fitness equipment and its use. Su Huan nodded and began to experience the various fitness equipment placed in the store under the leadership of Wei Yutong. Du Xiu Eching and Xiu Wenying followed behind the two, in front of each piece of equipment. Wei Yutong would explain in detail and make a demonstration, and then instruct Su Huan to experience it. When Su Huan felt that it was okay, he turned his head and nodded to Du Xiu Eching, who then glanced at Xiu Wenying. Xiao Wenying reacted quickly and immediately took out a pen to write it down in a small notebook. Almost an hour passed, and when Su Huan was experiencing the fitness equipment, Wei Yutong also held Su Huan's arms and legs to explain the key points. On the side of Xiao Wenying's small notebook has been densely recorded the name of many equipment. Both eyes are excited look. Feeling almost done, Su Huan ended the fitness equipment experience and turned his head to Du Xiu Eching and said, That's it. Good. Du Xiu Eching agreed and glanced at Xiao Wenying who immediately made a please motion and led Du Xiu Eching to the checkout. Wei Yutong had been paying attention and was very clear about how much equipment Xiao Yingying had recorded in her little book, and if the deal was made her own bonus would be quite a lot. Just brought Su Huan to experience the fitness equipment and realized that this customer is different from those big boss level customers received in the past. Not a hint of eating their own tofu action, but all the big bosses who do so, are on their own strength have sufficient confidence, do not care to use this kind of dirty tactics to lower their own value. A young and handsome big client like Su Huan was exactly the kind of high quality male that Wei Yutong was pursuing, guided Su Huan to the side of the reception to drink water, accompanied by Su Huan chat, to follow up customers can always consult with their own fitness movement essentials reason and Su Huan exchanged WeChat account, both sides added friends and added notes, on the other hand, Du Xiu Eching has already communicated with Chiu Yingying and paid the purchase price, the total price of more than 146, 000 yuan. After agreeing on the delivery place and time, Du Xiu Eching turned around and returned to Su Huan's side and said in a low voice, Sir, it's already done. The store will arrange for someone to deliver the goods to the door. The time is tomorrow morning. Su Huan nodded. Du Xiu Eching then straightened her body and stood aside. Su Huan stood up and looked at Wei Yutong and said politely thank you for Coach Wei's guidance today. I hope Coach Wei can give a few pointers when he encounters a problem in the future. There. This is one of the after-sale service programs stipulated by our giant fitness equipment brand. Wei Yutong replied politely. Su Huan and Wei Yutong polite a few sentences, then took Du Xiu Eching left the store, looked at the time immediately 12 o'clock, let Du Xiu Eching find a good restaurant to eat, in front of the store. After seeing Su Huan and his team leave, Wei Yutong turned around and asked, how much is the total amount? Xiao Yingying said with a smile on her face, more than 140, 000. 
you and I have a guaranteed bonus for this month. Wei Yutong heard a smiling face raised his hand and Xiao Ying Ying to a high five. As a relatively good relationship with friends, the two are still very tacit understanding. By the way Tong Tong, this Mr. Su is very much in line with your requirements. Is definitely a great tycoon. Delivery address is the manor over there in the east of the city. You cannot let go oh. Said raised his hand and slapped Wei Yutong's small buttocks, sending out a crisp pop sound. To die you. Wei Yutong finished lifting her hand in Xiao Ying Ying's human heart a grasp. The two little sisters fooled around for a while before returning to the store. Wei Yutong can go to the back lounge rest. Xiao Ying Ying need to arrange for personnel to go to the warehouse to pick up goods. Arrange the vehicle according to the agreed time to deliver. Back to the lounge. Wei Yutong took the phone to look at Su Huan's WeChat name. Know the autumn leaf. Good poetic WeChat name. Looked for a while a deep breath began to change clothes. Whether to wear tights for customers to introduce the product is the freedom of the fitness instructor. Brand manufacturers and specialty stores are not forced. This is also Chiu Ying Ying and Wei Yutong said that the big customer is a young handsome. Wei Yutong sneak a look before wearing tights and Su Huan meet. The purpose is to show their own exquisite body and long legs. The first step is to give each other a good impression. So that it is convenient to start the second step of the plan. Su Huan and Du Xu Eching ate lunch together. Then drove to the second hand car dealership. Directly to their own drive for many years to deal with the car. After letting the people at the car dealership send the two of them to the car city not far away. Su Huan and Du Xu Eching circled around the car city and purchased two cars. A BYY SUV. Worth more than $800,000. A SUV worth over $100,000 was also purchased. This car served as the housekeeper to Xu Eching's assigned car. The store gave a temporary license plate. The two drove the car back home on the spot. And the follow-up for the vehicle formalities and other things were handed over to Du Xu Eching to be responsible for. Su Huan did not worry about it. Du Xu Eching's perception of Su Huan was once again elevated. And now she was 100% sure that she had met a kind-hearted employer. Before being hired by Li Mingfeng. Du Xu Eching had already worked as a housekeeper in the homes of several tycoons, and when those tycoons saw Du Xu Eching for the first time, each one of them could not wait to tear Du Xu Eching's clothes and eat her immediately, in order not to lose their jobs. As long as the other harassment of their movements is not too big, Du Xu Eching will be forced to endure, really cannot insist on immediately resigned from the job, is very self-love. Du Xu Eching is also a poor person, in Shanghai City, a University of Home Management professional graduated soon after meeting the love. Talk about half a year to get married. Husband and Du Xu Eching said he wanted to be a dink. Du Xu Eching? Although difficult to understand also very understanding cooperation. After nine years of marriage, she found out by chance that her husband had an illegitimate child with another woman. And the child is already five years old this year. Du Xu Eching very determined to divorce her husband? Divorce formalities for the silly face. Her husband has been in advance not moving property transfer almost. After the divorce. Du Xu Eching only a set of less than 80 square feet of the house, do not want to stay in Shanghai City, this sad place, Du Xu Eching is very simple to sell the house to return home to the south metropolis, rented a house to start looking for work again, worked off and on for more than a year, the savings spent almost the difficult time, was hired by Li Mingfeng, before seeing Su Huan Du Xu Eching is still very worried, worried that this employer will not be the same as the employer encountered in the past, hate to immediately strip naked to eat their own, the first time I saw Su Huan, Su Huan saw his eyes just froze for a moment and then his eyes returned to the clear. This point alone, with the previous employer has a fundamental difference. These two days of contact down to the present to their own car. Su Huan look at their eyes still does not contain a trace of lust. This job can be done for a long time. This idea rises in Du Xu Eching's head, thinking so in her head, but her face does not show the slightest. Du Xu Eching went to greet the workers at home to start organizing the room, and contacted the decoration company to send someone over to carry out simple decoration. Du Xu Eching also gave the giant fitness equipment store manager Cho Ying Ying made a phone call, asked two days later to send over. Gym decoration is not yet completed. Cho Ying Ying sighed certainly no opinion. A mouth agreed, re-agreed to the delivery time before ending the call. In the evening, Su Huan ate dinner and returned to the room to rest. Holding his cell phone in his hand began to organize Su Huan's contacts. Can be handed over to the people left behind? Cannot be handed over directly deleted. After being busy for a while, he clicked inside the alumni group and found that the alumni group was talking about himself. Many people are envious that they married Gu Bulls. With Gu Bulls as the cover of a rich woman who started a successful business from nothing. Su Huan can enjoy the happiness at home without the need to work. It was really enviable. At first, Su Huan did not care. Then see a few people more and more talk more and more unlike words. Think for a moment. Typed, we have long been divorced. 
do not need to envy me, and pulled out the picture of the divorce certificate in the cell phone directly sent out. Direct official announcement of this matter, sent after the withdrawal of the school friends group. Su Huan is out. The school friends group has exploded. Who did not expect perennial not bubble Su Huan? A bubble on the explosion of such a shocking big melon. A line of its Su Huan people appeared, asking the same type of questions at Jichio Ea. You really divorced? At. Really? You guys are really divorced? At. At no inkiwai. Gu Bol is growing rapidly. It's not worth it for you to get divorced at this time. At Chikiai, you finally done the right thing. At Chikiai, the school friends group is usually so few people who do not mix well in the chat. Very cold. But today is different. The whole school friends group boiled. One after another message kept appearing. A lot of usually only dive does not show the pretty girls were bombed out. Damn. The baby goddess has been blown out too. Goddess Ran Ran also popped up. My heart cloud goddess also bubbled up. The red bean goddess has also popped up. Ten minutes later, Su Huan received a phone call from his best friend Zhao Kaifeng, and as soon as the phone was picked up, Zhao Kaifeng's voice came out. Lao Si, are you really divorced? Su Huan replied with a smile on his face. It really can't be any more true. Hearing Su Huan admitted, Zhao Kaifeng immediately said, how to divorce at this time? You pay so much for her. This time the divorce is really fucking cheap this bitch. Because of what? Is not subjected to what aggrieved? Tell dad. Dad give you revenge. Su Huan didn't care about Zhao Kaifeng's name. Calmly said I'm tired. So I divorced. Peaceful breakup. Some time ago to go to Huhai City would have liked to find you. The results of your kid went abroad. Hearing Su Huan finish Zhao Kaifeng immediately said. You should have contacted me earlier. What is not to say? To the old man I rolled to Shanghai to the city. The father to take you to Dash for a month and is a good man. Listening to Zhao Kaifeng is very heroic words. Su Huan heart warmed. Not ashamed to be his own dead friend. Zhao Kaifeng and Su Huan is bunkhouse roommate. Is the only son of the Zhao family in Shanghai. The father of two brothers. The eldest uncle to go to the political road. The family of the two sisters have no male children. Father Zhao Sun established Zhao Group in Shanghai. After years of development has been the market value of more than 100 billion large group. Zhao Kaifeng is the only son of the Zhao family. There is no lack of money. He is the only son of the Zhao family. And is not short of money at all. He has tens of millions of dollars in savings in his own small bank. Su Huan first financial investment during the school period or with Zhao Kaifeng borrowed money. Zhao Kaifeng without saying a word on the cell phone to Su Huan transferred 100,000. Knowing that Su Huan is an orphan. Zhao Kaifeng also said to make money on the return. Lost even if. Do not have psychological pressure. Said Pat Su Huan's shoulders to go play basketball. Su Huan rely on borrow Zhao Kaifeng 100. 000 began the financial journey against the sky. Two weeks after the repayment of borrow Zhao Kaifeng 100. 000. Followed by Zhao Kaifeng see Su Huan horror of the financial talent. It is necessary to follow and play together. Said a few times Su Huan did not agree. Su Huan know how big the risk of the financial market. Zhao Kaifeng to their own so enough. Su Huan is very worried about their own money loss sorry Zhao Kaifeng. I don't want to lose Zhao Kaifeng because of the money. Until Su Huan himself and the financial account funds accumulated to 5 million. Which took Zhao Kaifeng played once. That financial operations. Zhao Kaifeng is dead after Su Huan mix. 10 million investment. Just one month time earned more than 30 million. Robbing the bank are not as horrible as Su Huan money. The money does not matter to Zhao Kaifeng. After experiencing this kind of excitement is not so big passion. Directly to Su Huan transferred 50 million. Let Su Huan their own operation no matter. The only requirement is. As long as the annual keep making money not lose money on it. Su Huan no. This is Zhao Kaifeng intention to give yourself 50 million to let yourself increase capital to develop quickly. This kind of favor can only be used to repay a lifetime. The phone call with Zhao Kaifeng just hung up. The other two roommates and best friends. Lin Ida and Zhang Wenyuan also followed the call. Inside the dormitory. Zhao Kaifeng was the eldest. Lin Ida was the second. Zhang Wenyuan was the third. Su Huan was the fourth. And Su Huan called Zhao Kaifeng the eldest. Not only because Zhao Kaifeng has money, but because Zhao Kaifeng is righteous enough. The dormitory three but whoever encounters trouble, Zhao Kaifeng have stepped forward to help solve. When Su Huan was in school, he invested in finance and started his own business. And Lin Ida and Zhang Wenyuan helped him out. Not only by contributing money but also by contributing their efforts. The trio's mouths are also very strict. Only the three of them know that Su Huan has not graduated from the university has already fought under the huge assets. Outsiders to Su Huan's cognition is still only in the stage of talent. Dragon School is the first school in Xia. For dormitory is not much. Can live in the four dormitory are donations to the school of the rich and powerful and even rich family children. There were also those who were truly talented. Zhao Kaifeng, Lin Ida, 
Jiang Wan Yuan, these three people's families are not simple. Su Huan can be in a dormitory with the three of them because Su Huan was admitted into Longting College as a provincial scholar. This arrangement is also to facilitate the docking of talent and resources. With three years of dormitory love, these talented people after graduation into society, the road will be much better. Graduated three years, four people have been very interrupted contact, but the feelings have been maintained very good. Although each in other cities, must take time to get together every year. Su Huan and Lin Ida, Jiang Wan Yuan, respectively, explain some, the two only then rest assured, comforted Su Huan some before ending the call. One day passed, the second morning, Su Huan morning before dawn to get up and wash some to go to exercise, now not a few months from the new year. He will not go anywhere in these few months. He will just do physical exercise at home to improve his physical fitness. Cheerful Technology Company, the president's office, shortly after Gu Bowles went to work, phone calls appeared one after another, all asking the same question. Is Gu Bowles really divorced from Su Huan? At first, he couldn't understand what his friend's inquiry meant. And only after a while did Gu Bowles figure out what was going on, that Su Huan had made the divorce between the two public. Gu Bowl inside is very difficult but again difficult to accept the reality. But all inquiries, Gu Bol are truthfully admitted. Slowly less phone calls, Gu Bol stood in front of a large floor-to-ceiling window looking at the scenery outside. The reflection on the glass can be vaguely seen Gu Bol gloomy face. The news of their divorce with Su Huan has been spread at the moment. The news of his divorce from Su Huan has spread. There is a lot more uncertainty about getting remarried to Su Huan. During the university chase Su Huan those women inside a lot of unmarried. Many people are not talking about boyfriends. These women at the moment learned that Su Huan with their own divorce to restore single. These women will definitely not let go of this once in a lifetime opportunity. Unfortunately, at this moment, they cannot do anything. The private detective team together with a team of lawyers are still secretly collecting Yi Yishan and other people's evidence of the law. Once they do something will be alarmed by these people's vigilance. What to do? Gu Bol's brain began to seriously think about this issue. In the morning, Su Huan Manor. Su Huan in the study reading a book. Du Xu Eching yesterday contacted the decoration company has sent people over to start work, began to gym simple decoration. After the decoration was completed and ventilated for a day, the gym equipment could be installed. Simple decoration is very fast. As long as the money is in place, the decoration staff will explode with a speed that you can't imagine. Completing the decoration with quality and quantity. By 8 o'clock in the evening, the gym simple renovation is completed. Tomorrow open the window with the door ventilation one day can be used. Another day in the past, this morning around 10 o'clock, the giant fitness equipment store delivery car came over, together with three assemblers. Du Xu Eching commanded the vehicle parked away from the gym not far away from the place, began to arrange for people to unload the car. All the fitness equipment moved into the room for fixed installation. After everything is installed, let Su Huan test once no problem. The vehicle with the decorator before leaving, Su Huan also do not go out, began their own fitness program. Du Xu Eching began to adjust the catering of Su Huan, to ensure that Su Huan every day intake of nutrients enough, time day by day. In the blink of an eye more than 10 days have passed. This night, Gu Bols received a phone call violently with a bodyguard left the house, where he went is unknown to anyone. The southern suburbs of the southern city, Funshi district, a rental house, Gu Bols, four bodyguards, two private detective representatives, and four lawyers, converged in this room. This period of time to collect a variety of incriminating evidence or one by one to show the bowl of Gu. Gu bowl to see is more and more gloomy face. Especially see this also involves the mother Wang Xiaoyan and stepfathers with Ji Chang time. Gu bowl's face has been gloomy to the extreme. When he married Su Huan, his mother Wang Xiaoyan and stepfathers with Ji Chang strongly requested Su Huan to sign a prenuptial and postnuptial property agreement that seriously hurt their feelings. From the beginning of Gu bowl's business microblogging profits. Wang Xiaoyan and Zhu Jichang two people do not work from the hands of the Gu Bols to ask for money. The last half a year several times to ask for money Gu Bols did not give. They want to force them to give up their bad habit of playing cards and gambling. I didn't expect the two also met with Yi Yishan secretly, according to the recording, but also talked about how to divide up the joyful technology shares after the death of Gu Bols this matter. Their own health and no disease, no accident, then the live a few decades no problem. If you are accidentally, thinking of this, Gu Bols inwardly roared. You are my own mother ah. The desolation and anger in his heart had reached its limit, and his hands were shivering as he held the photo. The lawyer and the private detective looked at each other, both showing helpless expressions. When looking at the Gu Bol, the eyes are showing pity. Anyone who has been betrayed by the closest relatives, the heart will not feel good. You guys will be a little tired today to rest here. I will arrange for some people to come over tomorrow to meet with you. 
the day after tomorrow to start the action. Gu Bols finished glancing at the four lawyers and the two private detective representatives. Six people nodded to agree to this arrangement. The more this time the more cautious. Gu Bols discussed with the seven people and left with the bodyguards. Did not go home, but around the city, about the police, the court, and other departments with good relations with friends met. Tell these people the phone number of a certain bodyguard. Tomorrow the bodyguard will take them to the meeting place to discuss. More than three hours passed. Gu Bols returned to the villa with the bodyguards. When he got off the car, Gu Bols looked at the bodyguard Captain Zhou Mingxia and said, Captain Zhou, our cooperation is very good. I hope to sign a long-term contract with your team. Zhou Mingxia's smile intensified a lot and said, Our team also hopes to cooperate with Mr. Gu for a long time. The day after tomorrow when things are over, let your company's representative come over. I'll talk to them about signing a long-term escort contract with your squad Gu Bols said, patting Zhou Mingxia's hand and getting out of the car. Escorting Gu Bols into the villa and up the stairs into the bedroom. Zhou Mengxia then went downstairs and summoned the squad members to the car outside to announce the matter. And smiles appeared on everyone's faces. Being able to be employed for a long period of time. Their income was guaranteed. Just when everyone was happy. Zhou Mengxia's face once again with coldness said. This time, Mr. Gu hired us because of what you are all aware of. If anyone eats and steals, don't blame me for turning my back on him and burying him. After listening to Zhou Mengxia's words. Three men and four women seven bodyguards immediately nodded with a serious face. This time Gu Bols hired them for what they are all very clear. And Gu Bols converged the next day. A few people will be home all the vehicles have been checked in detail. Was installed locator things reported to Gu Bols? By the side of the people betrayed what is the feeling are clear. Another, Zhou Mengxia said buried them is not joking. But Zhou Mengxia really will do so. They had heard. Zhou Mengxia personally will betray their husbands and their lovers to bury. Whether it was true or not no one knew. In short, in the entire security company, up to the general manager down to the security personnel, no one dares to mess with Zhou Mengxia this female star. Communicate with the team members before announcing the dissolution. Duty duty, rest rest. The next morning, Gu Bols ate breakfast and took the bodyguards out of the house to the company. Halfway, a bodyguard named Wen Qi got off at the entrance of the rental car company. The vehicle Gu Bols took them and continued toward the company. When she rented a high-class business car and started to pick up the few people Gu Bols had contacted last night, taking them to the Fengxi neighborhood rental house to discuss the course of action. At noon, at cheerful company, Lili entered Gu Bowen's office holding a bouquet of red roses and a high-grade food box, and looked at Gu Bowen and said, President, Mr. Yi has sent flowers and food again. Gu Bols looked at Lili, looked at the flowers and food, thought for a while and said, Let Mr. Yi come over at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Just say that I invited him to have lunch. After saying that and waving her hand, Lili put the things down and left Gu Bowen's office, closing the door smoothly. She didn't see Gu Bowles gritting his teeth as he watched her back. Returning to her workstation, Lili took out her phone and dialed Yi Yishan's number, telling him that Gu Bowles had asked him to have dinner with her tomorrow morning. In the end, she whispered, You're going to make it. On the other side of the phone, Yi Yishan has felt the grievances in the tone of Lili, suppressed the inner joy and comforted Lili with a few good words. By the way, Li Li about the evening to their own apartments. He said to send Li Li a coach bag. In the gift and sweet words of comfort. Finally let Li Li speak not so bloomy. Ended the call. Yi Yishan long exhaled a breath. Everything went well. Gu Bol's willing to eat with himself. Which means that his own performance in this paragraph has an effect. Immediately after Yi Yishan's eyes became ferocious a lot. Gritted his teeth and said you bitch give me weight. When I take control of cheerful technology, the humiliation you gave me I will pay back a hundred times. I will definitely make you spread all over the world. He could never imagine that tomorrow would be the turning day of his life. At one o'clock in the afternoon, when she came back and walked over to Gu Bol's side and whispered for a while, Gu Bol's nodded when she then went to sit aside and rest. More than three o'clock, Gu Bol's arranged the company's things and left the company. Leaving work early, did not let Lili follow. The vehicle left the company after a few streets began to change the route. Did not go home. In the city a few places and some people met before returning home to rest. Time slowly passed. More than 11 o'clock at night, the private detective team to Gu Bol sent over a video. The video, Yi Yishan and Lili rolled bedsheets picture as well as negotiation against the words of Gu Bol is very clear. Yi Yishan has no idea how many miniature cameras and recorders have been installed in his apartment. Today, Yi Yishan will treasure the coach bag to Lili. Lili did not see Yi Yishan heart in the heart of the blood, which is worth more than 200,000 limited collector's edition. See this bag? Lili eyes began to light. Yi Yishan also took the opportunity to pounce on the bed. 1234. The end.
Today finally in the case of no medication more than ever. Lili look at the face of the bag with Yi Ishan said very happy words to meet Yi Ishan that fragile heart. Gu Bols watched the video with a hint of contempt on his face, and gave the private detective a sentence back, to keep as evidence, then turned off the phone and went to sleep. One night passed. Early this morning, Gu Bols ate breakfast did not immediately take the car to the company to work, but returned to the bedroom deliberately dressed carefully. Today is a good day for this group of people to be awarded the head. Not to dress up to celebrate the celebration is really sorry for these people. Everything is ready out of the villa door. Gu Bols glanced at Wen Qi. Wen Qi nodded did not follow the car to leave but stayed in the villa. Instead, he stayed at the villa and watched over Feng Ma and Wang Ma at home, and had to keep them at home until the police arrived. After Gu Bols arrived at the company and entered the office, he began to deal with the company's affairs. And at 10.30, Yi Yishan arrived at Cheerful Technology Company. It was Li Li who went downstairs and brought Yi Yishan up, reporting to Gu Bols and then bringing Yi Yishan, who was holding flowers, into Gu Bols' office. Gu Bols pointed to the sofa aside and said, Wait a minute. I'll go to dinner after I'm done with these documents. After listening to Gu Bols' words, Yi Yishan's smile on his face immediately thickened a lot and said, Xiao Bols, this is the flower for you, and finished approaching Gu Bols. Zhou Mengxia took a step forward to block Yi Yishan's path. Gu Bols saw Yi Yishan's action. Heart is very clear what Yi Yishan wants to do. Face expression did not change. Tone of voice gently said put it on the coffee table over there. Sort of resolved Yi Yishan's embarrassment. Yi Yishan nodded, turned toward the sofa in the leisure area, inserted the flowers into a bottle, sat down and took out his cell phone to look through it, waiting for Gu Bols to finish his work. Time passes slowly. 11 o'clock. A team of police to Gu Bols' home. In the cooperation of Wen Qi, Will Wang Ma, Feng Ma, the two arrested and escorted to the police car, confiscated their communication tools, do not allow them to contact anyone. At 11.10, a team of police arrived at Huanchan Technology and contacted the front desk. The front desk called Gu Bol's Mr. Gu, police officer Zhuo brought some police officers over and said that they have an appointment with you. Gu Bol's heard the words of the front desk clerk, the smile on his face suddenly bright a lot, take a deep breath to suppress the inner ecstasy, said in a calm tone. You take officer Zhuo and they came directly to my office, said hung up the phone. Aside sitting Yi Yishan heard Gu Bol said Zhuo police officer froze for a moment, and so Gu Bol's put down the phone and asked a small bowl, out of what happened? Small things, police officer Zhuo led several police officers over to talk to us cheerful technology to talk about a project. Gu Bol's calmly explained a sentence and did not care, continued to look at the document. Seeing that Gu Bol spoke so lightly and acted so casually, Yi Yishan didn't take it seriously. Gu Bol Hart estimated the time of the elevator up, picked up the side of the phone pressed a few numbers, the phone connected and said Pang manager, you come to my office, there are a few data is not right. Administration department manager Pang Jiusen heard Gu Bol words, no doubt he replied I immediately go over. Heard this sentence Gu Bol put down the phone, Yi Yishan was sitting on the sofa playing with his cell phone, actually paying attention to Gu Bol's every move. Heard Gu Bol's notify Pang manager to come over this sentence did not react. Knowing that the so-called manager Pang was Pang Jiayun, the manager of the administrative department of cheerful technology. At the time of the layout, Yi Yishan did not think of buying Pang Jiayun as an insider. In the formal enterprise internal administrative department manager is a very important position, with various departments have contact, with Wan Xiangcheng and other people to discuss some, eventually gave up the plan to buy Pang Jiayun. Pang Jiayun has been bribed to inform the history of Gu Bol in advance. Gu Bol is very loyal. For this reason alone, Yi Yishan could not take the risk. A few minutes later, Gu Bol office floor elevator door opened. Li Li saw downstairs front desk clerk Qin Yuan Yuan with a team of police out of the elevator was surprised. Stood up and asked a Yuan Yuan. This is, the first time I saw her. I was surprised. Assistantly, officer Zhuo brought all the police officers to look for Mr. Gu, I contacted Mr. Gu, Mr. Gu asked me to bring Mr. Zhuo and all the police officers to the office to see her Qin Yuan Yuan reported truthfully. I see. After Li Li finished dismissing the receptionist Qin Yuan Yuan, she turned to Officer Zhuo and the other officers and said, Officer Zhuo, officers, this way please. After that, she led Officer Zhuo and the other officers towards Gu Bol's office. A sight of the Yi Yishan heard no reaction. Know that the so-called Pang manager is the cheerful technology administration department manager Pang Jiayun. It was not that he hadn't thought of also buying Pang Jiayun as an insider. But he just didn't act on it considering that Pang Jiayun had a history of being bribed to inform Gu Bols in advance. A few minutes later, the elevator door opened. Li Li saw the receptionist with a team of police out of the elevator was surprised Yuan Yuan. This is, assistantly, all the police officers came to see Mr. Gu, 
I contacted Mr. Gu, Mr. Gu asked me to bring all the police officers to the office to see her Qin Yuan Yuan reported truthfully. I see. Lili finished sending away the receptionist Qin Yuan Yuan, turned to the officers and said, Gentlemen, this way please, and then led the officers towards the office of Gu Bol. Walked to the office door when Wen Wen knocked on the door. Gu Bol's voice came come in. Lili pushed open the door with many police officers into the office of Gu Bol's. The office of the people see Lili with a group of people wearing police uniforms came in. All stood up including playing on the side of the cell phone Yishan. Lili walked forward to a place not far from Gu Bol's and said, Mr. Gu, this is Officer Zhua. These police officers want to see you. Gu Bol's left his desk and walked towards Officer Zhua. Zhou Mengxia and another bodyguard immediately came to stand behind Gu Bol's. Gu Bol's shook hands with Officer Zhua, and then pointed to the side of Yi Yishan and said Zhua sir, he is Yi Yishan. When Yi Yishan heard Gu Bol's words, he was stunned. He didn't understand why Gu Bol's said so. And when he wanted to ask, he saw Gu Bols pointing at Li Li and said Officer Zhua, she is Li Li. Zhuo Zhenghai nodded at Gu Bols did not say a wave of the hand. Immediately there are two people came to Yi Shan in front of the bag took out a piece of paper and a pen handed Yi Shan said this is your arrest warrant. Please sign. Yi Shan heard the face changed. Shivering said police, police, officer, you are not mistaken. I did not do illegal things ah. There is no do with us back you know. Now please cooperate with us according to the law to sign the work. If you refuse to sign, is guilty of obstruction. The police looked at Yi Yishan righteously said this sentence. Finished once again the arrest warrant with the pen in front of Yi Yishan. Yi Yishan signed under the pressure of several police watching shivering. On the other hand, Li Li was two policewomen racked also signed the word. After signing the word Li Li towards the bowl of Gu shouted Mr. Gu, you have to help me ah, I did not do anything. The two of them were not able to control their own behavior, but they were able to control their own behavior. Gu Bol looked at the two. Inner control cannot let the eyes flow thick hatred. Aside Zhuo Zhanghai also saw the expression of the Gu Bol. It is clear that the Gu Bol on these people have how much hate. Some evidence officer Zhuo has already seen. These people are really not enough to die. Officer Zhuo turned his head to look at Li Li, who was still shouting, and waved his hand at the officers controlling Yi Shan and Li Li. And two pairs of bright handcuffs were put on the wrists of the two men respectively. Just at this time, the manager of the administration department, Pang Jiayun, came in and saw the scene in front of him with a shocked expression on his face. Manager Pang, immediately notified the security department to block all the company's exits. Go with Officer Zhuo to find a few people. They are involved in some cases Gu Bols looked at Pang Jiayun and calmly gave the order. Okay. Pang Jiayun agreed and immediately took out her phone to call the head of the security department. D. Hang, to inform Gu Bowen of the order. As the head of the security department, how could D. Hang not know that there were quite a few police officers coming to the company at the moment? Immediately stating that he would immediately carry out Gu Bol's order, hanging up the phone and immediately leading people to start setting up. Only then did Gu Bol's walk up to Officer Zhuo Zhanghai and said, Officer Zhuo, I'm sorry for your trouble. Officer Zhuo politely said, Maintaining law and order is our duty. I'm sorry to bother Mr. Gu today. And Gu Bowen politely said a few words before escorting the two people in Pang Jiayun together to leave Gu Bowen's office. After Gu Bol sent a few people into the elevator, a long lost smile appeared on his face. At this moment, the security department had already assembled and started to guard the exits to cooperate with the police in arresting people. The head of the project department, Wan Xiancheng, the deputy director of the marketing department, Li Machen, the deputy director of the design department, Qian Yinyan, as well as 19 employees, and 7 security personnel were all arrested by the police. This time the police came to Cheerful Technology Company to arrest people, so that all the employees of Cheerful Technology Company were scared. All of them did not know what had happened. The usual situation of exchanging words is gone. And the usual situation of touching the fish is gone. One by one, they all worked honestly in their own workstations, thinking about what just happened in their heads. Nandu City, Fortune Jiangnan District, Building No. 4, Household No. 1201, Wang Xiaoyan, Zhuo Jiqiang. The two were also arrested by a team of police, hands with handcuffs escorted into the elevator to go downstairs. And in a short period of time, they were escorted into the police car to take away the second largest shareholder of Cheerful Technology, Granite Capital's representative in Cheerful Technology, Wu Bin, was also taken away by the police at the hotel. Gu Bols after determining that Wu Bin was taken away, and Granite Capital CEO Gao Chang made a phone call. Will be the matter truthfully said again and finally asked this is your Granite Capital set up, or Wu Bin set up? The last question was is this a set up by Granite Capital or by Wu Bin? Gao Chang listened to the head are confused. 
Did not expect Wu Bin will make these things behind their backs? After hearing the Gu Bowl this sentence immediately explained that Mr. Gu, this matter has nothing to do with my granite capital. The first thing you need to do is to get your hands dirty. Hearing Gao Chang's explanation, the corners of Gu Bowl's mouth showed an imperceptible smile, and said to the phone, Mr. Gao, this matter has nothing to do with granite capital. It's not important at this moment. What's important is that I can't trust you after this kind of thing. Send a representative over to discuss the transfer of shares. You don't want Wu Bin's story to spread in the capital circle, right? Gu Bol said these words very calmly. This time he did not only want to clean up Yi Shan's gang, but also to take back the 18% of shares held by Granite Capital. Increase their own shares to prepare for the next step of Huanchang Technology Listing. Without enough controlling shares, Huanchang Technology Listing after their own kicked out is sooner or later things. Mr. Gu, we at Granite Capital are very eager to continue working with Mr. Gu, Wu Bin's matter really has nothing to do with us. Gao Chang began to explain. Cheerful Technology Company had maintained good growth over the past few years, and it was no surprise that it would be able to apply for a listing in three years at most. And once the listing was successful, Cheerful Technology Company's shares would increase in value by dozens of times at a minimum. Gao Chang was very unwilling to quit Cheerful Technology at this time. Mr. Gao. Cheerful Technology Company is not my company alone. We also have many shareholders. The police came to the company to arrest the whole company saw. None of us know the shareholders' eyes which employee. At this moment not only you have a hard time, the follow-up I also have to accept the shareholders' questioning. Wu Bin is your granite capital's person. This matter can only be counted on your head. He not only harmed you, but also harmed me. You know very well how strong the other shareholders are, and you know very well what the consequences are when they fold up. Take advantage of the fact that these shareholders haven't started to make a fuss yet. Let's settle this matter right away. And with my cooperation, the reputation about your granite capital can still be covered up for a while or two inch. If you don't make a decision, a few days later, your granite capital will not be a matter of simply selling your shares and exiting. Gu Bols began to put pressure on Gao Chang. If this matter spreads out the first responsible person is Gao Chang. At the moment the pressure on Gao Chang is even greater than himself. The two talked on the phone for about 20 minutes before the end of the Granite Capital CEO Gao Chang made the decision to send a special person to come over tomorrow to negotiate with Gubol to deal with the matter of the shares to withdraw from the cheerful technology company. After hanging up the phone, Gao Chang copied the water cup on the table and slammed it down with a pop sound. The cup was shattered. Cheerful technology company this matter Gubol is indeed difficult to suppress. The police into the company arrested nearly 20 people. This matter was too many people see. This time by Wu in this stupid pit miserable. When they should not look at the share of classmates will be this scourge recruited in. Gao Chang in the office to Vensum sat down and began to think of countermeasures. At this moment must find a way to quickly solve this matter. If the operation is not good they will also be the company to pursue responsibility. Must first at all costs to save their own to-do. More than 30 minutes later. South Metropolis. Cheerful Technology Work Group Gubol spoke. These people betrayed the interests of the company. Waiting for them will be severely punished by the law. They will repent their sins in prison after the legal judgment. I hope all employees will take this as a warning. After reading Gu Bol's speech, all the employees of Cheerful Technology realized what was going on. While the smart people fought more, these people saw with their own eyes that those people were caught with a confused expression, thinking that selling the company's interests is very secretive. But do not know that the company has been investigating you. There is not enough evidence that the police will not go to the door to start the arrest. Thinking back to here, the smart people one by one are a shiver have figured out that these people were arrested when they are not clear about what is going on. Mr. Gu's wrist is really ruthless. One by one, the awe of Gu Bol rose a few more levels inwardly. South City. Afternoon. Six o'clock. A nanny car drove into Su Huan Manor in the eastern part of South Metropolis. And after the vehicle stopped in the parking lot, a stunning beauty stepped down from the car. Shoulder-length hair, bright eyes and teeth, body posture as delicate as a willow fluttering lightly, face as fine carved porcelain so beautiful that people cannot move their eyes. Under a pair of sword eyebrows, is a pair of eyes like stars, flooded with charming light. The red lips were tightly closed, dignified and elegant, and a slight smile was enough to make people mesmerized. Zhou Xinyun, currently rising momentum is very strong star. The last two years starred in a number of TV dramas have caused a sensation. If the end of this year Cheung Hua Award won the best actress, is a resounding queen of the eyes. Can have today's achievements and Zhou Xinyun efforts are inseparable from the relationship, more inseparable from the father Zhou Hao's help. Zhou Hao is one of the five major entertainment companies in Xia, Star Entertainment CEO and shareholders. His daughter is the Xia Longting College of Acting graduated from the class. Zhou Xinyun since her freshman year of college, 
From time to time in some of the theater group cameo to sharpen the acting skills, the directors are aware of Zhou Xinyun's identity. No one dares to play a small action. From the dragon set that only showed a few faces, to the female six, slowly the female five, female four, female three, female two, until the female one. Acting online in the case of resources invested in a cup, Zhou Xinyun immediately got everyone's recognition. Everything is a matter of course. Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun is the same alumni. One is the department of directing and one is the department of acting. The exchange is very frequent. At the beginning of Zhou Xinyun is only with Su Huan chatting with ordinary friends. Contact more found Su Huan is very sunny and cheerful and helpful, and slowly produced a love affair. Unfortunately, when Zhou Xinyun see clearly his heart like Su Huan, Su Huan and Gu Bol in the talk. At that time, Su Huan's emotional intelligence was very low, completely unaware that Gu Bol's and Zhou Xinyun had fought many times in the open, secretly breaking their wrists many times. Gu Bol and Zhou Xinyun a few years older, coupled with Gu Bol has stepped into the society has a certain experience. Scheming means is not Zhou Xinyun comparable and ultimately can only be sad to leave the scene. Suppressing the inner feelings, Zhou Xinyun began to put all the energy to improve the acting skills as well as work. These years achieved dazzling results. Some time ago in the alumni group no Su Huan and Gu Bol's divorced, Zhou Xinyun immediately moved. So many years have passed, Zhou Xinyun has never forgotten Su Huan. Unfortunately, after becoming a star, there was too much work on her body, so she could only hurry to catch up with her work, and at the same time, she let her agent. Sister Hong, temporarily reduced the activities of the year before. The reason was that she was too tired and had to take a good rest. Sister Hong also took into account that in recent months, Zhou Xinyun's various notices are too intensive. The sky south and north everywhere to catch the plane flying around must be tired. Began to intentionally reduce Zhou Xinyun's workload. She didn't even know that Zhou Xinyun was there to meet with Su Huan in the southern city. Zhou Xinyun team secretly arrived in the southern city yesterday. After checking into the hotel, Zhou Xinyun called Sister Hong to his room to talk about things alone when the showdown. After the first event tomorrow, he was going to visit a friend. Sister Hong, as a veteran of many years in the broker's circle, judged from Zhou Xinyun's evasive behavior that the friend Zhou Xinyun was going to see was a man, immediately realized that Zhou Xinyun thinking is not right, immediately began to persuade Zhou Xinyun do not fool. Now as Zhou Xinyun career development is rapid stage, is not suitable for gossip, gossip will only pull down Zhou Xinyun's value. Sister Hong said Zhou Xinyun did not listen to what she said, determined to visit a friend. After persuasion, Sister Hong had no choice but to communicate with Zhou Xinyun again, so that Zhou Xinyun promised to drive along with him. If Zhou Xinyun did not agree, do not want to go out. Thinking about it again and again, Zhou Xinyun could only agree. And today to Su Huan's side was Sister Hong driving with Zhou Xinyun. Almost to the east of the city, Zhou Xinyun in the car to remove sunglasses, masks, out of their own small bag within a variety of cosmetics began to dress themselves. Sister Hong saw from the rear mirror, the upcoming see this person even more curious. Followed Zhou Xinyun a few years, or the first time to see Zhou Xinyun go to see a man before so nervous dress. After the car entered the manor gate, red sister in her more than one evaluation. This man is not simple. So big a manor in the southern city without 80 million cannot get down. This kind of mountain and water, with lawn, forest, garden. This kind of manor is too rare. Other not counting, just a variety of annual facilities maintenance fees will not be less than 200,000. If you count other expenses, the annual cost is absolutely amazing. Ordinary rich people can never afford this kind of expenses. Only those who are rich and wealthy, inwardly curious. When did Xin Yun know this kind of high quality men? The vehicle parked in the parking lot, Sister Hong immediately saw the young man standing and waiting on the side. Inch head, distinctive features, like the masterpiece of a master sculptor. The eyes were deep and bright, like radiant stars, mesmerizing people and unable to extricate themselves. The nose was high and straight, giving off a handsome and confident air, wearing an undershirt on his body. You can see a solid muscle. The lower half of his body is a pair of casual big pants, and his feet are wearing a pair of sneakers. The whole person gave off a feeling of sunshine, cleanliness, purity and strength. After surveying Su Wan, Sister Hong's heart immediately gave birth to the thought that it would be a waste for such a handsome man not to enter the entertainment industry. Casually packaged debut, absolutely can let those girls, young women, for which the crazy scream, just thinking about when Zhou Xinyun got off the car. In front of the sunshine youth also walked over, heard Zhou Xinyun said old classmates, have not seen for several years, do not come to be well. Indeed, we have not seen for several years. Su Huan finished wanting to shake hands with Zhou Xinyun which no Zhou Xinyun directly to a hug. Su Huan also hugged Zhou Xinyun, 
gently patted Zhou Xingyun's back a few times, this time Sister Hong also got off. After the two separated, Zhou Xingyun looked at Su Huan and said, Living in such a beautiful manner, it looks like you've had a good life these past few years. Average. This side please Su Huan said with a smile, leading Zhou Xingyun towards the villa. Sister Hong just wanted to follow the two of them. Du Xueqing immediately stopped her and said politely hello, I am the housekeeper here, please rest over here. Hearing these words, Sister Hong frowned, when was she ever treated like this, and just wanted to say something when she saw Zhou Xingyun turned his head and looked away, from Zhou Xingyun's eyes to see what Zhou Xingyun meant, helplessly skimmed her mouth and nodded, following Du Xueqing away. Su Huan also saw it and asked, is it your friend? If you don't mind, please ask her to sit with you. Zhou Xinyun did not want anyone to disturb her time alone with Su Huan, turned her head and smiled, said nothing and walked forward. Su Huan could only follow along. When he came to the living room and sat down, an old mom immediately brought over tea, and Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun began to chat about their respective lives in the past few years. Talking and laughing is very relaxed. Zhou Xinyun is also very happy. This is from the heart of the happy laughter. As a star although every day to maintain a smile, but those smiles are the standard type of smile. Rarely do they smile because they are happy from the bottom of their hearts. Glanced at Su Huan, Hart thought for a moment and asked, Divorce next what plans? Nothing much. These years have been very tired. There are more than three months after the new year. Just at home and good fitness will be good health. Then go to get together with the boss a few of them. And then go on vacation to relax relax. Adjust over and then consider other things. Su Huan calmly said. Zhou Xinyan looked at Su Huan Hart welled up a feeling of heartache. Can let Su Huan say these years is very tired this sentence. It can be imagined that Gu Bol this bitch did not take care of Su Huan. Zhou Xinyun eyes with a smile and asked again. You are now single. Do not intend to talk about another? Su Huan heard with a hint of bitterness on his face shook his head and said I'm a divorced secondhand man. There is no idea of starting a new relationship in the short term. Everything will be as it should be. Do not talk about me. I often see you on TV as well as the news. You are now one of the six little flower girl. If you win the Cheong Hua award this year. You'll be the queen of the television. How are you thinking about your life? Su Huan digressed and shifted the topic to Zhou Xinyun, who just wanted to answer, but immediately shut up when she saw Du Xueqing walking over. Du Xueqing came to Su Huan's side and bent her body and said in a low voice, Just now, the doorman called. Gu Bols drove to the door. Who is Gu Bols? Du Xueqing is very clear. This period of time with Su Huan get along very well. Also from Su Huan mouth know a lot of news. More importantly, Li Mingfeng Li Barrister said to Du Xueqing, Gu Bol's this woman character is not good. Zhou Xinyun, who was sitting next to her, heard that Gu Bol's drove over and immediately guessed that Gu Bol's mind was definitely not dead set on continuing to pester Su Huan. Immediately turned her head to look at Su Huan, wanting to see what Su Huan's opinion. Su Huan raised his eyebrows and a displeased expression appeared on his face. Seeing this, Zhou Xinyun's heart felt a lot of pain. Su Huan already disliked Gu Bol's. Just at this time, Su Huan tone a little impatient said, let her come in. Hearing this sentence, Zhou Xinyun is very helpless to look at Su Huan. This cargo is still the same as before. Su Huan still do not understand the direct rejection of the woman. Always thinking of not letting the woman come down to the stage to appear awkward. If at the beginning of their own see through Su Huan this nature, say would also want a first Gu Bol step to take Su Huan first time. Unfortunately, unfortunately ah, Zhou Xinyun heart has a little upset. With an inexplicable smile on his face with an unimpressed posture said, You do not want to get back together with his ex-wife or I avoid it. Su Huan heard a smile slowly shook his head and said, I remember when your relationship is also good. We are alumni acquaintances there is no need to avoid. After listening to the words of Su Huan, Zhou Xinyun smiled and did not speak, but inwardly said, you a would. I have a good relationship with her fart. I cannot wait for her to disappear permanently. Okay. However, now I'm not the same as I was back then. The hatred of the husband should be counted properly with her. While the two were chatting and drinking tea, Du Xueqing had accompanied Gu Bols into the villa, and Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun stood up. Regardless of the relationship, there was always a need to save face. Gu Bols had been tormented for some time, and as soon as he returned home, an indescribable feeling of loneliness immediately appeared in his heart, and for some time now, had rested within the room where he had been happy with Su Huan last time. Here, one can still feel a little bit of Su Huan's residual breath. I want to see Su Huan but I don't know where Su Huan lives. That day when Su Huan left he didn't leave any contact information for Gu Bol. Su Huan to live in the city for a long time. Certainly to buy housing. Gu Bol's responsible for the real estate registration of friends called. Hoping that friends can help to check Su Huan has not purchased a house. If purchased, the house address in the informed himself. Yesterday received a call from a friend. 
Su Huan in the southern city to buy real estate, not a neighborhood house, not a villa area villa, but the east side of the city of a set of more than 80 million worth of manor. After determining with friends again and again this is full of shocked expression ended the call, sitting in the office chair full of unbelievable expression. Divorce property division to Su Huan 20 million. Even if Su Huan a few years of their own savings, 10 million top day. Where did he get more than 80 million dollars to buy the manor? Must ask clearly, Su Huan where the money to buy manor. Gubols is not jealous, but knows that some money sent to you in front of you cannot touch. Touch it may cause endless trouble. In Gu Bol's heart, Su Huan is a long time not much with outsiders to communicate with the introverted people. Not much with the outside world to communicate with the outside world but violently purchased beyond their own economic strength of the industry. This had to make people suspicious. Last night, Gu Bols was still thinking about this matter and couldn't sleep after tossing and turning thinking about it. So he couldn't help himself and drove over today. After Gu Bols followed Du Xu etching into the villa, he saw Su Huan and Zhou Xingyan standing beside Su Huan at a glance, and his eyes narrowed again as he looked at the two of them. When he got out of the car, he narrowed his eyes when he saw Du Xu etching for the first time, and he knew very well how much Du Xu etching's kind of woman tempted men. Even if he heard Du Xu etching introduce herself as a housekeeper, Gu Bol's face was nothing, but inwardly there was no sense of ease. He didn't expect to see Zhou Xingyun just after entering the villa. Zhou Xingyun's threat level is not comparable to Du Xu Etching's. Gu Bols is very clear about Zhou Xingyun's mind towards Su Huan, and he had to go through a lot of effort to squeeze Zhou Xingyun out. At the moment, Zhou Xingyun is already a household name, a big star, the temptation to grow a lot more than when in the university period. So when you look at Zhou Xingyun heart alarm bells ringing, Zhou Xingyun similarly looked at Gu Bol. The two women just looked at each other, each knowing the other's mind. The eyes of the two seemed to be out of a laser shot at each other. In the halfway collision erupted brilliant sparks, both sides are riveted to look at each other, who are not willing to be in the momentum of the other side of a head. Su Huan from the eyes of the two saw a trace of killing, cannot be so continue to dive, looked at the bowl of Gu calmly said, this is Zhou Xingyun, you should be a few years have not seen, everyone sit down and chat. Hearing Su Huan's words, Gu Bols took a deep breath and a smile reappeared on his face and said, it's true that we haven't seen each other for years, I really didn't expect to see a big star here just shocked a little out of shape, forgive me, after saying this, he walked towards the sofa and sat on the other side looking at Zhou Xingyun, Su Huan made a pleased movement towards Zhou Xingyun, and the two also sat down successively, Zhou Xingyun eyes a turn, a smiling face looking at the Gu Bol said Gu said so on the outside gas, I and Huan brother is an old friend, this time to the southern city to attend an activity, heard that brother Huan is not doing well, come over to visit brother Huan is also the rightful sense, the meaning of the words is very simple, Brother Huan is mine. I will not let go this time. Hearing Zhou Xingyun's words, Gu Bol's heart's anger immediately rose. Just wanted to speak when Su Huan spoke. What is the matter with you coming here at this time? Gu Bol's turned his head to look at Su Huan. Gu Bol's turned his head to look at Su Huan and said, I'm fine. Can I come? Su Huan said, Can I come if I have nothing to do? Su Huan listened to a raised eyebrow did not say. See Su Huan frowned. As many years of pillow people, Gu Bol is very clear Su Huan frowned on behalf of what? Heart dark, he divorced Su Huan, has lost the right to question Su Huan justifiably, a deep breath to suppress the inner fire to stabilize the mood, said in a gentle tone of voice, I haven't seen you for a while, so I came to see you, I just want to see you quickly, did not eat and ran to the, after saying this, he looked at Su Huan with a pitiful expression, Su Huan's face didn't change much, but Zhou Xinyun saw Gu Bol saying this with a pitiful expression and despised Gu Bol's with her eyes, Gu Bol's didn't care at all after seeing Zhou Xinyun's eyes, Auntie's battle with you has already begun. If I can win you once, I can win you twice. Su Huan is mine. No one can take it away. After listening to Gu Bol's words, just when Su Huan wanted to speak, Zhou Xinyun followed and said, Brother Huan, I rushed over here after the event and didn't bother to eat. Can I eat here? After saying that, her big eyes were full of affection and she looked at Su Huan. What can Su Huan do? It's this time of the day. Can't let the guests eat. Turned his head to look at Du Xu etching. Du Xu Etching immediately understood the meaning of Su Huan, nodded to indicate that more than two people eat no problem. Su Huan received the signal and stood up and said, I welcome you to come over to eat, this side please and then made a gesture of invitation. The two women also followed the stand up, followed Su Huan forward, the two very secretive look at each other a few times, from each other's eyes to see within the meaning of Su Huan imperative. Du Xu Etching gave Su Huan a signal and then went ahead to make arrangements, and when Su Huan's trio arrived at the restaurant, Three pairs of bowls and chopsticks had already been set up, and several kinds of exquisite small dishes, porridge, buns, and so on had already been served up. 
I didn't know you guys were coming over today. I hope you'll forgive me for the poor hospitality Su Huan politely greeted the two women as they ate, without waiting for Gu Bol to speak. Zhou Xinyun spoke first it's been a long time since I had a home-cooked meal. I'll be staying in Nandu for a few more days, so can I come over to Brother Huan's side to dine with him? Su Huan said with a smile on his face as long as you don't mind, you are welcome at any time. Zhou Xinyun with a satisfied smile nodded and began to eat. Gu Bol at the moment already hate to tarry Zhou Xinyun, in front of the face of the mother prying corner. You give me weight. After a mouthful of porridge, Gu Bol snapped a smile and looked at Zhou Xinyun and said, Xinyun, you are now a big star. Once the paparazzi stared at you to Su Huan this side of the report out, the impact on your future will be great, and the impact on Su Huan's peaceful life will also be great. You have to be careful. Don't bring disaster to Su Huan. Zhou Xinyun listened to the smile on his face did not diminish, with chopsticks to eat a mouthful of food said as long as not shameless betrayal. The paparazzi cannot find me. Besides, Huan's side of the manor, all around the surveillance, no matter what happens here, the paparazzi cannot see or hear, if the paparazzi sneak into the manor, that's trespassing, according to the law of Dashya, trespassing is a felony, and even if the owner of the house kills him, it's still a case of self-defense, sister Gubol you can rest assured that brother Huan's peaceful life will not be disturbed, after hearing Zhou Xinyun's words Gu Wan raised her eyebrows, how could she not hear the meaning of Zhou Xinyun's words and looked at Zhou Xinyun with a raised eyebrow? Years of not seeing Zhou Xinyun had grown so much, the two looked at each other, the eyes as if scurrying out of countless weapons to kill each other. Countless weapons in the halfway meet began to spell out. Soon, both stopped looking at each other and did not speak, picking up their bowls and continuing to eat. Their minds began to calculate how to drive away this competitor. The restaurant was violently quiet. Gu Bol thought more. At the moment only ran over a Zhou Xinyun, the future MO baby, Su Ran Ran, Yu Hongdo, will they also run over? Thinking of this glanced at Su Huan, you are heartless, you know how I was in order to be with you in order to pass the five passes and six generals? Soon, Gu Bol's heart ached, with Su Huan to this point today, purely because of their own death caused, this and blame who, if she hadn't divorced Su Huan, she could have told Zhou Xinyan to get lost as the mistress of the house, no, one can't just admit defeat like that, Gu Bol secretly cheered himself up in his heart, you can do it, you can definitely snatch Su Huan back again, Su Huan was eating, how could he not see the two women's exchange of words? Before crossing over as a big director who has been crossing over the entertainment circle for many years, he knows very well that when facing this kind of cultivated field, it is better for him not to speak, lowering his head to eat quickly. He didn't notice the eyes of the two women falling on him from time to time. Su Huan's meal size had grown a lot recently, and when the two girls saw Su Huan start to drink the third bowl of porridge, a surprised expression appeared on their faces. Just now, Su Huan had eaten two big meat buns. Was Su Huan so able to eat? Soon, Su Huan third bowl of kanji third big meat bun eaten, and over the side put on the medicinal diet to drink. Gu Bols put down the chopsticks and couldn't help but ask, when did you have such a big appetite? Su Huan heard Gu Bol's words, face expression unchanged, opened his mouth to ask a rhetorical question when was the last time you saw me eat? Gu Bols immediately lowered his head and said nothing. In his head, he remembered that the last time he saw Su Huan eat was 10 months ago, and the guilt in his heart immediately surged up. Zhou Xinyun, who was by the side of the table, was keenly aware of Gu Bol's reaction, and in her heart she secretly shouted very good, you don't cherish brother Huan I'll do it. This time, no matter how much it costs, I will also take Huan away. The gloomy Gu Bols raised his head to see Su Huan drinking soup and opened his mouth without saying anything, and after seeing Zhou Xinyun looking at Su Huan's eyes, the expression on his face immediately changed. It reverted back to a gentle face. Zhou Xinyun's eyes let Gu Bols wake up. This moment is not compared to the past. In front of the eyes there is Zhou Xinyun this a formidable enemy, or a formidable enemy with strong acting skills online. He must not be careless. Seeing that the two women have finished eating without the intention of eating again, Su Huan also accelerated the speed of the soup, and soon finished inviting the two women to the living room to drink tea. When the three of them came to the living room, Du Xueqing came over with a pot of tea, the original tea and cups had already been taken away. Putting down the tea and cups, Du Xueqing nodded to Su Huan and left, not disturbing the trio's conversation. She could already tell that Su Huan's ex-wife still had thoughts about Su Huan, and the big star Zhou Xinyun who came over today also had thoughts about Su Huan, being able to be missed by his ex-wife and other women. It shows that the character of Su Huan's employer is absolutely first class. Thinking about what Mr. Li Mingfeng said about Gu Bols, Du Xueqing did not want Su Huan to get involved with Gu Bols again, thinking that Gu Bols are not worthy of Su Huan. The three of them chatted for a while in the living room. Su Huan wanted to end this chat immediately, 
but neither of the two women had the intention to end it. Time passed little by little. In the blink of an eye to almost 10 o'clock in the evening, Zhou Xinyun's cell phone rang a little, picked it up and looked at it with Sister Han's reminder. Brother Huan, it's getting late, so I'll say goodbye, he said and stood up. Su Huan also followed stood up and said with a smile old classmates, today's hospitality is not weak I hope to forgive you, some other day you come over I must be well entertained. Zhou Xinyun laughed after hearing this, and looked at Su Huan and said, this is what you said, don't wait for me to come over, you don't recognize, how dare I, you have so many fans, if they know that I've slowed you down, a mouthful of spittle from one of them would drown me. Su Huan smiled and made a joke. Zhou Xinyun glanced at Su Huan with a full smile on her face. A moment of flavor made Su Huan froze for a moment before she sent Zhou Xinyun out the door. The goo bowls on the side also followed and stood up. Seeing Zhou Xinyun winking at Su Huan and playing temptation, she couldn't wait to strangle Zhou Xinyun this vixen immediately. Dare to make eyes at my husband in front of me. You wait for me. In my heart, I can't wait to tear and eat Zhou Xinyun. But on my face, I kept a smile and said, It's late. I'm going to go over there. So you should rest earlier. Su Huan turned his head and said, Good, you also have an early night. Gu Bols gave Su Huan a sad look after hearing this, and only after seeing that Su Huan did not react did she regain her composure and walk out with Zhou Xinyun. Parking lot side, Red Sister has been waiting in front of the car. See Zhou Xinyun received their own signal immediately out of the heart is still very used. Su Huan originally thought to shake hands with Zhou Xinyun to send the car well, which no Zhou Xinyun suddenly turned around and opened his arms obviously to a separate embrace. If he did not react to Zhou Xinyun would not be able to get down. Took a step forward and Zhou Xinyun embraced. The sight of Gu Bol's look at the teeth itchy. Just when Gu Bol's hated Zhou Xinyun, Zhou Xinyun eyes with a wry gaze also looked at her. The two people stared at each other. Zhou Xinyun violently with his mouth and Su Huan cheek slapdash a touch apart. Su Huan looked at Zhou Xinyun with a face full of shock. Zhou Xinyun also did not explain immediately drilled into the car. Hands covering his face. Bitch. You really don't have any face at all. Gu Bol in the heart cursed Zhou Xinyun, followed by eyes angrily looking at Su Huan face full of irritation. She kissed you do not know to hide it. At this moment, Gu Bol's heart of anger and resentment really cannot control. Knowing that Zhou Xinyun in order to gas himself suddenly attacked Su Huan, the heart of this breath held really cannot swallow. Gu Bol teeth by creaking straight look at Su Huan glance, not waiting for Su Huan reaction to open the door into the car. Start the vehicle began to reverse. The sound of the vehicle starting woke up the stunned Su Huan and immediately stepped aside, looking at Zhou Xinyun and Gu Bol's car left separately, watching the vehicle leave until it could not be seen. Su Huan slowly shook his head and turned around to return to the villa. The road is silent. Zhou Xinyun and Sister Hong has secretly returned to the hotel with the staff and bodyguards to meet. To see the two safely back to the crowd also feel at ease. Sister Hong did not go to her own room, but directly into Zhou Xinyun's room. Zhou Xinyun knew that Sister Hong definitely want to ask, to the water fountain side received two cups of water back to the sofa to sit down. Sister Hong also followed and sat down, glanced at Zhou Xinyun and said, Are you and he just old classmates? More than that, I have a crush on him he does not know. In the university period, I was with his ex-wife Guan for the fight for him to fight hard a few times. He is a log, typical of other aspects of the genius, emotional retardation idiot childish. When she said here, Zhou Xinyun also hated Su Huan, hating Su Huan for being an unenlightened log. Sister Hong is dad arranged to their own gold medal agent. So many years of cooperation down the two feelings are very deep. The red sister is very trustworthy. Zhou Xinyun did not hide. One by one. Will be their own college days crush Su Huan Che Su Huan things are told. Including the things with the Gu Bol exchange also did not hide. After listening to Zhou Xinyun. Sister Hong asked curiously how talented is he? Is he really an orphan? Sister Hong didn't believe that Su Huan was an orphan. In today's society you didn't have family support wanting to live in a manner of this level by the mountains a few years after graduating from university was purely a pipe dream. Even if you are a genius, you cannot do this. These words also opened up Zhou Xinyun's box of words and began to explain how excellent Su Huan was during his university days. Talking about how Su Huan was the starting point orphanage origin thing. The song Lovers is his original. Sister Hong said incredulously. Zhou Xinyun said with a disinterested face yes. Not only the song Lovers. But also Chao Liang Ren's masterpiece, Joyful Tonight, was also bought from him. We're still paying the royalties. This is because Gu Bol's bitch can't sing. If she could, this would would have written many classic songs for her. It's easy to make her the queen of songs. After hearing these words, Sister Hong's shocked expression on her face became even more intense. Joyful Tonight, this song is very clear about what position it has in the summer singing world. It was a song that would be sung every year at the Spring Festival Gala of the Xia Empire television station. 
Sister Hong did not say anything and continued to listen to Zhou Xinyan recounting about Su Huan, the shocked expression on her face appearing more and more often. During his time at the university, Su Huan had achieved dazzling results in history, literature, music, directing, finance, computers, and foreign languages. In foreign languages, Su Huan was proficient in summer, English, Russian, Spanish, French, R, six languages, and six countries to communicate with people face to face without any obstacles. In terms of literature and poetry, a modern poem, To Youth, was officially recognized as being included in the middle school textbooks. In terms of history, from many history books, it was found out that the Xia dynasty had a big crisis more than a thousand years ago, a big crisis that was enough to subvert the Xia kingdom, solved a great mystery in the history of the great Xia state. Relying on this thesis, he was awarded a full scholarship for that year and won the Historian's Award, Misty Award, which was recognized by many historians. As for directing, the short play, respectively, won the gold medal of the National College Student Short Play of that year. In terms of computers, in his junior year, he sold a set of firewall programs to the Beaver Group, an enterprise with a current market value of trillions, for $10 million. After talking to Gubol, not to mention being considerate to Gubol, but also consciously keep a distance from other women, after listening to Zhou Xinyun's introduction, Sister Hong thought to herself, M, how come I couldn't meet this kind of man back then? If my mother met this kind of genius and infatuation man back then, my mother said what also want to snatch it to hand, even if it is a piece of wood, I will also grind it into a needle. At this moment, Sister Hong fully understands why Zhou Xinyan can't get enough of Su Huan and acted as soon as she heard the news of Su Huan's divorce. This kind of man deserves this. Sister Hong asked, is that woman tonight Gubal? It's this bitch. She's divorced Huan and still comes over to pester Huan. Do you know? Brother Huan told me that he was very tired all these years. She tricked Brother Huan into getting her hands on her and didn't cherish it. When I heard Brother Huan's words that he was very tired I couldn't wait to tear this bitch apart. Zhou Xian Yun gritted her teeth and started to scold Gu Bols. If Gu Bols appeared in front of her at this moment, Zhou Xian Yun would definitely make a move on Gu Bols. Calm down. Calm down. Sister Hong began to persuade Zhou Xinyun. Hearing Sister Hong's persuasion, Zhou Xinyun began to take deep breaths to calm himself down for a while. Seeing that Zhou Xinyun had calmed down, Sister Hong thought for a while and said Xinyun, I support you. However, if you want to take him down, it's difficult at this stage. Why? Zhou Xinyun's voice was much louder. Looking at Sister Hong with a defiant look on her face, Sister Hong said calmly, He told you he's tired. Whenever a man says he's tired, it's usually not his body that's tired, but his heart. Something must have happened between him and Gu Bols. He said he's going to stay home and work out before the year is out. I analyze this as true. It takes time for a man to adjust himself at a certain time. You can come over to accompany him. This frequency should never be too frequent. What he needs most at this stage is to be alone. Sister Hong is very patient to say their own analysis. Zhou Xinyan listening to slowly nodding. A good while time to ask violently if he is on the Gu Bol remaining love how to do. Sister Hong smiled after listening and shook her head and said, A woman if you let a man tired of her heart, especially after the divorce, 100% will not get back together with it. Even if the follow-up two people rolled sheets many times, will not get back together. This is the man. They don't make up their minds easily, but once they do, they can't get it back. I'm sure of that. Zhou Xinyan after listening to these mood a lot better, just nodded immediately said with a face of displeasure why do they still have to roll sheets? My figure and appearance which is not as good as the Gubal this bitch, said immediately realized that a little said a little out of tune. Their own a yellow flower big girl has not experienced men and women things. How so grandiose to say this sentence? Sister Hong after hearing Zhou Xinyan full of resentment words is a smile. Very understanding of Zhou Xinyan mood at the moment. Said with a smile, you have said that he has a low IQ. Do not know how to pull down the face of the refusal of a woman. That Gu Bol at a glance is not a simple woman. If she plays some means to roll with Su Huan she is normal. However, this does not mean that Su Huan will remarry with him. You can't be with him every day. He's only 21 years old at the moment. It's just the age of blood and vigor. Which aspect of the demand is strong at the time? If you mind this, I think it's better for you to give up. Zhou Xinyun after listening to Sister Hong's analysis of the face of a thoughtful expression. Soon, the face of the expression became resolute and said he has been with the Gu Bol together for several years. More than a few times less than a few times is nothing, I can accept. After saying that, immediately frowned again and said Red Sister. Listening to your analysis I feel that I now need to worry about is not Gu Bol's, but other people. M.O. Baby, Su Ran Ran, Yu Hongdo, none of them are married or have a boyfriend. When Su Huan said he was divorced in the group, these guys all popped up. Their bodies and looks are not much less than mine. 
and their current achievements are not less than mine. I'm worried that they will also run to South Metropolis. Sister Hong listened to a stare, began to think about this matter, thinking about it and asked violently, Yu Hongdo is not the one in the Yu family over there in Xiangjiang. Zhou Xinyan nodded with a grave expression on his face, signaling that the Red Sister's guess was not false. Yu Hongdo, the little princess of the Yu family in Xiangjiang. The Yu family is the old family in Xiangjiang. The old family, the old famous family. Every year to be professional financial and financial media reported several times. The family's wealth exceeds $1 trillion. Yu family head Yu Ming Sheng has four children, three boys and a girl. The youngest girl is Yu Hongdo. Yu Hongdo is highly favored by her parents and brothers at home. And many years ago Yu Ming Sheng, the head of the Yu family, let out a word that he would not interfere in the marriage of his youngest daughter. Yu Hongdo, all kinds of heroes regardless of what kind of origin, as long as the body does not have illegal, breach of trust, playboy, and other bad deeds, as long as you can make Yu Hongdo satisfied, the Yu family will never interfere. Sister Hong immediately frowned when she heard Zhou Xinyun's affirmative reply. This matter is difficult to do. Don't look at this moment Zhou Xinyun is a big star. The status and position simply can't be compared to Yu Hongdo this little princess. Seriously pondered some. Looked up at Zhou Xinyun said with deep meaning Xinyun, after a period of time when you go to see him, find a way to know when he went on vacation. I will then adjust your schedule in advance. Seeing Sister Hong's eyes and then hearing these words, Zhou Xinyun immediately understood what Sister Hong meant. With a red face, she nodded and acquiesced. Don't be discouraged. You're a household name and a big star. The dream goddess of hundreds of millions of men in the great summer country. Bring out your acting skills. Your odds of winning are not low. To the extent that Su Huan is like this, what he looks at is definitely the girl's self-cultivation and will never care about her family history. Sister Hong encouraged Zhou Xinyun, a man who was so good and infatuated was worthy of Zhou Xinyun. In today's society, infatuated men were really a rare breed. Zhou Xinyun was facing a lot of strong opponents, and at this moment, she also had to cheer Zhou Xinyun up, so that Zhou Xinyun could maintain this essence in order to achieve the ultimate victory. After listening to Sister Hong's words, Zhou Xinyun nodded seriously, digressing and starting to chat with Sister Hong about the arrangements for the next few days. On the other hand, Gu Bols drove back home with a gloomy expression on his face, and Zhou Munxia's few bodyguards could roughly guess what had happened when they saw Gu Bols' face look bad. Needless to say, something unpleasant had happened when Gu Bols went to her ex-husband. At this moment, everyone already knew what had happened between Gu Bols and her ex-husband, and understood Gu Bols as well as Su Huan. Gu Bols had done something that no man could accept. Even if they hadn't rolled in bed, it would be hard to be forgiven. Zhou Mengxiao waved her hand, and the crowd nodded their heads, leaving the others on duty to rest. It was better not to irritate Gu Bol at this moment. Xiang Jiang, Hong Yun Bei, Rose Manor, Yu Hongdo's residence. Yu Hongdo, a beauty whose figure and appearance were not inferior to Zhou Xinyun's, was currently lying in the bedroom looking at the laptop screen. On the screen was an email. The content was Su Huan's information in the southern city. Today Su Huan had met someone. Went to do something, all have a clear record. Yu Hongdo is not dead to Su Huan. Even if Su Huan is married, Yu Hongdo has not put down Su Huan in her heart. When Gu Bol said to Yu Hongdo, we do not rely on any external power to chase Su Huan. If you are not confident in their own charm, you can borrow the power of the family. It is this sentence angered Yu Hongdo. Did not rely on the power of the family just rely on their own to start chasing Su Huan. Was pampered and grew up in the little princess how to know Gu Bo in this sentence how much heart giving up their own advantages to chase Su Huan. The results can be imagined. Bound hands and feet of the Yu Hongdo a defeat. When Yu Hongdo realized that it was already too late, Su Huan has been pulled by Gu Bols to go to the Civil Affairs Bureau to receive a marriage license. Gu Bols back Su Huan brightly to Yu Hongdo and other people to send a message. Stay away from my husband in the future. Also showed his own marriage certificate with Su Huan. So Yu Hongdo and others howling heartbroken. As soon as she graduated from university, Yu Hongdo left the heartbreaking place to return to Xiangjiang, and began to enter the family business above, paralyzing herself with work. Not long ago one night boredom look at the alumni group, surprisingly see the group in the discussion of Su Huan said their own divorce. Shocked will be the alumni group chat content on the front of the upturn to reread it again. After reading it, I realized why Su Huan sent this message. Yu Hongdo's heart was on fire at that time, very much want to immediately go to the southern city to see Su Huan. But unfortunately, at the moment, they are responsible for things cannot go. In addition to their own birthday is coming. Home parents as well as brothers are busy to give themselves a grand birthday. This time to leave a little rude. Just try waiting to do nothing. Yu Hongdo is very reluctant. Think again and again after contacting the private detective. Let them go to the southern city to keep an eye on Su Huan. 
reports Su Huan's daily life. After reading today's report, Yu Hongdo snorted coldly. Gu Bols is not dead to Su Huan, and Zhou Xinyun has not put down Su Huan. That's right, Su Huan's brother is so outstanding. It would be strange if Zhou Xinyun and the other girls could let go. Thinking of this Yu Hongdo's face changed and became resolute. This time can be different from the university period. Brother Su Huan is mine. Parents, brother, they are not against themselves and brother Su Huan together. I will do whatever it takes to be with brother Su Huan. No one can stop me. Yu Hongdo graduated from university and returned to Shangjiang depressed. It seems to be a love injury, which makes Yu Hongdo's father and brothers angry. They began to investigate who had hurt the family's beloved. At first, the Yu family has always believed that this boy is using his feelings to count Yu Hongdo, plotting the wealth of the Yu family. This scum must be thoroughly investigated clearly. This scum must be made to pay the price. At the very least, he must be castrated. Daring to harm the family's jewel, one must pay the price. The Yu family's father and son began to mobilize all their forces to launch an investigation, investigating who had counted on Yu Hongdo and hurt her during her time at the university. Soon, Su Huan was listed as the number one suspect. The focus of the investigation was placed on Su Huan, and the matter of Su Huan's origins and the starting point of the orphanage was found out. After reading the summarized information, the four Yu family fathers and sons were all dumbfounded. I really did not think that Su Huan this orphan actually in the period of college without saying a word to earn such a huge family fortune. This already cannot use the word elite to describe it. It could only be called Su Huan with the word demon. When he graduated from university, Su Huan held more than 10 enterprises shares market value has not less than 10 billion. These enterprises are still in the unimaginable speed of high speed value added. In a few more years, the value of these shares would reach a jaw dropping new height. Bully Game Company, in just four years, had grown into a large game company that made billions or even tens of billions of dollars in profits every year. Seven Colors Entertainment Group, an entertainment company established in just six years, integrating film and television production, music creation, variety production, and other large companies, currently ranks 16th in the entertainment industry in Xia. The market capitalization maintains a speed of more than 20% growth every year. Su Huan is the second largest shareholder of the company. Su Huan not only created unimaginable wealth, or a talented person. During the school all kinds of award-winning things have been investigated clearly. Excellent, too damn excellent. This was the unanimous evaluation of Su Huan by the Yu family's father and son. Plotting the Yu family property this conjecture shattered. A so demonic young handsome have become their son-in-law. Yu Mingxing's eyes reddened a bit when he thought of this. Find an opportunity to make a statement with his daughter Yu Hongdo. Like to go after. Dad support you. Unconditional support you. No matter what the other side is the identity. Immediately after, Yu Hongdo three brothers also followed along with the statement. Full support sister to go to the beloved man back. What do you need just say? Manpower, material and financial resources all unlimited support. The support of her parents as well as her brothers made Yu Hongdo very grateful. But she didn't take any action. Su Huan is already married to Gu Bulls. So even if she likes Su Huan, she won't go as a third party to destroy Su Huan's family. Can only be a ghostly sentence may own and Su Huan fate shallow. But now it's different. Su Huan divorced. Everything becomes possible. Shanghai City, Zhao Group. Zhao Kaifeng Zhao son of a young man is in the club with a few friends to get high. In the sound of hot music wantonly shaking his body, waving youthful sweat. As the topmost male son, Duke Zhao's daily life was definitely colorful. Wuchi 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 Wuchi. The unique cell phone ringtone rang out. Zhao Kaifeng's assistant, Wu Xiaobo, was sitting next to him watching over Zhao Kaifeng's belongings, and when he heard the ringtone, he immediately took out his cell phone to watch it. Once he looked at the labeling on it, he immediately walked towards Zhao Kaifeng who was waving his youthful sweat, pulled Zhao Kaifeng and said a few words handing his cell phone to Zhao Kaifeng. Zhao Kaifeng received a look at the caller ID, immediately roared turn off the music, all give me quiet. Zhao Kaifeng said, turn off the music, all of you be quiet. Although the people on the side did not know why, they immediately followed Zhao Kaifeng's instructions, and the room instantly quieted down. Zhao Kaifeng then said another sentence, do not make a sound. Finished only then picked up the phone. The tone is very gentle red bean sister. How this time to call me? Yu Hongdo's voice came out from the phone crazy. Give me the cell phone number that brother Huan is using now. The Yu family and the Zhao family currently have several projects in cooperation. Yu Hongdo also met with Zhao Kaifeng a few times. Besides, during the university period we are all in the same school. Yu Hongdo knows that Zhao Kaifeng is in the same dormitory with Su Huan. The two are still diehard friends. Zhao Kaifeng skimmed his lips after hearing this and said tell me honestly, are you not dead to my family's oldest? Yes, Yu Hongdo didn't even think about it and directly admitted it, just like before. 
daring to love and dare to say. Zhao Kaifeng heard such dry words, thought for a while and said Red Bean, Lao Si has just been divorced, is currently in the stage of adjusting the mentality. This stage is not with any woman to start a new relationship. It's best to let him be quiet for a while. After hearing Zhao Kaifeng's words, Yu Hongdo understood that Zhao Kaifeng was not clear about the things that happened around Su Huan in the past few days. Hoof. Let him be quiet before saying anything. I'm dragging this on. Maybe he'll be eaten by that vixen again. This afternoon Zhou Xi and Yun and Gu Bol both ran to his house. Are you still making me wait now? Yu Hongdo uttered these words with great displeasure. Zhao Kaifeng was confused when he heard this. Holy shit. Did Zhou Xinyun move so fast? Only yesterday. Baby Yamo had called his second Lin Yi to inquire about Su Huan's matter. But he didn't expect that Zhou Xi and Yun's side had already started the action. No. How come there is still the matter of Gu Bol in here? Hongdo. I can understand Zhou Xinyun going to Lao Si. How could Gu Bols go to him? They are freshly divorced. Zhao Kaifeng asked this question in confusion. What's wrong with divorce? Gu Bols, this bitch is definitely not dead to Brother Huan. She wants to get back together with Brother Huan. You have to help me be with Brother Huan. If I can't get what I want, I'll have Dad dissolve all cooperation with your Zhao. Yu Hongdo began to pressure Zhao Kaifeng. In her heart, she knew very well how much influence Zhao Kaifeng had on Su Huan. To be able to be called boss by Su Huan willingly, the relationship between the two could be imagined. After listening to this sentence, Zhao Kaifeng had big, raised his hand, rubbing his head. A face of difficult expression said, You reasoning okay? Your things why to involve me? Yu Hongdo said with a smile after hearing this, Why doesn't he call out to other people's bosses and only call out to you? This time I'm not joking with you. If I'm not happy, I'll let everyone else be unhappy with me. Zhao Kaifeng directly roared after hearing this sentence, You're crazy. I am crazy. You don't want to be driven crazy by this crazy person. I am just help me out and make my mind come true. There will be benefits for you at that time. You know that if I can say it, I can definitely do it. Yu Hongdo face with a smile is very calm to say these words. The phone at the end of Zhao Kaifeng headache more. Before Yu Hongdo said so Zhao Kaifeng certainly do not care. But now it's different. Yu Hongdo after a few years of exercise has shown a strong wrist in mind. Coupled with Yu Hongdo hand no lack of money. No lack of contacts. No lack of resources. The first time I saw this, I was able to see that the whole thing was a bit of a joke. And I was able to see that it was a joke. Zhao Kaifeng is really big head at the moment. Yu Hongdo once for the old four launched crazy. Is certainly no matter what. The possibility of being mistakenly injured himself was very high. Zhao Kaifeng thought quickly did not think of any good way. Can only helplessly said give me a few days time? Let me think about it. Okay. If it were another woman who dared to say this about Zhao Kaifeng, Zhao Kaifeng would definitely have thrown a big slap in the face. Letting her know that Zhao Dajiao's reputation is not to be insulted. But this is Yu Hongdo. Even if Yu Hongdo is an ordinary family. Based on the Yu Hongdo and Su Huan that part of the relationship. Zhao Kaifeng look at the face of Su Huan also have to tolerate a point. I'll give you two days. That's it Yu Hongdo said and hung up the phone. Zhao Kaifeng listened to the phone out of the disconnection sound. A face of anger put down the phone yelled I fucking whoever messed with who. Hearing Zhao Kaifeng's roar. The surrounding people were startled. Just now everyone more or less heard a little bit. As if a woman called Red Beans forced Zhao Kaifeng to come up with ideas to help chase men. Many people secretly looked at Zhao Kaifeng. Could it be that Zhao Kaifeng has not been talking to anyone is to be this woman's licking dog? Look at Zhao Kaifeng's eyes began to change flavor. Looking around, Zhao Kaifeng keenly noticed that the eyes of the surrounding people were not right, and shouted dispersed in displeasure, then walked towards the door, and his assistant immediately went to the side and picked up Zhao Kaifeng's clothes and belongings to follow him up. Seeing that Zhao Kaifeng left, the crowd all let out a long breath and looked at each other, each eye showing a look of eating melon. What a surprise! Grand Duke Zhao also had a day of being a licking dog. The night passed. The next morning, Zhao Kaifeng woke up to eat breakfast. His parents were there. And seeing his son in such a listless condition, Zhao Sun couldn't help but start reprimanding Zhao Kaifeng. Being reprimanded by his father, Zhao Kaifeng couldn't stand it and retorted with a stiff upper lip, Dad, I'm not playing around. I'm running around for the company. After hearing this, Zhao Sun's anger grew even greater and stared at Zhao Kaifeng, saying, Running around for the company's business, tell me what it is. As long as you convince me, how much money I want to give you how much. If you can't convince me, I'll let you savor what it means to fry meat on a plate again. Zhao Kaifeng's mom, Lu Rui, saw Zhao Sun's fire, and immediately said, Well, the father and son have a grudge. Xiao Feng is still small. Just say it slowly. He is so big. You still beat him like what words. Hearing his wife's words, Zhao Sun's inner fire was even greater. Said you continue to spoil it, he became a wreck you're satisfied. Zhao Kaifeng who was beside him couldn't stand it anymore. He directly put down his chopsticks and took out his cell phone. 
clicked on a recording inside and played it. Zhao Sun and Lu Rui both listened. This recording is last night's Zhao Kai Feng and Yu Hongdo's call records. It is not Zhao Kai Feng intentionally recording. It was not Zhao Kai Feng's intention to record the call. But after Zhao Kai Feng had been set up by a woman some years ago, his assistant had set Zhao Kai Feng's phone to automatically record all calls in order to prevent a similar situation from occurring. In case Zhao Kai Feng ever encountered a reckoning, he could use the recording to save the day. After listening to the call recording, Zhao Sun frowned and asked which red bean is it? Zhao Kai Feng was very upset and said, It can be that one. It's that crazy bitch from the Yu family in Xiangzhang. Yu Hongdo, Lu Rui and Zhao Sun looked at each other after hearing this. If it is Yu Hongdo, this matter really can't be taken lightly. The two of them know how precious Yu Mingsheng is to Yu Hongdo. Zhao Sun looked at his son and asked, What is the relationship between you and the red bean's mouth? What is brother Huan? It's my roommate, the demon I told you about. My god of fortune Zhao Kai Feng opened his mouth and said whatever was on his mind. Basically no one in this world can make Zhao to Xiao tell a lie. To like is to like. To dislike is to dislike. Straight to the point. Not hiding anything at all. Zhao Sun and Lu Rui had a look of sudden realization. Su Huan is a person they know very well. The four-room dormitory in Dragon Academy was originally set up to facilitate the recruitment of outstanding talents by the sons of powerful and wealthy families. And the expenses were all paid by these sons of bitches. The annual accommodation fee for outstanding talent staying in this kind of dormitory was only a symbolic $100, and the other expenses were all counted on the other three people's heads, and Su Huan with Zhao Kai Feng for financial operations, 10 million capital in just half a month earned 30 million this thing, the husband and wife are very clear, not to mention, just after Zhao Kai Feng and Su Huan's relationship became iron, Zhao Kai Feng's private coffers began to swell, from the tens of millions of dollars in college has grown to more than 600 million now. This was Su Huan's strength, Lu Rui said with a bit of a grin on the side. No wonder Yu Hongdo can't get enough of this Su Huan. After saying that, she skimmed her mouth and glared fiercely at Zhao Kai Feng. Zhao Kai Feng knows very well what mom glares at himself. Is very helpless to come up mom you glare at me for what? Lu Rui just wanted to get mad. Zhao Sun asked I remember you said that this dead friend of yours is already married. How come the red beans are still not dead? Some time ago divorced. In the school friends group was badmouthed when a moment of anger on the official announcement of the divorce this matter. Yu Hongdo a few of them saw immediately went crazy. Zhao Kai Feng was very upset to say these words. Zhao Sun nodded his head which made him understand what was going on. You've been busy with this matter lately. Think of ways to facilitate Hongdo's affair with him. Said here paused for a moment. Fought for a while and continued to say. I'll give Hongdo a call. If she thinks you're not contributing enough. I'll freeze all your pocket money. Including your petty cash. Don't believe me. Try it. Zhao Sun finished speaking and stood up to leave. Lu Rui glanced at her son and gave him a don't take it seriously look and stood up to follow along. Zhao Kai Feng's head is bigger. A Yu Hongdo is already annoying enough. And now mom and dad are also involved. What the fuck is going on? I'm not sure who I'm messing with. You play so? I will be depressed. Zhao Kai Feng depressed for a while ate breakfast. Went upstairs back to his room. To the bed Ali began to think about how to solve this matter. Directly talked to Su Huan. Think here Zhao Kaifeng shook his head. Su Huan is a wood. In terms of feelings with the idiot is no difference. Back then, so many good girls don't want to be obsessed with Gubols, the heart of the woman. In the dormitory, Zhao Kaifeng, Lin Ida, Zhang Wan Yuan, the three of them can't see Gubols, but Su Huan is obsessed with Gubols, which makes the three of them very helpless. Now that Su Huan was divorced, she used the facts to prove how correct the three of them were in their assessment of Gubols back then. In his mind, he slowly began to recall the events during school, pondering how Gu Bols had taken down Su Huan at that time, and after pondering for a while a smile slowly appeared on Zhao Kaifeng's face. Zhao Kaifeng sat up and looked to find the phone to pick up and start dialing. Soon, Yu Hongdo's voice appeared to think of a good way. Hearing Yu Hongdo's slightly anxious voice, Zhao Kaifeng said with a smile, the way to say later, I said before I must first clarify a problem. Hongdo, have you ever thought about how you lost to Gu Bols back then? What else can there be? When the old lady was counted by the Gubol, if I had taken out my full strength it would never have been this result. Yu Hongdo was very unconvinced as she said this sentence. Zhao Kaifeng shook his head after listening to the very dry said no. You analyzed the wrong. Yu Hongdo froze, face showed some thinking expression. When thinking, the door was pushed open. The small secretary just came in half the body. Yu Hongdo immediately set out. Frightened little secretary immediately went out and brought the door. Confused what happened to Yu Hongdo today. Zhao Kaifeng heard this sentence as a smile. Know that at this moment Yu Hongdo must have gone to work. How they cannot do on time to and from work. Yu Hongdo pondered for half a day and could not think of a reason. And came to the phone with a Yu directly say. I listen. 
Didn't you realize that during college when you guys were chasing Su Huan, you and Gu Bo were always at the same starting line? Even a handful of people including you were in the lead. It's well recognized that Lao Si is a genius in other areas, but he's a blank slate when it comes to relationships. Saying white is a compliment. He's just a little victim. When you are all reserved, Gu Bo's will launch an attack on Lao Si, pulling little hands, sticking and hugging and kissing and lifting high, seeing the opportunity to take Lao Si's first time. Lao Si out of the man's responsibility will naturally begin to slowly keep a distance from you. This is the root of your failure. Now it seems that Zhou Xinyun has already figured out where the failure lies, and immediately ran over to start the attack after knowing the news of Old Four's divorce. So, if you want your heart to succeed, it's hopeless if you don't take the initiative. How to do it is up to you. Zhao Kaifeng finished with a smile appearing on his face, eager to see Yu Hongdo, the little princess, the workaholic will not be able to stick to Su Huan and hug and kiss and lift high. Eating melon thoughts began to fill the brain. Yu Hongo's face reddened after hearing Zhao Kaifeng's words, followed by a thought, and realized that what Zhao Kaifeng said was really right. Gu Bols did dare to go out on a limb more than himself and others back then. At the very least, at that time, myself and Zhou Xinyan and a few of them did not have the courage to sleep with Su Huan. Thinking of this, his face once again turned red. In his heart, he was also a bit annoyed with Su Huan. You're a fucking genius who is so strong but is an idiot when it comes to relationships. Being taken down for the first time and then resigning yourself to your fate. You stupid bastard. Let's do this first. I'll think about it Yu Hongdo said and quickly hung up the phone. Her mind began to think about how to take the initiative to attack Su Huan. Listening to the sound of the phone disconnecting, Zhao Kaifeng's inner mind of eating melon became even heavier. Eager to see who would ultimately win this time when several beauties chased Su Huan together. Thinking for a while, picked up the phone and dialed once again. Soon the phone went through Zhao Xiao. What are your orders? You listen. From today onwards you give me to arrange for people to keep an eye on the southern city of Su Huan, Gu Bol, Big Star Zhou Xinyun, Xiang Jian Yu Hongdo, a few of them. It's best to give me a report every day. I'll transfer a million dollars to you in the afternoon, and give me the bill afterward. Zhao Kaifeng said this sentence with a smile on his face. The opposite side heard this immediately excited. This is a big single. Is excited when suddenly calmed down. Zhao Les is just staring or, do private detective this line is very dangerous. Some lists cannot be taken. Not to mention that this also involves the big star Zhou Xinyun. Once things are exposed causing social pressure, the consequences can be imagined. There is also the little princess of the Yu family. With the status of the Yu family in the great summer country, wanting to clean up their own with the crushing of an ant is not much different. Merely keep an eye on, whatever they do don't get involved. I just need to know what they do every day what people they see. Zhao Kaifeng spelled out the specific requirements. After hearing this, the person on the other end of the phone was relieved, and immediately agreed in a single breath, promising to send Zhao Kaifeng a current affairs report every day. After hanging up the phone, Zhao Kaifeng immediately dialed the number to call Lin Ida, and then called Zhang Wenyuan. These two goods are not bad money, so good cannot brother I spend money alone. The two heard immediately said to join in, each person first out of 200,000, respectively. After the reimbursement of 20% of the cost, Zhao Kaifeng to lie on the bed ah ha 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 laughed up, there is a good show to see, the old four, do not blame the brothers, the reality is very difficult to see a few beautiful women fighting for the husband of this kind of good show, it is really too rare, brothers are not good to see this big show really sorry for you, ha 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 ha, Zhao Kaifeng laughed out loud, finished laughing, sat up and picked up the phone to edit a text message sent to Yu Hongdo, all relaxed to go to the restroom to take a bath. Inside the office, Yu Hongdo heard the phone ringing picked up and clicked to read the text message, when you are not as good as Gu Bols. At the moment it is different. No Su Huan's weaknesses you still cannot take. Brother I can only despise you. I can only despise you. Go for it. But if you need it, I'll give you my full support. The back is followed by a string of phone numbers, which is Su Huan's latest phone number. Yu Hongdo's face was red after reading it, but his mood was good. Su Huan's boss is on his side. His chances of winning will increase a lot. South Metropolis. Su Huan a morning in the fitness room exercise time respectively received the ink baby. Su ran ran. Two people's phone. Su Huan immediately appeared in the brain of the two people's appearance. In the phone both expressed the year after the vacation time will be to the southern city. You this old classmate reception is not reception. Su Huan how to say. Can only say welcome. Welcome the two to the South Metropolis to relax on vacation. They will certainly be a landlord's friendship. Hang up the phone Su Huan thought again. The two best is to separate over. Never together to the southern city. By then, you see each other each other hard. I am also difficult. More than three o'clock in the afternoon. 
Su Huan walked in the manner when the phone ringing appeared. From the pocket out of the cell phone to see as Zhou Xinyun called, pressed the connect button and asked Xinyun, today how to have time to give me a call. Hearing Su Huan's voice, Zhou Xinyun smiled brother Huan, my activities in the southern city side of the completion of the day after tomorrow morning to leave the southern city, tomorrow I want to go to your home to eat a home cooked meal. Old classmate, are you welcome or not? After listening to Zhou Xinyun's words Su Huan could do, there was certainly no way to refuse, a mouthful of promise. Welcome Zhou Xinyun to come home tomorrow to eat a big meal. At 6 o'clock in the afternoon, just when Su Huan thought that there would be no more phone calls today, his cell phone rang again, and he picked it up to see that it was Gu Bols who called. Su Huan just raised an eyebrow. He really didn't want to have any contact with this woman Gu Bols, but he had already made a deal with this body's dog licking soul. If he left Gu Bols out in the cold, that dog licking soul will certainly not be willing to give up. They really do not want to go through the headache again because of Gu Bols things that kind of taste. I pressed the answer button and asked, what is it? Gu Bol did not care about Su Huan's attitude, calmly said, today the court of law on the Yi Yishan group of people for trial sentenced. Oh, how was the verdict Su Huan was really interested in knowing about this matter? Su Huan's interested voice came out on the phone Gu Bol's face more than a trace of a smile, calmly said Yi Yishan is a number of crimes sentenced to life imprisonment, 10 years shall not be subject to any commutation of sentence, Zhou Ting, Chen Yi Yi, 6 people were sentenced to 1 to 6 years in prison. Li Li, the head of the project department Wan Xiang Chang, the deputy director of the marketing department Li Mo Chen, the deputy director of the design department Qian Ying Yen, as well as those employees are 5 to 30 years in prison. Gu Bol said what he could, and didn't say anything about his mother Wang Xiaoyan's sentence with his stepfathers Wu Ji Chiang. Both were prosecuted for intentional homicide and other crimes, with video and audio recordings as evidence. Coupled with Yi Yishan's confession, there is no defense to get 10 years in prison respectively. These two people do not know. Gu Bol is not going to let the two out. Both of them conspired with Yi Yishan to let himself pass away, and already do not take himself as a daughter as a family member to see. The future after the release of the two will not take advantage of the affinity of their own hands again? This kind of thing is not defensible. Gu Bols didn't dare to gamble. The best way was to let the two end up in prison and solve the problem from the root. This was a family matter and a scandal. The less people knew about it, the better. After listening to Gu Bol's words, Su Huan said non-committally it's really cheap for these people. If I were a judge, I would sentence them to a lifetime in prison. That's what I think too Gu Bols immediately expressed his attitude dryly, clearly, and unambiguously. Hearing Gu Bols words Su Huan nodded with satisfaction. You still have a bit of a conscience. It's also a way of avenging this lickspittle who loves you so much. Just when he wanted to speak, he heard the sound of Agu. Boom boom boom. From the phone. The sound of Agu. Bang bang bang. Came from the phone. Su Huan froze. How could such a sound appear? And immediately asked what happened. I went downstairs with a broken foot and fell down. Now going upstairs is a problem. Can you come and help me? At home. Feng Mai and Wang Ma have gone in. The other personnel dispatched by the housekeeping company has not yet arrived. And the bodyguards have left when their contracts expired. Gu Bol's miserable and pitiful voice came from the phone. Su Huan immediately had a feeling that Gu Bol's was playing tricks. And just when she wanted to refuse, Gu Bol's spoke once again. I didn't lie to you. If I lie to you let me end up alone, you come over okay, I can't stand up, with a sobbing voice came from the phone, Su Huan fought for a while, leaned against the sofa and closed his eyes, the situation of Gu Bol quickly appeared in his mind, this is Su Huan's supernatural ability, a kind of supernatural ability that is not too useful and not too small, before crossing over, when Su Huan was 10 years old, he was playing on a film set when he unintentionally touched a power line and was electrocuted, and was immediately sent to the hospital to be rescued, since then, Su Huan has this kind of supernormal ability. As long as he thinks of a person in his head, his mind will immediately appear in the picture of what this person is doing now. After Su Huan's continuous testing, he found that this kind of supernormal ability cannot be used frequently, and frequent use will make Su Huan very mentally exhausted, and his body organs will experience a certain degree of failure. The more times you use it, the slower your body's recovery time will be, so Su Huan will never use it until the critical moment. At this moment, Su Huan truly does not want to be involved with Gu Bols, if not with this body soul to reach a deal, absolutely directly will be clear words from now on do not see Gu Bols, you wise as gluttonous her body, as the author I despise you, the picture in my head shows Gu Bols wearing a robe sitting alone on the ground in front of the stairs, tears in her eyes, one hand covering her ankle, her shoe on the other side, it should be a broken foot shoes fell aside, there is no one else around, seeing this, Su Huan immediately ended watching, picked up his cell phone and said, well, 
I'm going over now. Goobles heard a happy face and said, I'll wait for you. As soon as the words left his mouth, he immediately heard the sound of the phone disconnecting. At this time, the bodyguard captain Zhou Mengxia with two people from the outside in, just a few people outside to arrange the new duty issue. Goobles had signed a new employment contract with Zhou Mengxia's squad for two years, and within two years Zhou Mengxia's squad would serve Goobles full-time. There would be a month of vacation every year, at which time Tiger Power Security would arrange for another security squad to replace Zhou Mengxia's squad. Seeing Gu Bols fall to the ground, they immediately walked towards Gu Bols quickly. Gu Bols saw that it was Zhou Mengxia and the others immediately said don't help me. Zhou Mengxia and the others immediately said don't help me. Zhou Mengxia and the others froze, not understanding why Gu Bols said that. At this time, Zhou Mengxia saw Gu Bols' eyes and gestured to her team members for them to stay put, and came to Gu Bols' side herself. The two began to whisper. Mainly Gu Bols said Zhou Mengxia nodded her head. Not long, Zhou Mengxia gave Gu Bols a thumbs up. Gu Bol's face appeared a trace of redness. Zhou Mengxia whispered rest well. I take them to hide to ensure that Mr. Su does not see. Gu Bol's heard a satisfied nod. Zhou Mengxia then stood up and turned to leave, waved her hand and greeted the team members leaving the villa, and drove the vehicle to the side of the grove next to rest. More than 30 minutes later, Zhou Mengxia waved her hand and took a few people to leave the vehicle to hide around the Gu Bol villa. The crowd already knew what was going on. In a moment Su Huan would come and start stopping the guests. No one could come over and ruin Gu Bol's good deed. Zhou Mengxia and the others are so cooperative one is based on professional ethics. The second is also see the efforts of Gu Bol's. Although it was calculated that the relationship with Su Huan broke in divorce, but Gu Bol's also the first time to carry out investigations and retaliation, and ultimately will be the birth mother and stepfather are sent in. So the big boss is not afraid to break the foot injury to calculate the ex-husband, hoping that the ex-husband back to their hearts in remarriage. Zhou Mengxia and other people did not think so much. In their view, Gu Bols did something wrong is being counted on. No the wrong can be corrected. There is nothing better. Still can be forgiven. After a while, Su Huan drove to Gu Bols villa this side, carrying a plastic bag out of the car, walked to the door of the villa and raised his hand on the fingerprint lock. The lock opened with a snap. Gu Bols has never changed the fingerprint and password settings. Walked into the vaguely see Gu Bols sitting on the ground. Walked aside in the wall switch snap 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 pressed. The whole villa immediately light bright. Only then did Su Huan walk toward Gu Bols, slowly helped up Gu Bols, and asked in a low voice, Can you go up? I'm just one foot normal you say. Hold me up Gu Bols finished his hands directly wrapped around Su Huan's neck. Su Huan's face appeared a tangled expression. Gu Bols heart laughed. Su Huan is still the same as before. Still does not know how to reject women. He looked up at Gu Bols. Gu Bols tears a pitiful expression. Su Huan heart secretly sighed. A bend down to pick up Gu Bols. A princess hug. Gu Bols holding Su Huan's neck a hard kiss on Su Huan's face. Su Huan looked at Gu Bols and said, Honestly, don't force me to be angry. Gu Bols opened his mouth and said, You are free to be angry. A look of letting you go mad, letting you ravage the situation. Su Huan took a deep breath and stopped talking, lifted his feet and started up the stairs, soon carrying Gu Bols into her bedroom and putting her on the bed. Gu Bols hugged Su Huan's neck and didn't let go, saying, Don't go, okay? Su Huan knew what Gu Bols meant. However, at this moment, he could not leave immediately, and said calmly, let go of your hand, I'll help you put on the medicine. Hearing Su Huan say this, Gu Bols then loosened his hand, placing the plastic bag in his hand aside, he took out the medicine inside, pulled over a chair to the side, put Gu Bols' feet on his lap, and pushed the robe upwards, opened the Chinese bone-setting medicine and applied it to the ankle, and began to massage it. Su Huan really knows how to massage, because it's not the first time that Gu Bols has broken his foot. On the second day of the wedding, Gu Bols had broken her foot once, and Su Huan went to enroll in the massage art, and with Su Huan's ability to learn, she obtained a massage certificate in less than a month. Gu Bols watched Su Huan give her ankle massage, the other foot also reached over, the hand is still pulling the robe bit by bit to move up, temptation has unfolded, the robe was slowly pulled over the knee by Gu Bols, and slowly continued to move upward, and soon, snow white thighs appeared, Su Huan looked up at Gu Wan, frowned and said, you honestly point. Hearing this sentence, Gu Bols did not care. Old lady has been slept with by you for several years. Which bit of her body you have not touched and enjoyed? What else can be reserved? Besides, back then, can those fox charming all be take you? The old lady by virtue of is open to go out. A clenched teeth and stomped his foot. Regardless of the first time with their own to take you this would. With the robe slowly moving up to reveal more and more snow white thighs. Gu Bols also from time to time with that good leg back and forth across showing the hidden flavor. Su Huan cannot stand it. 
Directly hand will Gubol robe pulled down to cover the white flowers of a piece. Gubol did not stop, but giggle. The first time I saw this, I was so happy to see you. Su Huan no matter how much to speed up the hand more action, will be the ankle parts of the massage finished to take over a simple instrument package fixed up, stood up to go to the restroom to wash their hands. Looking at Su Huan's back Gubol's will leg back, slightly moved, a lot better, has not been so painful. Suddenly, a wave of guilt appeared within the eyes. In the matter of Yi Yishan is very sorry Su Huan, even if it is being counted. If their own love for Su Huan unchanged, if their own timely rebuke those who say bad things about Su Huan girlfriends, looking at the door of the restroom and listening to the sound of rushing water coming from inside, Gu Bowles made up his mind, I will get you back, at all costs, I will spend the rest of my life to make up for my mistakes. Hearing the sound of the faucet shutting off, Gu Bowles face immediately changed and became gentle and watery again. Su Huan dried his hands and walked out to look at Gu Bowles and said well, you can barely walk after a few hours of sleep and rest, I'm leaving, wait, Gu Bowles immediately shouted, it is not easy to Su Huan fooled over how can so easily let it leave, a look of pity look at Su Huan said you help me up I get something, as a pillow for many years, it is clear that Su Huan belongs to the typical soft food, but not hard, you come to the hard Su Huan then you are still hard, but if you come to soft, Su Huan is helpless. Gu Bol is to eat this point to launch a fierce attack. Su Huan face tangled for a moment. Walked over to help Gu Bol's up. Gu Bol's grabbed Su Huan's arm to sit up. Hands immediately grabbed Su Huan's belt. When Su Huan reacted, Gu Bol's had already skillfully undone Su Huan's belt. You're crazy, Su Huan said and went to pull his own pants. At this moment Su Huan underestimated Gu Bol's determination. Gu Bol's regardless of the fact that he reached his hand in and grabbed a handful of. Let go. Su Huan shouted the action dare not be big. That place is too vital. Gubol still grasped tightly. In case of stimulation Gubol's and then hard. The happiness of the second half of their lives will be over. If you move again I'll push harder. Guan looked up at Su Huan with tears in her eyes and uttered these words. Su Huan with a difficult expression let go of Gubol's shoulders and said you let go. I won't move this look of Gubol's made it difficult for Su Huan to start. Even if you have crossed over. Some body instincts are hard to resist. Gubol's did not let go. One hand grasping. The other hand quickly retreats Su Huan lower body clothing. Su Huan embarrassed. How Gu Bowls will be so rogue? How could things be like this? The Gu Bowls at this moment. And this body's memories of Gu Bowls are completely wrong ah. At this moment, Gu Bowls used his free hand to take off the robe on his body. Su Huan took one look and closed his eyes. Holy shit. Vacuum. Gu Bowls this was calculated long ago. He fell for it. Su Huan closed his eyes did not see the corner of Gu Bowls mouth a smile. This time Gu Bol's wrapped around Su Huan's waist and fell back. Su Huan followed the fall on Gu Bol's body. Cannot control? This state if you can still control. Absolutely not normal men. A good while passed. Gu Bol's hair spread out. Body with sweat. Satisfied lying on Su Huan body huffing and puffing. From time to time with his mouth to kiss Su Huan's human heart. Su Huan inwardly a little depressed. He is a big director also two lives. How will be pushed by this woman? This is not scientific. After resting for a while to regain some strength, Su Huan said, Your purpose has been achieved. Don't you want to get up? Gu Bols raised his head to look at Su Huan. A look of pity on his face and said Huan Huan. We are all victims. Now those bad guys have been arrested by the police and sentenced by the court. We remarried okay. Su Huan looked at Gu Bols very calmly said you get up first. I do not go. We seriously talk about it. Now can also talk. Gu Bols absolutely will not get up. At this moment with Su Huan to talk about their own upper hand. Wear clothes and then talk with Su Huan is Su Huan to occupy the upper hand. Before Su Huan promised to remarry himself, he must maintain enough sense. This was what Gu Bols thought. Su Huan glanced at Gu Wan. Gu Wan what mind or can guess. Just happy to play on the face is not very good. Know that this is Gu Wan's careful, but not good to break. Thinking about it said, no matter what because, things happen we can't pretend that nothing has happened. My heart is tired. I need to be alone and calm for a period of time, to adjust their own mentality. I admit, I want to be a scumbag this sentence is false, but I want to change a relaxed lifestyle this thing is true, the next few years there will be women around me I do not know myself, I want to indulge myself, you won't accept me like this, isn't it good for us to let each other go, Su Huan will be their own ideas out, the future in accordance with their own ideas to live is only today made up his mind, the purpose is very simple, to eliminate the original Su Huan soul on the body's influence, crossing such a ghostly thing can happen, Coupled with the day in the car brain suddenly appeared in the idea, the traveler Su Huan began to believe in the mystery of the underworld. Begin to the heavenly way of reincarnation karma to produce a sense of awe. Gubols looked at Su Huan's eyes, with his own understanding of Su Huan, 
Su Huan just said what was in his heart. He did want to indulge himself in another kind of life. That day I said, I'm willing to be one of your lovers. Don't you hide from me. Whatever you do I don't care. I hear is your harbor. We'll stand firm until the day your heart comes back to dock. When Gu Bol said this sentence, the expression on his face was not at all joking. Very serious. Su Huan really froze after hearing this. Just looking at Gu Bol's without saying anything. For a while, Su Huan frowned tone with a hint of fatigue said you this is why bitter it. I don't care. This life I recognize you. I will only have one man in my life. That is you Gu Bol's is very serious to say this sentence. Regardless of whether Su Huan believed or didn't believe in herself, Gu Wan had decided to walk down one road. Even if all the people she knows say bad things about Su Huan, Gu Wan will nonchalantly dislike her. Replace all the staff around her with women starting tomorrow. And keep a distance from any man. The mistake of being counted by others must never happen again. Can you accept it when you watch me with other women? Be sensible. Let's start a new life for each other. It's good for you and me. Just as Su Huan said this, Gu Bol's hand was placed on Su Huan's mouth, preventing Su Huan from saying any more. Gu Bol's eyes left tears, looked at Su Huan's eyes and said, I know what I am doing. I know I made a big mistake. It is difficult for us to go back to the old days. I don't ask for much. I just hope you can stay with me every once in a while, or don't drive me away when I go to look for you. As long as I'm by your side, I'm satisfied. Finished lying on Su Huan's chest. Su Huan closed his eyes. Difficult. Things are difficult. Gu on this hand how to break. He has said the words to this extent. Let it be one of the many lovers. Gu Wan even accepted. Want to turn the other cheek. Remembering the agreement. Reached with the licking dog soul. Su Huan was really a bit anxious at this moment. His mind could not think of a way to deal with the Gu Bol in front of him. A good while time. Su Huan do not want to. You are willing to be a lover when. When Gu Wan see themselves have other girlfriends cannot stand. Will naturally leave with their own broken. Good. From this moment on you are my lover. I do not hide from you. Get up Su Huan calmly said these words. Inwardly convinced that Gu Wan cannot hold on much time. In the future, he could just resolve her three life and death catastrophes according to the agreement and complete the contract. Until then, just treat her according to the standards of a lover. Gu Bols raised his head and looked at Su Huan and said really. Su Huan nodded and acknowledged really. Knowing Su Huan's temperament, either he did not agree. Since he agreed, he will definitely do it. Honestly up. Su Huan sat up. Helping Gu Bol also sat up slowly out of bed. Together to washroom rinse some. After washing up and wiping clean the body or wearing pajamas. Resupporting Gu Bol's lying down. This time Gu Bol snapped. I'm hungry. I want to eat the noodles you made. You lie down. I go to do Su Huan said and walk towards the door. Looking at the back of Su Huan left Gu Bol's face smile more thick. Su Huan lightly came to the kitchen. It didn't take long to make a bowl of egg noodles and carried it upstairs. Gu Bol's was really hungry and hadn't eaten food since noon. Now it is more than 7 o'clock. And Su Huan will say the words are no longer pretentious. Began to seriously eat noodles. After eating noodles lying down, Su Huan will be pulled over the thin quilt to Gu Bol's cover said rest well. I will come to see you tomorrow night. Gu Wan nodded and looked at Su Huan and said, kiss me before you go. Su Huan lowered his head and kissed Gu Wan's forehead. Gu Wan was satisfied to close her eyes. Su Huan to one side to close the lights out of the room downstairs and go. Soon, Su Huan left the villa and drove away. Five minutes or so. Zhou Mengxiao led the team into the villa, arranged for the duty officer to lead the other team members to rest, did not go upstairs to disturb Gu Wan. With no words along the way, Su Huan returned home and said hello to Du Xu Eching before going to the restaurant to eat. Su Huan was really hungry. In the afternoon, he did a lot of fitness exercises, and just now in the Gu Bol side of the labor again, at this moment eat up the feeling of food extraordinarily fragrant. After eating and drinking, she said goodnight to Du Xu Eching and went upstairs to rest. Du Xu Eching looked at the back of Su Huan smiled and left the villa to go to the workers building side of the rest. In the south metropolis rented house has been returned. The future will live in the workers building this side. The matter has already gained Su Huan's approval. At the moment Su Huan Manor is not 11 workers. Again more than 8 people. All are security personnel. Divided into day and night 2 shifts in the manor patrol. The original developer for the manor equipped with the camera camera resolution is not high. Night shooting picture is very blurred. After the professional security personnel came over and reacted to this problem with Du Xu Eching, Du Xu Eching told Su Huan, Su Huan ordered a full replacement, with Du Xu Eching in charge. It is currently in the process of being fully replaced. Du Xu Eching and Su Huan have already built up a lot of trust, and it is believed that as the two of them spend more time together, the trust will continue to rise. It's not easy for a housekeeper to find a good employer, and it's even harder for an employer to find a good housekeeper. So both Su Huan and Du Xu Eching cherish this trust. 
Early in the morning, Du Xueqing drove to purchase food. Today Su Huan is going to have a banquet. Even if it's a home-cooked meal, he can't use ordinary food. He has to use high-grade ingredients in order to make his employer's family look good. At more than 10 in the morning, Zhou Xinyun arrived at Su Huan's manor, dressed casually. Zhou Xinyun is not willing to other people know that he chased Su Huan this matter. Currently on the broker Red Sister No. In order to maximize confidentiality, as long as to see Su Huan can only be accompanied by Red Sister. The two met and went for a walk and chat together within the small forest, played billiards together, and at noon ate a big meal indeed, all very distinctive home-cooked food, drinking some fruit wine together. They drank some tea after the meal and sent Zhou Xinyun to the guest room to rest for a while. When Zhou Xinyun's nap was over, he took Zhou Xinyun to the garden to take a walk and move around, chatting about things in the entertainment industry. Chatting, Zhou Xinyun felt a little wrong. With a question asked you will not be planning to enter the entertainment industry, right? Not this year, but next year. I'll see what happens when I relax on vacation. Don't forget, I graduated from the directing department. Su Huan smiled and said his intention. Before crossing over, he was a famous director. Since he had come to this world, it would be a shame for him not to play movies. This world's technology is not inferior to Earth. But in terms of culture and entertainment, it really can't be compared to the Earth side. The difference is too much. To put it bluntly, Su Huan has not listened to many songs since he crossed over and most of the good songs that he can listen to are too few. There are also movies, although there are all types. Watching a circle really did not see a comedy film to make themselves laugh. Now the comedy movie is still stuck in the stage of relying on special actors. All the comedy stars one by one are very distinctive. No need to act to have a face that makes people laugh on the line. There are a lot of artistic movies that stir up emotion and tears. Basically the same kind of formula, but the audience still eats this kind of thing, so you can't help but be convinced. As for sci-fi movies, Basically it is a sci-fi skin to play the set of love. Very Cheong Yao. Su Huan was bored to death. Next, he wants to live a cozy life. Just play. After all, he is still a shareholder of the Seven Color Entertainment Group. With this condition, there was no need to worry about who would play small tricks to suppress him or count on him. Zhou Xinyun already saw that Su Huan is to really, not a bit of joking meaning, a little thought on the idea, said with a smile, need I introduce you to an entertainment company? This is not necessary. I am a playful nature. Years ago, I once invested in a small entertainment company as a shareholder. When the time comes to go and have some fun, Su Huan said without thinking. Joe Xinyun nodded and stopped asking. As long as Su Huan went to play in the entertainment industry, he could definitely get first-hand information. In other industries, I can't do anything about you. But if it's the entertainment industry, you can't escape from my hand. Zhou Xinyun's face smiled more brightly digressing from the topic to start chatting with Su Huan about other things. Both of them have no psychological burden so they are very relaxed. Around the circle back to the living room to drink tea and rest. A few cups of tea down Zhou Xinyun snapped and asked you wanna go there on vacation. Su Huan did not think casually said the specific vacation place has not thought well. Want to find a less people. All kinds of facilities complete place to relax. The best is the beach. After listening to Su Huan's words, Zhou Xinyun's heart moved and immediately had an idea. Looking at Su Huan with a smile on her face, she said, I'll ask you about this. You know, sometimes stars want to relax on vacation without being secretly photographed. Must find this kind of quiet enough. Security facilities are complete. Anti-doggy places on vacation. Taking this matter over and arranging the place for Su Huan's vacation by himself was a good start. Really? Thank you then. In the future, when I become a big director, I have to make you a movie queen. Su Huan said with a smile while Zhou Xinyun blankly glanced at Su Huan, regardless of whether what Su Huan said was true or not, Zhou Xinyun was still very happy, picked up the cup of tea and drank a mouthful of tea to change the subject to talk about other things, time passed slowly, not long after Du Xueqing came over, dinner was ready, Su Huan invited Zhou Xinyun to have dinner, just like noon, the dinner was also very rich, all high-grade ingredients, today Zhou Xinyun did not have the slightest intention of controlling the amount of food, and ate openly just like lunch, after eating and drinking, he once again went to the living room to drink tea and relax. Tea to scrape oil, drink some tea to be able to scrape down some of the oil. Back to their own in a little exercise. The figure will not be any problem. Chatting for a while to look at the time, Zhou Xinyun said goodbye. Early tomorrow morning but also get up early to catch the flight. Su Huan sent Zhou Xinyun on the car. Before getting on the car with Zhou Xinyun gently embrace. This time Zhou Xinyun did not engage in a surprise attack. This time Zhou Xinyun didn't make a surprise attack. Last time it was to anger Gubols. If this time he made a surprise attack again, it would be a bit too much. After Sister Hong drove away from Su Huan Manor, 
She asked, How was your day today? Quite relaxed. It's been a long time since I've been this relaxed. Zhou Xinyun honestly said, Today in Su Huan here is really relaxed. Sister Hong nodded and said, What about him? Does he have a relaxed feeling? Zhou Xinyun thought for a while and said, He should also feel very relaxed. He even made a few jokes when we were chatting today. To my understanding of him, not acquaintances or let him trust people. He simply will not joke with you. Back in the day at school, the personnel he joked with were just the three roommates in their dorm, calling each other sons. By the way, I took care of the vacation aspect. I told him. In the end, he asked me to help him refer to a suitable vacation spot. Said here Zhou Xinyun is a smile. Sister Hong heard and said with a smile today's plan is very successful. So come on. First let him think with you to get along with you feel relaxed. So that will slowly put down the guard. When he gets along with you more and more easily, he will become inseparable from you. Zhou Xinyun nodded with great recognition. Over the years, Sister Hong's analysis of all kinds of men in the whole, all of them hit the nail on the head to point out their essence. Think there is a problem. No matter how much the paycheck is not allowed to cooperate with each other. After the fact, all one by one to prove that Sister Hong look at men's vision is really very poisonous. Very accurate. By the way, when I chatted with him this afternoon, he wanted to make a movie for fun next year and said something about investing in a small entertainment company as a shareholder a few years ago to make a movie for fun. Zhou Xinyun told this matter. Sister Hong froze, thought for a while and asked, did you ask him what the name of the entertainment company is? This I did not ask, worried that more words will be lost. Zhou Xinyun honestly, then digressing from the topic is indeed so considered. Sister Hong nodded her head in satisfaction. Zhou Xinyun was right to do so, smiled and said reassuringly, no matter which company he is, as long as he is in the entertainment industry, we can always get hold of his information. I'm also thinking the same way. He can't fly out of the palm of my mother's hand. Ha 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 ha. Zhou Xinyun laughed happily. Sister Hong also had a smile on her face very much in favor of this idea of Zhou Xinyun. Sending Zhou Xinyun away. Su Huan drank a bit of tea in the living room and drove away. Yesterday promised Gu Wan that he would have to go over to visit today. This was Su Huan's habit. Either he didn't promise. As long as he promised something he must do it. No matter how late it is, today's matter must be finished today. This habit has gone deep into the marrow of the bones. And Su Huan, who crossed over, was also affected. All the way without words, the car quickly arrived at the home of Gu Bulls. Today the bodyguards appeared brightly. Gu Wan has already told Su Huan that there is no need to cover up. The first time I went upstairs, I talked to Gu Bulls for a while and let Gu Wan rest early. And covered Gu Wan with a quilt before Su Huan turned off the lights and left. And today, Gu Wan didn't play any tricks. It is not that Gu Wan does not want to play, but Gu Wan knows that this kind of play will make Su Huan disgusted if she plays too much. The night time passed. Su Huan woke up early in the morning before dawn to start exercising. Since he started exercising, he couldn't slack off, must adhere to it. After running and crawling and exercising within the manor, he went to work out within the gym, completing his own prescribed program, before returning to the bedroom to take a shower and change his clothes, then going downstairs to eat. Then it was reading and studying, practicing brush strokes to cultivate the mind. Even after inheriting the memories of this body, it is still necessary to enrich oneself and deepen one's control over the body, so that one can master the talents of this body to the best of one's ability. Now no one can see that there is something wrong. It is not guaranteed that in the future there will be people who are familiar with themselves who can see that they are not right. The family's motto before crossing over was, only the strongest is truly strong. And under the cultivation of his father, Su Huan did this very well. Time slowly passed more than 10 days. This day, Su Huan and the exercise body when the cell phone on the side of the ring, take a deep breath to stop exercising go over to pick up the phone. Looked at it, but it is an unfamiliar number. Thought for a moment to pick up hello, that, the other end of the phone. Yu Hongdo heard Su Huan's voice face slightly red said is me. Yu Hongdo, hearing this voice, Su Huan's brain about Yu Hongdo's memories immediately came out. Immediately understand who Yu Hongdo is. Su Huan is very bright inquiry red bean sister ah, how do you know my phone? Yu Hongdo has a heavy little princess breath. However, when he is with Su Huan, he is still very gentle to Su Huan, which is witnessed by many students. You guess, Yu Hongdo finished her body leaning back, the corners of her mouth more than a smile. Su Huan briefly thought for a while and said I know, it must be the boss said, during the university I can see, the boss is better to you than to others. In fact, Zhao Kai Feng and Yu Hongdo to the university before the acquaintance. The two families have business dealings. The two sides are just acquaintances. During the university, once Yu Hongdo encountered something, Zhao Kai Feng certainly want to take the lead. No matter from that aspect, cannot watch Yu Hongdo suffer. 
Before going to college is just a nodding acquaintance. After going to college because of Su Huan and other reasons, the two instead became close friends. Yu Hongdo listened to Su Huan's voice and immediately realized that it was not good. If Su Huan misunderstood that he had something with Zhao Kai Feng, it would be over. Our two families have business dealings, it is considered to be a very early acquaintance. After graduating from university these years the number of times we meet is very few. See you in the school friends group said divorced, asked a circle before asking him head, then got your cell phone number. Yu Hongdo politely explained. Su Huan smiled, inwardly never suspected that Zhao Kai Feng and Yu Hongdo had anything. Yu Hongdo was never Zhao Kai Feng's favorite type. Zhao Kai Feng once very seriously talked to Su Huan. The future of his wife must marry a talented and ordinary family woman to do. Inside these two conditions, the ordinary family is the first element, is the necessary conditions. Yu Hongdo's family conditions are too good. This point alone, Zhao Kai Feng will not be moved by it. Su Huan smiled and said, I know. The boss told me that he regards you as his sister. Hearing Su Huan's words, Yu Hongdo's nervous heart settled down a lot, as long as Su Huan didn't think about it. Originally I wanted to go see you, but it turns out that my birthday is coming up, and my parents and my brother are going to throw me a big birthday banquet. Yu Hongdo smiled and explained with Su Huan chatting up, not to mention, after many years once again chatting, not the slightest sense of alienation. Instead, there was a feeling of an old friend who hadn't seen each other for years and couldn't say enough. A turn of the eye in the past so many years. By the way, Red Bean sister birthday I cannot pass. What do you want to gift? I am not the person to gift sure to send. Su Huan said with a smile. During the university, Yu Hongdo bought himself a lot of gifts, some of which are worth a lot of money. At this moment, sending an expensive birthday gift by himself was nothing. On the other hand, Yu Hongdo had a thoughtful expression on her face. And after a while, she said with a wry look in her eyes, I want a poem. A poem about me. Great talent. Can you do it? Su Huan froze on hearing. Want a poem? Raised his hand and rubbed his head slightly thinking and said I have promised you. Can't do it. But also have to find a way to do it. I will personally write a poem at that time. Let the boss bring it over to you. Yu Hongdo heard the eyes brightened a lot. Said happily said not to cheat. If I cannot receive the gift. I'm not finished with you. Definitely. Definitely. I'll start racking my brain right now to think about it and will definitely hand over the gift to the boss before he departs Su Huan said this sentence very easily. Yu Hongdo satisfied, digressing from this topic began to chat with Su Huan other. Unknowingly the two talked for more than 20 minutes before ending the call. Put down the phone. Yu Hongdo body back a closed eyes, face with a smile thinking about things. After the birthday will grasp the time in the hands of the project in charge of the end. Next year, their own focus is, put all the power to take you this unenlightened wood. Thinking of this, Yu Hongdo's face once again appeared red. South Metropolis. Su Huan hung up the phone and slowly shook his head. The brain is very difficult to figure out. Su Huan this kind of gloomy not sunshine people actually have so many women like. Didn't women all like sunny and handsome fierce men? This world is really fucking evil. Put down the cell phone and turn around to continue to exercise. After this period of time to exercise, Su Huan has obviously felt that his physical ability to improve a lot. However, it was still a bit wasted and needed to continue to improve. Want to continue to enhance the need for professionals to point out. Thinking for a while have an idea. The night to contact that called Wei Yutong. She is a professional. Remember the first consultation is free. The second consultation will need to spend money. It does not matter. Spend some money to get professional guidance is worth it. Having made up his mind, Su Huan began to concentrate on strength training. Time passes slowly. Soon came to the evening. Su Huan ate dinner back to the bedroom. Just lay down the phone rang. Picked up a look. The phone is Zhao Kai Feng called. Pressed the answer button and said boss. What is the matter? Zhao Kai Feng heard Su Huan's voice said. You kid get ready. Two days later I went to a trip to the south city. Clean and wait for dad to pain you. Su Huan heard on the ha 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 laughed. Laughed and said good son. Dad to prepare you for the milk bath. Just wait for you to come to wash white. Dad's lance has long been sharpened and polished. The two men joked for a while. Agreed to end the call after this. Su Huan mood is very good. Su Huan, Zhao Kai Feng, and Lin Ida and Zhang Wen Yuan. Four people chatting is the happiest. You can have no fear in front of each other to show all their embarrassing things and bad habits. I can laugh, cry and curse without a trace of defense, and say whatever I want to say, without fear. Lying down after opening WeChat began to contact Wei Yutong. At the moment Wei Yutong is nothing is lying in the dormitory. Heard the phone rang picked up and opened the WeChat look. Eyes immediately light. This period of time has been waiting for Su Huan's information, can be said to be waiting for the flowers are thankful, immediately replied Ayin the. Seeing Wei Yutong replied, 
Su Huan began to chat with the other side of the physical exercise professional pointing things, and by the way, asked the other side of the follow-up charges. Wei Yutong performance is very patient. Small hands quickly on the phone point typing send. You a sentence. I a sentence. Unknowingly chat for more than half an hour. During the exchange of phone numbers, and finally ended the chat in the sound of good night. WeChat chat ended. Wei Yutong immediately contacted Xiao Yingying. Once found Su Huan in the official website booking fitness consulting, must be Su Huan's list sent to their own. Xiao Yingying was initially baffled, and then immediately flirted with Wei Yutong after figuring out what was going on, extorting a meal before agreeing to it. A moment they logged on to the giant fitness equipment intranet to see. As long as Su Huan uploaded the application, they will be the first time to send to Wei Yutong. Su Huan is in the southern city to buy the giant fitness equipment. Once the application for fitness consulting, the system will immediately assign the single to sell the product store. By the store owner is responsible for distributing to the fitness trainer. After the fitness trainer receives the order, he can contact the customer for a free fitness guidance. And the fitness trainer shall not charge the customer any fees, which are paid by the giant fitness equipment company, even if the money is not much. In this way you can improve customer stickiness. On the other hand, Su Huan exited WeChat and immediately logged on to the official website of the fitness equipment, filled in his name and ID number to register, and after logging in, he applied for after-sales service and fitness guidance. After doing so, he put his cell phone aside and began to rest. Ten minutes later, Xiao Yingying logged on to the official website background, and indeed saw Su Huan's application, immediately operated, will be sent to the list of Wei Yutong name. Wei Yutong has not been sleeping, the sound of the text message came over and clicked on it which only then put down the phone with a satisfied expression to go to sleep. One night passed. Early in the morning after breakfast, Su Huan will Wei Yutong's phone number to do shoe etching. Let do shoe etching at noon to contact Wei Yutong. Afternoon drive to pick her over. He had been exercising for such a long time that he had reached a bottleneck and needed professional guidance to continue to improve. Do shoe etching agreed in one breath? This matter was nothing. In the morning, Su Huan proceeded according to the plan he had made, not messing up at all. Du Xu Eching had already contacted Wei Yutong to agree on a meeting time and place, she drove out of the manor at 1pm and headed to the west gate of Nandu Art School to pick up Wei Yutong. Nandu Art School, West Gate, at the moment it is already late November, although Nandu City belongs to the southern region but also began to cool down. Wei Yutong combed a ponytail, wearing a thick wool trench coat, feet wearing coffee-colored high-top boots, hand carrying a not small plastic bag standing on the side of the road waiting for Du Xu Eching to come. Just now has politely refused two men over to a cost. Wei Yutong to this kind of rashly go to talk to the girl's men have no good impression. All are simply refused. With a sentence, my boyfriend will be right over to pick me up will be sent away. Soon, the third accosted people over. This time not a student, but a person who has entered society. Wei Yutong also said, my boyfriend will be right over to pick me up words rejected. But this person is not dead heart continue to pester. Wei Yutong is annoyed when Du Xu Eching's car arrived. Immediately walked quickly toward the car. See a beautiful woman toward a SUV to go. The young man did not follow the past to continue to pester. See Wei Yutong car left this only a face of unhappy expression turned away. Nearly three o'clock. Du Xu Eching drove back to the manor. At this moment, Su Huan has already sweated in the gym for strength training. After getting off the car, Du Xu Eching took Wei Yutong to the gym. It was a bit cold outside, but it wasn't cold at all inside the gym. There were heaters all around. Su Huan was wearing an undershirt, big pants and sneakers, carrying a barbell on his shoulders and practicing deep squats, and his chest and back were already covered in sweat. Du Xu Eching walked in with Wei Yutong and said sir, Coach Wei is here. Su Huan nodded and stood up, throwing the barbell onto the soft mat on the ground with a bang. Coach Wei hello said and stretched out his right hand. Wei Yutong also took a step forward to shake hands with Su Huan and said Mr. Su hello. After a brief handshake, Su Huan turned his head to look at Du Xu Eching and said, Xu Eching, take two bottles of water. Do Xu Eching promise to leave? Su Huan looked at Wei Yutong and asked, Coach Wei will drink some water and take a rest before we start. Wei Yutong politely replied, No, just find me a place to change my clothes. Seeing Wei Yutong's resolute attitude, Su Huan nodded and pointed to the door on the side and said, Coach Wei, go over there and change your clothes. There is a light button on the wall on the right hand side of the room. Okay. Wei Yutong finished turning around and walked towards the door quickly pushed the door in, threw the faint light to find the light switch, gently pressed it, snap sound lights up, this is a simple locker room, next to the wall with hooks, in front of a row of white tin cabinets, each locker door on the tin cabinet with a key, the key also carries a rubber band on top, easy to set on the wrist, surrounded by simple nothing, 
Wei Yutong swept a glance and was reassured. Not bad. This Mr. Su locker room is very clean. No cameras installed. Wei Yutong once went to a lot of rich people home for fitness instruction. Into the locker room found the camera turned away. Go back and immediately report it to the brand's official website why push off the list. The official website will give $80 subsidy no longer pursue this matter. More humane. Wei Yutong off campus order is very careful and cautious. Very clear about how to protect themselves. Years down the line has worked out quickly find out the hidden camera skills. Walked to the front of the tin cabinet to open a cabinet door. And found that it was also padded with a piece of rubber mat. Very clean. No longer hesitate to start to take off the clothes. Not long. Then put the clothes into the cabinet. Replaced with a plastic bag inside the tight clothing. Looked at their own convex body and long legs. Wei Yutong deep breath out of the locker room. At this moment, Du Xu Etching has sent over a few bottles of water to leave. Su Huan on the side of the water to drink relaxation. Si Wei Yutong walked out Su Huan has a kind of stunning feeling. Although it was not the first time he saw Wei Yutong in tights, it still gave Su Huan a feeling of amazement. Taking a breath, Su Huan's eyes returned to normal in an instant. However, Wei Yutong saw it clearly. Inwardly, she had already analyzed Su Huan. This kind of person was too conceited about himself and would not take the initiative easily. If you want to take down this kind of man like Su Huan, you must take the initiative to do so. Walked to the distance Su Huan's side stood and asked Mr. Su, you want to understand which aspect of the fitness content? Wei coach. Su Huan just said this sentence. Wei Yutong waved his hand. Su Huan confused Wei Yutong's meaning did not speak again. Wei Yutong looked at Su Huan and said, I am younger than Su. Call me Tong Tong. He said. Su Huan listened to look at Wei Yutong a bit shocked. So called is not a bit too close. Said a this is appropriate? Appropriate. I can see. Su brother is not the kind of thinking about mooching to take advantage of the people Wei Yutong said cheerfully. Su Huan body nature in the difficult to change some of the problems appeared again. Do not know how to reject women. Do not want to make the girl embarrassed. Hesitantly said okay. Tong Tong, here's what happened. I have been working out for some time and feel that my physical strength has improved to a certain extent. And it's hard to want to improve it some more. Su Huan then said the problems he encountered in the last two days of his own workout in fitness. Wei Yutong understood what was going on as soon as she heard it. Su Huan had arrived at the stage where he needed to do systematic workouts. Brother Su, this matter is not a big deal. All people are the same. After regular exercise for a period of time will encounter this kind of problem. Want to continue to improve the quality of the body. You need to carry out systematic training. You can carry out aerobic long and short running training. Appropriate strength training. Of course, some of the workouts that will cause damage to your muscles must be corrected or quit. Wei Yutong heatedly began to explain up. Su Huan listened carefully nodding from time to time, looking at Wei Yutong's eyes within a very clean, does not contain a trace of desire. After chatting for a while, Wei Yutong looked at Su Huan and said, Mr. Su, before the official workout, I need to feel your muscles, so that according to your physique to develop the amount of movement. This, Su Huan was a bit surprised. Seeing Su Huan this performance Wei Yutong said with a smile brother Su don't misunderstand, I do this in order to get myself a long-term cooperation list. The official website to sell after the fitness consulting just once. Consulting time does not exceed 3 hours. In order to facilitate my follow-up to continue to be Sue's fitness trainer, I need to be based on Sue your muscle division, and so on to make a detailed plan. After listening to Wei Yutong's words Su Huan nodded and began to chat with Wei Yutong about how to charge for long-term employment. It didn't take long for Su Huan to agree to give Wei Yutong an order to hire Wei Yutong services for 8 times. Come over once a week. And every Friday night Wei Yutong came over. On Saturdays, she would start coaching Su Huan on physical fitness and strength exercises in the morning. The school vacation is in two months. And Wei Yutong will need to return home. If Su Huan still needs fitness counseling after the new year, we will contact her after the vacation when Wei Yutong returns to school. One day $400. Eight times a total of $3,200. Su Huan needs to be responsible for arranging the vehicle to and from the transfer as well as food and lodging issues. $3,200 for Su Huan in terms of pure child's play. Send a car to pick up and drop off. As well as food and lodging is even more of a problem. After determining the good, Su Huan to the side in accordance with Wei Yutong pointed out the posture stand. Wei Yutong began to Su Huan arm from the beginning of the kneading up muscles. This is really not to do so in order to cart oil. Formal fitness does have this one. But, many gym trainers are using this cart oil soak rich women. Wei Yutong once touched Su Huan's muscles. Once again explain the exercise need to pay attention to the place. How to do will hurt the muscle fibers. How to do on the muscle good. Su Huan nodded his head repeatedly. Not knowing that at this moment, Wei Yutong really saved the mind of mooching on Su Huan's body. 
through the upper half of the body of the touch, Wei Yutong found that Su Huan body fat has dissipated 7 or 8. The follow-up systematic training will completely eliminate these flab. As long as the nutrition keeps up, Su Huan's physical fitness as well as muscle growth will be very fast. 8-pack abs is not a dream. A good while, Wei Yutong on Su Huan body muscles are mastered almost. Su Huan once again began to carry out strength training. This time Wei Yutong is equally nonchalant on the hand. How much the feet open, straighten the back, buttocks back, and so on pointing started. Su Huan very obedient. According to Wei Yutong's instructions began to exercise up. Soon, the body once again appeared sweat. In the past, Wei Yutong smelled the sweaty odor on the man's body is disgusting. But today, smell the sweaty odor on Su Huan's body but think it is very manly. Men should always emit a variety of hormone smell. Sweat is also one of them. Time passes slowly. Soon to 6 o'clock. Du Xu etching once again to the gym, did not enter the door to hear Wei Yutong corrected Su Huan action sound. With a smile, he walked in, and his eyes narrowed when he saw Wei Yutong in a leotard. He was right. This little girl really has a different heart for Su Huan. The body seduction attack has already started. When Du Xu etching entered the room, Wei Yutong immediately stopped talking. At this moment, Wei Yutong's body was also sweaty. She was tired of having to do some action demonstrations for Su Huan. Du Xu etching calmly said sir? Dinner is ready. Su Huan put down the fitness equipment in his hand and stood up and said you take Tong Tong to the guest room to wash up. I'll go back to my room to wash up. We'll see you in the living room in a while okay? Okay. Coach Wei. This way please Du Xu Etching said with a trademark smile on her face as she looked at Wei Yutong. In her heart, however, she raised her evaluation of Wei Yutong by one level. It can be ah. In just a few hours she even fooled Su Huan into directly shouting such an intimate name as Tong Tong. This little girl. Has a hand. After listening to Su Huan's arrangement, Wei Yutong said politely on the side thank you brother Su, I'm much disturbed today, no harm done, you take the clothes and go over with Xu Etching, I'll go first. After Su Huan finished speaking, he nodded to the two of them and turned around to walk towards the outside. After seeing Su Huan leave, Wei Yutong politely said to Du Xu Etching, trouble sister Du. When Du Xu Etching heard this sentence, she smiled and nodded. Wei Yutong saw Du Xu Etching nodding before going to the dressing room to get clothes. Soon after coming out and following Du Xu Etching to leave the fitness room together, it did not take long to reach the second floor. The second floor of the main building is full of guest rooms. Du Xu Etching casually opened one and brought Wei Yutong into it. Coach Wei, there is shampoo in the restroom. And other items, just put it in the bathroom when you're done. Someone will clean it up. I'll wait for you downstairs. Just unlock the door. Du Xu Etching finished looking at Wei Yutong. Wei Yutong said with a smile on her face, Thank you, Sister Du showing a very good behavior, very good at things. I'll go over first, said Du Xu Etching, out of the room. Wei Yutong sent Du Xu Etching to leave after entering the house and unlocked the door, before walking towards the restroom. After entering the restroom cannot help but skim, really big, equivalent to the school 8 dormitory, and then look at a variety of toiletries. All are the top brands on the market. Can't help but feel that rich people are really good at enjoying themselves. Soon cleaned up the mood. The restroom door once again unlocked, but wherever outside the bath, Wei Yutong unlocked the door has become an instinctive habit. Locked the door carefully check some did not find hidden cameras. This only peace of mind began to undress and take a shower. A woman's bath is much more troublesome than a man's. Su Huan finished his bath and changed into a casual dress downstairs. Wei Yutong has not yet appeared, only to see Du Xu Etching sitting alone in the living room. Su Huan sat down and asked, She hasn't come down yet? Du Xu Etching smiled after hearing this and said, a girl's bath is longer than a boy's. So Mr. Su should understand. After hearing this, Su Huan smiled and didn't say anything, and picked up the tea that Du Xu Etching had poured and started to drink it. About 20 minutes later, Wei Yutong carried a bag downstairs and saw Su Huan and Du Xu Etching already waiting. With an embarrassed expression on her face, Wei Yutong quickly walked two steps with an apology and said sorry. Let brother Su and sister do wait. Su Huan stood up and said, no matter, let's go eat. After saying that, he walked towards the restaurant. Du Xu Etching made a motion of invitation? Wei Yutong nodded and followed behind Su Huan. The restaurant has been prepared. There are red dates and white porridge, buns, exquisite small dishes, etc. After greeting Du Xu Etching and Wei Yutong to sit down, Su Huan looked at Wei Yutong and said with a smile, It's a home-cooked meal. Don't mind it. Su brother, this kind of home-cooked meal outside is very difficult to eat. Even if you can eat is very expensive. Today I have the blessing of the mouth Wei Yutong happy more than say their own ideas. Su Huan politely said alike is good, greeted Wei Yutong to eat. Three people calmly eat, from time to time to talk about a meal. Time is not long, 
will be finished the meal. Usually, Wei Yutong's dinner was a bowl of porridge, eating less to control her figure. Today on Su Huan's side, she ate two bowls of kanji and a big bun, which was considered the most and best dinner she had eaten in a while. After the meal, Su Huan invited Wei Yutong to the living room to drink tea. Wei Yutong refused. Some things must stop. Wei Yutong grasped this point very well. Seeing Wei Yutong's resolute attitude, Su Huan used his cell phone to transfer $3,200 to Wei Yutong, which was considered the cost of the next eight weeks and eight times of instruction. Then he arranged for Du Xueqing to drive Wei Yutong back to school. Today, Su Huan was also tired, and after drinking some tea in the living room, he went upstairs to rest. One day passed. The next morning, Su Huan woke up early to continue exercising, and regularly completed various homework throughout the day today. Slowly arrived at 8 o'clock in the evening after having dinner. Just when Su Huan thought that today was another regular day, Gu Wan's phone call came over, saying that she would come to visit Su Huan tomorrow. Su Huan just frowned after hearing that. You don't have to come over tomorrow. My boss is coming to see me. Su Huan calmly said these words, and Gu Wan on the other end of the lion's face was darkened. Who is the boss in Su Huan's mouth? Gu Wan is very clear. Zhao Kaifeng has never had a good face towards Gu Wan, and even persuaded Su Huan in front of Gu Wan. He even advised Su Huan in front of Gu Wan, saying that Gu Wan was too scheming to be a good match, and that Su Huan would definitely regret being with Gu Wan in the future. Even if Gu Wan and Su Huan married, Zhao Kaifeng still have no good face to Gu Wan, still in Su Huan's face bluntly. In the past, Gu Wan was still able to refute Zhao Kaifeng's words, but at the moment, Gu Wan really doesn't have the face to refute Zhao Kaifeng's words. What Zhao Kaifeng said back then had come true. The things she had done had made Gu Wan lose the strength to refute them. This period of time, Gu Wan invested all her energy in the project released by the municipal government, and today there was finally a result of winning the bid, and the company's employees went to a party. Gu Wan then thought of going to meet with Su Huan tomorrow to share the good news. Completely unexpected that Zhao Kaifeng would come to visit Su Huan tomorrow. After collecting her emotions, she said I'll visit you tonight. Su Huan knows very well what Gu Wan is doing here, and thought it would be better to politely decline it's late. You've been busy all day, so take an early rest. I can't sleep without seeing you. Gu Wan continued to press. Very clear Su Huan's personality. Sometimes you do not force a little will be difficult to achieve the purpose. Almost half a month has not seen Su Huan. At this moment Gu Wan just want to lie in Su Huan's arms to sleep. In Su Huan's arms can really relax and rest well. Listening to the silence of the phone. Gu Wan said with a smile at the corner of her mouth. You don't want me to go over there. You'll come to my side. Two choices. You pick one inch. Su Huan hesitated for a moment and said. I'll go to your side. Hearing this, the smile on Gu Wan's face became even more intense, and she agreed in one mouthful and hung up the phone, turning to Pang Jiayun and some other executives to explain a few words, said that he is on this side of everyone cannot let go, let Pang Jiayun on behalf of their own to greet everyone eat, drink and play well. After the explanation, he left the hotel with his bodyguards to return home, to arrive home early to clean himself up. Zhou Mengxia and the others sensed Gu Wan's urgency and could probably guess what was going on so they intentionally increased the speed of the car. Su Huan put down the phone, and his mind began to ponder whether he should finalize a girlfriend as soon as possible to get rid of Gu Wan's entanglement. In Su Huan's original plan, the end of next year's vacation to start a new life, according to their own ideas to live, and slowly cut off those because of their own sake to Gu Bol's company's orders. Cold treatment. A long time Gu Bol's will no difficult to retreat no longer pester themselves, but now Gu Bol's this state continue to pester. Su Huan do not know whether next year they can be ruthless to its cold treatment. When he was thinking about this problem, Su Huan suddenly shivered and his head instantly came to his senses. Damn. I was again affected by the inertia of the original body. No. One must break this thinking inertia. One cannot go on like this. One must break it off with Gu Wan as soon as possible. The mind just gave birth to this thought, and immediately perceived a wave of danger. As if he really did this something horrible would happen. Su Huan took a few deep breaths and suppressed the thought. Paralyzed, he had promised this body soul to treat Gu Wan as a lover. He was so damn dizzy at that time. How could he make this kind of agreement with this dog licking soul? Writer you LSP pit me. Picked up the teacup and drank the tea in one gulp. Forget it, a lover is a lover. Gu Wan's face and body is still very good. Protagonist your damn body is a glutton. Don't wrong me. Su Huan began to comfort himself. Su Huan sat in the living room. His face had a look of thinking about things and slowly drank three cups of tea before he stood up and took the car keys to the parking lot. Soon, Su Huan drove his car and left the manor. Knowing that Su Huan had left, Du Xueqing explained to the gate guard and went to rest. More than 40 minutes later, Su Huan's vehicle stopped at the parking space in front of Gu Bol's house. 
and when he got out of the car, he saw Gu Bol standing at the door in his pajamas. Seeing Su Huan coming, Gu Bols immediately went up to hold Su Huan's arm and entered the villa together with Su Huan. Zhou Mengxiao with bodyguards hiding not far away to see very clearly, see the two into the house. The crowd looked at each other. Really cannot understand what Gu Bols and Su Huan in the play. The two divorced it. Gu Wan in front of Su Huan a bird in the state. The two also continue to roll sheets. The two are not divorced. Right. The divorce certificate has. The two also live separately. Each living their own life. Time slowly passed two hours or so. Su Huan this only from the villa out of the car to leave. Inside the villa. Gu Bol corner of the eyes and eyebrows with pleasure after the spring sleep on the side. Both physical and mental after a person to sleep is nothing. Sleep very peacefully. The night passed. The next morning at 10 o'clock. Su Huan and Du Xu Eching drove to the airport to pick up the plane. Zhao Kai Fong with three bodyguards out of the airport channel. Looked around. He soon saw Su Huan standing not far away and walked towards him with a smile on his face. Su Huan also walked towards him. Both of them opened their arms when they almost came together. Embracing each other. The two immediately began to flirt with each other. Zhao Kai Fong said son. Dad came to see you. Are you happy? Zhao Kai Fong said son. Daddy came to see you. Are you happy? Su Huan said dad came to pick you up. Are you happy? The two finished together and separately punched each other's chest and laughed together. Du Xu Eching watched from the sidelines, clearly feeling that today Su Huan is happier than ever. At this time, Su Huan put his arm around Zhao Kai Fang's shoulder and walked over, introducing the two of them to the parking lot. Su Huan drove with Zhao Kai Fong. Du Xu Eching drove with Zhao Kai Fang's three bodyguards and returned to Su Huan's manor together. Joking along the way time flies, the vehicle into the manor parking lot parked. All people are out of the car Zhao Kai Fong turned his head to look around to come to a sentence Lao Si, you this manner is good. Nothing to take a walk can make people very relaxed. This manner is my lawyer picked. I was given the requirements is to find a quiet enough to let people relax place. Don't consider the price. Su Huan said while guiding Zhao Kai Fong towards the villa. Du Xu Eching, on the other hand, led three bodyguards towards the workers building, which had three floors, with the first floor being the security staff's residence and the second floor being the home staff's residence. On the third floor, there were some rooms with a large area. Du Xu Eching had already occupied a set, and this time, she arranged all three bodyguards into a set of three rooms on the third floor. The three bodyguards didn't have a problem with this arrangement. They knew what kind of relationship their young master had with the owner of the manor, and they didn't dare to play rough and were very cooperative. In the living room of the main floor, Zhao Kai Fong placed his feet on the coffee table. Leaned against the sofa and chatted with Su Huan in a Katsuo lying position it's only when I come to your side that I feel like a human being. You don't need to follow this rule or that rule. Su Huan didn't mind Zhao Kai Feng's behavior at all and said with a smile. As long as the boss likes it, it's good. Zhao Kai Feng smiled and took his legs back. Sat up straight and lifted his hand to unbutton his shirt and said. This time I've come over for two things. The first thing is to talk to the Tonga group over here in the South Metropolis to talk about something. The second thing is that you give you Hongdo's birthday gift to take away. This little girl but gave me no less than 10 times on the phone to urge me. Now that you're divorced, what are you thinking about next? Su Huan is very clear about Zhao Kai Feng's nature. How the heart think how to say. Raised his hand and touched his chin and said. I'm not thinking about it so much now. I only intend to fitness years ago to improve the quality of the body. And by the way, to adjust their own state of mind. The girlfriend thing is not considered for the time being. After a period of time to adjust over and then say. After listening to the words of Su Huan Zhao Kai Feng nodded with their own expectations of the same, pondered for a while and said if you temporarily do not have the heart to talk about ah, it is best to talk to those few women who are not dead to you clear. Other people do not say, you Hongdo is a big trouble. You know very well what the strength of the Yu family in Hong Kong is. Hongdo's parents and brother are very spoiled her. The last few years in the company has also exercised a certain ability and wrist. If she starts to go crazy, not to mention you, I will also suffer. After listening to Su Huan froze, followed by a thoughtful expression on his face, quickly recovered, looked at Zhao Kai Feng inquired listen to the meaning of your words, she threatened you, Zhao Kai Feng raised his hand and gave Su Huan a thumbs up and said the analysis is right, but a little incomplete, she this time on you is imperative, I worry that if she cannot get it, would rather destroy you will not be cheap other women, now she has been practiced, scheming risk than win in the university several times stronger, if you still to the old eyes to see people, this time you will be these women tossed very bad, after saying that, Zhao Kai Feng looked at Su Huan, his eyes reminding Su Huan, warning Su Huan, the meaning is very strong. Zhao Kai Feng's intention is very clear. You do not take this matter seriously. The end will not be good. This time with the past has been different. People will grow, will not be in the same place. 
After listening to what Zhao Kaifeng said, Su Huan began to rub his head. Zhao Kaifeng smiled when he saw Su Huan's headache. It was rare to see Su Huan in this state. Su Huan snapped his head up and looked at Zhao Kaifeng to come up with a sentence you say. I do not send you Hongdo birthday gift. Let her completely dead to me how. The next best thing. If you dare not send a gift. I dare to give you a guarantee that she will definitely charter a plane the day after her birthday and fly straight to South City to block you. Zhao Kaifeng said this sentence with great certainty. Su Huan's head got even bigger. And at this moment, there was really no heart in his heart to start another relationship. See Su Huan headache. Zhao Kaifeng moved better. Opened his mouth and said, By the way, Zhou Xinyun, Su Ran Ran, Baby Inc., did the eight of them contact you? Zhou Xinyun came twice. Su Ran Ran, Inc. Baby two people called me. Said after the year will come to South City to play. Let me into the landlord's friendship. Other people did not call for the time being. Su Huan honestly said. So that there is also let Zhao Kai Feng give the idea. On the understanding of women. Zhao Kai Feng when the second Su Huan cannot think of who can be the first. University four years time. Zhao Kai Feng has talked about girlfriends without 20 is almost the same. The strange thing is. After the separation of those girls did not say Zhao Kai Feng bad words. Although Zhao Kai Feng is recognized as a playboy. But. In the girls group's reputation is still very good. Zhao Kai Feng nodded after listening and asked Gu Bo that bitch. Did she look for you? Yes. She is still not dead to me. I have said with her will not return to the past. Hey. Su Huan is very helpless to say these. Zhao Kai Feng heard a cold snort said you ah. The biggest problem is that the woman cannot say cruel words. Cannot do cruel things. You shouldn't have saved her this time. Said Su Huan gave a contemptuous look. Su Huan rubbed his head honestly not refute. Su Huan and Zhao Kai Feng are roommates. Die hards. And what happened between Su Huan and Gu Wan has already heard Su Huan say it all over again in detail. It is clear why Su Huan got divorced. However, Zhao Kai Feng is also high on Gu Bols. And after Su Huan divorced, Su Huan immediately started to take action after Su Huan's point of view. This time, he was able to send his biological mother and stepfather in. And ordinary people really do not have this kind of ruthless means. This matter will be done so absolutely. One third of the factor is to hope that Su Huan happy. Want to restore Su Huan. Want to return to the past with Su Huan. Gu Wan forgot one thing. Men can forgive women many things. Only can not forgive the betrayal. Especially from the wife's betrayal. Su Huan's character is no longer good. But he will never remarry Gu Wan. If Yi Shan comes after Gu Wan openly and honestly to make her move. I will divorce Gu Wan to fulfill them. But he even played this kind of childish means of counting on me. So that he took great pains to pursue the woman personally sent him to prison for life. Without a few decades he is not out of this psychological shadow. Every time I think of this, Yi Shan can't help but go crazy. A newcomer going crazy and playing rough inside the prison. The consequences can be imagined. Su Huan calmly said these words. Zhao Kaifeng once again gave Su Huan a thumbs up and said good. Killing to kill. Very good. You're not hopelessly stupid. You can't be hard on Gu Wan now is it also related to Gu Wan's actions. Su Huan nodded and admitted it. There was no need to wear a mask to be a human being in front of Zhao Kaifeng. He could be completely relaxed and trust completely. Hey. This woman understands you too well. Will you completely figured out? If you do not make huge changes, I analyze that you have to continue to plant her hands. She will continue to do things to make you move. One year cannot be two years. Until you agree to remarry with her. Seeing her less is the way to go. Zhao Kaifeng said these words with a look of hatred. Su Huan was helpless after listening to this. The reason why he wanted to go to the entertainment industry was also the idea of changing his habits. Especially the treatment of Gu Wan's feelings. Affected by this body is too much. Sometimes, Su Huan suspected that the licking dog soul did not dissipate. Hidden in the dark silently affect themselves. Don't mention her. It's annoying to mention her Su Huan said and raised his hand to rub his temples. When Zhao Kai Feng saw such Su Huan he couldn't help but laugh. When he wanted to speak again Du Xue Qing came over with tea. Put down the tea and nodded to Zhao Kai Feng and turned to leave. Your housekeeper is good. The face and body can be. This a young woman flavor can play 90 points Zhao Kai Feng looked at Du Xue Qing's back to give his own evaluation. When Su Huan heard this, he immediately said, Boss, Xu Weqing is a good woman, don't get any wrong ideas. Okay, see you nervous, I said that is to say, my principle is what you do not know. The women around my friends whether they are girlfriends or not, I absolutely respect them. Zhao Kai Feng calmly said this sentence. Su Huan then nodded with confidence. This point can still trust Zhao Kai Feng. During school, although Zhao Kai Feng talked about his girlfriend a lot, he was sticking to his principles. 1. Women who have boyfriends, or who are in an ambiguous period with a certain man, do not mess with them. Second, this woman has a single-minded dog licking around. Do not provoke. Third, 
Around the friends of this woman has a heart, absolutely do not provoke. When you meet a woman you like, as soon as you find out that she has a boyfriend, Zhao Kaifeng will immediately shift the goal to chase other girls. Du Xu Weqing also heard Su Huan's words with Zhao Kaifeng, and was both relieved and upset. Su Huan's defense makes Du Xu Weqing happy. Zhao Kaifeng's flowery mouth makes Du Xu Weqing very unhappy. Mister, this boss is not old, definitely a LSP. Bad thing. Su Huan and Zhao Kaifeng drank tea and chatted, as if they had endless words, until Du Xu Weqing came to call the two to eat. Which stopped. The two raised their hands and finished the tea in their cups, standing up together to go to the dining room. Today Su Wan prepared the brother's favorite Jian Anshan. The dishes are two meat, two vegetarian and two soups, all of which are the dishes that Zhao Kaifan loves to eat and the soups that he loves to drink. Open the wine poured on. The brother and sister began to eat and drink. Not long, Zhao Kaifan body shirt buttons are basically unbuttoned. Su Wan also stripped down to only an undershirt. The fire engine lit two cigarettes. The two brothers began to swallow clouds and continue to drink. Du Xu Weqing secretly has been paying attention to Su Huan? Today's Su Huan with the usual judgment of two people. Zhao Kaifeng did not come before. Su Huan is a fluttering gentleman modest gentleman gentle and elegant. After Zhao Kaifeng came today, Su Huan turned into a Jiang Hu reckless disregard for any etiquette to speak also become staggering up. The two drank dizzy end. Su Huan carrying Zhao Kaifeng's suitcase to send Zhao Kaifeng to the second floor guest room. Played a greeting returned to the third floor rest. Zhao Kaifeng was in Nandu city for the past few days, so it was good to stay at home. The two men slept until almost 6 o'clock in the afternoon before waking up, went downstairs to drink some tea to wake up. Dinner was very light food, although light but very nutritious. After the meal drink tea when Li Mingfeng came over, the three chatted for a while and accompanied Zhao Kaifeng to leave the house together. Zhao Kaifeng over. Su Huan is sure to arrange a proper so that Zhao Kaifeng play to the fullest. Su Huan on the south of the city fun places do not understand. To Li Mingfeng called the night to let Li Mingfeng arrangements. All consumption by Su Huan to pay the bill. More than 8 o'clock out. 1 in the morning only dizzy back. Is the bodyguard drove the car. Du Xu Weqing did not sleep has been waiting. The vehicle back to welcome the past. The car door opened on the smell of rich alcohol as well as a light perfume flavor. Su Huan and Zhao Kaifeng got out of the car. Two bodyguards immediately held Zhao Kaifeng. Du Xu Weqing also stepped forward to hold Su Huan. Lifting one of Su Huan's arms and placing it on her shoulder to hold the drunken Su Huan. Su Huan and Zhao Kaifeng continued to be staggeringly carried to the villa. Du Xu Weqing nodded to the two bodyguards and carried Su Huan up to the third floor, while the two bodyguards helped Zhao Kaifeng into the room to take care of him. On the third floor, Su Huan's bedroom. Du Xu Weqing helped Su Huan to go to the bathroom first. Su Huan immediately kneeled down to hold the toilet and began to vomit. A good while of time and so Su Huan vomiting end. Over a cup of water to coax Su Huan gargling. A cup of water gargling a few times this only to help up Su Huan. Su Huan helped to the bed. Look at lying on the bed with a dead fish Su Huan. Du Xu Weqing face hesitation expression. More than 10 seconds to recover. Began to hand pick Su Huan's clothes. Su Huan only had a pair of panties left. And only then did she go to the side and pick up the honey water to feed Su Huan. Until Su Huan will drink a whole cup of honey water. Only then let Su Huan lie down. Pull over a side of the thin quilt cover good. Du Xu Weqing went to make a cup of honey water and put it on the bedside, looking down at Su Huan. Her head stretched forward and was about to touch Su Huan's face when she stopped. A hint of redness appeared on her face. Immediately straighten up the body and quickly step away from Su Huan's room. Not long to leave the villa to return to the workers building their own room. Wash some lying on the bed and touched his face. What is wrong with himself today? How would want to do this kind of shameful things? A good while time. Hands rubbed his face a pull quilt covered head to sleep. The night passed. Today Su Huan Rare did not get up early to exercise, but Zhao Kaifeng woke up at 9 o'clock in the morning, with three bodyguards ate breakfast together. Returning to his room, he carried a bag to the living room, handed the bag to the bodyguards and turned to Du Xu Weqing, saying a mess. Du, please drive me to the city. Du Xu Weqing had already gotten Su Huan's explanation, so she agreed to it painfully. Okay, Zhao Xiao, this way please. Zhao Kaifeng nodded and followed Du Xu Weqing to the outside and got into Du Xu Weqing's car. Zhao Kaifeng sat in the co-pilot and the three bodyguards sat in the back row. The three bodyguards are all large-waisted and powerful body types. Sitting in the back row was a bit crowded. The vehicle drove out of the manor Du Xu Weqing asked did Zhao Yun where to go. Zhao Kaifeng raised his hand and rubbed his head without thinking to come into the car company. I first buy a car with. Du Xu Weqing froze. Su Huan has not already given Zhao Kaifeng his car key to let him use it casually, although puzzled but quickly reacted. I hit steering wheel toward the direction of the car city to drive. Inside is very emotional. Rich is cool. Said to buy a car to buy a car. They also want to experience a this kind of capricious. 
all the way without words, soon arrived at the car city. This time the car city major brand stores have just opened the door. Zhao Kaifeng said faintly on the side to Mercedes-Benz store. Du Xueqing was very cooperative to drive the vehicle to the door of the Mercedes-Benz store, Zhao Kaifeng said before getting off the car. You follow along. After saying that, he got off the car. The three bodyguards also followed. Du Xueqing got off the car last, and a group of people walked in. As soon as several people entered the specialty store, a sweet-looking salesgirl named Hong Ruinxia immediately welcomed them, receiving Zhao Kaifeng and his party with a smile on her face. Before this Hong Ruinxia introduced a few sentences, Zhao Kaifeng impatiently said, Show me the most upscale commercial vehicles in your store. I'm in a hurry. Okay Hong Ruinxia promised and guided Zhao Kaifeng and the others towards the inside. Inside, she was very excited. This order today is a sure thing. Hong Ruinxia in the store has been dry for more than four years. Zhao Kaifeng entered the store was found by Hong Ruinxia and immediately judged Zhao Kaifeng is a really not bad money of the sun. The reason why this can endure this is Hong Ruinxia ate out of the loss. Hong Ruinxia looks sweet, not too old. People also appear lively, very pleasing to the eye. A lot of people think about Hong Ruinxia, want to pick up this little girl to the hand. Today's society to pick up girls is to pretend to be the second generation. Took four losses, although not taken by the other side to take themselves, but also by the other side to eat a lot of tofu. In the boss's enlightenment began to study the vehicle as well as knowledge of luxury goods, as well as to look at the temperament on the person. After more than two years of exercise, Hong Ruinxia now has a very poisonous vision. Customers can judge whether a deal can be made as soon as they enter the door. This intuition is tried and true. Today, as soon as Zhao Kaifeng and his entourage entered the door, Hong Ruinxia decided that this was a customer who could make a deal. This feeling was very strong, so Hong Ruinxia immediately jumped ahead to receive Zhao Kaifeng. Sir, this is the newest model in our store, a high-grade business car that Mercedes-Benz has just produced, which is fitted with a star top. Hong Ruinxia started to introduce it. Zhao Kaifeng interrupted Hong Ruinxia's introduction and said, Stop, open the door and let me go up and experience it. Okay. Hong Ruinxia was very cooperative and immediately opened the car door to let Zhao Kaifeng go up to experience it. Zhao Kaifeng in the driver's seat, co-pilot, compartment, all sat for a while, experience a variety of functions before getting off. What price? There is no new car. Now cannot drive away immediately asked three questions. 1,399,000. There is a new car. Our store can be out of the temporary license. At any time you can drive away. Hong Ruinxia immediately replied to. Zhao Kaifeng no nonsense directly to a take the contract. Arrange for someone to send a new car over. Yes. Please come over here and have some tea. I'll go and handle it right away Hong Ruinxia said politely. Greeting Zhao Kaifeng and his party to the side to have some tea. Just sat down. Zhao Kaifeng looked at Du Xueqing and said. You follow to go through the formalities. This car into Su Huan's name. Swipe this card. The password is 61 inch. After saying this, he handed Du Xueqing a card and waved his hand, letting him quickly go through the process. Du Xueqing looked at the card and froze, not knowing whether to take it or not. Zhao Kaifeng looked at the hesitant Du Xueqing a little impatient and said go. Su Huan will not blame you. After saying that, he turned his head to look at a bodyguard next to him and said old pie. You also follow. Check if the vehicle is a new one inch. Yes. Young master. Old Pai finished standing up, pulled Du Xueqing and followed Hong Ruinxia to leave. Far away from Zhao Kaifeng, La Pai looked at Du Xueqing and asked MS. Du, are you following Mr. Su for a short period of time? Yes. Du Xueqing immediately admitted it and Old Pai smiled. MS. Du, turn around and find some time for you to have a good chat with Mr. Su. At the very least, you should know some of Mr. Su's strength as well as the good brothers have those. Your Mr. Su. Mr. Lin from Tianchang City, Mr. Zhang from Ladasa City, and my young master are best friends. The four of them are very close to each other. They have tens of millions of dollars, even hundreds of millions of dollars, without any borrowing procedures, and they trust each other. I'm sure Mr. Su told you that what my young master told you is as valid as what he said. Likewise, when Mr. Su arrives at our home, the young master will explain to everyone in the family beforehand. So don't worry about it, sending Mr. Su a million dollar vehicle won't matter to either our young master or your mister. Su, the old skin walked while guiding Du Xueqing, so that Du Xueqing could not understand the matter here and make misunderstanding things, when the young master and mister. Su's face are not good. Du Xueqing listened to the old skin explanation, heart only then understand what is going on. Combined with yesterday Su Huan advanced to explain their words know that the old skin said is not false. With a thankful tone, she said thank you for your guidance. The sight of the old skin satisfied nodded. 
did not notice the sight of the sales lady Hong Ruinsha face full of shocked expression. I shit. Send each other millions of luxury cars do not care. What kind of divine friendship is this? With an incomparable shocked mood please two people to the room to start the formalities. Call the warehouse to immediately open a brand new high-level business car sent to the store. Full payment. No haggle. Swipe the card is very smooth. Everything is smooth and incomparable. Soon filled out a variety of formalities to improve the various procedures. Send two people in Zhao Kai phone convergence. Hong Ruanxia and give two people over tea. Arrange for people to go for a temporary license plate. Half an hour passed. A brand new Mercedes-Benz high-grade commercial car drove over. The old skin out to check the goods. Not long back. Gave Zhao Kaifeng a reassuring look without saying a word. Zhao Kaifeng turned his head and looked at Du Xu Etching said. You take the contract to drive a new car to go for licenses and other formalities. Your car I drove away to do business. The key to me. Du Xu Etching immediately handed over her car keys to Zhao Kaifeng, who took them and threw them to Lao Pai, who raised his hand to take them. Zhao Kaifeng stood up and left. Hong Runxia followed at the side attentively sending this young master away. Inwardly very emotional. This fucking is the real second generation. Buy a million luxury car without blinking the price also do not speak. Bought on the go a little nonsense. Before and after less than an hour to get it done. Bolo, D. Zhao Kaifeng four people drove Du Xu Eching's car left. Du Xu Eching looked at the key in his hand, and looked at the million dollar luxury car in front of him. There was a feeling of dreaming. With their own salary, six years of not eating or drinking to buy a, in the eyes of Zhao Kaifeng, buy this luxury car with him am breathing no difference. Lamented some barfing mouth got on the car. Drove to the Vehicle Management Institute to perfect all the formalities, and in the meantime called home to arrange for the workers to work all kinds of work, especially in terms of lunch. Last night Su Huan drank a lot. Lunch must be a little lighter. Must have nutrition. More than 11 o'clock. Su Huan, which only Dizzy woke up, felt a dry mouth, turned his head and looked at the bedside table on the water. End up on the gulp 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 drink down. Drinking finished long exhaled a breath. Comfort. Sweet and very comfortable. A lift the covers out of bed out of a step froze, looked down at themselves, the brain began to recall what happened last night, stayed standing for a while time this only reacted to, have all remembered, the corner of the mouth with a hint of a smile to go to the restroom to wash up, painfully took a shower, only then wearing pajamas downstairs, straight to the restaurant to eat, for Zhao Kaifeng to leave this matter is not surprised at all, Zhao Kaifeng is a warrior who has experienced the test of alcohol for many years, no matter how much he drank last night, the next day's business will definitely not be delayed. It was like this when he went to college. And it was still like this when he worked for his family's company after graduating from college. Zhao Sun's attitude towards Zhao Kaifeng is also related to Zhao Kaifeng's style of drinking and having fun without delaying things. As long as Zhao Kaifeng does not delay the business. Just how he has fun. Young people, completely understandable. Su Huan had dinner at home drinking tea. Du Xu Eching drove a Mercedes-Benz high-grade business car back. Into the villa will be handed the keys to Su Huan began to report in detail. No need to worry. In the future, no matter how much money he sends me, you just accept it Su Huan said this sentence calmly, which is considered to set the tone for Du Xu Eching. Du Xu Eching hesitated for a moment after hearing this and said, Sir, can you tell me about your friends, so that I can make no mistake when they come to visit you in the future. Su Huan listened to some thought and agreed, but also to the time to talk with Du Xu Eching in detail, this period of time Du Xu Eching's work is still very satisfied with their own. Du Xu Eching also intends to work in their side of the long term, to further enhance mutual trust time. Drink a mouthful of tea. Began to explain to Du Xu Eching some people and things. Will Zhao Kaifeng, Lin Ida, Zhang Wan Yuan, three people's things with Du Xu Eching. In the future, these three people will send gifts, no matter how much they are worth. Just accept them. Said these three people's things, and will be Li Mingfeng, Gu Bol. Some people's things also told a lot, so that do shoe etching hard have a number, to what to stay away from, to what people can be trusted. More than 4 o'clock in the afternoon, Zhao Kaifeng and his entourage came back. Su Huan accompanied Zhao Kaifeng in the living room and drank tea for a while before going out for a walk and chat. Walking and chatting in the garden for more than 10 minutes, Su Huan gave Li Mingfeng a phone call continue to get high tonight. You arrange a good place. Su Huan called Li Mingfeng and said, we'll continue to get high tonight. Okay. I arranged properly in the past. Li Mingfeng promised to make the arrangements. After Su Huan hung up the phone, the side of Zhao Kaifeng gave Su Huan a thumbs up. Brother arrangements are in place. After chatting for a while, the two of them turned around and returned to the villa. Zhao Kaifeng went directly to his room to rest, to save up for the night's fun and games, asleep until 7 o'clock before getting up, and Su Huan together to the restaurant to eat, is eating when Li Mingfeng drove over to join the two. After eating, 
The three of them drank a few cups of tea in the living room and left the house together with their bodyguards. Tonight was destined to be another night of youthful sweat and hijinks. At night, the top integrated clubhouse in southern metropolis, the Star Clubhouse, Guwan was here today having dinner in a box with a few clients, both male and female, and was talking and chatting when a middle-aged woman in her 40s or 50s pushed the door in. Seeing this woman, Gu Wan immediately stood up and said, Sister Jiang, why are you so late? Sister Jiang is called Jiang Inhua, is the director of the credit department of the Cosmos Bank's Nandu City branch, and Gu Wan's relationship is very good, is considered to be a forgotten best friend. My niece is bouncing around in the back with a few friends, I went to take a look, and by the way, I instructed some of the openers to let them protect it. A little delay. Ginger explained with a smile and sat down and began to exchange pleasantries with the crowd. Chatting a few sentences took a sip of tea turned to look at the goobol came just now I saw your ex-husband accompanying a young man with a group of girls in the play. How did he become like this now? In Jian Inoa's memory, Su Huan is never to these places to play. Very clean a person. The others all looked at goobols when they heard this. Two middle-aged men looked at goobols with a change in their eyes when they heard this, and began to have a little more other thoughts inside. Goobol said without thinking. I know. That young man is Zhao Kaifeng, the youngest master of the Zhao group in Shanghai City, and Su Huan is his best friend. He only arrived in southern metropolis yesterday. Hearing this sentence everyone was taken aback. Shanghai High City Zhao group is one of the real behemoths in Xia. I didn't expect Gu Wan's ex-husband to have such a relationship with Zhao group's youngest master. The two middle-aged men who had just started to think differently about Gu Bols immediately snuffed out this little thought after hearing Gu Bols' explanation. Even if Gu Bols had divorced Su Huan, even if Gu Bols is divorced from Su Huan, the woman I don't want is not for you to get your hands on. If you can afford to mess with Su Huan, can you afford to mess with the Zhao group in Shanghai? Once Zhao Kaifeng helps Su Huan out, the consequences are unbearable, difficult to bear. You, you really don't know what's good for you, with your husband's relationship with Zhao's group. Zhao's group's hand casually leaks some projects to you so that you can eat and drink all your life without worrying about the life of a rich wife. Think about it. For us women, family comes first. Put it down when it's time to put it down. Zhang Inhua and Gu Bol relationship is very good, usually in the ability to take care of Gu Bol. All because Zhang Inhua and Gu Bol's girlfriend's feelings are verified. Zhang Inhua's husband, LV Wen Ming, has taken a political career and is now one of the most powerful men in the southern metropolis. One day, the couple was joking at home. LV Wen Ming said he was still in demand and told Zhang Inhua to guard against fire and theft to prevent her best friend. Zhang Yinhua is very sure that she recognizes that her best friend will never agree to LV Wenming's invitation alone. LV Wenming does not believe, to his status in the city of South speaking, as long as the city of South businesswomen, want to ask about their own dinner alone countless. Only he has been sticking to his principles. Husband and wife mutually unconvinced, began to pick from Zhang Yinhua girlfriends. LV Wenming put the word out. Let Zhang Yinhua pick their own. Today let Zhang Yinhua see what is called fire prevention and theft prevention girlfriends. Two people pick to pick to pick out the body appearance of the first class Guan. Guan's company if you get LV Civilization's full support, and then on a stage is a very easy thing. LV Wenming definitely has a huge attraction to Guan, a strong woman of her kind. After determining this, LV Wenming called Guan in front of Zhang Yinhua to extend an invitation. He said that Zhang Yinhua was not in the southern city and that he was in a bad mood and wanted to invite Guan for dinner and a drink. Guan heard immediately refused. Very dry attitude said brother Lu, I eat alone with you will let people misunderstand, will let Jiang's sister misunderstanding, the future of this kind of thing do not contact me, after saying this, he hung up LV Wenming's phone in a very dry manner, Gu Wan's attitude made Jiang Inhua very dignified, and Lu Wenming was willing to gamble to give his wife a thumbs up, the couple joked and laughed for a few moments, and Jiang Inhua immediately called Gu Wan again, explaining and apologizing to her, and was finally blackmailed by Gu Wan for a meal. Zhang Yinhua was in a good mood and agreed to it. A few days later when the two men dined alone, Zhang Yinhua gave Gu Bol a set of cosmetics worth a lot of money. After this incident, Zhang Yinhua and Gu Wan's girlfriend's feelings further. Gu Wan take care of a lot of trust, therefore, Gu Wan and Su Huan divorce this matter know the causes and consequences very clearly. Recently, she has also advised Gu Wan that the mistake she made is one that no man would ever turn back, and that she should stop thinking about getting back together with Su Huan and start over again. Gu Wan can't listen to this kind of words. I'll wait for him to come back no matter what. Even if he ends up marrying someone else. I'll still be his lover. I will never let go. Gu Bols was very stubborn in showing her attitude. Zhang Yinhua didn't know how to persuade anymore and only said you ah. Won't turn back until you hit the south wall. Seeing that the attention of the crowd is focused on himself and Gu Wan. 
Zhang Yinhua immediately diverged from the topic and began to talk to the crowd about other things. The crowd also intentionally do not talk about this topic. Soon, the atmosphere in the box became lively again. Only, within the crowd, a few smart people began to reassess Su Huan in their hearts. Previously, these people also thought that Su Huan was a white boy, married to Gu Bowls and became a housewife, purely a soft eater. Now it seems that this is not the case at all. Su Huan this person is not so simple. Not to say much, to Su Huan and Shanghai City Zhao's group young master Zhao Kaifeng's dead relationship, casually do a business billionaire identity did not run. Su Huan is also so low profile, let people misunderstand that he is a soft rice man. This kind of low profile people you should never underestimate. Tonight, Su Huan and Zhao Kaifeng once again played until after 1 a.m. M. Before returning home, just like yesterday. Du Xueqing helped Su Huan upstairs to take care of Su Huan to lie down and rest, the same Su Huan stripped down to just a pair of panties, the difference is that today, Du Xueqing gave Su Huan a slapdash kiss on the cheek before leaving, Su Huan, who was already drunk, didn't even know that he had been kissed, Gu Wan returned home tonight, washed up and lay on the bed, took out her cell phone and pulled out Su Huan's number, hesitated and did not dial it, at the end of today's meal, Lu Wenming drove to pick up Jiang Yinhua, and that kind of mutual care between husband and wife made Gu Wan eat it up. Originally, he was also this kind of enjoyment, but unfortunately, everything was played out by his own death. Sentimental for a while, clean up the mood to lie down to rest, slowly, no matter how long it takes, but also must be with Su Huan together. Su Huan don't want to cut with himself in this life. One night passed, Su Huan and Zhao Kai Feng both woke up after 11 o'clock. Su Huan woke up this time and didn't care about the fact that he had been stripped naked. The mutual trust with Du Xueqing had been raised. The mutual trust with Du Xueqing has been improved. He didn't recall what happened last night after drinking too much, and went to take a shower and change clothes to go downstairs without worrying about it. Su Huan sipped tea in the living room, waited for a while for Zhao Kai Feng to come downstairs, and greeted him to go eat lunch together. How to play the next trip was arranged by Su Huan. Zhao Kai Feng didn't worry about it at all, and he played in style for two days in Nandu City before leaving Nandu City with the gifts Su Huan had prepared for Yu Hongdo. After sending Zhao Kai Feng away, Su Huan's life was once again regular, exercising every day, reading and studying, practicing brush strokes, and starting to live a regular life. Two days later on Friday night, Du Xueqing went to the school to pick up Wei Yutong to come over to the manor, and stayed directly in the guest room at night, and woke up at 6 o'clock sharp tomorrow morning to accompany Su Huan for morning exercise, to systematically guide Su Huan in fitness exercise. Early morning workout down, Wei Yutong's tights almost soaked. Work out and back to the room when the bath changed clothes, will be handed over to the family's people to quickly wash the tights to shake a dry. The next few hours weigh Yutong free activities, you can go to the garden for a walk, you can also drink tea in the living room, or you can go back to the guest room to rest. It was very free. At 2.30 p.m., when Su Huan finished his lunch break for strength and other program training, Wei Yutong's tights were already dry and changed up to continue working. In the evening after dinner, with a bag containing their own clothes to leave by car, do Xueqing will Wei Yutong to the school entrance? So Wei Yutong into the school before returning. I know that Wei Yutong has plans for Su Huan, but Du Xueqing does not intend to stop. At noon Su Huan in the study to read books to learn to cultivate. Du Xueqing and Wei Yutong talked about it. Wei Yutong's family is an ordinary family. After going to college, the monthly living expenses compared to the roommate is also the least, which creates Wei Yutong precocious. From freshman year onwards, she has been doing odd jobs to earn money to alleviate the burden on her family. Currently, Wei Yutong has a total of three part-time jobs, although ambitious, but also a very self-love, very hard work to change the life of the girl. Du Xueqing can see her own shadow in Wei Yutong? After she came back to the southern city was not also harassed by the employer? She really didn't want to experience that kind of powerlessness anymore. So she understood Wei Yutong's heart. With Wei Yutong's systematic guidance, Su Huan exercise every day to insist on non-stop, coupled with the nutrition is not lacking. The body of all aspects of data in the rapid improvement. The new year is approaching. All enterprises have entered the busy stage. These days Gu Wan is busy with the company's things also cannot care to harass Su Huan. Su Huan is also happy to be clean. Time passes day by day. Without realizing it, 10 days have passed since Zhao Kai Feng left the southern city. Xiangjiang City, Feng Kai Hotel, Room 2017. This was a large business suite. Zhao Kai Feng and Yu Hong Do were chatting in the living room. After chatting for a while Zhao Kai Feng got up and returned to the bedroom, then came back with a roll of paper. This is his birthday present for you. After saying that, the left hand inverted the right hand with a gesture of not wanting to give Yu Hongdo so easily. Yu Hongdo face a red fierce glare at Zhao Kai Feng. 
Zhao Kaifang only a smile will be the roll of paper handed over set open to see. I would like to know the old four talent has not regressed. You Hondo nonchalantly came to a do your dream to go. Huan brother gave me the poem can only I a person to see. Zhao Kaifang listened to the skimming. A poem let you Hondo this little crazy bitch as treasure. Really, in love with the woman IQ minimum drop by half. I can tell even if you don't show me. Lao Si said that this poem is his original. Send me away which day said that he would register himself on the Dasha Poetry Copyright website. I'll know if I check it at night. It's no big deal. Zhao Kaifong did not think to say this sentence. Yu Hondo not angry at all said you can see so what? You can get the manuscript of this poem? The two did not care about the bodyguards standing around. The sword back and forth for a while. Zhao Kaifong, which entered the main topic, said no kidding, with you to say something serious. Finished face expression became serious up. Yu Hongdo also put away the relaxed expression became serious up. This time I went over to ask him seriously. With my guess, he now needs to adjust his mind. After the year we'll find a time to go on vacation to relax a bit. It is estimated that there will be a change in mindset when he comes back from vacation. He also admitted to me that he has no intention of starting a new relationship in the near future. So you have to be prepared for that. In addition, Gu Bowles, Zhou Xinyun, Su Ran Ran, Baby M.O. None of these people are dead to Su Huan. However, I think your biggest rival is and isn't Gu Wan. Gu Wan has been with Su Huan for too long. She understands Su Huan too well, and grasped Su Huan's habits too deeply. Once she doesn't have the cheek to play hard to get Su Huan, Su Huan adjusted his mindset. After the year after the vacation intends to live another life, is to let Gu Wan no longer understand himself. If the change is not big, hey, I analyze. In the end, Su Huan will still be taken down by her. So, you have to have a heart preparation in advance, to think of a plan to take him down. Listen to me, don't do it the hard way. Su Huan is a typical soft eater, but not a hard seller. Zhao Kaifon will be his own analysis truthfully speak out. How to do is Yu Hongdo's thing. He is to support Yu Hongdo to take down Su Huan with him. As for the final success, it depends on God's will. According to the latest news, Yu Hongdo's several competitors are not simple. Want to achieve the final victory is a bit of a long way to go. Yu Hongdo listened to frown and nodded, thought for a while and said how do I do the best, this I cannot give you advice, this time with the old four talk found that he wants to change the idea is very strong, even, said here glanced at Yu Hongdo, hesitating for a moment to continue to say even he has the mind to indulge himself, this point you have to be psychologically prepared, he wants to indulge a bit I understand, if he is willing, I can arrange someone for him to let him indulge a bit to release the various discomforts that have accumulated within him. Yu Hongdo raised her eyebrows without a care in the world and said these words. Zhao Kaifeng heard this sentence the whole person is confused. After the reaction immediately gave Yu Hongdo a thumbs up. MD, Yu Hongdo this kind of woman hard to get, will even think of arranging a woman for her boyfriend to let him indulge? This is really a good woman who cannot be found by hitting the light building. The bodyguards standing around inwardly also have the same idea as Zhao Kaifeng. Yu Hongdo is a real little princess of the mansion, but also she is willing to give her boyfriend so arranged. Really fucking is too sweet. One by one, they all wish they were Yu Hongdo's boyfriend. Hongdo's sister, if you have an ordinary family background, brother I will definitely chase you. Zhao Kaifeng uttered these words with an extremely regretful face. The Zhao group had developed to the point where it was now, and had already gotten rid of the shackles of marriage. But everything was too much, and marriage wasn't necessarily a good thing for the Zhao Zhao family. The Zhao family as well as Zhao Kaifeng all saw this very thoroughly. Zhao Zhao Kaifeng will be looking for a wife in the future. The wife's mother's family must be an ordinary family. If you are not from an ordinary family, no matter how talented or beautiful you are, Zhao Kaifeng will definitely not take you as his legal wife. Cut. Yu Hongdo finished giving Zhao Kaifeng a contemptuous gesture, knowing very well why Zhao Kaifeng had this kind of thinking. Other people couldn't understand this kind of thinking of Zhao Kaifeng. Yu Hongdo was very clear. His own third brother Yu Jiaha was not so. Third sister-in-law is a graduate of Cambridge University in Eagle Land. Her family is an ordinary family was chased by the third brother Yu Jiahao after everything to the third brother as the main. She's third brother's wife at work and his wife in life. This kind of woman is the ideal wife. The third brother did not have any woman outside after marriage, and his wife love each other. The reason for this is that the third brother Yu Jiahao chased the third sister-in-law before already tired of playing, into the need for a family stage. Haven't you ever eaten pork or seen a pig run? Yu Hongdo sees some things thoroughly and sensibly, and through contact with his three sister-in-laws, he also clearly knows how to capture a man's heart. Therefore, the things that Zhao Kaifeng was worried about just now didn't count in Yu Hongdo's view. On the contrary, being able to let Su Huan indulge a bit before marriage to see these clearly, to see clearly what kind of lover she needs to spend her life together. 
and to be more down to earth after marriage instead. If you think that way, I'm rather more at ease. Su Huan if a different way of living. I do not believe that those women can still accept this kind of Su Huan. You have a high hope of winning. Act boldly, I support you. If you need to put pressure on him, just speak up. I won't push back. Zhao Kai Feng immediately took a stand. At this moment in the real determination, Yu Hongda was the best spouse of Su Huan. No matter what, he had to find a way to facilitate the good things between the two. Thank you. Yu Hongdo uttered these words sincerely. Although usually Zhao Kai Feng did not do things reliably, Yu Hongdo could feel out that at this moment, Zhao Kai Feng was serious when he said these words. Right. I remembered something. Baby Emo has a good relationship with the second Lin Edi, and Su Ran Ran has a good relationship with this Zhang Wen Yuan guy. Zhang Wen Yuan's fiance is still introduced by Su Ran Ran. I'll find some time to talk to the two of them. It's a bit unrealistic to strive for them to be on your side. At the very least we should let them remain neutral and not meddle in this matter. Therefore, the number of times I can help you positively is limited. You have to be prepared for this. Zhao Kai Feng truthfully told this matter. Yu Hong Daodu nodded to express her understanding. If Lin Ida and Zhang Wen Yuan were allowed to stay out of the matter between themselves and Su Huan, these two would definitely not let Zhao Kai Feng interfere either. Yu Hongdo understood that using Zhao Kai Feng to pressure this matter must be used at the critical moment and must not be easily wasted. After chatting for a while, Zhao Kai Feng got up and sent Yu Hongdo away, sending Yu Hongdo and her bodyguards to the elevator. Zhao Kai Feng returned to his room to rest. The road without words, Yu Hongdo back home is already noon. Dad and mom, big brother and two brothers are at home. See Yu Hongdo hand holding a roll of paper back. The second brother Yu Jiaxing asked to Daodu, what are you holding in your hand? Yu Hongdo sat on the sofa and skimmed his lips and said, that would gave me a birthday present. A handwritten poem. I haven't had time to read it. Hearing this sentence, the family laughed. It is clear that Yu Hongdo mouth of the wood is to say who, on the evaluation of Su Huan Wood, really is not wronged him at all. According to the results of the survey of Su Huan, Su Huan and the emotional aspects of performance, really no difference with the wood. Yu Mingxing smiled and said open up and see if his talent is as good as before. The side sitting mom Zhu Chichi, elder brother Yu Jiren, second brother Yu Jiaxing, are interested in, have spoken to let Yu Hongdo unfold for everyone to enjoy. Yu Hongdo is a little hesitant. He has not seen, worried that Su Huan's level of decline, pulling down the parents and brothers good impression of Su Huan. Although the Yu family is a commercial family, parents and older brothers and sisters to poetry appreciation level is still very high. Thought for a moment and said he is not well after marriage. Currently just divorced has not adjusted the mind. If the writing is not good, Yu Hongdo just said here. Yu Mingxing directly waved his hand to not let Yu Hongdo continue. Face with a smile and said rest assured. We will not be because of this matter on the slightest look at him. With dad's words, Yu Hongdo also feel at ease a lot. Pick up the paper scroll unsealed slowly open spread on the coffee table. Facing the father and mother. Poem name, Red Bean. Red beans are born in the south. Spring hair a few branches. I wish you would pick them up more often. They are the most memorable of all. This poem is given to Yu Hongdo. Wishing Hongdo a happy birthday. Next to it is a row of small letters that reads, written by Su Huan on such and such a day, such and such a month, such and such a time, such and such a moment. Very orthodox regular script brush writing. Although the calligraphy skills were lacking, Yu Mingsheng and Zhu Qichi did not immediately take a stand after reading it, inwardly reciting the poem over and over again. Immediately after turning around, the elder brother Yu Jiren, the second brother Yu Jiaxing, Yu Hongdo, also saw the whole poem. The red bean is the bean of lovesickness. When Yu Mingsheng named Yu Hongdo, there was such a layer of meaning within. At this moment, Su Huan's poem is also in line with the theme of lovesickness. Dakai, your attainments in literature have not regressed at all, but have instead improved. In just four short lines, the feelings of lovesickness are expressed clearly. What's worth speculating now is whether it's friendship or love. Yu Jiren finished with an odd smile and glanced at his little sister. Yu Hongdo's face flushed, not expecting his big brother to say that. Your big brother is right. His attainments in literature have indeed improved, through simple and concise words, perfectly interpreting the subject of Acacia. Yu Mingsheng also gave his evaluation at this time. As the head of the Yu family, Yu Mingsheng was also a collector of famous calligraphy and poetry. From the appreciation point of view, the level of appreciation of calligraphy and poetry was not inferior to those professionals. The poems in my summer country that use red beans as a metaphor for lovesickness are not few, and in my opinion, none of the poetic realms are as good as this one inch. Daughter, put your heart and soul into it. Mom will support you in taking this piece of wood. Shu Chichi smiled at the side and said words of encouragement to her daughter. Yu Hongdo's face was once again red. However, her heart was very sweet. 
Little sister, give me this manuscript. I will arrange for someone to frame it for you. In the future when this poem is circulated, the value of this manuscript will definitely rock it up. Yu Jiaxing laughed at the side and said. Yu Hongdo immediately became unhappy and looked at her second brother and said I'm not going to sell it. The whole family laughed and laughed. The family laughed and laughed and laughed. And it was only then that Yu Hongdo realized that her second brother was teasing her. Chat for a while the family went to the restaurant to eat. After the meal, Yu Hongdo with the manuscript drive away from home. Know what Yu Hongdo to do did not stop. Not worried about Yu Hongdo what accidents. Six bodyguards driving in the back followed. Shangjiang City's best framing store. Yu Hongdo stared at the masters on the side of the framing. For fear that the manuscript has a trace of damage. More than an hour later, the use of the finest materials will be the manuscript to the framed. Yu Hongdo quickly paid the fee with the manuscript back home. This manuscript will be hung in their rooms, so that they can see at any time. A day later, Yu Hongdo's grand birthday banquet was held. A lot of good relations with the Yu family were present at this birthday banquet. Come is not rich or powerful. There are some in certain industries of authority. With no white man to describe a little bit is not excessive. During this time, Yu Hongdo presented this poem, which immediately gained the appreciation of several old professors from Shangjiang University, directly calling it the pinnacle of the red beans used to illustrate lovesickness in the history of Xia, the first acrostic poem of the thousand years. I just don't know if this is an acacia for friendship or love. After a few old professors made this argument many people looked at Yu Hongdo. Yu Hongdo face immediately turned red and trotted all the way upstairs to return to her room. Many people laughed. Look at Yu Hongdo's appearance this is a love poem. The crowd began to discuss the poem with the mood of eating melon. We are not ordinary people. The ability to appreciate or have. Even if they are not as good as those professionals, they can still see that the quality of this poem is excellent. Many people made up their mind to go back and check the poetry copyright website to see if this poem has a registered copyright and to see who this Su Huan is. The media industry in Xiangjiang City is very developed. And this red bean poem was on the front page of many newspapers during the birthday party of the Yu family's little princess yesterday, and attached to the professor of the Chinese department of the University of Hong Kong and a number of authoritative figures in the field of poetry evaluation. What to red bean metaphor acacia pinnacle of the work, what the ancient first acacia poem, and so on, immediately hype up. Along with that, Su Huan's information was also dug out quite a bit. Su Huan's account on the Dasha Poetry Copyright website was officially certified. And being able to be certified by the website meant that this person had at least one high quality poem that was officially recognized by the state. One must know that Su Huan's, to youth, modern poem from his college days was included in the middle school textbooks, which had already established Su Huan's status in poetry. The entire country of Xia has only 127 people who have obtained this kind of certification, knowing that Xia has a population of 2 billion people. From this, one could see the gold content of this certification. At this moment, once this red bean song came out, some of Su Huan's information was immediately turned out by the media. Now is the network society. Everything spreads very quickly, especially the gossip of the stars and tycoons. Yu family little princess Yu Hongdo is also considered a small celebrity in Xiangjiang. About her gossip is to attract the eyes of ordinary people. This time it is not just the media, but there is a very strong force behind the promotion of this matter. Su Huan this song red bean with incredible speed and rapid explosion of popularity. After just two days had passed, there was a well-known professor from the literature department of Dragon Tang College who commented on Weibo, highly evaluating Su Huan's poem. In the end, he left a comment of, the first lovesickness poem of the past thousand years, that was well deserved. Su Huan is a talented graduate of Dragon Academy, and must be supported for writing such a high-quality masterpiece at this moment. The more Su Huan's fame was promoted, the more benefits Dragon Tang Academy would receive. In the next few days, Large and small media outlets all began to speculate on this topic. And the fame of Red Bean's poem grew bigger and bigger. Red Bean's this poem and Su Huan burst into the popularity of the speed is too fast. Fast so that everyone cannot react in time. If someone is willing to not spend the cost to open the fog to investigate, will find that there is the power of the Yu family. Su Huan at home inadvertently watching the news also saw, drinking tea and pondered some to Zhao Kai phone called the past. After the phone connected Su Huan immediately came a boss. Is not your bad idea. Worthy of being the oldest four? A glance to see that this is my brother's plan. Zhao Kai Feng heart so think on the mouth but die not to admit. After all, he and Lin Ida, Zhang Wan Yuan, two people have agreed. Three people stand by and do not interfere in the matter of Su Huan's feelings. So that a few women show their skills to chase Su Huan. See who can finally take Su Huan. If he admits it, he violates the agreement. At that time, Lin Ida and Zhang Wan Yuan will also follow the force. In the end, it is very likely to cause things cannot end. 
At the end of Yu Hongdo's birthday banquet, Zhao Kaifeng didn't leave, but called Yu Hongdo downstairs and gave Yu Hongdo this idea in the living room. Yu Jiahao immediately gave Zhao Kaifeng a thumbs up after listening to him. This idea is really fucking great. Yu Hongdo red face did not say anything. The other people also smiled and did not oppose. Yu Jiahao will take this matter over. Personally operate this matter. This is why the red bean poem was quickly reported by the media this matter. Su Huan raised his hand and rubbed his head. His heart is very clear Zhao Kaifeng out of this bad idea is what purpose. Everything is in order to let Zhou Xingyun, Su Ran Ran, Ink Baby, and a few other women had a hard time, creating an illusion that Su Huanxin was on Yu Hongdo. You want to eat melon you also have to consider the situation of my younger brother me Su Huan was helpless to say this sentence. Even if Zhao Kaifeng doesn't admit it, with Su Huan's understanding of Zhao Kaifeng, he is 100% sure that it is Zhao Kaifeng who was behind the scenes. Even if it wasn't Zhao Kaifeng operating this matter, this bad idea must have come from Zhao Kaifeng. If those few women were still not dead to themselves after seeing the media reports, they would definitely ask themselves to write a song for them as well. When the time comes, they will be looking at themselves with tears in their eyes, whether they write or not. Isn't this putting me on the fire? Zhao Kaifeng refused to admit it, leaving Su Huan with no way out, and hung up the phone after saying a few words, sitting alone in the living room depressed. On the other hand, Guan also saw the news the day before yesterday under the reminder of Cheng Yi, the new assistant beside her, who had a task on her that she must be the first to notify herself when she found out something related to Su Huan. The first time I saw Su Huan write this poem for Yu Hongdo, it was called the first love poem of the past thousand years. Guan was completely furious, and she had the heart to drive to Su Huan's side to make a big fuss, but she held her tongue. Other people don't know the relationship between Yu Hongdo and Su Huan, but Guan is very clear. Needless to say, Yu Hongdo so play is certainly to Su Huan to start the offensive. These days when Gu Wan went to work, she had a gloomy face, exuding an unpleasant chill that made people not dare to get close to her. The employees of Cheerful Technology Company could all see that the big boss was in an extremely bad mood, and if the big boss caught the pigtails at this time, the end would definitely be miserable. All the employees have been acting very diligently these days, one by one, for fear of being cleaned up if something goes wrong. Tian Chung City, Madeline Cafe. Lin Ida was drinking coffee with a beautiful woman on the second floor by the window. The beautiful woman exuded a mesmerizing intellectual temperament when Qing temperament. The beauty had shoulder-length hair, with a gold-rimmed glasses, about one meter six and a half tall, lowly face, although she didn't have long legs but was still concave and convex, with an alternative temptation. This beauty was Baby M.O., a beauty who was not dead to Su Huan. Baby M.O. is a talented girl in the literature department. Su Huan also took this course in the university back then, and her relationship with Baby M.O. is still relatively close. It was only that Baby M.O. was interested in Su Huan, but Su Huan, the wooden head, did not realize it. Gu Wan, however, see very clearly, one after another to play tactics to combat the Ink Baby, knowing that Gu Wan and the thing Su Huan do not know. The Ink Baby also did not back down, but insisted on tossing a year, until Gu Wan released in the group with Su Huan's marriage certificate only to end. When the baby ink sad week did not take classes, after slowing down and starting classes, he put all his energy into his studies, graduated to the present, has been a little famous writer in the summer country, last year published a collection of essays, No Autumn Leaf, in the country sold more than 2 million copies, so that baby ink's fame to another level, outsiders only thought that baby M.O. was acquainted with Lin Ida, in fact, everyone didn't know that baby M.O. was related to Lin Ida, putting down the coffee in her hand, Baby Emo looked at Lin Ida with a calm face and said, With my understanding of Yu Hongdo, she definitely wouldn't have thought of this trick. The only person who can think of this trick is your boss. Humph, do you still want to stand by and watch? If you continue to stand by and do nothing, I'll go to my aunt and uncle about this matter. After hearing Baby Mo's words, Lin Ida nodded helplessly, and in his heart, he was also clear that this matter must have been the boss's bad idea, and the ones who operated it specifically were the Yu family's people. Su Ran Ran is also planning to go to South Metropolis for a vacation and relaxation after New Year's. I'm arranging for someone to keep an eye on her now. I suggest you wait for Su Ran Ran to leave before you go. At this moment Su Huan needs to be quiet. Quiet to regulate his mind. Whoever seeks him out frequently at this time will be disgusting to him. Zhou Xinyan only met him when he was doing activities in the South Metropolis. So far she hasn't gone to see Su Huan again. Yu Hongdo also only called Su Huan to ask for a poem as a birthday gift. And didn't go to see Su Huan either. This means that they all analyzed that at this moment, Su Huan needs to be alone to adjust his mind. As for Gu Wan, you don't need to worry. I can give you a guarantee that Su Huan won't remarry him. Even if Gu Wan continues to play tricks with Su Huan, 
Su Huan won't be able to remarry her. Don't ask why. I won't say. What I can say is that she has completely broken Su Huan's heart this time. You should know very well who your competitor is. This time is different from your college days. You've all grown up. And your wits have grown too. It's still hard to decide who will win. Whether you can win or not depends on your wisdom. Finished looking at baby M.O. Conveying a simple meaning. Don't talk about me like that. I'm already helping you. I'm supporting you to be with Su Huan. Humph. He would even roll in bed with Gubol. Baby Mo's heart was quite upset after hearing Lin Ida's words, especially the fact that Lin Ida said that Su Huan would roll in bed with Gu Wan. Gu Wan understands him too well. Su Huan will surely fall for it if he has a heart. You are not unaware that he is relatively retarded in this aspect. Lin Ida finished and glanced at Baby Mo. Su Huan is someone you know better than me. If you mind just quit. Just quit now you won't suffer the pain of failure. Doesn't matter. He's been with Gu Wan for a few years anyway. More or less makes no difference baby Mo said on her lips, but in her heart she still held her breath and couldn't get out. Lin Yi made a helpless gesture. This kind of thing you can't see open who can't do anything about it. You've arm wrestled with Gu Wan. What kind of person Gu Wan is you also know better than me. Seeing Lin Yi's action, baby Mo said with not a small amount of resentment, after a period of time, I'll go to the southern city on vacation. I'll ask him for a poem. I'll see if he gives it to me or not. Linny de laughed directly after hearing this and looked at baby M.O. and said what poem do you want? A baby poem? After saying that, he couldn't control his laughter. Baby Mo's face went black, blaring fiercely at Lin Yi de. His teeth clenched. Su Huan sent to you Hongdo's poem is based on the two words of Hongdo to write. His own name is the two words of the baby. When the dad and mom they are also too lazy. Imperial City. A product of the landscape district. Zhou Xinyun has been at home for three days. From the news to see Su Huan to Yu Hongdo wrote a poem mood upset. All kinds of work are pushed. Zhou Hao to the red sister made a phone call to ask what is going on. And then did not call Zhou Xinyun. Daughter what matters of the heart Zhou Hao was very clear. The heart has not been put down Su Huan. Now know that Su Huan divorced. The heart must be restless. In Zhou Hao's opinion. Su Huan is indeed talented. A genius that is rare to see in a hundred years. However. Su Huan was by no means a good match for his daughter. This kind of excellent man will be missed by too many women. And even some women are willing to not want any name to be with him. Zhou Hao has been in the jungle for decades. Zhou Hao has been in the world for decades. He has seen this kind of thing not together with two, but many. Just like this time out of the Yu Hongdo, Zhou Hao thinks that has been considered the social elite, has a good social status. But once compared with the Shang Zhang Yu family this behemoth, Zhou family and ants no difference. Let the daughter calm herself some good. It is best to think of their own understanding to give up this Su Huan. Today is also to the Red Sister also made a phone call to let the Red Sister side guide Zhou Xinyun. Let Zhou Xinyun out of this love misunderstanding. Early to give up Su Huan. Today, Sister Hong is to see Zhou Xinyun. Received Zhou Hao phone began to hesitate inside. Zhou Hao said very realistic. Sister Hong also know that Zhou Hao said is not false. One of their girlfriends have become a song queen. Has not been wanting to name with a certain music talent emotional entanglement for more than 10 years. Even if the other party is married, even if the music talent is willing to their hundreds of millions of dollars of family members do not leave a penny to the song to cut off this bad relationship, the song queen is not willing to let go, as a singing queen, in front of people bright and happy, but in fact the inner pain is not known by outsiders. The queen of songs and sister Hong are still bosom friends, so sister Hong knows a lot of things that outsiders don't know. Thinking about this, sister Hong began to consider whether to persuade Zhou Xinyun to completely give up Su Huan. Compared to that musical talent, Su Huan was even more talented than him. There were still several high quality beauties around who were eyeing Su Huan, and Zhou Xinyun's chances of winning were genuinely not very good. However, it was indeed also a pity to give up such an outstanding man as Su Huan. Sister Hong began to get tangled up inside, and it was difficult to make a choice for a while. After a while, Sister Hong drove to Zhou Xinyun's home to talk things over with Zhou Xinyun, allowing Zhou Xinyun to think rationally about this matter. This is the best way. Time slowly passed another two days. Gu Wan's home. Su Huan lying on the bed with a cigarette in his hand. Today to Gu Wan's side to the same is helpless. Gu Wan let Su Huan choose one. Either you come over to my side, or I drive to your home. If you don't let the doorman open the door, I'll just drive straight into it. The poem Red Bean burst out. Gu Wan repressed a few days really cannot be repressed. Su Huan didn't want Gu Wan to make a scene at his house. So he had to come to Gu Wan's side. Unlocking a new trick with resentment to ruthlessly toss Gu Wan around, spitting out the smoke in his mouth, Su Huan had a thoughtful expression on his face, and the sound of washing came from the restroom not far away. Time is not long. Gu Wan wrapped in a towel came out, came to the bedside to unzip the towel on the bed and drilled into Su Huan's arms to hug Su Huan's waist, 
A leg is still pressed on Su Huan's legs. The eyes with a grudge looking at Su Huan said, You and that vixen learned the trick to trample on me. I brushed my teeth three times and still feel uncomfortable in the mouth. Su Huan said lightly, These are the necessary skills for lovers. You will slowly get used to it. Hearing these words, Guan angrily raised her hand and slapped Su Huan's chest, and then softened the place where she had just slapped. After a while, Guan timidly said, Let's remarry. I'll listen to you and everything. Su Huan frowned and said in an impatient tone, Didn't we say, within three years, we won't talk about this topic anymore. The agreement only started on January 1st next year. I'm not breaking the contract by talking about this topic now. Gu Wan retorted with a lack of breath, her eyes a little moist inside. Seeing that Gu Wan's eyes were about to tear up, Su Huan was even more annoyed and helpless inside. Lifting his hand to pat Gu Wan's shoulder, Gu Wan lowered her head to lie on Su Huan's chest and didn't say a word. Gu Wan did not see Su Huan's eyes flashed a determined look. Is grieving when Su Huan slowly said next year Zhao Group with your company's contract will not be renewed. You do a preparation in advance. Reduce Gu Bol's company orders, so that she is busy to have no time to find themselves. Cold treatment. Slowly cut off with Gu Bol's. Gu Wan immediately looked up at Su Huan after hearing this. Zhao's group and cheerful technology company's annual contract amount is more than $40 million. Violently less this piece of income on the company's development impact is not small. Although it will not hurt, but will make the company's profits reduced by a large chunk. Guan looked at Su Huan's eyes and asked is it your meaning or Zhao Kaifeng's meaning? Boss's intention, when I marry someone else, when will I resume this list? Su Huan said this sentence with an impatient tone on his face and raised his hand to start rubbing his head. The reason for this is not only to keep Guan busy and not to bother her, but also for Su Huan to test herself, to see if the dog licker's soul has dissipated. After listening to the words of Su Huan, Gu Bol's hummed a re lying on the chest of Su Huan did not say anything. The heart understands that this is Zhao Kaifeng enforcing Su Huan to completely break up with himself and another new knot. Not surprisingly, it must be for Yu Hongdo that bitch. Thinking about it, Gu Wan's heart thumped. If Yu Hongdo utilized the power of the Yu family to start striking at herself, what if another order similar to Zhao's group was reduced? The company will really hurt. At that time, not to mention the listing, to be able to stabilize the current basic disk is good. While Gu Wan was pondering over this issue, Su Huan was not feeling well either. A strong warning thought appeared in his head, making Su Huan's head start to hurt. If Gu Wan's company was struck down, it would be a violation of the agreement to treat Gu Bol's well. A wave of clarity arose in Su Huan's heart, being counted by the dog-licking soul. Since this dog-licking soul had not dissipated, there had to be a different approach. Su Huan was helpless in his heart and could only slowly say you make a preparation in advance. I will talk to the boss about this matter when I gather with him a year ago, and do my best to make him change his mind. Gu Wan lying there did not move, a while time before raising his head, eyes with tears looking at Su Huan said I do not blame him, is my will is not strong death hurt you, I can understand him to take revenge for you, and cry again, Su Huan most cannot see as a woman in front of their own crying, which is more difficult than with people directly fight, Su Huan, who is a good person, wants to sit up, Gu Wan reacted faster, felt Su Huan's waste force and immediately lie down to prevent Su Huan from getting up, Su Huan understood Gu Wan's meaning, Raised his hand and stroked Gu Wan's hair and said, It's not early, you should also rest early. Gu Wan suddenly raised her head and looked at Su Huan. Her eyes with a crazy meaning said you can't go now. I want to squeeze you dry, so as not to cheapen other vixens. After saying that on the floor, the body with a snake like down a shrink. Soon, Su Huan's silk silk sucked a mouthful of cool air. At the end of the night, Su Huan walked out of Gu Wan's house and entered the car, leaning against the seat with a hint of fatigue. In Su Huan's opinion, Tonight Gu Wan went crazy, regardless of the up and down linkage tossed himself three more times, from the third year of marriage to this year's divorce, and today, the two together when kissing so two or three routine actions, today with the upset tough with new moves to take Gu Wan, that no opened the Pandora's box, Gu Wan from rusty to skillful progress fast, at the moment, Su Huan's legs are really a bit soft, in the car Su Huan did not see, the villa on the second floor of the thick curtains next to a pair of eyes looking at their own, Gu Wan did not lie on the bed, but stood in the window aside through the gap in the look. See Su Huan into the car for a long time did not move. The corner of the mouth slightly upward flowed a trace of a different smile. Wild a little. It was the idea that Zhang Yin Yinhua, her long forgotten best friend, gave to Gu Wan. At first, Zhang Yinhua meant for Gu Wan to find a handsome man to stimulate Su Huan. Men are all big pig's hooves. You don't let him create a sense of crisis he won't cherish you. After listening to Gu Wan immediately rejected this idea. On the Su Huan to understand. If Gu Wan dare to play so, Su Huan will definitely pull her black to cut off all contact information do not meet. 
Su Huan now already a little bit do not treat yourself want to completely cut off with yourself, really want to do according to the method Zhang Yinhua said, just to give Su Huan completely black their own excuses, I can't do anything about it. Seriously talk to Zhang Yinhua once, Zhang Yinhua came up with another idea, let Gu Wan be wild when she was with Su Huan, drain him dry and make him develop a sense of exhaustion, save the cheapness of other vixens, then he used himself as an example. John Inhua's husband, LV Wen Ming, was definitely one of the real power bigwigs in the southern metropolis, yet he had never rumored any lace news. The reason for this is that John Inhua directly to the husband to dry, every 10 days or so, regardless of the time, no matter how hard to toss the husband one night, until LV civilization the next morning walking holding the wall until, husband is not interested, this is better to do, way brother serving, in short, not to achieve the goal will not stop. This is Lu civilization does not pass out with any woman with the root of the gossip. Lu civilization look at those beautiful women is the heart of the powerless, rather than invoke the time force from the shame, or do not provoke for good. Of course, take medicine can solve this problem, but Lu civilization no, take medicine to the body damage is not small, their age is not small, take medicine to let the body damage down, the possibility of an early death is very high. I have to say that Zhang Yinhua this hand is really too good will lose civilization to clean up the obedience. In the words of Zhang Yinhua, you play a little wild with him, until the repressed side of his heart completely burst out, and over time, he will not be able to leave you. Now you can't be in a hurry. With wild moves slowly boil the frog in warm water. At that time, after listening to Zhang Yinhua speak, Gu Wan's face was red unlike anything else. With Su Huan together for such a long time, when the two were happy together, there were only two or three gimmicks. What sister Jiang said at the moment was really a little too wild. Gu Wan has not made up her mind for some time, until the poem Red Bean was fired up by the media, and only then did she make up her final mind. Today, Su Huan was forced to come over, knowing that Su Huan's heart was not full of resentment, and this is why she unlocked a new gimmick along with Su Huan's mind. The first time is Su Huan initiative, the next three times are Gu Wan initiative. Was Su Huan words stimulated, regardless of the venting of inner anger? Su Huan did not immediately start the car to leave to sit there without moving, indicating that Su Huan was really tired and needed to sit in the car to take a breather to recover. This shows that the good girlfriend Zhang Yinhua taught this trick, the effect is very obvious. In the next few days, Su Huan was definitely in sage mode, and would not have crooked thoughts about any woman. After looking for a while longer, Gu Wan was satisfied and turned away from looking, putting away all the bedding on the bed that was covered with traces of the two of them and replacing it with a new set. Before lying down on the bed with satisfaction and resting, the thought in her head is, Zhang's sister this trick is excellent, in the future to Su Huan will have to play this way, do not mention the matter of remarriage is not mentioned, when you are accustomed to my side, other women with you together cannot let go to make you depressed when you will honestly come over to find me, you can't fly out of my hand, you can't fly out of the palm of my hand, Gu Bol slept solidly today, even when asleep with a hint of a smile on his face, Su Huan smoked a cigarette in the car which started the car to leave, and returned to the home is to fall asleep, the night passed, today, Gu Bol sleep to more than 8 o'clock, get up and wash some downstairs to eat breakfast, refreshing to go to work, as soon as he arrived at the company, he immediately called a meeting of the senior management and began to discuss how to take the Honghai group contract, originally, Gu Wan was not in a hurry, but now she can not help but be in a hurry, once Xiao's group stops the cooperation after the year and does not renew the contract, it will have a great impact on the company, and it will be a serious weakening of Gu Wan's prestige. Zhao Kai Feng how much he loathes himself. Gu Bo's inner very clear. At this moment in order to give Su Huan revenge to stop the cooperation, even if it brings Zhao's group a certain amount of loss is also do not hesitate to do so. This kind of thing Zhao Kai Feng could do. If you can take Hong Hai group's list, even if the contract with Zhao group is not renewed, you can minimize the impact. Gu Wan, this woman is still very skillful in doing things. Yesterday Su Huan only mentioned a beginning. Gu Wan immediately thought that Yu Hongdo would not start to suppress this problem for herself. In the conference room, Gu Wan put forward a point, once signed with the customer to start cooperation, to set up a relatively high liquidated damages. This arrangement is to deal with Yu Hongdo, with the power of the Yu family. If she were to launch a crackdown on cheerful technology, Gu Wan knew very well that she would not be able to resist. Back then in the university period when Yu Hongdo, is Gu Wan with words to hold proud Yu Hongdo, let the world of Yu Hongdo give up their own advantages to compete with their own competition for Su Huan. At the moment, Yu Hongdo will not fall for it again, must save for a rainy day and start preparing. It must be said that Gu Bol's entrepreneurship can be successful, but also has its own set. Su Huan did not get up early today, 
Du Xueqing was very thoughtful to let the kitchen boil an extra complimentary medicinal meal, regardless of Su Huan followed last night, so that Su Huan has a good body is always right. Su Huan got up at noon, wash some downstairs or a look of listlessness, dinner time also eat extremely much, eat and drink enough to go upstairs to rest. Although this period of time Su Huan to carry out physical exercise, physical quality has improved some, but never in the male and female aspects have been so indulgent. After a sudden experience, his body was really a bit overwhelmed, and afternoon time passed, not to mention, Du Xu Eching selected the effect of the medicinal diet is very good, Su Huan's mental state is obviously better than the morning a lot, the evening dinner ate a lot more, and again at Du Xu Eching's suggestion, he ate two portions of the medicinal diet, the night passed, early the next morning, Su Huan once again started regular exercise, unknowingly two days passed, this night, Du Xu Eching picked up Wei Yutong to have dinner together, tomorrow is Saturday, According to the agreement tomorrow Wei Yutong needs to guide Su Huan for systematic training. Early in the morning after the workout, Wei Yutong went upstairs and took a shower and changed her clothes, then had dinner with Su Huan, and when she drank tea after the meal, Wei Yutong's face appeared with an expression of wanting to ask, but being too embarrassed to do so. Seeing Wei Yutong's expression, Su Huan asked, Is there something wrong? Wei Yutong hesitated and looked at Su Huan and said, Brother Su, today you give me a very wrong feeling, a kind of powerless state. Is it sick? Su Huan said. After listening to Wei Yutong's words Su Huan's old face reddened. Du Xu Eching on the side directly laughed. Su Huan glanced at Du Xu Eching. Du Xu Eching stifled her laughter and stood up to leave. However, Du Xu Eching turned around and still couldn't hold back her laughter as she quickly left. Su Huan was torn for a moment, but still told Wei Yutong. A few days ago, I was counted by a woman. My body is a bit empty. Hearing Su Huan's words, Wei Yutong associated it with Du Xu Eching's smile just now and understood. An expression of sudden realization appeared on her face. She looked at Su Huan with an odd smile on her face, making Su Huan a little embarrassed. Wei Yutong did not mean to look down on Su Huan. From Du Xu Eching's performance just now, it could be seen that Su Huan was really being counted by a certain woman. If that wasn't the case, Du Xu Eching wouldn't have behaved this way. You slowly drink tea. I'm going to the study to read Su Huan said. Stood up and directly left. Wei Yutong looked at Su Huan's back, the smile on her face became more intense, suddenly in his head came up with a thought, he is not also calculated to take him, in case the other women first their own step to get, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that, but I'm going to be able to do it myself, thinking about it slowly shook his head, according to the plan, the school is about to close the holidays, they certainly want to go home for New Year's Eve, once that what, back home will certainly be Mom Si Rong. After the year after the opening of the school back to calculate it, Wei Yutong Hart made up his mind. After eating lunch break end, Wei Yutong began to guide Su Huan's systematic fitness, began to let Su Huan reduce the amount of exercise, focusing on the core of fitness. Su Huan was instructed not to engage in excessive exercise before he came over the next time, and to focus on the body's recovery. It was not for the body to get injured. Proper exercise would allow the body to speed up its recovery, and exercising too much would cause injury. Usually, Su Huan would do more than three hours of fitness in the afternoon, but today, after only one hour, he was called off by Wei Yutong, and it was not suitable for Su Huan to do any more exercise at this moment. Letting Su Huan lie down, Wei Yutong gave Su Huan a muscle relaxation massage. In the afternoon, a one-week fitness program was formulated for Su Huan, cutting Su Huan's exercise directly by two-thirds. Strength training was also stopped, only requiring a little simple exercise in the morning and evening. Even if Su Huan had some flab on his body, it wasn't much of a big deal, and he could recover quickly from a new workout after a week. Wei Yutong also communicated with Du Xu Eching that this period of time could give Su Huan a good tonic. It was okay to put on a little weight. Du Xu Eching firmly memorized it. In the suburb of Baiyun County under Ladasa City, Zhang Wenyuan was drinking milk tea in front of a yurt with a beautiful woman with an exotic look. The beauty was about 1 meter 7, with a handsome appearance with a ying chi, a pair of eyes as clean as the sky and long black hair flowing with the breeze, wearing ethnic clothing, it was hard to hide her proud upper body and long slender legs, Su Ran Ran, a pearl of Baiyun County, her family is the largest cattle and sheep farmer in Baiyun County, with more than 1 million acres of pasture, and the pure natural pasture raised cattle and sheep meat is targeted for purchase by those developed countries in Europe and the United States, Su Ran Ran's father, Su Jingshan, is also one of the three giants of Ladasa City, the patriarch of a certain tribe, he has a great deal of prestige in the region. Zhang Wenyuan's family is in the tourism business. After graduating from university, Zhang Wenyuan set up his own travel company. With the help of Su Ranran's family, 
After a few years of development, he has already established himself in the domestic tourism industry. Currently Zhang Wanyuan's fiancé Astrid, is Su Ran Ran's best friend, is Su Ran Ran for the line between the two. The two have already met both parents. No surprise if next year will be officially married. This year, Zhang Wanyuan is investing more than 40 million in Ladassa City's scenic investment in a hotel with two accommodation buildings, is currently under construction. When the two were chatting, Zhang Wanyuan's fiancé Astrid came over from the side. Astrid is also a beautiful woman, although not as demonic as Su Ran Ran. However, she was also a true beauty, with a score of no less than 88 points. Su Ran Ran poured a cup of milk tea for Astrid, put down the teapot and said calmly so, Lin Ida is on baby Mo's side. You could say that. Zhang Wenyuan honestly said, Lin Yi Di had confessed to himself the day before yesterday with the ink baby's kinship. Today Zhang Wenyuan truthfully told Su Ran Ran. Su Ran Ran put down the milk tea and rubbed her head and said this would, really makes my head big. Zhang Wenyuan and Astali laughed. After laughing, Astali looked at Su Ran Ran's difficult look and turned her head to look at Zhang Wenyuan and said Wenyuan, you must help Ran Ran's sister. Her business is my business. After listening to Astrid's words, Zhang Wenyuan said with great difficulty how can I help with emotional matters? Zhao Kaifeng can come up with ideas for you Hong Do. Lin Yide can come up with ideas for baby Mo. Why can't you come up with ideas for me? Astrid, from today onwards don't allow him to touch you until he comes up with a good idea for me. Su Ran Ran turned her head to look at Astri I very domineering to come up with a sentence. Astri I immediately nodded her head and immediately gave Zhang Wenyuan a look. Not kidding you. If you can't make sister Ran Ran happy, I won't let you take advantage of me again. Zhang Wenyuan saw his fiancé's eyes and directly got a big head. Inwardly it wasn't that he didn't want to help Su Ran Ran, but he didn't think of an appropriate way. Thinking for a moment Zhang Wenyuan looked at Su Ran Ran asked to Ran, your university major in business administration, business competition and war like, the need to know yourself and your enemy to win a hundred battles. Your priority now is not to find a way to get along with Su Huan, but to think about why you lost to Gu Wan back then. Frankly speaking, when Gu Wan was able to defeat Yu Hongdo, you, baby M.O., Su Huan, is it really as simple as you think? If you don't want to understand this problem, this time you still lose. Instead of that, you might as well give up on Su Huan. After listening to Zhang Wenyuan's words, Su Ran Ran and Astrid both began to think. Astrid is Su Ran Ran's best friend, Zhang Wenyuan's fiancé. As Su Ran Ran's best friend and Zhang Wenyuan's fiancé, she knew in detail about Su Ran Ran's relationship with Su Huan and Gu Bol during her college years. Su Ran Ran looked up at the distant sky drifting white clouds did not speak. A while time slowly said freshman year, I do not think I jumped down the silver water river to save the child. When the child was pulled over by the rope I had no strength left. I knew I was going to die. I prayed to the everlasting sky in my heart. If a man who is unmarried and has no girlfriend saves me, I am going to marry him, love her, cherish him and take care of him for the rest of my life. The result you know, because the river is fast so many people on the bank are afraid to jump down to save me. It's Su Huan, he jumped into the river to save me regardless of life and death. When he lifted me to the shore, Su Huan's feet, calves, when he lifted me to the shore, Su Huan's feet, legs, and were cut by glass slag and unknown objects, and his wounds were inflamed and he lay in the hospital for so many days. I used all my strength to chase him, but unfortunately, in the end, I lost to Guan just like other people. At that time, Guan laughed at me and said, you didn't see your heart clearly, you are not in love with Su Huan, but you want to repay the favor of saving your life, even if you got together, you wouldn't go all the way. Until I graduated from college, I was thinking about this question. Do I want to honor my vow to the everlasting heaven to repay Su Huan for saving my life? Or am I really in love with Su Huan? After I graduated, I figured out that at first I did mean to repay Su Huan for saving my life, but then I didn't. I've seen through my heart. I love him. It has nothing to do with saving my life. You know what? When I saw Huan in the alumni group said he divorced the news. I called Huan he said he got divorced because he was tired. I had to go to Nandu city with a chopper and chop Gu Wan. That bitch. She tricked brother Juan into marrying him and didn't cherish him, making brother Juan's life so tiring, she deserves to die. Now that brother Juan is back to being single, I don't want to miss it again. This time I will take brother Juan over no matter what. Su Ran Ran said these words with a very resolute expression on her face. Nothing could shake this decision of hers. Zhang Wan Yuan obviously froze for a moment after hearing Su Ran Ran's words. In Zhang Wan Yuan's heart, he had always thought that Su Ran Ran liked Su Huan because Su Huan had saved Su Ran Ran's life. At this moment, after hearing Su Ran Ran's words, he realized how wrong he was. Su Ran Ran saw through her own heart, and saw clearly that she was not to repay Su Huan for his kindness but to love him. Ran Ran, I fully support you. Zhang Wenyuan took a stand. 
before not contributing because Zhang Wenyuan did not want Su Ran Ran to confuse the gift of saving her life with the love of a person, and could not see through her own heart. Once you've made it with Su Huan, years later, Su Ran Ran will be unhappy with Su Huan after she sees her heart clearly. This is a tragedy for Su Huan and Su Ran Ran. At this moment, Su Ran Ran was able to answer this question positively, showing that Su Ran Ran is really clear about her own heart, and see clearly that repaying kindness and loving a person are two different things, they can't be confused. With Zhang Wanyuan's support, Su Ran Ran breathed a long sigh of relief, picked up the teapot and began to refill the three bowls of milk tea, and together they discussed how to raid Su Huan, South Metropolis, without Gu Wan's harassment. Su Huan welcomed the long-lost quiet days. Gu Wan had a sense of crisis at the moment and focused her work on the company's business for a rainy day. The others also did not call Su Huan, unknowingly more than a month passed, for several weeks in a row, underway Yutong's systematic instruction. Su Huan's physical quality grew rapidly, the most obvious example being that he could complete a thousand meter long run. Previously, completing a one thousand meter run required a few breaks in the middle. Now, there was no need to take a break to run down in one breath. After a few more days, Wei Yutong came over for her last fitness instruction, and in three more days, she would be leaving the school to go home, and had already purchased a high-speed train ticket to return to her hometown in Shangbei. The dinner was very sumptuous. Su Huan has to thank Wei Yutong within the meaning. Today is Su Huan. Do Xu Eching? Wei Yutong. Three people eat together. It was very pleasant to talk and laugh. After the meal or Du Xu Eching drove Wei Yutong back to school, Su Huan is to give Wei Yutong a red packet. Is a New Year's red packet. Wei Yutong pushed back a few times. See Su Huan attitude hard to accept. All the way back to the dormitory. Eight people in the dormitory at the moment only five people left. The other three have gone home early. The other three had already gone home early. The five little sisters also had various part-time jobs that required a few days of delay. Wei Yutong could take a day off tomorrow, and the day after that, she would go to a single parent home to tutor a little girl, and the day after that, she could leave for home. After washing up and getting into bed, she secretly opened the red envelope and looked at it. Inside was a thousand dollars. This money is not too much and not too little in line with Wei Yutong's boundaries for receiving gifts. The time slowly passed four days. On the second day of Wei Yutong's departure from the southern city, Su Huan also began to make preparations at home to leave the southern city. Su Huan, Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi De, Zhang Wen Yuan, the four of them get together once a year, either before or after the year. Last year's gathering place was Shanghai City, and this time the gathering place was in Ladassa City. The location of the gathering was different every year. Unbeknownst to Su Huan, this year's gathering location was mandated by Zhang Wen Yuan, who called Lin Yi De as well as Zhao Kai Feng bloodly stating that the two had violated the rules. You have helped you Hongo and baby Emma once, and you must help Su Ran Ran once. In order to get even, the three of them deliberated and unanimously decided that they could agree to Zhang Wenyuan this time. This is the only time. Subsequently, the three are not allowed to intervene in this matter, and are only responsible for eating melons and watching the show, to see which beauty has the ability to take down Su Huan. Su Huan's ticket was booked a long time ago, and on the day Su Huan boarded the plane to leave, Guan called Su Huan and found that Su Huan's phone could not be connected. Immediately called the Su Huan home landline. Is the home of the mother to answer the phone? Only to know Su Huan to the airport. Where he was going? She didn't know. She just knew that it was Butler Du who drove Mr. Su to the airport. How could Su Huan leave at this time? Soon, Guan thought of Su Huan brother's four people party thing. After graduating from college four people party has not stopped. Su Huan in the marriage three times to leave the South Metropolis are four people party. There was no more phone calls, only to wait for Su Huan to come back. This more than a month did not meet with Su Huan. Not Gu Wan does not want to meet, but intends to change a strategy to see if Su Huan will take the initiative to find themselves. The result led Gu Wan is very disappointed. Su Huan honestly in the home fitness exercise did not go out. Sitting in the boss chair leaning in thought, turned his head to look at the side sitting playing with the cell phone Zhou Mengxia asked Mengxia, your company has no stocking business. Yes, Zhou Mengxia was very sure to say this word. If Gu Wan placed an order, she as a referral will have a 3% commission. Gu Wan asked, How do I charge you? Zhou Mengxia put down her cell phone and came to the side of Gu Wan and began to introduce the business. Introduced in detail, Gu Wan and Zhou Mengxia began to bargain in a whisper. After a few minutes the two reached a consensus. Zhou Mengxia took out her cell phone and began to call the company to make arrangements. From now on there will be a special person to keep an eye on Su Wan. The contract period. Three years. Set this period is not blindly booked. Gu Wan has seen through Su Huan want to live another kind of life determination, but also see Yu Hongdo a few women will not give up Su Huan's. This year is time is too late. 
Next year will certainly give up Su Huan. This year is the time is too late. Next year is certainly a fight for Su Huan each show the rest of the year. Three years of fighting, there should be a result. Regardless of the outcome after three years, they will not be separated from Su Huan. Even if Su Huan is married to another woman, they cannot be broken with themselves. For this, Gu Wan had already made up her mind. After going through this year's divorce with Su Huan, Gu Bo sees through herself even more. And only Su Huan can give herself the kind of security she wants. Only in Su Huan's arms could she have a good night's sleep without worry. Only Su Huan's love for himself is unreserved. Other people to their own good are with a variety of purposes. To their own not love but calculating. Unfortunately, he himself has broken Su Huan's heart. Now Gu Bols has pulled the black several girlfriends. And these people no longer have any contact. By chance to see also do not speak. At the same time, cannot hear anyone say bad things about Su Huan. Not even Jiang Yinhua. Ladasa City. Zhang Wanyuan has made arrangements. Arranged a good hotel and vehicles. Su Huan. Zhao Kaifeng. Lin Ida. Three people no matter who first arrived in Ladasa City. This side of the hotel. And so the three are all together after the night to eat a meal together. The next morning checked out of the hotel to Baiyun County. Su Ran Ran side of the yurt has been arranged. The four brothers alone a yurt. In the prairie to relax a bit. Although the weather is a bit cold. Where a thicker point is not a thing. Su Huan is more than 2 o'clock in the afternoon under the plane. Is the first to arrive. Zhang Wanyuan drove to the airport to pick up. Send Su Huan to the hotel to rest. Su Huan put down his luggage and asked. When will the boss and the oldest two arrive? Lao Air is estimated to be more than 6 o'clock. And boss needs to be more than 8 o'clock in the evening. Zhang Wanyuan had already contacted the two men and confirmed the flight in time. This time you have to arrange a little better. I would love to relax without any worry. Su Huan finished pulling out a cigarette and handed one to Zhang Wanyuan. Zhang Wanyuan took over and took out the lighter to Su Huan lit. He took a puff and exhaled the smoke. A mysterious smile appeared on his face. Unfortunately, Su Huan did not see the smile. After a few sentences of small talk, Zhang Wanyuan snapped and asked you tell me the truth. How do you consider Gu Wan? Remarriage is impossible. This sentence I told her no less than five times. She just do not die. Su Huan finished his face showed a rather helpless expression. Zhang Wanyuan immediately asked another sentence after the divorce. You and she has not rolled bed sheets. There is, by her counted twice Su Huan admitted. In front of Zhang Wanyuan admitted that this point is nothing. There are any words will not hide. In terms of understanding you, it has to be her Zhang Wanyuan finished shaking his head. This sentence did not mean to belittle Gu Wan, but rather had the meaning of admiration. Su Huan and other aspects of such a talented person, but in the emotional aspect by Gu Wan pinpointed to death. She was so talented in other aspects, but in terms of feelings, she was held to death by Gu Wan. I admit that. She knows me too well. I'm really scared. Su Huan was really a bit scared at the moment. Gu Wan was accurate in her calculations. Even if Su Huan didn't want to fall for it, the instincts of this body were interfering with Su Huan's judgment. Now Su Huan had to admit that it looked like he had counted on this body's lickspittle soul. And in fact, was counted on by this recognized genius lickspittle soul. Su Huan wanted to come up with a ruthless move against Gu Wan to clear the air. And his head would hurt just as the thought rose. These two months. Su Huan's life is not as good as it looks. Su Huan wants to leave Gu Wan alone. But when he sleeps at night, the image of him and Gu Wan having a good time comes up from time to time. It makes Su Huan's mouth dry and thirsty. So he can't sleep. There are times when Su Huan wants to go to see Gu Wan. And only after getting on the bus did he realize that something was wrong. And endured a headache to get off the bus by himself. However, this month is not a little gain. Su Huan has determined that the original body of the dog licking soul on their own influence is still very large. Want to completely change this situation? Only to start to change the original habits of life can be. In the vernacular is to change a way of life. Developing the habit of exercising and working out every day was one of the rebellious actions Su Huan made. Cannot say no effect. Only that the effect is not big. Just fitness a change. Play a role is not very big. Su Huan expected that when more and more habits changed, the dog licking soul's influence on himself would become lower and lower until it could no longer influence him. There's nothing to be afraid of. Immediately find a girlfriend to accompany you. There's definitely an immediate improvement. Zhang Wanyuan smiled as he uttered these words. Su Huan slowly shook his head and said, You don't understand me. At the moment I really don't have the heart to talk about love. Wait for me to adjust my mentality and then say it. Zhang Wanyuan said with a smile, I guess you should be difficult at night. This time the boss and the oldest two they come over are not a person. After listening to this sentence Su Huan froze, reacted immediately came to eye shit. Said good alone over, how can you do this? Zhang Wanyuan shrugged his shoulders and made a helpless gesture and said I only realized this when I picked you up. The two of them are definitely intentional. 
Su Huan with a displeased expression picked up his teacup and started drinking tea. Zhang Wenyuan cozily took a puff of smoke and spit it out. His mood was very refreshing. The scene of molesting a genius from time to time and making the genius suffer was a scene that was hard to see. Feeling that it was almost time, Zhang Wenyuan said I will give Astrid a call in a while. Let her find a girl to accompany you in the next few days. It's up to you guys to see how far you can progress. Su Huan nodded after hearing this, and stopped moving when he lifted his teacup and wanted to take another sip, raising his head with a skeptical expression as he looked at Zhang Wenyuan. It can't be Su Ran Ran right? Su Huan finished staring at Zhang Wenyuan. Zhang Wenyuan obviously froze for a moment, not expecting Su Huan to react so quickly. A trace of embarrassment appeared on his face. Hoof. Don't think I don't know that you're with Astrid because Su Ran Ran pulled the strings. Su Huan finished giving Zhang Wenyuan a contemptuous thought. Your sister. Come with me on this one. It's really you. Zhang Wenyuan was not the least bit afraid of Su Huan's eyes and asked, Is there a more suitable person than her? There is. There is. I knew you guys were playing this game. I would have paid to hire a person to come with me. The party is over. We all go our separate ways without involving each other. Su Huan did not hesitate to say this sentence. Zhang Wenyuan a look of indifference expression said this matter you absolutely wrong me. I really is in the pickup when you know that the two of them this time is not a single over. You need to tighten up your small movements when you lie in front of me. Dad I have long seen through your heart, liver, spleen, lungs and kidneys. Su Huan finished giving Zhang Wenyuan a look of contempt once again. Zhang Wenyuan didn't continue pretending this time and made an apologetic gesture. You know Astrid's relationship with Su Ran Ran. For the sake of my brother's happiness, you'll make a sacrifice. I do this is also for you. You and I are very clear. Su Ran Ran is a good girl. She also likes you. There's one thing I must tell you. I've had a serious talk with Su Ran Ran. She's already seen herself clearly, and has made a clear distinction between repaying the favor of saving her life and liking you, believing that these two things can't be confused. So, you can rest assured. When Zhang Wenyuan said this, the expression on his face became a lot more serious. Su Huan was flabbergasted for a moment, looking at Zhang Wenyuan with disbelief. In Su Huan's heart, he had also always thought that Su Ran Ran liked herself to repay her for saving her life. She did not really like herself. Looking at Su Huan's astonished expression, Zhang Wenyuan nodded his head very seriously, confirming this matter once again. Su Huan raised his hand and started rubbing his temples. At this moment, he was really having a headache. This time he came over to the party in order to have a good relaxation. If he knew it would be like this, if he knew it would be like this, he would not have come over. A good while time. Su Huan this only said Ran is a good girl. You do this is in her harm. Hey, this is something you can say to her tomorrow when you see her. I can't speak well. She only listens to you Zhang Wenyuan made a helpless gesture. This sentence is the truth. Zhang Wenyuan's persuasion is indeed ineffective. After chatting for a while and realizing that Su Huan was not in a good mood, Zhang Wenyuan secretly sighed in his heart and let Su Huan rest and left by himself, waiting for Lin Ida and Zhao Kaifeng to come over to eat together. The plane ride is also really tired. Su Huan took a shower and went to bed. At 6 p.m., Lin Ida held a girl with a mask and sunglasses out of the airport and got into Zhang Wenyuan's car, which drove directly to Su Huan's hotel. Lin Ida sat in the back row and asked where's Lao Si? Why don't you come to greet dad me? In a bad mood. A little dissatisfied with my arrangement Zhang Wenyuan skimmed his lips and uttered this sentence. Lin Ida did not say anything after hearing this with a smile on his face. Zhang Wenyuan looked at the smile on Lin Ida's face froze for a moment. A moment of time snapped out a sentence I rely on. This you also count. Che. Your little calculation. Not to mention I can see through. The boss can also see through. We're going along with you because we know very well what old four's current state is. And what you're doing will only backfire. Lin Ida said these words with a smile on his face. His body leaned back with a smug look on his face. Shit. Zhang Wenyuan gave Lin Ida a middle finger after he finished speaking. Ha 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 ha. Lin Ida laughed loudly not retorting at all. Looking at a chagrined expression Zhang Wenyuan was even happier. Zhang Wenyuan did not speak. Driving straight to the hotel. Lin Ida full of smiles do not care. All the way to the hotel. The vehicle quickly to the hotel. With Lin Ida upstairs to the room. Leaving a sentence you rest a while. The boss more than 8 o'clock to come over. Let's eat together at that time. After saying that, Lin Ida sent Zhang Wen Yuan away and returned to the room. At this time, the woman who followed Lin Ida took off the sunglasses and face mask. If there was a regular TV watcher at the moment, they would definitely recognize that this woman was called Gu Qingxiu. She was a celebrity, and her popularity wasn't low at the moment. Although the curiosity wasn't as good as Zhou Xinyun's, the difference wasn't too much. It was only one level lower than Zhou Xinyun. Gu Qingxiu's age was a few years older than Zhou Xinyun's. So if she didn't have better resources to move up another level, 
this life would probably be the same. Lin Ida was the youngest master of the Lin Group, which was a group that focused on the electrical appliances business. When it came to picking a spokesperson for one of its new products, Gu Qingqiu met Lin Ida. Although Lin Ida wasn't as flamboyant as Zhao Kai Fangs, he had crossed paths with a few actresses in the entertainment industry. And although they were separated, these actresses spoke highly of Lin Ida. One of the actresses knew Gu Qingqiu, and only after Gu Qingqiu asked for some real information did she start to get along with Lin Ida. The two of them then tried to get along and see if they were right for each other. In recent months, they had been getting together more often than not, and this time they came over because they had rushed some work in advance to find the time. Lin Ida made a cup of tea and sat on the sofa. Gu Qingqiu sorted out her belongings and sat down opposite Lin Ida and asked, This time I came here to take a break, right? Listening to the conversation between you and Zhang Wenyuan, what other plans do you have for this gathering? After listening to Gu Qingqiu's words, Lin Ida's eyebrows moved slightly put down his teacup and said in an unhappy tone, don't be concerned about this, this kind of thing can only be participated by the four brothers, Lin Ida has his own principles and bottom line, himself with Zhang Wenyuan, Zhao Kaifeng, Su Huan, anything between the three, who cannot intervene, Zhao Kaifeng plays so flower, also prohibited others to interfere in the matter between the four brothers, especially women, once you let women meddle in things between the four, definitely more trouble and will even damage the brotherly love between the four. In today's society, this kind of pure brotherly love was really too rare, and all four were being careful to maintain this bond. Gu Qingqiu skimmed her lips after hearing Lin Ida's words and stopped talking, knowing very well which four brothers Lin Ida was talking about. The first time I knew it was Lin Ida who had three brothers who were deadbeats. I didn't think it was a big deal at first, but then I knew the names of the three, which made Gu Qingqiu very shocked. Su Huan and Zhang Wenyuan's name has not heard of, but Shanghai City, Zhao's group, Zhao Kai Feng's big name, or heard of. After checking the information of Zhang Wenyuan, also surprised a lot, did not expect this Zhang Wenyuan from the family alone entrepreneurial surprisingly fought out hundreds of millions of assets. Check Su Huan's information, but Gu Qingqiu disappointed. Only Su Huan University period some simple information. After graduating from the university information is not found out at all. Until the red beans this poem was fired up by the media, which only dug out some information about Su Huan. Gu Qingqiu is very smart, immediately realized that this low-profile Su Huan is not simple. An ordinary person would not be recognized by Lin Yide, Zhao Kai Feng, and Zhang Wenyuan, these great young masters, and for the four to have such a deep bond. This Su Huan was definitely not simple either, definitely the one with the deepest hide. Okay, don't be angry. You'll know what's going on if you look slowly Lin Yide consoled. Gu Qingqiu digresses from talking about this matter. Lin Yide also cooperated and started talking to Gu Qingqiu about other things. Time slowly passed. At 8.10, the flight from Shanghai City landed at the airport in Ladassa City. Zhao Kaifeng held a girl's hand and walked out of the airport under the escort of four bodyguards. Looking around, he saw Zhang Wenyuan standing not far away, and immediately walked over, letting go of the girl's hand to give Zhang Wenyuan a big hug when he was close. After separating, Zhao Kaifeng asked, Are they all here? Zhang Wenyuan smiled and said they're all here. Just waiting for you. Zhao Kaifeng was very satisfied with this result. As the boss he had to make a grand finale appearance. At this time, Zhang Wenyuan waved his hand and signaled the crowd to follow him. Only then did Zhao Kaifeng hold his sister's hand and follow Zhang Wenyuan to leave. With the bodyguards following behind. There were two cars over in the parking lot. Zhang Wenyuan, Zhao Kaifeng, and the younger sister. The three of them got into one car. And the four bodyguards sat in a commercial car next to them. The two cars started and left the parking lot to drive to the hotel. Zhao Kaifeng brought the sister without introduction, which means that this woman is a temporary girlfriend. So Zhang Wenyuan did not talk much in the car. There were no words along the way, returning to the hotel to check in and enter the room. Drinking tea and chatting for a while Zhang Wenyuan called Lin Yide as well as Su Huan, asking them all to come to Zhao Kaifeng's room. The rooms of the three of them were all on the same floor, so it was quick for the two of them to come over. Lin Yide and Gu Qingqiu had already arrived. Gu Chengqiu went to the bedroom to chat with Zhao Kaifeng's girlfriend. Both of them were in the entertainment industry and had common topics. Zhao Kaifeng and his girlfriend went to the bedroom to chat. When Su Huan arrived, Zhao Kaifeng picked up the teapot and poured a cup of tea for Su Huan, and the four of them chatted while drinking. Ten minutes later, Zhao Kaifeng and Lin Yi greeted their girlfriends separately, and they all left the hotel together, heading to the restaurant that Zhang Wenyuan had arranged for dinner. After the group entered the box and sat down, Gu Qingqiu realized something was very wrong. Although Zhao Kaifeng was sitting in the main seat, after the four of them sat down, Zhao Kaifeng took out a cigarette and sent it to Su Huan's mouth. 
and Lin Ida who was on the side immediately took out a lighter and lit it for Su Huan. Gu Qingqiu, who knows Lin Ida very well, was really surprised, knowing Lin Ida for almost a year. She never saw Lin Ida being so attentive to that person of the same age. Even if it was an elder, Lin Ida had never lit a cigarette for him. The girl who came over with Zhao Kaifeng had nothing on the surface and was shocked on the inside. Since she had known Zhao Kaifeng, she had never seen Zhao Kaifeng take out a cigarette and hand it to someone else's mouth. Even though sons of Shanghai City whose status was not inferior to that of Zhao Kaifeng did not have this kind of treatment. From Zhao Kaifeng's actions just now, it was very skillful and natural. Obviously not the first time he had done this kind of thing. A curious thought immediately surged within him. What ability did this Su Huan have that he could make Zhao Kaifeng treat him like this? On the side of Zhang Wenyuan does not care about this, has seen countless times, take over the Jianan open to four cups to pour wine. The four cups shared the bottle of wine exactly equally. Four men drink, two women can freely choose, drink fruit juice, red wine, fruit wine, free choice, drink whatever you want. Today's main dish is very simple, stewed mutton. Everyone has a knife in front of them, convenient to fish over the mutton cut into small pieces to eat down. Drinking wine and chatting with the atmosphere slowly came up. More than half an hour passed the second bottle of Jianan opened. Four people drinking wine and eating meat is not painful. Looking at the four people in front of me, Gu Qingqiu and Zhao Kaifeng's small girlfriend inner shock is one after another. Taking Zhao Kaifeng as an example, no matter how good the relationship is with someone in Shanghai City, this person can never do it to directly hook Zhao Kaifeng's neck to pour wine. Also, hair is Zhao Dishao's taboo. In Zhao Dishao's words, head can be broken, hairstyle can't be messed up. At this moment, Su Huan and Zhang Wenyuan had ravaged Zhao Kaifeng's head several times, and Zhao Kaifeng was laughing ha 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 with not a single sign of anger, completely subverted the heart of the cognition, understanding of Zhao Kaifeng, there is also Lin Yi De, even dared to let Zhao Kaifeng call his father you call a father, I drink this cup for you this is what Lin Yi De said, Zhao Kaifeng did not even show a trace of annoyance on his face, he picked up his wine glass and drank it in one gulp, then he gave Lin Yi De a middle finger, Gu Qingqiu today is considered to see the other side of Lin Yi De, Lin Ida usually all kinds of persistence, all kinds of principles, in Su Huan, Zhao Kaifeng, Zhang Wan Yuan, in front of the three people were broken one by one, the heart produces a stream of realization, not Lin Ida does not adhere to the principle, but divided into people, Zhang Wan Yuan, Zhao Kaifeng, Su Huan, these three people in the heart of Lin Ida's special status, even if the three people trampled all kinds of bottom line also a smiling face in different expression, after eating and drinking for about two hours, Dinner was over and the crowd left the restaurant to return to the hotel to rest. Zhang Wenyuan returned to his room without resting, washed up and brewed a pot of tea to the sofa side and sat down, took out the phone to call Su Ran Ran. Soon, the phone went through. Wan Yuan, how is his status? Su Ran Ran's voice came out from the phone. Ran Ran, the situation is pretty much as I expected. He is still in the middle of his mindset adjustment and is not willing to start a new relationship. He wants to completely relax. You have to have a mental preparation. Zhang Wenyuan said these words with a strong reminder. Let Su Ran Ran calm her mind. Don't be anxious. At this moment Su Huan needs to relax. Whoever comes to annoy him at this time, he will instinctively get tired of whoever. Su Ran Ran listened to the words of Zhang Wenyuan did not speak. A while asked I. I, can I see him tomorrow? After graduating from college, she returned home. But she was still thinking about Su Huan. Thinking that Su Huan would be able to come to Baiyun County tomorrow. Su Ran Ran wanted to see Su Huan's mood became more urgent. Zhang Wan Yuan understands Su Ran Ran's mood, but at this moment some words must be said in place to do. Take a deep breath and said, You want to think about how to get along with him? I'm not sure how to get along with him. Su Ran Ran was silent again. For a while time said I think well, you can rest assured. I will control myself. I will meet with him as an old friend, and will not talk to him about any topic that makes him feel pressurized. Zhang Wanyuan listened nodding his head every now and then interjecting a word to mention Su Ran Ran. More than 10 minutes later, Su Ran Ran on the other end of the phone figured out how to face Su Huan tomorrow. The phone hung up. Zhang Wanyuan's face appeared a trace of a smile muttered to himself. Boss too, you think I do not see your calculations? You guys will know when the party is over. Dad, I'm more skillful than you guys. After saying that, Zhang Wanyuan was full of smiles as soon as he raised his hand and drank the tea, stood up and went to the bed to lie down and rest. He could have a beautiful dream tonight. The next day around 10 o'clock in the morning, the crowd cleared the formalities at the front desk of the hotel and left the hotel. Zhang Wanyuan drove Su Huan, followed by two high-end commercial vehicles, Zhao Kaifeng and Lin Ida with his girlfriend in one, Zhao Kaifeng's four bodyguards in one. The three cars formed a small convoy that left Ladassa City for Baiyun County. 
Su Ran Ran's family's ranch, Su Ran Ran had begun her preparations a few days earlier, arranging for the ranch workers to build a few new yurts, prepare the horses, and prepare tea sets as well as numerous ethnic specialty foods. Su mother knew what her daughter was doing, and had the intention to stop her daughter from fooling around, but was stopped by Su father Su Jingshan. After all, Su Jingshan is a person who has seen the world, although he does not know Su Huan, but he also knows that Su Huan is his daughter's savior. More than that, I know my daughter's little heart to Su Huan, long ago figured out that kind of things cannot be stopped, simply let go and let my daughter do it in accordance with their own wishes. If it is successful, the daughter can get her happiness. If not, the daughter can also put down this matter to go out to pursue new happiness. As for Su Huan, Su Jingshan on Su Huan impression is very good. When Su Huan can in that kind of dangerous environment jumped into the river to save his daughter. Enough to show that Su Huan this person character no problem. A person's character is not a problem. And then bad can not be bad to wear. Another reason is because of Zhang Wenyuan. But he knows Zhang Wenyuan very well. Zhang Wenyuan is very proud of his heart. Although it shows that he is very close to you. In fact, Zhang Wenyuan did not put you in the heart at all. Although the Zhang family is relatively rich. Zhang Wenyuan disdain in the family business when the son of a dude. After graduating from college to leave the family business alone entrepreneurship, struggle all the way to the present entrepreneurial success. Zhang Wenyuan has proved his own excellence with the facts. Su Jingshan did not understand Lin Yidet and Zhao Kaifeng, but Zhao Kaifeng knows a little bit. After all, the name of Zhao's group in Shanghai City is still heard of. Zhao Kaifeng is Zhao's group's youngest master is also famous. According to Zhang Wenyuan, Lin Yidet's family was richer than his own, and his family had been in business for several generations. A so capable Zhang Wenyuan in the university after graduation also with Lin Ida, Zhao Kaifeng, Su Huan, to maintain the relationship of Dai Hard. See the Su Huan is not so simple. Comprehensive these factors to see. This Su Huan is also an excellent person. After all, things are gathered in groups. With this analysis, Su Jingshan not only did not stop his daughter from fooling around, but instead provided his daughter with a lot of facilities and was very supportive. Also arranged for people to purchase a lot of items in Ladassa city to arrange vehicles to send their daughters over. Everything has been prepared on the ranch side. Su Ran Ran and Astrid were waiting for Zhang Wenyuan and the others to arrive. And at 11 o'clock, they had already arranged for people to start preparing the local specialty food. At 12 o'clock, a small convoy of three vehicles had already driven into the ranch. Zhang Wenyuan drove in the front and soon arrived at the campsite that Su Ran Ran had prepared. After the three cars parked in order, everyone got off the car. Su Ran Ran and Astrid were both dressed in national costumes. Both of them had a smile on their faces and bright eyes as they walked towards Zhang Wenyuan and Su Huan respectively. Lin Ida and Zhao Kaifeng have a mysterious smile on their faces, waiting to watch the show, to see Zhang Wenyuan's joke of not being able to steal the chicken and not being able to eat the rice. When Su Ran Ran approached Su Huan, she naturally hugged Su Huan's arm and said with a smile, Brother Huan, welcome to my ranch. Su Huan heart not a trace of want to struggle meaning. On Su Ran Ran this kind of behavior as if already accustomed to the same. Think it is a very normal thing. In the southern city, no matter that woman holding Su Huan's arm, Su Huan's heart has the instinct to dodge. But at this moment, facing Su Ran Ran, this kind of feeling is not even a trace. On the other side, Astrid had already hugged Zhang Wenyuan's arm. Zhang Wenyuan with a smile on his face greeted the shocked Zhao Zhao Kaifeng and Lin Yidi to go to the yurt together. Su Ran Ran hugged Su Huan's arm and greeted the two of them then led Su Huan towards another yurt. Seeing Su Ran Ran and Su Huan walking away, Zhao Kaifeng and Lin Yidi said in unison, this is not scientific. The two of them looked at each other and immediately looked at Zhang Wenyuan who was all smiles, while Zhang Wenyuan had a look of successful calculation and laughed ha 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 ha. Let the two of you do a thousand calculations. In the end, you will have to drink daddy's foot washing water. Ha 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 Zhang Wenyuan finished laughing as he led Astrid forward. Wait. Zhao Kaifeng shouted and immediately went over to pull Zhang Wenyuan back. At this time Lin Yidi also reacted and also went over to block Zhang Wenyuan. This matter must be made clear today. Su Huan should not let any woman hold his arm at this moment. If the woman forced to come, Su Huan's face will appear very bored expression. At the moment, Su Huan's arm was held by Su Ran Ran and nothing happened, which completely subverted common sense. Without clarifying this matter, the two of them wouldn't be able to eat their lunch today. Astrid let go of Zhang Wenyuan with a smile on her face and stepped aside, greeting the two women as she continued to walk forward, not getting involved in the small calculations between the four of them. Lin Yide asked this question very seriously what the hell, how could Lao Si let Su Ran Ran hold his arm? Zhao Kaifeng on the side looked at Zhang Wenyuan eyes and nodded. If this question was not clarified, not to mention not being able to eat, he would not be able to sleep tonight. What is there to explain? 
You guys think about it, Su Ran Ran every time she meets with Su Huan, that one time she didn't hold his arm, even if Su Huan is married, Su Ran Ran did the same when she met Su Huan, even in front of Gu Wan. The smile on Zhang Wen Yuan's face became even thicker after he said this. Zhao Kai Feng and Lin Yida both had a look of sudden realization on their faces, followed by a look of chagrin. Zhao Kai Feng said with a chagrined expression, M, how did I forget about this matter? After Zhang Wen Yuan reminded him, he had already figured out what was going on. Standing next to Lin Yidu with a difficult expression said blundered, blundered, how I also will this matter to forget, the mistake. During the university period, Su Ran Ran was very close to Su Huan, and in everyone's opinion, this is Su Ran Ran repaying the kindness of saving her life before she would be so good to Su Huan. As soon as she met Su Huan face to face, she hugged Su Huan's arm. This matter everyone has been accustomed to, including Gu Wan is also the same. That Su Ran Ran is so because of the grace of life saving. At first, Su Huan was uncomfortable. Then see Gu Wan does not care about it is also accustomed to it. And then no matter what occasions as long as Su Ran Ran and Su Huan in, Su Ran Ran will naturally embrace Su Huan arm. Everyone is used to it and thinks it is normal for Su Ran Ran to do so. This thing only Su Ran Ran can do. Any other woman to do so Su Huan certainly struggled away. Even more not dare to do so in front of Gu Wan. This is a privilege that belongs solely to Su Ran Ran. Everyone thinks this is a very normal thing. Naturally ignored this matter. People always ignore those who think it is very normal things. This is the human nature of inertia caused by thinking. At this moment, seeing Su Huan not rejecting Su Ran Ran holding her arms, Zhao Kai Feng and Lin Yida only reacted. How could Lao Zi forget such an important matter? Zhao Kai Feng was incomparably chagrined at the moment, thinking that Zhang Wen Yuan arranging for Su Ran Ran to entertain Su Huan was definitely the result of not eating the mutton and getting into trouble. He himself could happily eat melon from the sidelines. Unexpectedly, Zhang Wen Yuan's calculations were so deep, giving people a feeling of a village in the dark. The mood to the extreme Zhang Wen Yuan smiled at the end of the two said go, I send you to the yurt. Happy, bigger melon is still in the back. Zhao Kai Feng and Lin Yide also pack a depressed mood nodded, followed Zhang Wen Yuan toward the yurt. Su Ran Ran and Su Huan things are certainly not so simple. At the moment, Su Ran Ran and Su Huan are not that big of a deal, but Su Huan will have to wait until the end of his vacation at the earliest to adjust his mindset. For the time being, there is no need to worry about this. In the future, it is not certain who will pick the second-hand flower of Su Huan first. On the other hand, Su Ran Ran held Su Huan's arm and entered the yurt, helping Su Huan to organize his belongings and chatting casually. Su Huan did not have a trace of pressure in his heart. Chatting and laughing with Su Ran Ran, the atmosphere is very cordial. Su Ran Ran returned home after graduation, and every year she would send Su Huan souvenirs from her hometown and from time to time she would chat with Su Huan on the phone, with Zhou Xinyun, Yu Hongdo, compared to Zhou Xinyun and Yu Hongdo, Su Ran Ran has more contact with Su Huan, Su Ran Ran adopted the same strategy as Zhou Xinyun, so that Su Huan think with themselves can be very relaxed, without a trace of pressure, and over time after becoming accustomed to, Su Huan would not be able to leave herself, the difference is that Su Ran Ran has an inherent advantage over Zhou Xinyun, that is, Su Huan does not reject Su Ran Ran's closeness to himself, after all, Su Ran Ran's this kind of closeness are already accustomed to. If Su Ran Ran showed no closeness to Su Huan, all those who knew the two would feel uncomfortable and abnormal. After chatting for a while inside the yurt, Su Ran Ran accompanied Su Huan out of the yurt and went forward to call Lin Yidi and the others to eat together. All of them were hungry, and after waking up from their sleep, they checked out of their rooms and took the car to catch a ride, greeting each other as they walked towards the restaurant. The so-called restaurant is a yurt. This yurt is only used to eat without people. During the meal, Zhao Kai Feng and Lin Yide also introduced their girlfriends to the crowd, with Zhao Kai Feng together over the girl called Wang Yiding, graduated from the Shanghai City Theater Academy acting department, into the entertainment industry only more than a year, because of the sweet looks has received a few big brand endorsements, the family is not an ordinary family, although not as rich as the Zhao family, but also belongs to the rich family, mother Miao Qingqing is inactive in the entertainment industry gold medal agent, after her daughter entered the entertainment industry, Miao Qingqing resigned from her original job to become Wang Yiding's agent to take care of Wang Yiding's everything, a variety of meals, drinks, all put off, some male artists with bad character, all refuse to cooperate, even if the road to fame is a little slower, but also to let Wang Yiding smooth development, the family is not bad money without having to fight overnight, Wang Yiding's father, Wang Chang, running a trading company, business is good family quite assets, Wang Chang and Zhao Sun is a high school classmate relationship, the two have a good relationship. Wang Chang proposed to let Zhao Kai Feng and Wang Yiding too try to see everywhere to see. Zhao Sun did not object. Therefore, 
Wang Yiding and Zhao Kaifeng acquaintance is the result of the parents intentionally arranged. It is best to become a pair, but also counted so that the daughter of the second half of the life of the wealth and glory constantly. Zhao Sun only gave Zhao Kaifeng a sentence. If you have no interest in Wang Yiding, don't touch her. After the explanation, I don't care, and I don't interfere, although my son is more promiscuous. But as long as it is his own account of things, Zhao Kaifeng has done a good job. Zhao Kaifeng and Wang Yiding know half a year. Zhao Kaifeng has not touched her. This point, Wang Yiding heart satisfaction at the same time more or less lost. This time when she came over to party with Zhao Kaifeng, she originally thought that it would be very boring. After all, Zhao Kaifeng prohibited anyone from getting involved in things related to Lin Yide, Zhang Wenyuan, and Su Huan. In the words of Zhao Kaifeng, no one is allowed to participate in matters between our four brothers. Wang Yiding had never met the other three, and thought to take advantage of this party to see who Zhao Kaifeng cared about, and to get closer to Zhao Kaifeng. I didn't expect to meet Gu Qingxiu this time, although I don't know Gu Qingxiu, but it doesn't prevent Wang Yiding from recognizing her. Both of them are in the entertainment industry and have common topics to talk about. After the meal, Zhao Kaifeng, Lin Yi Da, Zhang Wenyuan, Su Huan, four men went to another yurt to drink tea and smoke to relax. Su Ran Ran, Astrid, Gu Qingxiu, Wang Yiding, the four of them also enter a yurt to drink tea and chat. Inside the yurt, Lin Yi drank a mouthful of tea and put down the cup and said, Brothers help me to counsel. After the year, I intend to resign from the family company. Another portal to create a new home appliance brand for entrepreneurship. Is this thing feasible? said Zhao Kaifeng, Zhang Wenyuan, and Zhang Wenyun. Zhao Kaifeng, Zhang Wenyuan, Su Huan also put down the cup face exudes a thoughtful expression. Soon, Zhao Kaifeng asked to how much money you prepared. Home appliance industry profits are now basically transparent. Less money simply cannot play. Su Huan followed with a sentence you do this business with the family industry conflict. Your family does not have a problem with it? Zhang Wenyuan also followed with a question. Your priority is not to start a business immediately, but to form a capable team. After listening to the words of the three, Lin Yi Da nodded and said, I'll answer one by one. I'm already working on the team issue. At the moment there are only seven people who have passed my inspection. Don't see that they are not doing well in my family's business, but they are all very capable people. In addition, I resigned from my family's business to start another stove this matter has been talked to my father and brother. They also support me to start a business. Funding, my family supports me with $50 million, and I've saved more than $100 million in the past few years, plus the annual dividends from the family fund. Together, it's probably enough. Preventure I do not intend to take the physical route. Ready to go online. Take the boutique route. Take the commissioned OEM mode. This will allow for a quick turnaround and a quick return of cash flow. Listening to Lin Yi finished three people pondered. Zhao Kaifeng pondered a very dry said I support you. Do it. Next year, Zhao's group has a number of office appliances need to be replaced. I would press this matter. When your products are listed on the market will be the list to you. Finished picking up the teapot to the four people cup full. Lin Yi picked up the cup and Zhao Kaifeng cup clinked. To Zhao's group scale procurement of a number of. The number will certainly not be less. In the future, my side of the procurement of electrical appliances. First call you. Your side does not have me in the consideration of other brands, Zhang Wanyuan stated. Lin Yida smiled and gave Zhang Wanyuan a fist. Su Huan is smiling to it not enough funds to say a word. Hearing this sentence, Lin Yida, Zhang Wanyuan, Zhao Kaifeng, all three faces appeared smile. Su Huan should be the four people inside the most cash on hand one. With Su Huan's unbelievable ability in finance, it was estimated that he would never lack money to spend in his life. At this time, Lin Yida relifted his cup and said, with the support of a few brothers, I have no worries, dry, for small teacups touched, and the matter was finalized, a cup of tea, Zhang Wenyuan picked up the teapot to a few brothers full, put down the teapot said a few brothers this time to relax and experience a good, not unexpected, I intend to operate the grassland vacation tourism, this time we live in the yurt will not be dismantled, the follow up will add some facilities, give me a suggestion before you leave and see what's lacking. Zhao Kaifeng said with a smile after listening the hotel you invested in on the Ladassa side hasn't started running yet, and now you're planning on a new project. Aren't you nervous about your capital chain? Zhang Wenyuan said with a smile after hearing this. Zhang Wenyuan heard hey, long sigh. Lin Yide and Su Huan saw Zhang Wenyuan so immediately came to interest. Can let Zhang Wenyuan issued a long sigh of things really not much. I have no choice. These years the domestic tourism industry competition is more and more intense. A lot of tourism companies began to accept the capital into the stock for the run. I if I do not act. This is also a move that cannot be helped. Zhang Wanyuan told the matter truthfully. 
The three of them realized what was going on. So Zhang Wan Yuan's side was carrying so much pressure. You don't have enough funds. Do you have any opinion on me and Lao Si taking shares? Not old Lin. He's about to start a business and definitely can't spare the funds. Zhao Kaifeng looked at Zhang Wen Yuan and asked. Zhang Wen Yuan simply said, "It's no problem to join the stock. However, when the enterprise develops to a certain extent, you must sell your shares to me. I'll buy them back at five times the price. I won't let you suffer." Su Huan heard a smile and said, "At this moment, if there is wine, the boss will surely fine you three times. You say five times the repurchase. The sentence should be punished." Zhao Kaifeng heard with a smile on his face, gave Su Huan a thumbs up, turned his head and looked at Zhang Wen Yuan and said. Hear that, or the oldest four understand me. Don't say you're buying back five times. If you're buying back ten times, dad won't see it in his eyes. Lin Ida also followed and disliked Zhang Wen Yuan. What do you care about your little return? Zhang Wen Yuan immediately picked up his teacup and said, What do you care about your little return? Zhang Wen Yuan immediately picked up his teacup and said, Brothers, I just said something wrong. I admit to the fight and punishment. Before the party, because of the matter of shares makes me very annoyed. I and Astrid have already met both parents. Their family and some relatives of our family want to join the shares where I refused. I and Astrid discussed. The company we founded together will not accept any relatives to join the company. Even if we share out the shares for financial reasons, we will sign a share repurchase agreement. This is to avoid making friends and relatives enemies because of money. Zhang Wenyuan explained the matter once more. And only then did the crowd understand what was going on. Leave the family opened the tourism company. Zhang Wenyuan another stove after the development of a very good, and now it is a large investment in large hotels. The development momentum is rapid. Some snobbish relatives at home want to share a share, want to use a very small price from Zhang Wenyuan body to get a huge return. After seeing these people's faces clearly, Zhang Wenyuan and Astrid simply rejected these people and put out the word that they would not accept any shares from their relatives. These people do not die. On the surface, did not do anything but secretly not less play small means. Zhang Wenyuan just remembered these annoying things a moment dizzy head before saying the wrong words. Zhao Kaifeng said with a face of emotion, "This is not to blame you. Our family has a similar situation. My father is too embarrassed to reject them. I do not have so many concerns. I really don't know where these assholes get the courage to say these words." Zhao's group was developing well. The eldest uncle Zhao Ming's family secretly supported not to get involved in the business. However, Zhao Sun still secretly left a certain amount of shares for his elder brother. Splitting the shares into two to each of the two nieces, Zhao's group all the way up cannot be separated from Big Brother Zhao Ming. Secretly, pay do not do so. Sorry for their own conscience. Zhao Kaifeng to share some shares to the eldest. No opinion on the other relatives is a little good face or not. Dad did not dare to say words. He said did not dare to do things he did. It is considered to have temporarily blocked the ambition of these relatives. After listening to the words of Zhao Kaifeng, Lin Yi de said with a sigh, "My family is also the same." If not my grandfather that year, they had a hard hand, forcing them to sign a dividend. Only do not participate in the management of the agreement. At this moment, it's not certain who is in charge of our Lin group. What those people do is sometimes more hateful than those foreign enemies. While Su Huan was unable to understand what Lin Yi said, Zhao Kaifeng and Zhang Wen Yuan were nodding their heads uncontrollably, understanding the inner meaning of Lin Yi words too well. Seeing that the three of them all looked emotional, Su Huan hesitated for a moment and said, "Forget it." I was going to tell you guys when we parted for the party. Now that both Erwa and Sanwa are short of funds, Dad will take you guys for a ride. From now on, you can slowly concentrate funds. Wait for my call after the year. After saying that, Su Huan picked up his teacup and started to drink tea. Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi De, Zhang Wen Yuan. The eyes of the three of them immediately lit up and looked at Su Huan in unison. Dad is mighty. Dad is awesome. Papa's golden spear will not fall. The three of them immediately began to pat their asses. It had been more than two years, and in the last two years or so, Su Huan hadn't even brought his brother in three to play once. Especially Zhao Kai Feng, playing outside by himself, spent all the money within his own small treasury, which had been in a continuous state for the past two years. Spending a large amount of money used to. Sometimes Zhao Kai Feng looked at the small treasury money constantly lower is also very meat pain. Have the intention to control the speed of their own spending. Temperament came up. Immediately put this idea behind. Lin Ida, Zhang Wan Yuan. At this moment, is no pressure at all. In the hearts of the two, Su Huan is the god of the financial market. Follow the god to play together. Quasi right. Zhao Kai Feng couldn't help but ask immediately: Is the target domestic or foreign? Roughly, what time is it? You prepare in advance. The specific time to wait for me to come back from vacation after the year to be determined. Su Huan calmly said this sentence. The three heard immediately nodded their heads and immediately began to think about the problem of mobilization of funds in their minds. 
The topic is no longer discussing this matter. The four people chatted for a few minutes. Su Ran Ran four people came over, inviting the four people to go horseback riding. The four immediately ended the chat and followed the four women out. Su Huan is not very good at horseback riding. It doesn't matter. There is Su Ran Ran, a beautiful woman who rides a horse every day. Looking after her, Zhang Wan Yuan had no problem. He didn't know his girlfriend Astrid for long before Astrid took him to learn how to ride a horse. This place would be used as a new tourist project for Zhang Wan Yuan, and had long been arranged for personnel, with Lin Yida's four people surrounded by professionals instructing them on how to ride a horse. All of them were good-looking beauties. The horse that Su Ran Ran picked for Su Huan was a horse with a good pedigree, able to carry weight and with high endurance. Helping Su Huan on the horse first, followed by Su Ran Ran's one flip on the horse, pulling the reins and hugging Su Huan. At this moment Su Ran Ran was very happy inside. Riding with Su Huan in her arms is something Su Ran Ran has imagined for a long time, and today she finally got what she wanted. Su Huan felt the softness behind him and just wanted to speak. Su Ran Ran's voice of guidance came over you hold on to the reins, don't move too much. Hearing this voice, Su Huan thought Su Ran Ran did not have any other ideas, but simply instructed himself to ride a horse, immediately collected his mind and operated according to Su Ran Ran's instructions. The horse began to slowly walk forward not noticing in the slightest that the two were slowly moving away from the others. Zhang Wan Yuan three people did find out, looked at each other and smiled without saying anything, also intentionally in the opposite direction to move forward, not to disturb the two people. In the hearts of the three, Su Ran Ran, Yu Hongdo, Zhou Xinyun, and Baby Mo, no matter who marries Su Huan in the future, they are better than Gu Wan, and Su Huan will definitely be happy. Horses slowly running, also let Su Huan let go and Su Ran Ran riding on the horse talking, the two people from time to time issued laughter, time passed little by little, more than an hour later the two rode back, Su Ran Ran although very reluctant did not show a trace of dissatisfaction, let Su Huan feel relaxed, feel no pressure with yourself only happy, this is Su Ran Ran's purpose, for the sake of this plan, enduring a moment of unhappiness was nothing, after coming back, Su Ran Ran rolled over and dismounted without letting Su Huan dismount brother Huan, you ride yourself and run slowly to try it out, it will be a different experience. Good. Su Huan promised. Maneuvered the horse to turn around and start jogging. Su Ran Ran watched from a short distance away with a smile on her face. At this time, Zhang Wan Yuan's fiance, Astrid, came over to Su Ran Ran's side and said control. Look at his eyes are drawn. Hearing this Su Ran Ran face a red, white Astrid a glance and said you want to be successful. Sister my thing is still not yet a thing. Okay, don't fool me. I've heard Wan Yuan say that Su Huan has always kept a distance from women. No matter how good the relationship is, he won't make intimate moves with them, especially after the divorce. This quirk is even more powerful. The only exception is for you. You hold his arm. A little close action Su Huan is not disgusted. This alone makes you more than a match for your competitors. Astrid said this sentence with a smile on her face. Su Ran Ran's red face began to scratch Astrid's crease. Astrid ha 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 laughed and began to play with Su Ran Ran. Happy time is always short. The sky slowly darkened. All the people also rode back. Together return to the yurt rest rest. After all, this is a plateau. The body can't fully adapt for the time being. After resting for a while, we started to eat dinner. Dinner is also the side of the special soup noodles. With other places is different. Here the soup noodles using broth. Unlike other places, this soup noodle soup uses meat broth. And comes with green vegetables, meat slices. And the amount of collocation is also more than other places. Su Ran Ran sat beside Su Huan and instructed him on how to eat and sometimes when he was lost in thought while watching Su Huan eat, Astrid, who was sitting beside Su Ran Ran, raised her hand and pinched Su Ran Ran's leg to bring her back to her senses, Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi De, Zhang Wen Yuan, the three of them looked at Su Ran Ran with a melon expression in their eyes, after realizing this, Su Ran Ran's face immediately turned red, Gu Qingqiu and Wang Yiting could also see that Su Ran Ran was interested in Su Huan, it was just that Su Huan didn't realize it, at this moment, the two of them very much agreed with Zhao Kai Feng and Lin Yida's assessment of Su Wan. When it came to relationships, this guy was a little white, wooden. After dinner, the crowd played together for a while before going to rest separately. Coming out to play was relaxing, so everyone didn't get up early. Today's activities had already been arranged by Zhang Wan Yuan and Su Ran Ran. Just like yesterday, Su Ran Ran was only responsible for leading Su Huan to play, so that no one would disturb the wonderful time the two had together. Time passed day by day. In a blink of an eye, the four of them had been playing here for four days, and they would be leaving tomorrow to return. In the evening, Zhang Wan Yuan and his fiance secretly went out to find Su Ran Ran, urging Su Ran Ran to be calm when she separates from Su Huan tomorrow. 
and to hold back, so as not to let the painstaking efforts of the past few days go to waste. These four days, when doing the game Su Huan is with Su Ran Ran group, relaxing and at the same time very considerate to Su Ran Ran, and even drink for Su Ran Ran blocking the wine. When he was with Su Ran Ran, Su Ran Ran made a lot of intimate gestures, and Su Huan didn't reject any of them, which made Zhao Kaifeng and Lin Ida eat it up. Both of them thought that they had completely miscalculated this time, not realizing that Su Huan was so unguarded towards Su Ran Ran. Su Ran Ran nodded her head in agreement when she heard Zhang Wen Yuan's words. The night passed, the next day when everyone ate breakfast and carried their belongings to the car. Su Ran Ran accompanied Su Huan to the vehicle not far away, seeing that Su Huan was about to leave. Su Ran Ran's inner turmoil still did not hold back. The eyes welled up with infinite deep feelings and looked at Su Huan and said, Huan, you are in a bad mood when you come to this side to find me. I, said here Su Ran Ran cannot go on. In a hurry, she also did not say. In Su Huan cheeks gently kissed, red face turned around and ran back to the yurt. Su Huan looked at the Su Ran 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 away from the back of the frozen. The people are on the sidelines watching did not say anything. A good while, Su Huan looked at Su Ran 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 into the yurt which only issued a hey. Sigh. Previously do not understand what is called, the most difficult to suffer the grace of beauty. This moment Su Huan completely understand. He looked at the yurt for a while before turning around and carrying his bag to the car. And then the people looked at each other and followed the car to leave together. Su Huan and Zhang Wenyuan a car. Zhang Wenyuan drive. The vehicle left Baiyun County after Zhang Wenyuan snapped asked a ran how do you think? Su Huan looked out the window, pondered for a moment and said, the beauty of the heavy, how to repay. Hearing this sentence Zhang Wenyuan did not speak. Go back and must think about what the meaning of this sentence to do. Can never be as simple as the meaning of the word? In literature, he was a white man, unable to compete with a genius like Su Huan. Literature often has multiple interpretations of a sentence, the specific meaning of which, only this group of people proficient in literature can figure out. However, Zhang Wenyuan could feel that Su Huan was not heartless towards Su Ran Ran. Other than that, no matter, as long as he could figure this out, he would be able to deliver with his fiancée when he came back after sending the three away. Speaking of business, after the year action when you lend me a sum of money, tourism this industry invested in large payback is a little slow. The only advantage is that the odds of losing money is small. Zhang Wenyuan digresses and says, Su Huan nodded and said, I'll arrange 100 million funds for you, and then deduct it at the time of settlement. Okay, Zhang Wenyuan agreed in one mouth, not polite at all. With the relationship of the four people do not need to be polite. The vehicle drove directly to the airport. Su Huan's flight soon arrived at the time. After sending off Su Huan several people together to the hotel not far away to rest, Zhang Wenyuan checked in and opened a temporary suite. Lin Yide and Zhao Kaifeng were on the same flight. About two hours later than Su Huan's flight, the plane would land once in Tianqing City for the next batch of guests, and then pick up the last batch of guests before flying to Shanghai City. More than two o'clock in the afternoon, the plane slowly landed in Nandu City. Du Xueqing picked up the plane at the entrance of the airport channel, and immediately greeted Su Huan when he saw him coming out. When Su Huan left Nandu City, he was carrying a bag, and now he came back with two large suitcases, and Zhang Wenyuan had prepared a lot of souvenirs for Su Huan. After receiving a suitcase in Su Huan's hand, they went to the parking lot together, got on the car and returned directly to their home. On the other side, cheerful technology company, Gu Wan received a phone call Mr. Su has already gotten off the plane to meet up with his housekeeper and is currently on his way home. I see. Guan hung up the phone after saying that. A satisfied expression spread on her face. Having someone to keep an eye on him was good. She could grasp Su Huan's every move at any time. The money spent was worth it. Knowing that Su Huan is back, Guan does not plan to go to Su Huan today. Letting Su Huan rest at home for two days. The day after tomorrow is the board of directors. Wait for the board of directors to finish looking for Su Huan time slowly to the end of the moment. Guan did not work overtime today to return home early. Originally in a good mood today. The results of the end of a phone call to make Guan mood bad. The phone call was from the prison side. Her biological mother, Wang Xiaoyan, and stepfather, Zhuo Jiqiang, both requested the prison to see Guan. If they didn't agree to this request, they would go on a hunger strike. The prison was forced to contact Guan. After listening to the prison people explaining the situation, Guan clearly refused. From the time they were sentenced by the court to the time they were taken into custody by the prison, Gu Wan had never visited them in prison. In Gu Wan's opinion, the two wanted to see themselves just want to play the emotional card, can't stand it inside the prison and let themselves fish them out. Inside her heart, her hatred for them did not decrease much. Letting them die of old age in prison is what Gu Wan wants. The three girlfriends, Zhou Ting, 
Su Xiang and Hu Yuan Yuan, were sentenced to imprisonment, and their parents came to beg Gu Wan to let their daughters off the hook. Gu Wan not only did not agree, but secretly launched a crackdown on them, and has now made their parents both unemployed at home. Gu Wan won't stop until the three parents sell their house and live in poverty. Your daughters conspired with others to take my property and kill me, and expect me to let you go. Pure daydreaming. This time, Gu Wan's ruthless approach made many people suck in a breath of cold air, and many people extinguished their little thoughts about Gu Wan and slowly said again. They all thought that the Gu Wan at this moment was insane. Unbelievable. Gu Wan returned home and ate dinner and washed up and lay on the bed. Picked up her cell phone and clicked on the mailbox to read the stakeout report. Su Huan did not go out again after returning home. This is in line with Gu Wan's speculation. Turned off her cell phone and began to sleep. The night passed. Su Huan woke up early and started to work out. He didn't do any fitness workout during the days of the party. And now that he's back, he must pick up this piece again. Du Xu Weqing started to get busy? It's almost New Year's Eve. Some things can start preparing in advance. After 11 o'clock at noon, Su Huan answered the phone in the living room. The caller was Seven Colors Entertainment Group CEO Pang Xingji calling. Two years ago, Seven Colors Entertainment Group had purchased a large piece of land in the southern suburbs of Southern Metropolis at an extremely favorable price to build its headquarters as well as for Mega Modern Studios. At that time, although the Seven Color Entertainment development momentum is good, but also difficult to enter the eyes of the big man of the southern city, Pang Qingji and the big man of the southern city signed a betting agreement. South Metropolis first sells a piece of land to Colorful Entertainment with extremely favorable policies. If Colorful Entertainment Group relocates to South Metropolis within three years with a market value of more than $5 billion, it will be followed by extremely favorable tax policies. According to the betting agreement, if Seven Colors Entertainment Group did not do all of this as promised, it would need to make up twice the amount of the land purchase. The reason why Seven Colors Entertainment Group would do this was because Seven Colors Entertainment Group had reached a bottleneck in its development and was very satisfied in all aspects over in the Imperial City. The only thing it was not satisfied with was the impossibility of obtaining land for the construction of its headquarters as well as its mega studios. The Imperial City is so big, but there are so many enterprises, and the economic volume is several times or even a dozen times bigger than that of Seven Colors Entertainment Group. And these enterprises can't buy the land to build their headquarters. These enterprises could not buy the land to build their headquarters, and Seven Colors Entertainment Group could not even buy it. It could only seek another location for its headquarters. Su Huan had proposed relocating to the southern metropolis at that time. After all, the southern metropolis was also one of the super cities in the Summerland, and the entertainment industry in the southern metropolis was almost zero. After relocating there, it was the boss of that industry. All local governments are the same. They support the local leading companies in all industries with care, which is very favorable to the development of Seven Colors Entertainment Group. At that time, not only did Su Huan propose the southern city, but there were other shareholders who also proposed other cities. Pang Qingji then began to discuss with the shareholders, began to talk to the municipal governments of the target cities one by one, and by the way, hired a third-party market analysis company to conduct a comprehensive analysis of several cities, to see which city would develop better and relocate there would be more favorable to the development of Seven Colors Entertainment Group. After a lot of negotiations, investigation and analysis, eventually the southern city won. The shareholders read the analysis report also agreed to move to the southern city motion. Pang Qingji began to focus on negotiating with the bigwigs in the southern city. And after a few rounds of negotiations, the two sides signed a betting agreement. This betting agreement was unanimously passed by the board of directors of the Colorful Entertainment Group, and also passed the consideration of the Nandu City Council, and so on. The Colorful Entertainment Group began to purchase land in Nandu City to invest in the construction of the headquarters. After more than two years of construction, Three office buildings, staff dormitories, parking lots, cafeteria. The buildings have all been completed and simply decorated. Today, Pang Qingji called to tell Su Huan that the relocation of Seven Colors Entertainment Group's headquarters has begun. And he has already contacted the Nandu Municipal Government, which is very cooperative. In just over two years, the market value of Seven Colors Entertainment Group has already exceeded $4 billion. And after three years of development, the market value will exceed $5 billion which is the nail in the coffin. South City side of the Seven Color Entertainment Group also changed the attitude, began to Seven Color Entertainment Group relocation over this matter on the heart, and come up with not a small amount of support. Su Huan after listening to Pang Qingji said is a smile. Seven Color Entertainment Group and the Southern City's fixed assets investment of more than one, seven billion, relocated over after these assets a value added. Even if nothing is done, 
The market value of Seven Colors Entertainment Group exceeds 5 billion is also the nail in the coffin. Su Huan asked, are all the studios constructed? Not yet. There is currently only one studio that can be used. The other three studios are still continuing to install equipment. Pang Qingji reported the current situation truthfully to Su Huan. Pang Qingji was not only the founder of Seven Colors Entertainment, but also the CEO and one of the company's shareholders. Only, the subsequent shares had been lowered a lot under constant dilution. Su Huan, on the other hand, had invested in every financing and was currently the company's second largest shareholder with a not so low voice within the company. The company's day-to-day -day management Su Huan is not involved in the board of directors has also been Pang Qingji's supporters. Therefore, Pang Qingji and Su Huan good relationship is necessary. The two chatted for a while and then ended the call. Su Huan hung up the phone in a good mood. Next year want to enter the entertainment industry to play. No need to run to the imperial capital side. After eating lunch and resting for a while, he headed to the gym to start working out. A very calm day passed. The evening after dinner, Su Huan returned to the bedroom lying on the bed to play with the phone. Zhou Xingyun's phone call over. Su Huan answered at Xin Yun. Why did you remember to call me today? Brother Huan, I've asked about the vacation spot for you, and I've investigated it through my connections, and I've sent the specifics to your mailbox. Let me know if it's okay. I'll say hello in advance to the exclusive company over there. Zhou Xinyun quickly finished these words. Su Huan then remembered to ask Zhou Xinyun to help pick the vacation spot thing. Immediately said, thank you Xinyun. I'll take a look later. I'll give you a call tomorrow. Hearing Su Huan's words a smile appeared on Zhou Xinyun's face. She hung up the phone after chatting with Su Huan for a few moments, turning her head to look at Sister Hong and nodded. Sister Hong looked at Zhou Xinyun's happy appearance and said after some thought Xinyun, I have analyzed all the things about Su Huan with you. There's no turning back if you take this step. You have to think clearly. This period of time, Sister Hong and Zhou Hao talk seriously with Zhou Xinyun a few times. Through different perspectives will be Su Huan analyzed a few more times. All to Zhou Xinyun analyze thoroughly. How to choose ultimately by Zhou Xinyun make the decision. And talk to Zhou Xinyun several times. Let Zhou Xinyun carefully choose. Do not make a choice on impulse. Subsequently then regret. Even. Sister Hong rare his girlfriend singer with the music talent between the thing also told Zhou Xinyun. Clearly state that do not want Zhou Xinyun on the same road of the singer. Zhou Xinyun on the red sister and dad's persuasion to listen to. Vacation spot things have long been clear to find out. Delayed for a few days is to think about the red sister and even dad's analysis. The two will be the right to choose to Zhou Xinyun. Not for Zhou Xinyun to make a decision is to hope that the future Zhou Xinyun do not regret. This is your own choice. Don't blame us for not stopping you. This is the duo's respect for Zhou Xinyun. Zhou Xinyun has become an adult. These years have seen a lot of things. The heart is not a child. Have their own judgment. After these few days of consideration, Zhou Xinyun made a choice to make up her mind. Not letting go of Su Huan. Sister Hong. I think clearly. No matter what the final result I do not regret Zhou Xinyun looked at Sister Hong very seriously and said this sentence. Sister Hong nodded without saying anything else and left after instructing Zhou Xinyun to take an early rest. Su Huan did not immediately check the email sent by Zhou Xinyun, but used his phone to play a game for a while and then rested. The matter of the vacation is not urgent. It is not too late to look at it tomorrow. The night passed. Early in the morning, Su Huan woke up early for a running workout just like yesterday. The amount of exercise was not great. Wei Yutong said that if you interrupt your workout for many consecutive days because of other things, you should never overdo it when you resume your workout. And Su Huan still listened to this advice. After finishing his workout and eating breakfast, Su Huan clicked on the email sent by Zhou Xinyun and started browsing. After reading the email, Su Huan had to admit that the vacation spot Zhou Xinyun picked was really good. The location was on a small island in the South Pacific Ocean, where all kinds of facilities were comprehensive. There were satellite signals, and 24-hour security personnel patrols. The sky is blue, the water is clear, the coconut forest, the beach, the breeze, and so on. It is strictly forbidden for people on the island to carry any video equipment, and vacationers are no exception. Once you are found with miniature video equipment will be immediately confiscated, and you will be recorded in the blacklist directly black. All aspects of the conditions are top-notch. The only problem is that the charges are quite a bit higher than other vacation spots. However, Su Huan thought it was worth it to spend this extra money. This place has been running for more than 5 years, there are a lot of celebrities vacationing over here, and there hasn't been a single incident of being secretly photographed and recorded. The island resort company adopts a membership guarantee system to run the rules. And the average rich person who wants to come over for a vacation is not accepted. Vacationing here. Your privacy is protected very well. And get a lot of stars praise. Both domestic and international stars. After reading and thinking for a while, 
he called Zhou Xinyan, and soon, the phone was connected Brother Huan, finished reading the mail, Zhou Xinyun's voice came out, finished reading, this place is good, I'll transfer money to you in a while, help me book a house while Su Huan said these words with a smile on his face, money is good, wait for you to come back from your vacation and give it to me is fine, I will call you in a while to book it, right, what time do you plan to go over and how long will you stay over there, after listening to Zhou Xinyun's words, Su Huan thought for a while and said, I'll go there on the fifth day of the lunar month, and I expect to stay for about half a month, Zhou Xinyun said after listening to the secret calculations in his heart, good, brother Huan, wait for my phone call, he said, Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun chatted for a while before the end of the call, put down the phone and looked at the phone slowly sighed, Zhou Xinyun's mind Su Huan do not know, the previous dog licking Su Huan do not understand, but crossing over Su Huan but very understand, transactions are not terrible, the most fearful is that the transaction involves feelings, which is the most fearful thing for the traveler Su Huan, at this moment, Su Huan can't let go because Su Huan has already been in awe of karma and reincarnation retribution, and is very worried that in the future, he can't help but hobnobbing a few beauties, and will be punished by the heavens, another reason is that Zhou Xinyun, Yu Hongdo, Baby Mo, Su Ran Ran, these four people are sincere to Su Huan, Su Huan can't bear to spend a lot of money on these four people, this time to meet Su Ran Ran, Su Huan ran a piece of deep love feel very clearly, the heart really cannot bear to let this as pure as the snow lotus girl for their own sadness, sadness, pain, how to treat these women such as Su Ran Ran, Su Huan has not thought about it yet, in short, cannot hurt the hearts of these beautiful women, this is a matter of principle, it must not be violated, standing up, he directly went upstairs, going to the study to read a book and complete today's scheduled homework, more than 11 o'clock at noon, Li Mingfeng called Su Huan to report on today's Huanchang Technology Board of Directors, Su Huan holds shares in Huanchang Technology, not much, only 8%, has always been Li Mingfeng arranged in advance on behalf of a person to attend the board of directors on behalf of Su Huan. After divorcing Gu Wan, there are not so many scruples. Li Mingfeng went to the front on behalf of Su Huan to participate in the board of directors. Today is the day of the board of directors of Cheerful Technology Company. This meeting Gu Wan changed the company's development strategy. The meeting opened relatively hot. Gu Bo proposed to suspend the start of the listing program within three years. The company's current basic disk is not stable enough. This year and next year the enterprise's big strategy to develop new customers, when the number of customers in the current basis to enhance two times, and then start the listing program, the representatives of the four investment firms definitely did not agree with Gu Wan's plan, and quarreled with her at the board meeting, Gu Wan said that she would talk to their CEO about it at noon, the vote would be held again in the afternoon, Su Huan understood after listening and pondering for a while, skimming her lips, this Gu Wan really has a way about her, he had just said that Zhao Group might not renew its contract next year, and Gu Wan immediately thought that the company would be suppressed, and now she even had the courage to change the company's development strategy. This kind of adaptability was really not something that ordinary people possessed. Su Huan immediately had a decision. Calmly said you will see the situation in the afternoon. If she convinced the four investment companies to support her opinion, you will also agree to it. Li Mingfeng also meant the same thing, and chatted with Su Huan for a while before ending the call, waiting for the board meeting to end in the afternoon before calling Su Huan again. At this moment, Gu Wan was in her office communicating this matter to the four investment company CEOs, saying the news that Zhao Group would most likely not renew their contracts, his own side would do their best to talk to Zhao Group and facilitate the renewal of Zhao Group's contract, although the bottom of the heart is not at all, but at this moment must say so, nowadays, cheerful technology seems to be developing very well, in fact, the basic disk is still not good, the number of customers is still small, stable two years to make up for this weakness, self-strengthening before listing, in order to get a higher valuation, earn more money, Gu Wan's lunch was eaten in the office, spending more than an hour communicating with the four investment company CEO, which was barely enough for the four capitals to agree to Gu Wan's strategic adjustments, at 2.30 pm, the board meeting was held on time, and the representatives of the four investment companies had already been notified by the headquarters and knew what to do, Gu Wan's strategic adjustment motion was supported, and seeing that Gu Wan had squared off with the four investment companies, Li Mingfeng couldn't help but think highly of Gu Wan, he also followed suit and agreed, after half an hour or so, all the motions that needed to be discussed had been discussed, 90% of them were passed, and only a very few were not, Li Mingfeng left cheerful technology and entered the car, then called Su Huan and reported about the board of directors, finally, he said, after the meeting, Gu Wan asked me to talk to her alone, and said that she hid some of her property during your divorce, 
and that she should compensate you another $20 million after recalculating. After listening to Li Mingfeng's words, Su Huan was puzzled and shocked. What tricks is she going to play again? I analyze that she may not be playing tricks this time. Guan does not know how much your real wealth is. Although you got $20 million during the divorce, but you purchased such a large manor. Worried about your side of the financial problems, directly to the money you certainly do not want to come to such a roundabout trick. Li Mingfeng finished waiting for Su Huan's words. There is another reason that was not said. That is, Guan did this in the hope of getting back together with Su Huan. If Su Huan is really as Guan understands, there are no assets in his hands, and not much money in his pocket. Gu Wan is so considerate of the $20 million smashed over. It will indeed move Su Huan. The possibility of the two getting back together is very high. Su Huan did not say anything. Gu Wan did this purpose how can not guess out. Just a moment do not know what to say. To say that is not moved is false. Su Huan brain cannot help but think of Zhao Kai Feng said. Gu Wan knows you too well. We'll make a number of things to let you move one after another. Until remarried with you. After a while, Su Huan said. You give her a call back and say thank you for her kindness. I've already looked away from the past. The rest of your life each good can. Hearing Su Huan's words, Li Mingfeng did not say anything more. And Su Huan chatted for a while on the end of the call. And then called Gu Wan. Truthfully conveyed the words of Su Huan. After hanging up the phone, Li Mingfeng started the vehicle to go home. Before the year things have been busy. To prepare for the new year time. Cheerful technology company. The president's office. Guan stood in front of the large floor-to-ceiling windows hung up the phone, through the glass looking at the outside scenery did not speak. Standing for a long time, Guan face expression more than one point miserable look, with almost inaudible voice said only you to me is unreserved love, how do I? In Guan's calculations, at this moment Su Huan is absolutely no money, by that manner must have emptied Su Huan's family background. Nine times out of ten is with Zhao Kai Feng borrowed money, only Zhao Kai Feng has this economic strength. Su Huan's self-esteem is very strong. Even if he borrowed money from his best friend, he will find a way to pay back the money quickly. When it comes to the necessary time, Su Huan will definitely sell the shares of Huanchang Technology Company held in his hands, and the funds from the sale will be used to repay the outstanding amount. Gu Wan didn't want Su Huan to sell his shares, didn't want Su Huan to bow down to other people to suffer for the sake of money. At this moment, the cash that can be drawn out of the hand is only $20 million. Directly give. Su Huan certainly will not want, therefore came up with such a roundabout way. $20 million will not necessarily solve the problem, but it will allow Su Huan to relieve the pressure and take a breather to slow down a bit. More than that, I hope that I can enhance my weight in Su Huan's heart, so that I can remarry with myself. I did not expect Su Huan to be so dryly rejected. Let Li Mingfeng convey the words. What is the meaning of Gu Wan heard, but inwardly but unwilling to accept, dumbly looking at the scenery outside the window for a while time. Guan cleaned up his emotions, raised his hand and rubbed his face, which turned around and began to pack up items off work. The day passed quickly. A new day began. More than 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Gubol's phone call to Su Huan's cell phone. Su Huan looked at the phone hesitated to pick up. Guan's gentle voice came out. I'll go and see you, okay? Su Huan is very speechless, said almost New Year's Eve. You cannot let me clean point? Guan leaned against the boss chair, not caring about the tone of Su Huan's words. The corner of her mouth with a smile said I am worried about you. You have not touched a woman for such a long time. Is not it difficult? Su Huan raised his hand and rubbed his head and said you weren't like this before. You have said that was before. The usual, whether you come to my side or I go to you, I will cooperate with whatever tricks you want to play. As always, after saying these strong words, the smile on Gu Wan's face was thicker. And inside she had a full grasp that Su Huan would come to her side. After hearing these words, Su Huan's body is very honest. The location of the abdomen immediately produces a nameless fire upward. Su Huan took a deep breath to suppress this evil fire raised his hand and rubbed his head. Inwardly, he realized that the soul of the licking dog was influencing him. Forget it, just as a solution to the body problem, author, but also the girl still do not admit. You crave people's bodies. I'll go over there. Su Huan still uttered these words. This side of the manor is the pure land in Su Huan's heart. Never let Gu Wan come over and pollute this pure land. When Gu Wan heard this, the smile on her face became even more intense, and she immediately said, Okay, I'll wait for you when I'm clean and hung up the phone. Hands immediately cover their face. Not far from the side of the sitting Zhou Mengxia and Gu Wan put down his hand after giving it a thumbs up. Gu Wan face once again a red. Zhou Mengxia did not mean to look down on Gu Wan. On the contrary, very admirable Gu Wan this kind of at all costs to get back to her ex-husband's style. This is a period of time when the two are very close. Guan also said what happened between herself and Su Huan to Zhou Mengxia, 
who really broke out in a cold sweat after hearing it, since the teen came over as Gu Wan's bodyguard, although she knew that Yi Yishan and the others were counting on Gu Wan behind her back, she didn't know in that much detail, now that I know the whole truth, I really didn't expect Yi Yishan and the others to spend such a long time on the layout, I sympathize with Gu Wan, but I also think that it is difficult to get Su Huan to forgive her for the mistake she made in this case, in a very sure tone, she said to Gu Wan, he will never remarry with you, he will never remarry you, this sentence made Gu Wan's face immediately darken, despite being mentally prepared, it was still difficult to bear this answer, since resolving Yi Yishan and the others, Gu Wan had consulted with her two best girlfriends, Jian Yinhua and Moon Yenching, about the possibility of remarrying Su Huan, both of them were very sure and told Gu Wan, basically zero, only the exception of eating soft rice, Zhou Mengxia's words made Gu Wan want to die hard, but, Immediately after Zhou Mengxia another sentence, he can save you that he still have you in his heart, and gave Gu Wan a huge confidence. Even if Zhou Mengxia added another sentence, maybe your weight in his heart is lower than that of an ordinary person. Gu Wan doesn't care. Gu Wan does not care. As long as there is a glimmer of hope is not willing to give up. Maybe Gu Wan herself didn't realize that after this Yi Yishan incident, he was completely wary of men other than Su Huan. Inwardly, he firmly believes that only Su Huan's love for himself is unreserved and that other men who are good to them or chase after them are scheming with all kinds of purposes. This kind of cognition has been deep into the soul. As long as not by Su Huan many times in a row to hurt the pain into the bone marrow, Gu Wan this life is impossible to change this kind of cognition. If there is a man chasing Gu Wan at this time, not only have to go through many secret investigations, but also be prepared to not get any response within 3 to 5 years, it is almost impossible to warm Gu Wan's heart. A little after 5 o'clock, Gu Wan went home from work and halfway through the day, she purchased quite a few ingredients, back home, immediately let the housekeeping company send two new mom will be cleaned ingredients cut good, do these on the off home, tomorrow in the over off, it turns out that the two old maids, Feng Ma and Wang Ma both were sentenced to three years in prison, the two of them before and after the receipt of Yi Yishan more than 100,000 stolen money, and finally all spit out by the court confiscation, if they hadn't handed over all the stolen money, the court would have imposed a heavier sentence, the domestic help company to which they belonged reached a settlement with Gu Wan in court, compensating Gu Wan 400, 000 yuan and sending two old moms to work there for three years for free. If similar problems occur with the staff sent by the company, the company needs to compensate Gu Wan 5 million dollars, which is stipulated in the new contract. After sending the two away, they began to discuss with Zhou Mengxia, and just like last time, they were told to hide around the villa and not to disturb Gu Wan and Su Huan's good deed. Gu Wan did not intend to let Su Huan leave tonight, intending to strictly implement the method that Zhang Yinhua had taught herself, making Su Huan walk holding onto the wall. After not being with Su Huan for such a long time, Gu Wan also suffocated very hard. Hard at the same time Gu Wan herself did not realize that there was still a trace of longing in her heart for Su Huan after going berserk. I hope that Su Huan will go berserk on himself and not pity himself. Time slowly passes. Su Huan is almost 7 o'clock when arrived. Heard the sound of the vehicle. Gu Wan immediately went out, not the slightest regard for the body wearing pajamas at the moment, seeing Su Huan walk out from the car, Gu Bols immediately walked over and directly held Su Huan's arm, entering the villa together, the moment the door closed, Su Huan launched an attack, to vent out all the anger within his heart towards the dog licking soul, the whole person appeared to be unusually berserk, Gu Wan knew that Su Huan did not like this sense of coercion, knew that Su Huan came over in his heart would be very upset, and did not let Su Huan down, under the robe was a vacuum, already prepared for the fact that Su Huan would treat himself furiously. When kissing passionately, Gu Wan unlocked Su Huan's belt. After separating very consciously squat down, the robe also followed the fall. I don't know how much time has passed. Gu Wan was lying on the sofa, her eyes closed, her delicate face tightly fitted on the sofa cushion, as if a dying fish was struggling to breathe with its mouth open. Some of the hair was sweaty and sticky on the face, and some of the hair draped over the back was sticky with sweat. Su Huan lying on the back of the Gubol, both closed their eyes did not move, just fitness exercise consumed too much physical strength, a long time passed, the two kept this position did not move, Su Huan has recovered some physical strength, hand propped up on the sofa intends to get up, Gubols felt Su Huan's action, do not know where the strength immediately backhanded tugged Su Huan's arm, do not let Su Huan leave, not willing to get out of the moment that let himself addicted to the feeling of, Su Huan felt Gu Wan's meaning, face appeared hesitant expression, soon, once again lie down and closed his eyes, without saying a word, Su Huan's heart was shaken, dreams did not expect today's Gu Wan to once again break through the limits to become so wild, so well behaved, so cooperative to meet their own raging state, 
A beautiful woman with a first-class figure and appearance playing with you like this. That man could carry it off, could withstand this kind of test. It is estimated that only eunuchs can be indifferent to today's guan. Family members, what should they do? Ask for support ah, red envelope cannot give 998. 9, 8 or no problem. Su Huan's brain has been messed up. After a while, this time Su Huan wanted to get up Gu Wan did not block. However, in the moment Su Huan left Gu Wan immediately turned over and stood up to hold Su Huan's waist. It is very tight. Fear of Su Huan regardless of dressing to leave. Time is not long. Su Huan whispered a go wash. Gu bowl on the sound, which slowly loosened the hand, holding Su Huan's arm together into the restroom. More than 20 minutes later, Su Huan walked out of the restroom with a towel around him and pressed a few buttons on the wall to the side, and the fresh air system on the second floor was activated. A hint of cool wind blew in from outside. A hint of fresh air entered the second floor and began to spread to the first floor. The exhaust fan on the first floor was activated, and the turbid air wrapped with a trace of unknown scent left the villa and dissipated in the air. Finding his clothes, he pulled out a cigarette and a lighter from inside, pulled out a cigarette and lit it, leaned against the sofa and began to think about Gu Bol's matter. At this moment, Su Huan's thoughts are confused. Inside the restroom, Gu Bols wiped his body clean and came to the front of the mirror, and as soon as he turned sideways, he saw the slap marks cluttering the two PGS. It was red and couldn't even be seen if you wanted to. Hit so hard, your so cruel heart whispered a chant, raised his hand and rubbed his butt, although he could no longer feel the pain, but looked at it also felt pain. Just when Su Huan was about to finish a cigarette, Gu Wan came out from the restroom, not wrapped in a bath towel, but wearing a silk robe. Taking a look at Su Huan who was smoking and lost in thought, the corner of Gu Wan's mouth slightly curved up a little, turned around and entered the kitchen and started to get busy. It wasn't a long time. Su Huan extinguished the cigarette in his hand and started to gather his clothes, intending to get dressed. Just at this moment, Gu Bol, who had been keeping an eye on Su Huan outside, ran out from the kitchen. Eat before you go. No matter what, he walked over and snatched the clothes from Su Huan's hand, not knowing where the strength came from. Even if you let me eat before you always let me wear clothes, I can't always wear a bath towel. Su Huan looked at the nimble Gu Bols popped out the sentence, let you put on the clothes you surely immediately go. You pick off the ruthless thing and it's not like you haven't done it before. After saying this, Su Huan blankly glanced at him and turned around with his clothes in his arms. Su Huan slapped his own head. A wave of thoughts of being counted again welled up inside his heart, and he had no choice but to go back to the sofa and sit down again. Seeing Su Huan sitting down on the sofa, Gu Wan returned to the kitchen. Su Huan sat down and quickly stood up again, pulled out the paper on the coffee table and began to wipe the sofa upholstery, using a few sheets of paper to look up at the kitchen. Coincidentally, at this time, Gu Bols also stretched his head from the kitchen side to look at Su Huan in the living room. The two of them glanced at each other. Gu Bols saw the paper in Su Huan's hand to wipe the sofa cushions. Immediately, her face turned red and quickly pulled her head back, knowing very well what Su Huan was wiping on the sofa cushions. And this scene was really shameful. Su Huan used a few sheets of paper or feel not, stood up and went to brew a pot of tea over. Will be soft cushion turned over this before sitting down, drinking a mouthful of tea. The body leaned back. The thought in his head is, a moment after the meal immediately leave. Say nothing more can stay. Today Gu Wan was very wrong. I don't know why. Today's Gu Wan makes Su Huan's heart have a trace of inexplicable panic. Inside the kitchen Gu Wan was busy. She was really good at cooking graduated from the university began to cook on their own, with Su Huan in the first two years with the home cooking from time to time, followed by the company's business growth and busy up this only to hire the two old mom to take care of these, a variety of ingredients have been washed, cut, Gu Wan only need to fry some can, time is not very long, two meat and two veggies a soup is done, a side of the rice cooker has long been stewed delicious rice, has been in a state of insulation, it's best to eat it now, the dishes on the table were quickly placed neatly, Su Huan stood up and walked over. Gu Wan was a turn to the side of the wine cabinet, took out two cups and a bottle of red wine. When Su Huan saw this, he stopped looking. Gu Wan turned her back to Su Huan and dropped some water into one of the cups. What kind of water is it? Only Gu Wan knows. Immediately after that, she opened the red wine and poured two glasses of red wine and brought it over, handing the spiked red wine to Su Huan. Before sitting opposite Su Huan with the red wine, cheers, said the wine glass will be raised forward. Eyes look at Su Huan with love. Su Huan didn't say anything. Raised his glass and Gu Wan glass gently touched ding sound appeared. Gu Wan quickly recovered the cup and drank a large mouth. See Gu Wan's action. Su Huan cannot be rude instincts appeared. Also recovered the cup thud drink a big mouth. After drinking, her brows slightly knit. Put down the glass and asked where did you get this bottle of wine? 
Seems to be a friend sent. I'll show you Guan said. Stood up and walked over to the liquor cabinet to pick up the bottle of red wine and came back, handing the bottle of red wine to Su Huan. Su Huan took it and carefully looked at the label of the red wine and the bottle's cork. No problem ah. How do I feel that the flavor of the wine is a little bit wrong? Let's drink this one. You pour another glass and taste it Guan said, raising her glass. Su Huan did not doubt that he also followed and raised his glass. This time Guan dry in one breath. Su Huan a frown also followed a breath of dry. Put down the wine glass to open the red wine leather plug. To the two cups full. The so-called full is to pour only one third. Su Huan shook the glass. Seriously looked at no feel what is wrong. Raised the cup and tasted a mouthful. This time the taste and memory of the flavor close. Could it be that he was just mistaken? Su Huan had this question in his mind. At this time, Gu Wan also tasted a mouthful and said, the flavor hasn't changed. Su Huan slowly shook his head and did not say anything, but picked up his chopsticks and continued to eat. Gu Wan was secretly happy in her heart and began to eat along with him. Just now, although Su Huan had consumed a lot of physical strength, Gu Wan had not consumed less, especially just now when Su Huan lifted up one of his legs so that his body was on its side, completing this kind of movement, the swallow side flying, while half suspended in the air with no support. This kind of action is absolutely difficult, very consuming physical strength. The two of them ate their meals without speaking. Su Huan ate four bowls of rice. Gu Wan usually had one bowl of rice. Today she ate two and a half bowls. More than 20 minutes passed. Eat and drink enough Su Huan stood up and skillfully cleaned up the dishes. Just end up Su Huan froze for a moment. The heart secretly scolded himself, this damn instinctive memory. The dishes will be cleaned up to the kitchen to wash some hands, which returned to the living room and asked, where are my clothes? Is it appropriate to leave just after eating? Have some tea before you go. It's not like I can eat you. After Gu Wan finished giving Su Huan a blank look, she picked up the teapot and poured Su Huan a cup of water, and then turned on the TV. Looking at Gu Wan, Su Huan understood in his heart that this cup of tea would not work if he did not drink it. He walked over and sat down on the side, just when he felt a little thirsty, picked up the tea and drank it, presumably because the soup he just drank. Gu Wan put too much salt in it. See Su Huan sitting position from their own section. Gu Wan nonchalantly aside lying down. Will be his head on Su Huan's lap. The two just so a sitting. Aside lying watching TV. Time slowly passed. Su Huan T frequency began to increase. Slowly, Su Huan felt his body a little hot. Felt his eyes bulging. Leaned back and breathed. Not noticing that the exhaled breath was hot. Gu Wan has been paying attention to Su Huan's state. See here know that the effect of the drug began to take effect. Pick up Su Huan's hand from his collar to reach in. Soon, Su Huan felt like he was seeing things a little blurry, and the evil fire burning in his body was getting stronger and stronger. Gu Wan sat up at this time, stood up and pulled Su Huan's arm, stood up and said, I give you a thing. Said Su Huan did not wait for Su Huan to answer to pull Su Huan on the stairs. Into Gu Wan's room, the door immediately closed. A moment of time passed, the cat screams from the door out of the, confused, ridiculous, crazy, screaming of the night appeared. Zhou Mengxia squatted outside with the team members, and when it was almost 12 o'clock late at night the team members looked at Zhou Mengxia, who waved her hand and summoned the crowd to execute the backup plan, letting two people hide on duty at the entrance. The rest of the crew got on the bus and rested. The night passed. Early in the morning when it was almost 7 o'clock, the two old moms came over to work. They wanted to make breakfast. Zhou Mengxia was stopped, said Gu Wan explained to let the two go back to rest today. Wages is calculated. Tomorrow in the over to work. The two old maids surely have no opinion. Rest back to the schedule of this good thing is difficult to meet. And Zhou Mengxia said a hello and left. Time passes slowly. Until 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Su Huan only woke up in bed. Opening his eyes and looking around. He immediately closed his eyes again tiredly and began to recall what happened last night. After a while. He opened his eyes and looked at Gu Wan who was afraid of lying on the side holding his arm. If he was not weak at the moment. Su Huan would definitely give Gu Wan a painful beating. Looking at Gu Wan's face, he realized that Gu Wan's eyes moved a few times, so he knew that Gu Wan had woken up. Su Huan gritted his teeth and said, You've learned to drug her, but you still want to pretend to be asleep? As a traveler, the moment he remembered that Gu Wan had drugged himself, the phrase, Dai Lang, it's time to drink the medicine, echoed in his head. Hearing Su Huan's words Gu Wan knew that she couldn't pretend anymore and opened her eyes, looking at Su Huan with resignation. Looking at such Gu Wan, Su Huan wanted to sit up with a force at the waist, which knew that either a force with no reaction at all, there was no stamina to sit up anymore. The face immediately changed. Their last night was Gu Wan's scourge into what kind of, how even sit up can not do. When she turned her head and stared at Gu Wan with an indignant expression, Gu Wan's face showed a hint of embarrassment. 
and her arms exerted themselves to sit up, but she just raised her body a little bit and lay down again, her mouth huffed and puffed, and she didn't have any strength left, lying on the bed, Gu Wan's mind was pondering, the medicine given by Sister Jiang was also too strong, and last night she was not tossed to death by Su Huan, even if he was hoarse and begged for mercy, this asshole was not at all spared, regardless of playing life berserk, I can't remember when I fell asleep, after a while again, Gu Wan once again forced to barely sit up, a move, feel a burst of pain below, look down and not happy, also do not know where to get the strength, a twisted body to raise his hand and Su Huan's waist ruthlessly screw down, ah ah, Su Huan screamed miserably and sat up, her mouth shouted you crazy person let go and raised her hand to stop Gu Wan's hand, it was not easy to remove Gu Bol's hand, and saw Gu Wan looking at herself fiercely, and just wanted to get angry when she heard Gu Wan's voice hoarsely say, look at what you've done, Su Huan didn't notice Gu Wan's hoarse voice, but opened his mouth to say you drug me and you still have a point, hearing these words, Gu Wan's eyes immediately welled up with tears, unable to refute Su Huan's words, but the aggression in her heart just can't be controlled, the sky can forgive the sins, but the self-made sins can't be lived, if you don't make a mistake, you won't die, inside with infinite grievances oh 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 oh, Wu Wu cried up, let the side of the Su Huan more annoyed, oh, look what you did, oh Gu Wan cried, gritting her teeth and insisting on spreading her legs apart a bit, Su Huan saw the silly face, a belly full of fire dissipated without a trace, this, 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 self done, immediately after that, he took a closer look at Gu Wan and found that there were bruises on Gu Wan's collarbone, neck, human heart area, waist, and thighs, there were all bruises, look at the shape of the bruises, obviously with the hands of scratching or pinching out, what did he do last night, just now only recalled that he was very violent last night, could it be that all these injuries on Gu Wan's body were done by himself, heartache, guilt, uneasy conscience, and other feelings surged into Su Huan's mind, for a while, Su Huan immediately closed his eyes and began to shake his brain, shaking his brain for a while to open his eyes and stared at Gu Wan and said, serves you right, this is what happens when you drug me, this is what you get for drugging me, hearing Su Huan's words, Gu Wan roared I'll fight with you and didn't know where the strength came from to pounce on Su Huan and started to go crazy, the two physical strength are not much, in the case of annoyance to hit each other a few times soon run out of strength, the body cannot support together fell, do not care about the wrestling, are huffing and puffing, for a while, Su Huan raised his hand and patted his head to a sin ah, lying next to the Gu Wan herd, the teeth will be clenched creaking straight, the brain is thinking, you and the body of the old lady cool how not to say sin, open your dog's eyes and see, what have I been tossed into by you, after a while, Su Huan's reasoning came back, things have been like this what can I do, what can he do, this is impossible, licking dog's soul will never let himself go, as long as he was afraid of being immortal, he had to treat Gu Wan well, he had to treat her like a lover, there was really no godly reason, a few minutes passed, Su Huan insisted on sitting up, Gu Wan wanted to follow along and sit up, and then felt a pain in the bottom and couldn't make the strength, the face of the pear blossom with rain looked at Su Huan, the brain is thinking, Jiang sister, my good sister, you this time can cause me a lot of pain, Su Huan sat there to breathe a few mouths, turned his head to look at Gu Wan to come a wash it, after cleaning, Gu Wan nodded, at this moment really to a good cleaning some medicine on the time, if you drag it on, it will be troublesome to cause inflammation, Su Huan insisted on getting out of bed, and when she stood up, she felt her knees go weak and sat down again, and turned her head to give Gu Wan a fierce glare, Gu Wan was glared at by Su Huan's eyes began to dodge up, sitting there to rest for a while, Su Huan this only a few deep breaths stood up, just stood up with a hand over the waist, insisted for a while before he began to assist Gu Wan, it took a while for Gu Wan to get out of bed, and he had already seen Gu Wan's miserable condition clearly, and his inner hatred for Gu Wan dissipated a lot, the two just so slowly into the restroom, began to clean up, Gu Wan is more with the shower spray down the water rinse mouth several times, last night, Su Huan grabbed his own hair and pressed his head not less tossed himself, at the moment the throat is still uncomfortable, together with the cleaning not long, Su Huan and Gu Wan feel wrong, Gu Bo eyes with a hint of fear said I'm like this how you do not stop, Su Huan heard the anger again up, do not even think to Rora you give me under the drug what power you do not know it, the first time I heard this, I was so angry that I was not able to stop, hearing Su Huan's words, Gu Wan's guts were deflated, she really didn't know that the medicine would be so fierce, if she knew, she would definitely reduce the amount by half, seeing Gu Wan in this state, Su Huan's fire in his heart was even greater, and roared you don't even know the effect of the medicine and you dare to let me eat it, Gu Wan lowered her head even more fiercely, not knowing what to say, this matter is her own fault, 
A good while time to hold out a sentence I have also been you tossed bad, you still want what? You, you, you. Su Huan angry only said a word cannot say. Gu Wan immediately once again lowered his head and did not say anything, taking up the shower head and rushing her head, hoping to relieve the discomfort. Nay, no effect at all. Gu Wan also found this problem at this time. That thing is too much gas. Veins have appeared. See here looked up at Su Huan weakly said. Now what to do? How about we call an ambulance it? It has berserked for a night. And now it is still so horrible. Obviously not normal. Su Huan looked at him and didn't say anything. Soon, Gu Wan understood the meaning conveyed by Su Huan's eyes, and just wanted to speak. Su Huan raised his hand and placed it on Wan's head. Gu Wan body a trace of resistance did not, naturally and obediently squatting down. Fast one hour passed, the two only from the restroom out. Su Huan will help Gu Wan to the side of the sofa to sit down. He insisted towards the refrigerator to go. Open the refrigerator and take out a bottle of water. Open the lid in mouth to mouth and pour it down. Then he took out another bottle of water and turned around to return, handing this bottle of water to Gu Wan, who took it and also began to drink it in large gulps. The two sat on the sofa without speaking, silently drinking water to recover their strength. Soon, Su Huan hands this bottle of water finished, immediately stood up to the refrigerator's side to take out another bottle to drink. The body replenished water, physical strength recovery and accelerated. Ten minutes later, Su Huan again will bottle of water finished, stood up did not go to get water but to the side to open the cabinet out of the medical box began to rummage. Soon after, he closed the medical box again and put it in. There were no items needed inside. Turning back to Gu Wan, he said, Give me the phone number of your bodyguard. I'll let them go by medicine. Gu Bols whispered the number is in the cell phone. In the nightstand drawer. Su Huan glanced at Gu Wan. Gu Wan lowered her head and did not say anything. Now is not the time to be angry with Gu Wan. Walked to the bedside and opened the drawer of the nightstand. A glance at Gu Wan's phone. The phone was taken out and handed to Gu Wan, who took it and unlocked it, and then called up Zhou Mengxia's cell phone and dialed it out, and soon the phone went through. Gu Wan handed the phone to Su Huan, her face began to redden. Su Huan took the phone and said, This is Su Huan. When Zhou Mengxia heard this, she immediately said, Mr. Su is good. Su Huan took a deep breath and said, You help me go buy some medicine and bring it back. Zhou Mengxia immediately returned a no problem. Mr. Su please say, Su Huan immediately said the names of several medicines. Zhou Mengxia heard the situation in the villa guest about 8 or 9. A mysterious smile appeared on his face. Soon, Zhou Mengxia repeated Su Huan to confirm that there was no problem before hanging up the phone. Looking at the phone, Zhou Mengxia said to herself you do business so smart. How always do this kind of death things. In the end, the loss is still you. The first time I saw Su Huan, I saw him in the car, and I was so happy. As a person who has been there, Su Huan entered the villa last night and didn't leave, more or less guessed that Gu Wan played a trick, and, in all likelihood, drugged Su Huan. If not, Su Huan would have definitely left last night, with their own understanding of Su Huan and Gu Wan. If Gu Wan does not drug it will not be able to let Su Huan stay overnight. Zhou Mengxia can see that Su Huan does not want to be entangled with Gu Wan like this. Just Gu Wan recognized Su Huan did not let go, counting this time three times, the two together three times, all as Su Huan was Gu Wan counting. You do not know that men are very annoyed by the woman counting? Thinking about it, Zhou Mengxia shook her head. She is just a captain of the bodyguards, and what she said was not necessarily listened to by Gu Wan. Take one step and say one step. Thinking of this, the speed towards the vehicle increased a bit. Soon, the team members were waiting nearby. Zhou Mengxia herself drove away to buy medicine. The less people knew about this kind of thing, the better. More than 40 minutes later, Zhou Mengxia carrying a black plastic bag rang the villa doorbell. Soon the door opened. Su Huan took over the plastic bag in the hands of Zhou Mengxia. After looking through it, Su Huan said thank you. Mr. Su, although Gu's practice is not right, but her love for you is true. She is too concerned about you to make this kind of low-level mistakes. I hope Mr. Su doesn't blame her. M.S. Gu, she's also very pitiful. Zhou Mengxia said these words to Su Huan is also hesitant to say again and again. He can help so much. As for the result of how to see the will of God. Su Huan politely said, Thank you for saying this to me. She can hire you as her good fortune. Zhou Mengxia nodded and turned to leave. The next how to look at Su Huan and Gu on their own. Su Huan closed the door and took a deep breath before going upstairs. Inside the bedroom, Gu Wan had already endured his insistence on standing up and pulling down the bedding on the bed and throwing it aside. In order to make Su Huan happy, change into Su Huan's favorite striped bedsheets as well as hundred flowers bedding. Then he forced himself to endure the pain to complete the work. 
When Su Huan entered the bedroom and saw it, he put the plastic bag on the sofa, went to the side cabinet and took out the brand new bedding and spread it on it, and only then went over to help Gu Wan up to lie on the bed. Then he picked up the bath towel placed on the sofa and put it under Gu Wan's buttocks, turned around and took the plastic bag and poured the medication in it to one side. He picked up a roll of gauze and handed it to Gu Wan, saying, bite on it, it will hurt a little bit, bear with it. Gu Wan took over immediately biting did not say. Su Wan took a deep breath and began to busy. Soon, Gu Wan felt the pain, biting the gauze without saying a word. Su Huan action is very nimble, quickly finished the medicine, then go to the restroom to wash his hands to the cabinet to take out a pair of shorts to Gu Bowls to put on. When Gu Wan wanted to remove the gauze from her mouth, Su Huan said, hold it for a while longer. Hearing these words, Gu Bowls froze. Hadn't she already put on the medicine? Why did she let herself bite it? Although I do not understand the meaning of Su Huan, Gu Bowls still continue to bite. Only to see Su Huan took out the Chinese medicine oil and began to rub and press on the bruises on Gu Bowl's body. A wave of pain reappeared, and Gu Wan's tears flowed even more. I don't know how much time has passed, but Su Huan finished her work and put the items away and organized them, pulling the thin quilt aside to cover Gu Wan. He stood up and went to the restroom to wash his hands. And when he came back, he opened the refrigerator and took out two bottles of functional drinks, and opened one bottle and handed it to Gu Wan at the bedside. At this moment, both of them urgently needed to replenish their bodies with energy. As last night's consumption was too great, Gu Wan knew that this was not the time to be polite, and took it mouth to mouth and gulped down a few large mouthfuls before exhaling a long breath. Su Huan also drank a few large pieces before sitting on the side of the sofa to rest. Eyes want to fight. Su Huan leaned against the sofa and closed his eyes to rest, thinking to rest for a while to recover a bit of strength, then changed his clothes and left directly. Unexpectedly, the body does not cooperate at all. Su Huan leaning against the sofa is just a few moments time. Light snoring appeared. Gu Wan heard the snoring sound and glanced at Su Huan. Su Huan has leaned against the sofa and fell asleep. Inwardly both heartache and guilt. Also with regret, chagrin, and other emotions. A good while time. Think Su Huan sleep deep. Gu Wan endure body discomfort slowly get up. Movement is very slow. Afraid to make a sound woke up Su Huan. Spend not a short time to the side of the cabinet out of a thin blanket. Movements like will be covered in thin blankets on the body of Su Huan, which slowly moved to the bedside to lie down. Su Huan cannot be seen. Gu Wan's eyes slowly closed, did not see Su Huan's slightly knitted eyebrows and a faintly audible sigh. Su Huan had just really fallen asleep, however, had woken up when the blanket covered his body, originally wanting to see what Gu Wan was going to play. Unexpectedly, she merely covered herself with a thin blanket. Gu Wan at the moment how much hurt Su Huan is very clear. Able to endure so painful injuries to carefully move the body to get a blanket to cover themselves. Inside, it was hard to continue to maintain the hatred towards Gu Wan. The word, injustice, appeared in Su Huan's head. Do not want to. At the moment he really has no energy at all. Not long after, Gu Wan who was lying on the bed also let out a slight snoring sound. Both of them had no energy left and both started to fall asleep. Time slowly passes. In the blink of an eye outside the sky darkens. Su Huan has woken up. Only. Su Huan did not leave. Gu Wan's appearance at the moment made Su Huan unable to leave in peace. People have their own bottom line and principles. Encounter difficult things need to make a choice. According to the bottom line and principles to make decisions. Inside no matter how much she hates Gu Wan and dislikes her. She really can't leave Gu Wan alone at home at the moment. Stand up slowly out of the bedroom. To the downstairs restroom to facilitate some. A large number of urine discharge also let the body recovery into the fast lane. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get a good look at this, but I'm sure I'm going to be able to get a good look at this, and I'm sure I'm going to be able to get a good look at this. He made some honey water and drank a large cup of it, then poured another cup, before carrying the cup back up the stairs. Right at the moment Su Wan pushed open the door, Gu Wan, who was glum on the bed, immediately wiped away the tears on her face and lay on her side, not letting Su Wan see her tears, crying, is Gu Bol's thought Su Wan heartlessly left behind their own gone. Heard the bedroom door made a sound to realize that Su Huan did not go, which makes Gu Wan inside a lot better. Turning on her side, she continued to pretend to be asleep. Gu Wan ate the medication to activate blood circulation and remove blood stasis, and also applied the external medicine and medicinal oil, a day to sleep down the body a lot better. Before going to bed that kind of a move like a wound tearing pain has been gone. When the brain is thinking, Su Huan came to the bedside side, put the prepared honey water on the bedside table next to the bedside table and only then turned back to the sofa and sat down. Su Huan has been hungry. Just at the moment Gu Wan does not wake up to eat alone is not good. Can only wait. A good while time Gu Bol body moved a bit. Su Huan saw after standing up and walked over. 
Guan looked at the side to sit down next to Su Huan did not say anything. Suddenly do not know what to say to Su Huan. Just at this time Su Huan softly asked to what to eat. Guan looked at Su Huan's face and said in a gentle tone I want to eat noodles. A little lighter. You will drink the water. I will go to cook the noodles Su Huan said. Stood up and left. Going downstairs to the kitchen to cook the noodles. Room door closed. Guan sat up. Picked up a cup of water to drink. Gulp. Gulp. In one gulp. She finished the water in the cup. Surprisingly, it was honey water. Very sweet. Even if there was no honey. As long as it was water handed over by Su Huan. It would be considered by Gu Wan as a cup of sweet water. Already can't recall when the last time Su Huan gave himself water. The expression on his face immediately darkened at the thought of this. And immediately after, his eyes shot out a hateful gaze. His face was full of grimace and gnashing of teeth as he hated it. Yi Yishan, Zhou Ting, Li Li, wait a minute. Those who said bad things about Su Huan and separated themselves from Su Huan's relationship, all deserve to die. It was because of these people that they made themselves and Su Huan go from being a loving couple to what they are now, that they lost the most precious person in their lives. They are still too kind to them. Even if these people go in, they have to take revenge on their families. Make their families worse than death. Let these people die in prison in peace. Gu Wan's hatred for these people not only didn't dissipate in the slightest, but instead, it became even more intense. After a while, Gu Wan's stomach made a gurgling sound and a wave of urination came. Guan only then collected her hatred for these people and lifted the quilt to get out of bed slowly. Although the pain is not so painful, but there is still not small pain. This kind of pain does not have two or three days time is unable to eliminate. Slowly walk to the restroom. Let out the water after feeling a lot better body. Organize some wash hands this before walking out. Do not want to lie in bed. Pulled open the door and walked out. Holding the handrail on the side of the stairs slowly downstairs. Soon, in the kitchen busy Su Huan saw Guan. Why did you go downstairs? Su Huan's tone carried a hint of reproach. Gu Bol's heart warmed. It had been a long time since she had heard Su Huan's tone with a hint of chastisement. She did not expect to hear it again today. I came down to take a look. I'm also hungry Gu Wan said these words very gently. Su Huan glanced at Gu Wan and said. You look at the pot. Set out of the kitchen directly upstairs. Back to the bedroom and took Gu Wan's cell phone downstairs. Handing her cell phone to Gu Wan. She said. You haven't shown up for a day and I can't reach you. So go over there and give the company executives and your bodyguards a call to make arrangements for the company. And don't cause a panic. Gu Wan gently nodded and took the phone. Turned around and slowly moved towards the living room sofa. Su Huan continued to be busy in the kitchen. Inside the living room. Gu Wan spoke very gently today. Whether with her assistant or with Zhou Mengxia. Her tone was unprecedentedly gentle. Shang Yi. The assistant. Couldn't figure out the situation. But Zhou Mengxia could more or less guess some of it and ended the call after chatting with Gu Wan for a few moments. Gu Wan instructed Cheng Yi on some of the important things he had reported, and by the way, told Cheng Yi that he would not be able to go to work tomorrow or the day after tomorrow because he was not feeling well. The doctor told him to rest at home for two days before going to work. Immediately afterward, he announced in the company's workgroup that he would call himself if there was an emergency, and if the matter was not urgent, he would wait for two days to return to the company to deal with it after he recovered from his illness. Soon, the work group inside one after another greetings appeared. And so on greetings appeared almost. Guan thanked some of this before exiting the work group. After all the arrangements were made, Guan let out a long sigh of relief and turned her head to look at Su Huan who was busy in the kitchen. Looking at Su Huan's mind recalls the early days of the business. His own business is so smooth because Su Huan in the back of the silent support of their own. Always reminding themselves to do what things. All the work is well organized. Without delaying any important things. Just now. I didn't even think of calling Chang Yi and Zhou Mengxia to give an explanation. But Su Huan thought of it. A lover who loved herself so much and cared for herself unreservedly was pushed out by her own death. Thinking of this Gu Wan felt a pain in her heart. Immediately after that, a hideous expression appeared on Gu Bol's face again. And her inner hatred towards Yi Shan and the others soared once again. Soon, Gu Wan heard the sound of dishes coming from the kitchen side. Only then did she take a few deep breaths to start adjusting her emotions. To present her best side in front of Su Huan. Dozens of seconds later, Su Huan walked out of the kitchen with a bowl of noodles, put it on the dining table and walked over to pick up Gu Bol, assisting Gu Wan to slowly walk to the dining table and sit down to eat the noodles. He himself went to the kitchen to get busy again. Gu Wan looked at the noodles in front of her, covered with a few large slices of beef, and two poached eggs. The soup was still floating on the attractive green onion, emitting the aroma of fragrant oil that makes people's appetite open up. Sensitive heart once again sadness. Tears cannot control once again fall. See the tears dripping into the bowl. Immediately raised his hand to wipe away the tears on his face. 
pick up chopsticks and eat a big mouthful of food. A few minutes later, Su Huan came out with a large bowl of noodles and sat down opposite Gu Wan to eat. Time slowly passed. The two men finished the pasta separately. The hunger in their stomachs completely stopped, both leaning back in their chairs and letting out a long breath. After a reprieve, Su Huan stood up and left with two bowls, entering the kitchen to clean up a bit before returning. Not waiting for Su Huan to speak, Gu Wan grabbed Su Huan's hand, eyes with a hopeful look and said gently, Do not go tonight, okay? Su Huan nodded his head. Su Huan nodded his head and quickly agreed. Gu Wan was a lot more at ease. The two sat on the sofa and turned on the TV. Gu Wan snuggled in Su Huan's arms. Su Huan's arms raised on Gu Wan's shoulders hanging down. This is Gu Wan in recent times dreamed of the scene. A sense of security. A sense of happiness. A sense of relaxation. All came back. Afraid that this was a dream. Gu Wan kept gripping Su Huan's hand tightly. Both of them did not speak. Enjoying the quiet while watching the TV. In the past, they felt that the TV program was tasteless. But today Gu Wan watched it with great interest. Time slowly passes. In the blink of an eye the night is deep. Su Huan turned off the TV to help Gu Wan upstairs. Instead of resting immediately, they went to the restroom together to wash up, and came out from the restroom, letting Gu Wan take the medication for activating blood circulation and removing blood stasis first. Then he took Gu Wan to the restroom to wash up again, came out and reapplied the medicine, and used the Chinese medicinal wine to push and massage in many places. Although it hurt a bit, Gu Wan enjoyed it very much and even hoped that Su Huan could push and massage for a while longer. After the process was finished, Su Huan let Gu Wan put on her own clothes and went to the restroom to wash her hands, and came back in a short time. He paused when he wanted to go to bed to rest, turned around and left to remake two large cups of honey water and came back with it, handing Gu Wan a cup. Drink it before you rest. Although it's convenient to get up in the middle of the night, it can speed up your body's metabolism, he said, picking up his own cup and drinking it. Gu Wan also picked up the cup to drink, not to mention honey water, even if Su Huan told her that this is poison. Gu Wan will not hesitate to drink it, because this is the water that Su Huan brought to her. Su Huan drank it all in one gulp and put the cup away before lying down. Gu Wan didn't finish it but only drank half of it and put the cup aside for a while before she drank it again. As soon as he turned around and lay down on his side, he tightly hugged Su Huan's arm and closed his eyes. Su Huan glanced at Gu Wan, and his eyes showed a complicated look. Double-eyed expression change a lot. Resentment, disgust, sympathy, pity. Various expressions flashed out one by one. After a good while, the pitiful must be hated. This sentence appeared in Su Huan's mind. If I had known this, why did I bother to do it in the first place? Letting the multi-talented and loving dog liquor die of grief. Wasn't he wrong? Thinking of this, Su Huan slightly shook his head and began to empty his brain of all kinds of complicated information. For a long time, he secretly sighed without saying anything. After a while, Su Huan felt Gu Wan's slight breathing and knew that Gu Wan had already fallen asleep. However, Gu Wan was still holding her arm in death, as if, only by holding this arm can she sleep at ease. It was better to take one step at a time. Perhaps when things developed to a certain extent, God would give himself a clear answer. Su Huan did not know that there were several people who were shocked and angry about him at this moment. The angry person was Yu Hongdo, having already received a report that Su Huan had traveled to Gu Wan's side and hadn't left until now, basically making sure that he wouldn't be leaving tonight. The report was followed by an uncertain speculation that Gu Wan had drugged Su Huan and that Su Huan was incapable of leaving Gu Wan's side. Yu Hongdo's hatred for Gu Wan climbed to the peak at this moment, gritting her teeth and saying you bitch, you have divorced brother Huan why are you still pestering brother Huan? and also drugged brother Juan, you deserve to die, said still not relieved, turned around and took a side of the furry bear began to whack hard, as if the whacking is not the furry bear but Gu Wan at the moment, on the other hand, Shanghai City Zhao family Zhao Kaifeng, Tancheng City side of Lin Ida, Hudel County Zhang Wan Yuan, also saw the private detective sent over the report, the three of them were shocked in unison, they really didn't think that Gu Wan would be so open-minded as to give Su Huan the drug of the tiger and wolf, Zhao Kaifeng Zhao Dajo looking for people who are absolutely strong, and not afraid to spend money. These people sent four people to the South Metropolis, staring at Su Huan at all times. Moreover, these four people are carrying very advanced equipment that can see the detailed orientation of the people in the villa as well as their approximate movements through infrared imaging within a certain distance. Last night, according to the infrared imaging, Su Huan and Gu Bols had tossed and turned many times, making the surveillance personnel all extraordinarily shocked. Today, Based on the performance of Su Huan as well as Gu Wan, it can be analyzed that Su Huan was indeed drugged last night, and the DOS was not small. Yesterday's report used the word suspected. Today's report sent over used the word certain. The three read the report for a long time, 
There was also a small detail in the report that Zhao Kaifeng purposely asked for an order to eat melons, that is, once Gu Wan took down Su Huan to present as many details as possible. At that time, I did not think so much, just to satisfy my own melon eating bad taste. When I saw the report at the moment, I couldn't believe that Gu Wan was so willing to play so many tricks with Su Huan. Although Zhao Kaifeng is very upset Gu Bulls, but also have to admit that Gu Bulls body shape and appearance are first class. A billion dollar in so beautiful and beautiful beauty with you to play so many tricks. Not to mention that Su Huan can't handle it. He can't handle it either. Or rather, a man can't carry it. After a while, Zhao Kaifeng skimmed his lips and came up with a sentence. Hongdo is difficult this time. If she is still as insecure as before, she will still lose this time. Not only Zhao Kaifeng thinks so, far away in the sky city of Lin Yide, Hudal County Zhang Wanyuan also thinks so. You can loathe everything about Gu Wan. But you have to admit that Gu Wan is a beautiful woman with a rating above 90 points. And even more so, in the matter of chasing Su Huan. More so, in the matter of chasing Su Huan, Gu Wan was more open-minded than other women. For a while, the three coincidentally thought of another possibility. Gu Wan pinched Su Huan a pinch inaccurate. May not be too waste Su Huan. Rather, Gu Wan is a woman who has too many tricks up her sleeve. Lin Ida and Zhang Wan Yuan may not think deeply. Zhao Kaifeng is along the heart of the feeling to a deeper level of thinking. Thinking of thinking unconsciously thought of himself. In the future, there will be a woman such as Gu Wan treated Su Huan so treat yourself. Putting aside the entanglement of monetary interests. Will there be? Or, those who also have the ability to earn hundreds of millions of dollars in wealth. Will be like Gu Wan like Su Huan so like themselves? There were quite a few women of this type that he knew. While pondering, he stood up and poured himself a glass of wine. Walked over to the sofa and sat down slowly savoring it, and filtering through all the women he knew. A long time passed, Zhao Kaifeng long sai hey, turn over the memory of the brain, but cannot find a woman with money interests have nothing to do with. Once they have no money, it is estimated that these women away from their own, a more than a run fast. Gu Wan does not know how much Su Huan's family background. All the signs show that Gu Wan also think that Su Huan's biggest source of funds is the 20 million breakup fee obtained during the divorce. She even told Li Mingfeng that she was willing to pay another 20 million to Su Huan, saying that she had hidden her property during the divorce. From this matter, it could be seen that Gu Wan was intentionally sending money to Su Huan. Thinking of this Zhao Kai Feng frowned, suddenly realized that his judgment of Gu Wan made an empirical error. Said to himself really underestimated you. Zhao Kai Feng is proud, is a playboy, can be looked up to by him very few people. However, Zhao Kai Feng has a common people hard to reach the advantages. Respect for rivals. Respect for those who he can't see and are capable. In the past, Zhao Kaifeng couldn't look down on Gu Wan, but after carefully analyzing Gu Wan's actions at this moment, Zhao Kaifeng began to respect Gu Wan. When he was thinking about it, his cell phone rang, and he stood up and walked to the side to pick it up to see if it was Yu Hongdo calling, so he answered it directly. Have you slept yet? Yu Hongdo opened the door and directly asked. Zhao Kaifeng honestly came to a did not sleep. In thinking about the old four things, the phone over a period of silence. Soon Yu Hongdo's voice again came you are not aware of the things that happened on the side of Su Huan. Yes, Zhao Kai Feng admitted. Yu Hongdo heard this sentence and took a deep breath and said I know that your Zhao group has a cooperation with cheerful technology is going to expire. It's not difficult for you to cancel it directly, right? If there is a loss you say a number. I will compensate you. Hearing these words, Zhao Kai Feng shook his head slowly and said I advise you not to play this hand. If you play like this, there is no hope for you and Su Huan. This time to Wen Yuan's side of the party. Su Huan has talked to me about this matter. After the expiration of the contract after the year, Zhao's group will continue to renew the contract with Wanchan Technology. Yu Hongdo on the other end of the phone was silent for a while and said, You just watched Gu Wan play tricks against Su Huan. Don't say you don't know why Su Huan stayed on her side for two days. When Yu Hongdo said this, her voice was immediately much higher. With a tone of strong hatred, Zhao Kaifeng immediately took the phone a little farther to make his ears comfortable. The high pitch from the phone disappeared. And only then did Zhao Kaifeng put the phone to his ear and calmly asked, Hongdo, what do you think of Gu Wan? Must point to Yu Hongdo. If Yu Hongdo continue to play according to their own ideas, with Su Huan a clap two separate possibilities are very high. Su Huan is the kind of master who typically eats softly and refuses to be hardened. When there was nothing to lose he dared to harden his head. And at this moment he is definitely even harder. What can one think? A shameless bitch. Yu Hongdo gritted her teeth and uttered these words. Zhao Kaifeng heard helplessly shook his head and said you first calm down. Think about this problem. Today it is too late we will talk about this matter tomorrow good. You know very well that I am bent on facilitating the good deed between you and Lao Si. Hearing Zhao Kaifeng's words, Yu Hongdo calmed down quite a bit. 
Although the little princess temper has dissipated quite a bit in the past few years, and has matured quite a bit after fighting in the mall, but there is still something lacking. This is not Yu Hongdo talent ability problem, but the Yu family on her protection is too good, as delicate flowers like only man-made controlled wind and rain baptism, lack of nature's cold and merciless storm baptism. Yu Hongdo hesitated for a moment and said well, we'll talk tomorrow, at the moment I do have trouble quieting my mind. Uncle you told me a sentence, every big event should have a quiet breath. I'll give you this sentence as well. I hope this sentence can make you grow up so that you can control your emotions. Good night. Zhao Kaifeng finished and hung up the phone without waiting for Yu Hong Dao to reply. Yu Hong Dao to listen to the sound of the disconnection and frowned as she hung up the phone. She really didn't expect Zhao Kaifeng to be able to say these words. This playboy actually there is such a side. Thought for a moment will be thrown aside the phone to relay down began to meditate. They must calm down in order to make rational judgment. Time slowly passed. The moon tired of a night to return home to sleep. The sun took over to start day after day 007 work. In the southern city, Gu Wan's home, Su Huan and Gu Wan are still resting in the bedroom. The two old moms have already come to work and started to work. One is busy in the kitchen and the other is cleaning the room. Zhou Mengxia specially instructed the two of them to move gently. If you wake up the boss and get out of bed, you will be responsible for the consequences. Don't blame me for not reminding you. The two old moms were really a bit scared of Gu Wan. After all, it wasn't long before their two colleagues were sent to jail by Gu Wan. Not only will the stolen money as much as spit out, but also by the court fines. The family sold the house to pay all the fines. The family was originally flourishing life turned sharply down. Re-entered the poverty stage. This is not all. Two people in jail on the future generation has a great impact. At least, cut off the children and grandchildren to become civil servants, but also cut off the road to become a soldier. The son has already started a family. But what about the grandchildren? It is said that at this moment, the daughter-in-law of the family makes trouble every day, and there is no peace for a moment. Another, the housekeeping company also compensated Gu Wan half a million. The boss but repeatedly explained that if someone ate the outside let him die in peace. These two old moms came to work under such circumstances, and their inner fear of Gu Wan can be imagined. Last night, Su Huan and Gu Wan drank a lot of water before going to bed, and in the middle of the night, respectively, up twice, will be these water out of the body a lot better. The recovery speed is also faster. Gu Wan has woken up. Have to admit, a woman's ability to recover is indeed much stronger than a man. With a monster name is not wrong. Wake up Gu Wan did not move the body, but looked blankly at the side of the sleeping Su Huan. A good while passed. Gu Wan's face appeared gloomy expression. Today Su Huan will be leaving. If Su Huan does not go how good it should be. Thinking of this, Zhang Inua's other sentence appeared in Gu Wan's head again. A woman's ultimate belonging is the family. In the past, she didn't understand this sentence very well, but at this moment, Gu Wan really comprehended this sentence and recognized it 100%. If she had this perception of Zhang Inhua a year ago, at this moment Su Huan would still belong to herself alone. After a moment of brain rumination, he shook his head and thought nothing of it, and a gentle expression reappeared on his face, his eyes exuding a strong affection as he looked at Su Huan. At the very least, at this moment, he is still lying in Su Huan's arms, time slowly to more than 8 o'clock. Su Huan only woke up. Next to immediately came Gu Wan's voice time is still early. How not to sleep more? Su Huan asked in a daze. What time is it? 8.20 Gu Wan gave the exact time. Su Huan nodded but did not close his eyes again to rest. After a while, see the side of Gu Wan did not get up meaning. Su Huan asked a you are not hungry? Gu Wan is very reluctant to answer this sentence. Hungry, which is not as comfortable as in your arms. After breakfast you are leaving. In her head, she thought this way but she didn't say so on her lips. I wasn't hungry, but I'm really a bit hungry when you say so. I'm also hungry. Get up Su Huan finished and directly sat up. Physical strength compared to yesterday has a huge recovery. Only then did Gu Wan reluctantly follow and sit up, and together they went to the restroom to wash up. Although separated from Su Huan by divorce, Gu Wan still prepared Su Huan's special daily necessities in the restroom. Even though she is separated from Su Huan, Gu Wan still prepared Su Huan's special daily necessities in the restroom. Even inside the closet, there are still many clothes and items suitable for Su Huan to wear. Sometimes, when she opens the closet and looks at these things, Gu Wan's heart will rise with a wave of anticipation, looking forward to the day when she and Su Huan will be reunited. After getting up and washing up together, they went downstairs together. And as usual, Gu Wan firmly held Su Huan's arm. Today, Gu Wan has been able to walk around. Big movements cannot be done, with small steps slowly in the house walking or no problem. Walking down the stairs, she said to the two old maids, bring the breakfast over. Hearing Gu Wan's words, 
The two old moms immediately took action. And when doing breakfast today, I heard Zhou Mengxia say, two people eat breakfast, to do a little more. Although the two old moms saw Su Huan for the first time, when they saw Gu Wan holding Su Huan's arm in a bird-like manner, they immediately understood Su Huan's identity. Needless to say, this man was Gu Wan's mysterious ex-husband. The fact that Gu Wan can't forget her ex-husband is not only known to the bodyguards, but also to the two old moms. Not only do they know, but they also know that the consequences of offending Gu Wan's ex-husband are even more horrible than offending Gu Wan. And for this ex-husband, Gu Wan really dares to fight with you. The first thing you need to do is to get rid of it. Time is not long. Breakfast was served to the dining room. Today's breakfast is very sumptuous. Su Huan is really hungry. Pick up the bowl and chopsticks immediately eat. Today's two people's meals are not small. The whole pot of thin meat porridge was finished by the two people. Su Huan also ate two eggs, three large meat buns, two fritters. Gu Wan usually has a bowl of porridge for breakfast, but today she drank two and a half bowls, which is Gu Wan's limit. After eating and drinking enough, Su Huan glanced at Gu Wan, and Gu Wan knew that Su Huan was leaving. This time, she didn't say anything to stay, but accompanied Su Huan upstairs, hoping that Su Huan would change her medicine and massage her before leaving. Knowing Gu Wan's small mind, Su Huan did not refuse. After letting Gu Wan go to the restroom to clean herself up, Su Huan washed her hands before changing Gu Wan's medication and letting her take the medication that activates blood circulation and removes blood stasis. Only then did he start to massage some places with the Chinese bone setting medicines. These places have already been massaged twice. Although the bruises continue to exist, there are also signs of dissipation. It is estimated that at most two days will become lighter. After doing this Su Huan went to the restroom, directly took a shower and came out. Only then began to look for his own clothes. Where this Gu Bowl sat up from the bed and went to the closet and opened it, taking out a brand new set of casual clothes from it. The style is also Su Huan's favorite style. Su Huan looked at the clothes and then looked at Gu Wan and said, Where are the items inside my clothes? I've brought it out for you. It's all over here. She said, opening the drawer next to her. And all the items contained in Su Huan's clothes were placed in the drawer. Su Huan looked at did not move. No Gu Wan is what intention. Thought for a moment. Said in a gentle tone of voice you this and why is it bitter? You. Just said here Gu Wan came in front of Su Huan raised his hand to block Su Huan's mouth. Do not let Su Huan say it again. Slowly removed the hand. Eyes with infinite tenderness and hope looked at Su Huan's eyes and said, Do not say those words again. Give me a thought. Okay? Losing these? I don't know what I will become. I don't know if I will be. Gu Wan a bit cannot say. Eyes have been moist. Su Huan see such Gu Wan did not say. But rubbed Gu Wan's head. Take up the bed on the new clothes began to wear up. Time is not long Su Huan is fully dressed. This time Gu Wan violently hugged Su Huan's waist and said New Year's Eve can come over? I promise. I will never play any tricks. Believe me once. Okay? Su Huan turned around and looked at Gu Wan who was about to say something. And only after a while did he nodded and said you rest. Finished turning toward the outside. Gu Wan immediately followed the arm holding Su Huan. Can hold a moment is a moment? The two quickly out of the villa to the outside. The two quickly came out of the villa to the outside. Seeing Su Huan get into the car and leave. Until the vehicle could not be seen, Gu Wan only came back to her senses. At this time, Zhou Mengxiao with bodyguards came to the front of Gu Wan. Gu Wan face expression also returned to a calm state. Glanced at Zhou Mengxiao said you come with me. After saying this, Zhou Mengxiao walked towards the side. Zhou Mengxiao was puzzled to follow behind Gu Wan. The two of them walked to the edge of the small garden before stopping. This place is relatively quiet. Gu Wan spoke as Zhou Mengxiao listened. It wasn't long before a surprised expression appeared on Zhou Mengxiao's face. However, she quickly regained her composure. To what extent does it need to be done? Zhou Mengxia understood the hatred in Gu Wan's heart. Every time Su Huan laughed, a monstrous hatred would arise in Gu Wan. This hatred was not directed at Su Huan, but at Yi Yishan's gang, hating these people for ruining her happy marriage, her happy life. Inside the prisons make them disabled. Their families are having too good a time outside. Make their quality of life drop another level. I'm going to make the rest of their lives, as well as their families, worse than death. Gu Wan gritted her teeth and uttered these words. Zhou Mengxia looked at the somewhat blackened Gu Wan. Although she couldn't bear those people in her heart, she still slowly nodded her head and agreed. Give me the bill when things are done. Gu Wan turned around and walked towards the villa after saying that. Zhou Mengxia had long ago given Gu Wan a secret charge program with a variety of charges. As long as you have the money in place, you will definitely be satisfied. The security company also does not come forward, but another channel to find a way to do this matter. Even if something happens, but also cannot be investigated security company head. All the evidence has nothing to do with the security company. Naturally, will not be investigated to the employer. 
This is also an important source of profit for security companies. In order for the security company to grow and develop, all orders for cooperative customers are not accepted, which is also one of the reasons why Zhou Mengxia's security company can develop. Guwan had signed a long-term cooperation agreement with the security company and belonged to the category of long-term cooperative customers, a category that was privileged. Any orders targeting Guwan would not be taken. And not only that, once they received news that someone was targeting Guwan, they would also alert Gu Wan in advance. The family members of Wei Hu's security company were very smart. As long as they maintained this kind of integrity for the long-term cooperation of the big clients to recognize, there would be endless money to be made. On the other hand, when Su Huan drove back to his home, Du Xu Eching immediately greeted him, a shocked expression appearing on his face when he saw Su Huan. Although Su Huan had recovered a bit at the moment, his body still had a clear aura of exhaustion that was very strong. Accompanying Su Huan to the living room, Du Xu Eching went to brew a pot of tea and brought it over, pouring two cups, Su Huan picked it up and took a sip, raising his hand to rub his head, Du Xu Eching thought for a while, some things should be said or said, all the world's great tycoons and housekeepers have an extraordinary relationship, the butler in the home of these tycoons is basically not replaced, and the butler is allowed to work until retirement, and then given a substantial pension to spend his or her old age in peace, Du Xu Eching stored in the sight of Su Huan to do until the idea of retirement? and Su Huan also more or less have such a little meaning, just did not express it, after all, the two had only known each other for about three months, sir, why are you so tired to this extent, Du Xu Eching finished looking at Su Huan, this was a test to see if Su Huan would tell himself the truth, if Su Huan told himself the truth, the mutual trust between himself and Su Huan would grow once again until an inseparable mutual trust was created, Su Huan put down his teacup, a hesitant expression appeared on his face, and he quickly said I was drugged, only then did Du Xu Eching understand what was going on, thought for a moment and said again, is it Gu Wan? Su Huan nodded and admitted, Du Xu Eching's face was a thoughtful expression, Su Huan looked at Du Xu Eching did not say anything, want to listen to Du Xu Eching have any good suggestions, Mr. Still can't let go of her? Du Xu Eching asked this crucial question, if Su Huan put down everything well, if Su Huan can't put it down it will be difficult, it's not a matter of letting go or not letting go, Su Huan frowned as he uttered these words, for Gu Wan. I really want to completely cut off from each other. Only, because of a reason that I cannot resist for the time being, I cannot be tough on her. It's not because she's got something on me. Want to completely cut off with her, can only let her down, my side cannot use any strong means, also cannot say two desperate words. Su Huan slowly recounted. Du Xu Eching listened carefully, slowly understood Su Huan's mind. After some serious contemplation, she said sir, although I've only met Gu Wan once, the impression she gave me was that she was a woman with a lot of heart, also a woman who was bent on remarrying Mr. This obsession of hers should be very strong. Hearing Du Xu Eching say this, Su Huan nodded his head in recognition of Du Xu Eching's analysis. If because of certain factors, Mr. Can't make a clean break with her for the time being, just treat her as a lover. All people under the sky who are lovers are the same. They all hope that they can one day gain a name and stand by their lover's side in a bright and honorable manner. No matter how strong Gu Wan is, she's still a woman, she can't escape this, mister, just let go and get along with her, let it stop playing this kind of hurt mister, body of caution, time long cannot see the hope of remarriage, she will slowly despair, then she'll leave you without your saying anything, of course, when the time is right, the presence of other women around mister, will speed up the process, at this stage, we can't change the situation, we should focus on taking care of Mr. S. health, do Xu Eching finished glancing at Su Wan? who had a thoughtful expression on his face and had to admit that what Du Xu Eching said made sense, it was also not a feasible path. In the future, as he continued to change his living habits and continuously weakened the influence of the licking dog soul on him, the possibility of completely resolving this matter would be very high. As Du Xu Eching said, Gu Wan could hold out for a year, two years, what about the third year? After seeing no hope of remarriage Gu Wan would self-regulate and slowly shift her feelings away from herself. People are fickle. When something cannot see any hope, even if you will not want to change, subconsciously will make changes. I remember a certain very authoritative psychologist said before crossing the border, never underestimate the influence of the subconscious mind on oneself. Su Huan made up his mind and said, let's do it. You arrange it. My meals a year ago will be based on tonic goodness. Du Xu Eching saw Su Huan accepted his own opinion, inwardly also very pleased. After experiencing this incident, their mutual trust with Su Huan will certainly be on another level. After chatting for a while, Su Huan went upstairs to rest. Du Xu Eching went to explain the kitchen to prepare food for Su Huan. From now on, Su Huan's food is mainly tonic. Time passes slowly. 
At noon Su Huan ate lunch and rested for a while, and in the afternoon, he intended to carry out a simple recovery. He received a phone call from Zhou Xinyun. Su Huan pressed the answer button and asked, Xinyun, is there any reply from the vacation island? Zhou Xinyun said with a smile on the other side of the phone. Zhou Xinyun smiled and said, Brother Huan, the first five days cannot. That side just gave me a message back. The island room has been booked out. The first eight days to have a room out. Brother Huan's side will depart on the eighth day of the month. And after arriving at the destination on the ninth day of the month, you can directly move in. If Brother Huan is okay with it, I'll place an order for you. And the airfare will be mailed in advance to the southern metropolis. Zhou Xinyan began to snub Su Huan. The relatives of the family on the fifth day of the first month had not yet finished. The seventh day of the first month will have time. Just in time to arrive at the vacation spot in advance to wait for Su Huan. Take a vacation and relax with Su Huan. As long as Su Huan arrives at his destination and sees himself, Zhou Xinyan believes that Su Huan will not drive himself away. Su Huan listened and thought for a while. The first five days and the first eight days are just three days apart. It doesn't matter. When the time comes, he can directly take a plane from the southern city to go. Immediately had a decision. Smiled and said good. Help me book it. Hearing Su Huan agreed. The smile on Zhou Xinyun's face became even more intense. Chatting with Su Huan for a while before ending the call. After hanging up the phone and pondering for a while, Su Huan called Su Ran Ran, explaining that he would leave the southern city on the eighth day of the year to go on vacation. For Su Huan after the year to go on vacation this point, Su Ran Ran Hart has a number. Also told Su Huan his side of the family have something. After the year to go to the southern city vacation time needs to be postponed. After communicating with Su Ran Ran, she called Mo Bao and said the same thing. And Mo Bao also said that she had to talk to the publisher. And the vacation time needed to be postponed. Today Su Huan does not call. It is estimated that tomorrow he himself will call Su Huan to talk about this matter. After chatting for a while, they ended the call. On the other hand, Yu Hongdo also talked to Zhao Kaifeng on the phone. And after listening to Zhao Kaifeng's analysis, Yu Hongdo realized that he really couldn't underestimate Gu Wan. She herself was growing, and Gu Wan hadn't stood still either. In Zhao Kaifeng's opinion, Gu Wan's scheming skills are growing faster than Yu Hongdo. The most critical thing is, Gu Wan can pull down the face to give itself to Su Huan under the cruel hand. You are ready to directly sleep with Su Huan's mental preparation? Gu Wan now in order to get back with Su Huan, dared attempt Su Huan to play all kinds of love action movie inside the tricks. Do you dare to be so open-minded? Money cannot buy Gu Wan. There is a great probability. In order to get back with Su Huan Gu Wan dare to give up a hand founded the happy technology. This can be seen from the fact that Gu Wan does not know Su Huan's family background and wants to send money to Su Huan. As Zhao Kaifeng analyzed Gu Wan piece by piece, Yu Hongdo immediately realized that she was gullible and underestimated Gu Wan's determination to get back together with Su Huan. However, Zhao Kaifeng also said that Su Huan may not immediately break clean with Gu Wan, but it is absolutely impossible to remarry with Gu Wan. Gu Wan on Su Huan that kind of harm is a man or difficult to forget, is across the two between the insurmountable gully. Time passes day by day. Gu Wan and Su Huan left, and rested at home for two days before going to the company to work began to deal with the accumulation of a variety of work in the past few days. In these two days at home, Gu Wan was even more chagrined, having already spoken to Zhang Yinhua on the phone, who said that she had forgotten to tell Gu Bol that it was a four-time amount. It must be used in four installments. Hearing this, Gu Wan's face darkened then. No wonder she had been tossed around so badly by Su Huan. It turned out that she had used four times the amount. It was really a case of do or die. Zhang Yinhua asked Gu Wan if she had used it yet and Gu Wan definitely wouldn't say that she had been tossed to death by Su Huan in a one-time use, immediately saying that she hadn't used it yet, she immediately said that she hadn't used it, she intended to use it in the near future, and then asked Zhang Yinhua how much she would use each time, this answer let Zhang Yinhua did not think too much, explained some and ended the call with Gu Wan, after all, the new year is almost over, the banking system is also very busy, after being depressed at home for a while, Gu Wan began to introspect, which is a good habit that Gu Wan developed during her college days. The success of the venture, on the one hand, had the support of Su Wan, but also could not be separated from Gu Wan's own ability, as well as the good habit of introspection every once in a while. The reason why Yi Yishan's success is due to a number of factors, including Gu Wan's mentality that the company is on the right track and she can take it easy. Of course, there are also with Su Huan together. Su Huan is not active enough, do not participate in the management of the company, do not like the wine will socialize. The other factors. I can only say that Yi Yishan calculating Gu Bol. Encountered the timing is too good. Timing, location, people and, like all are not lacking. The reason why did not cause irreparable consequences. 
But also with that day Su Huan call has a lot to do. At that time, although Gu Wan inside a little tired of Su Huan. At that time, although Gu Wan was a bit bored with Su Huan, she was not yet ready to divorce Su Huan. Su Huan's outburst was shocked to hear Su Huan's mouth to say the word divorce is completely unexpected. So that Gu Wan's impulsive heart calmed down a lot. This is not dead heart into the hotel to see Yi Shan. To verify whether Su Huan said true. To confirm that everything with Su Huan said general not too. Gu Wan immediately showed the attitude and Yi Shan pulled away from the distance. More than a month together although relatively easy and pleasant. But still far from the point of divorce with Su Huan. Of course, if Su Huan does not call to let Yi Shan get. Will also be as Su Huan said. Gu Wan will eventually resign to slowly accept Yi Shan and Su Huan divorce. At that time, waiting for Gu Wan is definitely more miserable than death. Yi Shan wants to completely control cheerful technology. After the marriage must let Gu Wan die or completely disappeared. Only then can successfully control cheerful technology. Zhao Kaifeng said that Su Huan saved Gu Wan's life. This sentence is really not nonsense. Two days of introspection allows Gu Wan to find a lot of problems. In the matter of remarriage with Su Huan showed too much haste, although reached a small goal. However, it also gave Su Huan an even worse impression. He must face a reality. A short period of time with Su Huan remarriage completely no chance. The possibility of remarriage in the future is also very low. Gu Wan in the past two days. Nothing is lying on the bed. Using the thinking software for all sorts of speculation. All sorts of analysis. Analyzing so with Su Huan continue to entangle. How long can they hold on? This is a serious mental internal consumption. At the same time, also let Gu Wan more clearly see themselves. The result is very simple. It is impossible to leave Su Huan in this life. There are many reasons, the most important of which is that after this divorce, Gu Bols will not be able to accept other men in the next few years. Although Su Huan has not romantic enough, does not like to socialize, not willing to participate in company management, and quite a few other problems, but Su Huan's love for himself is unreserved, and he has only love for himself without any calculations. Cheerful technology company development to the current point, close to their own men will not be unreservedly good to themselves. These people close to themselves, good to themselves, the pursuit of their own. These people approach themselves, treat themselves well, and pursue themselves, all with a variety of purposes and calculations. What they want is not themselves, but their own money, or rather, these people want to collect both money and sex. When they get their hands on them, the fate that awaits them is definitely not much better. Analyzing this, Gu Wan's eyes narrowed. And the image of Yi Shan discussing with his biological mother and adoptive father about dividing up the shares of cheerful technology when he passed away reappeared in his mind. She was in her youth. No illnesses. No disasters. How could she suddenly pass away? The only possibility of passing away is being poisoned by them. By this point, Gu Wan ended all analysis and deduction. And there was no need to carry out this type of thing in the future. The only person who won't count himself, won't poison himself is Su Huan. Even if he is divorced. Through these several contacts, Gu Wan is convinced that Su Huan won't do so. If you don't want to be counted on for the rest of your life, there is only one choice. No matter what, you can't separate from Su Huan. Even if you are Su Huan's underground lover, the rest of his life will not meet a better man than Su Huan. Thinking of this Gu Wan is again a burst of sadness. Put the wife does not do. Make death let himself become a small three cannot see the light. But all this and can blame who. Immediately after Gu Wan entered the cycle of blackening. Her heart's hatred for Yi Shan and the others soared again. For a long time to come, as long as Gu Wan remembers these things, she will not lower her hatred for these people, and will launch rounds and rounds of retaliation against these people's families. Time unknowingly passed three days. Gu Wan arranged the company's things already do not go to the company to work. All the companies in the country are the same. Began to one after another vacation. Gu Wan drove a car with a gift to take advantage of the years ago these days will be their own contacts are gone. The relationship is the need for years and years of uninterrupted maintenance. You do not maintain things need friends to help. Other people on what basis to help you. Driving around the city for three days. It is considered to buy a variety of gifts are sent out. Those contacts to accept these gifts will not have any impact on them. In the aspect of accumulating contacts through human contact. Gu Wan was still doing a good job. Su Huan honestly stay at home not out. Everyday exercise is not big. But eat a lot. And all meals eat medicinal food to make up for the body. Unconsciously, the New Year's Day has arrived. Du Xu Eching knows that Su Huan will go to Gu Wan's side, so she made arrangements at home in advance. On Gu Wan's side, she had already let the two old moms prepare a lot of ingredients at home, and the squad led by Zhou Mengxia had already had four people leave to go home for the New Year. After the New Year, the other four will come over to change shifts, and then the other four will rest again. These four people are divided into two shifts, day and night. 
Each shift is a man and a woman, following Gu Wan. When it was almost dark Su Huan arrived at Gu Wan's side, cooked and ate together, had another drink, and went upstairs to watch TV together. Su Huan didn't leave at night, and didn't leave until the afternoon of the first day. Su Huan and Gu Wan's side stayed a night. The two did not have any relationship. The night rest is just embrace each other to sleep. Each other are not very interested in that aspect. The reason for this is that the last time together with the toss is too hard. The two have not slowed down. Gu Wan originally wanted to stay Su Huan one more day. Let Su Huan the second day before leaving. But the first day of the afternoon. Received a few phone calls said tomorrow to visit Gu Wan. Where Su Huan heard. Su Huan does not want to let people see themselves still with Gu Wan together. Gu Wan knows Su Huan like quiet do not like crowded noisy environment. Therefore, can only let Su Huan the first day to leave. Time slowly to the fourth. The flight ticket to Budivi Island sent to Su Huan's home. The first date early in the morning more than 7 o'clock on the plane. Halfway through the flight, there is still a need to change planes. This time to go on vacation there is nothing to prepare. Do not want to use the island side to provide daily necessities. You only need to bring your personal daily necessities can be. Su Huan only prepared a small bag. What you need to buy in the local good. There is a street of luxury goods on the island side of Budivi. And all the items that can be bought in the southern city can be bought on Budivi Island. Early in the morning of the eighth day, Su Huan got up early and ate breakfast. Du Xueqing drove Su Huan to the airport, and saw Su Huan through the ticket into the boarding channel before returning. At noon on this day, Zhou Xinyun got off the plane with a suitcase at Budivi Island and took the vehicle arranged by the vacation company to the residence. The so-called accommodation was the single-family vacation home booked for Su Huan. The bodyguards arranged by the vacation company picked up the plane. And the airline confirmed that from the moment Zhou Xinyun got off the plane in Budivi Island. Zhou Xinyun's safety was the responsibility of the Budivi Island Vacation Company. Until Zhou Xinyun left Budivi Island. This time Zhou Xinyun sneaked over. Dad Zhou Hao didn't know. Sister Hong needed to help conceal the situation until the 10th to let Dad Zhou Hao know. The risk taken was not small. Su Huan's ticket was a deluxe first class. The seats were airline massage sofas. The seats were relatively large apart from each other. And the entire cabin had a lot of space. Not the least bit oppressive. The price of this kind of seat is three times the difference between the price of an ordinary economy class seat, which is twice as high as the difference between normal flight tickets. It was very comfortable. Su Huan was led to his seat by the flight attendant, asked for a blanket put on an eye mask and started to sleep. The morning of the first nine in New Island transfer, the same luxury first class, more than two o'clock in the afternoon, the plane landed in Budivi Island. Getting off the plane and walking out of the airport, he saw someone not far away holding up a big sign with his name written on it and walked towards this person. The other party saw Su Huan walked over, immediately took out a flat plate to pull out a photo in Su Huan for comparison. After confirming that there is no error, this is to invite Su Huan to get into the car, and go straight to the vacation room. There were no words on the way. The vehicle drove to the entrance of the vacation home and stopped, opened the door and asked Su Huan to get off sir. There are people inside who are responsible for the hospitality. We won't disturb you. After saying that, a mysterious smile appeared on his face not allowing Su Huan to ask. He drove away. Su Huan carried his bag and pushed open the door to go, through the simple garden almost to the front of the house. Zhou Xinyun wearing a pink bikini swimsuit appeared. This is Zhou Xinyun's specially selected swimsuit. Pink color with their own fair skin is very match, but also can perfectly show their bumpy body and long legs. With her shoulder-length hair and big watery eyes, she walked towards Su Huan with a thick smile on her face. Su Huan looked at Zhou Xinyun who walked towards him step by step, wide-eyed and open-mouthed. Today's Zhou Xinyun is too hot. Zhou Xinyun had already seen Su Huan's shocked and dumbfounded expression and was very satisfied with the effect. Until Zhou Xinyun came over and hugged his arm, Su Huan only then reacted. Very unnatural, said Hart. Xin. Xinyun, why are you here? Su Huan's speech was a bit unsteady. Today's Zhou Xinyun was really too stunning and too tempting. Let's talk inside. After saying that, Zhou Xinyun pulled Su Huan's hand house to go. Soon entered the house to the living room and sat down. Zhou Xinyun was sitting opposite Su Huan. Su Huan looked at Zhou Xinyun's long white legs in front of him as well as, immediately turned his head to let his eyes look elsewhere. Only, sometimes the eyes were uncontrollable and would sneak glances at Zhou Xinyun from time to time. Su Huan was peeking at herself. Zhou Xinyun was very satisfied with Su Huan's performance, poured two cups of tea and said brother Huan, drink some tea. Su Huan picked up the cup of tea and took a sip with a lift of his hand, while Zhou Xinyun slowly took a sip and put down the cup before saying, Juan, I came over because I was annoyed at home and couldn't stand it. New Year's home 7 ants and 8 ants. Relatives come over and borrow money from you in the name of the new year. Introduce boyfriends, 
and cooperate in projects. Let you tired of annoying. Dad cannot face bad to refuse them. I do not habitual them. Directly scolded them a. Dad also began to train me. I ran out. Zhou Xinyan said these words half true and half false. In short, expressed one thing. I ran out from home to relax. You cannot drive me away. After Su Huan figured out what was going on, he pondered for a while and asked, How many rooms in this house? Downstairs is the living room. Upstairs is four rooms. Zhou Xinyun honestly said. After hearing this, Su Huan's heart relaxed a lot and asked, As a big star, you just run out on vacation. Do not worry about your agent cannot find you. When Zhou Xinyun heard Su Huan's words, she said with an indifferent expression, It's okay. I already called Sister Hong before I got on the plane to talk about this matter. Just think of it as an early vacation. Drinking tea and chatting with Zhou Xinyun. Not long, Zhou Xinyun put down the teacup and stood up and said, Brother Huan, I'll take you upstairs to look at the room, and then take you around. The scenery here is still very good. Su Huan listened to a raised hand while drink the cup stood up. Followed Zhou Xinyun upstairs. Upstairs is really four rooms. Too big and too small. Zhou Xinyun occupied a large bedroom. Su Huan lived in another large bedroom, and Zhou Xinyun's room spaced a small room. Su Huan put down his things and turned around in the room. It was very good. The room was simply furnished but there was no sense of emptiness at all. It was definitely the handiwork of a professional. Brother Huan, there are swimsuits in the closet. You can change. I will wait for you downstairs Zhou Xinyun said and left. Su Huan looked at Zhou Xinyun's back for a long time. Zhou Xinyun's heart why not understand? Just, I do not have the idea of starting a new relationship. If you continue to misunderstand with Zhou Xinyun so unclearly, it will delay her youth. This is very unfair and cruel to Zhou Xinyun. However, one could not say anything that would make Zhou Xinyun's heartache. So how should one satisfactorily resolve this matter? Su Huan had a headache. Su Huan originally thought of vacationing for a month who cannot find themselves, can properly relax to adjust the mind, did not expect Zhou Xinyun will appear. After thinking about it for a while, he decided to have dinner and talk to Zhou Xinyun. This matter really cannot drag on. With the decision Su Huan let go, to the side to open the closet to pick a blue swim trunks changed, left the room towards the following walk. Zhou Xinyun, who was sitting in the living room, was apprehensive, worried that Su Huan would reject herself, and was torn when Su Huan came downstairs in his swim trunks. Looking up, I found that Su Huan's body actually has muscles, although there is no six-pack abs, two-pack abs are still there, and there is very little flab on his body. Su Huan this period of time exercise is not large, to restore the body mainly. After more than half a month of conditioning, has completely recovered. Zhou Xinyun stood up with a smile on his face and walked over, bringing Su Huan to the pool behind the house, where there was a 50 meter long by 20 meter wide pool. It was surrounded by sculptures as well as colorful flowers embellishing it. The sky was blue and the water inside the pool was crystal clear. Standing here gave one a sense of relaxation both physically and mentally. Talking to the side of the pool, Zhou Xinyun smiled and said, Go down and swim a lap. Su Huan laughed and shook his head to show that he does not go into the water. Zhou Xinyun eyes began to flash a sly gaze, and led Su Huan forward a few steps near the pool. A force pushed Su Huan. Su Huan's body was unsteady and immediately fell into the pool, and Zhou Xinyun giggled on the shore. Zhou Xinyun giggled on the shore. After tossing a few times to stand still, Su Huan raised his hand and wiped a handful of water on his face. Looking at Zhou Xinyun who was laughing on the shore, he raised his hand and cupped the water and threw it towards Zhou Xinyun. Zhou Xinyun did not expect Su Huan to splash herself with water. Her body immediately got wet, and her dry swimsuit immediately stuck to her body. With a blush on her face, Zhou Xinyun jumped out of the pool herself and came to Su Huan's side and started splashing him with water. The two began to play around, temporarily forgetting about their other worries. After playing around for a while, the two swam back and forth in the pool for a lap, before going to the side to hold the handrail to the shore. Zhou Xinyun walked in front to the side of the table and chairs to pick up two towels and hand Su Huan a. The two wiped the water on their bodies. The two wiped the water droplets on the body sat down. Su Huan looked at Zhou Xinyun attractive body a little stunned. Zhou Xinyun found this. Cheeks slightly red but not the slightest intention to cover up. Soon Su Huan reacted and realized that Zhou Xinyun was looking at herself. Her old face reddened and she turned her head. Zhou Xinyun snapped. Asking white? Su Huan's mind was confused at the moment instinctively opened his mouth to answer white. After saying that he regretted it, this time even his ears were red. Zhou Xinyun saw Su Huan this kind of reaction on his face. His smile became even more intense. You do it. Zhou Xinyun finished and stood up to leave. Leaving by herself could ease the awkward atmosphere. There is a long time. There is plenty of time to take down this log of yours. Su Huan let out a long breath. Letting Zhou Xinyun play on like this, 
It wouldn't be long before he transformed into a werewolf and ate her. Sitting there alone to calm down, not long, Zhou Xinyan came over with two cups of juice, came to Su Huan's side and bent down to hand Su Huan a cup. Su Huan's eyes were shaken, took the juice and said thank you and immediately turned her head. She didn't realize that her voice was a bit shaky when she said thank you. Zhou Xinyun heard very clearly, to be this effect, aside sitting aside, pick a topic to start chatting with Su Huan. As the two of them chatted, Su Huan slowly began to relax. When a staff member arrived at the villa, this was notified by Zhou Xinyun. Su Huan's lunch meal was eaten on the airplane, and he definitely didn't eat well, which made the staff come over to prepare dinner in advance. The vacation company was very humane. On the island staff were basically mainly female, and, one by one, their body shape and appearance were all very good. What's more, these people were all wearing swimsuits. Even when they were working in the kitchen they were all in swimsuits. Customers who come to the island for vacation will not be refused by these people if they need it, and they will not talk to you about money to affect the atmosphere. The vacation company will automatically calculate the cost under your account and settle the bill at the end. It didn't take long for dinner to be ready. The western-style dinner was still very simple. Zhou Xinyun and Su Huan stood up and returned to the room to eat. After the meal, in the living room drinking tea, Su Huan thought for a moment looked up at Zhou Xinyun and said Xinyun, we seriously talk about it, okay? Zhou Xinyun with a smile on her face froze for a moment when she heard this sentence, glanced at Su Huan, and realized that there was no smile on Su Huan's face. In his heart, he realized that the critical moment had arrived. Taking a deep breath, he said, yes. He organized his words and said, I'm sorry. Su Huan organized the language said Heartcloud. I may be in the past and the emotional aspect is a wood, but now I am not. Your love for me I can feel. Hearing Su Huan say this, Zhou Xinyun's face reddened and did not say anything. Her heart began to disobey and beat rapidly, shy and at the same time with a certain apprehension. I divorced Gu Wan, and told you that I'm very tired this sentence is not a lie. I am really heart tired. Originally thought of years ago in the home fitness fitness to adjust the mind. If not adjust it over, go on vacation for a period of time to continue to adjust. As a result, all sorts of things happened that made it impossible to calm down for a period of time before the year. The day you came to see me, I felt your feelings, but I didn't know how to talk to you. I'm not going to lie to you. After my vacation, I'm going to change my habits and live a different life. I don't even know if I'll start a new relationship in the next few years or if I'll still love someone with all my heart. At this moment I am confused. You are a good girl. My beloved girl. We will hurt you if we go on like this. I don't want you to get hurt. Do you understand what I mean? Su Huan finished looking at Zhou Xinyun. Zhou Xinyun listened carefully. Hearing Su Huan say you are my beloved girl, the heart is very used. It is not in vain that I have been thinking about you for these years. When she heard Su Huan say that she didn't want to be hurt, Zhou Xinyun immediately understood what Su Huan was worried about, and also heard from Su Huan's words that Su Huan wanted to indulge herself. Indulging yourself is to change yourself and can also be described as saying goodbye to the past, whether male or female, after a relationship injury, basically will make certain changes, this change is to cut with the past, completely forget the past, completely erase that person in your heart, to start a new life with a new attitude, Zhou Xinyun was not very volatile after listening to Su Huan's words, and had already projected this situation with sister Hong before coming, Su Huan was not that kind of rotten person, not the kind of person who only cares about his own pleasure and doesn't care about whether or not he hurts Zhou Xinyun M.O. Sister Hong's analysis of Su Huan was spot on. When Su Huan decided to seriously talk to Zhou Xinyun about this matter, it meant that Su Huan realized that it would be hard for him to resist Zhou Xinyun's charismatic allure. In order not to hurt you, Su Huan would definitely have a serious talk with you before his last shred of sanity disappeared. Zhou Xinyun stood up. In the eyes of Su Huan around the coffee table came to Su Huan's side sat down. Eyes gushed out a strong love look at Su Huan eyes said Huan brother, this thing I think very clearly, I do not regret, I'm really not impulsive, I've been thinking about this for more than a day or two, I've also discussed this with my agent, sister Hong, and my father, I know what I'm doing, no matter how you change brother Huan, I'll be behind you, this time I came over early without telling you because I hope I can have a happy vacation with brother Huan do, it's impossible for me to like anyone else in my life, after saying that, Zhou Xinyun grabbed Su Huan's hand, her eyes had appeared mist, and looked at Su Huan with deep emotion. A such a beautiful girl saying this to you. It is impossible for Su Huan not to be touched. A tangled expression appeared on his face. However, soon this expression disappeared. Since he was planning to live another kind of life, it would be good to start with Zhou Xinyun. Let everything be as it is. Raising his hand on Zhou Xinyun's face, he stroked this exquisite face and said you won't give up even if I become a prodigal son? Do not give up. 
the rivers and mountains are easy to change. The nature cannot be changed. Juan brother's nature is what I know. Even if you are surrounded by countless beautiful women, you will eventually return to the original heart. I will always wait. Always silently accompany brother Juan to wait for you to return to your original heart. Zhou Xinyun decisively said these words. Su Huan eyes with deep love looked at Zhou Xinyun's eyes and said, You stupid girl. How then I am still stupid. Hearing these words, Zhou Xinyun hugged Su Huan's arm and leaned her head on Su Huan's shoulder. Already heard out. Su Huan is accepting himself. The next is to wait. Even if Su Huan's side has other women, Zhou Xinyun will wait. Su Huan again slut will have to return to the beginning of the day. At that time, they will be bittersweet. The words open. The two let go of a lot. Snuggling with each other to rest for a while, Zhou Xinyun pulled Su Huan's hand towards the outside, to walk on the beach. Happy times pass very quickly. The sky is soon dark. The two people from the beach back to the residence with fingers tightly clasped. The staff had already prepared a barbecue grill and wine, which Zhou Xinyun had specially prepared so that if everything went well, she would have a drink with Su Huan to enhance the mood. When she and Su Huan went out for a walk, she signaled the staff to start preparing. For a vacation company, as long as your money is in place, the service will definitely be in place. Seeing the two of them back, the three beauties looked at the two of them with a smile and left. Zhou Xinyun and Su Huan two people in the courtyard to roast their own food and drink. I don't know how long. In any case, the ground appeared a lot of empty bottles of wine. The two left the courtyard upstairs. Zhou Xinyun did not return to his own room, but stayed in Su Huan's room. A wonderful night of loving and lingering love was born. Zhou Xinyun was very happy. Su Huan knew that she was the first time after the action is very gentle, very compassionate. Gave himself a perfect and happy night. The night passed. The sun rose to shine into the room. Zhou Xinyun woke up, looked at the side of the still sleeping Su Huan, hard to hold up the body and lowered his head in Su Huan face kissed. After kissing, she lay down again and hugged Su Huan's waist, with a sweet smile on her face. Time is not long. Su Huan also woke up, looked down at the arms of Zhou Xinyun. Zhou Xinyun looked at Su Huan as a smile. Su Huan lowered his head and kissed Zhou Xinyun's forehead, raised his hand and hugged Zhou Xinyun's shoulder and tenderly asked, Aren't you hungry? Zhou Xinyun responded in a low voice. I'm not hungry if I'm holding you. Su Huan smiled and said, Take me as bread? Zhou Xinyun smiled and did not say anything. Su Huan face smile changed and whispered again, Or take me as a hot dog. Hear this sentence Zhou Xinyun a moment did not react. However, when she saw Su Huan face bad smile, immediately reacted, raised his hand and pinched Su Huan waist of soft meat a twist. Su Huan immediately began to beg for mercy. The two in bed coexisted for a while before they got up together, washed up wearing pajamas downstairs had breakfast and changed into a swimsuit to go out to play. This is isolated from the blue sky and sea. Is the people give up all the worries into the nature of the place? Time slowly passed a few days. Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun in the vacation happy. Zhao Kaifeng in Shanghai city skimming difficult. Do not know whether to tell this matter with Yu Hongdo. Not only Zhao Kaifeng hard, Lin Hida and Zhang Wenyuan also hard. Three people did not expect Zhou Xinyun will be so determined. Start so fast. Sure enough. It was really too easy for a woman who was willing to go out on a limb to take down a certain man. Su Huan was alone on the plane in South Metropolis. This is known. Only, Zhou Xinyun violently disappeared when Zhao Kaifeng arranged people did not find Zhou Xinyun where to go. Afterwards found Zhou Xinyun a few days did not show up this only began to work on the investigation. At the moment has been confirmed. Zhou Xinyun sneaked to Su Huan vacation Budiwei Island. Intelligence shows that the two slept in a room at night. A day later, Xiangjiang City Yuhongdo. Tiancheng City Inc. Baby, by Yun County Su Ranran, Ran. three women are in a very bad mood. Thousands of calculations, really did not think that Zhou Xinyun this big star will be able to put down the star frame so open-minded. Sort of caught the three women off guard. The latest to recover is Yu Hongdo, immediately began to speed up the action at hand. Nanju Group is one of the enterprises held by the Yu Family Fund, and the original plan was to slowly start the South Metropolis branch, but as a result, last October, they received a notice from the headquarters to start speeding up. When the branch was built, Yu Hongdo would go to South Metropolis as the head of the branch, closer to Su Huan so that he could be nearer to the water. Today, Nanju Group and the Southern City Branch construction speed, once again began to speed up. Not fast can not. Yu Hongdo to the head of the branch of the South Metropolis called, the person in charge of the head of the head of a scolding. Yu Hongdo's original plan was very good, did not expect to be sneaked by Zhou Xinyun, this kind of accident let Yu Hongdo realize the seriousness of the matter. She herself was acting, and her other women were not standing still. Zhao Kaifeng said that he was careless and gullible, and this really wasn't wrong. 
This is what led to Yu Hongdo scolding the head of Nandu City and ordering him to speed up the progress of this scene. Several women realized that this time, the fight for Su Huan was different from the university days, when you slept with Su Huan to achieve the ultimate victory, but this time is different. The fight for Su Huan this battle is definitely a protracted tug of war, must be well prepared in order to smile to the end. Yu Hongdo in accelerating the layout of the southern city, Ink Baby and Su Ran Ran also the same, the two women did not give up. Baby Mo intends to buy a suite of rooms and settle down in South Metropolis, while creating literature and making contact with Su Huan. As a writer, you can never learn from Zhou Xinyan as soon as you see Su Huan straight to the point. You and Su Huan together must have a mood, to highlight the difference between themselves and other women. Su Ran Ran's plan to be a little more complex, plans to buy a small food company in the southern metropolis, and then build a large-scale breeding base to create a beef and mutton breeding, slaughtering, sales industry chain. At that time, he personally came over to preside over the family's beef and mutton into the mainland market. Bayun County Su family farming and beef and mutton business is basically Su Ran Ran in charge. Not outsiders think of Ace. This layout of the South Metropolis, chasing husband in business both. Su Ran Ran is definitely a talented and intelligent woman. Time passed day by day. Fifteen days passed in the blink of an eye. Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun played obliviously on this side of Beauty Wai Island. Forgetting about time. Forgetting about all the worries. The two are really happy in tacit understanding. Su Huan sometimes think about it. This feeling is really not worse than when he and Gu Wan honeymoon. Unconsciously, two more days passed, and it was time for vacation. Mainly because Zhou Xingyun couldn't stay in Beauty Wai Island anymore. There were several TV dramas to be filmed this year, and the crew of one of the dramas had already assembled. So Zhou Xingyun was dragging her feet and not going over to let everyone down. Zhou Xingyun's father, Zhou Hao, received a phone call from Zhou Xingyun on the 10th day of the lunar calendar. And his daughter, who had been nurtured for more than 20 years, became someone else's. He was so upset that he had to go to the hospital to get his daughter back. The heart is holding a breath and going crazy. His own little coat is gone. Chagrined, smashed his own study. The last few days also frequently called Zhou Xingyun to let her come back. Knowing that at this moment everything is already too late, but also not willing to be so cheap Su Huan. Su Huan and the vacation company settled all the costs. Before the vacation Zhou Xinyun prepaid 300,000. Su Huan also transferred to Zhou Xinyun. A phrase, my woman vacation does not need to spend their own money. When Zhou Xinyun heard this, she immediately sent her own kiss, no longer caring about this matter. The plane flew directly to Shanghai, and Su Huan had to stay in Shanghai for two days to give a gift to Zhao Kaifeng. Zhou Xinyun also got off the plane in Huhai City. The location of the theater group is not too far from Huhai City. After getting off the plane, Sister Hong will pick up her own straight to the theater group. For Zhou Xinyun to shoot Su Huan is not worried. Zhou Hao and Red Sister of Zhou Xinyun protection is very good. Any kissing scene, do scene, make out a little bit of the scene or not. It is impossible to cancel. All the use of misplaced footage to let the body double on top. Many male stars want to take advantage of the filming of a kiss. All failed to return. Zhou Xinyun's self-love is not to say, but actually do so. Would rather star development of a little slower and a little more stable, but also do not engage in any scandal to enhance the popularity. This is admired by many people. Directors do not dare to play any small action, because Zhou Xinyun dad is not to be messed with. Once you let Zhou Xinyun aggrieve to go home and complain to his father, Zhou Hao will definitely be furious. In the entertainment industry, Zhou Hao is also one of the real power big brother. Blocked some stars and directors is a word of matter. There was another reason because Zhou Xinyun was already famous, and her years of hard work had accumulated a large number of fans with great influence. On this day, Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun took the plane and landed at Shanghai Airport. The two of them were in a slightly secluded place at the airport, and they got bored with each other for a while before they separated. When Su Huan walked out of the passageway and saw Zhao Kaifeng, he didn't go there right away, but watched Zhou Xinyun meet up with Sister Hong before walking towards Zhao Kaifeng. Zhao Kaifeng hugged Su Huan and said jokingly, can't bear to part with it? Su Huan smiled and hammered Zhao Kaifeng. Su Huan laughed and hammered Zhao Kaifeng's chest before heading to the parking lot with him. Entering the car, Zhao Kaifeng said, if you can't bear to be apart, just say so. Zhou Xinyun's investor in the TV series being filmed at the moment is a company in which my Zhao group has a stake, and postponing the start of filming for a few days is just a matter of words. Although Zhao Kaifeng supported Yu Hongdo to be with Su Huan, it did not mean that he could not accept Su Huan to be with other girls. Zhou Xin Yun is a clean, self-loving girl who loves Su Huan deeply, and Zhao Kaifeng does not oppose her being with Su Huan. As a famous playboy, Zhao Kaifeng knew the showbiz world very well, who loved himself and who didn't. In Zhao Kaifeng's opinion, as long as the girl didn't love herself, she would not accept Su Huan's relationship with other girls. 
In Zhao Kaifeng's opinion, as long as it wasn't Guan, it would be fine. Su Huan looked at the scenery outside the car window, calmly said this sentence to love if long time, and not in the morning and evening. Zhao Kaifeng heard a stunned, quickly reacted, I rely on, you kid indulgence a literary level is rubbing up ah. Su Huan, on the other hand, said with a smile on his face, what's going to amaze you is still behind. I intend to live another life, will wantonly wield their own talent. I want the world to look up to me. On this vacation, Su Huan's mindset had adjusted a lot in the company of Zhou Xinyun, and he had looked away from many things. Since he had made a trip to this world, he must let the world know what is meant by the poetry scriptures, let the world know what is meant by Tang poetry, song lyrics and Yuan songs, and what is meant by online literature, what is meant by movie. Play him well and leave something behind in this world. Magnificent. Dad I'm looking forward to it. Zhao Kaifeng finished giving Su Huan a thumbs up, truly hoping that Su Huan could wield his talent with abandon. But unfortunately, from the time he met Su Huan until now he didn't see this kind of aggressiveness in Su Huan. Today, I can see the beginnings of this. Zhao Kaifeng would like to see. The full release of their own talent Su Huan can be amazing to what extent. Zhao Kaifeng didn't let Su Huan live in a hotel, but lived in a villa under his own name. This villa is only for himself. Su Huan, Lin Yi Da, Zhang Wen Yuan. Four people can live. The rest of the people could not live here. Once there is a Zhao Kai Feng very like the sister bullying and haunting want to live here. And ultimately was Zhao Kai Feng threw out a check. Let it go. All the way to the villa. Here also arranged two old mom. One is responsible for cleaning and one is responsible for cooking. Each in their own way. After Zhao Kai Feng and Su Huan walked into the villa. Both of them were extremely relaxed. Took off their shoes and didn't wear slippers so they walked on the carpet. And sat down on the sofa in the living room. Both of them put their legs on the coffee table. Su Huan took out cigarettes and handed one to Zhao Kaifeng and then lighted it for him. And both of them started to relax by gulping down the smoke. After chatting for a while, Zhao Kaifeng asked what time is the matter you mentioned. I'm not in a hurry. The oldest two and the oldest three are a bit anxious. Still need to wait a little longer. What I want is to get a hit and then leave immediately. Su Huan uttered these words with a raised eyebrow. Zhao Kaifeng nodded his head to understand Su Huan's meaning. Financial killing in foreign countries can never be accomplished in a protracted war. But wherever you play into a protracted war, the end is miserable. One strike. Quickly take the money away without leaving any traces. This is the style of action of financial experts. The two chatted for a while. Zhao Kaifeng stood up with a smile on his face and said, Go, I'll take you up. A moment to eat you have a good rest in the afternoon. I'll take you to get high at night. Su Huan nodded and stood up. The two just walked out of two steps. Zhao Kaifeng's cell phone unique ringtone chicken 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 sound appeared. Zhao Kaifeng was not happy to pick it up and look at it. After reading it, he looked up and glanced at Su Huan. His strange eyes made Su Huan feel a little bit puzzled. At this moment, Zhao Kaifeng picked up the phone and said, Hongdo sister, why are you calling me at this time? Hearing these words, Su Huan knew who called Zhao Kaifeng, and completely understood why Zhao Kaifeng just looked at himself with odd eyes. Huan brother is not to Shanghai city Yu Hongdo opened the door and went straight to the point. Zhao Kaifeng looked at Su Huan with a smile on his face, raised his hand and clicked on the speakerphone and said yes, I have just placed him well downstairs, and before I finished walking up the stairs, your phone call came, are you alone now? Yu Hongdo inquired. Zhao Kaifeng's eyes looked at Su Huan with an odd smile and said yes, I'm telling you, you can't take brother Huan to spend the night looking for a girl, if I let me know that you take him to fool around, I'm hard to bear and I won't let you get on well. Yu Hongdo said this sentence very dryly. An embarrassed expression appeared on Su Huan's face when he heard it, and the smirk on Zhao Kaifeng's face became even more intense. You're being unreasonable. My brother came over and I couldn't arrange something to let him relax and unwind? Zhao Kaifeng began to flirt with Yu Hongdo. Zhou Xinyun, this vixen, has accompanied him for half a month? Isn't he relaxed enough? Zhao Kaifeng, you know I'm true to my word. Yu Hongdo's voice started to get louder. The threatening meaning in her tone became heavier and heavier. Zhao Kaifeng covered his mouth to hold back his laughter. Su Huan's side of his face reddened and became even more embarrassed. This situation, Yu Hongdo is completely bring herself into the role of Mrs. Su, warning Zhao Kaifeng not to bring bad husband. You are not Mrs. Su yet? Isn't the control too wide? Zhao Kaifeng's words carried the obvious implication of adding fuel to the fire. Yu Hongdo heard this sentence immediately began to rage. Voice immediately raised a lot said Zhao Kaifeng. You don't want to challenge my bottom line. You dare to bring brother Huan to those immodest women I absolutely. Zhao Kaifeng did not speak, but looked at Su Huan and pointed to the phone. Letting Su Huan speak, Su Huan shook his head repeatedly and refused. You are not in a hurry and I am not in a hurry. 
Zhao Kaifeng looked at Su Huan and did not say anything, letting Yu Hongdo's angry voice come out from the phone. Listening to Yu Hongdo's tone on the phone getting worse and worse, Su Huan understood Zhao Kaifeng's meaning, and raised his hand to pick up the phone to turn off the speakerphone and walk towards the door. Zhao Kaifeng just stood there watching without moving, his face eating melon smile more intense. Red Bean Sister, brother I in order to help you but took great pains. In the future you good thing into a must not forget my matchmaker gift. Hongdo, I won't go fooling around with the boss at night. Su Huan whispered these words, and the angry voice over the phone ended abruptly, and soon there was the sound of a disconnect. Only then did Su Huan turn around and come back to hand the phone to Zhao Kai Feng, saying irritably satisfied? Don't blame brother. Brother I'm definitely doing this for your own good. You'll understand if you have more contact with Hongdo. She's the real good match for you. On the matter of your feelings, brother I will never joke. Zhao Kai Feng looked at Su Huan's eyes without fear and said these words. Su Huan laughed awkwardly and carried her bag upstairs. This is not the first time here. Which one of his rooms is very clear? Xiangjiang City, Yu Hongdo office. Yu Hongdo blushed frightening. A person sitting there from time to time to cover their face. The small secretary came in and saw Yu Hongdo this state. Not waiting for Yu Hongdo open immediately went out. Yu Hongdo didn't care about the secretary's reaction. At the moment, all she could think about was Su Huan. What she had just said to Zhao Kai Feng was heard by Su Huan. Will Su Huan have a bad impression of himself? Just thought here Yu Hongdo shook her head. If Su Huan blamed himself he wouldn't have said that he wouldn't go fooling around with Zhao Kai Feng. By the way, when he said this, his tone was very gentle. This was the tone of a husband assuring his wife that he would not fool around when he went out. Thinking of this Yu Hongdo's face turned even redder and started to burn. She had made Zhao Kai Feng sound so bad, but Su Huan was still so gentle with herself. Shanghai City, Su Huan in the room to organize their own items and went downstairs, holding a gift for Zhao Kai Feng. Downstairs, Zhao Kai Feng had already rebrewed the tea. Still Kung Fu tea. Zhao Kai Feng is a playboy, but the level of Kung Fu tea is very high. During the university like Kung Fu tea, summer vacation specially ran to Fuzhou to spend 20. 000 with a master teacher to learn for more than a month. Su Huan walked over and sat down, picked up a small cup and tasted it and said, your level is a little down. If the concentration is lowered by one more point, you can fully release the elegant aroma of the tea leaves. Zhao Kaifeng was very curious after listening to ask it when you were so proficient in the tea ceremony. The previous Su Huan but never expressed his views on the tea ceremony. Today was the first time he expressed his opinion. Su Huan face with a faint smile said, I do not say does not mean that I do not understand the tea ceremony. Zhao Kaifeng's eyes narrowed as he took a serious look at Su Huan and said it seems that you are really determined to show your talent to the world. Must drop. Su Huan said with great certainty. Zhao Kaifeng skimmed his lips and picked up the gift on the side and opened it directly. It was a pearl string. Picked it up and touched it. And found that there were some ghostly symbols carved on the pearl that he couldn't see. This is a large pearl that I purchased over there. Twelve in a string. I engraved the Taoist runes representing good luck and good fortune on top of each pearl. I hope to bring you good luck and good fortune. Su Huan explained on the side. Zhao Kaifeng nodded and took off his watch and put the string on. Thank you. This gift is very kind of you. In the future, I will not leave my string. No one is allowed to touch it. Su Huan nodded and said you like it is good. I carved a total of four strings. You and I each a string. Back to see Ida and Wen Yuan when I give them good. Zhao Kaifeng nodded in understanding. After so many years, no matter who went on a trip abroad, when the four of them came back with a gift, there was one item that was definitely three copies of the same item, never favoring one over the other. Two people drinking tea and chatting is very relaxed. Time is not long. The old mom came over to notify the two lunch is good. The two only then went to the restaurant to eat. A drink is definitely indispensable. Tonight Su Huan promised Yu Hondo not to go out to play. Zhao Kaifeng gave up the intention of taking Su Huan out for a night of fun. As Yu Hongdo said, Zhou Xinyun accompanied Su Huan on vacation to relax for half a month. Let Su Huan recover. This attitude of Su Huan made a few old professors very popular. And they all talked to Su Huan about the phrase thing, if two loves last forever. Is it not in the morning and evening? I hope Su Huan can release the full text. Su Huan now certainly will not release the full text. The timing is not right. Bluntly, he came back from vacation only to think of a rough, not yet formed, temporarily can only regret. Several old professors also understand. Inspiration this thing came, not immediately can produce a good poem. The follow-up still need to go through repeated polishing. However, with these words in place, the quality of Su Huan's poem could definitely not be resisted. This sentence alone could be passed down through the ages. Du Xueqing drove to her home before Su Huan could finish his phone call and gained the understanding of several old professors, putting down the phone and rubbing his head. After getting out of the car, Du Xueqing carried Su Huan's bag and said, Mr. 
Talent. Such a beautiful poem is not something that ordinary people can come up with. Su Huan politely said occasionally, Du Xueqing felt that at this moment Su Huan than a year ago and a lot of sunshine, back to the room while items put good downstairs to the restaurant to eat, no Su Huan today back, Du Xueqing did not adjust the Su Huan's food, or to compliment the main, although Su Huan is alone to leave the southern city, but who dares to guarantee that Su Huan in the vacation will not meet a beautiful woman, besides, without a beautiful woman, how can Su Huan write such a beautiful sentence as if the two loves are long lasting, is it not in the morning and evening, Su Huan ate very quickly, and after lunch, he didn't drink any more tea, and directly went upstairs to rest. The moment Su Huan arrived home, Gu Wan received a call that Su Huan had returned from his vacation. Although she wanted to immediately go to find Su Huan, she also knew that at this moment, Su Huan needed to rest for two days, and patiently did not contact Su Huan. In the afternoon, more microblogs retweeted Su Huan's line of poetry, spreading faster. Xiang Jiang, you family, after dinner family chatting in the living room, Yu Hongdo's third brother Yu Jiahao snapped full of emotion, said this Su Huan brain is how to grow, how can come up with such a beautiful poem, Yu family had Yu Mingxing heard after the interest, inquired how, this wood has written any good poems, this time it's not a poem, but a sentence that can be passed down through the ages, take a look Yu Jiahao finished and stood up to hand over his cell phone, everyone else, including Yu Hongdo, took out their cell phones and started searching, soon, Su Huan's phrase if two loves last forever, is it not in the morning or in the evening appeared in front of everyone's eyes. After reading this sentence the crowd tasted it and then looked at Yu Hongdo with a face full of emotion, realizing that the expression on Yu Hongdo's face was not good. The crowd looked at each other. Hongdo, did something happen? Who bullied you say it? Big brother will do it for you. Yu Jiaren spoke from the sidelines. His brother and sister-in-law all followed and nodded. They must not watch Yu Hongdo suffer. When brother Huan was on vacation in Budiwei Island, this bitch Zhou Xinyan sneaked off and came back with him Yu Hongdo was very upset and said these words. The crowd then understood what was going on. Yu Hongdo had a few rivals everyone knew, just did not expect that Zhou Xinyan, who had always been clean and self-loving, would strike so fast and so hard this time. Yu Jiaxing slightly pondered some as to South Metropolis side of the branch construction how is it? Currently in day and night construction. I have let the person in charge there to temporarily rent an office space first Yu Hongdo explained a bit. Everyone nodded. It's not that the person in charge over there in Nandu City isn't doing his job, but at the moment, he's already working day and night to catch up to the limit. This kind of thing like engineering can't be rushed. This Zhou Xinyun really doesn't know how to die. Dao Du, mom is here to clean up this woman. She won't be an obstacle for you. Mom Ju Chichi fumed on the sidelines. A playwright also dares to steal a man from her own daughter. Against you. No need. I will win them fair and square. Yu Hongdo spoke. With a resolute attitude not allowing her family to make a move. In Yu Hongdo's heart, if she couldn't even handle these few women, how could she handle Su Huan? Do not worry about the company's business after you arrive in South Metropolis. I will additionally arrange for a person to go over to be in charge of the things that run the branch. You concentrate on taking down this with the wood well. Such a great talent is worthy of my family's Hongdo. Yu Mingsheng expressed his position. Yu Hongdo immediately nodded and said thank you. Dad, do not need to arrange another person. South City side is this is my whetstone. I will deliver a perfect answer. Seeing his daughter so stance Yu Mingxing is very pleased nodded. However, elder brother Yu Jiren spoke not send the person in charge to send you a stronger assistant good, so that you can free up time. This time Yu Hongdo did not object to a bite agreed. The family continued to chat. This time Yu Hongdo's cell phone rang. Yu Hongdo picked up a bite as Zhao Kai Feng. Picked up what is the matter? I feel like there's something I have to say to you. Su Huan came back from this vacation different really different. This way, I'll give you to listen to a recording you will know. Hang up. Zhao Kai Feng hung up the phone after he finished speaking, leaving Yu Hongdo's family listening in bewilderment. What Zhao Kai Feng meant in his words was that Su Huan was different from before. Has Su Huan changed? Zhao Kai Feng is Su Huan's boss, die-hard friend, can make Zhao Kai Feng say that Su Huan is not the same as before changed. This is definitely not an empty word. To Yu Hongdo to make this phone call is not blind. Zhao Kaifeng is lying on the bed thinking when suddenly back to taste. Su Huan said that he wants to wantonly wield their own talent. I want to let the world all look up to me. It's really not a joke. Soon, Yu Hongdo WeChat came a reminder sound. Yu Hongdo immediately opened. Clicked on the recording and clicked the speaker. So that the family can hear. Zhao Kaifeng's conversation with Su Huan in the car came out. And after hearing Su Huan's words, the few men present all raised their eyebrows. What a big mouth. Yu Jiaren frowned after hearing this and voiced his opinion. Yu Jiaxing on the side shook his head and said big brother. He has the qualifications to be so mad. 
two poems were chosen to be included in the middle school textbooks. This kind of achievement has already equaled the current several giants of the literary world in Xia. Just which line, to love if long time and not in the morning and evening. If this kid wrote the full text, after a few hundred years, the world won't remember us, but will definitely remember this piece of wood. After hearing Yu Jiaxing's words everyone was silent. No matter how much you dislike Su Huan, you have to admit that what Yu Jiaxing said is realistic. Poetry is a culture that has been passed down through the ages. People will pass away in a hundred years or so, but the culture of poetry will not. I have more expectations for him now, and would love to see how he amazes the world with his talent. Yu Jiaxing said slowly while sitting there, with the poem Red Bean in front of him, and the words of two loves last forever. Is it not in the morning and evening behind him? It was enough to prove that Su Huan had gone to the next level in terms of literature. He had already surpassed most of the literary authorities in the world. At the very least, a few of the great literary authorities of the Xiangjiang University that Yu Mingxing knew had all said in front of Yu Mingxing that their talents in poetry were inferior to a heavenly talent like Su Huan. Yu Hongdo said fiercely from the side with his cheeks puffed out I'll be going to the southern city in a few days. The family members definitely supported it. And the fact that the younger sister was able to take down such a great talent had a pivotal role to play in elevating the status of the Yu family. The reputation of a merchant family is ultimately not as good as the reputation of a scholarly family. The night passed, and Su Huan slept a lazy sleep today. Little did he know that at this moment, many media outlets in the outside world had begun to report on his poem. Without exception, they were all looking forward to the full text coming out. There were even a few literary authorities who said that Su Huan should have met a beautiful woman during his vacation when he made these words that have been passed down through the ages. This sentence was written to this beautiful woman. This aroused everyone's curiosity. Wanting to know what kind of beauty could make this talented man Su Huan write such a wonderful sentence. With the overwhelming reports, it was impossible for Zhou Xinyun to not see it in the theater group. And after reading it after being reminded by Sister Hong, Zhou Xinyun's face was filled with happiness. Sister Hong, on the other hand, was envious from the sidelines, if it was exposed in the future that Su Huan's words that had been passed down through the ages were written to Zhou Xinyan. I don't know how many women would be envied. Cheerful technology company, president's office, Gu Wan had a gloomy face. Assistant Cheng Yi knew that Gu Bol was definitely in a bad mood, and was outside automatically blocking the personnel who came over to report their work. The boss is not happy. If it's not an emergency, come back tomorrow. And hearing this, each one of them turned around and left with a good eye. In Chang Yi's opinion, the president is definitely sick in the head. Divorcing a husband who is so talented and loves you unreservedly. What is not sick in the head? Although Zhou Mengxia and the others were rough people, they could also taste how stunning and wonderful the words were. Occasionally glanced at Gu Wan. Not to die will not die this sentence appeared in the brain. People, no matter what time can not float. It's great when you float, but it hurts when you fall. Sky City. Baby Emo had a hard time. So angry that she didn't even eat her lunch. Her parents knew what was going on and immediately called Lin Yi Di and his parents and began to collectively put pressure on Lin Yi De. It made Lin Yi De have one head and three big ones. Last night, Zhao Kai Feng didn't just send a recording to Yu Hongdo, he also sent it to Lin Yi De as well as Zhang Wen Yuan, both of whom had the same opinion as Zhao Kai Feng. Su Huan is really going to change and show his amazing talent to the world. Bai Yun County, Su Ran Ran angry horseback riding gallop half a day to vent their inner upset, dismounted and returned home to Astrid to call. Astrid is sure to help Su Ran Ran, immediately put pressure on Zhang Wen Yuan, the date in the afternoon directly put off, cannot think of a good idea to help Ran Ran's sister, temporarily not dating, the fiancé played like this, so that Zhang Wen Yuan also began to have a big head, at noon, Su Huan ate lunch and drank tea in the living room, Du Xu Eching came over and said, Wei Yutong, that girl called me and asked if you still need advice on fitness and exercise, Su Huan listened and thought for a while and said, give her an order. It's not easy for a girl to fight in the southern city. Good. I contact her in the afternoon, but also in accordance with the previous time to plan well Du Xu Eching agreed. The future of this kind of things are arranged by Du Xu Eching. Accompanying Su Huan to drink tea for a while, Su Huan went upstairs to the study, clicked on the Dasha Chinese website, entered the account number and then logged into the writer's background, using the special writing software to start writing. The first work must be stunning. Currently is a martial arts novel is just read. Thinking about a smile, martial arts novels of this type there is more stunning than Gulong novels? Before crossing, everyone unanimously recognized that Gulong's novels are the most suitable for the net. The text is refined too hanging. Chapter chapter card plot. Let you finish reading a chapter. Heart with a cat scratch is hard. Eager to read the second book. As Luo Yanghao commented on Gulong's book. Gulong's book is simply explosive at first glance. The first sentence, wind, period. 
Second sentence, cold wind, period. The third sentence, cold wind blowing, period. The only one who plays with words in such a dazzling and cool way is Gulong. What pen name to use when thinking for a while? With an inexplicable smile on his face to enter two words, play ticket, on the call to play the ticket. Himself is over to play the ticket. So far, the ticket brother this stirred the net literature circle. Scolded the name of the clouds was born. Su Huan picked, Wulin Wai Shir, this work. This work is the turning point of Gu Long's writing. From the beginning of this book, the subsequent book are classic. Opened his own legendary life. Code word speed is very fast. More than 30 minutes to write three chapters. Click to upload after closing the computer regardless. Su Huan can be easy. Dasha Literary Novel Network site immediately began to busy up. A group of people are staring at Su Huan's account. At this moment to see Su Huan uploaded immediately began to take the follow-up process. The chief editor de Baojian is personally responsible for Su Huan's account maintenance. This is the company's CEO Zhou Jiahang special instructions. This is the company's major shareholder. Is over to play the ticket. Let him be satisfied so that I can live well. I do not live while you do not want to live well. This is the original words that Zhou Jiahang said to Dabaojin. Dabaojin is not at all dare to be careless. After reading the three chapters Dabaojin was very surprised. As a veteran of many years, immediately realized that this book has a trend of big fire. This shareholder so powerful? Immediately to the pen name called Play Ticket to send a contract link. The results of the Su Huan side of the reply did not. Da Baojian pondered immediately went to find Zhou Jiahang. After listening to Dabaojin Zhou Jiahang froze for a moment and asked with a skeptical expression, do you really think that the book he wrote will be a big fire? Boss, take a look at the first three chapters and then say Dabaojin said. Handing over the tablet in his hand, Zhou Jiahang began to look through it. After reading it, Zhou Jiahang's face showed an expression of disbelief. And soon, Zhou Jiahang's face showed an expression of relief, which made Big Treasure Sword look puzzled. Zhou Jiahang said with a mysterious expression on his face, Do you know what this shareholder's name is? Dabao Jin shook his head. Zhou Jiahang continued to ask, Do you know who wrote the poem Red Bean in the phrase If love lasts forever? Does it not last forever? This I know. Su Huan, the bull of today's literary world Di Bao Jian was off the cuff. After all, that line was the hottest at the moment. He is a play ticket, is our shareholders. I'll give him a call in a while. You wait for my call well, keep an eye on it. Quickly complete the signing process. Zhou Jiahang finished giving Dabaojin a look. Dabaojin's face was full of unbelievable expression at the moment. It was unthinkable that Su Huan was just playing with the ticket. This was too shocking. However, Dabaojian quickly reacted and said I will go and keep an eye on it now. Zhou Jiahang nodded with satisfaction and waved his hand, taking out his cell phone to start contacting Su Huan. Dabao Jian consciously left Zhou Jiahan's office to return to his own office. Su Huan had planned to take a break, but Zhou Jiahan's phone call came over. After explaining what was going on, Su Huan said that he would cooperate to complete all the formalities. After chatting for a few sentences, he ended the call, took out his ID card and came to the study to open the computer to start perfecting the formalities. There was a big treasure sword staring at him. The speed was very fast. Just about 10 minutes to complete everything. The SS level contract is signed and the subsequent various diversions can be carried out normally. After completing the formalities, Su Huan closed the computer and went to rest. After 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Du Xu Eching made a call to Wei Yutong and hung up the phone after communicating. Today was Tuesday. Pick her up on Friday and instruct Su Huan for a day on Saturday. Once a week at the same price. After communicating with Du Xu Eching, Wei Yutong let out a long sigh of relief. Fortunately with Su Huan renewed. A period of time before contacting Su Huan did not respond to thought that Su Huan did not need. Do not die to contact Du Xu Eching only to know that Su Huan went abroad on vacation. Whether the need for fitness consulting can only wait for Su Huan to come back and then decide. With Su Huan this list, their days will be a little better. At least four high quality meals per week have to fall. Su Huan rested at home for two days before he began to resume regular exercise. The past two days, the martial arts history of three updates a day. A variety of data is increasing wildly. This put Su Huan in a good mood. On the day of Friday, Gu Bols called Su Huan after he was busy with the company. His tone was very gentle. Thinking about Su Huan, let's do it tomorrow. I'll find you tomorrow night. Su Huan didn't push back as usual, but directly set a time, which was very different from the past. Good. Gu Wan agreed in a single breath, already sensing a change in Su Huan's attitude towards herself. After the phone hangs up, Gu Wan picks up the document to watch. Just unfolding the document, she stops moving. Reclosing the document frowning. She whispered Su Huan is not right. Her voice was very low. Standing up and walking back and forth in the office. Su Huan's not right makes Gu Wan very uneasy. There is a premonition in her heart. As if there are bad things happen. 
For a while, Guan took a few deep breaths to stabilize her mind, first deal with the company's affairs, and then analyze and analyze after meeting with Su Huan tomorrow, time slowly to 6 o'clock in the afternoon, the South Metropolitan Arts College, Wei Yutong carrying a plastic bag to the gate, after waiting for more than 10 minutes to see Du Xu Eching's car, immediately walked over to get on the car, a lot of people who secretly observed see here secretly sighed, in their hearts, Wei Yutong was taken in advance, even if the person who came to pick up Wei Yutong was a woman, they can't be blamed for thinking this way, a year ago, some people drove their cars to follow Du Xu Eching's car and saw it enter a certain manner in the east of the city, then ended the tracking, non-rich people can't afford to live in this kind of manner, can afford to live in this kind of manner is certainly big brother, big brother certainly won't condescend to go to pick up a woman, this rumor slowly spread in the circle of those who hunt for women around the art school. Now, basically no one will go to talk to Wei Yutong. These sex hunters are very smart. They are a little bit of money, but they own this family money and live in the manner compared to the big brother, completely not enough to look at. Once the big man is offended, it will be a matter of minutes before he crushes himself to death. Wei Yutong by chance to listen to his roommate asked when he realized what was going on, laughed a little and asked a rhetorical question. We ordinary people want to change their fate what to do. The first thing you need to do is to get your hands dirty. What is the psychology of the roommate Wei Yutong see very clearly, especially between the girls. The most intolerable is, you live better than me. Eight people a dormitory hooking in quite a lot. Wei Yutong usually communicate with the roommate very little. The family is better than their own surface with their own jokes actually do not take themselves seriously. The family is similar to their own or looking forward to other people are not as good as their own. The first year did not find. Sophomore found this point, Wei Yutong and the exchange between the roommates become less, cannot communicate to not communicate, now Wei Yutong part-time job to earn money, has the family with their own almost a few people far behind, the results of the body type class also surpassed all the roommates, the physique master certificate has been examined, outsiders only know that it's elementary, in fact, Wei Yutong has already taken the intermediate level, now that she was in her senior year, there was no problem at all in taking the senior level before graduation, in the future, relying on the senior body worker certificate, one can also get a job with a monthly salary of 3,000 very easily, together with the nutritionist certificate she already has. Wei Yutong isn't worried about where she'll go after graduation, and can get a good job by relying on these documents in her hands. Of course, Wei Yutong is not satisfied with a job that pays a few thousand dollars a month. Du Xu Weqing and Wei Yutong went to Su Huan's home, accompanied Su Huan to eat dinner together and then drank a little tea before going to their respective rooms to rest, they needed to wake up early tomorrow morning, the next morning, Su Huan and Wei Yutong left the villa at 6 o'clock to start jogging, while jogging, Wei Yutong paid attention to Su Huan's breathing style, let Su Huan use a new breathing method to jog, this breathing method is the latest jogging aerobic breathing method, everything was the same as a year ago, Su Huan headed to his study after his morning exercise, reading, coding and practicing brushwork, keeping his time on a tight schedule, after lunch, he rested for a while and started strength training in the afternoon. After dinner Du Xu Eching sent Wei Yutong away. Su Huan drank some tea and drove away from the house, going to Gu Bol's side. As in the past, as soon as Su Huan drove up, Gu Bol's immediately came out to take Su Huan's arm and entered the house. Zhou Mengxia and other bodyguards did not appear at all. Drinking tea in the living room and chatting for a while before going up the stairs. Su Huan lying on the bed smoking cigarettes on the face of a thoughtful expression. Gu Bol has gone to the restroom to wash up. A good time to come back to lie beside Su Huan. Stopped for a while and said, Su Huan, you have changed. People will change with the environment. Su Huan calmly said this sentence. Gu Bol said calmly, I'm talking about your attitude towards me has changed. Su Huan asked in return, Isn't this a normal attitude between lovers? Gu Bol opened his mouth and didn't say anything. A good while time Gu Bol's this only leisurely said, I really hope that you are still the original you. The original me gloomy not sunshine, do not like to socialize with people, these are all you tired of, now that I'm starting to change, you want the original me, don't you think this idea of yours is inconsistent, Su Huan is very calm to say this sentence, Gu Bols did not speak, soon, Gu Bol snapped to sit up and look at Su Huan said you this is I will completely from your heart out of, yes, in the past, Su Huan did not want to take care of Gu Bols. the heart of Gu Bols have gas, rough, Gu Bols have no problem, Know that this is because Su Huan hearts still have their own, but at the moment, Su Huan is a lot gentler than last time, but Gu Bols clearly feel a sense of detachment. Su Huan no longer has his own position in his heart. Su Huan lying there looking at the ceiling, calmly spoke not completely move you out of the heart. However, compared with a year ago and indeed some less, hearing Su Huan this sentence, 
The tears in the eyes cannot help but flow down. Guan Pearly Rain looked at Su Huan. This time Su Huan did not have the previous kind of frowning boredom performance. I said I want to change my lifestyle. You will slowly see that I still have a lot of changes to make. Whether or not you can accept the change me, you decide yourself. If you can't accept it tell me. I will never disturb your life. After saying that Su Huan sat up, intending to go to find his own clothes to put on and leave. Guan immediately held Su Huan's waist, not letting Su Huan go to dress. Su Huan did not move, did not relay down, but waited for a while and patted Gu Wan's hand. Gu Wan gritted her teeth, full of extremely reluctant look loosened Su Huan's waist. Just watch Su Huan slowly dressed. Su Huan turned around and looked at Gu Bol's eyes and said, This vacation I emptied my entire mind. Let go of all the grudges of the past. People can't live in other people's opinions, they should live out their own wonderful. I'm no longer the Su Huan who is willing to be a housewife for you. I'm going to start my legendary life. I'm no longer the gloomy Su Huan. I'm starting to work out. My life will be sunny. Still, I'm no longer the Su Huan in your mind. The Su Huan who put her happiness on others will gradually die out. Take care. After Su Huan finished speaking, she turned around and left. Gu Wan sat there motionless, shocked by Su Huan's words. Her brain was still pondering over Su Huan's words. Until the sound of the door closing came over. Gu Wan reacted, grabbed the robe next to her and put it on and chased her out. When Su Huan walked down the stairs, Gu Wan caught up and hugged Su Huan's waist and said, I don't care what you have become, you are my man, and this will never change. I don't care how many women you have around you, in the future will follow the marriage, I will not break with you. Gu Wan's eyes flowed with tears as quickly said words, Su Huan did not say anything, has been waiting until Gu Wan no longer speak. Su Huan only then turned his body to look at Gu Bol. Raising his hand and stroking the face of Gu Bol's, he said, Don't promise anything, it's hard for people to do what they promise, this is the reality. What happened between you and me verifies this. Right now you are in love with me as you were when we first got married, and in a few years, as we are now, without Yi Ishan appearing, there will still be Zhang Ishan, Li Ishan, Zhao Ishan, and so on. The hearts of old men change, but the hearts of old men change easily. Take care. Finished stroking Gu Wan's head. Su Huan turned around and hit the villa door toward the car to go. Gu Wan followed in the back and stood in the doorway without going over. Her heart was in turmoil, and she lost the calmness that she used to have everything under her control. I just watched Su Huan get into the car and start the car to leave. Gu Wan stood there for a long time without moving, her mind still recalling Su Huan's words. I can't wait to change the old man's heart, but the old man's heart is easy to change. Isn't this talking about herself? Is she that bad? Gu Wan began to doubt herself at this time doubting whether she is really too easy to change her mind. After standing for a long time and feeling a bit cold, Gu Wan turned around and went back to the house, closed the door and went upstairs to her room. Sitting on the sofa and hugging her furry bear, pondering over Su Huan's words, Su Huan returned home, nodded to Du Xueqing who was waiting for him and went upstairs. Du Xueqing looked at Su Huan's back with a worried look in her eyes, she could already tell that Su Huan was in a bad mood. However, Su Huan's emotional things are not their own can interfere issued a long sigh hey, leaving the villa towards his own residence. Su Huan did not go to the bedroom, but went to the study, opened the computer directly clicked on the Dasha Poetry Copyright Network, wrote down the Magnolia to register. Su Huan was a celebrity certified by the website. Celebrities have special access. The certification was completed very quickly and all the procedures were completed. After closing the website, Su Huan opened the microblogging site and wrote on it, Tonight, I went to see a friend, and when I left, I was inspired by my thoughts, and I created a magnolia flower for your enjoyment. Magnolia flower. If life is only like the first time you see it, what is the matter with the sad painting fan in the autumn wind? The old man's heart has changed at leisure, but the old man's heart is easy to change. When the night is half over, the rain of tears will not make me complain. I wish I could have been more fortunate than I am, and I wish I could have been more fortunate than I am. In the past, I couldn't understand the true meaning of Nalan Seed's words, but today, after separating from Gu Bols, I have a very deep understanding of this poem. Su Huan looked at the microblogging began today's. At the moment the microblogging below has begun to have a variety of replies. A long time. Su Huan closed the computer and left the study to rest. Su Huan absolutely could not have imagined what kind of storm his song Magnolia would set off this evening. Just because of the sentence, to love if long time and not in the morning and evening, set off a wave of fever. Attention to Su Huan microblogging. Dasha Poetry Copyright Network account of the people increased by a lot. At this moment, this high-quality magnolia flower was released. So how could people be calm after seeing it? The first to blow up was definitely the literary circle. 
Many people had gone to bed but received a call from an old friend to get up and turn on their computers or use their cell phones to watch. Some people watched it on poetry. Come, others on Weibo. Literary people immediately felt blocked in their hearts after reading this Mulan rhetoric. Life is only like the first time. This sentence is too powerful to kill. Love is good in the beginning, especially the first time to see the heart of the moment. Unfortunately, that moment cannot become eternal. If life is really only as good as the first sight, this is too many people's heart backlog of words. Some people are for the idle change, but the old heart. But said the old heart of people easy to change. This sentence is moved. Many literati have started to discuss in the circle, analyzing Su Huan's psychology. Combined with microblogging, Su Huan said he went to see this woman tonight. With his relationship is certainly unusual. This woman and Su Huan's feelings are very deep. Ordinary women will not let Su Huan have such feelings. Let Su Huan write such a moving poem. There is a great possibility that this woman is Su Huan's lover. The possibility of her changing her heart and hurting Su Huan is very high. Waiting to change the heart of the old man, but saying that the old man's heart is easy to change. This sentence is an excellent proof. The literary circle and the poetry circle formed a group that is still discussing, analyzing what kind of blow Su Huan suffered before he wrote this poem, analyzing what kind of state of mind Su Huan is in at this moment. Little by little, time passed. And many literary people began to retweet Su Huan's microblog and attach their own interpretations. The night passed. People get up to start a new day of work. Many people are fried. See their teacher to recommend a poem in the group. Some of their attention microblogging account is also forwarding the poem. After reading it, everyone was shocked. A larger scale of retweeting began. The network was the first to start reporting on this matter. The president of the Dashia Literary Association, Chui Tianya, commented on Su Huan's poem. Giving it an extremely high evaluation. For the first time, he openly admitted that he was inferior to Su Huan in terms of poetry creation, and that he could not write such a shocking poem. Lu Jiangwen, the president of the Dashia Poetry Association, also retweeted and commented, highly evaluating Su Huan's poem and comforting Su Huan. I hope Su Huan will be strong and not be defeated by her feelings. Be brave and get up to start a new life. President and vice president of the Writers Association. President and Vice President of the Painting and Calligraphy Association. Experts and professors from all walks of life popped up. All of them gave Su Huan a favorable review for this poem, and they all comforted Su Huan not to be hurt by her feelings. The first of the major forums hot searches were all occupied by Su Huan. This was the first time such a phenomenon had occurred, leaving a lot of people not expecting it. As noon passed, many media outlets began to report on it, and the heat was still climbing at an extremely terrifying rate. Cheerful Technology Company. The president's office. Guan looked at Su Huan this Magnolia days. Eyes read inner mixed feelings. The latest change is their own. Su Huan's change only began after the divorce. Their own yesterday even said Su Huan changed. If life is only like the first sight, the first sight of the thumping heart. Su Huan heart. Their own why not heart. Suddenly, Guan lying on the table. Wu 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 cried out. Outside, the Cheng Yi heard the sound of the door open to look at the exit. Zhou Mengxia came over. Cheng Yi whispered a president in the big cry. Zhou Mengxia knew what was going on, sighed and did not say a word to sit aside. The outside world forwarded more. Good poetry is to withstand scrutiny and repeatedly chewing the flavor. Like old wine, the more aged the more fragrant. The more you savor a good poem, the deeper it goes into your heart. These days, who can't have some regrets? Who hasn't experienced the beauty of the first sight? Even if it's a secret love. Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi De, and Zhang Wen Yuan all saw it as well. All three of them did not say anything after reading it, and inwardly they knew very well that Su Huan's poem was talking about Gu Wan. The Yu family also saw the crowd. After reading cannot speak, who has no regrets in the heart, who does not have that life in the heart of the first time. People from rich and powerful families are not immune. Inside the time of emotion, have to admit that Su Huan in poetry talent, really is not the average person can be compared with it. Yu Hongdo, Zhou Xinyun, Su Ran Ran, and Baby Mo. The four of them also saw it and could guess that Su Huan was talking about Gu Wan, although the poem was saddening. However, the four of them were really in a good mood. Gu Wan had heard Su Huan once again, and the possibility of Su Huan getting back together with Gu Wan was once again reduced. The possibility of Su Huan and Gu Wan getting back together was once again reduced. Reducing the number of strong rivals was definitely a good thing. Inside the manor, Du Xueqing is also feeling emotional, remembering the scene when she and her husband first met. Until now, can't figure out how her husband would change to make herself unrecognizable. Tough to break their own hearts. Today, the day passed. The next day, the national media is covered with reports of Su Huan Magnolia, combined with the analysis of those literary authorities. Su Huan was hurt by his lover before he had the feeling to write this poem. 
the first person of poetry in the world. This title was put on Su Huan's head, and the media reported on it repeatedly in order to make other literati come forward to fight with Su Huan. The saying is good. You want to fight with Su Huan you have to come up with a work that is not inferior to Su Huan's work. If not, you will become a complete clown. At that time, there will be countless people jump out to step on you. But right now, no one can come up with a work comparable to this magnolia flower. Not to mention that these people who are alive right now don't have it. And they didn't have it even a hundred years ago. In the last hundred years or so, no one has been able to find a work that can compete with this poem. The literati are not stupid. They will not jump out and risk universal condemnation at this time. Seeing that there were no literati jumping out to make things happen, many people who wanted to eat melon were dumbfounded. Could it be that those literati recognized Su Huan's title as the world's no? One poetry man, just as everyone was speculating, the official account of Dragon Academy was the first to send out an article in support of Su Huan, believing that Su Huan's title as the world's first person in poetry was well deserved. If anyone is unconvinced, take out a reciprocal work to defend. This is our school's outstanding students, not by you villains to push. Dragon Tang Academy calf protecting attitude manifested to the fullest. For a while, the momentum of Dragon Academy was unrivaled. This official announcement immediately set off a huge debate. Many people want to refute, but unfortunately, cannot get the equivalent works. They could only endure silently without saying anything, especially the few universities that wanted to surpass Dragon Totem Academy. The presidents of these universities were each very helpless. Why hadn't their own universities appeared with talents like Su Huan? Just as everyone was hotly debating, Chui Tianya, the president of the Great Summer Literature Association, published a microblog, believing that this title was rightfully placed on Su Huan's head, with Chui Tianya leading the way. More and more literary bigwigs published microblogs recognizing this title. This period of time, with the media coverage that made Su Huan red, there were too many people who wanted to interview Su Huan, but unfortunately, Su Huan did not accept any media interviews. These days there is another place that is more difficult. That is the Dasha Literature Novel Network. The book Wuling Gaidian has attracted a lot of readers under the constant diversion. As a result, Su Huan did not update in the past few days. The readers are not happy. There is a reward. There is a crazy brush to urge more votes. There are to the site to call. In short, so that the editorial department of Dasha Chinese Network is incomparably big head. Editor-in-chief De Baojian can't be angry at, brother ticket. This is the boss of the boss. Zhou Jiahang is also having a hard time. Zhao Kaifeng called him. Do not disturb Su Huan in the near future. Su Huan is in a bad mood. Zhou Jiahang understands what Zhao Kaifeng said. Su Huan wrote the poem Magnolia which has been analyzed by too many literary scholars. And they all unanimously agree that Su Huan is suffering from a love injury. Now that Zhao Kaifeng also said so, this matter is ironclad. Today, De Bao Jian really couldn't help himself and once again came over to Zhou Jia Hang to talk about this matter boss. This is what our editorial department has just received after saying that. He placed a box on Zhou Jia Hang's desk. Zhou Jia Hang with suspicion to open a look froze. Inside is actually an enlarged version of the blade. He couldn't help but say damn. Are those people crazy? Big Sword nodded and said. There are indeed many readers who are going crazy. And one of them has already rewarded 100. 000. And every time he rewards them. He carries a sentence that says, update quickly, and say a word if you are short of money. Boss, if we keep dragging this on without an explanation, brother ticket will be fine, but we will definitely be fine. Readers were dragged by the author's broken more. Some people cannot stand it will do crazy things. This kind of thing although will not often appear, but, every time it will cause personnel losses to the publishing house. Now is the network era. Dasha Literary Novel Network Company address where it is in the open. If someone makes irrational things, between the time. Thinking of this, Zhou Jiahong took out his cell phone to call Zhao Kaifeng. After the phone call Zhou Jiahong quickly said the matter again. I hope that Zhao Kaifeng and Su Huan said a word, published a single explanation, or website this side of the announcement of playing ticket brother is Su Huan this matter. After all, now Su Huan is read, can also publicize the book, and by the way, let the reader understand, not the author intentionally delay, but the author suffered a love injury. Zhao Kaifeng thought for a while and said, you wait for my phone, I ask him, good, I'll wait for Zhao Xiao phone Zhou Jiahan was very polite to say this sentence, the phone came the sound of disconnection, putting down the phone, he looked at Dabalogen and said wait, now we can only wait for Zhao Xiao's call, both of them were helpless, on the other hand, Zhao Kaifeng called Su Huan, Su Huan really picked up, Zhao Kaifeng will explain the situation, Su Huan thought for a while and said you tell him, today to resume updates, Zhao Kaifeng asked to slow down or not, I do not know what happened to Su Huan and Guan side. I'm fine. 
I didn't update in the past few days because I was too lazy to do so. I have a stockpile of articles on my side. So I'll start resuming today Su Huan said calmly. And Zhao Kaifun laughed when he heard it. He didn't point out Su Huan. Anyway, Yu Hongdo has already departed from Shangjiang City to South Metropolis today. In a few days there will be a hard time for you kid. Old four, if you can't even get past the love barrier. Don't talk to me about letting the world look up to you. After saying this, Zhao Kaifeng hung up the phone. Without stimulating Su Huan. Sometimes it really didn't work. It wasn't long before Zhou Jiahun, the CEO of Dasha Literature and Fiction Network, received a call from Zhao Kaifeng and hung up after chatting for a few moments. Send a text message to the readers of Wu Lin Why Sure. Just tell them that we've gone through a lot of trouble to contact the author. And that the updates will resume from today finished with a glance at Big Treasure Sword. The Big Treasure Sword immediately comprehended to arrange. Time is not long. Martial arts outside the history of the book update dynamic appeared. This is the official and update description. The author's home appeared to be an emergency this is a break. The site has been a nine bulls and two tigers to contact the author. The author promises to resume updating today. Readers will have to wait and see. A lot of readers see this note. The impatient heart more or less calmed down a bit. As long as the update on the line. In the afternoon, Su Huan opened the computer and logged into the writer's background. And immediately saw that new chapters can directly start charging. Thought for a while. And decided that today's update is not charged. Tomorrow in the beginning to set up a charge. The original deposit will be set up three chapters timed release. And wrote a thank you to the readers. Saying that the site requires today to start charging. This period of time because of their own factors caused by the break sorry readers. And after contacting the site. Today does not charge. And then start charging tomorrow. I hope readers will forgive me. Also set the release time. Complete these directly exit. South Metropolis. More than 2 o'clock in the afternoon. From the Xiangjiang city, the plane slowly landed. A beautiful woman and eight bodyguards and assistant escort out of the airport. The beauty exuded a powerful aura. Coupled with the surrounding bodyguards escorting her, many people automatically avoided to make way. Yu Hongdo and his entourage immediately went to the parking lot after meeting the people waiting outside the airport. And in a short time, a fleet of four high-grade commercial vehicles left the airport. Yu Hongdo, formally driving in the southern city. The time slowly reached 7 o'clock in the evening. The martial arts history on time update. Five minutes later. Just when the readers who finished the third shift felt that they couldn't get enough of it. The prompt appeared again. No wonder it was four shifts today. And clicked on it with delight. Discovered that it was the author's note. Many people resumed a sentence. Understanding. Tiancheng City. Lin Yi met with baby M.O. at the coffee shop. Took a sip of coffee. Put down the cup and said you next time you find me put the location to the tea house. Coffee is hard for me to drink. After hearing this. Imo Bao Bao looked up at Lin Ida and said Humph, I'm still not your sister, we're still not relatives. After listening to the words of the baby Imo, Lin Ida said, I'm still not your sister. After listening to the words of baby Imo, Lin Ida raised his hand and rubbed his head and said, Zhou Xianyan put down her reserve and ran abroad to accompany Su Huan on vacation for half a month. Yu Hong Do put down her own pride, and she should be in the southern metropolis today. Su Ran Ran has sent a team to the southern city to talk to a certain food company about acquisitions. Preparing herself for the trip to the southern city. They're all moving forward according to their own plans. What are you doing? You do not strive to move forward so how can I help you? Directly will Su Huan tight over in your bed? Lin Yidi is now forced to say heavy words. You can't let go of Su Huan go after her. Twisting and hesitating to get angry in Tiancheng city is of no use. Baby Mo's face became even more unsightly. Lowering her head. Aggrieved and wanting to shed tears. Baby, I want to help you. But you have to create some conditions for me to help you. If you have Joe Xianyan's courage to run to Su Huan's vacation place to accompany him for half a month, I dare to hold a knife on his neck to force him to marry you. The feeling you're giving me right now is that you're hesitant about Su Huan's feelings. If you're not sure you really still like him, just give up. It's a good thing for you, for Su Huan, and for me. Lin Yi de very nonchalantly said these words out. Finished with a glance at baby M.O., is not all the literati are twisted in hesitant state when it comes to their feelings. Back then during the university Su Huan is this kind of hanging. Completely is a small sufferer. Bear from Gubol. Yu Hongdo. M.O. Baby. Su Ran Ran. The first time I saw this, I was so happy to see you. And I was so happy to see you. Eventually or Gu Wan open up directly slept with Su Huan. Only to end the drama of the women fighting for their husbands. M.O. Baby removed glasses. Drew a tissue to wipe the tears on the face. Hard understand. Linida this is on their own drag style a little hate iron not steel. Just want to speak when Linita asked it is not in the southern city side of the funds to buy a house is not enough. How much difference you talk. Uncle's family economic conditions. Although not compared to their own family. 
but can also be described as a rich family. In the southern city to buy a suite is not a big deal. Ink baby is not bad money. Every now and then write something to submit. The manuscript fee did not earn less. Plus published a collection of essays. According to their own knowledge, just this collection of essays will bring baby MO8 figure income. It should not be bad money right. Guan said while shedding tears. The image of a strong woman in front of Zhang Yinhua a trace does not exist. Zhang Yinhua looked at such Guan is very heartfelt. He wants to change his habits. He wants to change his preference for a quiet life. And so on. All decided by his unwillingness to retain the memories of being with me anymore. Through this change, I can be completely erased from his heart. Guan cried with pearly blossoms to get all these words out. And Zhang Yinhua looked at Guan, not knowing for a moment how to persuade her. Why do people have to wait until they have lost before they know to cherish the person in front of them? The result of having a confused mind and thinking nonsense all day long is horrible. Maybe Gu Wan will do something stupid. After thinking for a moment, Zhang Yinhua made up her mind that it was better to give Gu Wan a false hope. Without this hope, Gu Wan really couldn't hold out in this condition, and it was very likely that she would self-harm. You should look at it from a different perspective. This might be a good thing for you Zhang Yinhua said slowly. Gu Wan looked up at Zhang Yinhua with a puzzled expression. Zhang Yinhua calmly asked, he is now just treating you as an ordinary lover to see, right? Guan nodded her head and said yes, he is gentle with me, but this gentleness precisely shows that the weight of my heart in his heart has been reduced, he can already treat me with a normal heart. Zhang Yinhua nodded after hearing this and said, this is precisely your turnaround. Guan was completely confused by Zhang Yinhua's words, how did this become her turnaround? This is her own crisis. Zhang Yinhua inquired, what is the first line of Magnolia? If life is only like the first sight, what is the matter with the autumn wind? Guan said here did not continue, as if she understood a little of what Zhang Yinhua meant. The things of the past must be past. Not to uncover this one you will never have the possibility of reconciliation. You must rediscover the kind of feeling you had when you first saw each other. Without it, go to cultivate. A year cannot be two years. Three years, five years, until, life if only is the first time to see, that kind of feeling to research on the heart of Su Huan. Men's first heart is the only one, is the softest place in their heart, no matter how indulgent they become at a certain time, there is also a return to the first heart that day, this can be years, or it can be a moment, and in these few years, you are treating him with this kind of beginner's heart, do you think at that time Su Huan will still be able to maintain his normal heart towards you, you have to remember one sentence, a man is a teenager until he dies, Zhang Yinhua finished looking at Gu Wan, Gu Wan's eyes brightened quite a bit, obviously moved by Zhang Yinhua's words, there is a prerequisite for doing this. You have to see clearly whether you are harboring guilt and want to make it up to Su Huan, or you continue to love him deeply. If you can't see this clearly, you have no hope no matter what you do. Guan raised her head and just wanted to speak. Zhang Yinhua waved her hand and didn't let Guan speak. How do you think how to do not need to talk to me? Also don't need to let me feel how. You have to ask your own heart. You have to be firm in your mind. You have to ask your own heart. You have to be firm in your mind. You seriously reflect on it. From the time you divorced until now. Your strategy against Su Huan has changed a few times. It is your constant change step by step pressing only accelerated the transformation of Su Huan. Gu Wan listened to the words of Zhang Yinhua, brain pondering the things that happened in these months. As Zhang Yinhua said, several times with Su Huan get along with their own heart is not the same every time. Although it is in order to let Su Huan with their own back, but their own approach but let Su Huan produce more quickly with their own clear relationship ideas. Even if you realize that this will make Su Huan bored, but there is not the slightest sign of change. Until this time with Su Huan together, completely realized that Su Huan has begun to change. I will become panicked and do not know why. Without saying a word and thinking for a while, Guan picked up the teacup in front of her and said with a sincere expression Sister Zhang, I seem to know what I should do. It's good if you think clearly. If you really think clearly immediately change yourself. A moment to go back after you take a look in the mirror to see yourself this look. You this look really. Said here Jiang Inhua did not speak. Guan will go home and take a look in the mirror to understand their own meaning. The two teacups a touch, respectively, a mouth dry, began to diverge from the topic of chatting about other. Ten minutes after leaving the tea house, respectively, drive away. Guan returned home. The first thing is to run to the bedroom bathroom mirror. Really do not know. A really shocked. Thinking about it immediately went downstairs and drove out alone. Without anyone, not knowing where Guan was going. Guan drove all the way to find Su Huan. Almost to Su Huan Manor time to Su Huan made a phone call I'll see you at the door. Say a few words to you on the go. Su Huan did not refuse. Agreed to go to the manor gate to wait for her. When Gu Bols drove to. Su Huan was already standing at the gate. Gu Bols turned off the engine and pushed the door to get off. Su Huan froze when he saw Gu Bols appearance. 
At this moment, Guan's hair is not glossy, with a strong air of exhaustion, the whole person has lost a few laps and become incredibly haggard. This was the first time Su Huan had seen such a Guan, immediately walked over quickly and raised his hand to grab Guan's shoulder, and asked with a grave expression, What's wrong? Guan looked at Su Huan. Su Huan body that kind of want to alienate their own feeling did not dissipate. However, at this moment, concerned about asking themselves what happened, but also Su Huan true character embodiment, Guan didn't say a word, took a step forward and directly hugged Su Huan's waist. Su Huan patted Gu Wan's back and asked, What happened with me? Must tell the truth. Gu Wan did not speak, but hugged for a while on the release. Step back and look at Su Huan. Eyes showing remorse, guilt, love, humble, and other looks. I'm fine. Really. I didn't expect to become like this. After you left that day, I couldn't eat. I kept having nightmares when I slept. And the whole person was muddled and uninteresting. These days I've been thinking about whether I feel guilty about you after the divorce and want to make it up to you or whether I'll continue to love you. Now I can tell you for sure that I continue to love you. These days I also want to understand. Before the divorce lied and threw you down to see other men to make your heart how much pain, which realized that before the divorce of their own behavior to you how much harm, it was my heart that changed. If my heart hadn't changed, no amount of math would have broken us up. I was wrong. I was really wrong. Guan said words of remorse. Tears once again could not control to stay. Guan's words still didn't stop. It was only after the words had been thoroughly said that they could truly begin again. I still love you. I know that the current me is no longer worthy of you, and the way I look now is a disgusting look, but I won't let go. I'll start to change and become again what I was back then when we first met. I'm leaving, the next time we meet will be the Gu Wan you and I first met. The Gu Wan of that time, her body and mind was only for Su Huan. No one else will be tolerated. Finished lifting a hand to wipe the tears on his face, Wanted to hug Su Huan just stretched out his hand and retracted with a bitter smile, turned around and got into the car to start the car to leave. Su Huan stood there and did not move, has been watching Gu Wan drive away until you cannot see the vehicle, and only then came back to God, so stood there for a long time did not move, a good while Su Huan turned around and walked towards the inside, the heart is in turmoil again, it was hard to treat Gu Wan with a normal heart, but at this time, Gu Wan came back to this hand, remembering Gu Wan's appearance just now. It is false not to be heartbroken. Gu Wan's meaty but not fat body has always been Su Huan's favorite. Just half a month without meeting, Gu Wan was emaciated into this appearance. This is how Su Huan did not expect. The reason why crosser Su Huan was determined to stay away from Gu Wan and cut herself off completely from her was because through only a few encounters with her, she found out that Gu Wan didn't really recognize her mistake. She only thought that she was being counted on, and that the main mistake was not on herself. But this moment is different. Just now Gu Wan said these words to show that she really understand what she is wrong, admitted the mistake and expressed the idea of reform, and she is determined to change herself back to the way she was when she first met Su Huan in college. What should I do? Continue to not move in the heart. Continue to treat it as an ordinary lover? The human heart is all flesh. It is difficult to do desperate love and sex. Su Huan is once again in a state of confusion. On the other hand, Gu Wan drove home halfway to Zhou Mengxia on the phone, said he soon arrived home so that the old mom to do a little more rice. Zhou Mengxia naturally agreed. With nothing to say along the way, Gu Wan drove back home, and lunch had already been set out in the dining room, did not immediately go to eat, but went upstairs to return to the room from a certain drawer to take out a bottle of Lady Multivitamin tablets to eat down a piece, which went downstairs to the dining room to eat. After eating and drinking, he directly went upstairs to rest. Su Huan does not like so thin and so emaciated himself. He does not like himself at this moment. The first step to change is to change the current image. Nandu City, Longjiang Business Park, Building 7, 7th Floor. Yu Hongdo stood in front of the large floor-to-ceiling window and looked outside, to the southern city for a week. Has not called Su Huan. Know that this time Su Huan mood is not good. Temporarily do not see Su Huan for good. He put his mind on the formation and operation of the South Metropolis branch. After a week of busy, organizational structure has been established. The rest is slowly rich. The construction of the branch is expected to be completed by the end of May, counting the renovation time, before the end of June can be completely settled. These two days still need to continue to interview personnel, in a couple of days and then contact Su Huan. I believe that by that time Su Huan also basically recovered. Still in South Metropolis, Feng Ji Food Company, the owner Feng Chan Yu and Li Bing, the representative of the team dispatched by Su Ran Ran, formally signed the company's sale agreement. Su's Food Group purchased Fong Ji Food Company at a price of $76 million and assumed Fong Ji Food Company's bank loan of more than $154 million. 
Fang's food company covers an area of more than 100 acres of factory, office buildings, dormitory buildings, canteens, raw materials, vehicles, as well as a superstores, and so on have all belonged to Su's food group. Among them, the greatest value is the superstore. Store four-story building property also belongs to Fong Ji Food Company. Tomorrow we'll formally start the handover and many items to verify. After the verification is correct, reported to the relevant departments. The relevant departments approved. The acquisition contract formally came into effect. Su Ran Ran is speeding up the industrial layout of the southern city. Still today, more than 6 o'clock in the evening, Mo Baby with a mask carrying a suitcase out of the airport exit, looking around to find C not far from the standing woman went over. This woman is called Mo Shersher, age and Mo Baby age about the same, with Mo Baby family as a relative. Mo Shersher is the daughter of Baby Mo's fifth uncle's family. After graduating from college she has been working in the southern metropolis, is a lawyer, a law and order pretty girl, seeing Baby Mo walking over, even with a mask on. Mo Shersher recognized Baby Mo at once and immediately greeted her. The two women met and hugged, before they walked towards the parking lot talking together. Baby M.O. officially set foot in South Metropolis to join the battle for Su Huan. At night, inside the manor, Du Xueqing arranged for tomorrow's things and ended the day's work to return to his room, wash up and lie on the bed. Although Su Huan behaved normally, Du Xueqing knew that Su Huan was in a bad mood and only knew that this matter was related to Gu Wan. The specific reason is not known. After playing with his cell phone for a while, he laid down to rest. At 8 o'clock in the morning, when Du Xueqing woke up and started to work, Su Huan had already been practicing for more than an hour, and came back from a sweaty run. After saying hello to Du Xueqing, he went upstairs to take a shower and change his clothes, and in a short time, he went downstairs to eat breakfast. Even if Su Huan's body doesn't need it at the moment, there is still a medicinal meal at every meal. This medicinal meal is a medicinal meal that strengthens the foundation and cultivates the vitality of the body which Du Xueqing learned when she worked as a housekeeper in the house of a certain rich man with a hidden surname in Shanghai City. At that time is also Du Xueqing pick up a leak. The original old housekeeper because of health reasons began to pension. Du Xueqing because the background is relatively clean was selected. After half a year, the invisible tycoon passed away at the age of 102. In the rich man's words, he lived so long, thanks to the heavy money to get this solid foundation and cultivation of the medicinal formula. When Du Xueqing was dismissed, she had already mastered the ratio of this medicinal diet and boiling method. And after returning to the southern city, although she also served as a housekeeper in other tycoon's house, she has not been able to come up with this medicinal diet. Du Xueqing and Su Huan's mutual trust increased a lot. After the year Su Huan vacation back, Du Xueqing told Su Huan about the matter of the medicinal diet. Su Huan understand the origin of this medicinal diet, agreed to Du Xueqing's arrangements. The medicinal diet occasionally eat once not much effect only a long time to eat in order to show its power. It's all about persistence. In the words of the invisible tycoon, it is best for a man to start eating this kind of medicinal food after he loses his first time. Du Xueqing has always remembered this sentence, already explained to the chef to make three meals a day. As long as Su Huan eats at home, there must be a portion of the medicinal meal. After eating and drinking, Su Huan went outside for a walk then went back to his study to get busy. Reading books, practicing brush lettering and coding. These three things must be completed in the morning. After lunch he rested for two hours and then went to the gym for a strength workout. Before going to bed in the evening, he quickly browsed through some international financial news, especially where he had focused his attention. After doing all this, Su Huan's day was done. Gu Wan was really starting to change. Waking up early every day for about half an hour of morning exercise, then eating breakfast and going to work. Previously, the midday meal was in the company to make do with a little but now it is to arrange for a good lunch at home. Bai Zhou Mengxia is responsible for arranging for people to go home and take it. The women's multivitamin tablets that they ate off and on were also taken to the company office, and they ate a capsule at lunch every day. Also added a daily nap two hours session. The afternoon 1 to 5 o'clock off duty time immediately go home. No longer carry out any overtime. After returning home and having dinner, I would go for a walk, and before going to bed, I would do half an hour of fitness exercises, and end with a shower and go to bed. Early to bed and early to rise this article began to be strictly enforced. Time unknowingly passed four days. This day the sky rained. The temperature also fell several degrees. Su Huan did not get up early. At 10 o'clock in the study when reading, the phone rang, picked up a look as Yu Hongdo called, directly picked up. Su Huan asked curiously Hongdo, why this time to call me? Yu Hongdo's voice came over. Don't talk nonsense, let your people open the door. I'm almost to the door of your manor. Su Huan froze immediately after Su Huan reacted, 
with a surprised voice said you in the southern city? I've been in South Metropolis for more than 10 days, today I came over to see you, quickly let your doorman be ready to open the door Yu Hongdo even said these words with a smile, I will immediately call the doorman Su Huan immediately said, that's it, hang up, Yu Hongdo hung up the phone after saying that, Su Huan picked up the landline and pressed a key, the call soon went through sir, this is the doorman, immediately there is a car coming over, you be ready to open the door Su Huan said calmly, the doorman agreed as soon as he heard it, only then did Su Huan hang up the phone. Putting down the phone, he left the study and went downstairs. And after seeing Du Xu etching, he said, Yu Hongdo will be coming over soon, so make some arrangements. Du Xu etching nodded and immediately went to prepare. Su Huan communicated with Du Xu etching. Du Xu etching knows very well who Yu Hongdo is. Su Huan stood in front of the door looking at the rain outside waiting. Time is not long. A battery car leading a high-grade business car slowly appeared. Su Huan only then picked up the side of the umbrella to open towards the parking lot to go. When Su Huan walked to the parking lot, the business car also parked in the parking lot. Du Xu Eching also appeared at this time with a person with an umbrella appeared in the side of Su Huan. The car door opened. A workplace outfit Yu Hongdo down from the car. Su Huan quickly walked over. Yu Hongdo also quickly ran to Su Huan umbrella. Just stood well. Yu Hongdo came a Chu. The spring rain is still a bit cool. Even after so many days in South City. Yu Hongdo has not fully adapted. Su Huan sent the umbrella in his hand forward and said, Take it. Although Yu Hongdo did not know what Su Huan meant, she still took the umbrella. At this point, Su Huan took off his jacket and draped it over Yu Hongdo's body and said, Let's go. And then led Yu Hongdo toward the main building. Yu Hongdo faced with a faint smile. Walking with Su Huan, the cold outside has not cared. During the university period, a certain time with Su Huan out also encountered heavy rain. At that time as also Su Huan took off his own jacket draped in Yu Hongdo body to let its cold. After returning to school, Su Huan also suffered a wind chill in the infirmary for two days to lose liquid. Everyone does not know. Su Huan in college during the Yu Hongdo is a feeling in heart. Only, at that time Su Huan a little inferiority complex, will be this little feeling deeply hidden. Even Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi De, and Zhang Wen Yuan, who were in the same dormitory, didn't realize this. Su Huan was truly unaware of how awesome the people from the starting point orphanage were. How many people in the heavens and the earth wanted to obtain this identity? Yu Hongdo's personality was a bit similar to Zhao Kaifeng's in some ways. Whether she liked or disliked someone was expressed in the open. And even if Su Huan was stupid, he realized that Yu Hongdo treated herself differently from the others. A real girl, with their first paycheck earned by handing out flyers, invited themselves to eat barbecue. Su Huan even more stupid can distinguish between good and bad. Su Huan heard Zhao Kai Feng said Yu Hongdo's family history, although also started financial operations and make money, but at that time Su Huan earned a little money with the Yu family this head of the behemoth compared to, it is like the light of a glowing fire compared to the white moon, just as Zhao Kai Feng three people think, Su Huan was a small sufferer, ignorant of the concept of love and humble origin, so that Su Huan did not dare to step over the thunderbolt, it wasn't until he was taken down by the bold Gubol that Su Huan was able to put an end to this deeply hidden entanglement, after the two entered the house, Du Xu Eching did not immediately bring tea over, but began to prepare ginger tea, because Du Xu Eching heard Zhu Hongdo say that the temperature in Xiangjiang City was relatively high, and it was difficult to adapt to the weather here in the South Metropolis for a while. Su Huan accompanied Zhu Hongdo to chat in the living room, and by the way, he turned on the air conditioner and started blowing warm air to raise the temperature of the living room. A few minutes later, Du Xu Eching came over with ginger tea? Su Huan saw that it was ginger tea and gave Du Xu Eching an extremely satisfied look. Du Xu Eching put down the tea and gave a slight nod to the duo before leaving. Yu Hongdo looked at Du Xu Eching's back, turned her head to look at Su Huan again, and snapped out a sentence. You hired such a tempting housekeeper. Are you storing some kind of crooked mind? Su Huan heard a smile, picked up the teapot to Yu Hongdo while pouring tea and said I can have what crooked mind. When this manner and this manner of workers and housekeepers are lawyers to me arranged in advance. When I came back. The first time I saw Du Butler was also shocked. At that time, the first thought was, such a beautiful woman as a housekeeper. She is not afraid of the employer's animalistic behavior? After listening to Su Huan this Yu Hongdo laughed, not far away Du Xu Eching also smiled slightly when she heard it. It turned out that when he first met with Su Huan, Su Huan was thinking this way. Yu Hongdo knows everything about Su Huan after the divorce. Just said so also to tea Su Huan. Picked up the ginger tea and took a sip and tasted it. Good. There are a few levels. At this time, Su Huan's voice once again came what time you to the southern city. How to come so many days today before contacting me? Yu Hongdo put down the teacup and looked at Su Huan and said, I wanted to contact you in advance, 
But then I saw your, life is like the first time you see it, and I knew that you were not in a good mood, so I didn't contact you, this period of time are busy with the branch, only today I have time. Hearing this sentence, Su Huan's face turned red, picking up the teacup to take a sip of ginger tea to cover his embarrassment, putting down the cup of tea, he asked again, you just said that the branch is, the company has a lot of people who are interested in the company's business, in order to chase you with this wood, I ran to the South City, by the way, responsible for the family subordinate enterprise Nanju Group South City branch of the matter Yu Hongdo did not hide their own thoughts on Su Huan, so the hall set out, Su Huan looked at such Yu Hongdo, smiled and shook his head and said, I can't match you with this second hand man, hoof, second hand can't match, third hand can match, Yu Hongdo said this sentence with a little dissatisfaction, white Su Huan a glance, don't think that you and Zhou Xinyun's things Lao Maiden do not know, Su Huan understood what was going on when he saw Yu Hongdo's blank stare, awkwardly snapping his shoes with his toes, remembering the content of Yu Hongdo's phone call to Zhao Kaifun when he was in Shanghai City, obviously, this matter of Zhou Xinyun accompanying herself on vacation was known by Yu Hongdo before she even returned, looking at a face of embarrassment expression of Su Huan, Yu Hongdo mood a lot better, continued to say I did not blame you what you difficult, you this time will not still with the same as when the university, being slept with is a good resignation, Su Huan raised his hand and rubbed his head, today Yu Hongdo and his own performance reversed, as if Yu Hongdo was a man himself as a woman, being molested by Yu Hongdo, seeing Su Huan's performance, Yu Hongdo satisfied with the end of the ginger tea and drank a mouthful, not bad, now tasting again, this ginger tea flavor can still be, after a while, Su Huan stifled a sentence you are a lady of the house, how can you talk about me like that, Oof! this young lady was too much of a lady's maiden before being won over by Gu Wan, and had I known that you were a small receptive body, I would have decisively taken you down, Yu Hongdo very tough to say this sentence, this sentence said, also let Yu Hongdo in the heart of the backlog of years of resentment dissipated some. Su Huan heard Yu Hongdo's words and quickly reacted to it, looked at Yu Hongdo with a deep meaning and asked, the boss also gave you what to say. He said that he is a little sufferer. Only Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi Da, Zhang Wen Yuan, three people will call themselves so. Yu Hongdo could tell that it must have been Zhao Kai Feng who said it. Want to know? Sit over Yu Hongdo finished patting the seat beside him. Su Huan's face immediately reappeared with an awkward look. I have greatly said to chase your words, you a man twisted like words, don't you want to change, start with this weakness, Yu Hongdo came over to meet Su Huan today, well prepared, having already projected the scene after the two met for several days, during which time she also consulted Zhao Kaifeng's opinion, now it seemed that the strategy was really effective, Zhao Kaifeng really deserves to be Su Huan's boss and best friend, this bastard understands Su Huan too well, Su Huan raised an eyebrow and stood up, a big man was so sad and then did not show some performance will seem too no bear. Walked over to sit next to Yu Hongdo body leaned back and said. Say it, let me listen to this good son betrayed me how much. Yu Hongdo could not help but listen to the end of the pta laugh. For Su Huan four people this kind of name. Sometimes it is really difficult to hold back. In Zhao Kaifeng's words, he and Su Huan, Lin Yi Da, Zhang Wen Yuan, the matter between the four. Nothing is called a father cannot be solved. If it can't be solved, then call him twice. This kind of call daddy thing between four people, only limited to four people, no one else can get involved, if you dare to get involved, the four of them will surround you together, no more jokes, I now want to know how you feel, about Zhou Xinyun, baby mo, Su Ran Ran, and me, also, with what I know about you, even if it's a vacation, you definitely won't be with Zhou Xinyun easily, is there anything I don't know, Yu Hongdo asked this question very dryly, Su Huan looked deeply at Yu Hongdo, at this moment his brain had already recovered from the shock he had just been in. Wisdom regained its dominance. If you want to deal with Yu Hongdo's strategy of opening the door, you must also use the same method to be able to do so. That is, it is often said that the method of attacking poison with poison. Things aren't complicated. I want to take a vacation to completely relax a bit to adjust my mind. To Budue Island when Zhou Xinyun has already arrived before me. A seductive swimsuit appeared in front of me. Finished with Zhou Xinyun's things and began seriously with Yu Hongdo said a few women's things, will be their own at the moment on Yu Hongdo four tangled contradictory thoughts also said, finally came a today you do not say this matter, I will find time to communicate with you one by one rationally, the hardest thing to swallow is the grace of beauty, you are deeply attached to me, and I can't think of a way to keep you from being hurt, so I've set a principle for myself, do everything possible to avoid breaking your hearts, when Su Huan said these words, his face did not even have the slightest intention of joking, his expression was extremely serious and earnest. After Yu Hongdo heard this, even though she was psychologically prepared, 
She couldn't help but raise her hand and pinch the soft flesh of Su Huan's waist and twist it. Su Huan's ah screams of misery appeared. The distant Du Xu etching heard Su Huan's scream's face revealed a smile, and then slowly shook his head. Just now have seen out. This called you Hongdo Chenjin Miss Body with a strong aura. Acting style certainly will not be gentle. Su Huan screamed miserably and verified his suspicions. Soon, Yu Hongdo loosened his hand. Su Huan rubbed his waist, opened his mouth to say how do you women screw this part so skillful. Yu Hongdo hummed Su Huan a sound did not care about Su Huan, raised his hand and rubbed his forehead. Zhao Kaifeng said is not false. Su Huan is really changing. The previous Su Huan is no matter how to force, will not be in front of their own face to reveal their heart. Moreover, that inner thought of indulging herself was not hidden in the slightest. The three sisters-in-law are right. Men will go through this hurdle no matter how poor or rich they are. And the man who passes this hurdle is the perfect husband. When you marry, even if the man you marry is a little older, you must find a man who has passed this hurdle. The man who passes this hurdle basically won't fool around outside anymore, and will put his center of gravity on his family and love his lover more. You family, elder brother Yujiren and sister-in-law is marriage. The couple is also after a few years of turbulence and integration before stabilized. Sister-in-law rely on their own generosity to let the elder brother pass this hurdle. The second brother is similar to the big brother. And the second sister-in-law's bonding time is only half the time of the big brother's sister-in-law. And now also relatively loving. The third brother is completely different. Is tired of playing introspection after seeing clearly what kind of wife they need. Which quickly took the third sister-in-law. He is now the happiest man alive. And his third wife is very satisfied. There is also Zhao Kai Feng. This kid is too shrewd. At a young age he already has the thoughts of the third brother, and knows very well what kind of wife he needs. It's just that he's still very playful and doesn't intend to quiet his mind right now. When Zhao Kai Feng calms down, the woman he ends up marrying will definitely be the same as third sister-in-law, talented and from an ordinary family. Yu Hongdo snapped out these words from the side. Why don't you just take us all, so you won't break our hearts? Su Huan heard froze, dumbfounded looking at Yu Hongdo. Never dreamed Yu Hongdo would say so. A good while back to God. Looked at Yu Hongdo said how can you think of me so? Not I think of you like this. This is inevitable. You think carefully about Zhao Kai Feng. His view of marriage is what he wants to marry his wife is what kind of. Yu Hongdo finished Zhao Kai Feng and began to say his third brother. The two things are finished after the last said. Do not go through this emotional entanglement you will not be able to see their own hearts clearly. You don't want to hurt us. But sometimes you want to have us all. More often than not it's your own moral fiber that makes you unable to accept this idea. When you're tired. You start to reflect on yourself. Just as you reflected on yourself after you lost your heart to Guan, you are now starting to make changes, wanting to live an easier and more relaxed life. Yu Hongdo directly singled out the words, not worried in the slightest that Su Huan couldn't accept it. His father Yu Mingsheng had a deep talk with him before he came to South Metropolis. Su Huan is a person with great wisdom. Talk to such a person. How the heart thinks how to say. will say the words to you instead of a good thing. Yu Hongdo believes that his father's wisdom certainly not for no reason to say this to himself, must have its deep meaning, although he is not clear what is the deep meaning, according to do will not lose, after listening to Yu Hongdo's words, Su Huan's face appeared contemplative expression, Yu Hongdo watched from the sidelines and did not speak, but carefully observed Su Huan, sure enough, father's strategy was correct, with his own understanding of Su Huan, but whenever Su Huan showed this contemplative look, it meant that he was using his genius head to seriously analyze something, Su Huan is indeed thinking about this matter. Before crossing the Su Huan although successful and famous, but has not been married. Around the confidant ring fat and thin in in constantly, with each confidant alone when very pleasant. Living together for a period of time on the beginning of each other do not adapt. Su Huan never figured out what kind of wife he should look for. It took a while for Su Huan to recover, and his eyes looked at Yu Hongdo with a deep gaze. A gaze that made Yu Hongdo's heart tremble. It was the first time that she had seen this kind of deep gaze from Su Huan. Soon. Su Huan's eyes returned to normal, said in an extremely sincere tone Hongdo, I just realized today that you have such great wisdom. Hearing these words, Yu Hongdo's face was red, and her heart was clear that the one with great wisdom was her father, not herself. While thinking about it, Su Huan spoke again Hongdo, since you have seen through my current state, what do you think of me? What can one think? I can't let go of you in my heart. I can only be your little girlfriend to tolerate your whims, waiting for you to return from the calamity. Yu Hongdo quietly said this sentence, finished a side of the head on Su Huan's shoulders. Su Huan listened to leaning against the sofa and closed his eyes did not say anything, did not let Yu Hongdo's head leave their shoulders. A while time, Su Huan opened his eyes and said, not everyone has your third brother as well as the boss of the kind of take up and put down the great courage. Great courage. 
Being with me is a gamble where you don't know the outcome. Are you really willing to go on? As if he had already guessed that Yu Hongdo was going to speak. Su Huan immediately came with a don't you say it first listen to me. Before I was seduced by Zhou Xi and Yun and lost my mind. I also said these words to her. I don't know what the future me will be like. It could be an abusive scum that everyone hates. Or a good man. Or a softy who escapes reality and doesn't dare to take responsibility. I just want to live a life the way I want to live it. And that time could be a few years or a dozen years. I don't want, and can't bear, to let you get hurt. I hope you will think this over and over again when you make a decision. Not blindly. Hongdo. How can I turn a blind eye to your affection for me? You are my beloved girl. I sincerely do not want you to be hurt in my heart. Especially, this harm is still caused by me. I hope you think seriously about this matter. This is not a small thing. This is a sufficient to decide whether you are happy for the rest of your life thing. Su Huan sincerely set his heart out. Yu Hongdo nodded. The heart of Su Huan can say these words are satisfied. From Su Huan's tone of voice, he was able to feel Su Huan's sincerity. The kind of sincerity that did not want to let himself be hurt because of his uncontrollable indulgence and wantonness. If I say that I have been thinking about this issue for months, do you believe me? Yu Hongdo uttered these words very dryly, raising her head to look at Su Huan. Su Huan also looked at Yu Hongdo at this time. The two of them met each other's eyes and both saw sincerity in each other's eyes. Eyes are the window to the soul. At the very least, at this moment, the two people's inner thoughts are sincere. True. Gazed at a moment. Suddenly Su Huan frowned. Side of the head no longer look at Yu Hongdo, but habitually pick up the coffee table placed on the cigarette. Unconsciously pull out a intention to go to take the lighter. Yu Hongdo has taken a step ahead of the hand. Snapped a lit. When Su Huan froze, the flame had already reached his eyes. Inhaled a mouthful and lit the cigarette. Su Huan is very curious to inquire a you do not oppose me to smoke? Yu Hongdo slowly shook his head and said, there is no point in opposing. Men sometimes smoke not because of the addiction, but through the smoke exhale to release the pressure of the heart out. Can you tell me what you just thought of? What made you snap out of a wave of pressure? Su Huan froze, did not expect Yu Hongdo to observe himself so carefully, face just appeared hesitant expression. Yu Hongdo said again no matter good or bad words, do not deceive me. Su Huan took a deep breath and slowly exhaled smoke, which nodded and said I just thought of Gu Wan. Hearing this sentence Yu Hongdo is a frown. At this time, Su Huan continued to say your eyes so sincere. Combined with these words you just said, you are so understand me. I heart violently afraid. Afraid of you with Gu Wan like to understand me too deeply. All my reactions are in your anticipation. Pinch me, pinch me, pinch me, pinch me. After listening to Su Huan's words, Yu Hongdo swallowed back the words she just wanted to say and was able to understand this kind of heart of Su Huan, and also more understandable to Su Huan's mood of wanting to completely indulge himself. Su Huan deep down wants to get rid of Gu Wan's understanding of himself, control, and wants to get rid of that feeling of powerlessness in the face of Gu Wan's calculations. There is one more thing that Su Huan didn't say. Deep down, she was even more afraid of the sincere Gu Wan. That day, when Gu Wan talked to him at the door, Su Huan felt Gu Wan's sincerity for the first time, and was disgusted by this feeling. Because, in the face of the sincere and affectionate Gu Wan, it was hard for Su Huan to be ruthless enough to turn it away again. I understand. I understand this feeling of yours Yu Hongdo finished pulling Su Huan's hand. What happened between Su Huan and Gu Wan? Zhao Kaifeng has already told everything to Yu Hongdo. Yu Hongdo is very clear about how deeply Gu Wan hurt Su Huan. Completely understandable Su Huan's fear of Gu Wan's control over his every move. If you change into yourself, there is a person on their mind every move to understand. A pinch of precise. They will also be afraid of uneasiness. Looking at you Hongdo, Su Huan hesitated and continued. I just promised you that I won't cheat you. Two days ago my view of Gu Wan appeared to shift. Su Huan unreservedly after his divorce on the feelings of Gu Wan. As well as two days ago after seeing Gu Wan's inner thoughts. Are you Hongdo frankly? Yu Hongdo listened to the face with a surprised expression said she really thin to that extent. In Yu Hongdo's impression, although Gu Wan is not fat is also rich in meat. Zhao Kaifeng once said a joke Su Huan this goods like this kind of meat and not fat girls. Su Huan heard Yu Hongdo's words. When Su Huan heard Yu Hongdo's words, he nodded very seriously and said I've never seen such a skinny, emaciated Gu Wan. I couldn't believe my eyes at that time. After the divorce, I always had a certain amount of antipathy towards her. For one thing, she knew me too well and always wanted to count on me to get remarried. And for another, she never realized how deeply she had hurt me. Thirdly, and most critically, she always thought that she was being counted on to make a mistake, and didn't want to admit that she had changed her heart first. But one day, she really changed, and this change made me. Fear, entangled. There is one thing that Su Huan did not say. 
That day when Gu Wan sincerely realized her mistake and sincerely apologized, Su Huan's head hurt, and the sweet time with Gu Wan flashed madly in his head. Su Huan's soul, which has not completely dissipated, is desperately trying to influence himself, and that is a kind of will that as long as he agrees to be with Gu Wan, he would rather go up and smoke. This kind of will made the traveler Su Huan fearful and panicked. Yu Hongdo rubbed her head after hearing this and said, It seems that I have gained another strong opponent. Su Huan heard the face of a red. See a face embarrass Su Huan. Yu Hongdo raised his hand and Su Huan waist twisted hard until he saw Su Huan face full of pain without saying a word to plead for a look which only loosened his hand. Although a little annoyed Su Huan this kind of said promiscuous and not promiscuous style. But Su Huan and do not tell lies to their own this one. Annoyed and joyful. Two kinds of feeling alternately. For a while, Yu Hongdo cleaned up her mood and glanced at Su Huan, who let herself fall in love with this man and could not help herself. The truth hurts. Good medicine is bitter. Want to listen to the truth and do not want to be hurt is impossible. Where there is a benefit there is a drawback. Still the same sentence. In the future you talk to me must be the truth. Whether it is good words or hard to hear. This point of heart Lao Miang still have. Yu Hongdo finished the body back Aline. Su Huan listened to wait immediately extinguished the hand of the cigarette pull Yu Hongdo's hand. Said some let Yu Hongdo mood good words. Listen to a moment. Yu Hongdo said with a smile. Okay. You coax the girl words really cannot. You are a small sufferer. Suitable for girls to coax you. Su Huan just wanted to speak when. Du Xu Eching came over and said sir. Lunch has been prepared. Taking Yu Hongdo's hand wearing a wristwatch and looking at it. It was already more than 12.30. I really didn't expect that I would chat with Yu Hongdo for such a long time. Turned his head and looked at Yu Hongdo and said. Let's go eat. Yu Hongdo nodded and stood up. Su Huan also followed and stood up, pulling Yu Hongdo's hand to the restaurant. This scene let Du Xu Eching eyes narrowed. This missy has the means ah. How long has it been since she met with Su Huan? But she actually took down Su Huan so easily? Du Xu Eching was really a little unbelievable. Su Huan's nature is what Du Xu Eching now more or less has grasped some. Su Huan is very sensible. The feelings are not in place of the girl is absolutely courteous to maintain a certain distance. When eating, Su Huan began to Yu Hongdo clip food. Performance is very gentle. Yu Hongdo is not polite directly eat. Today with Su Huan will say the words to determine the relationship between lovers. Has reached their own purpose. The rest is to simmer. The same as Zhou Xinyun's thought. After Su Huan indulged himself for a time. Everything will be bittersweet. The difference was that Yu Hongdo had the certainty that she would not make herself bitter during the time she stayed up. Will be Su Huan will take the pinch to make themselves happy. After eating. Yu Hongdo personally went to brew a pot of ginger tea. Carrying the tea with Su Huan upstairs to the study. Once in the study, Su Huan first picked up the remote control to turn on the air conditioner and set the temperature to the heating mode. Yu Hongdo did not stop Su Huan's practice, knowing that this is Su Huan is worried about his own cold. The mood again a lot better. Then Su Huan let Yu Hongdo feel free to read. He came to the desk to open the computer. Intends to today need to write the martial arts history of three chapters to code out. Yu Hongdo, on the other hand, was on the sidelines watching the collection of books in Su Huan's study, from time to time to pull out a book to look through. Some places inside the book have Su Huan see here when some of the feelings written, and even pull out a few newer also found that there are things written by Su Huan. I did not expect this with the wood has not been put down to learn. Also is, Huan brother so genius certainly always keep charging state. Put down the books and turn to Su Huan behind to see what Su Huan is doing. Suddenly surprised said, the history of the martial arts is you right. Su Huan nodded his head and said, I'm just trying to get rid of my loneliness. Yu Hongdo heard this sentence immediately came to a return money. The old lady also rewarded you an ally. Su Huan stunned. I cannot imagine Yu Hongdo also read this book. As to which alliance is your account. I contacted the site to let them return your money the way it is. Or I give to make up. Snapped Yu Hongdo hit Su Huan shoulder slap set up. I want to see you first did not send out the chapter. A while ago you break more. I hate to send you razor blades. Su Huan said. I want to see the chapters you didn't send out first. Su Huan immediately stood up to make way for Yu Hongdo to sit down, guiding Yu Hongdo to open the draft box to watch. Yu Hongdo immediately began to look up. Ten minutes later, Yu Hongdo long exhaled a breath of air, considered to be Su Huan's inventory of drafts are finished, opened his mouth and asked, What's the final ending of Bai Fei Fei? Su Huan stopped without saying anything. Yu Hongdo turned his head to look at Su Huan, snapped his eyes wide open and said, You do not intend to set Bai Fei Fei's life into a tragedy. I'm telling you if you dare to do this, I, 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 after half a day of thinking about what he was going to do, he said, you have to forget what your professor Go said, the beauty of the broken is what makes a great work, what you can't get is always the best, and other bullshit, hear that, Su Huan rubbed his head and said gently that's Professor Sun, 
I just read Go how Yu Hongdo opened his mouth. Su Huan skimmed his mouth and didn't say anything. When he was in college, Yu Hongdo was not happy with Professor Sun, and privately pronounced Professor Sun as Professor Go. Professor Sun is still very good to Su Huan, gave Su Huan a lot of guidance as well as help, and even let Su Huan to his own private library to read books. Seeing that Su Huan didn't say anything, Yu Hongdo came back with it's over. My Fei Fei Ah, with a sad expression on her face. Suddenly, Yu Hongdo stared at Su Huan's eyes and said I'll tell you Su Huan, my Fei Fei's matter is temporarily revealed. Xu Chi Chi's ending must be beautiful and happy. Because, because my mom's name is Xu Chi Chi. Hearing Yu Hongdo's words, Su Huan seemed to be struck by a thunderbolt. Looking at Yu Hongdo with a shocked look on his face unable to speak. Yu Hongdo's mother is called Xu Chi Chi. This is also too much of a coincidence. Su Huan thought for a moment and began to give Yu Hongdo a shoulder pinch. Full of pleasing expression said don't worry, I will immediately change the outline. Must give Zhu Chi Chi a happy ending. Are you kidding? Yu Hongdo's mother may be the future. Must be treated favorably. Yu Hongdo nodded with satisfaction after listening. This would still knows how to make himself happy. Eyeballs a turn. Eyes and then appeared Raige said why fei fei it? You change or not? Su Huan said after listening to the sentence thought for a while said Red Bean. You should look at it from another angle. Why fei fei this role although the end is a little sad. But can be more readers cannot forget. As long as the reader's heart still misses by fei fei. By Fei Fei has always been alive, breaking through the world of the book to live in reality. Yu Hongdo listened to a helpless look shook his head and said her military training when the chief instructor said the right. You bunch of literati all day do not do the right thing. All think about some let a person fall into tears. Happy. The things. Manipulating people's joys and sorrows to fulfill their own selfish desires. Su Huan slapped his own forehead once again after hearing this. Lay combat. The chief military training instructor of Dragon University was not only the chief military training instructor, he was also the college's vice principal. There was another identity, retired general. Civilians and military despised each other in their hearts and looked at each other with displeasure. This has stretched over thousands of years, and is an unsolvable problem. At this time Yu Hongdo stood up you continue to code it. I went to find a book to read, said turn to go to the bookshelf side. Su Huan reset down and began to code. Hands on the keyboard quickly struck. Time is not long Yu Hongdo came to a sentence, your headset on there. I'll get it for you. Su Huan finished immediately stood up to the side to open the cabinet. From which he took out a customized headset and walked over to Yu Hongdo. The headphones have a built-in Bluetooth function. You can connect to your cell phone and listen to your favorite songs. This is the adjustment. Su Huan introduced the various adjustment functions on the headphones. Yu Hongdo nodded. Took the headphones with a book toward the side of the free chair. First poured two cups of ginger tea. Picked up a cup and sent it to the side of Su Huan, and only then turned around and returned. After putting on the headphones and connecting to his cell phone's Bluetooth, the music played, he picked up the book and started flipping through it. Although Su Huan is typing, but also maintain every 10 minutes or so to pay attention to Yu Hongdo. When Su Huan turned his head for the fourth time and found that Yu Hongdo will be placed on the book on their own eyes closed a sleeping posture, immediately stopped the word, stood up and moved lightly out of the study to the bedroom opened the closet and took out a blanket before returning to the study, gently to Yu Hongdo cover, which then turned around and slowly returned to the computer to continue to code, did not see Yu Hongdo eyes open with a smile on his face, Yu Hongdo looked at the back of Su Huan, satisfied with closing his eyes to continue to rest, although Su Huan is changing, there are some nature, Su Huan cannot be changed, this point, made Yu Hongdo very pleased, time slowly passes, Su Huan also finished the words, see Yu Hongdo is still sleeping, Go to the side of the sofa lying on the squint for a while. I do not know how long. Su Huan felt a heavy body opened his eyes and saw Yu Hongdo holding a blanket over himself. Immediately sat up and said you woke up. Yu Hongdo nodded and said more than 6 o'clock. Only then did Su Huan look up at the watch hanging on the wall. It was really 6 o'clock. It must have been dark outside. Let's go downstairs to eat said Su Huan. Pulling Yu Hongdo's hand to leave the study. Downstairs, he met Du Xu Etching and saw Du Xu Etching's eyes to understand what it meant nodded towards the restaurant. Du Xu Etching glanced at the two did not follow the past, face with a trace of doubt. This Miss Yu even did not eat Su Huan. They were upstairs for an afternoon how nothing was done. This is not normal ah? Uh? Although the heart is puzzled, the face does not have a trace of change. Dinner was sumptuous. Du Xu Etching arranged absolutely in place? In Yu Hongdo's opinion, the taste of the meal, although not as good as the home chef, is also considered good. At the very least it was better than the food eaten out. After eating and drinking enough to drink some tea in the living room, Yu Hongdo stood up to say goodbye to leave, with an umbrella to send Yu Hongdo to the parking lot side. Su Huan face exudes a reluctant expression. 
Yu Hongdo saw after the heart Rosa T. Su Huan psychological. Standing in front of the vehicle, she said, Can't bear to see me go? Su Huan honestly nodded his head. Su Huan honestly nodded his head. Yu Hongdo raised his hand and stroked Su Huan's face and said, It is too easy for you to get your hands on. You will not cherish me. After saying this, she turned around and got into the car. Su Huan looked at the vehicle in disbelief and thought in her head, I won't cherish you? How is this possible? Looking at the vehicle backed out and adjusted the head. Yu Hongdo opened the window and waved his hand at Su Huan, before raising the window to let the vehicle start to leave. Su Huan saw the smile at the corner of Yu Hongdo's mouth, and realized that Yu Hongdo just said that he was teasing himself. Only after seeing the vehicle drive away did Su Huan turn around and return to the main building. In the car, Yu Hongdo was satisfied with the results of today. Just now, although there is the intention to tease Su Huan, in fact, Yu Hongdo really did not do a good job of sleeping with Su Huan's mental preparation. Leaning against the seat to rest his eyes for a while, his face regained its calmness, took out his cell phone to call a number and dialed it. And soon, the phone came out with a boss. Yu Hongdo heard this voice, very calmly said will go on three days ago photos sent to my cell phone. Pick a most clear. Okay boss, handle it right away. Yu Hongdo hangs up the phone directly after listening. Waiting patiently, time slowly passes. More than 10 minutes later, the cell phone comes drop sound. Pick up the phone to open WeChat. Click a chat box. Google three days ago high resolution photos appeared. After looking at the photo, Yu Hongdo inner is shocked. Su Huan did not lie. If not Su Huan said Gu Wan Thin to let people unexpected. Yu Hongdo absolutely do not believe that this is the picture of Gu Wan. Put down the phone to think about how to place the matter of Gu Wan. Yu Hongdo ambition is great. Not only to take down Su Huan, but also Su Huan these women will also take down. But also to let these women obediently call themselves a sister. Completely establish herself as the undisputed status. Don't look at Zhou Xinyan some time ago to sleep with Su Huan. Yu Hongdo still full of confidence to take her. In Yu Hongdo seems to be the best to take the person is Zhou Xinyun. Because of their own back has Zhao Kai Feng support. Mo Baby back has Lin Ida support. Su Ran Ran back has Zhang Wenyuan support. Even if it is Gu Bulls. Behind her, there was also the emotional support of being with Su Huan for several years. As long as you meet with Zhou Xinyun at the right time and analyze the reality. In order to continue to be with Su Huan, Zhou Xinyun will 100% compromise with herself. Become their first to accept the little sister. Yu Hongdo vehicle from Su Huan's manor drove out, all the way to the southeast of the south metropolis without words drove into a high-grade villa area, did not pay attention to the fact that behind them also followed a small tail. An inconspicuous van has been followed by Yu Hongdo's car, until the vehicle into the neighborhood which is a big direction to continue to drive forward. Not much far to drive out stopped. Stopped for about 30 minutes, started again into the avenue into the traffic and disappeared. Night, Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi De, Zhang Wan Yuan, the three did not sleep. Private investigator will today Su Huan's side of the news sent over. The three immediately the first time to click to watch. After reading Zhao Kaifeng is a smile on his face. Yu Hongdo really did not let himself down. Lin Ida and Zhang Wen Yuan both felt the pressure after watching it and began to worry about the person they were supporting. Yu Hongdo entered Su Huan's house around 11 o'clock in the morning and stayed there until after 8 o'clock in the evening. It was still raining today, and the two of them didn't know what they had done in the manor. Gu Wan in the bedroom bed leaning against the bedside table. Eyes looking at the phone frowning tightly. Who will go to Su Huan today? Or an unfamiliar license plate number? The license plate number has been sent over by the people on the stakeout. And who the vehicle belongs to is already being investigated. But there is no news yet. For some reason, Gu Wan's heart was heavy with disturbing thoughts. One night passed. Su Huan resumed regular fitness training. And at noon while reading in the study. Seven Colors Entertainment Group CEO Pang Xingji called over to communicate something with Su Huan. That's the thing. The company's funds are a bit tight. In order not to affect the high-speed development, our board of directors needs to conduct an internal meeting to discuss financing. Pang Xingji told all the causes and consequences of the matter. Seven Colors Entertainment Group's development momentum is really fierce. This year, it has set up three TV dramas, three movies, two variety shows, and is pushing six newcomers. These six newcomers are all excellent in appearance, and in the company for singing, dancing, history and culture, acting skills. The six newcomers are all good-looking and have been trained for three years in the company in singing, dancing, history and culture, and acting skills. During the training period, the company trained a lot about the artist's historical and cultural knowledge, which was a resolution passed by the board of directors to prevent these young people from destroying themselves by saying the wrong things when they don't know anything. At the same time, they will also make the company suffer a huge economic loss. After all, the company in order to train them also invested a lot. 
history and culture, etiquette and morality. These two aspects of the assessment failed. That is absolutely no possibility of debut. Seven Colors Entertainment Group relocated from the Imperial Capital to the Southern Metropolis, purchased brand new office equipment, decoration, modernized oversized photography studio invested, and so on. The capital flow is a bit tight. To put it bluntly, it's just that the step is too big and is about to tear the egg. Su Huan can understand the reason why Pang Xingji took such a big step. Everything is in the board of directors and its signing of the betting agreement. If Pang Xingji can be enough to lead the Seven Color Entertainment Company listed in six years, the board of directors will reward its 5% of the shares. This reward shares only enjoy dividends cannot be traded and give 100 million cash reward. This year is already the fourth year and next year will be the fifth year. So it's understandable that Pang Xingji is a bit anxious. Have you communicated with Mr. Zhou about this matter? Su Huan asked this sentence very calmly. Zhou Gongzi's full name is Zhou Ocean. His family is a political family. The old man served as a cabinet minister of the Dashia Empire. Zhou Ocean's four brothers, three older brothers have taken the political road. The Zhou family is not too concerned about how Zhou Ocean's future development. The family is not bad money. Also not lack of network power. Zhou Ocean on the indulgence of a lot. Only gave a requirement. If you get into trouble outside and affect the future of your three brothers, you will be cut off from your pocket money as well as the dividends from the family fund, and expelled from the family. This is an insurmountable red line. This is not a joke. The reason why the Zhou family maintains its prosperity has a lot to do with the fact that the Zhou family will be good at expelling playboys who cause trouble from the family. In the eyes of outsiders, Zhou Ocean is a prominent son of the family. Not bad, but simply do not know Zhou Ocean do things fearful afraid that he accidentally caused things to affect the future of the three brothers. The family gave up the genealogy to remove the name of the family to drive out of the family. Su Huan and Zhou Haiyang acquaintance is very fortuitous. At that time Zhou Haiyang moved bad alone ran to a strange bar to buy drunk. Coincidentally that day Su Huan accompanied Zhao Kaifeng also went there to have a drink. At 9 o'clock, Zhao Kaifeng was hooked up with a phone call from a girl, leaving Su Huan alone in the bar to drink. At 10 o'clock, Zhou Haiyang got drunk. His wallet and cell phone were stolen and he had no money to pay the bill. When he was drunk and had a conflict with the bar staff, Su Huan helped Zhou Haiyang to pay for the drinks, with Zhou Ocean left the bar. Zhou Ocean has been drinking walking difficulties, Su Huan cannot throw it to the side of the road regardless of it, so he took Zhou Haiyang to the house he rented. Su Huan is a genius and needs a quiet enough space to be alone, so he rented a quiet enough house in the suburbs. The room was arranged very simply, mainly to quietly think about some things or to calm down and read a book. However, there were three beds laid out in the room, and Zhao Kai Feng and the three of them also had a key, so if they wanted to be alone for a while they could also come over here to stay. The only taboo was that no women were allowed to be brought over. So the night passed, the next day Zhou Ocean woke up and recalled all the things, to Su Huan is very thankful. Take a piece of paper to write down Su Huan's cell phone number as well as micro signal and left. A week later Zhou Ocean contacted Su Huan, please Su Huan dinner. Su Huan agreed to go, one to two to two people on the acquaintance. After a certain time Su Huan in the securities company and met the Zhou Ocean. Zhou Ocean saw Su Huan. Su Huan did not see Zhou Ocean. See Su Huan left from the large customer room. Zhou Ocean asked to accompany their own side of the securities company executives only to know. Su Huan in the large customer room closed for a week, earning a lot of money. The executive did not say the specific amount. Zhou Ocean keenly perceived the executive eyes float out of the envy and jealousy hate look. A college student in the financial market to earn a lot of money. How is this possible? Zhou Ocean came to the interest, secretly used the power of the family periphery to investigate Su Huan. See Su Huan in the financial aspect of the record immediately shortness of breath. Immediately after the heart secretly happy, glad that he and Su Huan relationship is good. I'm glad that in order to repay Su Huan that night to take in the favor of Su Huan also sent Su Huan a lot of expensive gifts. To Su Huan left a kind of know how to repay the impression. After thinking about it again, Zhou Haiyang will Su Huan about out, and Su Huan openly and honestly talk about it will be their own family history, they are facing the plight of all said one by one, the last plea Su Huan pull him a hand, Zhou Ocean does not want to be so looked down on by his family, do not want to be nothing to fear of living, Zhou Ocean opened the door to talk to Su Huan, then Su Huan considering that he is helping Gu Gu Bowl business, if you can get Zhou Ocean family power shelter, the company's development will be a lot smoother, Zhou Ocean's proposal is very interested, that day the two talked a lot, in many aspects have reached a consensus, half a month later, Zhou Haiyang with their own can raise the largest funds with Su Huan fight the financial markets. Su Huan only operate their own accounts, whether to follow up by Zhou Haiyang's own decision. 14 days passed. Zhou Ocean earned the first bucket of gold. 
more than 70 million funds increased to more than 200 million, earned more than three times, Joe Ocean burst of joy, to Su Huan admiration of the body, the inner firm idea of closely follow the pace of Su Huan, after Gu Wan in the beginning of the business encountered a director of a competent department to make things difficult, this old thing to file instructions as blackmail want to take advantage of the opportunity to sleep with Gu Wan, is the Joe Ocean directly cleaned up this person, not only did he lose his job, but also let his family die, this matter Gu Wan until now do not know, only know that he told Su Huan, Su Huan said he to solve, in just a week's time, the LSP lost his public office and was taken away by the anti-corruption department, and the documents that were stuck were approved smoothly, afterwards asked Su Huan, Su Huan just smiled without any explanation, Guan guessed that this matter is likely to be Zhao Kaifeng to help solve, afterwards, he intended to improve the relationship with Zhao Kaifeng, but Zhao Kaifeng is still the same as before, Guan did not have a good word, disgusted with his hooking Su Huan, afterwards, Zhou Ocean mobilized a huge amount of money to follow Su Huan to complete two high-risk financial snipes, and after completing the accumulation of funds, Joe Ocean's business talent has completely opened up, no longer easy to carry out financial speculation. This game, although the money is fast and exciting but the risk is too great, Joe Ocean saw what happens to those who fail. Today's billionaires, one night passed, tomorrow may owe a lifetime of debt. Joe Ocean began to entity investment, in Su Huan's suggestion to set up a real estate company, began in the imperial city and even those big cities to take the land development. By the way, he began to invest in some potential enterprises, Today, the famous Ocean Consortium real controller is Joe Ocean. Joe Ocean's position in the family climbed straight up, the money to open the way to the three brothers to provide a lot of support. The right to speak in the family has become important. At first, Su Huan did not know that the Ocean Consortium is Joe Ocean's. Against the Ocean Consortium into the Seven Color Entertainment Company, held the board of directors, Joe Ocean showed up with a smile and gave Su Huan a big hug. Su Huan then know Joe Ocean is the Ocean Consortium actual controller. The heart of the Ocean Consortium of Resistance disappeared. Joe Ocean is the Seven Color Entertainment Company's first major shareholder has no opinion. The relationship between the two has always been very secretive. Zhao Kaifeng knows a little. Lin Ida, Zhang Wenyuan two people do not know Su Huan and Joe Ocean know this matter. Pang Qingji immediately replied has communicated over. Mr. Joe has no opinion. Will come to Nandu City when the board of directors convenes. I will attend the board meeting, Su Huan stated. The two chatted for a while before ending the call. Su Huan put down the phone and pondered for a while, stopping practicing his brushwork to go downstairs for dinner. Also at noon, Guan sat in her office with a frown on her face, unable to swallow her hearty lunch. Yesterday, who went to look for Su Huan has been found out. Yu Hongdo, she unexpectedly has already arrived in the southern city for more than half a month. Guan is still a bit confident in the face of other people, but in the face of Yu Hongdo, Guan really felt a great pressure. After some serious thinking, Gu Wan took a deep breath and continued to read the documents. No matter how Su Huan changed, who is the woman who appeared beside her? This time in accordance with the plan to carry out the same. Two months later to a new image to see Su Huan, so that Su Huan see their own changes. Still in South Metropolis, close to the east of the city in the Phoenix neighborhood, Baby M.O. and M.O. Shersher came to the 10th floor of the 7th building. This is a high-grade neighborhood. One staircase, two households, large flat. Baby M.O. likes the sunny environment. The purchase is the top 10 floors. Although it is a second-hand house, M.O. Shersher took a glance at it. And after sending the picture to Baby M.O., Baby M.O. called the money and entrusted M.O. Shersher to complete various formalities. I didn't go to see Su Huan in the past few days in South Metropolis. I was busy replacing some furniture and appliances, buying a vehicle and other things. Inside the living room, Baby M.O. hung up the phone with a smile on her face and has just made an appointment with Su Huan to visit him tomorrow. Pick up a cup of tea slowly drink tea, time is not long cell phone came drop sound, M.O. Baby picked up the phone to see, it is Su Huan will be sent to the positioning of M.O. Baby cell phone, in the evening, Su Huan home, Su Huan ate dinner with Du Xueqing in the living room conversation, this time focusing on the Gu Bowl, Yu Hongdo, Ink Baby, Zhou Xinyun, Su Ran Ran, five women's things, tomorrow, baby M.O. will come over and will eat lunch at home, whether she will eat dinner is uncertain. So prepare first. After listening to Su Huan's story, Du Xueqing did not hold back a face of emotion said I really do not know how many women will be in the future for Mr. Heartache. Su Huan is not angry. Looking at Du Xueqing came to a I do not want to hurt them. Very much hope that they stay away from me do not take care of me. Do you believe? I believe. Du Xueqing said this sentence very definitely. Su Huan froze. Did not understand how Du Xueqing could believe in herself so much. 
Seeing the puzzlement in Su Huan's eyes to Xu Weqing said Mr. Person is too good. Those women who know what Mr. Is like will never let Mr. Go. Before I came to work for Mr. Su, I also worked as a housekeeper for other rich men. And the first time they saw me, they wanted to pounce on me and eat me. On three occasions, I fought back and injured them before escaping. Even two of them used the fact that I hurt them as a reason to blackmail me. But fortunately I had a small tape recorder with me and that made them back off. You were only surprised for a moment when you saw me. Then you regained your clarity. And you have not been rude to me for such a long time. On the contrary, you respected me and did not look down on me at all. I'm also a woman. When I meet a man like you, even if I know it's a moth to a flame, I'll jump on it without hesitation. After hearing Du Xu Eching's words Su Huan froze, did not expect Du Xu Eching would say so, the old face read for a moment to think about it and said, is it true that I had become bad, and they are dead to me. Hearing Su Huan's words, Du Xu Eching made up her mind and said, Mr. Very good, even if it's bad, they will not change their love for you, but it's a pity that I'm a divorced woman who can't match you, but, I won't refuse if you need me. After saying this, he ran away with a red face, leaving Su Huan looking at Du Xu Eching's back with a face full of shock, not expecting Du Xu Eching to say these words. After a while, Su Huan returned to his senses and went upstairs. Today Du Xu Eching really gave herself a big surprise. The night passed, Su Huan continued to get up early to run and exercise as usual. And after the morning exercise, he came back to take a shower and went to the restaurant to have breakfast. When he met with Du Xu Eching, Du Xu Eching did what she was supposed to do just like anyone else, and Su Huan was relieved to see that Du Xu Eching wasn't embarrassed. Su Huan does not know that Du Xu Eching at the moment is also apprehensive. Last night back to their own place. Du Xu Eching face hot red, cannot believe that they will say so bold words with Su Huan. I'm worried that Su Huan will look down on himself because of these words. At the moment, Su Huan looked at himself as usual, but also let Du Xu Eching's heart of seven on and off a lot of stability. Nearly 11 o'clock, Baby Mo drove to Su Huan's side, and as soon as he got out of the car, he made Su Huan, who was waiting at the side, stay still. Today's Baby Mo is too stunning. Seeing Su Huan's performance, Baby Mo was very satisfied. Not in vain, he spent almost an hour to prepare carefully. Today's Mo baby wearing a Chongsam with a classical flavor, perfectly set off the usual can only appreciate their own seductive body, coupled with their own this different from other women's lowly face, raising a seductive body to the extreme, the body's innocence, wenching, these two temperaments as one in coexist, and add three flavors, ink baby is very bold to ask a beauty, at this moment, Su Huan has not reacted from the shock. Because Su Huan has never seen such a stunning Imo Bao Bao, subconsciously said beautiful. After saying that, he came to his senses and realized that something was wrong, and an embarrassed expression appeared on his face. Baby Imo was satisfied with Su Huan's reaction. It seems that the purpose of his visit today can be successfully achieved. For how to take down Su Huan, Baby Imo had her own plan, which was to constantly display her beauty and show her temptation in front of Su Huan. Just don't let Su Huan get it. As a man of letters, he has a unique understanding of the sentence, a wife is better than a concubine. A concubine is better than stealing. And stealing is better than not stealing. Su Huan needs to play with this realm of not being able to steal. Appearing in front of you from time to time to quickly leave in a circle. Just hanging on to your appetite. Sooner or later, you will have to endure the day. Sooner or later, you will have to fall under my pomegranate skirt. As for whether Yu Hongdo and the others slept with Su Huan in advance, baby Mo didn't care at all. Just because you slept with Su Huan doesn't mean Su Huan will marry you. Lin Ida said, at this moment, Su Huan has begun to change, can no longer use the university to be taken down and resigned to this kind of vision to look at Su Huan. Baby Mo made this plan after carefully thinking about Lin Ida's words. Walking over to Su Huan's side, he smiled and said I can't believe you bought such a beautiful manner. Won't you take me to take a look around? Su Huan took a deep breath and looked at Baby Mo and said this way please. I'll take you to take a look around. Imo Baby nodded and followed Su Huan towards the side. Along the way the two chatted. Su Huan was a little nervous at first, but soon let go. While walking and chatting about poetry and literature, a lot of outsiders do not know the words in the mouth of the two out of the mouth. Su Huan also from time to time to flirt with Baby Mo. Baby Mo also nonchalantly retaliated. This kind of exchange belonged to a very subtle and hazy exchange, even if the words said by the two were placed in front of other people. Many people cannot understand. This is a small romance that belongs solely to the literati. Su Huan brought baby Mo around before returning to the main floor living room. Du Xu Eching came over with a pot of tea and set it down before politely nodding at the duo and leaving. What are your intentions in hiring such a seductive housekeeper? Baby Mo finished glancing at Su Huan with her eyes. Su Huan had no choice but to explain truthfully, 
Imo Baby said with a smile the lawyer is the boss's beloved. You the lawyer certainly know your preferences. Your explanation is a bit of a desire to cover up the intention. Su Huan smiled and countered with a how do I smell a flavor of old vinegar. Imo Baby looked at Su Huan Humph did not speak. Picked up the cup of tea to drink tea. This point cannot be refuted. He really a little jealous. See the ink baby a little angry. Su Huan digresses to ask her recently did not see your new works. Have plans? Ease the embarrassment of baby M.O. Do not let the woman next to you embarrassed. This is Su Huan body instincts. Many years to cultivate the instinctive habits in a short period of time is difficult to change. Baby M.O. heard a long sigh hey. With a slightly grudging look at Su Huan the said I analyze this year will not emerge much better works. Your poems and sentences on the literary circle is too much influence. It's messed up a lot of people's hearts. Including mine. When my sister picks up a pen to write down a line she just had a flash of insight. Your poems and lines will come to mind. As soon as you compare them, the sentence you just thought of loses its luster. Su Huan frowned a bit after hearing this looking into baby Mo's eyes, realizing that baby Mo didn't mean to joke, and began to think seriously about this issue. Don't think about it. This matter has basically become the consensus of the literary circle with the poetry circle. If you don't have good poetry this year, I guess there will be quite a few people in the circle slowing down next year. Baby M.O. briefly explained, letting Su Huan clearly know the impact of his poetry, letting Su Huan recognize his position in the literary circle poetry circle at this moment. Following Baby Mo's topic, Su Huan began to chat with Baby M.O. about these two circle things. Don't look at Su Huan has works that are hard to reach. In reality, Su Huan doesn't belong to these two circles and has never joined them. Time slowly passes, and from the mouth of Baby M.O., he learns that Su Huan is far from joining these two circles and does not compete with the people of these two circles for fame and fortune. Instead, the status is a bit transcendent. Even for those who are envious and jealous of Su Huan, before coming up with works comparable to Su Huan's, they must also put their own small minds away. When the two were talking, Du Xu Eching came over to notify the two to go to dinner, and Su Huan then invited baby M.O. to go to the restaurant. Looking at the back of the two Du Xu Eching left with a smile, has seen out. Today this called M.O. baby from time to time in the T. Su Huan. Today there is Su Huan suffer. Thinking of this Du Xu Eching's walking steps slowed down a bit, her mind thought of another possibility. If this called Mo baby will tease Su Huan's beast and then leave. Su Huan looking for himself to solve their own what to do. Soon Du Xu Eching's face reddened, having already figured out that she would not only not refuse but would instead cooperate. Only, just like this with Su Huan together does not meet Du Xu Eching's expectations. In Du Xu Eching's expectations, it should be Lang Love and Concubinage water to the canal and then step into the wonderful realm together. In her mind, Du Xu Eching's walking speed began to accelerate as she walked out of the main building towards the open garden, taking deep breaths from time to time to extinguish such shameful thoughts in her mind. Su Huan also remembered that baby Mo loved spicy food, and when Lin Yi treated him to a big meal during his college days, baby Mo would always show up. At first, Su Huan, Zhao Kai Feng, and Zhang Wen Yuan teased Lin Yi if he was chasing baby Mo but Lin Yi immediately denied it, explaining that he and Baby M.O. are from the same hometown, and his father knows Baby Mo's father, so he specially asked himself to take care of Baby M.O. at the university. I also came to the university before recognizing the Baby Inc. Worry about the three people do not believe. A certain invitation to dinner, Lin Yi appeared with his girlfriend, brightly introduced to the crowd. This is to let the people believe believe half, followed by a dinner time. Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi Zhang Wan Yuan, Three people are with a girlfriend only Su Huan single. Chance encounter with roommates shopping Ink Baby, Lin Ida issued an invitation. I did not expect Ink Baby a mouth promised, and roommates say a few words to follow a few people together to the restaurant. When everyone is seated, Baby Mo is very calmly sitting next to Su Huan, and also gives Su Huan clip food, not the slightest cover up their own to Su Huan interesting this matter. It was only then that everyone realized that the original target of the baby was Su Huan. By the third year of college, Baby M.O. and Yu Hongdo, Zhou Xinyun, Su Ran Ran, these people are the same, were defeated by Gu Bol's sarcastic a hand, angry bawling several times, Su Huan ate with Baby M.O., Du Xu Eching secretly observed from a short distance away, from time to time exuding a meaningful smile, this time the observation is very clear, this woman called Baby M.O. is indeed teasing Su Huan, just do not know whether Su Huan can carry it, this meal ate Su Huan's heart flustered, it was not easy to end. Baby M.O. proposed that she wanted to take a rest. Su Huan immediately led Baby M.O. to the guest room. After settling down, Su Huan went to the gym to work out, to vent out the fire that had accumulated in his body. After hitting the target for more than 20 minutes, Su Huan returned to the main building to take a lunch break. Du Xu Eching in front of the gym looked at a moment and left, 
Su Huan this goods really let the woman heart, so provocative beauty to send the door even endured. This is Du Xu Eching's low level of culture. If Du Xu Eching's level of culture is high, she will understand what Su Huan's behavior represents at this moment. 3 o'clock in the afternoon more than ink baby woke up, dressed neatly cleaned up some of this downstairs, learned that Su Huan in the gym went to look for Su Huan, outside the gym to see a while before entering the gym. Su Huan in front of the boxing target hit did not stop. Mo baby in a side to find a seat to sit down and said people this life body energy is limited. You so squander energy does not see the body good. Turned his head to look at the baby ink. The baby ink immediately showed a charming smile white Su Huan a glance. Teasing meaning is very thick. Su Huan countered with you provoke my fire. I do not vent my energy out how to do. You are responsible for it? Mo baby face after hearing a red. Adding three temptation. Su Huan heart appeared a sentence again. Turned his head and continued to hit the boxing target speed much faster. To vent out the evil fire in his heart. Mo baby want to quickly escape from here. The brain immediately appeared Lin ED against Su Huan's analysis. Su Huan is a small sufferer. You do not boldly start other women will not be soft. Thinking about it. Came aside to look at Su Huan. This position is just right to let Su Huan eyes swept to their own. Every time Su Huan cannot stand to look at their own time. Ink baby immediately change a seductive posture. Both of them did not find. Du Xu Eching secretly watched from outside and covered her mouth with a smile, watched for a while and left. Today Su Huan is definitely very difficult. Around 30 minutes, Su Huan was a bit too much to bear and turned towards baby Mo. Seeing Su Huan come to himself with a strong manly aura, baby Mo's heart started to beat wildly. Looking at Su Huan his voice slightly trembled as he said you. You, what are you doing? Su Huan stared at baby Mo's eyes and said I should be the one to ask. What are you going to do? To see you work out. The thick Shuzhou accent uttered these words. Very seductive. Su Huan is not the previous Su Huan. Without saying a word. Raised his hand to hold the waist of the ink baby a force to pull over. Low head on the kiss up. Mo baby at the moment completely confused. Did not expect Su Huan will have such an active performance. The body is a little soft. If Su Huan holding their own waist. At the moment the body will immediately go limp. Separated after Su Huan looked at the ink baby. Ink baby face a red want to speak. Su Huan snap hit the ink baby buttock said and then provoke me. Believe it or not I will you on the ground. He said. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get you on the spot. Hearing this sentence. The ink baby but awake some. Looked up at Su Huan's eyes and said you come ah. Su Huan froze. Followed by a step back. Bypassing baby Mo quickly left the gym. Baby Mo looked at the back of Su Huan fleeing in a mess. The smile on his face became even more intense. Linita said very right. Su Huan really began to change himself. The previous Su Huan will never take the initiative to launch an attack on himself. Being their own ruffled top when. Absolutely will immediately run. Rather than like today so kissed their own also hit their own. Thinking of this face a red. And looked towards the door. In his heart. The grasp of pinching Su Huan added some more. Baby Mo said in a faintly audible voice. Let's see how long you can hold back. When Su Huan returned to the living room. He saw Du Xu Eching drinking tea and immediately said. Give me some ice and picked up the tea on the coffee table and drank it. Du Xu Eching heard after the face full of smiles stood up to go to the kitchen to get ice. Soon, a towel wrapped in ice handed over. Su Huan took it and went upstairs. Su Huan to do what? Du Xu Eching probably can guess some? Must be the ink baby provocation cannot stand to go upstairs to cool down. So that they calm down. Do you know, the more you can't bear to hurt them, they are more unscrupulous to pounce on you. Thinking of this, Du Xu Eching slightly shook her head and turned to leave. Around 10 minutes, Su Huan came down from upstairs, and baby Mo was already in the living room leisurely playing with her cell phone and drinking tea. Su Huan walked over and asked, Where is Butler Du? Baby Mo said calmly, She drove out, said she was going to pick up someone. You know. Su Huan nodded and sat down. Ink baby put down the phone ice flow to Su Huan asked it pick up as a man or a woman. After listening to Su Huan took a deep breath, to the time to talk to the ink baby, in so far, he could not help but put her on the ground the possibility of very large. At that time, everyone can't get off the stage. Baby, let's seriously talk about it. Su Huan said this sentence with a very calm expression on his face. And after seeing this, Mo Baby immediately converged on her provocative posture and transformed it into a dignified posture as she looked at Su Huan. Seeing the serious expression of the baby Mo, Su Huan took a deep breath and reset the words he said to Yu Hongdo yesterday. Said to the end, Su Huan eyes with extremely sincere look at the ink baby said I changed. A little bad trend. And to the direction of promiscuous development. You if you continue to go on like this. Will be my heart to hurt. Put me down. Away from me. To find the happiness that belongs to you alone. Mo baby from Su Huan eyes within the eyes can see. 
Su Wan said these words are sincere, inside very do not want to be hurt by love, he is not willing to let himself be wounded and lose the opportunity to pursue happiness. Before meeting with Su Huan, Baby Mo thought that Su Huan would talk to himself seriously about this matter. What he should do, Baby Mo had already considered it very clearly. This time, even if I am bruised all over, I will never let go. Baby Mo's eyes exuded a resolute look of determination looking into Su Huan's eyes, very dryly uttering these words. Su Huan looked at Baby Mo's determined eyes, secretly clenched his teeth and said, You see me with other women also do not let go? Before you say these things to me, you have already done so Baby Mo looked at Su Huan's eyes and calmly said this sentence. Su Huan immediately was frozen. Seeing Su Huan froze, Baby Mo Hoop said really think Zhou Xinyun accompanied you on vacation thing no one knows? Su Huan said with a humph. This sentence is like a bolt of lightning struck on Su Huan's head. What the hell? How you hung don't know? Baby Mo also know this matter. This matter must have nothing to do with the boss. Why are you so bitter? Su Huan finished raising his hand and rubbing his head. Inwardly he really didn't want these women who were true to themselves and deeply in love to be hurt by himself. I have already experienced the pain of losing you once. This time no matter what I will not let go again. No matter how many women you have. No matter if you get married or not. I won't let go. Want me to let go. Unless I die. Baby Mo expressed her attitude very dryly. Using Lin Ida's words. When you should show your attitude. You can never be soft. The more resolute your attitude is. The more entangled Su Huan will be when facing the temptation of other women. Lin Ida also talked to the Baby Inc a very realistic problem. Su Huan changed. Want to indulge themselves. The future Su Huan side will be around the warbler constantly. Let go and let him meet those women casually. Don't interfere with his life. Don't care about those women. You few people in Su Huan heart status is extraordinary. No matter what happens in the future Su Huan and these women. In the end, Su Huan's belonging will only be one of you. Su Huan slowly appear around the excellent woman this is Su Huan intentionally. He did so on the purpose of one point. Is to let you. Gu Wan. Su Ran Ran. Yu Hongdo. The reason for this is to keep you. Gu Wan. Su Ran Ran. Yu Hongdo. Etc. Away from him. The first thing you need to do is to get rid of the problem of the dead heart. So that you can go after your own happiness. The more women Su Huan knows. The more ruthless the indulgence. The easier the heart is tired. The loneliness of the heart is not something that can be solved by having more women. When the heart is tired, Su Huan should return to his nature. For the five of you, this is a cruel physical and mental tug of war. Who first cannot withstand who is out. Think carefully about whether or not to join this great battle, and be sure to think twice before you do so. Baby Mo considered this issue not for a day or two, but for a long time, repeatedly asking his own heart. The final answer is, without hesitation to join this cruel physical and mental tug of war. All over the body is also in the scars. Looked at a face of firm ink baby. Su Huan very calmly said you are now impulsive. Think about it. Mo baby a smile. Did not say to refute the words of Su Huan. Said there is no point. They just do it. The two do not speak. The cold. Each thinking of acting. Snapped the baby ink asked at you Hongdo is how to answer you. Su Huan looked at the ink baby did not say anything. Ink baby a smile. As expected. Yu Hongdo is not easy to stop. I guess Su Ran Ran won't stop either. Let's arm wrestle this time. I am no longer the same person I was in college. When the atmosphere was a bit awkward, Du Xueqing came back with Wei Yutong, and when Wei Yutong came in and saw baby Mo sitting beside Su Huan, her eyes immediately narrowed. The alarm bells went off inside. Before coming to chat with Du Xueqing in the car, Du Xueqing said that one of Su Huan's confidants had come, and the two of them had an extraordinary relationship. Wei Yutong heard a sense of crisis in her heart. At this moment, seeing the body, appearance, Temperament, first class baby ink. The pressure instantly came up. Mo baby also saw with Du Xueqing came in with Wei Yutong. Is youth, beautiful, tall body long legs, meat and not fat, with a pure breath. Sure enough, Lin Ida was right. Su Huan has no resistance to this kind of girl who is not fat. Retracted to look at Wei Yutong's eyes, turned his head and glanced at Su Huan with his eyes and said, Do not introduce it? Su Huan said, Su Huan how will not see the baby ink in Wei Yutong's eyes? From just Wei Yutong into the room looking at the baby ink eyes narrowed a look like an enemy. Then to the baby ink measuring Wei Yutong a look that exudes a really so look. Can imagine. If the ink baby intentionally engage in things. Think here do not want to. Breathe a mouthful of stood up and looked at the two said. I introduce you. This is my dear friend Mo baby. This is my fitness consultant. Wei Yutong. For the sake of etiquette. The baby ink and Su Huan stood up when also followed the stand up. Su Huan introduced Wei Yutong immediately took a step forward to extend her hand and said Ink sister hello. With a trademark smile on her face, 
Baby Mo said. You too. In her heart, she thought, good, this girl is a little careful, very clear when to say what words. Su Huan looked at the performance of the two men, did not dare to give Baby Mo the chance to make things happen, immediately said dinner is already ready, let's go eat together. After saying this, she glanced at Baby Mo, who smiled and stretched out her hand to look at Su Huan, who raised his hand and pulled Baby Mo's hand towards the restaurant. Wei Yutong and Du Xu Eching's eyes narrowed at the same time when they saw it, and the same word came to their minds, declaration of sovereignty. Du Xu Eching reacted the latest and raised her hand to pat Wei Yutong's shoulder. Only then did Wei Yutong recover and immediately demonstrated her loss of temper with a smile and followed Du Xu Eching to the restaurant. The four of them sat down to eat together all without speaking. Baby Yemo felt irritated at the first sight of Wei Yutong. From the moment Wei Yutong saw herself squinting her eyes, she could feel it. This little girl definitely had thoughts about Su Huan. Baby Yemo glanced at Su Huan who was eating seriously without looking askance, and secretly laughed in his heart. You think I will mess things up? I will not mess things up. A small girl who has just entered the society, is not worth me losing my temper. However, touching the bottom of this little girl is still very necessary, sort of easing the awkward atmosphere. Thinking of this, the ink baby with a smile on his face to take the lead in picking up the topic, began to consult Wei Yutong form of things, chatting about these times through the side to achieve their own purposes. Soon figure out Wei Yutong to Su Huan's side of the frequency. Time is not very long. The ink baby will be their own want to know all the bypass to understand. The heart that a trace of annoyance has evaporated. There is already a Zhou Xinyu one step ahead, and then one more little girl is nothing. Even if the little girl has succeeded in her plan to sleep with Su Huan, it does not matter. Su Huan also surely will not give this girl equal to the status of their own several people. This big battle has just opened the curtain. From the curtain is still far away. I hope that this little girl more insist on a period of time to toss Su Huan. Wei Yutong although from the second semester of college began to work part-time off campus, accumulated a certain amount of social experience, but it is not the opponent of the baby ink. Baby Yemo experienced a love injury during college, but anyone who experiences a love injury will have a certain growth in wisdom and heart. After graduating from the university in the literary circle as well as poetry circle mixing, and experienced between the literati fights, without a certain trickery wrist, how can the baby Mo successfully published a collection of essays to make their own name? Wei Yutong easily let Mo Bao Bao achieve her goal. Du Xu Eching, who was eating at the side, was full of melon thoughts, and in her heart, she gave Mo a comment that this Mo's wrists were no worse than the golden girl Yu Hongdo. I hope one day to see baby Mo and Yu Hongdo in front of Su Huan face to face. This kind of cultivation of the field, is to eat melons of the big scene, thinking here with a smile on his face, he took a bite of food and ate it, just ate a few mouthfuls, and his mind thought of a problem related to himself, today, baby Mo teased Su Huan, tomorrow Wei Yutong certainly will not be peaceful, with her understanding of Wei Yutong, it was impossible for this girl not to tease Su Huan tomorrow, could Su Huan hold back, if tomorrow Su Huan holds back from touching Wei Yutong and turns to be beastly to himself, will he resist? Yesterday just told Su Huan that he could come to himself if he needed to. Thinking of this, Du Xu Eching's head began to slip. Su Huan's meal was both awkward and fast. Seeing Su Huan finish eating, the three women with their own thoughts then increased their speed. And soon, all of them left the restaurant together. Baby Mo and Su Huan in the living room drinking tea. Du Xu Eching took Wei Yutong upstairs to the guest room. I can see that Su Huan cannot resist a little distracted. The future of the day is long. At the moment has been clear about a lot of Su Huan inch slowly come good, two cups of tea down Mo baby stood up and said time is not early, I'll say goodbye, I'll see you off, Su Huan said also followed the stand up, accompanied the ink baby to go out, hard understand, the ink baby this is to see their hearts produce a trace of annoyance, why are these women always able to quickly figure out their own minds when they are with them, Su Huan is very confused about this situation, the two quickly walked to the parking lot when the ink baby stopped in his footsteps, eyes with an inexplicable look at Su Huan said, you do not say that you do not see that this little girl is interesting to you, said not waiting for Su Huan answer to open the door to get on the car, will be the vehicle out of the reverse, drive long away, Su Huan stood there for a long time without moving, and so Su Huan back to God, Du Xu Eching is standing not far away from looking at themselves, face with a mysterious smile, he took a few steps forward and came to Du Xu Eching's side and said with a stern face, is that so funny, not funny, Du Xu Eching said turned around and left, and then Su Huan will be angry, Taking a look at Du Xu Eching's back, Su Huan lifted his leg and returned to the main building to rest. He was really tired today. At night, Wei Yutong lay on the bed in the guest room, tossing and turning, unable to sleep. Her mind was full of baby Mo and Su Huan. Although the contact is not much, 
Wei Yutong keenly felt that the relationship between this baby Yemo and Su Huan is really unusual. The other party has the same idea as himself. Tomorrow they are not a little more active. T Su Huan to try Su Huan's reaction? Originally Wei Yutong is intended to smooth contact with Su Huan three more times in the slowly unfolding action, so as not to give Su Huan a frivolous impression. But today after seeing the baby ink completely not calm down, Su Huan introduced Mo Baby when he used the word best friend. Best friend and friend these two words seem close, but there is an essential difference. A man has a woman he calls his best friend. The relationship between the two can be imagined. A variety of thoughts welled up in the mind. A while time passed, Wei Yutong whispered a good man is always too hot. The tone of this sentence carries a strong meaning of helplessness. Tonight, Yu Hongdo received the report after reading it, lying in bed tossing and turning, unable to sleep. Mo Baby unexpectedly also arrived in the southern city, and also went to Su Huan's side. Su Ran Ran? It is estimated that it will also come soon. Brain began to think about how to take down Baby Mo. Su Ran Ran, the two women's strategy. Thinking for a while, Yu Hongdo face changed. No, he must also think about dealing with Gu Wan. Even if Su Huan divorced Gu Wan, he must also prevent a hand. This is a strong enemy. Must not underestimate this woman. Gu Wan is also not asleep at the moment. And also received the report and photos sent over by the stakeout personnel. And recognized baby Mo at a glance. Zhou Xinyun, Yu Hongdo, and baby Mo had all gone to meet Su Huan. And it was estimated that Su Ran Ran should also show up in a few more days. Come on all of you. Let's battle. Back then, I was able to defeat all of you during my university days. And at this moment, even if I am at a disadvantage, I will definitely be able to achieve the ultimate victory. This time, even if I become the unseemly mistress of Su Huan's side, I will never let go. This thought within Gu Wan's heart became even more determined. Zhao Kai Feng, Zhang Wen Yuan. After the two of them read the report they received today, they both smiled and didn't care. Lin Ida moved a lot better. Mo Baby finally stepped out the first step to see Su Huan. To Lin Ida understanding of Mo Baby. Mo baby belongs to the kind of once determined to do something, not to see the final result will never give up. Zhao Kai Feng, Zhang Wen Yuan, Lin Yi Da, three people as Su Huan's diehard. Very clear that this is the women chasing Su Huan drama is a tug of war that makes people physically and mentally exhausted. It is impossible to see the result in a short period of time. The night passed, and the next morning, Su Huan and Wei Yutong woke up early to start running and practicing in the morning, no different from the past. In the afternoon, Su Huan felt the difference. Wei Yutong touched himself a lot more than in the past. A lot of times or with their own soft place to touch himself. If there is no soft touch stimulation, if there is no fragrance in front of the nose dazzling, want to talk to Wei Yutong let it control themselves. And I worry that I said heavy words to make Wei Yutong cry. Then, will be more trouble. He had no choice but to temporarily use the excuse of urination to go out for a walk to get some fresh air. As a way to alleviate the evil fire that was constantly rising within him. Wei Yutong saw Su Huan walk out of the gym and immediately turned around. Her cheeks were hot and red along with her ears. The first time she did this kind of provocative oil thing, Wei Yutong didn't have a clue in her heart. I do not know if my own approach will make Su Huan disgusted, but the alternative stimulation brought by doing so makes Wei Yutong a little addicted. After a while Su Huan came back, Wei Yutong looked at Su Huan with a straight face and said Huan brother, fitness guidance will inevitably cause the body to touch. This is unavoidable embarrassment. I took the fitness instructor qualification. The female coach told me about this problem. To communicate with customers in advance. Once, said here when Wei Yutong stopped for a moment, biting his lips to drum up the courage to continue to say once the customer reaction. It is timely to pause. Each other are relaxed to restore normal and then continue. The body has a reaction. Indicating that the human body adrenaline increase. Recovering from this and then continuing with the training will increase the speed of physical improvement. I have never guided a male client before. Brother Huan is the first. Do not do well also hope that brother Huan understanding one or two inch. Wei Yutong said these words in a serious manner. Su Huan listened to look at Wei Yutong's face froze. The brain kept thinking of a question. You are not as I do not understand the matter of men and women in the slightest fool. Is he so good at fooling himself? After reacting, Su Huan didn't point out Wei Yutong's small mind and said I see. Let's continue. I'll call for a timeout in time. Seeing Su Huan's expression as before. Wei Yutong secretly breathed a sigh of relief in her heart. These words can really fool the past. Next guide Su Huan fitness. Wei Yutong's movements are cautious a lot. After all, it is the first time, the inner shame still exists. However, Su Huan as usual is not good. After a few minutes to call a halt to rest for a while, drink some water to recover and then continue. The time slowly passed. Su Huan is barely able to cope with the past. Eat dinner, with the same as in the past. 
Do Xu Weqing drove Wei Yutong left? Su Huan returned to the room to take a shower lying on the bed thinking, cannot go on like this, must find something for themselves to get busy. This will reduce the number of times he meets with these women. At this rate, it won't take long for him to fall. And at that time, it will be an endless stream of troublesome things to bother him. Thinking of this, raised his hand to take over a side of the tablet began to browse the news. To see how the target of his attention is now. Is it time to eat off? The United States Greenleaf Fund has just announced the completion of a new round of $1 billion in capital expansion. The scale of funds under management has reached $22 billion. Seeing this news, Su Huan's eyes narrowed. This time financing is purely to cover up. You can do it. Thinking about it, I picked up the phone to call Zhao Kaifeng's phone dialed out. And soon the phone passed. Zhao Kaifeng's voice came out son. Looking for dad what is the matter? The voice is very quiet. Su Huan analyzed this moment Zhao Kaifeng should be at home. Su Huan really guessed wrong. At this moment Zhao Kaifeng really not at home. But in Wang Yiting home. Wang Yiting after the spring festival to go to the theater shooting injured. At home recuperation. Wang Yiting's father needs to go abroad for a few days. Wang Yiting this side of the recuperation at home nothing to do with the mother also followed with the departure. Zhao Sun urged Zhao Kaifeng nothing to see Wang Yiting. After all, Wang Yiting is also your nominal girlfriend. If you really don't mean it, just wait for this time Wang Yiting injury is good to talk to her about things. So drop Zhao Kaifeng today over to visit Wang Yiting. Wang Yiting side of the usual Wang Yiting himself with a mom. The night the mom left Wang Yiting alone. See Wang Yiting walking in convenience. Zhao Kai Fong stayed. The first thing you need to do is to get out of the house and leave early tomorrow morning. From the two people know to now. Zhao Kai Fong really did dad accounted for. If you do not feel for her do not touch her. This sentence. He hasn't touched Wang Yiting. Including when he shared a room with Wang Yiting at the four brothers party years ago. The biggest contact between the two was pulling a small hand. Nothing else. You start concentrating your funds. Within three days. You will transfer the funds into my account. Su Huan calmly said these words. When Zhao Kai Fong heard these words. His face immediately became serious. He sat up and said, I'll complete the transfer within two days. That's it. I still have to notify Lao Air and Lao San Su Huan hung up the phone after saying that. Zhao Kai Fong also put down the phone and raised his fist to wave it at the air. Su Huan was finally going to start acting. This time, I don't know which unlucky person was targeted by Su Huan. Soon, Lin Yi Da, Zhang Wen Yuan, the two of them also received a phone call from Su Huan respectively. Within three days the funds must arrive. Su Huan commitment to support Zhang Wenyuan a 100 million funds, also told Zhang Wenyuan, after the settlement directly deducted, although the funds between the four people did not have any formalities mutual trust, but in the matter, but also pro brothers clear accounts, that is how much is how much. One night passed, Su Huan once again began to exercise regularly, more than 3 o'clock in the afternoon, a sum of 500 million funds into Su Huan's account, this is Zhao Kaifeng played over. Zhao Kaifeng's small treasury only left more than 400 million. Directly to find the mother took a few tens of millions of dollars to make a hole to Su Huan played over. The next day afternoon, a 200 million funds into Su Huan account. This is Linita's funds. The third day morning, a 100 million funds into Su Huan account, which is Zhang Wanyuan's funds. Zhang Wanyuan hand only left more than 40 million funds, this time to be able to play over 100 million, but also thanks to Su Ran Ran and fiance Astrid's help, although he had borrowed the money. Zhang Wenyuan did not tell the two women about the specific use of the money, but only guaranteed that it would not be used for illegal things. Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi Da, Zhang Wenyuan, all three promised Su Huan not to tell anyone about Su Huan's involvement in finance. Zhang Wenyuan knew that Su Huan had to be busy recently, so he specifically instructed Su Ran Ran not to contact Su Huan in the near future, assuring Su Huan that he would not see any woman in the near future, and that he had things to be busy with. Don't ask what exactly. Su Ran Ran knew that things between the four of them were forbidden for anyone to participate in. And since Zhang Wen Yuan had said things to this extent, Su Ran Ran stopped asking. Beidou Investment Company. The top floor of the five-story office building has been closed. Six trader team has arranged things at home today. All communication is cut off to the outside world. After dinner, Su Huan first invited Du Xu Weqing to go out for a walk. And by the way, he told Du Xu Weqing that he was going to leave home for a while. Su Huan didn't specifically say what he was going to do. He just said that he was going out to do something, and that he would not be able to contact himself for the recent period of time. There is no need to worry. If someone is looking for him, let him contact him after a week. If there is an emergency, just call Li Mingfeng. Seeing Su Huan's formal words, Du Xu Weqing agreed and said, starting from tomorrow, if I still can't contact Mr. Su after 10 days, I will formally report to the police. Su Huan thought for a while and said, 
15 days. Du Xueqing was relieved to hear Su Huan give the exact time. She calmly said, Mr. Don't worry about the things at home. I will arrange everything to wait for Mr. To come back. Su Huan nodded with satisfaction and continued to walk forward slowly. Du Xueqing followed beside him. The two of them chatted as they walked. 20 minutes or so. Su Huan returned to the bedroom and then to Zhou Xinyun. Yu Hongdo. M.O. Baby. Three people have called. Said that they have to leave the South Metropolis to deal with a bit of an emergency. A short period of time are unable to contact their own. Zhou Xinyun and M.O. Baby do not doubt him. Did not ask anything more. Yu Hongdo. On the other hand, more or less guessed a little bit. The Yu family investigated Su Huan in great detail. Knowing that Su Huan's ability in finance was quite unbelievable. A period of time cannot be contacted. Needless to say, certainly find the target of attack began to close. Yu Hongdo didn't say anything. Just urged Su Huan to pay attention to his body for a while. And then ended the call with Su Huan. Early in the morning, Su Huan ate breakfast on a scheduled cab left. Halfway to change two cars turned a few rounds before going straight to the Beidou Investment Company. When Su Huan entered the fifth floor, the fifth floor was completely closed. All exits were guarded by five people 24 hours a day. And all the people entering the fifth floor entered naked. And there were clothes prepared inside that could be put on directly after entering. Meals were delivered by special people. Without Su Huan's order to see someone out. No need to make any inquiries. Directly knocked out and loaded in a sack to transport away. Su Huan arrived at the fifth floor when the closure officially began. The six people in the house saw Su Huan immediately stood up and said boss boss boss. Sit down. The funds are all in place? Beidou Investment Company's chief gold medal trader Lu Zhangyang said. A total of 22. 9 billion U. S. Dollars and funds are all in place. The Bermuda side of the Starmouth Bank gave us 30 times the leverage. Su Huan listened to nodded and said target. The United States Wall Street Greenleaf Fund. Collect the latest information with all your might. Su Huan immediately ordered. Six people sat down and began to busy. Each person's work is what has been done to divide the labor. Six people is not the first time with Su Huan cooperation. Soon, Su Huan stood in front of a blackboard. Six manipulators from time to time call out a sentence of intelligence. Su Huan used chalk to quickly write on the blackboard. Today's day passed quickly and at night. Gu Wan froze at home looking at the report. Su Huan left the house in a cab and changed two cabs halfway around the world. Eventually getting off in the financial district and entering Beidou Investment Company without leaving for the day. He went to the Beidou Investment Company to do what? Beidou Investment Company is not a small company. Don't look at the reputation in the southern city is not very loud. But the southern city business circle no. Beidou Investment Company is famous for its strong capital. Guan also heard many friends from the banking sector say that Beidou Investment Company is a big crocodile. However, any enterprise that is targeted by Beidou Investment Company will have to shed its skin even if it doesn't die. Zhang Yinhua also told Gu Wan not to mess with Beidou Investment Company. The other party can mobilize very scary funds. Gu Wan didn't even know that Beidou Investment Company was an industry under Su Huan's name. Time passes day by day. In the blink of an eye the past three days. According to the report back of the stakeout, Su Huan and Beidou Investment Company three days did not come out. See here Gu Wan cannot lie down. Su Huan will not be in Beidou Investment Company accident. Get out of bed and start to walk back and forth in the room. Su Huan will not lack of money with Beidou Investment Company borrowed money? Thinking of this immediately shook his head. If Su Huan borrowed money, the first target of borrowing money will be Zhao Kai Feng. A sentence will be able to borrow a large tens of millions of dollars or 100 million from Zhao Kai Feng's side. Zhao Kai Feng will give Su Huan money without saying a word. Would Su Huan have a conflict with Beidou Investment Company? Immediately after that, Gu Wan shook her head again. From memory, Su Huan had never come into contact with the people from Beidou Investment Group and shouldn't have created a conflict, then what could be the reason? Time slowly reached more than 12 o'clock, and Gu Wan didn't come up with an explanation, forcing herself to lie down and rest. The night passed. Gu Wan really didn't sleep well this night. She woke up in the morning, washed up and ate a few mouthfuls of breakfast before taking the car to the company. At 9.30, Gu Wan gave Li Mingfeng a call. Li Mingfeng saw that it was Gu Wan's phone hesitated for a moment before picking up, asked a Gu Total, what is the matter? Gu Wan got right to the point and asked, do you know where Su Huan is? He disappeared for three days. And today is the fourth day. Li Mingfeng's attitude towards himself Gu Wan is very clear. Knowing that his relationship with Li Mingfeng is unlikely to change for the better. Something straight to the point is the best way. I don't know. Li Mingfeng very simply said this sentence. Hearing this, Gu Wan frowned, took a deep breath and said, Counselor Li, someone saw Su Huan entering Beidou Investment Company three days ago. From the time he went in until now he hasn't shown up. Aren't you worried? Li Mingfeng smiled and said what's there to worry about. 
Beidou Investment Company is a famous big enterprise in South Metropolis. It's not so bad that it will kill and bury the visiting customers directly. Perhaps, Mr. Su has already left Beidou Investment Company to go somewhere else. After listening to Li Mingfeng's words, Gu Wan's frown didn't slacken, and quickly said loyally, I know the strength of Beidou Investment Company. Does Su Huan have any conflict with Beidou Investment Company? A big living person into the company for four days did not show up. The phone also cannot call through. Do you think this is normal? Li Mingfeng skimmed his mouth. What is not normal? Beidou Investment Company is Su Huan's industry. Only Su Huan hidden very deep no one found it. Hard so think but cannot say so. Already feel Gu Wan a little eager. Think a little said Gu General. Mr. Su has no relationship with you. I hope you see their own position. Gu Wan heard this sentence a little stop meaning not. There is a strong inner intuition. Li Mingfeng knows Su Huan to go to the North Investment Company to do. Just don't tell yourself. After Gu Wan and Su Huan passed the phone, knowing that Su Huan did not have an accident, he was relieved and did not give Li Mingfeng any more phone calls. Time slowly passed another eight days time. This day more than six o'clock in the afternoon, Beidou Investment Company fifth floor closed lifted. All the sweeping work has been completed. Starting tomorrow, the six traders could go on vacation. And according to their results, the lowest one received more than $7 million in bonuses. Gold medal trader Lu Zhenyang drove Su Huan back to the manor. Did not stay directly away? More than 10 days did not show up. Lu Zhenyang's family also waited anxiously. Su Huan on the road has given Du Xu Eching called. At this moment back immediately to eat dinner. Today Su Huan appetite to drink five bowls of kanji. A medicinal food. Three big meat buns. After leaving the restaurant, Du Xu Eching whispered beside him. You'll come up. I'm going to eat you said directly upstairs. Du Xu Eching face immediately red, did not expect this time Su Huan back to say such words to themselves. Financial sniper war is very consuming mental war. Is to let a person's mental high tension war? Su Huan and Gu Wan did not divorce before. Every time to complete this kind of operation, will be in the day regardless of the bowl with the Gu hard to toss some, completely relaxed after everything back to normal. Since graduating from college, Su Huan has not carried out any financial sniper battle until now. This is the only action in the last three years. Thirty minutes or so, Du Xu Eching went upstairs and took a quick shower in advance in the guest room wearing only pajamas. The door to Su Huan's room was not closed, and Du Xu Eching pushed the door open with a red face and entered. Soon, the sound of a high-pitched cat purring came out from Su Huan's room. Meowing meow, meow meow. The miserable cat's cry resounded throughout the entire main building. Fortunately, Du Xu Eching had already arranged for everyone to go and rest in advance, before going in. She thought that Su Huan would be fierce after holding it in for so many days, but she just didn't expect that Su Huan would be so fierce, stormily tossing herself for nearly 20 minutes before stopping. Du Xu Eching is a long absence of body? At this moment lying on the bed is not a bit of strength. Bones are soft. Su Huan also tired lying on the side of Du Xu Eching huffing and puffing. Every now and then kissed Du Xu Eching's shoulders. All let Du Xu Eching's back to a higher level. After 20 minutes or so, they got up together and entered the restroom to clean their bodies. And soon, Du Xu Eching felt that Su Huan was reacting again? The two looked at each other and naturally kissed together. After separating, Du Xu Eching looked at Su Huan, who had his hand on her head, although they have not played this trick, but also know how to do it without any teacher, along with Su Huan's hand squatting down. Tonight, Su Huan was very wild. The two were happy together four times. Du Xu Eching was five in the morning before leaving Su Huan's room to return to his own place, lying on the bed. Insisted on sending the workers a text message for today's work before going to sleep. More than an hour later, the worker who wanted to get up picked up his cell phone and looked at it, and immediately saw the work text message sent by Du Xu Eching, and after reading it, he reset the alarm clock and lay down. The content of the text message was, Mr. Today do not eat breakfast. Get up late. Directly prepare lunch can be, tonic based. The security officer couldn't help but skim his lips when he saw it. Su Huan doesn't get up for breakfast. Those chefs definitely won't get up early to cook. Their own breakfast is out of luck. Time slowly passes. 11 o'clock in the morning. Astrid, Su Ran Ran, respectively, received a call from Zhang Wen Yuan. Borrowing two people's funds have been hit into the two accounts, so that the two people check, noon themselves to invite the two to eat. The location is in the grassland campground. Also today at noon, Linny de formally resigned from the family business, and took 17 people to the office location that has been prepared. Seiko Electric Company. This was the company that Lin Ida had founded. In Shanghai, Zhao Kaifeng accompanied his parents to lunch, and in front of his father Zhao Sun, he transferred $60 million to his mother and gave her a set of expensive jewelry. Lu Rui is a well-known broad wife in Shanghai, 
A glance at the sun gave himself this set of jewelry price is not less than one million. Let Lu Rui happy together. Sun is too much heart. Not in vain their own spoil him a. Eh? On the spot, she gave her son a kiss as a reward. Zhao Sun put down his chopsticks and looked at Zhao Kaifeng and said, Looks like you've gotten a lot of money this time. That's right. I've put down all my family's money this time. A full 500 million dollars. Zhao Kaifeng said nonchalantly. His bottom line was full of energy. Zhao Sun didn't care about Zhao Kaifeng's attitude and further inquired, how much did you earn? After deducting the principal, one, seven billion inch Zhao Kaifeng looked at his dad's eyes and said this sentence, Zhao Sun, Lu Rui, both silk silk, sucked in a breath of cool air. I know that my son will play with the demon to make money. Definitely did not expect just half a month time actually gained so much. The demon is really horrible like this. This is fucking pure pure cash. Many listed groups can't get this much cash. Lu Rui asked from the side. How much did that demon earn? This sentence was to help her husband ask. Zhao Sun and Zhao Kai Feng are two completely different personalities. Zhao Sun since he met with Lu Rui, never looked for a woman outside for so many years. The husband and wife are very much in love and know each other. I don't know. I only know that the target he's eyeing this time is in a foreign country. Zhao Kai Feng said this sentence without thinking. Zhao Sun and Lu Rui looked at each other and stopped inquiring about this issue. How's the progress of Red Bean in the southern city? Zhao Sun changed the subject and asked a new question. Zhao Kaifeng put down his chopsticks and said, I've already met with Lao Si, and we've had a very good conversation, officially confirming our relationship. Yu Hongdo thinks that at this moment, Lao Si's thought of indulging himself is very strong, so he adopted a free-range approach, letting Lao Si pass this hurdle in style to his heart's content. Nothing else was said. Zhao Sun nodded and snapped, Do you think your sister Xin can take down this demon? Zhao Kaifeng froze after hearing, dumbfounded, looking at his dad. Could not figure out his dad snapped out this topic. He looked at his dad seriously and asked again. Are you sure you're not joking? Sister Xin, full name Zhao Xin, is one of the eldest uncle's two sisters. Graduated from a prestigious university, teaching at the University of Shanghai, is the school's youngest professor. Zhao Sun nodded his head to show that he wasn't joking, and said calmly I never joke about things involving my loved ones. Your sister isn't too young, and there hasn't been a suitable one inch. I think Su Huan is very good. Worthy of your cousin. After listening to his father's words, Zhao Kai Feng said cautiously, Dad, Yu Hongdo of the Xiang Zhang Yu family is currently chasing the oldest in the southern city. Sister Xin is so interfering. Are we turning our back on the Yu family? These words were a heavy reminder. At this moment, the Zhao group has several projects with the Yu family. Once they fall out, the loss is not small. If your sister Xin and Su Huan become a success, it doesn't matter if they fall out. Zhao Sun looked at his son's serious expression and said these words. In Zhao Sun's opinion, Su Huan's ability in finance is too heaven-defying. If this demon is included in the Zhao family, the Yu family was not enough to be feared. Zhao Kaifeng read his dad's meaning and sat there pondering. Lu Rui didn't say anything on the side. This kind of business matters rarely intervene. For a while slowly shook his head and said, Dad, the success rate of this matter is very low. Sister Xin is very charismatic. Her intellectual temperament is very attractive. Her figure, appearance and knowledge are all first class. If the two are introduced to each other, there's a high probability that Sister Xin will be attracted by Lao Si's talent so she'll sleep with him, but he'll never end up with Sister Xin. The last person he marries after his heart gets tired will only be Yu Hongdo, Zhou Xinyun, Baby Mo, Su Ran Ran, plus his ex-wife Gu Bulls, one of these five. The reason why I play with him is not only because of his financial talent, but also because he has characteristics that others don't have. Emotion and righteousness. These five women are very special in his heart. Maybe he himself didn't realize this. Zhao Sun slowly nodded after listening. His son's analysis is not unreasonable. Thought for a moment and said there is an opportunity to introduce your sister Xin to Su Huan to know. Let them be free to develop the next thing. Zhao Kai Feng once again froze. Dumbfounded. Looking at his father. He will say words to this extent. How the father or this attitude. Seeing his son's confusion. Zhao Sun calmly said this is your eldest uncle's intention. Zhao Kai Feng was shocked and directly burst out. Holy shit. Uncle is crazy. You're looking for a fight aren't you? Lu Rui finished glaring fiercely at Zhao Kai Feng, who immediately punched himself in the mouth to show that he had been punished. Zhao Sun on his son this kind of behavior has long not cared. If cared for a long time ago was angry dead. Stood up and said this matter in accordance with your eldest uncle's intention to do good. Said turned around and left. Lu Rui glared at his son. Only to be full of smiles and take his son's filial piety to their own jewelry to leave. South City. Su Huan get up and wash some downstairs to eat lunch. Do Xu Eching and Su Huan meet very calm, but also continue to maintain the previous state? 
Yesterday in Su Huan's room has been with Su Huan will say the words open. The two can solve each other to each other's needs. Su Huan to do Xu Weqing a late security can be. Du Xu Weqing has already made up her mind that she will not get married again in this life, do not want to have children, so peaceful life is also very good. The best thing is to give yourself a vacation every year, so that you can go on a trip to get away from it all. This is not a big deal for Su Huan, and he agreed to ensure that Du Xu Weqing's wish will be fulfilled for the rest of her life. Seeing Su Huan again today, Du Xu Weqing took out her attitude, she is still the housekeeper. Su Huan is still the owner of the manor, everything is as usual. Su Huan ate and drank a little tea and went outside for a walk, walked through the garden when he stopped, his brows slowly wrinkled, Gu Wan how to do, this time their own clothes disappearance, Gu Wan's approach to say not touched is not true, so has been hanging out to dry is not a solution, after thinking for a while from the body to take out a cell phone to call out Gu Wan's number dialed over, the phone soon passed, Gu Wan's slightly anxious voice came out Su Huan is you, Su Huan is you, it's me, let you worry, Su Huan's voice was gentle, this was the first time after the divorce that Su Wan spoke to Gu Wan in such a gentle tone. The sound of Gu Wan's long exhalation came from the phone. Su Wan's heart moved to close his eyes, and the picture of Gu Wan at this moment immediately appeared in his mind. Gu Wan was in her office, with a relieved look on her face as she spoke into the phone. Seeing this, Su Wan ended his observation. Using this kind of psychic ability would cause his mental and physical exhaustion, so he should not use it if he could. Some things just needed to be determined. It's good that you're fine. Gu Wan spoke words of concern for Su Huan regardless. Su Huan's heart warmed up and said into the phone, I'll go see you at night. Gu Wan's eyes lit up on the other end of the phone, followed by a change in her face once again. No, not now, Gu Wan immediately said. Su Huan froze, do not understand what Gu Bo Wan this is the meaning of. Normally speaking their own initiative to see her, Gu Wan should be happy abnormal is. How could she have such a reaction? When Su Huan was puzzled, Gu Wan said, don't think too much. I'm recovering now. I want to restore myself to the state I was in when you and I first met. Give me another month. I can definitely do it. Listening to Gu Wan's eager words, Su Huan secretly sighed in his heart. Facing such Gu Wan what should he do? Don't be anxious. Pay attention to your body. When you think you can give me a phone call, Su Huan spoke out and started to comfort Gu Wan. Listening to Su Huan's words of concern, Gu Wan's heart immediately gushed out a stream of warmth. Instantly nourished their whole body. Eyes are a little wet. After chatting for a while the call ended, Guan hung up the phone excitedly in the office jumped a few times, excitedly waving his fist. Today is definitely the happiest day after the divorce with Su Huan. After hanging up the phone, Su Huan gave Zhou Xinyun another call, caring for some before ending the call. Immediately after that, he made a call to Yu Hongdo, baby M.O., and Su Ran Ran. On the other hand, Wei Yutong who was on her lunch break received a call from Du Xu Eching. Su Huan had returned from the field. It was too late for this week, and she would start resuming her fitness instruction next week. Wei Yutong immediately agreed and chatted with Du Xu Weqing for a few moments before hanging up the phone. Put down the phone Wei Yutong long exhaled a breath. Even if Du Xu Weqing said that Su Huan has an urgent matter temporarily left the southern city, Wei Yutong is also nervous. Very worried about their own one day cross the line to tease so that Su Huan do not like, think they are a bad woman. This period of time in the heart is always worried about this problem. Today, Du Xu Weqing called to say that Su Huan returned from the field, everything is back to normal, Wei Yutong tonight can finally sleep a good night. In the afternoon, when Su Huan was taking a lunch break, Yu Hongdo drove over, and the doorman called Du Xu Weqing to inquire about it and immediately released him. Yu Hongdo drove his own red sports car quickly to the parking lot, get off the car to see a side standing Du Xu Weqing. Miss you hello, this way please, mister, is still in the nap need I wake him up? Yu Hongdo followed Du Xu Weqing while walking and said, can I go directly to his room to find him? Yes, mister. Explained that Miss Yu is not forbidden in the manor. Du Xu Weqing said with a smile. Yu Hongdo also smiled after hearing. This wood is really enlightened a lot. At the moment look at Du Xu Weqing suddenly feel smooth some. After entering the main building Yu Hongdo said I'll go upstairs to look for him. Du Butler don't need to care about me. Okay. Du Xu Weqing finished nodding at Yu Hongdo and turned to walk away. Really no defense at all. Yu Hongdo nodded in satisfaction and went straight upstairs. Su Huan lives on the third floor. The largest bedroom is definitely Su Huan's room. Quickly found Su Huan's room opened the door to enter. After entering the room and seeing Su Huan lying on the bed, Yu Hongdo's face is a red. Su Huan is now lying naked on the bed. That bad thing is still in the spirit of standing guard. I had the intention to turn my head and leave, but in the end I didn't go. And with a red face, I walked over and picked up the thin quilt on the side and threw it at Su Huan's body to cover that bad thing that shouldn't have appeared. Feeling something pressing on him, 
Su Huan opened his eyes. Only then did he see that it was Yu Hongdo. Why are you here? Su Huan said while pulling the thin quilt again, with an embarrassed look on his face. Yu Hongdo looked at Su Huan and said, There you are, in the middle of the day, even fruit sleep, not afraid of your housekeeper to go upstairs to find you? Do butler up to the second floor? The third floor without my consent no one can come up Su Huan explained. Yu Hongdo although the expression on her face did not change, her heart felt a lot better. Hurry up and get dressed. A moment to accompany me to dinner Yu Hongdo finished to go out. Su Huan immediately said oh wait a minute. Yu Hongdo stood still. Turned to look at Su Huan. Let me get up must kiss me finished looking at Yu Hongdo. Yu Hongdo face immediately a red. Really did not think that at this moment Su Huan face skin actually began to become thick. You want beautiful Yu Hongdo finished to turn around. Su Huan immediately came to a you do not kiss me absolutely not get up. Do not believe you try. After saying this, he didn't sit down, directly lay down, and began to play rogue. Yu Hongdo looked at Su Huan. Face appeared hesitant expression. For a while said you close your eyes. Su Huan immediately obediently closed his eyes. Yu Hongdo this deep breath slowly came to the bed in front of the head down to look at Su Huan. Face read more powerful. This is the first time he took the initiative to kiss a man. Bent down and lowered his head. Just when the attractive red lips were about to touch Su Huan's mouth, Su Huan's hand suddenly appeared in Yu Hongdo waist. Yu Hongdo was caught off guard by Su Huan a hand to pull over. Su Huan waist force a flip. Immediately become Yu Hongdo in the lower Su Huan in the upper. Yu Hongdo immediately hit Su Huan a fist. Red face whispered a let go of me. Su Huan did not say anything, but so looked at Yu Hongdo slowly lowered his head. Felt Su Huan's burning breath. Yu Hongdo supported Su Huan's shoulder hand more and more weak. Slowly closed his eyes red lips slightly open. Su Huan will not miss this opportunity. A low head kissed. Yu Hongdo's hand into holding Su Huan neck. Soon, Su Huan slightly raised his head and Yu Hongdo separated. The two just looked. Su Huan's head once again lowered. Yu Hongdo began to cater to up. A good while time lips parted. Lass appeared. Yu Hongdo red face came and take away your hands. Su Huan this only he 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 smiled to recover their hands. Just have unlocked Yu Hongdo's jacket buttons shirt buttons reached in. Yu Hongdo immediately sat up out of bed. Looked at Su Huan came a rogue. Said red faced ran out. Su Huan looked at the Yu Hongdo ran out. Only to get out of bed to a side to pick up clothing open wear. Soon. Simple t-shirt. Underwear. Big pants. Are wearing a good. This is wearing flip flops downstairs. Downstairs. Yu Hongdo is drinking tea in the living room. See Su Huan downstairs. Hama don't head ignore Su Huan. Although just kissing taste very comfortable. But so easily by Su Huan hand or more or less a little upset. The original plan is to stay with Su Huan for a while. The original plan was to stay with Su Huan for a while. Go out to eat together at night. And when he sent Su Huan back. He gave Su Huan a slapdash kiss. So that Su Huan dreamed of himself at night. As a result. Now being Su Huan gave a hard advantage. And pinched himself there. Su Huan came to Yu Hongdo's side and sat down and whispered angry. Yu Hongdo still did not take care of him. Su Huan continued to say well. Do not be angry. You are so tempting. And I hold so long did not touch any woman. A moment. Su Huan said. At this moment. Su Huan has begun to tell lies. Only yesterday with Du Xu etching happy a bit. Now dare to lick his face to say that he held back for such a long time. Listening to Su Huan in the ear said soft words. Yu Hongdo mood is very good. Stood up and said accompany me out for a walk. Su Huan followed to stand up and said good. Said holding up Yu Hongdo's hand toward the outside. Out of a road. Yu Hongdo's face only returned to normal. Began to ask about the ink baby over that day what happened. I feel that she is a little abnormal. Teasing me in the morning. Teasing me in the afternoon. Causing me to bring ice upstairs to meditate. Su Huan truthfully recounted what happened that day. Yu Hongdo listening to giggle straight laugh. Really did not expect a winching temperament of the ink baby this time will be so abnormal. However, the ink baby lowly face in conjunction with that attractive body. It is understandable that Su Huan brought ice upstairs to lower the fire. Yu Hongdo let go of Su Huan's hand to hold Su Huan's arm and asked what are your plans for the next step. I am a shareholder of Seven Colors Entertainment Group. I will go to the headquarters the day after tomorrow to hold a board meeting. After the meeting I will talk to the CEO and sign a director's contract to shoot a movie. Su Huan was honest. In the morning Pang Xingji had already sent all the board meeting times and locations to Su Huan's cell phone. You're going to enter the entertainment industry, Yu Hongdo said with a bit of surprise. Originally thought that Su Huan was going to go and mix in the cultural circle, but did not expect that Su Huan's final choice was the entertainment circle. Not counting entering the entertainment circle, I am purely playing with the nature. Nothing to ponder a horror movie. It's different from most of the horror movies on the market. It's purely for fun. Su Huan explained. Yu Hongdo said humph. Honestly, how many female leads do you intend to arrange for this horror movie? 
How many heroines are you going to arrange for this horror movie, and how many are you going to take down? Looking at you Hongdo's unhappy eyes, Su Huan said with a bitter smile, This is a horror movie. Set up inside the woman's footage is very little. Do not intend to invite those first line and second line stars. Pure practice. You can rest assured. I'm not the kind of person who is starving for food. As the two continued to walk, Yu Hongdo looked at the distant sky and said I would like you to feel tired of being hungry and fast. Su Huan did not answer, but patted Yu Hongdo's hand to continue to walk forward. The two are enjoying this tranquility. After walking for a while, Su Huan changed the subject and asked, How's your branch going? The structure is already there. The rest is to slowly expand the business. The main purpose of my visit to the southern city is to collect you this wood. Yu Hongdo honestly said. After listening to Yu Hongdo's words, Su Huan's face was red. Yu Hongdo is still the same as the university period. Like is like. Do not like is not like. Dare to love and hate everything is expressed in the face. The treatment of Su Huan is still as sincere as ever. Similar to Yu Hongdo this kind of truthful person is the most difficult to deal with. To your true feelings are placed in front of you. But let you hesitate. Yu Hongdo looked at Su Huan's slightly reddened face. Knowing that Su Huan was reacting only because of his guilty heart. The displeasure in his heart surged out. And he lifted his hand and twisted it fiercely at Su Huan's waist. Pain. Silk. It hurts. Silk. Quickly let go. Su Huan said while begging for mercy. Seeing Su Huan's agonized expression. Yu Hongdo was in a much better mood before she took her hand back. Su Huan rubbed his waist while looking at Yu Hongdo and said you're so violent. Aren't you afraid of scaring me away? You can run there. If you run away, you'll be caught back and served with a whip. Yu Hongdo finished and gave Su Huan a blank look. Su Huan's face showed a surprised expression. Did not expect Yu Hongdo still have this habit. No, cannot be so pinned down by her. Su Huan's eyes narrowed and said want to use the whip to whip me. Can. You do not go tonight. See how I first used the whip to whip you live and die. Said quickly forward. Yu Hongdo a moment did not react. See Su Huan fast forward posture. Which only reacted. Yu Hongdo red face shouted Su Huan. You give me stop. And chased after him. Su Huan must not run fast. Soon let feet wearing high heels Yu Hongdo caught up. Small pink fist began to pound Su Huan. You still want to use that bad thing to whip me. You really become bad. Yu Hongdo heart with anger. Not pounding some Su Huan cannot vent this anger. She did not know. Their fists hit in Su Huan body equivalent to let Su Huan enjoy a gentle massage. Su Huan let Yu Hongdo hit a moment. Only to see the opportunity to hold Yu Hongdo thin waist to the arms of a pull. A low head began to taste the delicate red lips. Yu Hongdo whacked Su Huan several times. The two of them only lip separation. Beautiful eyes flow with an angry look at Su Huan. Su Huan is very clear what this signal. Slowly lowered his head and kissed again. This time, Yu Hongdo did not hit Su Huan. But his arms slowly hugged Su Huan's neck. A good while before separating. Su Huan held Yu Hongdo's shoulders. Yu Hongdo an arm around Su Huan's waist. The two are very cozy walking slowly. In the afternoon, the two were in the home to get tired. The evening did not go out to eat dinner. But in the home to eat. After the meal to drink tea. Yu Hongdo eyeballs a turn on the heart of the plan. Begin to intentionally or unintentionally tease Su Huan. Over and over again. Until you see Su Huan third deep breath. Yu Hongdo stood up to leave. Ignoring the shocked Su Huan. Yu Hongdo turned around with a smile on her face and left directly. Su Huan is really hard to take. You have provoked me to this extent. And now you turn around and leave. Do you know the rules of the Jianghu? Do Xu Eching hit on the sidelines to see very clearly? Inwardly very emotional. Yu Hongdo this thousand dollar lady wrist can ah. With this tactic a few more times to play. Su Huan future will certainly be its pinch dead. Su Huan chased out by the wind blew a lot of calm. Quickly sent Yu Hongdo to the parking lot there. Get on the car before Yu Hongdo said. Today you let this lady is very happy. The reward for you. Set a tug on Su Huan's t-shirt to the arms of a pole. Su Huan body close to Yu Hongdo. Yu Hongdo and Su Huan lips slapdash a kiss on the release of Su Huan. Open the door to get in the car to start the car. Su Huan this time bent down and said a small thank you miss reward. Yu Hongdo listened to the red face white Su Huan a glance. Happy to start reversing. With full satisfaction drive away. Looking at the back of Yu Hongdo's vehicle leaving. Su Huan slowly exhaled a breath. With Yu Hongdo together is very relaxed. But also very happy. I really hope that every time in the future to get along with is like this. Back to the main building. Du Xu Eching talked to Su Huan for a while and left to rest. Su Huan also went upstairs to rest by himself. The night passed. Su Huan continued to get up early to exercise. Today no one came to look for Su Huan. Su Huan is considered to have successfully completed today's training volume. The next day at 9 o'clock in the morning. Su Huan washed up and ate breakfast. Then drove away from the house to the Seven Colors Entertainment Group headquarters. 
Seven Colors Entertainment Group CEO Pang Qingji had already handed over Su Huan's license plate number to the security department. No obstruction shall be set up upon seeing this license plate. This is the car of the major shareholder. The security department knew that the board of directors was going to be held today. So they let people memorize Su Huan's license plate number in advance. And when Su Huan's vehicle rushed to the company's entrance, the gate guards immediately raised the barriers to release the vehicle. Immediately after that, the gatepost used the intercom to start working. The target vehicle has already entered the headquarters through the gate post and briefed three times in a row, hearing a word of knowledge coming from the higher-ups, which reassured them. The design as well as conceptual drawings of the Seven Colors Entertainment Group's headquarters Su Huan had seen them all and was very clear about what the layout was, even though it was the first time he came he wouldn't get lost. Vehicle parked directly in front of the main building. Turn off the engine before getting out of the car. Opposite a beautiful young woman around 30 years old immediately welcomed over. A meter seven or so, short hair with ears, with a gold-rimmed glasses, an oval face is very durable. A workplace women's outfit outlined a front and back figure. A pair of long legs wearing flesh-colored stockings, outlined in a short skirt that was slightly higher than the knee looked particularly charming. The woman came over and politely said Su Dong, long time no see and then stretched out his right hand. Su Huan people of this woman, is Peng Qingji's assistant, Dong Chi Chi, the original headquarters of the Seven Color Entertainment Company in the Imperial City. Su Huan in the university period not less to go, and Dong Chi Chi is considered to know many years of old friends. With a smile, Su Huan said Chi Chi, you are really getting more and more charming and shook Dong Chi Chi's hand. The two handshake handshake separated. Dong Chi Chi face with a hint of surprise expression expression to come a sentence I cannot imagine that Su Dong will now also joke with me. After saying this, he made a gesture of invitation. And Su Huan followed Dong Chek Chek and walked forward together, chatting as he walked. I want to live a new life. Make a cut with the past. Currently changing myself Su Huan said this sentence without thinking. Dong Chek Chek nodded in understanding. Su Huan had already heard Pang Qingji say this matter of divorce. And the fact that Su Huan made a joke about it as soon as he met with himself today showed that Su Huan was a man of action. Really started to change. For Su Huan's ex-wife, Gu Bowles, Dong Chi Chi really cannot see. You have a little bit of money on the float. Will be a multi-talented and infatuated with the man to give up. This is how brain dead. When in the imperial city, I met Gu Wan once by chance. Dong Chi Chi Hui's attitude is the same as Zhao Kaifeng, Lin Ida, Zhang Wan Yuan three people. That Gu Wan is not Su Huan's good match. Early separation is good, while walking along the way, Dong Chek Chek continued to joke with Su Huan. In the past, Dong Chek Chek used to flirt with Su Huan and joke with him, but today, Su Huan has become more cheerful and joked with Dong Chek Chek as well. As a good friend, Dong Chi Chi is still very happy, happy to see Su Huan out of the shadow of divorce. After the two entered the company, many employees saw the two were surprised to see the expression, who did not expect the usual cold face of the Iron Lady Dong Chek Chek but also with a man with a bright smile like a flower of the day. The elevator arrived. Dong Chek Chek and Su Huan walked into the elevator. Many people consciously do not go in to wait for the next elevator. Dong Chek Chek has been accustomed to this. After pressing the elevator button, the elevator door slowly closed. Inside the elevator, Su Huan asked, Have they all come? Mr. Zhou, not yet. Su Dong is the first to arrive. Mr. Pang has already prepared tea in the office. It is estimated that you drink a few cups of tea and they will all arrive. Dong Chi Chi explained. Su Huan nodded calmly. Chatting with Dong Chek Chek was just like chatting between old friends. There was no pressure at all. After all, the two had known each other for four or five years. The two had just stepped out of the elevator when they saw Pang Qingji waiting at the elevator entrance. Seeing Su Huan come out, Pang Qingji immediately walked over and hugged Su Huan. After separating, he invited Su Huan to his office to drink tea. And Dong Chek Chek followed behind without saying a word. Walking to the door of the office, Dong Chek Chek said Mr. Pang, Mr. Su, I'll go downstairs to pick up the other directors. Pang Xingji said with a smile go. Su Huan also a smile on the face of Dong Chi Chi nodded. Dong Chi Chi only then turned to leave. To busy other things. Entering the office and closing the door. Su Huan said I really envy you for having such a good assistant. You don't need to envy me. My lover messed with me three times and finally realized that I really don't have a problem with Chi Chi that's why I gave up. Pang Qingji came with a smile. Su Huan ha 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 laughed out loud. Pang Qingji's lover Su Huan has seen. Definitely a woman who does things with a lot of gusto and is very competent. The woman is a woman of honor. Doubt is put in the clear. Never hide. Found wrong you immediately apologize. Know the wrong to change admit to fight and admit punishment. You can't blame your sister-in-law. 
All women don't want their husbands to have such a talented and hot body of a big beautiful woman like Dong Chichi beside them. It would make them fidgety. Su Huan teased. Pang Qingji smiled and nodded, recognizing what Su Huan said, making a gesture of invitation. He greeted Su Huan and sat down to drink tea together. And in the meantime, he discussed some of the things that the board of directors would be discussing in a while. Time slowly passed. And soon, one of the shareholders, Ding Shang Group's chairman, Zhu Wen Ding, arrived. Zhu asked Ding this year has more than 60. Pang Qingji and Su Huan to the elevator entrance to meet. Show courtesy. Seeing Pang Qingji and Su Huan, the smile on Zhu Wanding's face intensified and he shook hands with the two of them as they headed to the conference room. The clerk brought over tea for the three of them, and the three of them drank and chatted. Slowly, the other shareholders also came one after another. Everyone in the conference room pleasantries. The atmosphere is very good. Time is not very long. The first major shareholder Zhou Ocean arrived. As soon as Dong Chi Chi accompanied Zhou Hai Yang into the conference room, everyone stood up. Although Zhou Hai Yang was young, who let him be a direct descendant of the Zhou family in the imperial capital. He was also the first major shareholder of the company. Zhou Ocean politely shook hands with the others. To the side of Su Huan is with Su Huan hugged. After separating Su Huan asked what time to the south metropolis. Just got off the plane directly over. This is your lair. Tonight you look at the arrangements. Zhou Ocean and Su Huan's speech is never polite. And very relaxed. The relationship between the two is too deep. With Zhou Ocean's words. Lao Zi's own brother are not as good as Su Huan to me. Without Su Huan, I wouldn't be where I am today. The other shareholders have seen this scene is not strange. All know that the relationship between the two is very deep, but the relationship between the two to what extent do not know. Su Huan smiled and said, A meeting is over. Follow me. Zhou Ocean's satisfied point gave Su Huan a fist head. At this time, Pang Qingji greeted the crowd to sit down. After all the people are seated, Pang Qingji behind the big screen lit up, appearing computer desktop. The curtains of the conference room were drawn, the lights began to dim, and the content on the large screen became very clear. Pang Qingji clicked on a PowerPoint and began to explain to the shareholders about Seven Colors Entertainment Group's current business situation, financial situation, the number of artists in each line, capital investment, and so on. The crowd sat and drank tea and listened to Pang Qingji's explanation. Many people nodded their heads from time to time. In these few years, Pang Qingji led the Seven Colors Entertainment Group has really made good development especially the company's internal management. In recent years, many entertainment groups have been exposed by the media senior subterfuge subordinate things. Only the Seven Color Entertainment Group did not have this kind of shit. This had a lot to do with Pang Qingji directly publicizing his email as a complaint email address. Pang Qingji had given all the artists as well as the employees that as long as you encountered workplace bullying as well as ex-harassment, you can directly email yourself to complain. It's better to have evidence. Without evidence you will investigate. Once it was confirmed, it was guaranteed that he wouldn't be able to make it in the entertainment industry. Within the last four years, the headquarters had dealt with a total of 11 executives, and four of them were still serving time in the slammer. This thunderous approach of Pang Qingji strongly deterred the group's management, so that they did not dare to step over the line and put all their energy into their work. After a few years of development, Seven Colors Entertainment Group is now slowly entering a bottleneck. If you want to break through this bottleneck, you need big money, appealing stars, excellent works. The three together to complement each other in order to complete the breakthrough, in order to go to the next level. When Pang Qingji finished his speech, the lights in the conference room lit up again, and the thick curtains were pulled open once again, allowing the warm sunlight to shine in. The crowd picked up their teacups and started drinking tea, and when everyone had a sip of tea, Pang Qingji spoke again. Directors, the topic of this board meeting is to finance $500 million to increase this year's investment to ensure that our listing next year goes smoothly. But recently there has been an unexpected situation. Nandu City Television is not doing well. And the Nandu City government has the intention to sell it. I hope that the board of directors will approve the financing of 3. 5 billion dollars to take over the South City TV station. South City TV is a satellite TV station. It's really important to the development of our 7 Colors Entertainment Group. After listening to Pang Qingji's words, everyone was interested. Nandu TV was for sale. This was the first time I had heard of this news. Zhu asked Ding was very surprised to look at Pang Qingji and asked, Are you sure that the Nandu city government wants to sell Nandu satellite television? I confirm. Pang Qingji said these words with great certainty. Hearing these words, all the shareholders were moved in their hearts. Although it was now the age of the internet, a TV station at the level of a satellite TV was still a great addition to the entertainment group. This time, I hope the financing will be done internally. We are about to go public. I don't want new shareholders to appear again. Pang Qingji expressed his will very clearly. 
Many shareholders nodded their heads along with him. They also don't want to add new shareholders. With more shareholders, their profits will be diluted. Joe Ocean took a sip of tea from a teacup on the side, put down the teacup and asked in a calm tone how much money is expected to take down Nandu TV. If there are no competitors, $2 billion can be done. If there are competitors, I expect to need about $3 billion to take down the TV station Pang Shingji said honestly. Joe Ocean nodded. This amount of money is similar to his own projections, looked around the crowd and said $3.5 billion is not safe. I suggest financing $4 billion everyone according to the proportion of shareholding to contribute money. Within a week to the account, everyone raised their hands to vote, said he raised his right hand. Su Huan sat at the bottom of the Joe Ocean, saw Joe Ocean raised his hand also followed by raising his hand. A word did not say. The previous paragraph sniped the United States Green Leaf Fund made a fortune, with their own shares out of how much money. It does not matter what happens. Immediately after Zhu asked Ding also raised his hand. Soon, all nine people present raised their hands. The board of directors unanimously passed the motion of financing 4 billion. The funds will arrive within a week. Pang Qingji was inwardly overjoyed. If he took down the TV station this time, the Seven Colors Entertainment Group's development speed would be more than twice as fast as the original. Next, Pang Qingji began to announce the second topic and started discussing it with the directors. The meeting lasted until a quarter to eleven before it was considered to be over. Today's board meeting went well. Pang Qingji's four motions were passed. He personally escorted the shareholders downstairs, and Su Huan and Zhou Haiyan walked behind them chatting, just out of the door. We saw a fleet of five cars drove to the front of the office building. The doors opened down five people. Pang Qingji saw immediately greeted, came to the South Metropolis Mayor Li Huishan, South Metropolis Speaker Kong Lan, South Metropolis Political Affairs Division Director Lu Wenming. The remaining two people do not recognize, thinking that the identity is not low. Pang Qingji with a smile on his face and shook hands with the five people. Only then know that the two do not know what the identity of the people. A deputy mayor of Nandu City He Changi, a high-tech zone in Nandu City, the mayor of Xiang Tao. Li Huishan shook hands with Pang Qingji with a smile on his face, but his eyes were scanning around. And soon, his eyes focused on the two young men who had just walked out of the gate. Zhou Ocean seemed to say something to flirt with Su Huan. Su Huan raised his hand and ravaged Zhou Ocean's head, completely messing up Zhou Ocean's hair. After pounding Su Huan's fist, Zhou Haiyan then began to organize his hair. The whole time, the smile on his face did not disappear. Obviously, the relationship between the two was extraordinary. Immediately after, Su Huan's arm rested on Zhou Ocean's shoulder whispering something. Zhou Ocean had an expression of listening attentively. Li Huishan was looking. Lu Wenming also followed Li Huishan's gaze and the look. After seeing the face smile unchanged, inside is already shocked waves. Su Huan is his wife's best friend Gu Wan's ex-husband. How can LV Wenming not know? Although there is no formal meeting and conversation, but also happened to see Su Huan several times. He had never thought that Su Huan had such a deep relationship with this Zhou Gongzi from the imperial capital. As far as LV Wenming knew, this Zhou Gongzi had a lot of cockney habits, had a lot of power in the Zhou family, and was also very dignified outside, paying a lot of attention to his image. It had never been heard of anyone who dared to ravage the hair of Zhou Gongzi like this. This Duke Zhou's doing was merely laughing and pounding Su Huan's fist, a reaction that only a diehard would have. What exactly was this Su Huan? How could he be on such good terms with people like Zhao Kaifeng and Zhou Haiyang? While hesitating, Pang Qingji turned around to greet Zhou Ocean and Su Huan, introducing the two to Li Huishan's crowd. Hearing Pang Qingji's introduction, Lu Wenming's inner shock grew even greater. Su Huan was actually the second largest shareholder of Seven Colors Entertainment Group. Anyone who knew Su Huan in the southern metropolis thought that Su Huan was a soft rice man raised by Gu Wan. This Su Huan is really hiding too much. Zhou Haiyang came to Li Huishan before stretching out his hand politely said Uncle Li, long time no see. I can't imagine that you are the major shareholder of the Seven Colors Entertainment Group. You are also too good at hiding it Li Huishan shook hands with Zhou Haiyang and smiled as he said this sentence. That has what to hide. When investing in Seven Colors Entertainment Company, he is still a small company. Zhou Ocean briefly explained to let Li Huishan understand what was going on. Under Li Huishan's introduction, Zhou Ocean began to shake hands with the other bigwigs of Nandu City one by one to get acquainted. Immediately after, Su Huan also in Pang Qingji's introduction to start with these big brother one by one to shake hands to recognize. No one dares to underestimate Su Huan. We must know. At this moment Su Huan had in the world's first title of poetry. Backed by the Dragon College and the cultural circle of great influence, Pang Qingji only knew that today Li Huishan and others are here to inspect. Passing by the Seven Color Entertainment Group came to see. I didn't expect that Seven Colors Entertainment Group happened to hold a board meeting today. There are too many people present. Want to talk to some people in detail is impossible. 
by Peng Qingji reception Li Huishan and others, the people one by one, shaking hands to say goodbye, the two groups of people separated, Zhou Haiyan and Su Huanzir did not know what to say, and saw Su Huan lifted his foot towards Zhou Haiyan buttocks kick, Zhou Haiyan laughed loudly and ran forward, this scene, was Li Huishan and other people see very clearly, all see out, Zhou Ocean and this Su Huan relationship is unusual, have eyes narrowed, Peng Qingji saw here in Li Huishan's side whispered to explain a little Zhou Gongzi and Su Dong is a diehard, specially explained to our shareholders, shall not disclose the relationship between the two people, who dares to divulge the secrets do not blame him for turning his face to be merciless, Su Dong is very low-key and unknown in South Metropolis, Li Huishan nodded his head to show his understanding, his face regained its smile as he spoke with Peng Qingji and entered the Seven Colors Entertainment Group headquarters, LV Wenming followed behind Li Huishan with a smile on his face, his heart was in shock for a long time. Today, on a whim, he followed Li Huishan down to inspect and really came to the right place. If he didn't come, he would never have known that the impression of the soft rice man Su Huan actually had such a strong network. The company's economic strength is so strong. Zhou Haiyang sat in Su Huan's car. Su Huan got on the car and made a call to do shu etching, letting do shu etching prepare more food. There were guests at home at noon, and then reported the number of people to do shu etching. Do shu etching agreed in one bite? Hanging up the phone, Su Huan then started the car to head to his home. The bodyguard beside Zhou Haiyan drove two high-grade commercial cars to follow behind. Without words along the way, the small fleet of three cars entered Su Huan's manor. Do Xu etching with two people waiting next to the parking lot? Su Huan parked the car. Zhou Haiyan got off and said, This place is quiet enough. It's your style. At the beginning is in order to figure a quiet to buy here, Su Huan said while talking to lead Zhou Ocean to the main building. Do Xu etching on the side to lead many bodyguards to another place, to the living room to sit down, and old mom immediately served tea over, put down politely to the two nodded and left, very good, the people on your side know the rules Zhou Hai Yang gave another comment, Su Huan smiled and made a pleased gesture and said what kind of person am I you still don't know, where do I know this, it's all because of Du Butler's tutelage, Zhou Hai Yang said with a smile you this butler is very good, looks and body are first class, and also the ability to teach these people so in place, it's a talent. By the way, I found a little abnormal things. No matter where you always have this kind of first class beauty around you. Your kid is now divorced. If still continue to keep the body like Jade that can be too wasteful. Listening to Zhou Ocean's flirting Su Huan said with a smile on his face. Currently changing. Zhou Haiyang no Su Huan divorce. Then called Su Huan. Need to clean up their own Guan. Guan guaranteed bankruptcy. The rest of the life of the poor and downtrodden worse than death. Su Huan stopped the matter. Zhou Haiyang did not do it. While the two were chatting, Su Huan made a call to Li Mingfeng, letting Li Mingfeng book the best private room at Star Club, to entertain his friends at night. After arranging it, they would come to Su Huan's side in the afternoon to have dinner together, and follow suit in the evening to relax. Li Mingfeng agreed to it in one bite. Watching Su Huan finish the phone call, Zhou Ocean directly gave Su Huan a thumbs up, knowing that the highest grade clubhouse in Nandu City is the Starry Sky Clubhouse. Two people chatting when Du Xu Eching came over. Lunch has been prepared. Su Huan greeted Zhou Xingqin to go to eat together. Today's lunch is sure to sip a cup of wine. Do not drink more. Open a bottle of wine each two two. Keep the amount of wine at night so happy. Zhou Ocean has no opinion. With Su Huan drinking a little wine and eating vegetables, the two are very relaxed. After eating and drinking, Su Huan sent Zhou Ocean to the guest room to rest. Settled Zhou Ocean before returning to his room to rest. Zhou Ocean is really tired. This sleep has been sleeping until 6 o'clock before waking up. Wash some downstairs. Su Huan is with a middle-aged man in the living room drinking tea and chatting. Su Huan for Li Mingfeng Zhou Haiyang two people made an introduction, and then greeted the two people to eat some food pad bottom. Drinking on an empty stomach is not good for the body. The three of them didn't eat much after arriving at the restaurant, and only drank a bowl of millet porridge before returning to the living room to drink tea. It was only after 8 o'clock in the evening that the three of them left together with their bodyguards to leave the house for the star club. Coincidentally, tonight Gu Wan, Zhang Inhua and other people are also in the Starry Sky Clubhouse dinner. LV Wenming is also in. Gu Wan and some people in the business community would like to consult with LV Wenming about the intelligent transformation project in the west side of the southern city. LV Wenming came over for dinner, and Zhang Inhua was sure to follow. People did not arrive. Seven people chatting in the private room. Not long, the South Metropolitan City. The president of the Mingyue group Wei Qianhan pushed the door came in. As soon as he entered the door said, I'm sorry I'm late. The crowd said it's okay. Mingyue Group is not a small company. This is an economic volume of more than $10 billion of large groups. Wei Qianhan age is similar to the Gubol. The same as a woman. Scheming wrist only in Guwan above not under Guwan. 
Especially rare is that Wei Qianhan is not married. It is said that Wei Qianhan talked about during the school period of the boyfriend died in a car accident. Wei Qianhan has been dragged to the present are not looking for another boyfriend. After sitting down and taking a sip of tea, Wei Qianhan gave Gu Wan a strange look in her eyes. And Gu Wan also saw it and felt a bit puzzled. Other people also saw Wei Qianhan's eyes. Zhang Yinhua asked with curiosity, What do you mean by looking at Gu Wan like that? Wei Qianhan said with an odd smile on her face, Gu Wan, I just arranged for a few customers to sing and play in the back, and I overheard your ex-husband, Li Mingfeng, accompanied by a young man playing. The three of them are calling a lot of girls. Hearing Wei Qianhan's words, everyone looked at Gu Wan. Li Mingfeng is Su Huan's private lawyer. Everyone knows that a soft rice man with a lawyer to accompany the people to play what is so rare. Gu Wan face appeared surprised expression. Young people, what young people worth Su Huan so accompanied? Other people do not understand Su Huan, but Gu Wan has a certain understanding of Su Huan. Su Huan this person do not look at the orphan, but the inner heart is very lonely. The same age is difficult to get Su Huan recognized. Could it be that Zhao Kai Feng is here? Thinking of this Gu Wan immediately dismissed it. It wouldn't be him, then who would it be? Seeing Gu Wan's expression, it was obvious that Gu Wan also didn't know who the person Su Huan accompanied was. LV Wenming's eyes narrowed when he saw this. Other people did not see Lu Wenming's expression, but Zhang Yinhua on the side saw it, as Lu Wenming's pillow for many years. She knew very well what it meant when her husband had this expression. Soon, a bitter smile spread on Gu Wan's face and she shook her head to indicate that she didn't know. And Zhang Yinhua immediately spoke to digress from the topic, saving Gu Bo from embarrassment. Wei Qianhan also did not say anything more. Along with the Zhang Yinhua picked up the topic of conversation down. The crowd are all people fine. Certainly will not mention the things that spoil the fun. Wine and food have come up. The crowd began to push the cups and talk about the day. Today came Gu Wan. Wei Qianhan. Today, Gu Wan. Wei Qianhan and others came here to ask LV Wenming about the intelligent transformation project in the western district of Nandu City. LV Wenming honestly said that the current municipal government of Nandu City is still in the discussion stage. The specific policy is estimated to be introduced to the end of the year. To promote the project is next year's things. Chatting with Lu Wenming thought of Su Huan. Looked at Gu Wan. This woman to now do not know what her ex-husband Su Huan. But also daydreaming about remarriage with her ex-husband. Is it possible? Soon. Everyone is full of wine and rice almost to the end of the time. Lu Wenming thought for a while. Or to point out Gu Wan good. Can through Gu Wan and Su Huan know is not a road. Thinking of this, Lu Wenming turned his head to look at Gu Wan and said, Mr. Gu, you started from nothing and now, you are also considered a successful person. What do you think is the key factor of your success? Hearing Lu Wenming ask this question, everyone looked at Gu Wan. Although there were three people present whose assets far exceeded Gu Wan's, they all started from taking over the family industry. The starting point is much higher than Gu Wan. Inwardly Gu Wan is still very admirable. Starting from nothing will be happy smooth technology development to the present point, is definitely today's society elite characters. Gu Bo thought for a while and said, I personally think that the key factor is that I caught up with the internet has just risen to the wind mouth. The words just fell loose civilization is very dry said no. The words of LV Wenming came out dryly. No. Hearing Lu Wenming's words, everyone was stunned. Unable to figure out that Lu Wenming would so dryly deny Gu Wan's answer. Just as Gu Wan was puzzled. LV Wenming spoke once more General Manager Gu. My family's Lao Jiang is a good bosom friend with you and cares a lot about your life. I haven't heard her talk about you wanting to get back together with your ex-husband at home. Worrying about your affairs. Now I ask you one thing. How much do you know about your ex-husband Su Huan? The crowd was stunned when they heard Lu Wenming's words. They couldn't imagine that Lu Wenming would ask this question. And each of them looked at Gu Wan with interest. Gu Wan had done a lot of crazy things in order to remarry this ex-husband of his. And each one wanted to know what Gu Wan would say. Gu Wan frowned. Not understanding that Lu Wenming would suddenly ask this question. And glanced at Zhang Yinhua. Who directly gave Gu Wan a boldly speaking look. Zhang Yinhua could already tell that her husband was going to nudge Gu Wan for his own sake. Seeing that Gu Wan didn't say anything. Lu Wenming looked at Gu Wan and lied again this question is a bit personal. Let's change it. Do you know any of your husband's close friends? This time. Gu Wan reacted quickly. Looked at Lu Wenming and said with a serious look on her face. I graduated from Longting College with him, even though I'm two years older than him, I've basically seen all of his friends, I don't dare to say 100%, 99% I know and have seen, I know very well who his best friends are, Lu Wenming shook his head with a dissatisfied look on his face, clearly dissatisfied with Gu Wan's answer, General Manager Gu, you really don't understand your ex-husband, if you did, you would know who that young man is with him tonight, LV Wenming said this sentence very nonchalantly, the crowd was stunned, 
They could already see that LV Wenming knew who the young man Su Huan was accompanying at the moment. Gu Wan frowned and looked at Lu Wenming with a disbelieving expression. Seeing Gu Wan's expression, Lu Wenming shook his head and looked at Gu Wan with an expression of looking at a fool. The crowd saw Lu Wenming's expression and all of them were moved in their hearts. At this time, Lu Wenming looked at Gu Wan and said, Gu, you have not found that you start a business from scratch and succeed and all of this is too smooth? This sentence made Gu Wan directly stupid face, reacted with a thoughtful expression on her face. The crowd could see a little something at this time. Lu Wenming obviously knew something and was currently nudging Gu Wan. The fool, not waiting for Gu Wan to finish thinking, Lu Wenming revealed the answer to the riddle and said, You can start a business from scratch and succeed because of one thing, Su Huan is standing behind you. He silently blocked all the open swords and dark arrows for you. The young man Su Huan accompanied today is called Zhou Haiyang, from the imperial capital Zhou family. In our Dashia, the Zhou family belongs to the kind of super family that stomps its foot and shakes the entire Dashia slightly. Zhou Ocean is a direct descendant of this family. Although he doesn't follow the political path, he has a lot of power in his family. Su Huan's relationship with Zhou Haiyang is that of a best friend. Today, I accompanied the mayor to inspect the high-tech zone, and coincidentally met the board of directors of the Seven Colors Entertainment Group. Zhou Haiyang is the largest shareholder of Seven Colors Entertainment Group, and Su Huan is the second largest shareholder of Seven Colors Entertainment Group. You've been married for so many years, yet you know nothing about your husband. As a wife, have you ever really understood anything related to your husband? Have you ever cared about his preferences? If you've done all this, even if someone is counting on you, you won't be in the game at all. You want to get back together with Su Huan. Just use your heart. After listening to Lu Wenming's words not only Gu Wan was stunned, everyone present was also stunned along with him. In everyone's heart, Su Huan was a soft rice man raised by Gu Wan. Only today did they realize that the man in their mind who ate soft rice actually had such strength. Gu Wan's cheerful technology company is a good development. That also has to be divided with what enterprises to compare. If compared with the Seven Colors Entertainment Group, there is absolutely no comparability. The two sides were not at the same level of existence. Soon, each face had a look of sudden realization, understanding why Lu Wenming would look at Gu Wan like a fool. Wei Qianhan looked at Gu Wan and thought in her head that a husband who was so powerful, who could protect himself from the wind and rain and who was infatuated with him was just given up by Gu Wan. What a brainwashed person. If I had such a husband, even if I was beaten by my husband, I would firmly hold my husband's thighs, die without letting go. Wei Qianhan thought of her face slightly red. See the crowd did not look at their own peace of mind a lot, followed by a flash of light in the brain. Since at this moment Su Huan and Gu Wan divorced, is he or she? Wei Qianhan is pondering the time. Zhang Yinhua stood up and spoke time is not early. Today is dispersed it. Sort of relieved Gu Wan's extremely embarrassing scene. The crowd stood up. One by one, their faces returned to their original color. Their mouths said polite words to the private room outside. Gu Wan was sitting there did not move. Zhang Yinhua gave her husband a look. LV Wenming began to greet the crowd to leave. Zhang Yinhua stayed behind to comfort Gu Wan. What LV Wenming said today hit Gu Wan very hard. What Lu Wenming said today completely shattered Gu Wan's pride. After Lu Wenming and the crowd left, Gu Wan could no longer hold back her tears in Zhang Yinhua's arms. Zhang Yinhua hugged Gu Wan and patted her back to comfort her. Gu Wan is really broken at the moment. Lu Wenming's words made Gu Wan think of many things. Think of the difficult things she encountered in the imperial capital side as long as she told Su Huan. It wouldn't take more than a few days for the difficult things to be completely solved. What Lu Wenming said was right. Su Huan really paid extremely much behind his own back. In itself, she was harboring a huge guilt towards Su Huan. And at this moment, analyzing these things again, Gu Wan really couldn't bear it inside. After sending everyone away, Lu Wenming returned, pushed open the door of the box to see Gu Wan still crying. Zhang Yinhua gave Lu Wenming a look. LV Wenming nodded and left again, going to settle the cost of this meal. And by the way, not letting anyone come over to disturb Zhang Yinhua to enlighten Gu Wan. It was only after another while that Gu Wan barely stopped crying in pain. All right, this Su Huan is hiding so deeply, so it's obvious that he's not sincere to you either. Don't be sad. Zhang Yinhua comforted Gu Wan. Gu Wan immediately said repeatedly in a sobbing voice. No, no. Immediately after, Gu Wan told Zhang Yinhua about how she and Su Huan were forced to sign a prenuptial and postnuptial agreement by her own mother, Zhang Xiaoyan, and stepfather. Zhuo Jiqiang, before they got their license, before they got the license, Gu Wan's company had already started to make profits, knowing that Gu Wan and Su Huan were going to officially get a marriage license, Gu Wan's biological mother Jiang Xiaoyan and stepfather Zhuo Jiqiang came to the imperial capital, Su Huan and Gu Wan called to the hotel, Jiang Xiaoyan and Zhuo Jiqiang took out a prenuptial and postnuptial property agreement, 
requiring Su Huan must sign the agreement. Only if Su Huan signed the agreement, he could get married with Gu Wan. In the opinion of Jiang Shayan and Zhu Jiang, Su Huan pursues Gu Wan because Gu Wan started her company and began to make money. And as the company scale slowly expands, Gu Wan's wealth can be imagined. How can Gu Wan's money be shared with outsiders? Her daughter's money tree belongs to her. So what if you're a talented scholar from the highest school in the Grand Xia Empire? In front of money, talent is nothing. Jiang Shayan and Zhu Jiang consulted a number of lawyers to concoct such an agreement. As long as Su Huan signed it, even if he divorces Gu Wan in the future, Su Huan won't be able to get much money. At that time, Su Huan is not signed. Jiang Shayan began to play the skin. To Su Huan cursed a gas said words dead hard to hear. A Su Huan not sign this agreement will not stop attitude. Until Su Huan see Gu Wan's eyes appear foggy, showing pleading their own signing of the look. Only then signed the agreement with a long sigh. Previously did not understand why Su Huan long sigh. At this moment Gu Wan completely understand. But also understand that your Su Huan look at their eyes is what it means. Su Huan is not willing to sign the agreement is not for their own property. But in order to let Gu Wan also enjoy the dividends brought by the investment of Su Huan's assets. Sadly, Gu Wan only understood Su Huan's good intentions at this moment. After listening to Gu Wan's story, Jiang Yinhua heart a long sigh. At this moment inwardly really a little blame Gu Bulls. Previously, she had only heard Gu Wan talk about how loving she was with her husband. But now she realized that Gu Wan basically knew nothing about her husband's affairs. The love and everything was fake. It was always Su Huan who was in love with Gu Wan. Not Gu Wan who was in love with Su Huan. A man who was so good to you. So infatuated with you was even pushed out by your own hand. Or in that condition where you broke his heart. No wonder those people will be counting on you. You are really stupid fucking open the door to stupid. Stupid to home. What can be done? Jiang Yinhua can only persuade Gu Wan. And in the meantime help Gu Wan think of a way. The time slowly passed more than 30 minutes. Jiang Yinhua and Gu Wan only out of the box. I do not know how Jiang Yinhua and Gu Wan talk about. In short, Gu Wan's state of sadness has changed a lot. Walked out of the club to the parking lot side. Saw standing next to the car Lu Wenming. Husband and wife glanced at each other. Jiang Yinhua slowly nodded to her husband. LV Wenming saw this and was reassured. Only then did she shift her gaze to look at Gu Wan. Lu Wenming found that Gu Bol's eyes were red. And her mental state was quite a bit better than what she had seen when she returned to the private room. Jiang Yinhua escorted Gu Wan to the side of the vehicle and said do as I say. Don't do anything confusing again. A few days ago Su Huan can take the initiative to call you. Showing that he still has you in his heart. According to the plan. Do not cause irreversible mistakes. Encounter things that can move Su Huan to do more. The expression on Gu Wan's face hardened quite a bit. And she said very seriously I understand. I will strictly implement it. Jiang Yinhua nodded and said again go back and take a bath and rest well. Now the priority is for you to speed up your physical recovery. Everything else is secondary. Don't forget. A few of your rivals have already arrived in South Metropolis. Gu Wan raised her hand and wiped her tears after hearing this and said I understand. I will speed up my body's recovery speed. The look on her face was once again firm. Jiang Yinhua hugged Gu Wan before letting her get into the car and return home under the escort of her bodyguards. After seeing Gu Wan leave in the car, Jiang Yinhua turned back to join her husband Lu Wenming, and the two of them got into the car to return home. All the way without words, Jiang Yinhua and Lu Wenming back home. Jiang Yinhua went to brew a pot of tea over. In the living room with her husband to talk. A cup of tea. Jiang Yinhua opened the door and asked why do you want to help Gu Wan today? Because Su Huan? Lu Wenming nodded and said Su Huan is a person who hides very deeply. So deeply that it scares people. You never know what kind of backstabbing this kind of person still has. Before I met Su Huan today, I was just like all of you. I always thought that Su Huan was a soft rice man raised by Gu Wan. A waste of space. But what's the truth? Those of us who look down on him are clowns in his eyes. How old is he this year? At such a young age, he knows how to bumble and hide. It's a terrifyingly great wisdom. Lu Wenming said these words with a serious expression on his face. Jiang Yinhua had not seen such a serious look on her husband's face for a long time. So it was obvious how much shock Su Huan had brought to her husband. Jiang Yinhua pondered for a while and said, Are you trying to establish a relationship with Su Huan through Gu Wan? Not bad, Lu Wenming admitted. Jiang Yinhua frowned and said even if he is the second largest shareholder of the Seven Colors Entertainment Group, even if he is a diehard friend of Zhou Gongzi, there is no need for you to be like this. Lu Wenming shook his head after hearing his wife's words and said you don't understand. You also underestimated the Seven Colors Entertainment Group as an enterprise. Seven Colors Entertainment Group's headquarters has been relocated from the Imperial Capital to the Southern Metropolis. The current investment in the Southern Metropolis has exceeded 1 billion. This year will lead to the number of new employment will be more than a thousand people. Today, 
Seven Colors Entertainment Group held a board meeting to discuss financing to wholly acquire the South Metropolis television station. Once the acquisition is successful, Seven Colors Entertainment Group will be supported by the television station. It won't take two years for Seven Colors Entertainment Group to be one of the top three power level enterprises in South Metropolis. No matter who becomes the boss of South Metropolis, you can only pull in this type of power enterprise. Liu Wenming explained a bit. Zhang Inhua then understood what the Seven Colors Entertainment Group was all about, and also understood why her husband attached so much importance to this matter. For a while, Zhang Inhua said with a regretful expression Su Huan and Gu Wan remarriage is basically hopeless. The most Gu Wan is an ordinary lover. The two feelings are difficult to return to the past. LV Wenming said with a smile after listening, Lover, is also his woman. Zhang Inhua froze, followed by looking at her husband. Fully understood what her husband meant. This is to prepare for what will happen in a few years. I hope Gu Wan fights for her honor. Originally I thought she was very shrewd. How did I know that she was so stupid? Being touted for a few sentences and then drifting away. No wonder those people would count on her. Zhang Inhua uttered these words with a look of hatred. Gu Wan didn't know anything about her husband's affairs. It was really a waste of time to be a human wife. Lu Wenming shook his head slightly after listening to his wife's words, not very approving of Jiang Yinhua's words, and said calmly, the responsibility for what happened between Gu Bulls and Su Huan is not all on Gu Wan. Su Huan also has a certain responsibility. The two of them fell in love when Su Huan just how old. No matter how talented he can not change his young lack of social experience, the mind is not mature enough. The shortcomings of the two of them, when a boy of this age is in love, he can't wait to give his best to his beloved girl and he doesn't want her to suffer a little bit. When Gu Wan started her business, Su Huan paid a lot of money in silence, and Gu Wan herself is also capable of certain things. When you and Gu Wan became good girlfriends, it's not because Gu Wan was impressed by the desperation of a desperate woman. Gu Wan is not as bad as you think. It can only be said that Su Huan protected her too well, making her think that her achievements today are the result of her own hard work. This kind of wrong perception makes Gu Wan drift, so that Gu Wan cannot see herself clearly. You turn around and remind her. Su Huan can silently support her to make cheerful technology company grow to its current economic volume. And if necessary, she can also be made to instantly fall down to nothing. Lu Wenming's expression was serious when he said this. Compared to Jiang Yinhua, Lu Wenming still grasped a trace of Su Huan's mind. There are some words. Lu civilization did not say all of them. The reason why he did not say it is because there is no evidence. It is merely a speculation of Lu civilization. In Lu Wenming's opinion, Su Huan's network must be more than Zhao Kaifeng. Zhou Haiyang two people, playing a high-end bureau. He is too lazy to deal with those small clients. Gu Wan needs to grow, and dealing with these small customers is considered as honing. When the enterprise develops, Gu Wan also grows up through honing, in conjunction with Su Huan's high-end game. At that time, Huanchang Technology Companies will usher in the stars and the sea. It was only a pity that Gu Wan lost herself in the process of growth, destroying Su Huan's overall strategic layout. You don't have to worry about this. Gu Wan has realized her mistake at this moment and started to change. She, Zhang Yinhua told everything Gu Wan did after their divorce truthfully. The more comprehensive one says, the more information the husband gets, the more accurate judgment can be made. Saying so was more or less a certain suspicion of betraying Gu Wan's privacy. But Zhang Yinhua had no pressure in her heart. Compared to her husband, Gu Wan could only stand on the sidelines. It must be said that Zhang Yinhua is much better than Gu Wan in this regard. LV Wunming and Zhang Yin Yinhua have a good relationship. There are reasons for this. All kinds of things as long as it is related to LV Wunming. Zhang Yin Yinhua will stand beside LV Wunming no matter what. The first thing you need to do is to get a good deal of money to pay for it. Tonight, Yu Hongdo lying in bed looking at the report frowned. Su Huan accompanied by the young man who. Ordinary people will not be Su Huan stayed at home. Women may be stayed at home by Su Huan. But it is difficult for men. Ordinary friends will never be stayed at home by Su Huan. Only personnel similar to Zhao Kaifeng's die-hard relationship will be stayed at home by Su Huan. Looking at the photos transmitted by WeChat, Yu Hongdo pondered. After a while, Yu Hongdo forwarded the photo to Zhao Kaifeng and sent a text asking Zhao Kaifeng if he recognized this person. Back then, when he was in college in the imperial capital, Zhao Kaifeng was a social cow. Plus his hands were not bad, and he knew a lot of friends in the imperial capital with his long sleeves. Su Huan has such a deep relationship with this person. Zhao Kaifeng should recognize him. Yu Hongdo is thinking about things when the cell phone rings. Pick up a look as Zhao Kaifeng called. This time even so fast. It is a bit unbelievable. I answered the phone. The phone immediately came Zhao Kaifeng's urgent voice you and the photo of the people in conflict? Yu Hongdo frowned. Zhao Kaifeng rarely have such an eager tone to talk to himself. Immediately reply to no. 
Immediately heard a long gasp from the phone. Yu Hongdo curiously asked who is he. From the long exhalation of Zhao Kai Feng, it can be seen that this person gives Zhao Kai Feng a lot of pressure. To make the fearless Zhao Kai Feng feel so much pressure, this person was definitely not an ordinary person. Zhao Kai Feng's questioning words came out you tell me first, how did you get this photo? Only then did Yu Hongdo tell the story of her own people staring at Su Huan, who not only let this person live at home, but also accompanied him to the largest club in the southern metropolis to have fun at night. Listening to Yu Hongdo finished, Zhao Kai Feng once again long exhaled a breath of peace of mind a lot. As long as it is not Yu Hongdo and this person to start a conflict on the good. I know Zhou Ocean, but also followed Su Huan met a few times. No deep friendship. Zhou Haiyang and Su Huan relationship to which step? Zhao Kai Feng is not very clear. Zhao Kai Feng spoke into the phone. Do you know the imperial capital Zhou family? No. Could it be that he is a member of the Zhou family Yu Hongdo was surprised to say this? At this time, Zhao Kai Feng's voice came out once again not bad. He is a member of the Zhou family, and is the Zhou family's oldest son, the fourth son of the Zhou family. His name is Zhou Ocean. Not only is he a direct descendant of the Zhou family, he is also very vocal in the Zhou family. I'm the only one who knows something about Su Huan's relationship with Zhou Haiyang, the oldest two and the oldest three don't know about this. After hearing Zhao Kai Feng's words Yu Hongdo then realized what was going on, and said with great displeasure this wood is also hiding too deeply. Don't talk about him like that. When Su Huan knew Zhou Haiyan, the Zhou family did not pay any attention to Zhou Haiyan. To put it bluntly, if Zhou Haiyan got into trouble outside and involved any of his three older brothers, she said, the Zhou family will not hesitate to sacrifice Zhou Ocean. Zhou Haiyang also met Su Huan, and only after Su Huan's guidance did he start to turn the tide against the odds. Zhao Kaifeng said what he knew to Yu Hongdo, letting Yu Hongdo know clearly how Su Huan's relationship with Zhou Ocean was, and maybe this would become Yu Hongdo's help. Zhao's group is bullish enough, right? Really want to fight with the Zhou family hard to death. The final victor is certainly the Zhou family. The hidden strength of political families is beyond your imagination. After listening to Zhao Kaifeng's words, Yu Hongdo then understood what was going on. It seems that in the future, you really can't underestimate this wood. This Zhou Ocean could not be underestimated either. I know. Thank you Yu Hongdo said this sentence with absolute sincerity to thank. Zhao Kaifeng was really putting his heart into setting himself up with Su Huan. There's no need to thank me. Turn around and I'll blackmail this kid Su Huan well. This period of time didn't ask you. To what extent have you guys progressed? Have you kissed and hugged and lifted high? Zhao Kai Feng flirting words came out from the phone, making Yu Hongdo's cheeks hot and red, and immediately said, just hang up. After saying that, she hung up the phone, causing Zhao Kai Feng on the other end of the phone to freeze. Inside the room, Zhao Kai Feng stroked his chin, pondering how Yu Hongdo reacted so greatly. Could it be? Zhao Kai Feng's eyes immediately lit up. His mind immediately brainstormed Yu Hongdo in front of Su Huan sticking kissing hugging and lifting high, and couldn't help but ha 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 laughed. Time slowly passed two days. This afternoon, Su Huan drove Zhou Ocean to the airport. The Ocean Consortium after the development of the past few years expanded dozens of times. The need for Zhou Ocean to personally deal with a lot of things. To be able to stay in the southern city for three days was already the limit. After sending Zhou Ocean away, Su Huan drove straight to the highway intersection in the southern suburbs, waiting for Zhou Xinyun to arrive. Zhou Xinyun went to the next door of Changshan City to do activities. After the end of the activities intend to run to Su Huan this side and Su Huan get together. Separated for such a long time is very Miss Su Huan, the most in Su Huan's side to stay a night. Tomorrow we'll have to catch a plane back to the drama shooting. Sister Hong has long used the Changshan City ID card to rent a car. Personally drove Zhou Xinyun to the South Metropolis. Tomorrow morning we'll go to Su Huan's home to pick up Zhou Xinyun. After waiting for more than 30 minutes, a vehicle bearing the name of Changshan City stopped in front of Su Huan's vehicle. And immediately after that, we saw the door open. A woman with a hat, sunglasses, masks, Wearing a black trench coat quickly came down from the car, jogging to the side of Su Huan vehicle, opened the passenger door immediately went up. The front of the vehicle again started to drive toward the front. Zhou Xinyun a car, removed the sunglasses, mask, long exhaled a breath, followed by the side of the body holding Su Huan neck is a deep kiss. After not seeing him for such a long time, he really missed Su Huan too much. After separating, he asked, do you want me? Su Huan looked at Zhou Xinyun is very serious said, too much want you, the inner really want Zhou Xinyun, no coaxing meaning, Zhou Xinyun sat back on the co-pilot, said with a smile on his face, you will say false words to coax me, Su Huan aside, face with a mysterious smile in the Zhou Xinyun side whispered you do not believe it, back home can check in detail, I have accumulated a lot of grain cannot wait to be surrendered, Zhou Xinyun heard immediately red-faced hit Su Huan a few times, Su Huan does not care, 
immediately start the car to go. At the moment, he wants to return home quickly. This period of time but was provoked a lot. Very need to solve the body problem. The vehicle returned home without words. The two of them saw Du Xu etching as soon as they got out of the car. And Du Xu etching knew what was going on when she saw Zhou Xinyan. With a smile on her face, she greeted the two and left. Zhou Xinyun was slightly reddened by Du Xu etching's smile and hit Su Huan, who didn't care and pulled Zhou Xinyun's hand quickly towards the main building. After coming in, he didn't even stop at the living room, but went straight to the third floor bedroom. Zhou Xinyun's face was red and obedient. Entering the room, the back door was closed. Not for a long time. Meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. The sound of a high-pitched cat purring came out of the room. After a long time, Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun were lying on the bed. Both of them had a contented look on their faces. Being hugged by Su Huan, Zhou Xinyun closed her eyes and enjoyed herself. Time slowly passed, the two until 6 o'clock before going downstairs, both dressed in pajamas, after eating dinner to go out for a walk together. It wasn't long before they returned to their room, lying on the bed, talking to each other about the things that had happened during the time they were apart. After hearing that Yu Hongdo and Baby Mo had arrived in the southern metropolis, even though she was psychologically prepared, Zhou Xinyun couldn't help but be jealous, and twisted Su Huan's waist a few times to vent her heart's displeasure. Su Huan had just told her that nothing of the sort had happened with the two men, and instead, he had been aroused by the two men. This satisfied Zhou Xinyun. However, Zhou Xinyun also understood that Su Huan would always be unable to stop that day. There was already ample mental preparation. It didn't matter about all this anymore. She was already Su Huan's woman, and Su Huan wouldn't give up on herself. In the end, everything would return to the situation she had envisioned. Besides, oneself and Su Huan get together less away from more than a year most of the time is not in his side. Looking for Yu Hongdo Mo baby them a few better than other people. Two people chatting easily, each other feelings deepened a lot. More than 10 o'clock, just when Su Huan fought the past this level, Zhou Xinyun began to rage. Tomorrow morning, he had to leave. He had to squeeze Su Huan hard before he could. He couldn't just cheapen Yu Hongdo and baby Mo so easily. Tonight, the sound of catcalls rose and fell, intermittently echoing within the main building of the manor. One night passed. At 6 o'clock in the morning exactly, Sister Hong drove to Su Huan's manor. After having dinner yesterday Su Huan had explained Du Xu etching, and Du Xu etching had explained the gate guards. Therefore, Sister Hong entered the manor smoothly and did not go to the main building, but waited in the parking lot. Zhou Xinyu was already washing up, walked out of the restroom and put on her clothes. Her eyes exuded a strong affectionate look at Su Huan who was still sleeping. Last night, Su Huan was squeezed five times, counting the one in the afternoon is six times. Su Huan will not be able to slow down until he recuperates for ten days. Looking at Su Huan who was still huffing and puffing, not even realizing that he had gotten up, he walked over and gently kissed Su Huan on the face, before straightening up and gently leaving the bedroom. It didn't take long to reach the parking lot. Sister Hong smiled heartily when she saw Zhou Xinyun and she could tell from Zhou Xinyun's face. It was very moisturizing. After getting on the car and seeing Sister Hong's eyes with deep meaning, Zhou Xinyun blushed even more. Sister Hong just smiled and did not say anything, starting the car to leave. Su Huan has been sleeping until almost 12 o'clock before waking up, a rolled over and pounced, opened his eyes and looked around, and in his heart, he immediately understood that Zhou Xinyun was gone. After lying down for a while, he got up, washed up and went downstairs to eat lunch. Du Xu etching on the lunch arrangement is very in place, the medicinal meal is no longer solid foundation to cultivate energy, but changed into a tonic. Has guessed that Zhou Xinyan left before the surely will not be lenient to forgive Su Huan. Su Huan ate a large meal and then went out for a walk to eat, 30 minutes or so to return to the once again huffing and puffing. Today, Su Huan did not go out for a day, honestly at home to simply exercise, to recuperate mainly. Two meals down more or less slowed down a bit. Have this feeling with Su Huan adhere to exercise? tonic are related. The next morning, Su Huan woke up early to start running exercise. According to the previous Wei Yutong's instructions, the amount of exercise reduced by 80%. After exercise and breakfast, he went to the study to read books, practicing brush strokes, and coding. After the lunch tonic sleep, wake up for simple strength training, complete the training bath to go for a walk. After dinner, he went back to his room early to rest. The only change is that today, Su Huan's meal size has increased again. In the evening, Yu Hongdo lay in bed looking at the report, seeing Zhou Xinyan left Su Huan's house at a little after 6 in the morning. Her mood was a lot better than yesterday. Her brows just loosened up a little and then wrinkled up again. Remembering that Zhou Xinyan stayed at Su Huan's side yesterday, the heart was still a bit upset. At this moment, Yu Hongdo's thoughts are very entangled. 
One thought is to quickly sleep with Su Huan according to what Zhao Kaifeng said, and then in the identity of the mistress of the baby M.O., Zhou Xinyun, and Su Ran Ran were all taken in. There was another thought that didn't want to let Su Huan get himself so easily. Let Su Huan easily get himself. Yu Hongdo in a little very reluctant. Inner hope Su Huan do would let himself move things, and then together. Serious thinking for a while long exhaled a breath. Cannot be Zhou Xinyun's appearance to disrupt the plan, in accordance with their established plan to go on. Now is really not suitable to let Su Huan get himself so quickly. Mo Baby side also have Su Huan's news. Is Lin Yi Di every time after receiving the news forwarded to Mo Baby? See Zhou Xin Yun early in the morning a little more than 6 o'clock left. The mood is a lot better. However, the heart is still a little twisted. For a while long exhaled a breath and said, Next time to see Su Huan must be ruthless tease him before leaving. Time slowly passed two days. Su Huan recovered. The amount of exercise is also restored to the degree of half. More than 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Do Xu Eching picked up Wei Yutong? As in the past, Wei Yutong came to this day as the three people eat together. After dinner the three drank a little tea in the living room. Su Huan went out for a walk. And Du Xu Eching sent Wei Yutong upstairs to the guest room. One night later, at 6 o'clock the next day, Su Huan and Wei Yutong met downstairs and began to run together in the morning. One day down, Su Huan really wanted to be a little bit unable to top the situation. Did not expect Wei Yutong is also so good at flirting, and also borrowed to point out the movement with the soft places of the body to touch themselves. Su Huan also used great perseverance to carry this wave. In the evening, Du Xu Eching returned after sending Wei Yutong back to school, she saw Su Huan drinking tea in the living room. She walked over and asked, Why aren't you resting yet? I have something on my mind and I can't sleep. Su Huan said honestly. Du Xu Eching smiled and sat down, picked up the teapot and poured himself a cup of tea and said, Can you tell me about it? Su Huan hesitated for a moment and said, Do you have the feeling that way Yu Tong is not right? Hearing this sentence Du Xu Eching directly laughed. My silly sir, you finally found this point. She hasn't been right for a long time. From the first moment she saw you, I could tell that she had the intention to eat you. Today she should have flirted with you too hard to be seen by you. Du Xu Eching said this sentence with a smile. Su Huan heard a black face said you see out how not to remind me. Do not want to remind me you can also remind her ah. You know I'm surrounded by these women. They have been enough to make me difficult. After listening to the words of Su Huan Du Xu Eching was not the slightest bit surprised. Picked up a cup of tea and took a sip and said. Mr. Yu, Yu Hongdo, M.O. Baby, Zhou Xinyun, Gu Bol. Su Ran Ran, five of them know that other women will be eyeing you. The five of them are in no hurry at all. Do you know why? Su Huan did not even think to open his mouth and said, They are waiting for me to be tired. Tired after I. Said here Su Huan said cannot go on. Already understand the meaning of Du Xu Eching. Their five hearts know. Just five of them will not let your heart tired. Because you and they all have emotional foundation. No matter who you're with. It's a matter of water and water. It's hard to get tired when you're surrounded by all five of them. They're letting you meet all sorts of women to get through the love affair. And these women won't be happy with being a secretive woman. They'll find a way to stand by your side openly and honestly. In order to achieve this purpose, we'll certainly play with you all kinds of small means. You'll be tired when you're tired of them. Du Xu Eching very calmly said his own analysis. Su Huan listened to think a bit nodded have a look at Du Xu Eching said you are the sixth. Du Xu Eching's face immediately a red did not say, but inside is very sweet. This period of time with Su Huan to get along with can already determine what Su Huan is a person. They have no qualifications to ask Su Huan to give themselves what. Being together with Su Huan every day would definitely be tiresome. Occasionally accompanying herself would be fine. Do Xu Eching like this way of getting along? I know you don't like this, but are you willing to wait 10 or 20 years before your heart gets tired? You can afford to wait. Can you Hongo and the five of them afford to wait? A woman's youth is limited. Do Xu Eching purposely reminded? Don't delay the youth of the five of them because of the moral principle issue in your heart. It's the great harm you're doing to them. Great cruelty. After hearing this Su Huan took a deep breath and nodded with an extremely serious expression on his face. Resolving that he must not treat the Yu Hongdo several women in this way. Seeing that Su Huan understood his own meaning, Du Xu Eching was still very pleased. His own and Su Huan's three views were still very close. After thinking about it for a while, since Su Huan viewed himself as the sixth person, he would be the sixth person. The next time Wei Yutong comes over and flirts with you again, just take her down directly Du Xu Eching snapped out these words, causing Su Huan to freeze. Immediately after, Su Huan said with a bitter expression, Am I a lower body animal in your eyes? No. Du Xu Eching uttered these words with great certainty. Su Huan looked at Du Xu Eching with a suspicious expression. Since you don't think I'm this kind of person, why did you still say the words to let me take down Wei Yutong? What kind of person are you? I only think that I can still see through it. 
Although you are emotionally entangled with Yu Hongdo and the five of them, that's due to a variety of reasons. The fault doesn't lie with you alone. Du Xueqing explained, more or less also heard Su Huan told a lot of things with these women. Du Xueqing can understand these women's mind? In addition, Su Huan with Gu Bols to determine the relationship with other women began to keep a distance. Until the divorce this period have not split legs, to female friends also keep a distance to not let people misunderstand. Now the domestic economy what kind of mister? Heart no, those famous university graduates are not good to find a job. She an ordinary family from a small girl alone in the south city to fight hard. She went to the South Metropolitan College of the Arts. This kind of school graduates to find a job is even more difficult. Too many companies see her graduation school others simply do not look at the resume thrown away. I talked to her in the car. Wei Yutong now has three part-time jobs, since the second semester of her freshman year, all in order to ease her family's financial burden. She's a self-loving girl. She turned down a lot of guys who chased her during school, and a lot of guys who drove sports cars, doing part-time work during the very bitter, by many people more harassment, our tenacious resistance to escape, if she followed Mr. It changed her fate, perhaps will also change the fate of some families. Do Xu Weqing finish looking at Su Huan? Su Huan frowned tightly. Oh while time to say look at the recognition of a love. She encountered difficulties I can help her once at a small cost. There is no need to XO people right. After listening to Su Huan's words, Do Xu Weqing laughed, whether to laugh at Su Huan being too kind, or to laugh at Su Huan being too naive. Only Do Xu Weqing herself knows. I'd like to think that Mr. Still took her in for good. Wei Yutong, although self-love, also exercise a quick search for the camera, enter the house and immediately unlock the door, means of self-preservation, but you and I both know that these small skills are not very useful, those who have the intention to hua hua him, can use too many ways, instead of letting those people hobble this self-loving little girl, I'm all for you taking her in, sir, if you don't object I'll talk to her, let her make her own choices, no threats whatsoever, do Xu Weqing finished and glanced at Su Wan, the reminder was heavy, since you want to change, then change completely. There are flowers that can be folded straight must be folded. Don't twist and turn to play with these women ambiguous. The sooner you change the sooner your heart gets tired. The better for everyone. After listening to Du Xu Eching's words, Su Huan returned to normal with a slight frown on his brow, and gave Du Xu Eching a deep look. You are even encouraging me to accept women. What was going on in Du Xu Eching's head? How could a woman's mind be so strange? Su Huan pondered for a while, shook his head and said you can talk to her. If she graduates and has difficulty finding a job I can give her a hand. The rest is exempt. Tell her to stop teasing me. Colorful entertainment group side will be in June and July for a large number of recruiting. When introduced to Wei Yutong in the past well, there is no need to hua hua people little girl. You, you really don't understand women's hearts. No more. I'm going to rest. Du Xu Eching finished shaking her head a lift her hand to finish the tea in the cup and stood up to go. Although Su Huan is trying very hard to change, but still do not understand women's hearts. Su Huan looked at Du Xu Eching's back a little confused. What do you mean by this? Is it that I Hua Hua Wei Yutong is to understand her heart? What the hell is a woman's heart? After thinking for a while, Su Huan shook his head and picked up his teacup, lifted his hand and dried the tea in the cup, stood up and walked towards the upper floor. Do not think about these things. The night passed. The next morning, Su Huan got up early to continue to run in the morning. A day at home did not go out. After honestly exercising at home for two more days, he drove away from home to head to Seven Colors Entertainment Group. Seven Colors Entertainment Group, CEO Pang Qingji called Wei Changxin, the minister of the directing department. Over as soon as he got to work today and said that Su Huan would be coming over to work for the company and do the directing thing. When Wei Changxin heard this, he quit boss. He's a major shareholder. What do you want me to do if he comes to the directing department? Provide for him? Wouldn't it be good for you to arrange a department for him that is full of beautiful women? clearly expressing the attitude of not wanting Su Huan to come to the director's department. Su Huan's identity was too special. A single sentence could decide whether Wei Changxin would stay or go. Once you hear or see something unfavorable to you in the director's department to create a bad impression, the next time the company's personnel adjustments, Su Huan crooked his mouth, Wei Changxin will be finished. Pang Qingji had already anticipated that Wei Changxin would have this kind of attitude, and said with a smile, it's good for you if he goes to the director's department. Wei Changxin's face revealed a skeptical expression looking at Pang Qingji. Pang Qingji convergence of some face smile and said, Wei, although the years you directing department to do well, but did not achieve satisfactory results, there have been a number of shareholders and executives, are with me to express dissatisfaction with the results of the film and television sector? These views I have been betting, after all, you follow me for many years, now that Su Huan is going to the director's department, 
As long as you have a good relationship with him, even if I end up having to adjust you against my wishes, as long as Su Huan says a word, he can keep you, then I'll give you a new department to justify it. After that, Pang Qingji gave Wei Changxin a meaningful look. Wei Changxin looked at Pang Qingji and nodded seriously. The company's top management is dissatisfied with the performance of the director's department. Wei Changxin has long heard of this, and in his heart, he knows that what Pang Qingji said is true. When he was hesitating, Pang Qingji said again, there are certain things you should keep in mind. Su Huan went to the director's department to play the nature of the ticket. You have to remember. He can play the ticket you cannot. If he gives you the script to shoot the movie, you must coordinate the best personnel for him, so that he is happy to play. I will be happy to reduce the pressure on the body. You will also be happy. If you let Su Huan play unhappy, he gave me pressure to make me difficult. What is the end of you think about it yourself? And... Pang Qingji talked to Wei Changxin for a full 30 minutes before Wei Changxin left Pang Qingji's office with a hint of a smile on his face to head to the director's department. Watching the office door close, Pang Qingji shook his head slightly, thinking in his heart, Old Wei, if you can't get satisfactory results again this year, no one can protect you. There are too many people within the Seven Colors Entertainment Group who are dissatisfied with Wei Changxin. And there are even a few directors who have told Pang Qingji that the company has not been able to achieve results in film and television dramas in the past two years. Pang Qingji did press this matter, which is giving Wei Changxin one last chance. Wei Changxin returned to the director's department immediately began to arrange up. The big director Chen Songlin and the company's contract has just expired not to renew the contract. The reason is that the spirit of old age is not good to retire. A few days ago, he left the Seven Colors Entertainment Group with his belongings. Chen Songlin's office has been empty. The area is bigger than Wei Changxin's office. Originally Wei Changxin intends to move over as his office after two days of simple decoration. After talking to Pang Qingji, Wei Changxin completely put an end to this idea. Immediately to the administrative department manager Lin Miaoka made a phone call, so that Lin Miaoka arranged for people to come over to the office to vacate a simple decoration. Lin Miaoka with a smile on her face said without hesitation Wei Minister, today is really no manpower. I will arrange to let someone go over tomorrow how? Tomorrow to send people over. This is to see in the two are old friends on the friendship. Wei Changxin ability although almost, four people can still. Old Lin. No matter what please send someone over now. It's urgent. I'll arrange for you to do whatever you want tonight. Definitely give you a satisfactory explanation Lao Lin. Wei Changxin was so anxious at the moment that he even made a promise to treat himself to dinner. Lin Miaoka's eyes narrowed and understood. It must be a certain big director who was going to sign up with the company. The matter of Chen Songlin not renewing his contract and retiring from the company. Lin Miaoka still knew about it. Alright, I'll make arrangements to have manpower dispatched to your side immediately. Lin Miaoka agreed. However, the evening meal could not be missing. Wei Changxin exhaled a long breath and hung up after agreeing with Lin Miaoka on the time and place for the evening meal. More than 20 minutes later, an administrative clerk with four people to the director's department. Wei Changxin personally received a few people, took them to the original belongs to Chen Songlin's large office began to explain. After the explanation, the clerk repeated that there was no problem. Wei Changxin left, and left the matter here to the clerk to be responsible for. More than 10 o'clock, Su Huan drove to the Seven Colors Entertainment Group, or Dong Chi Chi in the parking lot to meet, and Su Huan met together with the upstairs to Pang Qingji's office. Three people in the office to chat for a while about the progress of the acquisition of the TV station. Pang Qingji called the director department Wei Changxin, personnel department Qian Mingqing, legal department Yang Yi. Three people are called over. Three people over to do what they have in mind. Pang Qingji has been explained in advance. The legal department Yang Yi came over when also brought SS level director contract. According to the Seven Color Entertainment Group with artists, directors, the contracts signed by Seven Colors Entertainment Group with its artists, directors, and other personnel are graded contracts, with each level representing a different treatment. D level contract is the so called trainee contract, give you a low base salary, the company spends money to train you various skills. When you make your debut or officially join the company, you will sign a C level. B level, A level, S level contract according to your performance. And each level of contract corresponds to different treatment. The S level contract is awesome. The company invests a number of resources to arrange for your agent and assistant. And the net profit sharing ratio is 4 for the company and 6 for you. This kind of contract is also the entertainment industry's top contract. Can get this kind of contract artist is very few. Currently, Seven Colors Entertainment Group only has 5 first tier artists. One song king and one song queen for a total of seven people who have signed S-level contracts. This kind of SS-level contract that Su Huan was going to sign today was even more powerful than the SS-level contract. 
There was a very important article inside the SS level contract. The copyrights belonged to Su Huan, and the net profit sharing ratio was 2 UA for the company. Seven Colors Entertainment Group can operate these copyrights. Deduct labor. Operating. After deducting labor, operation, and other expenses to collect 20% of the net profit. This is a privilege not found in other contracts at all levels. Another privilege is that the contractual penalty for breach of contract is $1,000. That is to say, if either of the two parties has the intention to terminate this contract, they only need to pay $1,000 to the other party. Lenient to the extreme. This is a program adopted by the board of directors, was proposed by Joe Ocean, when Joe Ocean also wanted to be a director of the film for fun. In the company held a board meeting when the motion was put forward. The board of directors after some discussion eventually added a SS level contract is limited to the top 10 shareholders themselves to play, just barely passed the program. After the program through, in the Joe Ocean intends to put energy into shooting a movie to play when the temporary emergence of an urgent matter on hold. Until now, Joe Ocean did not fulfill his dream of being a director. This time Su Huan over to play the ticket. Pang Qingji immediately thought of SS contract this matter. Immediately call in several shareholders to communicate with this matter. To see how the shareholders view this matter. As a result, Pang Qingji asked six shareholders. And all of them had no opinion. Zhou Haiyang definitely wouldn't object. As long as Su Huan was happy. He didn't care if Seven Colors Entertainment Group went bankrupt. He directly expressed his support for Su Huan. When Pang Qingji communicated with the rest of the shareholders, after hearing Pang Qingji's words, these shareholders asked what Mr. Zhou's opinion was. Pang Qingji honestly said that Zhou Gongzi supports Su Huan so play. The rest of the shareholders listened to the end of the smile. Su Huan and Zhou Ocean are young people, or the company's first, second, the major shareholders. It is normal for young people to want to play. Su Huan wanna play let him play well. Anyway, cannot waste much money. There is no need to offend the first. Second and second largest shareholders because of this. Su Huan signed the contract in Pang Qingji's office with ease, and several people around him exuded envy. This was a SS level contract that would make people go crazy. Unfortunately, even if they were the top management of the company, they were not qualified to sign it. One by one, they were envious and jealous of Su Huan in their hearts, but they did not show a trace of it on their faces. After signing the contract, Su Huan left behind a copy, and the other copy was taken away by Yang Yi for filing. Then, Dong Chek Chek took Su Huan to each department to apply for a license and other formalities. From today onwards, Su Huan formally became a member of the Seven Colors Entertainment Group's directing department. After all the formalities were completed, Dong Chek Chi accompanied Su Huan to the last stop of the directing department, where Wei Chang Xian immediately led them to Su Huan's office. Seeing a busy decoration over there in the office, Dong Chi Chi quietly gave Wei Changxin a thumbs up, and Wei Changxin secretly nodded his head and returned a signal. Su Huan was satisfied with this office. The sunrise in the place was spacious enough. After chatting with Dong Chi Chi and Wei Changxin, Su Huan drove away and came back to work two days later. Just as he walked out of the building to the parking lot side, he heard a female voice from not far away as it Mr. Su, Su Huan turned his head to take a bite. A beautiful woman standing not far from shouting at himself, taller than 1 meter 6, wearing navy blue female workplace clothes, long hair shoulder length, clear eyebrows, not fat and not thin. Although the clothes on the body is the workplace clothes but, also outlined the bumpy delicate figure. Seeing Su Huan turned his head, this beautiful woman walked towards Su Huan, followed by three women. Look at this situation. It should be an assistant and two bodyguards. Su Huan did not recognize this woman. And so the woman came to the front of the body and asked, Are you? Wei Qianhan walked to Su Huan near the front, very politely extended his hand and said, Meet me. My name is Wei Qianhan. Is the president of the Minyue group? Before I saw Mr. Su and Mr. Gu together with the walk, I didn't expect to meet Mr. Su here, so I took the liberty of calling out. Su Huan said hello after hearing this and also politely extended his hand to shake hands with Wei Chen Han. Huan Chang Technology Company has cooperation with Mingyue Group. Although the amount of cooperation is not large, but also do not want to offend Wei Chen Han to Gu Wan to invite disaster. Mr. Su, I'm inviting Mr. Su for a meal at noon. There's a little something I want to ask Mr. Su, I also hope that Mr. Su will show his face. Wei Chen Han looked at Su Huan with a smile on her face and said these words. Su Huan obviously froze for a moment. The first time they met, they invited themselves to dinner. So good? Wei Chen Han's assistant who followed behind him was very shocked inside at the moment. What's wrong with the Wei general manager who usually doesn't show any color to men today, but was so pleasant to Gu Wan, the soft food ex-husband. He even invited him to dinner. Is there any justice in this world? This, Mr. 
Wei, you can just say what's the matter. I will never refuse if I can help. Su Huan said politely. Wei Qianhan had already expected Su Huan's answer. Su Huan wasn't angry at all for saying so. Mr. Su is recognized by all walks of life in Ardasha as the number one poet of the world. I came to Seven Colors Entertainment Group today to watch a few short advertisements they shot. To be honest I'm not very satisfied. But I can't tell you exactly what it is that makes me unsatisfied. So I'd like to ask Mr. Su to help me out and give me some guidance. I won't let Mr. Su do this for nothing. Please, Mr. Su. Wei Qianhan rarely revealed a pleading gaze. Su Huan instinctively nodded his head. And just after nodding his head inwardly regretted it. This damn instinctive reaction. One of the biggest instincts of Su Huan's body is that he doesn't know how to reject a woman. Especially when a woman reveals a pleading gaze. Su Huan can definitely help without saying a word. Seeing Su Huan nodded, Wei Qianhan was overjoyed, and immediately began to exchange pleasantries with Su Huan, while secretly giving his assistant Peng Cha Cha a look. Peng Cha Cha know what to do. Slowly backed up a distance and took out the phone and began to contact the upscale restaurant to set the location. After chatting for a while, Su Huan got on the car, a moment to follow Wei Qianhan's vehicle to go, eat a look at the commercials to give some advice. Wei Qianhan back to his car. Peng Cha Cha immediately reported Wei Total, has been booked, is the sea and sky a color restaurant, such as the private room. Hearing this sentence Wei Qian Han nodded with satisfaction and said immediately send the four short advertisements to my cell phone, a moment you find your own location to eat do not follow. Peng Cha Cha immediately said understand. In his heart, he was already sure of his guess that Mr. Wei was attacking Gu Wan's ex-husband and wanted to chase the Su Huan. How could this be? How proud Wei Qian Han is, Peng Cha Cha knows it all. Even if it happened right in front of his eyes, even if it happened right in front of her eyes, Peng Cha Cha couldn't believe that it was true. Soon, Wei Qianhan's car drove past in front of Su Huan's car, and purposely let the driver honk twice. Su Huan also responded to the horn twice, and started the car to follow along. The Sea and Sky restaurant is located near the mouth of the Nantsang River, and you can clearly see the demarcation line formed by the different colors of water when the Nantsang River flows into the sea. It is a location with excellent scenery. Of course, if you want to eat here, you will need a few thousand dollars for a meal to start. The high price should also be divided into people. For Wei Qianhan, eating here simply do not need to consider the price and whether there are empty seats these factors. Wei Qianhan has a VLP card sent out by the Sea and Sky restaurant. No matter what time to come over to dine, make a phone call, the restaurant will immediately arrange a good location. When checking out, you can also get a 20% discount. That day LV Wen Ming Point Gu Bol. Wei Qianhan inner on a little mind. The end of the meal went home and arranged for people to immediately investigate Su Huan's information. Only give two days time. The order is also known for efficiency of the investigation team. Only last night to Wei Qian Han sent Su Huan's information. Frankly only half the cost of this time. The investigation time is short can only get limited information. Wei Qian Han has seen the inner small mind more active. Mainly for two reasons. One is because at the moment the family frequently arranged for their own matchmaking. So Wei Qian Han is annoying. The Wei family is a large family, controlling the Mingzhu group. Even if Wei Qianhan became the president of the Mingyue group, cannot completely control the Mingyue group, family relatives to Wei Qianhan arranged a blind date this matter. Not so simple. The core purpose or Wei Qianhan Han 17% of the Pearl Group shares. There are a few relatives to Wei Qianhan introduced matchmaking object. In fact, is their own outside to raise the illegitimate child. Once taken Wei Qianhan, absolutely is a person of wealth. The bastard brightly to the front became a water to the things. These people can't be said to be deep in their calculations. Wei Qianhan saw through these people's small mind, has been thinking about the program to break the situation. Rather than find a haphazardly might as well find Su Huan. Although Su Huan divorced, this matter in Wei Qianhan view is nothing. Gu Wan in order to remarry with Su Huan is very crazy. Can let his ex-wife so fond of? Enough to show what Su Huan character. The second reason is because of the photos of Su Huan sent over by the investigation team. In the photos, Su Huan exudes a spirit of refinement that resembles her boyfriend, who passed away in a car accident many years ago. It's not that the two look alike, but both have that unique essence between their brows, and Wei Qianhan's boyfriend attracted her the most because of this unique essence. When the two met in school, the boyfriend is the department of literature, definitely the most powerful talent in their term, and Wei Qianhan very care. The two determined that the relationship has just developed to the point of pulling a small hand. The boyfriend was killed in a car accident which makes just fully committed to the relationship of Wei Qianhan was hit. Today happened to meet Su Huan. Wei Qianhan unknown small mind immediately turned up, all the way without words. The two cars soon arrived at the Sea and Sky restaurant parking lot. 
After getting off the car Su Huan and Wei Chin Han side by side towards the restaurant, at this moment is the peak dining time, there are people waiting at the door position, Wei Chin Han and Su Huan footsteps do not stop directly forward, the waiter just wanted to go over to stop and inquire, Pine Cha Cha immediately came to the front of the waiter to show the black VLP card, the waiter immediately made a please action after seeing it, this kind of black VLP card is issued to a total of more than 30, encountered holding this kind of card consumer is the VIP of the VIP, must be served. This was something that the manager repeatedly emphasized. When he walked to the elevator entrance, Pharmacha stopped one of the bodyguards and signaled the other to follow him up, and the two of them would not go up. Su Huan was a little strange when he saw this, but he didn't say anything more when he saw that Wei Qin Han didn't react. Wei Qin Han inwardly was very satisfied with this arrangement of Peng Hua. Leaving a bodyguard was to let him block people at the entrance of the box, so as to save any ungrateful people from entering the box and disrupting the atmosphere. Just now in the car. He already heard Pang Cha Cha call the bodyguard sitting in the car behind him to make arrangements. After entering the box, Su Huan went to the window to open the window. Looking at the distant river water seawater confluence, looking at the blue sky, a burst of mind. Wei Chen Han did not move to take off the jacket only left inside the shirt asked a mister. Su, what are the contraindications? Su Huan calmly said a no. Wei always arranged. Wei Chen Han is not polite. Picked up the menu and began to order. The waiter on the side took out a small notebook to record, and then repeated once no problem, then turned to leave. Wei Chen Han walked to the side of Su Huan with a smile and asked, Mr. Su looked at the beauty of this place can be inspired. Su Huan did not even think to open his mouth and said, Hundred rivers finally enter the sea, all things begin to return. Wei Chen Han heard after pondering a heart secretly admire, just want to speak when Su Huan back to God and said, Let Wei General laugh, we also don't weigh always, Mr. Su's, address, this sounds too foreign gas, you should be a little older than me, I call you Huan brother, you call me Han Han well, my friends call me or so called me, Wei Qian Han smiled and said this sentence, Su Huan froze for a moment, turned his head to look at Wei Qian Han, frowned slightly and said, is this good, just knowing each other and calling it that, it's a bit too intimate, Wei Qian Han smiled on the side and said what's wrong with this, we young people don't have so much to say, Su Huan smiled and let it go, other women do not care about these, they care about completely unnecessary, no longer emphasize this matter, Wei Qian Han is not an ordinary woman, although it is not the top university in Dasha Dragon College graduated, but also Tian Academy University Literature Department, Business Administration, Double Disciplines graduated, back then in the university majoring in literature, is also a little famous talent, followed by the family forced to start learning business management. At this moment with Su Huan chatting about the topic of literature is not at all stuck. Two people chatting when the waiter pushed open the door to come in to start serving food. Brother Huan, let's talk while we eat Wei Qian Han said and made an inviting gesture. Su Huan also politely returned to the table and sat down. Just as the two of them sat down, the waiter opened a bottle of Jin Nan Chun. Su Huan's eyes narrowed when he saw it. White wine, my mentor, Prof. Li Rang Wei, said that this thing called liquor is harmful to the body. But how come we literati can't live without it, especially when in need of inspiration? At that time, I did not understand this saying, and then went home to inherit the family business after work. Once in a while, I drank wine back to the office a flash of inspiration to write a sentence that makes me the most satisfied. At that time I realized my mentor's intention. At the moment I do not know if this bottle of wine is suitable for Huan brother's heart. Wei Qian Han smiled and explained a bit. Su Huan nodded and said very satisfied. I usually like to drink as his favorite. We are also considered wine friends. Su Huan will drink a little wine when he is alone. Is the year in the Dragon College School with Professor Sun learned? Professor Sun also so with Su Huan said. Drinking is also brought out by Professor Sun. Don't think that Professor Sun is harming Su Huan. With Professor Sun's status, there are countless people who want to drink with Professor Sun. But Professor Sun is right with Su Huan. Every time he had a drink with Su Huan, he would talk about a lot of extra knowledge. The two drank wine and ate food and chatted. Unconsciously a bottle of wine went down half. Wei Qianhan's face also began to redden. Which will take the phone out and click on the video to start playing the 4 advertisement video. Su Huan at the moment has been slightly on the head. After watching the 4 short ads know that the diamond ads. Cannot help but lament a Han Han you say good. These 4 short films are indeed garbage. Are you in a hurry? If not, in 2 days I will go to work for the 7 Colors Entertainment Group. When I personally manipulate the knife to shoot one for you. If you're not satisfied. I won't take a penny. If you're satisfied, I personally charge $2 million without a counteroffer. And the rest is calculated separately. Wei Qianhan heard the eyes light up. Immediately said we can say no regrets. 
to high five for the oath. Said he lifted his delicate hand with a slightly misty eyed look at Su Huan. Su Huan smiled and stretched out his right hand with Wei Qianhan's hand slap slap three high fives. Wei Qianhan has seen several commercials. Today to go to the Seven Colors Entertainment Group to watch the short film is the fourth modified version. Unfortunately, Wei Qianhan always feels that something is missing, and is still not satisfied with these four short films. Seven Colors Entertainment Group to take this single is also to give the price of friendship. After all, Seven Colors Entertainment Group is to be rooted in the southern city. At this stage with the local large-scale enterprises to make good relations is still very necessary. So give a friendly price of three and a half million dollars. Planning out the cost of inviting stars, profit. I did not expect today Su Huan will say so. Su Huan is who? That is now recognized as the first person of poetry. What's more, Wei Qianhan has seen Su Huan's information. Although there is not much content inside, but also know that Su Huan filming is still a very good set. The short film he shot in college back then was able to overwhelm his national competitors to win the gold medal, and it couldn't be done without a sufficient level of competence. In the recent period of time, the media continued to report on Su Huan. Su Huan's works were recognized by everyone, and the bigwigs in the literary world unanimously recognized that Su Huan's literary level had increased significantly. This also gave Wei Qianhan great confidence. Besides, Wei Qianhan's purpose was not an advertisement short film, even if Su Huan's shooting was bad. As long as the quality was not inferior to these four short films, Wei Qianhan dared to shoot through to pay the balance. Come on, drink this cup full. Wei Qianhan finished these bold words and smiled as he raised his glass. Su Huan also raised his glass and Wei Qianhan touched it. Wei Qianhan raised his hand and drained it in one gulp. Wei Qianhan raised her hand and took a sip. Then she turned her glass mouth to Su Huan with a red face. Su Huan also a mouthful of dry. Also will be the mouth of the glass to Wei Qianhan. The two looked at each other and laughed together. Atmosphere up. Wei Qianhan picked up the bottle of wine and began to pour wine. After pouring wine picked up the cell phone and pressed a few times to put it down. Continue to chat with Su Huan while drinking. Originally inwardly thought that Su Huan this kind of literati is more deep and reticent. How do you know that Su Huan is so funny? So with his own heart. Immediately let go. Downstairs to eat Peng precisely received Wei Qianhan's text message. Immediately stood up to go to the bar. Let the waiter to open another bottle of Jianchen sent to the Rui private room. This bottle of wine money immediately paid. Explaining the waiter said. Say your restaurant boss knows Wei over to dinner. Specially sent over to let Wei have fun. After saying that gave the waiter a tip of 100. The waiter immediately understood. Collected the tip and carried the wine and went to send it. Wei Qianhan and Su Huan are chatting. The waiter pushed open the door with the wine over. Put the bottle down and said. Mr. Wei. Our boss knows that you are here to eat. Specially asked me to send over a bottle of wine. I hope that Mr. Wei can enjoy his meal. Wei Qianhan knew what was going on as soon as she heard it, and said with a smile, Thank your boss for me. The waiter nodded with a smile on his face and turned to leave. The door to the private room closed. Wei Qianhan said to Su Huan the owner of the restaurant is considered one of my elders. Know that I like this wine. So I sent it over. I'll take it away if I can't finish it. It's fine. Hearing Wei Qianhan's explanation, Su Huan couldn't say anything else and nodded without saying anything. Time passed little by little. In the private room Su Huan has been a little dizzy. I did not expect that today I actually talked so freely with Wei Qianhan. It's been a long time since I've talked so freely with a woman I met for the first time. Wei Qianhan also did not drink less today. Face red eyes with a hint of disorientation. This state of Wei Qianhan exudes a different kind of charm. In terms of drinking, no one has ever drunk Wei Qianhan down. The real reason is that Wei Qianhan's body is special. Once checked in the hospital, Wei Qianhan was born with a strong ability to metabolize and decompose alcohol. Only, only a very few close people know this secret. After the two stood up, Su Huan felt the body shaking. Next to Wei Qianhan immediately held Su Huan. Su Huan said thank you. Wei Qianhan smiled and said, It's okay, I'll hold you up. Su Huan didn't care. Su Huan also did not care. At the moment really a little big, Wei Qianhan took Su Huan's jacket. Su Huan's arm on the shoulders of the frame. Holding Su Huan walked to the door and opened the door toward the downstairs to go. Both faces are flushed. Walking and talking at the same time. Each other's eyes are with a trace of ecstasy. Especially Wei Qianhan's eyes. But also reveals the warmth that makes people puzzled. People who didn't know about the relationship between the two saw it. And definitely had the first impression that they were a young couple. When he met up with Peng Cha Cha and the others. A bodyguard wanted to take over Wei Qianhan to assist Su Huan. And was immediately pulled by Peng Cha Cha's arm. And gave this bodyguard a very cold and scary look. You want to find death is not it. This bodyguard was confused and froze. Another bodyguard who was a bit smarter patted him on the shoulder and whispered a few words in his ear. Only then did he wake up from his dream. 
Immediately after that, he was sweating profusely, being frightened by the cold and terrifying eyes of Peng Cha Cha. At this time, Peng Cha Cha has taken Su Huan's car keys to open the car door, sitting in the driver's seat to press the button to open the door. Another bodyguard immediately opened the door to let Wei Qianhan and Su Huan sit in the back row. Want to open the front door to get on the car when you see Peng Cha Cha Ching cold eyes? Heart a shiver immediately closed the door. The heart secretly scolded himself. Damn, how can I be so stupid? So no eyesight. At this moment, Su Huan is really drunk. Just drink with Wei Qianhan cannot drink less than Wei Qianhan. This is a man's consistent style, but also Su Huan a body instinct. The two drank a bottle and a half. Su Huan own drink accounted for about 65%. Vehicle rear, Su Huan leaned against the seat had a crooked pillow in Wei Qianhan's shoulders. Wei Qianhan hesitation. Slowly helped Su Huan let him lie down pillow in his lap. He looked at the closed eyes of Su Huan dazed. All kinds of emotions in his eyes appeared one after another. It is very complicated. Pang Cha Cha threw the rearview mirror to see a little immediately do not look. Some things were do not know the good. Do not look Wei Qianhan is a woman. Clean up people than those men ruthless. Back then, Wei Qianhan just took over the Mingyue group on the ruthless rectification of some of those unruly and untamed within the Mingyue group of meritorious elders. Was Wei Qianhan to dry sunk two thirds. Various departments were cleansed of employees added up to not less than 300 people. A move to establish their own iron blood president of the prestige of the name. Mingyue group is only turbulent for about 10 months to start to enter the right track. The business growth rate is fast. So far, Wei family up and down the default Wei Qianhan helm of the fact that the Mingyue group. For a while, Wei Qianhan calmed down, raised her hand and gently stroked Su Huan's hair. Her eyes became very gentle. If at the beginning Wei Qianhan was approaching Su Huan with a purpose. At this moment, Wei Qianhan no longer had that mind. It had to be said that a woman's heart was really transient and changed too quickly. Pang Cha Cha followed Wei Qianhan for a few years. Wei Qianhan has an extremely deep understanding of the vehicle traveling speed is not fast at all. On the way to dinner, Wei Qianhan has already sent Su Huan's home address to Pingyu Cha Cha's cell phone. So how to go Pingyu Cha Cha has a number in mind. Unfortunately, the road distance is unchanged. And then slow speed has to Su Huan home at that moment. Feeling the speed of the car once again reduced, Wei Qianhan looked around and said accelerate the speed to send him to the home well. Hear these words, Pen Cha Cha immediately began to speed up. Less than 5 minutes, the vehicle opened to the door of Su Huan Manor. The gatekeeper came out to the back row scene immediately released. After seeing the vehicle into the manor, the gate guard immediately gave the housekeeper Du Xu Eching made a phone call. Will things truthfully said again before ending the phone? When the vehicle arrived at the parking lot side, Du Xu Eching was already waiting? Wei Qianhan helped Su Huan out of the car after the vehicle was parked. Du Xu Eching immediately went over and lifted one of Su Huan's arms and said, Thank you for sending Mr. Back. Wei Qianhan said calmly, We are friends. No need to be polite. You help him to rest. I will leave first. Du Xu Eching nodded to Wei Qianhan, holding Su Huan's arm towards the main building. Wei Qianhan watched for a while before getting into the car, sat down and waved his hand and closed his eyes. Peng Cha Cha immediately turned the car around and drove towards the front door. Quickly leaving Su Huan's house, Du Xu Eching helped Su Huan to the third floor bedroom to lie down, and then went to make two cups of honey water over, helped Su Huan to fill a cup, the other cup on the bedside table. Then, very lightly and familiar will Su Huan stripped naked. This time even pants did not give Su Huan stay. Doing so, because Du Xu Eching heart with a trace of displeasure. Although just that woman hide very well, but Du Xu Eching still see that this woman look at Su Huan eyes right. Those were not the eyes of a normal friend. How is it that this kind of extremely beautiful women always appeared beside Su Huan? And all of them also had ulterior motives towards Su Huan. I don't understand. I really don't understand. Covering Su Huan with a thin quilt, Du Xu Eching left the bedroom and went downstairs, estimating that Su Huan would not wake up until nightfall. Time passes little by little. More than 7 o'clock in the evening, Su Huan woke up dizzily, sat up and turned his head to see the cup of water placed on the bedside table. End up drinking. A breath of drink long exhaled. Cool. Then a lift quilt froze, slowly shook his head and laughed, to the side to find pants to put on, change into pajamas before going downstairs. Downstairs, Du Xu Eching in the living room drinking tea and looking at the cell phone, Su Huan saw and walked over to ask, Have you eaten? Du Xu Eching immediately put down her cell phone and stood up, Du Xu Eching immediately put down the cell phone and stood up, said very gently ready for you, you go to the dining room and wait, I will give you end over. Su Huan nodded and walked over to Du Xu Eching's waist and whispered thank you and kissed Du Xu Eching on the cheek. Save it for coaxing other girls. Du Xu Eching finished and gave Su Huan a blank look, broke away from Su Huan's embrace and went to the kitchen to serve food to Su Huan. Su Huan smiled and walked towards the restaurant. 
Not long after Su Huan sat down, Du Xueqing came over with food, red date porridge, exquisite small dishes, buns, medicinal food, very complete. Last time, Wei Yutong said to Du Xueqing in the car after she left, before she came over the next time, she told Su Huan not to stop taking tonic, and at the moment, Su Huan's body was in great need of nutrients. Du Xueqing then kept arranging tonic medicinal meals for Su Huan at every meal, Su Huan picked up the bowl and started to eat. Du Xueqing watched from the side, her eyes as gentle as water as she looked at Su Huan. At this moment, Du Xueqing really hopes that Su Huan is her husband, and, she was the only woman. Su Huan is really hungry, didn't pay attention to the eyes of Du Xueqing, and ate all the food that Du Xueqing brought over. Leaning back and patting her stomach, Du Xueqing asked, Are you full? Full? I just ate more than you ate in a day Su Huan said with a smile. Du Xueqing smiled and nodded acknowledging this, standing up and starting to clean up the dishes. Before Du Xueqing carried the items away, she said, You should go to bed early. I'll clean up and go to rest too. Su Huan nodded and said good night. Du Xueqing then turned around and left quickly. Su Huan stood up and left the restaurant directly upstairs, did not return to the bedroom, but went to the study, brewed a pot of tea sat there and began to think about things. At this moment, Su Huan sobered up and also realized that today's first meeting with Wei Qianhan, the relationship between the two sides progressed a little fast. Could it be that Wei Qianhan is also interested in himself? Thinking of this Su Huan slowly shook his head. The Wei family is also a big family in the southern city. With Wei Qianhan's family history, the Wei family will never allow Wei Qianhan to marry a divorced man. Wei Qianhan must have dealt with Gu Bol and definitely knew about herself and Gu Bol. So she definitely wouldn't have this in mind for herself. If that was the case, how could he and her have gotten so attached the first time they met? Su Huan realized that there was a hint of something wrong, but was unable to analyze where this hint of something wrong was, drinking tea and pondering over this matter. It was only after 30 minutes or so that he returned to his bedroom to rest. Tonight, Yu Hongdo, Baby Mo, Gu Bol, all three of them were not in a very good mood after seeing the report about Su Huan, especially Gu Wan. Seeing the stalker send over that photo of Wei Qianhan holding Su Huan's arm downstairs, her mood was bad to the extreme. Why did Wei Qianhan behave like this the first time she met with Su Huan? Could it be that the two of them had been in contact before? Gu Bol's lying on the bed frowned hard to think back, but also cannot think of when Su Huan no Wei Qianhan finally came to a conclusion. Today Su Huan and Wei Qianhan is the first time to meet, but how can the first meeting be so? Suddenly, Gu Bol sat up directly. His mind thought of that day's dinner at the Star Clubhouse, and the expression on his face became gloomy. LV Wen Ming nudged himself only a few days past. Yu Wei Qianhan is so quick to make a move. Aren't you usually disdainful of men? You even pride my corner. Gu Bol's in the bedroom gritted his teeth and hated Wei Qianhan. Not long, his mind remembered the words of Jiang Yinhua, began to take deep breaths to slowly calm himself. Cannot be anxious, must be stable. This is a long time to fight. One must not disorganize oneself. The Wei family is a $10 billion family property, but Su Huan is not the kind of shallow person. Will not look at the Wei family property. Su Huan is not to have no feelings for the woman's heart. Gu Wan is comforting herself in her own. Yu Hongdo at home is also thinking about Wei Qianhan. These two people should be the first time to meet. How to behave so close? After a while, Yu Hongdo shook her head slightly and said, You really don't let me worry about ah. At home, baby Mo saw the message forwarded by Lin Yidi. Her mood was not good, and her mind began to ponder whether she would go to see Su Huan tomorrow. Although she was in a bad mood because of Zhou Xinyun's matter, she planned to leave Su Huan alone for a few days, but the current situation was that a beautiful woman with a very good figure, appearance, family history and wealth was thinking about Su Huan, to go or not to go, baby Mo began to be entangled, Wei Qianhan is not sleeping at the moment, just hung up the phone, the phone is the South Metropolis Finance Newspaper Editor-in-Chief Hu Quan called, the following people shot a Wei Qianhan frame Su Huan arm downstairs photo, ask Wei Qianhan what she means, whether this photo can be published. Mingyue Group was one of the financial newspaper's gold masters, and when it came to matters involving gold masters, it was still necessary to be accommodating. The strange thing is that Wei Qianhan didn't oppose it, which made Hu Quan, the editor-in-chief of the South Metropolis financial newspaper, a little puzzled. Wei Qianhan is usually most annoyed with this kind of lace news involving themselves, this time even did not oppose. Wei Qianhan should know what consequences will arise after the publication of this photo. After thinking for a while, Hu Quan still called to arrange for the photo to be typeset and sent out. Put down the phone. Hu Quan's body leaned back. In his head, he thought, tomorrow Wei Qianhan, Su Huan, Gu Bowles, three people will be famous. The thoughts of rich people are really confusing. Hu Quan continued to get busy. 
no longer thinking about this matter. The night time passed, Su Huan got up early and started to exercise, taking advantage of the two days time at home to rest, just to exercise a good body. After the workout and ate breakfast in the study when he was coding, he received a call from Wei Qianhan, saying that someone had taken a picture of the two leaving after dinner yesterday that was reported by the media. Would it affect Su Huan? If needed he could make an announcement to explain the matter. It's fine. None of us are celebrities. Ignoring them is the best thing to do. It will disappear in a few days before crossing the border. As a hundred different directors who mixed in the entertainment industry, he had experienced too much of this type of thing. It was very clear how to deal with this kind of unexpected things. Ignoring them was the best way. Okay. Wei Qianhan agreed in one gulp and chatted with Su Huan for a while longer before ending the call. At Wanchang Technology Company, Gu Bols had already seen the reports in the media under the reminder of his assistant Chang Yi. And even if he had already seen similar photos last night, his mood at the moment was extremely upset. However, Gu Bol still held back from calling Wei Qianhan. Calling at this time was purely looking for discomfort. The good thing is that Wei Qianhan explains what's going on. If Wei Qianhan and Su Huan really have something, Wei Qianhan will not care that she is Su Huan's ex-wife this identity. Treating it like nothing is the best way to deal with it. Yu Hongdo, M.O. Baby, also saw the report of the financial newspaper of the southern city. After reading it, directly ignored. Stakeout reports show that Wei Qianhan's car entered Su Huan's home in less than 10 minutes before leaving. The media said so evil obviously in the matter. Seven Colors Entertainment Group, Pang Qingji saw the report of the financial newspaper. After reading it, skimmed his mouth and his heart to Su Huan is very envious. How can Su Huan's peach blossom luck be so good? No matter where he goes, there are such high-level beauties chasing after him. It's really enviable. South Metropolis, Enterprise Circle, Business Circle, many people see this report are very surprised. Who did not expect Wei Qianhan will be so treated Gu Wan's ex-husband Su Huan? To know, Wei Qianhan is known for not showing color to any man. At this moment even with Gu Wan's ex-husband so close, could it be between the two? Many people began to think blindly. LV Wenming also saw the report in his office. His eyes narrowed slightly, inwardly very emotional. Wei Qianhan really deserves to be a strong woman. This mind trick is really above Gu Wan. In just a few days time, she had made up her mind to start working on Su Huan, and if the Wei family had been helmed by Wei Qianhan, the probability of going to the next level would be very high. That day, the remaining few people who participated in the meal were LV when Ming nudged Gu Bol saw the news, and one by one, they couldn't help but skim their mouths, never imagining that this Wei Qianhan was so decisive. Lamentably, they and others do not have the means to do so, either men, or older. Some even thought that if they have an 18-year-old daughter, must wrestle to be able to do. South City Plaza, is sending flyers Wei Yutong also saw the news? After reading a deep breath to continue to send flyers, slept Su Huan's heart stronger. More than 3 o'clock in the afternoon, Su Huan was called over by a phone call from Baby Yamo to move things, and left the house in a short time. Ink Baby on the network to buy a large bookshelf, logistics to the delivery of the door, assembly but you need to do it yourself. For this kind of rough work, the ink baby certainly will not hands, would have liked to spend some money to find a master to assemble, and finally thought of the media reports, immediately called Su Huan, let Su Huan over to work, better than Su Huan everywhere in the womanizer strong, Su Huan received the call and definitely ran over to work, as long as it is M.O. baby, Yu Hongdo, Su Ran Ran, Zhou Xinyun, these four people call, as long as the hand is fine, it is necessary to go, what you do must be worthy of the deep love of the four, this is one of the instincts of Su Huan's body. When he arrived at Baby Mo's home, Su Huan took off his jacket and started working immediately. Baby Mo was watching from the side, with no intention to help at all. After a few minutes, Su Huan assembled the oversized bookshelf and placed it in the position designated by Baby Mo, who then brought a cup of tea over to comfort Su Huan. Su Huan took a sip and finished it, holding the empty cup in his hand, looked at Mo Baby and said with a smile, Just a cup of water? What else do you want? Mo Baby finished White Su Huan a glance, Su Huan hand on the waist of Mo Baby in embrace, while Mo Baby pulled into the arms of Low Head is a kiss, a good while before separating, Mo Baby raised his hand and hit Su Huan chest said a stink, go wash yourself, wash not clean not allowed, finished glaring at Su Huan turned to leave, Su Huan smiled and followed the Ink Baby towards the restroom, want to taste the red lips again when the Ink Baby avoided, Su Huan can only honestly enter the restroom to wash, there are a few bathrobes hanging on the wall, one of the brand new bathrobe with a sticker on it, you would, only allowed to wear this. Su Huan smiled, immediately took off his clothes and began to wash up. Wearing the bathrobe prepared by Baby Mo came out in about 20 minutes. At this moment, 
The ink baby has finished cleaning up the underground debris. Sitting on the sofa side of the book, Su Huan walked over to sit next to the ink baby and said, You smell. It smells very good. Baby Mo really smelled it, nodded and didn't say anything, and didn't pay attention to Su Huan. Su Huan glanced at the baby Mo, raised his hand toward the baby Mo's hand to touch. About to touch the baby Mo shook his hand to avoid. She gave Su Huan a blank look, meaning that she is not taking advantage of me. Su Huan laughed. Your hand can hide. I want to see how your body to hide. A stretch of the arm on the shoulders of the ink baby. Obviously feel the ink baby body is stiff. At this time, Su Huan came to the ink baby ear said see how you hide. Mo baby to such Su Huan really a little helpless. Raised his hand to Su Huan waist pinch a piece of meat hard a twist said you really my life and the devil. Pain. Pain. Quickly let go. Begged a few times ink baby this only let go. Raised his hand in Su Huan waist gently rubbing. Su Huan put his arm on baby Mo's shoulder with a force. Baby Mo's body leaned over. Not a hint of resistance. The two sat on the sofa and got tired of each other. Time unknowingly passed more than an hour. Mo Bao Bao pushed Su Huan away and stood up. And then so intimate continue. Mo baby sure. Today they are difficult to escape the fate of Su Huan take. Although this is not opposed. But this does not conform to their own plans. Turned his head and looked at Su Huan and said. You go back. Hearing this sentence. Su Huan face full of surprise look at the ink baby. Full of helplessness said baby. Why do you every time to provoke my fire? And then dashing away. Mo baby likes to see this kind of hard expression of Su Huan. With a smile on his face. Said this is a punishment for you. Su Huan knows what baby Mo means. Took a few deep breaths to calm himself. Calmly stood up and said. You rest earlier. After saying that. She went to the restroom to change her clothes. Mo looked at the back of Su Huan's baby biting the attractive red lips. The inner surge of a strong desire to stay in Su Huan's thoughts. A few deep breaths will be this idea suppressed. For the sake of the future. Now must endure. Su Huan quickly changed clothes out. Mo baby also took the jacket over. Helped Su Huan put on the jacket. Gentle with a small wife. Su Huan before leaving the door could not help but pull over the ink baby kissed a mouthful. Separated when whispered night dreams do not think of me. Mo baby red face hit Su Huan a fist. Said roll. Su Huan then smiled and left. Only then did Su Huan leave with a smile. Mo Bao Bao closed the door and patted her own plump human heart. Thinking about Su Huan's performance just now. The expression on baby Mo's face was not at all relaxed. The speed of this wood's transformation was getting faster and faster. It was really worrying. Su Huan left the neighborhood where baby Mo was. Fought for a while picked up the phone and called Yu Hongdo. Soon the phone went through. Yu Hongdo's voice came out what's the matter? Nothing. Want to invite you to dinner Su Huan honestly. Since today see the baby ink. Then see Yu Hongdo it. So tomorrow can be quiet a little. Yu Hongdo heard the body leaned back and asked where are you? Just came out from baby Mo's side. Helping her install an oversized bookshelf Su Huan said honestly. As soon as the words fell. Yu Hongdo's gnashing voice came out of the phone get lost. Just came out from baby Mo's side and came to me. Su Huan. Your transformation is really fast. Listening to Yu Hongdo's voice with anger. Su Huan had realized that he had overplayed his hand a bit, and said in a very gentle tone to you, I will never tell lies, even if it makes you you angry. Yu Hongdo skimmed his lips after hearing this. A light sentence would like to unveil this one. You also underestimate me too much. However, not to meet is not possible. Meet and then settle accounts with him. Hoof. You go to the eastern entrance of the South Metropolis Riverside Recreation Area and wait for me for two hours. This is the punishment for you. Must be outside the car. Yu Hongdo said the corner of the mouth appeared cold. Su Huan heard is helpless. However, at this moment must be to dissolve Yu Hongdo heart upset is the main. Immediately said small honor order. The words just fell Yu Hongdo hung up the phone. Su Huan skimmed his mouth. Driving towards the eastern entrance of the South Metropolitan Riverside Recreation Area rushed to. The time is not very long. It is about 30 minutes to arrive. Parked the car. Su Huan got off. Came to the entrance of a row of chairs over there to sit down and start waiting. Su Huan is really waiting, said not in the car is not in the car. Yu Hongdo hung up the phone after a call to the private detective. Every 10 minutes to report on the situation of Su Huan. After the explanation hung up the phone, time slowly passed an hour. Yu Hongdo put down the phone to raise his hand and rubbed his head, said to himself, this would, you really wait outside the car. Outside has been dark. The wind on the river is still not small. Although Yu Hongdo complained about Su Huan on her lips, the unpleasantness in her heart has long disappeared without a trace. Time slowly passes. Yu Hongdo still do not think of how to do when. And received a text message. The target is still sitting in the chair. After reading this message Yu Hongdo put down the hand of the document. Raised his hand and rubbed his head. Cannot let Su Huan stay outside again. This will continue to get sick.
pick up the phone to call out Su Huan's phone dialed over. Soon, the phone came out Su Huan's voice read Bean. Yu Hongdo said with a slight movement of the corner of her mouth what do you want to invite me to eat? Knowing that you like to eat sweets, not far from the eastern entrance of the Riverside Recreation Area there is a newly opened Hai Yulu, where the flavors should be to your liking. Su Huan said calmly, Yu Hongdo listened to slowly nodded and said go to set the location. Booked send me a text message. After saying that, Yu Hongdo hung up the phone. Su Huan long exhaled a breath. This pass is finally over. Standing up and moving his legs this is the only way towards the vehicle. Get on the car and start the car to leave. Driving towards the Hai Yu building. Around 20 minutes, Yu Hongdo, who had already gone downstairs and got into the car, received a text message from Su Huan. Hai Yu building. Fourth floor. Tian Xing room. Yu Hongdo smiled when she saw it, started the car and booked the navigation and drove towards Hai Yu building. At the moment, it was rush hour. When Yu Hongdo arrived at Hai Yu building star room, it was already an hour later, and Su Huan was looking at his cell phone on the lounge sofa in the private room. When he heard the sound of the door being pushed open, he looked up, and once he saw Yu Hongdo, he immediately stood up and pulled out the chair next to him, asking Yu Hongdo to sit down. Yu Hongdo sat down first glared at Su Huan. Su Huan awkwardly smiled. Yu Hongdo this calmly asked it just what are you watching? Rereading the review of the history of martial arts Su Huan honestly said. Hearing these words, Yu Hongdo raised her hand and pinched a piece of tender flesh on Su Huan's waist, and with a twist of her wrist, she immediately rotated 180 degrees. Ouch, it really hurts. The pain of Su Huan's face began to distort the five senses. Su Huan knows Yu Hongdo because of what hard hand, even begged for mercy. Yu Hongdo looked at Su Huan's face of pain and begged for mercy of Su Huan said you do not change the end of the white fei fei. Wuling outside the history of this novel has almost to the grand finale. Yu Hongdo has seen the end. A little water of grace. The spring to return. Stay you do not die. Let you fly. Life is unfortunate. The absolute love break hate. Lonely far lead. To death do not see. By fei fei. With her pride. Went far away from here. When she saw by fei fei leaving. Yu Hongdo burst into tears. Su Huan endured the pain and said, By Fei Fei and Zhu Chichi can only choose one or the other. Yu Hongdo said that his mom's name is Zhu Chichi and told Su Huan to give Zhu Chichi a perfect ending. Su Huan promised, Zhu Chichi is indeed happy and fulfilled. But by Fei Fei it, became Yu Hongdo heart of the intention to be difficult. Looking at the distorted expression on Su Huan's face, he knew that Su Huan was in pain. But in the end, he could not be cruel to this wood. Yu Hongdo let go with a humph. Su Huan immediately rubbed the flesh of the waist, walked to the side of the wall and pressed the button to serve food, and only then began to say good words to coax Yu Hongdo. Time slowly passes. Just when Yu Hongdo's face does not take care of Su Huan, the waiter pushes the door in and starts to serve the dishes. A dish is set out. When the waiter left, Yu Hongdo glanced at Su Huan. The university era has been over for so long. I can't imagine that Su Huan still remembers what he likes to eat. This wood is so meticulous that it makes one's heart soft. And when it comes to men and women, it makes you gasp and gnash your silver teeth. I really created a big sin in my past life. Let me meet you in this life Yu Hongdo said this sentence when the face expression is very sad. Seeing such Yu Hongdo Su Huan is really panicked. Immediately came to Yu Hongdo's side grabbed Yu Hongdo's hand and said you hit me. So I feel better. Seriously. Today I do things you penalize me to sit outside all night is not too much. What Su Huan said at the moment really wasn't a lie. But he really realized that he had gone a bit overboard. Just leaving from baby Mo's side and immediately seamlessly connecting to Yu Hongdo. This was a great harm to Yu Hongdo, a kind of disrespect. Looking at Su Huan's eyes, Yu Hongdo lifted her hand to stroke Su Huan's face, and said very seriously, there will be no next time, okay? Su Huan seriously nodded his head in agreement. After pulling aside a chair and sitting down, Su Huan froze for a moment. A thoughtful expression appeared on his face, and for a long time he let out a long sigh. Yu Hongdo see here slightly frowned a little did not say, already understand why Su Huan sigh, but their temperament is so. The heart has a fire not to vent it out cannot. Just at this time, Su Huan said let's eat. Finished picking up chopsticks and began to Yu Hongdo dishes. Yu Hongdo glanced at Su Huan did not say, but picked up chopsticks to pick up Su Huan put on the plate of vegetables to eat. The atmosphere for a time a little awkward. It was a cold scene. Both of them ate without speaking. Neither of them willing to appear in this situation. But the reality just appeared. There was the intention to change. But they didn't know what to say. Hongdo. I'm sorry. What I did today was really wrong. After leaving from baby Mo's side, I violently didn't want to go home. And after stopping the car an impulse to see you welled up in my heart. I didn't think twice before calling you. I just realized that I'm no different than my boss back in college. I can't believe what I'd become in such a short time. I'd become a stranger to myself. 
Su Huan was frowning as he said these words. Yu Hongdo looked at Su Huan who was frowning tightly after hearing this and knew that Su Huan had no intention of hurting himself. Everything is the result of Su Huan being too eager to change his habits. Now eat. You want to introspect you can go back and do it again. Yu Hongdo very dryly said this sentence. Su Huan came back to his senses, took a deep breath and said, I'm sorry. After saying that he was going to give Yu Hongdo some food. No need to give me food. I ask you. Who you have given food to Yu Hongdo stop Su Huan food to introduce a new topic. Trying to ease the current atmosphere. Su Huan opened his mouth to come up with a sentence to the three sons have been. Yu Hongdo heard immediately to laugh. Washed away some of the cold atmosphere. Su Huan blared at Su Huan. Su Huan heatedly smiled and said. Nearly a year I have not given other people have dishes. You are the first. Yu Hongdo ate a mouthful of food and asked fiercely. What are your plans for the next step? By the way. That way Chin Han is what is going on. Su Huan began to explain himself and Wei Chin Han things. We'll go to the Seven Color Entertainment Group as a director as well as met Wei Chin Han advertisement things are all told one by one. Wei Chin Han sent herself home and left without stopping for a moment. When did you learn to shoot commercials? Yu Hongdo was curious about this. Su Huan smiled and said there is no difficulty in filming advertisements. The core of all advertisements is novelty. Classic adwords. As long as these two cores are achieved, you can discharge a superior short film of advertisements. Although I have not filmed, personally manipulate the shooting should not be a big problem. 3 million pay is not a small. Yu Hongdo was stunned after hearing this, and looked at Su Huan in disbelief. Wei Qian Han's brain is not a problem. To give you this person who has not filmed an advertisement film 3 million dollars. The company has a lot of experience in the field of commercials. These years Yu Hongdo experienced a lot. Very clear shooting commercials director take how much pay? From tens of thousands of dollars to a million ranging can take more than a million pay basically are famous outside the big director. Su Huan's first commercial shoot. Wei Qian Han dared to give 3 million. This matter is 100% abnormal. Su Huan saw Yu Hongdo's doubt and immediately added there are preconditions. If you are not satisfied, you will not be paid. Yu Hongdo then nodded with satisfaction. There is this premise does not matter. Satisfied to give money. Not satisfied with a penny do not have to give. Change into their own self also dare to say so. It seems to be their own over anxiety. Wei Qianhan is not interested in this asshole. Yu Hongdo smiled and said, After you finish filming, let me take a look. If the film satisfies me, you can also film one for me, and I will give you a dollar reward. When Su Huan heard this, he stretched his head and said, How about a kiss? After Yu Hongdo heard this, he took the chopsticks to knock Su Huan's head. Su Huan's head immediately retracted. The smile on his face was even more intense. The atmosphere of the cold just disappeared. The two continued to talk about Su Huan to become a director of film things. The topic began to more up. The atmosphere became more harmonious. The meal took more than an hour to finish. And instead of leaving immediately, they went to the side of the leisure area to sit down and drink some tea to cool down. More to the point, hugging and intimacy together for a while. More than 20 minutes later, Yu Hongdo hit Su Huan's dishonest hand. Su Huan hand back after Yu Hongdo stood up to go to the restroom makeup. Yu Hongdo looked in the mirror. Sure enough. Their lipstick has been messed up. If the bodyguard saw, no expression on the face will certainly be in the heart to laugh at themselves. The head did not turn around and shouted bring my bag over. Outside Su Huan heard immediately picked up Yu Hongdo's bag sent over. Yu Hongdo took over to look at the mirror began to organize their own. Su Huan walked over from behind to hold Yu Hongdo's waist. Don't make a fuss. I want to organize it properly Yu Hongdo finished and began to use the wet wipes to clean up the things on the face. Su Huan just so hugged and put his head on Yu Hongdo's shoulders did not move. Yu Hongdo just let it go. Inside also like the taste of being held like this. A good while time Yu Hongdo finished finishing. Su Huan only released Yu Hongdo. Yu Hongdo took the bag holding Su Huan's arm out of the restroom. Together, they left the private room and went downstairs to the front desk to settle the bill. Everything went very smoothly. Out of the Haiwa building towards Yu Hongdo's vehicle. Yu Hongdo looked at Su Huan with an angry look and said. I went back. You are not allowed to see the ink baby again in the last three days. Su Huan nodded and agreed. According to Baby Mo's habits, he would not look for himself for the last week. Tomorrow honestly rest at home for a day. The day after tomorrow go to work very busy Su Huan said truthfully. Early rest do not stay up late. Yu Hongdo finished tiptoe and Su Huan cheeks gently kissed and released Su Huan opened the door to the car on the car. Su Huan stood by the side and waited for Yu Hongdo to start the car to leave. Su Huan took a deep breath and walked towards his car. The night passed. The next morning, Su Huan woke up early to continue to start running exercise. At this moment has already experienced the benefits of running. Today Su Huan life is very regular. There is no one over to disturb themselves. Very calm through the day. Early this morning, after eating breakfast at 9 o'clock, 
Su Huan drove to the Seven Colors Entertainment Group to work. Today, Dong Chi Chi did not pick Su Huan up in the parking lot. Su Huan parked his car and went upstairs to the 11th floor where the director's department was located. And just as he stepped out of the elevator, he heard Wei Changxin's voice. Director Su, you're finally here. Su Huan turned his head to look, and saw Wei Changxin walking over with a thermos cup and said, Go, go see the office. There is a need to modify directly with me. I will immediately let the people change. Su Huan smiled after hearing this and said, Thank you, Minister Wei. What's the point of being polite to me? Wei Changxin said and led Su Huan towards the office, all the way forward and turned a corner, to the office that Su Huan had seen the day before yesterday. At this moment, it has been rearranged with a desk, computer, sofa, coffee table, green plants. The two of them came in and Su Huan put down his own desk. The two came in after Su Huan put down his own bag to look around and said, Wei Minister has the heart. Thank you. Hearing Su Huan's words, Wei Changxin immediately waved his hand and said small matter. After the two sat down at the sofa, Wei Changxin immediately took out a cigarette and handed Su Huan one. Su Huan took over. Wei Changxin this side has taken out a lighter and lit it. See Su Huan spit out a mouthful of smoke. Wei Changxin only said Su Director. You are not with the Mingyue groups Wei Qianhan Wei said to reshoot her commercials. Wei Changxin received a complaint from director Shan Hongtao yesterday, stating that Mingyue group was not satisfied with the commercial he shot. The reason was that Su Huan, a director who had just joined the company, had badmouthed Wei Qianhan in front of him and asked Wei Chang Xian to make a decision for himself. Single Hongtao does not know the identity of Su Huan. Wei Changxin no ah, a face of contempt look at Single Hongtao. UTM dumping pot also to pick people. Su Huan will care about the commercials you shoot. Heart contempt but did not say out. Pacified as single Hong Tao. Said tomorrow Su Huan came to work to ask himself. Listening to Wei Changxin finished. Su Huan know how it is. Calmly said that day when I left the way general manager called me to stop. And told me about her dissatisfaction with the company to shoot advertising film things. I then invited Mr. Wei to have a casual dinner to ask what happened. Hoping to salvage one or two. After all. This involves the interests of the company. Seeing that Mr. Wei was not satisfied with my statement, I said let's do it this way. I'll turn around and shoot a demo for her to see. If you're satisfied, I'll charge you $3 million for the director's fee, and other expenses will be calculated separately. If you're not satisfied, you'll get a refund and we'll work together next time. Su Huan explained. Wei Changxin immediately nodded his head. What Su Huan said is not too different from what he guessed. It is true that the side of the Mingyue group is not satisfied with the short film shot by Sean Hongtao. Su Huan some good intentions want to save. Single Hongtao disobedience to come to their own front to make right and wrong. This single Hongtao really a little lawless. I understand. Is this kid to me in front of the right and wrong way Changxin said this sentence to explain to Su Huan a bit. Did not cheat but the truth. Su Huan after listening to the curiosity asked a Wei minister intends to deal with this matter. Wei Changxin looked at Su Huan and said with a smile. The result of this matter depends on the advertisement film made by director Su to decide. If the side of the Mingyue group is satisfied and according to the agreement with director Su to pay the fee, Sean Hongtao will be able to leave. We can't let a rat spoil the pot of good soup. On the contrary, if director Su's work leaves the Mingyue group unsatisfied, the punishment for Sean Hongtao becomes a fine and warning. After listening to Wei Changxin's words Su Huan nodded, just wanted to speak when Dang 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 knocked on the door. Su Huan said come in. The door was pushed open. Dong Chi Chi with a 30-40 year old charming woman came in. Su Huan and Wei Changxin stood up together. Su Huan habitually asked Chi Chi, What's the matter? Hearing Su Huan's words, Wei Changxin and the woman beside Dong Chi Chi's eyes flashed a trace of shock. Not expecting Su Huan to call Dong Chi Chi so, Brother Huan, I've come over to deliver your work license and other items. By the way, I'd like to introduce you. This is our group's gold medal broker Ding Xiuhua, transferred over to work full-time as your broker. After saying that, he turned his head to Ding Xiuhua and said Mrs. Ding, this is Su Huan, Director Su. Su Huan and Ding Xiuhua respectively stretched out their hands and said hello hello, very tacit understanding. Su Huan and Ding Xiuhua looked at each other and smiled. Dong Chi Chi saw the two shook hands and smiled at Su Huan and said, Well, my mission is accomplished. The specific things you talk about it. Brother Huan, do you have anything else? Su Huan smiled back no. Thank you, I'll treat you to dinner some other day. Brother Huan. You owe me three meals. Now again. When do you plan to honor a Dong Chi Chi laughed as she revealed Su Huan's old ways. Su Huan smiled and slapped his head and said. I can't imagine that I owe so much. You set the time. I'm always at your disposal. Dong Chek Chek smiled back with a some other day. Recently there are more things. And Ding Tu as well as Wei Changxin exchanging a few pleasantries and left. After sending Dong Chek Chek away. 
Wei Chang Xian looked at Su Huan and said Director Su, we'll talk when you're free, you can talk to Mrs. Ding first, good. Su Huan agreed and sent Wei Chang Xin away before returning, going to the side and pouring a cup of water for Mrs. Ding. The two began to talk, and only then did Su Huan learn of Ding Chiu was past. Ding Chiu Hua graduated from university at the age of 21 and began to enter the entertainment company as an agent. 15 years of time to bring out two first-tier artists, a song king, a song queen. This achievement was absolutely dazzling. A few years ago because of the family marriage thing feel tired, with a certain big star terminated the contract. This big star although not reluctant also agreed to Ding Chiu Hua packet a 200,000 red envelope. Ding Chiu Hua rested at home for half a year, driving out on a trip when he suffered a serious car accident, hospitalized for half a year, at home and recuperated for more than a year. The savings on hand were mostly consumed because of the accident, and only then did he have to come back out to work. Things in the entertainment industry are ever changing, and Ding Chiu Hua had been out of the loop for more than two years. So many companies thought that Ding Chiu Hua was out of touch with the current environment, not willing to give Ding Chiu Hua the treatment of gold metal agent only willing to give A-level treatment. Ding Xiuhua also because of the body and other reasons cannot be in the desperate back and forth on the refusal of this treatment, so delayed for half a year. Tossing and turning with the seven-color entertainment group Pang Xingji contacted. Pang Xingji did not promise to hesitate at first. It is difficult, because Pang Xingji owes Ding Xiuhua a big favor. If he refuses to appear to be his own character is not good, but if you give the gold broker contract and against the company's rules, the rules are still their own. They set the rules of their own are contrary to how to expect others to comply with the rules. Pang Xingji is difficult when he received a phone call from Su Huan. Su Huan said he wanted to shoot a film for fun. Pang Xingji promised to Ding Chiu Hua gold broker treatment. Su Huan belongs to the nature of the ticket not many things. Full-time service Su Huan Ding Chiu Hua body is also good. The afternoon of Su Huan's departure, Ding Chiu Hua went to the Seven Colors Entertainment Group. Pang Xingji talked to Ding Chiu Hua, introduced Su Huan's identity in detail. Ding Xiuhua didn't say anything, but expressed his sincere gratitude to Pang Xingji, no matter what, at a time when other entertainment companies were unwilling to give him this treatment. It was Pang Xingji who gave himself this treatment. Besides, following Su Huan as the major shareholder, one's implicit rights in Seven Colors Entertainment Group were even greater. This can be seen from the conversation that Su Huan had with Dong Chichihui just now. Throughout the Seven Colors Entertainment Group, including Pang Xingji, who dared to call Dong Chichihui Chichihui, the last male artist who didn't know better and shouted like that had already been completely banned from the entertainment industry. When Su Huan called out Chi Chi, Dong Chi Chi didn't reject him at all and instead called out to brother Huan. Obviously, Dong Chek Chek's relationship with Su Huan was extraordinary. Mrs. Ding, on my side, I just joined the company now, and all I have at hand at the moment is to negotiate with Mr. Way of the Bright Moon Group to shoot an advertisement film. If she's satisfied with the commercial I shoot, She'll pay me $3 million in director's fees, and other expenses will be counted separately. If she's not satisfied, she won't pay a penny. What do you suggest? Su Huan finished looking at Mrs. Ding. After listening to Su Huan's words, Mrs. Ding immediately entered the role of agent. The first question is Director Su, have you signed a contract with Mr. Wei for this agreement? Su Huan truthfully answered no. Ding Xiuhua heard the heart to produce a kind of really so thought, immediately after starting to ask the second. Third and fourth questions. Su Huan said one by one truthfully. Ding Xiuhua listened to start thinking about it. Ding Xiuhua asked a Su director. Your side first shooting advertisement short film company will agree? Pang Qingji is a very insistent person. Pang Qingji is a person who is very adamant about principles. Although Su Huan is the majority shareholder. Pang Qingji will not let Su Huan so reckless in his heart. It doesn't matter if it agrees or not. I really can't I'll advance the cost well. It won't cost much. If the short film is not looked at by Mr. Way, it's just as good as practicing. If you like it, you'll have to pay for it. Su Huan said this sentence without thinking. Ding Xiuhua raised his eyebrows and glanced at Su Huan, immediately realizing that the person he was serving at the moment was fundamentally different from those artists in the past. Those artists would be held by all kinds of rules. Su Huan is not this kind of constraints. Want to give you face to give, not willing to give or not to give. Thinking of this, Ding Xiuhua immediately began to change his mindset and started to discuss with Su Huan. 30 minutes or so passed, Ding Xiuhua finally smoothed out Su Huan's matter. Director Su, right now you need to make a plan first, or rather first produce a creative concept to talk to Mr. Way about, so that you can make the short advertisement you envisioned. Need to invite those stars. Finished Ding Xiuhua secretly glanced at the face full of pondering look Su Huan. Su Huan is the company's major shareholders and now come to be a director. 
is not looking at a certain actress. Su Huan listened to Ding Xiaohua's narrative slowly nodded. Heart Ding Xiaohua satisfied. Worthy of being a former gold medal agent. Do things priorities clearly organized. Just want to speak when Ding Xiaohua came again. Su director. It is best that you personally call Mr. Wei. After all, your status is equal. When Mr. Wei comes I'll meet her and get to know her. Next time I'll contact her and not upset her. Su Huan nodded in agreement with this proposal. It's really not good to let Ding Xiaohua come to contact Wei Qianhan. After meeting her to get familiar with her then contacting her will not have this kind of embarrassment. Let's do it this way. I'll call her now to make an appointment Su Huan said and picked up his cell phone to look up Wei Qianhan's number. Remembering that they left each other's contact information during dinner. Soon, Su Huan pulled up Wei Qianhan's number and dialed out. The phone was quickly connected. Su Huan will be the situation with Wei Qianhan said again. Wei Qianhan sighed no problem. And Su Huan agreed to meet tomorrow morning at 10.30 in the 7 Color Entertainment Group Su Huan office. After getting it done, there is nothing that needs to be done by Ding Xiaohua. However, Ding Xiaohua still found something for himself. That is, to organize the company's photographer, lighting technician, the company's photographer, lighting technician and other people's information. Su Huan did not object. There are good behind-the-scenes personnel to cooperate with the shooting will be smoother. He also need to look for suitable candidates through the Seven Colors Entertainment Group Artist Database. After some communication, Ding Xiaohua left, and Su Huan logged on to the Seven Colors Entertainment Group's internal database in his office and began to inquire. Around 11.40, Ding Xiaohua returned with the information, and instead of starting a discussion, he greeted Su Huan and went to the company cafeteria to eat together. Seven Colors Entertainment Group's internal cafeteria is also divided into sections. What level of contract you sign with the company goes to the corresponding window to eat. Su Huan is the highest level, taking Ding Xiaohua directly to the top of the piece to eat. The person who was eating looked at Su Huan and Ding Xiaohua, very puzzled. They have not seen these two people ah. However, when Su Huan's identity card touched the card swiping machine, the drop green light came on, followed by Su Huan brushing it again and the drop sound came on again. Don't underestimate those who are engaged in simple work. They are not stupid. They just lack a rising channel. Very polite to the two people to play rice, but where the two people have a request also one by one to do. After playing the meal, he sat down at a table not far away, and in a short time, Dong Chi Chi also came over to eat, and after swiping his card to play the meal, he also came to the side of Su Huan and Ding Xiaohua. The three of them ate and chatted, and those who secretly paid attention to Su Huan and Ding Xiaohua were sure that these two new faces were the new bigwigs of the company. In their minds, anyone who could eat at this window was a big shot in the company. They were also right in thinking so. Those who were able to dine at this side were basically the top management. After laughing and eating, the three of them separated and went about their business. Su Huan and Ding Xiaohua returned to the office. Su Huan opened the computer and pulled out the information of several actresses to ask Ding Xiaohua's opinion. The image of the brand spokesperson is very important. However, the lack of trouble on them is more important. Take a look at these few people. Can you feel their bottom? And directly exclude those with problems. After saying that, Letting Ding Xiaohua start watching, Ding Xiaohua took out a small notebook to record the names of these six actresses, and then went to the side to start calling contacts to feel the bottom. Regardless of what industry, there are intelligence exchange channels that are unique to this industry, and Ding Xiaohua used to have his own intelligence channels. Although he hadn't contacted these channels in recent years, he still had certain relationships, not to mention that he had signed a contract with Seven Colors Entertainment Group at the moment, and would definitely be dealing with them frequently in the future. These people would also sell Ding Xiaohua a face. Ding Xiaohua made seven or eight phone calls and then finished. The next step was to wait for the news. Su Huan's side had already brewed tea and greeted Ding Xiaohua with a cup of tea and a chat. By the way, he listened to Ding Xiaohua talk about some things in the entertainment industry. Know yourself and know your enemy in order to win a hundred battles. Since you want to play in this line, you must understand how deep the water in this line is. Just today, Phone G Food Company, which was acquired by Su's Food Group, officially changed its name to Su's Food Group Nandu Branch. At the same time, Su's Food Group's representative signed a contract with Nyoshan County under the South Metropolitan City. Su's Food Group will be Nyoshan County within the mountainous area of the Six Hills next to the contract. Here will be built a super large cattle and sheep breeding base. The South City is the center to the surrounding cities to supply meat. Contract life of 60 years, only 1 million, the reason why so cheap, because Su's Food Group needs to build a simple asphalt road with the Nyoshan County Government Joint Venture and Municipal Highway Connection. Su's Food Group has been in advance to let people survey the geology of the calculation of the cost. Su's Food Group needs to invest more than $60 million. Nyoshan County Government needs to invest more than $140 million. 
Nandu Municipal Government invested 200 million. After the completion of this road, the two villages to the county road become smooth and unobstructed. The economic development of the two villages is very favorable. Nandu Vice Mayor He Chinyi personally presided over today's signing ceremony. The two sides on behalf of the signing of the two sides, together to raise a glass to celebrate. Su Ran Ran has not yet arrived in Nandu City, but is also speeding up the layout of Nandu City. After 3 p.m., Su Huan and Ding Xiaohua got off work. Ding Xiaohua went back to the staff dormitory of Seven Colors Entertainment Group to rest, and Su Huan returned to her home. As a gold medal broker, Ding Xiaohua could have the right to use a two-room, two-bathroom house for free, and return the house to Seven Colors Entertainment Group after she left. Seven Colors Entertainment Group also equipped Ding Xiaohua with a car to use, and reimbursed a certain amount of fuel costs every month. One day passed, and early the next morning, Su Huan ended his morning exercise and had breakfast before driving to the company to work, and at around 10.20 a.m., M. Wei Qianhan arrived at Seven Colors Entertainment Group. After contacting Su Huan, Su Huan went downstairs and received Wei Qianhan in the office. Ding Xiaohua brought tea over, and Su Huan took the opportunity to introduce Ding Xiaohua to Wei Qianhan. Wei Qianhan shook hands with Ding Xiaohua and looked at Su Huan and said, You're equipped with an agent so quickly. After hearing this, Su Huan made a helpless gesture and said, As a shareholder, I can't break the company's rules. Understand, when I just took over Mingyue Group, I was also surrounded by a lot of people. A lot of things can obviously be settled once we meet, but had to sign this agreement and that agreement according to the regulations. Wei Qianhan is very clear about Su Huan's past. Su Huan really hasn't been employed in any enterprise. And now he definitely can't adapt to the rules and regulations of the enterprise, and expresses his understanding of Su Huan's situation at this moment. Su Huan and Wei Qianhan chatted a few more times, and then began to negotiate the issue of advertising filming. As the two continued to communicate, Su Huan and Wei Qianhan slowly realized, the two of them, in their discussion, had already put together a marketing plan for Denuv Diamonds. Just at this time, Su Huan smiled and said I feel that Mr. Wei needs to pay me for another planning program. You think you're beautiful? I'm not giving you a single penny Wei Qianhan very dryly said this sentence. The smile on his face did not lose a trace. Ding Xiaohua on the side observed much more carefully than Su Huan, and had already seen that Wei Qianhan's eyes when she looked at Su Huan, pulled outwards from time to time. Inside, she made a judgment that this Wei is interested in Su Huan. Just now, Su Huan and Wei Qianhan were joking, but both of them knew that what Su Huan had just said was indeed a set of marketing plans that were very suitable for Dino Diamonds. Wei Qianhan drank a mouthful of tea and asked, The candidates for shooting advertisements have you picked them out yet? Find out a few, currently in the investigation, to see if there is a problem with them. If there is a problem then cannot be used Su Huan very sure to say this sentence. Wei Qianhan nodded and said you'd better shoot a few more people. At that time I'll see which one is suitable to be the spokesperson. No problem. When the results of the survey come out, I'll notify them to start filming Su Huan agreed in one gulp. Wei Qianhan nodded and turned her head to look at Ding Xiaohua and said the brand manager of the Mingyue group will contact you in the afternoon, so you can discuss the specifics with him. Ding Xiaohua immediately said, Thank you, Mr. Wei. Wei Qianhan just turned her head to see Su Huan just skimmed her mouth and said with a smile, What are you skimming your mouth for? Feel you just spoke very domineering. The brain immediately thought, I do not know your boyfriend face you domineering when you will do what reaction Su Huan finished once again could not help but laugh. Wei Qianhan glared at Su Huan fiercely after hearing this. Ding Xiaohua on the side could see clearly that Wei Qianhan was treating her lover with anger. Not blame. Buy me dinner or I'll cancel this cooperation. This is my dominance. Wei Qianhan looked at Su Huan and said this. Su Huan immediately agreed. He had just sort of flirted with Wei Qianhan, treating the other party to a meal counted as a good reparation. Seeing Su Huan agreed, Wei Qianhan face regained the smile. Thoughtfully looked at Ding Xiaohua. Ding Xiaohua immediately understand what happened. Ding Xiaohua stood up and looked at Su Huan and said Director Su, I still have something to do at noon. I still have to meet with the people from the Mingyue group in the afternoon. If there's nothing else, I'll go and prepare the information to be used in the afternoon. Su Huan thought for a moment and said, Okay, you go and get busy. Call me if you have anything. Okay said Ding Xiaohua. After saying this, he turned his head and looked at Wei Qianhan and said I am sorry Mr. Wei, I can't accompany Mr. Wei for dinner on the first day of meeting Mr. Wei today. I hope Mr. Wei will forgive me. I'll invite Mr. Wei to dinner some other day to make amends. Wei Qianhan was very satisfied with Ding Xiaohua's wit, and with a satisfied smile on his face, he said, there's no harm in it, business is important. 
And Ding Xiuhua shook hands with Su Huan together to send Ding Xiuhua out of the office door closed after Wei Chenhan will be his cholera mouth to unlock said finally can be a little bit easier. Su Huan saw the puzzled ass to not to it. You do not understand. I need to maintain the appearance of instrumentation at all times is very tired. Which like you, no matter where is a casual dress. Relaxed. You are incapable of experiencing my pain. Ding Xiuhua left to let Wei Qianhan relax a lot. It's not that Ding Xiuhua gives Wei Qianhan pressure. But Wei Qianhan doesn't want outsiders to see her relaxed look. You're not afraid of me seeing it. This relaxed condition of yours is immediately a hot topic if it's photographed by a reporter. And I've thought of a great headline for you. The true face of the beautiful president is actually like this. Su Huan said and laughed. Wei Qianhan heard immediately stood up with his own pink fist began to pound Su Huan. Su Huan can only be passive to be beaten. Anyway, it does not hurt. Let Wei Qianhan out of anger. A good while passed. In the case of Su Huan begged for mercy Wei Qianhan only stopped. Su Huan immediately said, where to eat? Haitian one color it. I like the taste there Wei Qianhan open mouth. Indeed have been accustomed to the taste of Haitian one color dishes. Su Huan nodded and took out his phone ready to find the number. Quickly froze. He did not have a contact number for Haitian one color. Wei Qianhan saw Su Huan's violent and awkward movements. The smile on his face really couldn't be held back. The person who invited the guests didn't even know the restaurant's phone number. It was the first time he himself had encountered such a situation. This Su Huan, whose business ability was definitely among the top handful of people, was really very small in terms of his feelings as well as his life. It was estimated that God had designed it this way in order to balance his talent. Wei Qianhan said on the side okay, I'll call well. However, after the meal, you have to accompany me to drink tea and relax. Okay, I don't have any arrangement in the afternoon Su Huan agreed. Wei Qianhan also no nonsense. Pick up the phone to start dialing arrangements up. Soon arranged. And Su Huan in the office to chat for a while and left together. This time is different from the last time. Wei Qianhan did not sit in her own car. But sat in the passenger seat of Su Huan's car. Assistants. Bodyguards. Drivers. Are followed in the back. Peng Cha Cha and the two bodyguards looked at each other. All three of them showed helpless expressions. What was in the boss's mind? The three of them knew exactly. Now all the fools could see that Wei Qianhan was interested in Su Huan. Compared to that, Ping Yan knew more, but he just didn't dare to say it outwardly. Along the way, Su Huan and Wei Qianhan chatting is not tired at all, but very relaxed. The two people as if they are old friends chatting, are more comfortable. Wei Qianhan is also more enjoyable. Since taking over the Mingyue group, this kind of put down all the baggage with an old friend to chat with a relaxed scene has become a luxury. Girlfriends cannot give themselves this feeling. Also contacted some heterosexual elite. They also cannot give Wei Qianhan this feeling. Only on Su Huan's side, Wei Qianhan can easily enter this relaxed state, because of what Wei Qianhan herself cannot figure out. Today, Wei Qianhan booked the Haitian private room. Su Huan and Wei Qianhan went straight to the private room after arriving, and Pang Cha Cha and the bodyguard very consciously began to arrange themselves. A bodyguard stood outside the box in case of any mishaps. This is the rule cannot be abolished. Wei Qianhan and Su Huan ordering food has already said, today's wine just a bottle, drink how much they pour. Su Huan is still very satisfied with this point. Quickly ordered the dishes. Drinking tea and slowly waiting. Sea and Sky restaurant serving speed is very fast. 10 minutes of time. Will be 6 hot dishes and wine are up. Su Huan and Wei Qianhan chatted while drinking. More than an hour later. The two ended up with a hint of alcohol. Pang Cha Cha drove Su Huan's car. Su Huan and Wei Qianhan sat in the back row. The vehicle drove in 3 turns to the northern outskirts of southern metropolis in a manner that was not open to the public. This was a private tea house that only entertained the members. The layout inside was one exquisite small courtyard after another. Each courtyard is independent and does not disturb each other, allowing you to maximize your ease and comfort. After Wei Qianhan and Su Huan entered the courtyard, Pang Cha Cha and the two bodyguards automatically disappeared. Su Huan did not notice this, separately went to the room to change a set of relaxed clothes. Together to the courtyard pavilion began to make tea and drink tea. The pavilion floor is covered with a soft carpet the center of a small coffee table. All kinds of lines are connected through the hidden parts under the coffee table. Take off your shoes and walk in and sit down directly, leaning against the multi-angle support soft cushion behind you. Very cozy. This time it was Wei Qianhan who made the tea and Su Huan who tasted it. Wei Qianhan's Kung Fu tea level is very good. Quickly made a good six small cups made a please action. Su Huan end up a small cup slowly tasted said very good. Then my level of tea strong. In the people I know. It is estimated that only the boss of the level of tea can be compared with you. Wei Qianhan knew who the boss in Su Huan's mouth was, but still pretended not to know and asked who is this boss you are talking about. I'm sorry, it's just me talking out of turn. Back then when I went to college, 
The four of us in the dormitory became diehards. The oldest is called Zhao Kaifeng. He is the youngest master of the Zhao group in Shanghai High City, and he helped me a lot during college. Su Huan briefly explained. Wei Chen Han nodded and picked up the tea and slowly savored it, inwardly a little envious of Su Huan to be able to become a diehard with his three roommates. Lamentably, I was also good to the three roommates. One of their hearts never treat themselves as a diehard, only thinking of fishing benefits from their own body. The two of them drank tea and chatted, very cozy. From time to time, the laughter of Su Huan and Wei Chen Han came out from the pavilion. Around four o'clock, the two people came out of the small courtyard, shook hands in a friendly manner and got into a car to leave. Su Huan does not know. Wei Chen Han got on the car body leaned back and closed his eyes. Pen Cha 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 through the rearview mirror secretly observed Wei Chen Han a few times, but did not see any information. A day passed. The next day, Su Huan early to work. Ding Xiu Hua then Su Huan ahead of time. Su Huan's office has been cleaned once. Su Huan came in and saw a side sitting Ding Xiu Hua froze. Today's Ding Xiu Hua with the past is different. Did not wear casual wear, but a very standard workplace female clothing. The original long hair has also turned into short hair with ears. The face is moist and glossy, and the vitality is very different compared to yesterday. Su Huan looked at Ding Xiu Hua and joked, "Wow, did Mrs. Ding meet something good?" Ding Xiu Hua looked at Su Huan and said with a smile, "Starting a new job. I need a fresh start too." Director Su, the investigation report of the six stars is ready. Take a look. At this time. Su Huan had already come to sit behind the desk and took over the document Ding Xiu Hua handed over and started to look through it. After flipping through two pages, Su Huan lifted his head with a look of emotion and said, "Professional, Mrs. Ding is really professional. Ding Xiu Hua produced the document is really very professional. Well, several stars height, weight, circumference, ancient costume photo, modern photo, and so on, all prepared a copy. The follow-up is also attached to the investigation report." Which is about the privacy report of several stars, and finally gives a comment without making a conclusion. This was letting Su Huan make conclusions. For the time being, I can only investigate so much. I can't guarantee 100% accuracy. Some of the channels that I originally recognized are broken and need to be re-established. It is expected that with another half a year, I can definitely re-establish the investigation channels. At that time, one can always get accurate news about the target star. Ding Xiu Hua spoke honestly. Su Huan nodded and continued to look at the report. After reading for a while, he closed the report with a thoughtful expression on his face. Give Deng Cici, Lu Mimi, Tishri, the three of them, a filming invitation. Invite them to come over to shoot a short movie. If the short movie is the brand's favorite, the brand will negotiate an endorsement contract with them. If the brand doesn't like it, the filming cost will be one million dollars each, and the filming time will take two days at most. You can tell them that the brand is Dino Diamonds, a subsidiary of Mingyue Group. Let's see what they think. Tell me if you have any news, so I can go to Lao Wei to get a shooting location and confirm the shooting time with the staff behind the scenes. Su Huan immediately had a decision. Ding Xiu Hua have written down. Took out the phone immediately began three actresses agent. Su Huan went back to the desk and sat down. Took over the pen and cardboard. Su Huan began to paint a simple shooting set. Time is not long. A simple shooting set drawing appeared on the desktop. At this moment, Ding Xiu Hua came over and said. We have communicated with their agent. They will reply in 30 minutes if they will accept the short film shooting. I made it clear to them that I will also send invitations to two other actresses. This time it's a choice of three. Su Huan nodded after hearing this and said, "Okay, let's wait now." Ding Xiu Hua smiled after hearing this. Following Su Huan's daily task is really simple. This job is too easy. He didn't go to the sofa to rest, but stood beside Su Huan and watched Su Huan drawing the background plate on the cardboard. Ding Xiu Hua was surprised after watching for a while. I didn't expect Su Huan to really know how to shoot. Ding Xiu Hua asked curiously, "Has director Su ever practiced filming before?" I'm a graduate of Dragon Academy's directing department, and the short film I shot back then won the gold medal in the national competition. Only that I didn't continue to work as a director for various reasons. Su Huan's hand movements did not stop, and he smiled and explained, not saying the real reason, but making up a lie. The real reason is that Su Huan, after winning the award for the short film he shot during his college years. His confidence rose, and he planned to shoot a small budget movie to enter the big screen. When Gu Bo found out, he immediately persuaded Su Huan to give up his directing career. But Su Huan didn't listen and was determined to become a big director and make a movie that would sweep the box office history records. As a director, he would have to deal with too many beautiful women, and in the eyes of these beautiful women, Su Huan is just a sheep. These women will never give up until Su Huan is clean. Gu Wan persuaded Su Huan a few times, but to no avail. Until she heard that Zhao Kaifeng, 
Lin Ida and Zhang Wenyuan had promised to provide Su Huan with filming funds for a certain dinner. Gu Wan was really anxious. Behind Su Huan's back, Gu Wan contacted Yu Hongdo, Baby Mo, Su Ran Ran, Zhou Xinyun, and nine other beauties who love Su Huan, and other nine beautiful women who liked Su Huan and began to state the stakes. On the matter of Su Huan becoming a director, you must form a united front with me and ban Su Huan from entering the entertainment industry. Gu Wan frequently stated, the nine of us competing is between us. Losing to any of you is acceptable to me. It must not be cheap for outsiders. The meat must rot in the pot. Although Yu Hongdo and the others don't like Gu Wan, they are also moved by her words. There are many women in the entertainment industry who will do anything to get to the top. When Su Huan became a director and dealt with these women, it was no different than a sheep running into a pack of wolves. Yu Hongdo eight people were moved by Gu Wan. After some discussion, nine people will be Su Huan about the joint pressure. Su Huan was not allowed to continue as a director. The nine beauties surrounded Su Huan and chirped words against Su Huan becoming a director, making Su Huan's scalp numb. In the end, under the combined pressure of the nine beauties, Su Huan gave in and gave up the idea of becoming a director. After Ding Qiuhua heard Su Huan's explanation, an expression of sudden realization appeared on his face, and he also remembered that Pang Qingji had said that Su Huan had won an award for his film. This brain of his, he had forgotten about it. He began to chat with Su Huan about the filming, and time slowly passed. And soon, the agents of the three actresses replied in the affirmative, willing to come over to shoot the short film. They hoped that Ding Qiuhua would tell them immediately after the shooting time was confirmed, so that they could arrange the time. Ding Qiuhua agreed to do so. Ding Qiuhua hung up the phone and looked at Su Huan and said, It's done. All three agreed to come over and shoot. Su Huan put down the cardboard and stood up. You make some tea. I'm going to negotiate with Lao Wei about the manpower in the venue. Ding Qiuhua nodded and went to the leisure area to make tea while Su Huan left the office and headed to Wei Changxin's office. Seeing Su Huan over, Wei Changxin was very happy, very warmly greeted Su Huan to sit down. After Su Huan sat down, he told Wei Changxin about the matter, and Wei Changxin immediately began to make phone calls in front of Su Huan, coordinating manpower in venues. Ten minutes later, there was accurate news. Two days later, the studio was free, and the manpower had been instructed to call directly when needed. Director Su, my side will also explain them. If the gang does not listen, you should reprimand on reprimand. They won't be afraid of you so they'll grind with you. Wei Changxin is worried that Su Huan cannot suppress the field. Once Su Huan angry, everyone has no good fruit to eat. So in advance to give Su Huan a wake-up call, Su Huan smiled and said, We are all adults. I believe that we will work well together. And Wei Changxin talked for a while before leaving with Wei Changxin wrote down the list of farewells. After sending Su Huan away, Wei Changxin immediately called these people telling them that if they don't cooperate and make Su Huan angry, Su Huan can let you get out of the entertainment industry with one sentence. This is the boss's boss. If he is not well, all of us are sad, but all the people who received Wei Chang Xian's call, one by one, they all promised to cooperate fully. These people were all human beings. They had long heard that a big shot had come to the director's department to play around. Now that the big man has begun to toss, he will only perform well in the hope that the big man will give himself a hand and will definitely not lean on the old man to create any obstacles. Inside the office, Su Huan told Ding Qiuhua about the list and what he had talked to Wei Changxin about, and let Ding Qiuhua worry about the rest. As Ding Qiuhua began to get busy, Su Huan continued to sit behind his desk and sketched out the backdrop. At noon, Su Huan ate lunch at the company, and as soon as he got to work in the afternoon, Ding Qiuhua reported to Su Huan that he had gotten replies from the three actresses, and that they would arrive on time. He has already contacted the costume team. Lighting, scenery, the staff will come over to Su Huan in the afternoon for an interview. They will start working overtime today to prepare for the shooting two days later. Su Huan nodded. In the afternoon, a group of personnel came over to meet with Su Huan. These people were definitely all veterans. Seeing that Su Huan's office was the office of the original great director Chen Song Jung, each one of them knew Su Huan's status. They didn't dare to play tricks, and each one of them honestly listened to Su Huan's arrangements. Through communicating with Su Huan, Many people were taken aback, not realizing that this young big brother really knew how to shoot. And one by one, their contemptuous hearts converged a lot. On the other side, Du Xueqing had already gone to the Southern Metropolis Art Academy to receive Wei Yutong, and stopped at the roadside when she was still some distance away from Su Huan's house. Wei Yutong did not know what happened to look at Du Xueqing. Du Xueqing looked at Wei Yutong a smile and said Tong Tong, we seriously talk about how. The first time I saw her was when she was in the car, and she was in the car and she was in the car. Nothing, mainly to talk about you do Xueqing looked at Wei Yutong's eyes and said these words, 
Wei Yutong vainly did not dare to meet Du Xu Weqing's eyes. Tong Tong, I'm also from an ordinary family. Do you really think Mr. Can't see that? Du Xu Weqing finished looking at Wei Yutong. Wei Yutong's face was already ugly. Turning her head, with a miserable expression on her face, she said, Did Brother Wan ask you to talk to me? Yes and no. Mr. is too kind and doesn't understand women's hearts. In his opinion, we know each other for a while. If you have trouble finding a job after graduation, he will do you this favor. But the rest is exempted. You're a good girl. You can't be squandered like this. Just let me tell you not to tease him when I talk to you. Du Xu Weqing finished with a smile. Wei Yutong dumbfounded face. Did not expect Su Huan to say this. Completely out of her expectation. Wei Yutong originally thought that Su Huan would let Du Xu Weqing talk to him. Either to let himself stop annoying him. Or to let Du Xu Weqing arrange for himself to become his underground lover. I really didn't expect that Su Huan would be willing to help without asking for anything in return. Wei Yutong said sincerely, Sister Du, I believe you when you say that Brother Huan is really too kind. After meeting with Su Huan for so many times, she has never seen her own eyes in Su Huan's eyes, and usually when she points out, she tries not to touch her body. Instead, he himself was teasing him with ulterior motives. It's good that you believe what I'm saying. The next thing I want to talk to you about is, are you really willing to be Mr.'s woman? I can tell you clearly that Mr. can't give you any name. You will have a job. I hope you'll think it over and give me an accurate answer. Du Xu Weqing said these words very seriously, handing over the decision to Wei Yutong without the slightest threat. How to go next is up to Wei Yutong herself. Wei Yutong pondered for a while and said Sister Du, can you know why you want to talk to me about this? It's simple. I see myself in you. I also come from an ordinary family. Experienced before becoming Mr. Butler. So, I want to give you a hand. In addition, as Mr. S. Butler, he treated me well and looked at me with respect in his eyes, without any lewd looks, etc. As you know, butlers and employers have a very high level of mutual trust. One honors the other. Therefore, there are some things that Mr. Can't do can only be done by me, and can't let him know. Du Xu Weqing told the truth? Wei Yutong nodded after listening. Able to understand Du Xu Weqing's words, and also felt that Du Xu Weqing was thinking for herself. After thinking for a long time, Wei Yutong looked at Du Xu Weqing and said with firm eyes, Sister Du, I want to be Brother Huan's woman. Even if I can't see the light, I don't regret it. Good. From this moment onwards you will put off all other part-time jobs. Focus on studying to get more certificates. Even if you become Mr. S. Woman, you have to be self-reliant. Only self-reliance is your only dependence. Mr. Can't be with you all the time. When you have enough financial basis and want to pursue your own happiness, Mr. Will definitely give you a big gift and bless you. I can assure you of that. In addition from today onwards you listen to me. Temporarily lower the frequency of teasing him. Du Xu Eching began to point out Wei Yutong. He followed Su Huan will certainly not be famous. More Wei Yutong will also have a person to talk to in the future. Not alone. Time passes slowly. When Du Xu Eching and Wei Yutong to the home after Su Huan has not come back. Waiting for a while Su Huan only returned. The reason why Su Huan came back late is to free up time to work out at home. Arrange things down to let Ding Jiuhua keep an eye on. He needs to consult with Wei Yutong to adjust the fitness time. As in the past, Su Huan came back and the three of them ate dinner together. Today Wei Yutong acted a lot more normal. Su Huan glanced at Du Xu Eching, who nodded slightly. Su Huan was relieved. There are a few Yu Hongdo around is enough to suffer. Really do not want another one to come. Su Huan did not know. Du Xu Eching and Wei Yutong talk with a lot of private work. In the future, there will be Su Huan annoying time. The next morning, Su Huan talked to Wei Yutong. The next morning, Su Huan and Wei Yutong both got up early to start running and exercising. And in the afternoon when they were doing strength training, Su Huan raised the issue of changing the fitness time. Brother Huan, this doesn't affect, just reduce the amount of exercise a bit. You can do some exercises that don't have a lot of movement. Wei Yutong was very serious about giving Su Huan some simple exercise suggestions and performing some demonstrations. After a day today, Wei Yutong was also tired. Su Huan was very satisfied with Wei Yutong's performance today. Compared to last time, Wei Yutong's frequency of teasing herself decreased by more than two-thirds. It must be that Du Xu Weqing's conversation with her had had an effect. As always, Wei Yutong ate dinner without stopping to take Du Xu Weqing's car to leave. When the vehicle drove to the entrance of Wei Yutong's school, Du Xu Weqing took out an envelope and handed it to Wei Yutong. Take it, quit those part-time jobs and focus on improving yourself. You can't be overwhelmed by your skills. That's what you're all about. Go for it. Wei Yutong took it and said. Wei Yutong took it and said thank you. Du Xu Weqing nodded Wei Yutong then got out of the car, carrying the bag into the campus. Back to the dormitory. 
Wei Yutong wash some on the bed to rest. At the moment, the night is still normal and the dormitory accommodation is only three people. The room was quiet. Wei Yutong rolled over and thought about Du Yuching's words in her head. Reality really makes Wei Yutong very tired. Only, Wei Yutong heart is very unwilling to become Su Huan see the light of the lover. Now Su Huan is single. Why is he hopeless? She is not emotionally attached to Su Huan now. But what about the future? Won't her feelings come out after spending a long time together? Sister Du, you said that good men are very sought after. This time I'll grab it. No matter what the result is, I have no regrets. Wei Yutong secretly made up her mind and waited for an opportunity to strike. There was no need for her to follow the path that Du Xueqing pointed out the entire time. Su Huan will soon start working normally. If she is busy at work she won't have time to spend time with herself. At that time, she won't have the chance to even try to make a move. The night passed, Wei Yutong washed up and went out for breakfast. Today is Sunday there is no class. Wei Yutong first came over to the sports equipment store and told Xiu Yingying about the purpose of her visit. To quit her job and stop working part-time. Yutong, have you thought it over? Xiu Yingying didn't have many friends to talk to and didn't want Wei Yutong to quit. Wei Yutong smiled and said Yingying thank you. I've thought it over. I'll graduate in June. This job is a youthful meal. I must now focus on getting a few more certificates. You have to plan for graduation. After listening to Wei Yutong's words, Xiao Yingying stopped persuading her, and knowing that Wei Yutong's mind was made up, she began to give Wei Yutong the formalities for leaving her job. A call to the boss's wife to explain the situation. These days the salary will be in the afternoon into Wei Yutong's card. After finishing the formalities and chatting with Xiao Yingying for a while, Wei Yutong then excused herself and left, not returning to school, but heading to the Great Mongolian Brush Mutton Hot Pot restaurant below Nanshan Mansion. Wei Yutong also works part-time as a waitress here. Sunday through Thursday from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. The boss's wife is a divorced woman. Chatting with Wei Yutong to see Wei Yutong has decided to go, but also very quickly to Wei Yutong to settle the salary. I have to say that Wei Yutong found these two part-time jobs. The boss is very good. After finishing this, she ate lunch on the side of the road, then took the bus back to school, returned to the dormitory to rest for a while, and then headed to the library to read books. Although I don't intend to completely follow the path that Du Xueqing has personalized, but Du Xueqing has some words that are very right, especially that, a person with many skills can't be overpowered. A multi-talented person would definitely not mix poorly in society. Although today is Sunday, some of the people working at Seven Colors Entertainment Group are not resting, especially the group of people serving Su Huan, who have to report the progress to Ding Xiuhua at any time. The shooting would start tomorrow. Even if they stayed up late today, they had to prepare all the items before the shooting started tomorrow. No one dares to be lazy. The bigwigs of each department have personally come over to inspect, and one by one, they all put out harsh words, who TM delayed things to make director Su unhappy, lousy bad luck before certainly peeled his skin, so that he can not mix in this business. One of the three stars returned in the afternoon, and the remaining two would arrive in Nandu City in the evening, without delaying tomorrow's shooting. More than three o'clock in the afternoon, Su Huan in the gym for strength training when the phone rang, walked over to pick up the phone froze for a moment, but it was Gu Wan's phone. After hesitating for a moment, he connected, gasping for breath and said, What's the matter? Gu Wan listened to Su Huan huffing and puffing, gritted his teeth and asked, What are you doing? Being in the gym for strength training, Su Huan honestly said, Their own fitness is not necessary to say falsehoods. Hearing Su Huan's reply, Gu Wan put down her heart, her face was slightly red, she thought wrongly, I guess it has something to do with the fact that I want to see Su Wan too much, Gu Wan said in an extremely gentle tone, I've remodeled and I miss you. Su Huan listened to the brain recalled their own closed period of Gu Bol's forced Li Ning phone things, said not touched is false, asked to where are you, I'm at home. Gu Bol's tone became more gentle. Hearing these words, Su Huan's mind floated back to the things that made him happy with Gu Bol's, and in his heart, he realized that the dog-licking soul was influencing him. It doesn't matter. Su Huan can already look at Gu Bol's with a normal heart, seeing Gu Wan as an ordinary lover. The more spontaneous Su Huan acted. The influence of the dog licking soul on Su Huan would become lower and lower until it could no longer have any influence on Su Huan. This was a cruel tug of war between two souls, and the one who persisted until the end ate it all. Therefore, Su Huan was not so resistant to seeing Gu Wan anymore, and said with a smile, Wait for me when you're cleaned up. Hearing these words, Gu Wan was immediately happy inside. With a hint of redness on her face, she said, I'll wash white and smear honey on it and wait for you. That's it. Su Huan hung up the phone after saying that, took the phone and left the gym, going back to his room to take a shower and change his clothes. On the other side, Gu Wan immediately arranged it up, 
Letting the two old moms get off work and letting Zhou Mengxia and the others get ready for the outside arming. When Zhou Mengxia and the others saw that Gu Wan was so eager, they immediately guessed that Su Huan would come over later. And only Su Huan could make Gu Wan so nervous. One by one, they started to cooperate with each other with smiles on their faces. Time slowly passed more than 50 minutes. Su Huan's car stopped at the entrance of Gu Bol's villa. Hearing the sound of the car, Gu Bol wore pajamas and opened the door to come out. Seeing Su Huan's car, she immediately walked over. As soon as Su Huan got out of the car, she immediately took Su Huan's arm and went into the house, which made Zhou Mengxia and others who were hiding around the villa look very jealous. Once inside the house, Su Huan and Gu Bol couldn't wait to hug each other. Gu Wan had long been prepared. The inside of the pajamas was in a vacuum, and washed herself white. More than a month has not been together with Su Huan. This more than a month Gu Bol's to change their meals, but also began to simple fitness, so that their bodies slowly plump up. At the moment, Gu Wan's figure is already very close to the state when she graduated from college. Because of this, this cannot help but give Su Huan to call over the phone. Today, Su Huan wanted to be gentle, but could not resist the wildness of Gu Bol's, also followed by becoming violent. The two transformed into a stormy battle mode in the living room tossed for a while, only to be quiet on the sofa side. After resting for a while, they went to the restroom together to clean up a bit, wearing the pre-prepared pajamas out of the restroom back to the living room. Gu Wan did a lot of preparation this time. Back to the living room will be the first time with two people battle traces of the sofa upholstery are put away, replaced with brand new. Su Huan smiled when he saw it from the side, stepped forward and raised his hand on Gu Wan's buttocks and gave her a slap, making her face even redder with blush. You watch TV. I'm going to cook, she said, quickly walking to the kitchen, using the ingredients prepared long ago to start cooking. Su Huan sat on the sofa and turned on the TV. But her attention was not on the TV program. Instead, she looked at Gu Wan in the kitchen from time to time. Gu Wan, this woman, can make money, can go up to the hall, can go down to the kitchen, and can also play between the beds. Giving a, excellent, rating is not excessive. If there is no Yi Shan thing, this licking dog's marriage is a happy one. Women, why do they have to play the man who loves them deeply to death before they come to their senses? This is really an unsolved mystery. Su Huan watched the TV thinking about Gu Wan. Today's Gu Wan gave Su Huan a different experience. After the divorce, although together a few times, but today's Gu Wan is obviously different from before. Today as Gu Wan let himself produce a fresh feeling, this is an illusion. Or, the kitchen side of the Gu Bol moves quickly, not long to do a good job of four dishes and a soup, carrying two dishes out when, Su Huan stood up and also headed to the kitchen to serve food, together with the mealtime to chat about Gu Bol's recent work things, when Su Huan eat the second bowl, Gu Bol snapped and asked tonight go? I have to go back tonight. I have to go to work early tomorrow morning. Tomorrow is going to be a busy, busy day Su Huan said honestly. Tomorrow, the short film will be shot three times, and then the finished film will be edited. Soundtracked. It's definitely a very busy day. Su Huan said honestly. After listening to the bowl of goo, he froze and said, Work? You work there. The person who arranged the stakeout only knew that Su Huan went to Seven Colors Entertainment Group and did not know that Su Huan had already started working at Seven Colors Entertainment Group. Seven Colors Entertainment Group, as a director, accepted Mingyue Group's advertisement film list. Tomorrow morning officially start shooting Su Huan very calmly said this sentence. A while ago in Wei Qianhan scandal, things develop as Su Huan expected. You do not care about him in two days will naturally dissipate. Hearing Su Huan's words, Gu Bulls did not speak. A good well time along Sai Hei. When you were in college, do not stop you when the director well. Around and around you finally went on this road. Hearing this sentence Su Huan smiled, remembering that at that time he was forced by nine beautiful women. That time are very innocent, not mixed with so many distractions. It's not the same. At that time, I really wanted to shoot a few high-grossing movies with all my heart. At the moment, it's all about having fun and relaxing Su Huan did have a playful mind about being a director. Gu Bols nodded and stopped asking, but began to eat quickly. Before Su Huan left must let him pay enough rations so as not to be hooked by those stars. Those women would do anything to get to the top. It didn't take long to finish the meal. The two of them went to the kitchen together to clean and organize some. Su Huan washed his hands clean and intended to change clothes and leave. The two of them went to the kitchen together to clean and organize some things. And Su Huan was going to change clothes and leave after washing her hands. If he refused Gu Wan at this time, it would seem too heartless. Time slowly passed two hours before Su Huan left from Gu Wan's house. And after getting on the car, he let out a long breath and rested for a while. Today, Gu Wan did not mention a single word about remarriage. This point made Su Huan relax a lot. However, Su Huan also made a new discovery. 
Gu Wan actually likes to be treated furiously. Is this his own illusion or Gu Wan's nature? Su Huan lit a cigarette while resting and thinking about this problem. Su Huan did not know that Gu Wan did not sleep behind the curtains looking at. See Su Huan's car for a long time did not move, which is satisfied with the retraction of the gaze back to the bed to lie down to rest. After a while Su Huan vehicle started to leave. Zhou Mengxia and other people this is from the hiding place out. Arrange the duty officer will take others to rest. The night passed. Su Huan got up early to wash some jogging for a while, then came back to take a shower to eat breakfast, and then drove to the company to work. Yesterday, he communicated with Ding Xiuhua. All the staff members will go to work a little bit earlier today, and the three stars will also go to the company studio in advance to meet up with the film crew. When Su Huan arrived, Ding Xiuhua had already arrived, and after talking for a while, the two of them left the office to go to the super studio that had already been put into use. When Su Huan arrived, all the teams were already in place. The shooting background was already set up. Su Huan went to the director's position and sat down to start making minor adjustments, just waiting for the three actresses to come over and change clothes for the shoot. Not long after, Lu Mini came over with her agent as well as four assistants. Ding Xiuhua went over to approach Lu Mini's agent and not long after, she brought Lu Mini over. Director Su, this is Lu Mini. Mini, this is the director of this shoot. Director Su, Ding Xiuhua introduced Su Huan and Lu Mini, and Lu Mini politely said, Good day, Director Su. Don't look at Su Huan is a novice director. Lu Mini did not dare to play big names. After all, Su Huan had topped the title of the world's first person of poetry. After arriving in South Metropolis last night, Big Sister Lu Mian had already met with Ding Xiuhua, and immediately urged Lu Mini not to offend Su Huan after returning. Su Huan's identity was very special. Not only was he a director, he was also the major shareholder of the Seven Colors Entertainment Group. At that time, Lu Mini was shocked, followed by the big sister's explanation to understand what's going on. Already have a number in mind. Su Huan also observed some Lu Mini. Not bad. With the crossing before that young boss is very similar. Appearance, body, look, similarity up to 90%, especially the figure. At first glance it was similar to the general actress figure. In fact, the thin waist, as well as the proud human heart, were all quite superb in existence. It was only that the average person couldn't tell this from their appearance. Ding Xiuhua didn't just meet with Lu Mini's agent, but also met with the agents of the other two stars as well. Su Huan shook Lu Mini's hand and said, Hello. After communicating with Lu Mini and others, he called over the costume team to take Lu Mini to change clothes, and the three stars who came over first would be photographed first. When Lu Mini changed her clothes, wearing a series of white dresses with breasts, many people were stunned. At this time, Deng Cici and Tishri also brought their agents and assistants over, and Ding Xiuhua brought them over to meet with Su Huan. Su Huan also politely shook hands with several people and communicated, let Deng Cici and Tishri on the sidelines to watch first. A moment after Lu Mini finished shooting, it will be their turn. Knowing how to shoot will be much more convenient. The two women have no opinion. After communicating, Su Huan took a stack of paper and came to Lu Mini's front to mess. Lu, this is the action pattern. Look at it, and pose in these postures when you walk around in a while. You have to mobilize your own aura, show your own noble temperament. Su Huan gave Lu Mini an explanation of the posture movements that would be filmed in a while. Lu Mini kept nodding her head, and the crowd all watched from the sidelines. They all knew that Lu Mini would officially start shooting after familiarizing herself with the action postures. As a star who often shoots commercials, Mastering these speeds is very fast. Not long after, the crowd saw Su Huan doing a demonstration in front of Lu Mini. Some of the movement's female stars would look graceful and elegant when they did them. If it was a male making these moves, it would look slutty. The good thing is that everyone knows that this is Su Huan to Lu Mini to explain posture movements. Are interested in face with a smile to watch. Su Huan walked a few times. Lu Mini also tried to walk a few times. And then memorized the sequence of movements. Before giving Su Huan an okay gesture. Seeing Lu Mini ready, Su Huan returned to the director's position and started shouting lighting team, lighting crew in position, camera crew, camera team in position, props, props team in position. As Su Huan shouted all departments have been in place, Su Huan stared at the screen began to fine tune. Just a few minutes later, the officials start shooting, this time Su Huan shooting, using the black mysterious department shooting techniques, people as long as see this kind of lens, will immediately be deeply attracted. It was a pity that there were not many directors who could play the black mystery system well. When shooting to the third set of action, Su Huan shouted out Ka, Mini keep the action still. Lighting, immediately used the large two bulbs to gather the light on top of the diamond ring on Mini's hand. With Su Huan's shout, Lu Mini kept her movements motionless, 
Before coming to have inquired about the brand of Dino Diamonds, it is very clear that once the short film shot this time was selected, it would cover the entire country of Dasha, will cover the entire country of Dasha, at that time, their own image will be seen by all the people of Dasha, which will greatly help to enhance their curiosity. The lighting team was fast, immediately replacing a new bulb according to Su Huan's request, and began to move the lights bit by bit according to Su Huan's instructions. It wasn't until Su Huan said yes that the shooting started once again. Lu Mimi was very powerful, and the strength of the behind-the-scenes staff was not to be underestimated. The subsequent dozen or so scenes were shot surprisingly in one shot. Cut. Over. Good job Mimi. Su Huan praised. The crowd breathed a sigh of relief. Lu Mimi also relaxed. Just now this series of shooting was really tiring. Costume. Take Lu Mimi and Deng Cici to change after saying that. Su Huan looked at Deng Cici who was a bit closer to him and nodded. Deng Cici nodded and followed the people from the costume team to leave. Only then did Su Huan look at Tisli and said, Forgive me, there is only one set of costume. I analyzed that you need to make some modifications after wearing the white dress in order for it to fit, so I put it in the final shoot. Tishri's figure was the best among the three. Her face was still a western face, very photogenic and eye-catching. I understand Tishri finished with a smile and nodded. It didn't matter if it was a little early or a little late. There were benefits to shooting last. Taking advantage of this space, Su Huan exchanged with Tishri about what actions she could do in a while. Tishri listened and nodded repeatedly. Tishri is not the first time to carry out advertising film shooting. From the condition of Su Huan shooting Lu Mimi just now, Su Huan is not a novice. On the contrary, very skillful. Coupled with Su Huan's special identity, it was necessary to have a good relationship with Su Huan. In a short time, Deng Cici changed her clothes and got ready. Only then did Su Huan end his conversation with Tishri and walked towards Deng Cici, and began to communicate with Deng Cici about the essentials of the action. From time to time, Su Huan walked once, Deng Cici followed also walked once, back and forth a few times. Deng Cici will be all the movements in order to remember. The two communicated well. Su Huan returned to sit down again and shouted all departments ready. Personnel began to quickly get into position. Not long, a sound in place on the sound came over. In Su Huan's start shout after the shooting officially began, Deng Cici is also a very online acting skills artist, with Su Huan shouts fell into the state, the body's temperament suddenly changed, drawing on Lu Mimi's experience from the first round of filming, a noble aura surged out of her body, looking at Su Huan's eyes, even when Deng Cici changed a few of her own movements, she didn't call for a stop, as long as the actor's own design is better, there is no need to call a halt, this is Su Huan's habit in his previous life. It was also this habit that Su Huan maintained a good relationship with many male and female artists. Deng Cici shooting Su Huan shouted out the card twice in total, and it went through smoothly. Tishri followed the people in the costume group to change clothes, and in a short time, Deng Cici changed her clothes and came back, and like Lu Mimi, she stood on the side and watched and didn't go. Do not underestimate the level of appreciation of the stars. They know very well what shots are good and what shots are bad. This time a little longer. After all, Tisley figure 3 circumference to be more than Deng CC and Lu Mimi are domineering a lot. Clothing alterations need a little time. Time is not long. Tish reappeared, and did not officially start shooting, but began to communicate with Su Huan a moment need to pose action posture. Su Huan is very patient. Communicate with Tish when they pose from time to time. Flirty full. It made quite a few people around him burst out laughing. Ding Chiu Hua, Lu Mimi, Deng CC, the three of them couldn't help but cover their mouths and laugh. This director Su was really hilarious. Tishri mimicked the walk twice, and memorized the sequence of movements for a while, thoroughly familiar with it before nodding to Su Huan. Su Huan let Tisley walk once more. After confirming it, then returned, let all departments in place. The shooting officially began. Deng Cici and Lu Mimi had no expression on their faces, but inwardly they were quite jealous of Tishri's body. In the future, they must avoid displaying their bodies together with Tishri, although she herself could also hold up a low cut dress but not as natural as Tishri, so full. Tishri had shot quite a few commercials and TV dramas over the years, and had already honed her good acting skills, and this shoot was stopped four times by Su Huan shouting, with three of them adjusting the lighting and other items. Ka! Tishri take a break. Props immediately set up the next scene. Su Huan began to shout, with Su Huan ordering the crowd began to get busy. Time slowly passed. Started at 8.20 in the morning. Has been shooting until 11.50 at noon before all the shooting was completed. When other people were busy, Su Huan called Deng Cici, Tishri, Lu Mimi, the three of them and their agents to one side. Looking at them, he said, if your schedules allow you to wait for one more day, I'll finish the editing and soundtrack in the afternoon. 
We will invite the brand to come over tomorrow morning to watch the demo. If you are selected, you can directly negotiate with the brand for an endorsement contract. If you are not selected by the brand, the promised filming costs will arrive within three days. After saying that he shook hands with the six people, he took Ding Xiaohua and left to eat in the company cafeteria. Su Huan said what he had to say, how to choose to let the three actresses decide for themselves. Su Huan ate quickly, and after eating, he headed to the editing room to get busy. Ding Xiaohua began to follow Su Huan's request to go to the music team to find some of the music specified by Su Huan. What the short film would look like had already been formed in his head, so the editing was very fast. Looking at the professional editors of Seven Colors Entertainment Group in a daze, at around two in the afternoon, Su Huan left the editing room with the finished movie to head to the soundtrack department. Ding Xiaohua's side had already found out a part of the film. Su Huan and the people from the soundtrack department started to get busy. And it wasn't until almost 7 o'clock that the finished film was completed. Su Huan handed over the three finished films to Ding Xiaohua for safekeeping, and gave Wei Qianhan a call, making an appointment to watch the finished films at the Seven Colors Entertainment Group screening room at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. Just after putting down the phone, Ding Xiaohua said from the side director Su, Deng CC and the three of them all called me this afternoon. All of them didn't leave. They hope to watch the finished films together tomorrow. You see, Su Huan thought for a moment and said yes. You can contact them and tell them not to be late. Good. Ding Xiaohua agreed and started back to the office with Su Huan, making phone calls while walking. When the two of them arrived at the office and put the three adult films in the safe, they drank a bit of tea before leaving the company. Didn't let Ding Xiaohua go home. Tonight Su Huan invited guests to treat Ding Xiaohua, who had arranged all sorts of things in place. Ding Xiaohua definitely wouldn't refuse. The relationship between the agent and the artist was quite close. Eating alone was something that deepened the feelings of both parties. The two drove one after the other away from Seven Colors Entertainment Group, and with no words along the way, they arrived at a small store that was a bit out of the way. Seeing the store Ding Xiaohua was surprised, not expecting Su Huan to come to such a place to eat, Su Huan said with a smile on the side don't look at this store is small, the sauce meat here is a masterpiece, I am considered a regular customer here, only bring those friends over. Ding Xiaohua nodded after hearing this and followed Su Huan into the store, Su Huan began to skillfully order food asked for two bottles of beer, and let go of the food and drink. Su Huan made a phone call to do shoe etching, sent the location to do shoe etching, let do shoe etching call a car to come over to pick himself up. Ding Xiaohua himself called a chauffeur to solve the problem. After Ding Xiaohua tasted the meat in the sauce here, the flavor was really good, and raised his cup to clink with Su Huan and drank a big mouthful together. The two talked and laughed and ate very pleasantly. More than 40 minutes later do shoe etching arrived. Su Huan went out to pick up do shoe etching and then introduced Ding Xiaohua to do shoe etching to recognize, greeting two people to sit down, add a pair of chopsticks to eat and drink together, do shoe etching a moment to drive, drink fruit juice or soda good. After eating and chatting for a while, Ding Xiaohua called the chauffeur arrived, do shoe etching stood up to go to the checkout, walked out of the sauce meat store, the three respectively shook hands and separated, do shoe etching drove Su Huan's car to take Su Huan home, all the way without words, the vehicle was soon parked in the manor parking lot. Su Huan got out of the car and looked at Du Xu Etching, pulling Du Xu Etching's small hand directly upstairs. Du Xu Etching did not have a trace of resistance. Back to the bedroom. Du Xu Etching was very enthusiastic today. The last time she was happy with Su Huan was already a long time ago, and today she was extraordinarily liberal. After an hour or so, Du Xu Etching left Su Huan's bedroom and returned to her own place, with a satisfied look on her face. The next morning, Su Huan woke up early to jog. At this moment Su Huan's physical strength has had a full growth. Without this physical strength cannot continuously deal with Gu Wan and do shoe etching. After breakfast, he drove to work at 9 o'clock. Seven Colors Entertainment Group. Inside Su Huan's office, Su Huan was chatting with Ding Xiaohua. Not long after Ding Xiaohua received a call from Lu Mimi, she said goodbye to Su Huan and left. He was responsible for leading the three actresses to the screening room. Su Huan waited in the office. After Wei Qianhan arrived in a while, he needed Su Huan to personally lead Wei Qianhan to the screening room to watch. A few minutes later, Su Huan did not wait for Wei Qianhan but waited for Pang Qingji and Wei Chengqing two people, asked the two people to sit down to the side of the two cups of water over. Three people exchanged a few pleasantries Pang Qingji asked with a smile you think Wei Qianhan recognized the possibility of how high? 100%. Su Huan lightly said this sentence. Pang Qingji and Wei Changxin were stunned, did not expect Su Huan's self-confidence is so full. Seeing Pang Qingji and Wei Changxin's expression of disbelief, Su Huan said, If you don't believe me, let's make a bet. Pang Qingji raised an eyebrow and asked what's the bet? I know you have a few bottles of red wine wine king in your collection. 
If I win give me a bottle. If I lose, you specify a thing of the same price. I'll pay for it. Su Huan smiled and said this. Pang Qingji followed and also smiled and said I knew you wouldn't die for my wine king. Su Huan made a you know what action. Pang Qingji's head turned. Suddenly remembered that Ding Xiuhua had told himself about Su Huan and Wei Qianhan. His eyes narrowed and he said okay, I agree to this bet. I'll also go to the screening room in a moment to see what a stunning commercial you've made. Su Huan saw that Pang Qingji had agreed and raised his right hand with a smile on his face and said a gentleman's word. Pang Qingji said with a straight face, a promise is a promise. After finishing, he raised his right hand and slapped it towards Su Huan's right hand. With three high fives, they made a gentleman's agreement. Putting down his hand, Su Huan said confidently, this time, the commercials I shot are absolutely amazing. Seriously, if it's not a good relationship with Wei Qianhan, I really don't agree to this price of $3 million. Su Huan's self-confidence was so high, which made Pang Qingji and Wei Changxin more interested. Three people in the office chatting up. Ten minutes later Wei Qianhan to Su Huan called over. People have arrived under the office building? Su Huan immediately said I immediately down to pick you. Hearing Su Huan said to come down to pick himself up. Wei Qianhan said with a smile. No, you just say in the first floor. I will go directly to the seventh floor. Su Huan finished chatting with Wei Qianhan for a few moments before ending the call. Greeting Pang Changji and Wei Chang Xian as they left the office together to head to the seventh floor viewing room. The three of them went downstairs a little faster. Stepped out of the elevator and asked the people in the company. They didn't find that Wei Qian Han didn't come up. So the three of them waited at the elevator entrance. It wasn't long before Wei Qian Han and her group came up. Pang Chengji and Wei Qian Han know. Both sides politely shook hands and exchanged pleasantries. Introduced to each other. Today, Wei Qian Han did not come alone. But with a few executives. There are Deloitte Diamonds brand manager Li Chanchan. Deloitte Diamonds operations director Li Chanli. Mingyue Group Brand Department Director Yu Qingdu, Mingyue Group Brand Strategy Department Minister Su Rue, Mingyue Group Market Research and Analysis Department Minister Zhou Yuan Yuan. On this side, Wei Qianhan also introduced Pang Qingji, Su Huan and Wei Changxin to several executives of the company. Pang Qingji and Wei Changxin secretly surprised. I did not expect Wei Qianhan even brought so many executives over. It seems that Mingyue Group attaches great importance to the brand of Delner Diamond. The crowd shook hands and exchanged pleasantries before going to the viewing room to watch Su Huan's short advertisement. As soon as they entered the viewing room, Deng Cici, Lu Mimi, and Tishri, the three of them immediately stood up under the leadership of Ding Xiuhua. Su Huan, as the introducer, introduced Pang Qingji, Wei Changxin, Wei Qianhan, as well as the senior management of the Mingyue Group and the senior management of the Dino Diamond brand to the three of them, who immediately lowered their posture and shook hands with the crowd one by one. Don't look at the three of them are big stars, compared to ordinary people are high up, but in front of these people, there is really nothing to be proud of. After the introduction, Su Huan waved his hand for them to sit down and accompanied the crowd towards the front row. The first row, Wei Qianhan sat in the center, the left side sat Pang Qingji, the right side sat Su Huan, other people to find their own seat. Soon, the screening room lights dimmed, a pillar of light shines on the screen, Lu Mimi's first short film appeared. Black background with a white low-cut dress and always flashing diamond ring immediately attracted everyone's eyes. Mystery. Diamond ring. Noble. Elegant. With a friendly smile on the face. Let Lumini himself look dumbfounded. Never in her dreams did she think that she would be photographed so beautifully by Su Huan. De Nua diamond ring. The testimony of love. Diamonds last forever. A De Nua is passed on forever. The magnetic thick voice uttered these two sentences at the end. Bringing extreme shock to the crowd at the scene. Pang Qingji. Wei Changxin, Wei Qianhan and others were shocked speechless watching this short film. Really did not expect to see such a stunning short film today. Followed by Deng Cici's short film, Tisli's short film, so that these two are also shocked speechless. Deng Cici and Tishri kept asking themselves in their hearts, are they so noble and charming? Today, Lu Mimi, Deng Cici, Tishri, the three of them came over to watch the commercial in person. Because they were worried that Su Huan, the big brother, would not reflect their own beauty in the final editing of the film. Now it seems that Su Huan's editing perfectly highlights the beauty of the three as well as their noble and elegant temperament. The movements of the three people are not the same, without exception, show the characteristics of the three people. Let a person look at a glance as deeply attracted. A short film of 15 seconds. Three short films were soon finished. The lights came on. Wei Qianhan took the lead and began to applaud. The rest of the crowd also began to applaud. At this moment, all of them were clapping genuinely. None of them had expected that Su Huan would be able to make such a classic short commercial. Su Huan stood up and returned the salute to the crowd with a cupped fist. All of them smiled. Li Qian Qian, 
The brand manager of Ming Kong Group's Dino Diamonds stood up with a distressed expression on her face and said, Director Su has really given me a difficult problem. To be sincere, I'm in favor of all three short films. Before coming here, Wei Qian Han had privately communicated with Li Qian. As long as the commercial shot by Su Huan is not inferior to the last commercial version provided by Seven Colors Entertainment Group, it will be passed immediately. At the moment, Su Huan's short film completely killed all the previous versions, and in Li Qian Han's opinion, the two are not at the same level of existence at all. Wei Qian Han nodded and said, Qian Qian said it's good, I'm also interested in all of them. Su Huan said with a smile after listening to the words of the two, This is good to do, give me three three million dollars well. The crowd laughed and 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 laughed. Waiting for the crowd to finish laughing Su Huan said Wei, Li, coincidentally, our pang is also in. I only care about the shooting, the specific things or you professionals to negotiate it. My job is done. The crowd laughed again. Indeed, Su Huan had successfully completed this task. The rest of the matter was Pang Xingji, Ding Qiuhua, and Wei Qian Han and the others, the three stars, negotiating together. The crowd left the screening room together. Su Huan shook hands with the crowd and left, returning to the office to drink tea, not to get involved in specific things. Pang Xingji arranged for someone to lead the three stars to the lounge to wait for a while, and he himself went to the office with the top management of Minkong Group to negotiate this matter. The three stars were fine with it and followed the staff to leave. Only then did Pang Qingji invite Wei Qianhan and the others to the office to discuss the matter in detail. People have left. Wei Changxin did not leave, but called over Shan Hontao, letting Shan Hontao personally take a look at the short advertisement shot by Su Huan. It didn't take long for Shan Hontao to come over and follow Wei Changxin in the screening room to watch Su Huan's advertisement film. After the three small short films were played, Shan Hongtao was completely dumbfounded. Compared with Su Huan's short film, his own advertisement is a piece of shit. No matter the picture delicacy, advertisement words, mood, light color tone, lens control, etc. were far inferior. Minister Wei, I, Shan Hongtao said here to say cannot go on. Wei Changxin looked at single Hongtao side and said, Report to the Ministry of Personnel. I will talk to the Ministry of Personnel to give you more than one month's salary said patted single Hontao's shoulder and left. Wei Changxin also has a sentence did not say to single Hontao. Regardless of this time Su Huan shooting advertisement film is adopted by the Mingyue group. You must go. Pang Qingji has already explained Wei Changxin. You must come up with a change of action. Use the resources the company has given you to recruit a few powerful directors to come over and come up with a movie that sells or a TV series with high ratings. No more achievements. No one can protect you. Time passes little by little. Time slowly arrives at a quarter to twelve. Pang Qingji called Su Huan, has talked to Minkong Group Wei Qianhan. Today, we will have a meal together at noon to celebrate the first cooperation between the two companies to reach a successful conclusion. Su Huan agreed, cleaned up and went downstairs to meet Pang Qingji, and found that there were quite a few people. Pang Qingji, Dong Qi Qi, Wei Qianhan, Li Chanqian, Deng Cixi, Lu Mimi, Tisli, Ding Qiuhua, plus Su Huan, nine people to go to dinner together. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do that. The dining place has been arranged. One of the upscale restaurants in South Metropolis. Heavenly Palace Hotel. This is an upscale restaurant that specializes in Sichuan cuisine. And it is said that the chef of the restaurant once hosted a state banquet. Which tasted very good. The crowd exchanged a few pleasantries and got into the car together. Driving towards their destination. The few executives who came with Wei Qianhan have already left. They have work in the afternoon so they won't participate in the meal. Today's dinner is more women. Pang Qingji explained the restaurant. Ladies more to be slightly spicy. The restaurant will know what to do. Peony private room? Is the restaurant's largest private room? Nine people sat down in turn after ordering dishes began to chat up. The people are chatty people. Laughing and joking atmosphere is very good. The rest of the personnel are downstairs in the hall to eat. Will not drink. Know that the upstairs private room nine people will drink. Don't look at the number of women. As usual, can drink. However, today did not drink white wine. Pang Qingji looked at the crowd and said with a smile, Today only drink beer. We do what we can. Do not persuade. This proposal was immediately adopted by the crowd. Laughing and joking began to eat and drink. Ding Xiuhua whispered beside Su Huan to report on the advertisement endorsement thing. Wei Qianhan really has the courage. With the price of 3 million per year with the three people to finalize a three-year endorsement fee and the right to use the image. At present, Delmer Diamond has already begun to produce the official contract. And the official signing will take place tomorrow. When the advertisement is fully online in Dasha country, all three of them have to cooperate and go to all over the world for publicity. Today has reached a general opinion. The specifics will be stipulated in the contract. 
Su Huan listened and nodded, Wei Qianhan made this decision is wise, these three people have not small fans, stacked together to produce a better effect. Eating, toasting was an essential part. The three actresses gave Pang Xingji, Wei Qianhan, Dong Qi Qi, Li Qianxian four people have a cup of wine a touch drink, Lu Mimi, Deng Cici, Tishri, three people did not give Su Huan toast, not that they do not know the rules, but Ding Xiuhua deliberately explained the three people, Su Huan can't drink well, don't give Su Huan a toast. When the instructions were given, Wei Qianhan and the others listened on the sidelines, smiled and didn't say anything. Wei Qianhan put down the chopsticks at this time, looked at Su Huan came to a Su director. Advertising filming is completed the next step of what plans. Su Huan heard after not thinking said shoot a movie. Horror. Redefine horror. After hearing this, everyone was stunned. Deng Cici reacted quickly and immediately turned her head to look at Su Huan and said, Mr. Su, do you think I can act in the movie? I this horror movie scene is very simple. 90% of the scene in a few male protagonists. Female characters lens is not much. You're too pretty to ask you to shoot a horror movie the audience is not afraid. Su Huan smiled and said roughly. Deng Cici then understood what was going on. And the crowd followed and laughed. The three actresses at the moment were not suitable for horror movies. Although the crowd was laughing. They were not optimistic about Su Huan shooting a horror movie. You are so sharp in shooting commercials. What horror movie? With your rates. A year down the line the income from shooting commercials is not less than what you earn from shooting movies. Pang Qingji is this mind. Looking at Su Huan said. I do hope that you shoot a few more commercials, which carries the meaning of testing. After listening to this sentence, everyone laughed. Indeed. This time Su Huan shooting commercials really stunning. It really wasn't possible to not be convinced of this. Don't give me any work. I won't accept any commercial shoots in the future. Su Huan looked at Pang Qingji and said this sentence with great certainty. Wei Qianhan saw Su Huan said so dry. Flirting with Su Huan's mind came up, glanced at Su Huan and said, I also do not take? Su Huan froze. Su Huan froze. Was Wei Qianhan a glance at the flavor to glance at the heart panic? A moment did not know what to say. The crowd her face with deep meaning to look at Su Huan and Wei Qianhan. At this time, Su Huan reacted, rubbing his head and said this. This will be said when the time comes. The crowd laughed once again. Su Huan is definitely a handsome man and is the major shareholder of the Seven Colors Entertainment Group. Pang Qingji's words do not matter. At this moment, he was being so embarrassed by Wei Qianhan. It was hard not to laugh. Wei Qianhan also laughed and did not continue to make things difficult for Su Huan, but instead picked up her chopsticks to clip the food. Time slowly passed. The crowd ate and drank until almost 2 o'clock before the end. Downstairs after shaking each other's hands each car separated. Su Huan was unable to drive. Wei Qianhan arranged for one of his bodyguards to drive Su Huan home. Su Huan thanked him before getting into the car and leaving. Back home, Su Huan arranged for Du Xueqing to drive the bodyguard away and returned to the house to rest, resting for a few days before going back to work on Monday. This is what Su Huan had agreed with Pang Qingji and also told Ding Xiuhua to rest with him. With the completion of this single advertisement shooting, Ding Xiuhua's bonus for this month was guaranteed. Su Huan slept until dark before waking up went downstairs to eat some food, went out for a walk, and then went to the gym for a light workout. After sweating, he felt much better. And when he left the gym and returned to the living room, Du Xueqing came over with a cup of honey water and said, drink some of it and take a break. Good. Su Huan took it and finished it in one gulp. Du Xueqing took the cup and said good night and walked around Su Huan towards the outside. Su Huan turned his head to look at Du Xueqing, smiled and went upstairs to rest. The next morning, Su Huan woke up early and started to run and exercise. He had already thought about what to do in these few days of vacation, and honestly worked out at home. Although the current physical quality has been improved to some extent, it does not satisfy Su Huan, and the progress must be accelerated. Su Huan's life is regular. After an early morning workout and breakfast, he heads to his study, reads a book, yards words, and then begins to write a script. The first time he shot a regular horror movie, Su Huan deliberately picked a small budget movie, Saw, the, Saw, is definitely a classic movie with a small budget, and it has been filmed over a dozen times one after another, each of which has made a profit. It is regarded as one of the classics by horror movie fans around the world. Time passes day by day. Soon to Friday, Du Xueqing went to pick up Wei Yutong in the afternoon, Su Huan drove out by himself, not eating at home today. The day before yesterday, he accompanied Zhu Hongdo for dinner and a walk to relax, and today, he made an appointment with Baby M.O. to have dinner together and he had already explained it to Du Xueqing. Baby M.O. did not plan to go out to eat with Su Huan, but purchased a lot of ingredients to cook at home, letting Su Huan know that he has a good hand at cooking. 
When Su Huan arrived at Baby Mo's side, he saw the ingredients that Baby Mo had purchased and froze for a moment. Remembering that Baby Mo did not know how to cook and stir fry. You really know how to cook and stir fry? Su Huan asked curiously. Baby Mo blanked Su Huan a glance and said, Our Sichuan sister that will not cook, today let you open your eyes. After hearing this Su Huan smiled and said I'll help you after saying that he was going to go into the kitchen to help. Mo baby immediately stopped. You help me tie on the apron can be. Do not give me to add to the mess. If you are really bored, you can watch TV or play with your cell phone in the living room. After saying that, he pointed to the apron hanging on the side. Su Huan walked over and took it down to put it on baby Mo, and then hugged baby Mo from behind and kissed her earlobe gently. Mo baby red-faced body leaned in Su Huan's arms, said gently, I know you do not have a good heart. Go out. Got it. Su Huan finished a light kiss on baby Mo's cheek, let go of baby Mo left the kitchen, went to the living room to turn on the TV to watch. Baby Mo took a deep breath and started to get busy. More than 20 minutes passed, baby Mo made four dishes in one soup, braised pork, green pepper scrambled eggs, fried bacon, vegetarian tripe, pork chop soup. Su Huan stood up and went to the kitchen to help with the dishes. The two just sat down. Baby Mo immediately stood up, to the side of the cabinet took out a bottle of wine and a wine glass put in front of Su Huan before returning to his seat. Su Huan looked at the wine and the glass and raised his head, with a mysterious smile on his face. He looked at baby Mo and said, You dare to let me drink? Do not worry about. The first thing I said was that I'm not worried about it. What to worry about? I give you the opportunity. You dare? Mo baby finished white Su Huan a glance. Su Huan face appeared embarrassed smile scratched his head. He really didn't dare. At the very least he didn't dare right now. He didn't make up his mind inwardly to accept baby Mo. Yu Hongdo. Su Ran Ran. The three of them. All of them are good girls who are deeply in love with themselves. Su Huan really can't bear to harm them. Drink it. After drinking it you have to write me a poem. If Yu Hongdo has it, I'll have it too. Baby Mo finished with a smile, picked up her bowl and chopsticks and started to eat. The meaning of embarrassment on Su Huan's face became even stronger. Looking up at baby Mo. Forget it. Don't think about it, picked up the bottle of wine and poured a glass and drank it down, picked up the chopsticks and started to clip the food, putting down the chopsticks, he asked, how is your poetry book prepared, baby Mo's poetry collection has been prepared for a long time, what is the current status is unknown, Su Huan knows that this is one of baby Mo's heart problems, unsatisfactory, currently lacking a poem that will make people's eyes light up, baby Mo said honestly, the poetry collection has currently prepared 10 modern poems, 8 ancient poems, and two words, the quantity is enough, but the quality leaves baby Mo a little dissatisfied. Su Huan had an idea in his heart after hearing this, and looked at Mo Bao Bao and said, if you don't mind, let me take a look, and I'll give you a little advice. Mo baby nodded his head and agreed. Su Huan currently also tops the title of the world's first person of poetry, letting Su Huan give himself the gatekeeper's advice. There was a high probability that the quality of the poems could be raised by one level which would be beneficial to the sales of the poetry collection after it was released. The topic opened up, and the two of them chatted while eating, the atmosphere becoming more and more relaxed. Su Huan drank with great restraint, stopping after three cups, and began to focus on eating, knowing that Su Huan has a large amount of food. Baby Mo did not expect Su Huan to be able to eat so much. Rice ate a full six bowls, but also drank two bowls of soup. She asked incredulously, Are you having such a large meal now? I've been working out lately. My meal size is much bigger compared to my college days. On another note, your bowl here is too small. I'm not afraid to scare you. At the moment it's only 70% full. Su Huan face with a smile to say this sentence. Mo baby thoughtfully nodded. It seems, the next time Su Huan came to eat, cooking must be a little more to work. Eat and drink enough to clean up together. Su Huan did not let the baby ink wash dishes set a delicate hands how to do this kind of rough work. I come. Mo baby after listening to Su Huan words is really happy. No Su Huan so says do not want to let yourself wash dishes, is heartbroken themselves, I'll leave it to you, I'll go make you some tea she said and left the table, going over to the coffee table and picking up the teapot to catch the water, a qualified shoe sister will definitely know three things, cooking and frying, making tea, and playing mahjong, baby Mo's level of tea making was still very good, it didn't take long for Su Huan to come out of the kitchen just after preparing the tea, you drink tea first, I'll go fetch the manuscript finished walking towards his study, Su Huan nodded and sat down to start drinking tea. After a short time, Baby Mo walked out with a lot of manuscripts and a pen in her hand, and came to Su Huan's side to pass the manuscripts over, intending to sit on the side. Su Huan which cannot let the ink baby sit aside, raised his hand and grabbed the ink baby's wrist to his arms, 
The ink baby unsteady center of gravity sat in Su Huan's arms. Imo baby red face raised his hand and slapped Su Huan's chest and said let go of me. Su Huan cheekily said, only the brain dead will let you go. Good boy. Obedient. Finished adjusting their own sitting position, so that the ink baby sitting a little more comfortable. Encountered such a two-skinned face ink baby helpless, can only cooperate to move the body a few times, so that he sits a little more comfortable. Don't be weird. You first look at these manuscripts to give me an opinion. The publishing house site has urged me three times. Emo Baby finished hugging Su Huan's neck and gently kissed Su Huan's cheeks. Su Huan knows that this moment is not the time to engage in weirdness. The main thing is important. I look good one by one. Su Huan nodded and began to give the manuscript. Baby Emo nodded and started to show Su Huan the manuscript. Su Huan first looked at the modern poems. After reading it, he said, These five modern poems of yours are deeply influenced by Han Chin Chu as modern poems. I suggest that you change your mindset and detach yourself from her influence. Han Chien Chue is a writer of modern poems in the style of love, sadness, grief, and moaning without disease. A few years older than Baby Emo, her fame was much higher, and every time she published a collection of poems, the sales were over 10 million. It is considered the first person in the current female poetry circle in the country of Dasha. Baby Emo asked in disbelief her poetry collections sell very well. The publisher's side also told me that a style similar to Han Chien Chue's sells best. That was before. Last year. The sales of her poetry book had already started to go downhill. If you still imitate her now, the sales of the book will definitely be very poor. Readers are changing. You need to follow suit. After Su Huan finished speaking, he gave a few comments. Baby Mo immediately wrote down Su Huan's comments next to the manuscript. Very seriously. The two kept the sitting position for more than an hour without realizing it, during which each piece was discussed. Some of them underwent not so small changes. Never underestimate Baby Mo's talent. Someone who can publish a collection of essays and sell them in a big way definitely has real talent. If your work doesn't resonate with the readers, no one will pay for it. Emo Baby will change the manuscript to organize some on the coffee table. Turn around and hug Su Huan's neck tone with a hint of resentment said your emotional intelligence is also so genius would be good. Su Huan originally had a hint of beauty in the arms of the happy mind. Heard this sentence immediately lost interest. The heart surged out of a sense of guilt for failing to live up to the grace of the beauty. Before crossing. Su Huan as a big director has never submissive any actress. Of course, some actress hard to your nest drilling no way to refuse. Su Huan also with the last reason to talk to its good conditions. We all take what we need to get together in part, and not involved in each other afterward. Although the experience of a lot of women, but there has never been any woman said bad things about Su Huan. Su Huan promised to do all the things, before crossing the Su Huan around no shortage of women, but never met his true destiny. No one understands the loneliness in his heart. After crossing over and experiencing Gu Wan, Zhou Xinyun, Yu Hongdo, Su Ran Ran, Ink Baby, five people on Su Huan's deep love, really let Su Huan is very envious. Everyone is called Su Huan. How the fate gap is so big. The Su Huan of this world, leaving aside Gu Wan, no matter which one he marries, will be a happy family. But the reality is that no matter which one Su Huan marries, he will deeply hurt the other three. Mo Baby is a smart person. See Su Huan face changed a little thought to know what Su Huan is thinking. Hands holding Su Huan's neck of force. Lift up the head and Su Huan's cheeks gently kissed said destiny will be together. We'll leave everything to time. Su Huan nodded and lifted his hand to caress the hair of baby Mo, and the two of them hugged each other without saying a word. Enjoying a calm and happy moment. Baby Mo was very literal and cared about the realm. And at this moment, this silent atmosphere was baby Mo's favorite. Regardless of what Su Huan will become in the future. At least at this moment, he is leaning in Su Huan's arms and being hugged by him fondly. If two loves are long lasting, is it not in the morning and evening? Baby Mo understood this sentence more deeply at this moment. After a long time, Mo Baby whispered I'm sleepy, you carry me back to my room. Good Su Huan gently agreed. Taking a deep breath, he stood up with Baby Mo and walked towards the bedroom, placed Baby Mo on the bed, and pulled the quilt over to cover Baby Mo, lowering his head. He kissed Mo Bao Bao's forehead and said softly, I'll publish the poems I sent you tonight, so you can include them in your poetry collection. Good night. Baby Mo looked at Su Huan with a smile and nodded without saying anything. Su Huan straightened up and walked towards the door, raised his hand and turned off the lights and closed the door, went to the side and changed his shoes before leaving Baby Mo's house. Mo Baby is not ready for Su Huan. Su Huan is not ready. Some things are water to the good. Of course, this is only the feelings of the two sides to speak. If replaced by other people, Su Huan will not consider so much. We are all happy on it. Who cares about him tomorrow flooding? Driving back home, Du Xueqing and the others had already gone to rest. 
Su Huan directly went upstairs to the study. The computer booted up and opened the Dasha Poetry Copyright Network to log into his account and wrote a poem. Resentment. Beauty rolls the pearl curtain, sitting deeply knitting her moth brows, but see the tear marks wet. Do not know who the heart hates. Click on the query. Soon the query results came out. Does not infringe any copyright? Su Huan this point uploaded. Immediately after opening the microblogging to write to the resentment, Beauty rolls up the pearl curtain and sits deeply knitting her eyebrows. I don't know who I hate, but I can see the wet tear marks. This poem is presented to a few confidants. Knowing who you hate, but unable to do anything for you. A man will die for a friend who understands him, and a woman will look as good as she pleases. In this life, it is most difficult to accept the grace of beauty. After uploading Su Huan closed the microblogging and Dasha copyright website, and then closed the computer. Looking at the computer screen long Sai Hei, Su Huan closed the microblogging and Dasha copyright website after uploading. When the computer completely shut down, Su Huan only left the study to return to the bedroom to rest. Su Huan microblogging account, Dasha poetry copyright network account, a lot of people. Su Huan side of the update immediately there are a lot of people received the update notification. Many people immediately clicked on the Dasha Poetry Copyright website or Weibo to start watching. Yu Hongdo, at this moment has not slept. After a bath on the bed to brush the phone, ding tong a beep sounded. You follow the Su Huan microblogging has been updated. Seeing this message, Yu Hongdo immediately clicked on the microblogging view. After reading the poem written by Su Huan in a few words, Yu Hongdo raised his hand and rubbed his eyebrows and said softly, You still know that we hate you. You're this unenlightened wood. Yu Hongdo knew that today Su Huan went to Baby Mo's side for dinner. And at this moment Su Huan suddenly came up with such a poem. It should be that Baby Mo gave Su Huan pressure. This was good. Having pressure was motivation. When the pressure reaches a certain level, you need to release. Release the inner annoyance you need to let yourself go. After the pressure is released, Su Huan will begin to introspect. After introspection, Su Huan will feel tired and tired. Will naturally consider the issue of starting a family. Slowly, the pressure on Su Huan at the moment is not enough. In a few days, he is not also give a little pressure to this with the wood. Or, wait for Su Ran Ran to come over and meet with Su Ran Ran Mo Baby to talk about. Joint them gradually give Su Huan pressure. Yu Hongdo's brain began to work quickly, thinking about how feasible this plan is. Mo Baby also did not sleep. After Su Huan left Mo Baby got up and went to wash up, lying on the bed waiting for Su Huan's poetry. As soon as the tone appeared, he immediately clicked on Su Huan's microblogging to watch and smiled after reading it. Su Huan is feeling the pressure. This is also good. I do not know you Hongdo, Zhou Xinyun, Su Ran Ran, Gu Bowles, these people see, how will feel. Mo Baby's analysis of Su Huan has never stopped. Knowing that Su Huan began to change himself, also did not stop analyzing Su Huan. Amorous, this is one of the labels engraved on Su Huan's genes. It is hard for Su Huan to change. This time to the southern city to chase Su Huan is definitely a physical and mental torture of a protracted war, Baby Inc. has the confidence to adhere to the end. Imperial Capital, Zhou Xinyun has already slept. However, Zhou Xinyun's agent, Sister Hong, saw Su Huan's microblogging, and after reading it, she let out a long sigh. This Su Huan, really made women love and hate him. Zhou Xinyun was already trapped at the moment, and in the future, she would definitely be like her good girlfriend, entangled with her beloved for a lifetime and not letting go. On the surface of the amiable national sister Zhou Xinyun, the stubbornness of the bone outsiders really do not know. It is estimated that they know with Zhou Hao, which is also one of the roots of the two of them to Zhou Xinyun emotional let go. Shanghai City, Zhao Kai Feng also did not sleep. Today's mood is not good, and Wang Yiting officially broke up. Wang Yiting cried, not unaware of Wang Yiting's affection for himself, but he never came to Wang Yiting. Zhao Kai Feng also tried, just Wang Yiting did not feel. Today officially with Wang Yiting showdown. Wang Yiting crying pearly rain let Zhao Kai Feng is very helpless. At the moment is in the mood to brush the phone. See the prompt click on Su Huan's microblogging. The poem did not have much feeling. Only to Su Huan last wrote the most difficult to spend the grace of the beauty of this sentence deeply appreciate. Think with Wang Yiting know this period of time. Wang Yiting always tolerate their own temper. If they really want to Wang Yiting, Wang Yiting will not refuse. Thinking of this, Zhao Kai Feng's mood became more irritable and put his cell phone aside to look at the ceiling out of his mind. Ladassa City, Baiyun County, Su Ran Ran also saw Su Huan's microblogging and shook her head inside after reading it. Being able to understand Su Huan's helplessness, this was also one of the reasons why Su Ran Ran hadn't moved to southern metropolis until now. Yu Hongdo and Baby Mo have already arrived in the southern city, plus Guan, who is unwilling to let go. 
The three women are already annoying enough for Su Huan. If she goes again, Su Ran Ran is worried that Su Huan will not be able to stand the pressure and do something stupid. Today, this poem has already seen Su Huan's inner tangled, unable to do something for them. This sentence is definitely Su Huan's inner portrayal. Su Ran Ran also analyzed that Su Huan is not incapable of doing something for them, but no matter who he does it for, it will hurt other people. Su Huan didn't want to hurt any of the four in his heart. Gu Wan is also not sleeping at the moment. The phone appeared after the prompt also logged into the microblogging to see what Su Huan wrote. After reading a slight smile and put the phone aside. Not angry. Gu Wan is really not angry at all. Nor do they hate Su Huan's amorous feelings. The mercurial Su Huan. On the contrary, let Gu Wan feel that Su Huan real. Better grasp a little. Than a period of time ago, Su Huan violently changed. A moment unable to accept the situation a lot better. Regardless of how Su Huan changed, the core nature cannot be changed. Amorous is one of Su Huan's nature. At the moment the difficult ones are Yu Hongo, Zhou Xinyun, Baby Mo, Su Ran Ran, these four people. This is a protracted battle of physical and mental torture. Gu Wan is confident to go to the end. Just like during college, the final victor is definitely still herself. Because she knew Su Huan's nature better than anyone else. Gu Wan rolled over, hugged the quilt and closed her eyes to sleep peacefully. At this moment, there were already many poetry enthusiasts who started discussing and analyzing Su Huan's poem, purely from a literary point of view, unanimously recognizing that this was a high-quality poem. It was definitely written by the poet's inner feelings. Many people are discussing Su Huan's poem on the internet, and there are also many people who are lamenting Su Huan's microblogging statement. In short, there were quite a few people who were sleepless tonight. After the night passed, Su Huan woke up early in the morning and started to run and exercise putting last night's feelings already behind him. Not to think about these things, everything is just as it should be. Su Huan's side is quiet. Some media began to report on Su Huan's poem grievance. There are many experts and professors began to publish comments on this poem and microblogging. In the afternoon, a number of heavyweights began to comment on Su Huan's poem on Weibo, the president and vice president of the Literature Association, the president and vice president of the Dasha Poetry Association, the Writers' Association, the Calligraphy and Painting Association, and so on a host of bigwigs bubbled up to comment one by one. At 5 o'clock, Prof. Soon of the Literature Department of Dragon College published a review that combined many reviews into one, immediately attracting the attention of many people. This poem is entitled Grievance, and the word grievance is the focus, so it can be said that the entire poem is centered around this word. The beauty waits for a good man by rolling up the curtains, but the empty waiting does not see the man contains grievances frowning and weeping because the grievances in her heart have no outlet, and ultimately the beauty's grievances turn into hatred for the good man. In the end, the beauty's resentment is transformed into hatred for the good man. In four short lines, the poet slowly deepens the theme of the poem through the progression of the mood, through the rolled, knit, sit deep, knit the eyebrow, tear marks, wet, the tears, the tears, the tears, the tears, the tears, the tears and the tears, wet. These descriptions show the form and movement of a woman, creating a lonely and sad mood, showing the woman's feelings of boudoir grudges, mournful and desolate, lingering and sorrowful, attracting people's reverie. Immediately after that, the official account of Dragon Academy praised Su Huan's poem, saying that it was one of Su Huan's grievance that showed that it was simple to look at, but was actually very learned. This represented that Su Huan's literary skills as well as his level of poetry creation had improved considerably. In short, he praised Su Huan fiercely. The more Su Huan's fame grew, the better it would be for the Dragon Tendency School. After all, this was Su Huan's alma mater. When he ate dinner in the evening, the poem, Resentment, had already risen to the number one spot on Weibo, and its influence was spreading. Su Huan ate dinner and walked outside for half an hour, then went to the gym to work out for about 30 minutes before returning to his room to shower and rest. The next day, more media began to report on this matter. Su Huan used his cell phone to read for a while and then stopped reading, placed the phone on the table and began to code words. He stopped just before putting his hands on the keyboard, thought for a while and clicked on the computerized version of the microblog, and began to write an article. First at the president of the Dashia Literary Association vice president, then the president of the Dashia Poetry Association vice president, Writers Association, Painting and Calligraphy Association, etc. Immediately followed by its several professors from Dragon Academy as well as a number of university professors and experts. Thank you for your seniors' comments. The kid is deeply honored. Compared to the merits of your seniors, the kid's work is a bit insignificant. You seniors are the real great talent, is the backbone of my dasha. You study literature, preaching, 
teaching and solving problems for my dashya to cultivate outstanding talents. You are the engineers of the soul of mankind, the people who should be most admired. After writing it was immediately published on Weibo. These bigwigs had made many reviews of Su Huan's work and had said many good things about it. And at this moment they themselves had to give a positive reply. Can't let these people think that they are lonely and self-approving without any lower dust. People are group animals. When you are out of the group is very difficult to live. In ancient times, those who wrote a thousand famous poets, many of them are not very good, is because they are lonely and self-promoting, do not know and light and dust. However, all those who did well were masters of harmonizing with light and dust. Two generations of people Su Huan is very clear how to establish their own social status. People hold their own, they also have to hold back. Tossing back and forth a few times, Su Huan's Junghu status was consolidated. One night passed, a new day began. Su Huan did not care about the media reports, began a regular day, unaware that his microblogging increased more than a dozen official organizations as well as the likes of many university official numbers, to be able to have this achievement. With which Su Huan, you are the engineers of the soul of mankind, the people who should be admired the most, was not unrelated. At noon, in Xiangjiang City, the Yu family, Mr. and Mrs. Yu Mingsheng and their second son Yu Jiaxing were having dinner at home. Yu Jiaxing put down his cell phone and said this Su Huan is really doing something unexpected. At this moment, his microblog has been liked and supported by dozens of universities as well as official accounts of associations. This kid's Jianghu status in the cultural circle has been established. Yu Mingsheng, holding a bowl and chopsticks in his hand, said after listening to Yu Jiaxing's words, gold can always shine. By the way, how is Daoda's progress in the southern city? Yu Jiaxing turned his head to look at his father and said, I heard Daoda say that the progress is good. Su Huan is really changing now. It is said that this kid to the South Metropolis Mingyue group shot three short advertisements. As a result, the three short advertisements were all seen by the Mingyue group, and the original scheduled image spokesperson has become three. Yu Jiaxing Wu Yu Hongo said with their own things are truthfully with his father reported once. Yu Mingxing listened to nodded and said we do not interfere in this matter. Let Daoda make their own decisions. People do not go through the emotional grind is not mature. Said continue to clip the food to eat. Aside Zhu Chichi face with doubt looked at her husband Yu Mingxing said how. Listen to the meaning of your words. You think that Daoda cannot take that wood. Yu Mingxing smiled bitterly and said. It's easy to take the wood. But it's hard to monopolize the heart of the wood. Everything is as it should be. Hearing Yu Mingxing's words. Zhu Chichi and Yu Jiahao both stopped talking. The few women currently chasing after Su Huan have a certain emotional foundation with Su Huan. Su Huan said that he was unable to do anything for them. The most difficult to bear the grace of the beauty. It is all a true reflection of Su Huan's inner emotions. Yu Hongdo wants to monopolize Su Huan's heart is already impossible. Even if the last Su Huan and Yu Hongdo married, deep down there will be a few other people's position. Yu Mingxing precisely see through this point, only to say, everything is fate, this sentence. Time slowly passes. South Metropolis. More than 5 o'clock in the afternoon, Du Xueqing drove out, went to South Metropolis Art School to pick up Wei Yutong. Everything went very smoothly. Wei Yutong was already waiting on the side of the road and immediately walked over when she saw Du Xueqing's car. Many people looked at Wei Yutong's back and showed expressions of pity. In their opinion, Wei Yutong this flower must have been chewed by some old thing. Even if the person who came to pick up Wei Yutong was a woman, this was still the same opinion. Wei Yutong didn't care about this kind of rumor and didn't explain when her roommate inquired about it. So let these people misunderstand it. This way there can be fewer annoying flies around themselves. As in the past, today's dinner is Su Huan. Du Xu Eching, Wei Yutong three people eat together. After eating, the two accompanied Su Huan in the living room drinking tea and chatting. After eating, the two of them accompanied Su Huan to drink tea and chat in the living room. After chatting, the conversation came to Wei Yutong, who began to speak about herself with great generosity. Brother Huan. I passed the intermediate fitness instructor examination on Wednesday, and it is estimated that the documents will come down next month. At present, I also have a primary nutritionist license, an intermediate body worker license, and a commercial art designer, listening to Wei Yutong gushing about her achievements. At this moment, both Su Huan and Du Xueqing were impressed with Wei Yutong. The fact that Wei Yutong was able to find the time to obtain these certificates outside of her classes and part-time job was enough to show that Wei Yutong was a very motivated girl and that she had to put in a lot of hard work and sweat to obtain each and every one of these certificates. The hard work involved can be imagined. Su Huan asked from the sidelines with a cup of tea, You have a junior dietitian license. How do you rate the nutrition of today's dinner? Today's dinner tastes very good and makes people's appetite open up. If you look at the nutritional aspect, it's a little bit worse. Take the white porridge as an example. 
If you replace it with black bean porridge and add some red dates to simmer it together. Red dates can. Black bean porridge can. Very good for porridge drinkers. Wei Yutong said the right thing to make Su Huan and Du Xueqing nodded their heads. At this time, Wei Yutong added four Huan. White porridge. Buns. It doesn't matter if the food is nutritious or not. The benefits brought by that bowl of medicinal food can completely make up for the missing ones. Unfortunately, the subject of medicinal diets belongs to the realm of Chinese medicine and is too complicated for me to learn. After hearing Wei Yutong's words, Su Huan and Du Xueqing both laughed. The three of them talked and laughed and drank some tea. Du Xueqing took Wei Yutong to the guest room. Su Huan, on the other hand, went outside for a walk. Just now Wei Yutong said that it was best to rest for about 10 minutes after a meal before taking a walk. The night passed. At 6 o'clock early in the morning, Su Huan and Wei Yutong met up in the living room and went out for a run together. Running out more than 700 meters, Wei Yutong called a halt. Brother Huan, pause for a moment. You're breathing rapidly. Fitness exercise is to make the body better, not just for muscle exercise. Walking slowly for a while to adjust your breathing is better for the internal organs of the body. Listening to Wei Yutong's words, Su Huan nodded and started to walk slowly with a big breath. Wei Yutong accompanied alongside. In a short time, Su Huan felt that he had recovered a lot of physical strength. And Wei Yutong also noticed that Su Huan's breathing had changed. Taking out the gloves on his waist and handing them to Su Huan, the two of them put on the gloves and started to perform crawling exercises, then a short sprint, then playing badminton, and other activities until 8.30 before stopping. Back to the main building respectively returned to the room to take a shower and change clothes, and then met downstairs to eat breakfast together. Don't look at the recent Su Huan's body is not deficient. Du Xueqing also arranged for Su Huan to supplement the medicinal meals. In Wei Yutong's words, when Huan finished eating the tonic medicinal food for about 20 minutes and began to nosebleed, when to end this tonic? But whenever Su Huan did not have a nosebleed after eating the tonic food for about 20 minutes, it means that Su Huan's body is in great need of nutrients and he needs to continue to take tonic. From today onwards, Su Huan must eat one men's multivitamin tablet for lunch every day. After lunch, Su Huan went back to his room to rest, and got up at 2.30 to start warming up, and a little while later, he also carried out muscle, strength, and other aspects of exercise. An afternoon passed, Su Huan tired. Today Wei Yutong deliberately adjusted the training program, while instructing Du Xueqing dinner to do a little more. One day down, the number of times Wei Yutong teased Su Huan was extremely low, which made Su Huan very pleased. It seemed that Du Xueqing's conversation with Wei Yutong had worked, so he could have one less thing to worry about. Separately returned to the room to take a shower and change clothes, went downstairs to eat dinner together. As Wei Yutong said, Su Huan ate a lot. Usually it was three bowls of kanji, today it became five bowls plus two large meat buns. After eating, Wei Yutong also explained to Du Xueqing's sister Du, let brother Huan drink another glass of milk before going to bed at night, preferably fresh milk. Stick to it for a month and the effect will come out. Du Xueqing promised, Wei Yutong shook hands with Su Huan and left. Su Huan did not stay, or by Du Xueqing drove Wei Yutong back to school. Today is definitely too late to prepare fresh milk. Du Xueqing will definitely arrange it tomorrow. A day late is a matter of indifference. A day passed. And on Sunday, Su Huan's exercise was directly reduced by half, which was also explained by Wei Yutong. Su Huan had to go to work on Monday. Sunday was not suitable for high-intensity exercise. Lowering the amount of exercise by half would help the body recover, and the body would not feel tired when he went to work on Monday. If you can't come home at noon to eat, change the men's multivitamin tablets to eat in the morning. I have to say that Wei Yutong explained very carefully. The day passed quickly, and on Monday morning, Su Huan ate breakfast and drove to work in high spirits. Seven Colors Entertainment Group, Director's Department, inside Su Huan's office. Ding Xiuhua had already arrived and cleaned the office. Following Su Huan's big brother, the pressure on Ding Xiuhua is very low. Su Huan doesn't need to hype to raise his popularity, and he doesn't care about those endorsements or anything else. Coming to work at Seven Colors Entertainment Group is just a ticket to play. Very free. Su Huan free. Ding Xiuhua also followed the free. The workload is very low. The pressure is small bonus is also high. It can be said that at this moment, many brokers within Seven Colors Entertainment Group are envious of Ding Xiuhua, wishing to immediately switch with Ding Xiuhua and become Su Huan's broker. Su Huan came to the office and greeted Ding Xiuhua to sit behind the desk. Ding Xiuhua immediately made a cup of tea and put it on Su Huan's desk. Taking a sip from the cup of tea, he opened his briefcase and took out a script and handed it to Ding Xiuhua. Mrs. Ding, this is the script I wrote. Help me to complete the copyright registration as well as the review and filing. I'll log on to the company's artist database now to start picking the right people. 
Ding Xiuhua was worried about having nothing to do, and took the script and said okay. The two men divided up the work and got busy. Ding Xiuhua first reviewed the script before taking it to Wei Changxin. According to the company rules and regulations, Wei Changxin is the director of the department. Only after Wei Changxin's signature can be sent to other departments for approval and sent to the relevant departments for review and filing. Su Huan is a SS level contract. The script as well as the copyright of the filming of the movie belongs to Su Huan personally. According to the provisions of the contract, it is possible to use the company's various channels. At noon in the company cafeteria to eat, met Wei Changxin and other executives sitting together talking and laughing is very relaxed. Wei Changxin has already seen the script Ding Xiuhua brought over as well as the budget. Didn't look at the script carefully, just roughly flipped through it, focusing on the budget figures at the back. The total budget was eight and a half million dollars. Su Huan worried about the lack of funds also wrote a clause, additional budget control within 20% of the total cost. Wei Changxin signed directly after reading these. Pang Xingji explained, as long as the budget of Su Huan's movie does not exceed 20 million you will directly approve, even if you lose money, you will not be blamed. With this gold medal, Wei Changxin is full of confidence. After Wei Changxin signed the letter, he chatted with Ding Xiuhua for a while and then sent Ding Xiuhua away, who took the script and went to other departments to complete the formalities. The process went smoothly. At noon, Su Huan and Ding Xiuhua ate at the company, the two went to the cafeteria to eat, and sat with many executives of Seven Colors Entertainment Group to eat and chat. Niu Mai, the director of the artist department, ate a mouthful of rice and looked at Su Huan and said, Director Su, when you start filming your new movie, you must first tighten up on our internal artists. Our company has a lot of powerful artists. They lack only an opportunity. Su Huan said with a smile. Su Huan smiled after hearing this and said, Don't worry, Director Nyo, this is what I'm thinking. I've been on the computer since noon today checking the internal artists information. Today after looking to determine the next some people, it is estimated that tomorrow should trouble you. Hearing Su Huan say this, Nyo Mai was relieved, and immediately said I'm always waiting for Director Su's call. The people heard all laughed. Su Huan is different from the average person. The company has long been rumored within the words of Pang Xingji. Su Huan play unhappy to me to wear small shoes to make me difficult. I let you more difficult than me. Su Huan play happy. We are all happy. Nyo Mai has made up his mind. As long as Su Huan notifies the artists, no matter if you are not in the theater group at the moment, you must give me the first time to go to Su Huan's side to report. Su Huan must be allowed to play happily. As everyone ate and chatted, Su Huan did not have any stance as well as an overbearing temperament, and was able to chat with all these executives, the atmosphere was very good. In the afternoon, Ding Xiuhua reported to Su Huan, all departments will treat Su Huan's matter as an urgent matter, and will send the script to the relevant departments for review and filing tomorrow morning. There are special people to keep an eye on this matter, will be the fastest speed to handle a variety of approval procedures. At the end of the day, Su Huan called a number of people and invited Wei Changxin and the leaders of the behind-the-scenes working groups to have a drink on his own tonight. The last time the shooting of the commercial went so smoothly, these people had helped a lot. Su Huan had a status. Even if he didn't treat these people, they couldn't say anything. But Su Huan knew the saying, the king of hell is easy to see. The little ghosts are difficult to deal with. If you have a drink together and get in touch with them, the next shooting will be smoother. The evening was Su Huan's treat. Everyone did not refuse to go to the appointment. Ding Xiuhua was also there. Nine people drank a cup together. The nine of them had a drink together. They basically drank too much while talking and laughing. In the end, Su Huan was picked up by Du Xueqing's car, and everyone else called a chauffeur to drive back home. Each one of them has a very good impression of Su Huan. Su Huan is a big brother can put down his identity to drink with you. Is definitely a reflection of your face. People mix in society. Is not to figure a face. The big brother gave face. They are responsible for the peace cannot fall off the chain. The night passed. Su Huan had breakfast early the next morning and went to work normally. As soon as Su Huan arrived at the company, he opened the computer and continued to browse the artist information in the artist library. Just about half an hour. Su Huan gave Ding Xiuhua a list. There were a dozen or so names sparsely written on it. Notify them to come see me this afternoon or tomorrow morning. I want to meet them so I can determine their roles. Ding Xiuhua took the list and said alright, I'll make the arrangements. After saying that, he left Su Huan's office and headed to the artist department to look for Niu Mai, who and other departmental executives had told Ding Xiuhua three or four times in private. Once they encountered something involving their own department, they would just come to themselves and absolutely arrange everything. This is not a polite word, but is worried about their own people below the eyes delayed Su Huan things. So that's Su Huan unhappy. Su Huan is not happy. Pang Qingji certainly not happy. 
a ring after a ring conduction down, they certainly do not have good fruit to eat. Soon, Nyo Mai met Ding Xiuhua, greeted Ding Xiuhua sat down and asked Su Director to determine a good list of artists? Ding Xiuhua smiled and said, I don't know. Ding Xiuhua smiled and said, Minister Nyo really knows what I'm doing without saying a word. The smile on Nyo Mai's face intensified after hearing this, and he said with a smile, the news that director Su is going to start a new movie has already spread, so I definitely can't afford to drop the ball on my side. Ding Xiuhua nodded and handed the list to Nyo Mai and said, this is the list that director Su just gave me, this afternoon or tomorrow morning. Let them go to conference room 7 to meet director Su for an interview. If anyone can't make it on time let me know. I'll coordinate another time with director Su. Nyo Mai received the list and looked at it. His heart secretly breathed a sigh of relief. The company's list of first and second tier artists were all in his own head. There was not a single first or second tier artist in this list. As long as it's not mobilizing first and second tier artists, this is fine. No need to coordinate. It's their luck that director Su saw them in the movie. I'll immediately arrange for someone to notify them and let them report to director Su's side in the afternoon or tomorrow morning. Nyo Mai directly took this matter over. Ensuring that these people would go to see Su Huan on time. Ding Xiuhua chatted with Nyo Mai for a while and then said goodbye and left. After sending Ding Xiuhua away, Nyo Mai immediately called over his secretary to hand over the list to her, and said with a serious expression, immediately send out a notice. Let the people on the list go to conference room 7 at headquarters to see director Su Huan in the afternoon. At the latest, they must arrive before 12 o'clock tomorrow morning. Those who fail to do so will be severely punished. If someone can't leave the theater group, immediately call the director of the theater group. If you don't let go of someone, get out of here. When the secretary heard such harsh words from Nyo Mai, she nodded and immediately went to handle it, to contact these people and inform them to come over for Su Huan's interview. Those who could mix in the entertainment industry basically did not have any fools. They were definitely more shrewd than one another. Don't look at the fact that Su Huan hadn't formally gone to work for Seven Colors Entertainment Group for a long time. His reputation had already spread internally. He earned $3 million from shooting his first commercial, and he also made three actresses get an endorsement contract. And by the way, he made director Sean Hontao get out of the way. Therefore, the people who received the notification did not dare to be slow, and those whose conditions allowed it, all came to see Su Huan in the afternoon. As soon as he got to work in the afternoon, Su Huan took Ding Xiuhua to the seventh conference room. This room named conference room is actually specially prepared for the director to interview the artists. Next to the conference room, there are two other small rooms, namely the makeup room, and the costume room, some roles require the actors to change clothes and makeup in order to see the final effect, they all know where conference room 7 is, so, at 1pm, some people arrived, Su Huan saw him and gave him a script for a certain role and asked him to read it and then perform a part, some people do not perform well Su Huan will point out some let them perform again, or, communicate with the makeup artist to organize some and then perform, casting is very important, Putting the right person in the right role is a test of a director's skill. To give you an example, Kung Fu, this movie we all know, won a lot of awards. But, but, the Golden Statue Award did not give the best director to Master Xing, but to Air Dongsheng. This result came out. Stephen Chow did not say anything. The media but clear that there is blackmail. Let Air Dongsheng hand this best director award is very hot. Years later, Air Dongsheng defied with Huang Bo and other fresh meat remake Kung Fu inside a clip. After watching, the vast majority of people are given, hot eyes, evaluation. Let Air Dongsheng a world of fame ruined. From this we can see, a movie to choose the right role players, is how important things, Su Huan movie simply do not need to consider any human feelings, do not need to consider each other whether to bring capital into the group, everything will pick the most suitable to, interviewing for roles, communicating with artists, Su Huan is completely busy, Yu Hongdo, Baby M.O., Su Ran Ran, Gu Bowles, and others have seen the stalking report, and each heart breathed a sigh of relief. Su Huan busy without seeing other women is a victory. Zhou Xinyun also saw the information of Su Huan in recent days. Is Zhou Hao in order to let his daughter out of the wrong place to a private detective agency a list, so that it sends people to the south metropolis staring at Su Huan? Su Huan's every move will be reported to Zhou Xinyun. Zhou Hao did this in the hope that his daughter can turn back. In Zhou Hao's opinion, Su Huan is the age of high demand, will certainly be restless to find other women. If a woman sees these reports, she will be able to stand it once or twice, but if she sees more women around her in the future, her daughter will definitely not be able to stand it. As long as the daughter is willing to let go of Su Huan, even if it makes the daughter sad for a while, it is not a problem. Zhou Xinyun saw that Su Huan went to work at Seven Colors Entertainment Group every day and did not see Yu Hongdo or Baby Mo. Her mood was also a lot better. Su Ran Ran, 
who was far away from Baiyun County, was now busy arranging things for the company, preparing for the next step of moving the company's headquarter to Nandu City. Seeing that Su Huan was busy with work matters and did not meet with other women, this made Su Ran Ran also very pleased. For days slowly passed, the script approval document was issued, and Su Huan's side started to form the crew. The company's artist, veteran actor Qian Jiaming, was the first male, playing the role of firm saw. Su Huasheng played the young man, Zhou Yifun played the doctor, and Li Leshan played the detective. 18 line actresses Feng Fangfang and Zhang Jingjing play the policeman and the doctor's wife respectively. Su Huan has high expectations for this film, not only to take the Xia market, but also to enter the European and American markets, and intends to bring the film to participate in the global thriller and horror exhibition held in the United States. He plans to take the movie to the global thriller and horror show held in the United States. He will take advantage of this show to open up his name, so he is not blindly choosing the actors. Chen Jiaming is a child star origin, but also wants the scenery, with the showbiz newcomers continue to come out. Qian Xiaoxing starred in several films successive street, in recent years more and more decline, this year has been 37 years old, is in the embarrassing age. Interview. Chen Jiaming rely on their own superb acting skills once over, got the first male script. Su Huan accounted for some Ding Xiaohua, in one breath signed a three-part contract with him, the first pay is half a million dollars, and every future filming, the pay will rise by 10% on top of half a million dollars. Zhou Yifun, who plays a doctor. Also signed a three-part contract, the first part of the payroll is 200, 000 yuan, and the payroll will rise by 15% on top of 500, 000 yuan for each future filming. After Su Huan sent out the invitation to shoot the second part, the duo could not refuse, and if they refused, they had to pay an astronomical amount of liquidated damages. The contract also stipulates that they must be notified one month in advance of the invitation to shoot the second installment of Saw. Other scattered details of the contract. Let Ding Xiaohua to discuss with the contract department to find them to sign. Su Huan only explained the framework. Rich contract content are left to Ding Xiaohua to do. As long as Ding Xiaohua understood Su Huan's meaning, he would definitely do things properly. In the next three days, Su Huan ate a meal with Yu Hongdo, M.O. Baby, and Gu Wan, and told them that he was going to be busy, and that he didn't have time in the recent period of time, with Yu Hongdo and M.O. Baby together. Certainly cannot help but some lovemaking and Gu Wan is purely in the outside to eat a meal and then separated. The crew had already been set up, and the studio had also coordinated and set up the scenes, so Su Huan entered the crew and started to get busy. Qian Jiaming's handsome face is very well maintained. At this moment the official start of shooting must be made up a little older to work. Zhou Yifun is a young man and needs to be made up as a middle-aged man. The others didn't matter. Backgrounds, subshots, Su Huan has long been drawn out, so that people can understand at a glance. At the beginning of the shooting, Su Huasheng and Zhou Yifun's acting skills are not in place. Su Huan immediately called the card, and communicate with the two continue to shoot, sometimes kindly, sometimes angrily reprimanded the two, a little out of place, immediately reshoot, little by little, the shooting, little by little, coaching a few young artists, from time to time, let these people over to see their performance just now, after pointing out the problem, they were reprimanded, and after the reprimand, they were told to reflect on the situation and reshoot the movie after the reflection. Behind the scenes personnel are very cooperative. These people have a lot of experience. A director has no level or can be seen. In their hearts, Su Huan really knows how to shoot a movie, particularly Zhou Yifun. In Su Huan constant roar, reprimand, criticism, began to quickly improve acting skills. The shooting progress also began to slowly speed up in the stumbling and grinding. Day by day, a month and a half passed. When Chen Jiaming stood by the iron gate and said, game over, to close the iron gate, Su Huan immediately shouted out, cut. Hearing Su Huan shout, the crowd was surprised to look at Su Huan. Just now Qian Jiaming's performance was on point ah, how did director Su shouted card. Su Huan with a serious expression swept a circle of the crowd. All the people in the heart of seven. This more than a month, Su Huan has laid his own majesty, to things not to people. As long as you make a mistake you will not be spared a reprimand. Just when everyone was nervous. A smile appeared on Su Huan's face, and he said with a smile, kill the green. Hearing these words the crowd realized that Su Huan was joking with everyone. The pressure on their bodies suddenly disappeared and they all laughed. It was finally over. Qian Jiaming, Zhou Yi Fan, Su Huasheng, and other actors also had a relieved look on their faces. And one by one, they came over to thank Su Huan, regardless of how this movie fared. This time following Su Huan's filming harvest was not small. Xian Jiaming's acting skills themselves were superb not counting. 
The acting skills of all the other artists had more or less improved. The departments began to wrap up. Ding Xiuhua began to busy. Arranged for the shooting of the scene will be sent to the editing room. Soundtrack editing everything by Su Huan personally manipulation. Su Huan greeted everyone and went out. Looked at the sky. Thought for a while and took out his phone to dial up. Soon the phone went through. Sir, what are your orders? Du Xu Weqing's voice came out from the phone. Su Huan smiled and said, Is there anyone around you? No one. I'm out for a walk. Du Xu Weqing said honestly. She was indeed walking in the garden at the moment. Su Huan slightly pondered for a moment and said, Wash white and wait for me. I'll be back in a while. Du Xu Weqing heard a red face? A long time not with Su Huan together. They also want to. Just. My relatives came. Du Xu Weqing was very helpless to say this sentence. After hearing this, Su Huan slapped his forehead, followed by a bitter smile and said, Have a good rest. After Du Xu Weqing heard this, a faint smile appeared on her face, and she whispered, Three more days and I'll be fine. Su Huan comforted Du Xu Weqing and hung up the phone. Looking at the phone face a tangled look, Is not to you Hongdo make a phone call? This idea has just arisen. Su Huan immediately shook his head to extinguish this idea. Can't give you Hongdo call? Also can't give him oh baby call? If oneself strongly requests two people certainly won't refuse oneself. But Su Huan knows. Yu Hongdo and Mo Baby are not ready. Su Huan also cannot bear to be so what with two people. When you are thinking about it, the phone ticking. The phone rang, picked it up and saw that it was actually Gu Wan. How can it be so coincidental? Hesitation for a moment to press the connect button. Gu Wan's voice immediately came out busy finished. Gu Wan's voice immediately came out. Are you done with your work? Your phone call is very coincidental. Just finished shooting and wrapped up. Su Huan said honestly. Hearing these words, Gu Wan's face was happy. Her eyes instantly brightened up a lot. And she said in an apprehensive tone. Can you come to my side? Su Huan thought for a moment and said. Okay, I will go over in a while. Prepare more food. I am very hungry. When Su Huan didn't say anything just now, Gu Wan was very apprehensive inside. And when she heard Su Huan say she would come over, she immediately said. I'll prepare right away. And wait for you. After saying this, she hung up the phone and immediately sat up from the sofa and went to the kitchen to let the two old moms quickly prepare the food, and immediately left work after the meal was done. When Zhou Mengxia and the others saw Gu Wan's behavior, they immediately understood what was going on. It must be that Su Huan was coming over, and only Su Huan coming over would make Gu Wan so nervous and excited. Zhou Mengxia gave her team members a gesture and everyone knew what to do. Around 30 minutes, Zhou Mengxia entered the kitchen and said a few words to Gu Wan. After coming out and waving her hand, the bodyguards immediately followed Zhou Mengxia and left the villa. After another 10 minutes or so, the two old moms also left. Gu Wan quickly went upstairs and took a shower. Wearing her pajamas, she went downstairs and went to the kitchen to continue to be busy. Unconsciously, more than 20 minutes passed. Su Huan's car arrived outside the villa, and Gu Wan immediately opened the door and came out. She welcomed Su Huan out of the car, and immediately hugged Su Huan's arm and went into the house and the door of the villa was immediately closed. Not far away from the observation of Zhou Mengxia and other people looked at each other are skimming. Nothing when, Zhou Mengxia also with the team to discuss the matter of Su Huan. The team members were very clear that there were several people currently chasing after Su Huan. One by one they were very envious of Su Huan's peach blossom luck, but Zhou Mengxia seldom lamented and said a very classic words. A good girl really can't meet a person like Su Huan. A man like Su Huan is too similar to the perfect boyfriend in a girl's mind. Once you meet Su Huan, you'll be mistaken for life. Young, 1 meter 8, sunny and handsome, multi-golden, multi-talented, considerate, caring, attentive, and strong in battle. Once you meet a man like Su Huan, you will definitely regret for the rest of your life if you can't have a perfect result. Even if you know it's a moth to a flame, you can't help but pounce on it. Su Huan and Gu Bol into the room. Gu Wan regardless of pulling Su Huan's arm up the stairs, too long did not kiss with Su Huan together. Gu Wan this period of time to endure is very hard. The two entered the bedroom, and it wasn't long before. Meow meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. The sound of a cat purring came out. Meow meow meow. Meow. The sound grew louder and louder. In an instant, the sky descended golden lotuses. The earth gushed spiritual milk. Dragons and phoenixes flew and hundreds of beasts hissed. And the surrounding space shimmered and collapsed, with a trace of a subtle spatial crack looming. Can imagine. The cat and mouse battle is how tragic. Ten minutes or so, the cat's cry disappeared. The first cat and mouse battle ended. Time slowly passed more than twenty minutes. The cat and mouse new round of war began. This time, the cat screams more miserable. Meow meow meow. Meow meow. Meow meow meow. 
The cat's cries continue to be louder than ever. You can see how ferocious the mice were this time. This time the cat purred for a longer period of time, nearly 20 minutes before it stopped. After a while, Su Huan and Gu Wan walked out of the bedroom in their pajamas. Gu Wan's face was flushed and glossy, and the birdie hugged Su Huan's arm tightly. Walking down the stairs, Gu Wan said gently, Sit down for a while, I'll bring out the dishes. Su Huan replied back, I'll take the dishes. The two of them together can be busy to quickly bring the meal to the dining room. Gu Wan nodded and entered the kitchen with Su Huan. The two of them walked out of the kitchen with dishes and vegetables in both hands. After putting down the things Gu Wan immediately returned to the kitchen. Su Huan understood what Gu Wan meant and did not follow her into the kitchen, putting the dishes away and sitting down. It took Gu Wan three trips back and forth to bring all the food over. Spicy chicken, maple tofu, braised beef, braised pork. Roasted vegetables, five spice beef, mutton and radish soup. Gu Wan's preparation was spot on. The two of them started eating immediately after serving the rice. Both of them were hungry and had to have a big meal to replenish their physical strength. Eating a meal and chatting about the company. Gu Wan this period of time did not relax the occasion, but led the company team to actively develop new customers. These months after the year and added three new big customers. The contract amount of the smallest one is 20 million a year. After work, never overtime and eat on time every day for fitness, at the moment Gu Bol figure is better than the last time, has returned to meat but not fat best state, this is Su Huan's favorite state, Gu Wan ate a lot more than before today, but still was shocked by Su Huan's meal, radish mutton soup, braised beef, roasted vegetables, these three dishes were swept away by Su Huan, the rice was eaten in five bowls, Gu Wan had prepared a bowl bigger than her own at home, which was Su Huan's special bowl, and usually put it in the sterilizer without taking it out, I didn't expect Su Huan to eat so much. After eating and drinking, Gu Wan told Su Huan to go to the sofa to rest and clean up the dishes herself. Her attitude was very tough. Su Huan did not go to the sofa side to rest, but went to brew a pot of flower tea. Before sitting down and turning on the TV to watch, the time is not very long. Gu Wan cleaned up the dishes out of the kitchen, came to Su Huan's side to sit down immediately drilled into Su Huan's arms, letting Su Huan hold his own together to watch TV. The time is not long. Gu Wan quietly asked did tonight go? I still have to be busy tomorrow. If I don't leave tonight I definitely won't have the energy to work tomorrow. Your wildness makes me a bit horny. Su Huan knew that Gu Wan didn't want him to leave. But he still had to get up early tomorrow to go to the company to be busy. The post-production of the movie was very tedious. Gu Wan smiled sweetly and patted Su Huan's thigh. Saying I like your wildness. And I'm only wild about you. Said Su Huan's hand on his own human heart. Su Huan busy is not terrible. As long as it is not to see those women, other are not important. Feel Gu Wan's actions Su Huan did not refuse. Treat the lover should have to treat the attitude of the lover. Time long Gu Wan will automatically break with their own. In Su Huan's opinion, Gu Wan can't last more than a few years. There is a buffer of about two years. Coupled with the hope of not seeing a remarriage with himself, Gu Wan will be self-regulating. Will slowly away from himself? She will gradually let go and stop pestering herself. Although after the divorce, Gu Wan made some things to let himself touched. Its nature in the selfishness will not change. Subconscious will subconsciously and gradually regulate. Until completely put down their own start a new life. This is to say that watching TV to more than 10 o'clock. Gu Wan has appeared sleepy. Su Huan saw after lifting his hand to turn off the TV and said. You should rest. Gu Wan rolled over and hugged Su Huan's neck with both hands and said. You hold me up. Su Huan nodded. Took a deep breath and hugged Gu Wan stood up. Adjusted the movement towards the stairs and soon arrived at the second floor bedroom. The bed sheets and bedding had already been changed, and the battlefield of the cat and mouse war was thoroughly cleaned up before going downstairs for dinner. Gu Wan will be placed on the bed, pulled aside the thin quilt to Gu Bol cover. In Gu Wan forehead kissed said goodnight. Gu Wan looked deeply at Su Huan and slowly closed her eyes. See Gu Wan closed his eyes. Su Huan this to one side to take off his pajamas to take their own clothes to open wear. Time is not long to dress neatly. Raised his hand to close the lights before leaving the bedroom. Walked out of the villa after the car. Su Huan lit a cigarette. Inhaled deeply and spit out the smoke. Face a thinking expression. Today, Gu Wan is a little bit wrong. Specifically which point is wrong Su Huan cannot say. In short, this feeling is very strong. Inside the villa, Gu Wan did not lie on the bed. But stood behind the curtains and watched Su Huan sitting in the car smoking. A faint smile appeared on her face. I'll let you see my patience. Yu Hongdo and the others definitely won't have my kind of patience. Gu Wan uttered these words in a low voice, a very determined look appearing in her eyes. At this moment, Gu Wan was no longer mentally consumed internally, and was very resolute in her heart that she would stay with Su Huan for the rest of her life. It was better to die than to let go. As Jiang Inhua said, 
This was a long-term tug of war. Whoever couldn't carry it first was out. Su Huan's talent is cross-disciplinary and not limited to one field. Back in the university days, the reason why there were so many women who liked Su Huan was because Su Huan showed talent that spanned multiple fields. There are many excellent beauties in this world. When Su Huan shows his talent step by step, those excellent women will definitely attack Su Huan. Wei Chenhan is the most obvious example. Gu Bols does not believe that Yu Hongdo can hold back when they watch Su Huan with other women. Once hold back, twice hold back, three times, five times, ten times? I don't believe Yu Hongdo, Zhou Xinyun, Mo Baby, Su Ran Ran. These four people have their own kind of patience. I don't care if Su Huan will remarry with myself. I don't care how many women Su Huan has. I only care about Su Huan as a person. In this life, Su Huan will not be able to cut himself. Gu Bol's eyes exuded a strong emotion as well as a determined look, and took a deep look at Su Huan's car before he turned around and returned to the bed to lie down, hugging the cup to sleep. Inside is very calm, with the promise of a better future sleep. Inside the car, Su Huan frowned and analyzed thinking. A cigarette smoke finished also did not think out a so, will throw the cigarette out, which started the car to leave, towards home to drive. The road without words, more than 30 minutes later returned to the home. Do Xu Weqing and other people have gone to rest? Su Huan parked the car directly upstairs to rest. Yu Hongdo, Ink Baby and other people received a private detective sent over the message. After reading a face calmly thrown to the side of the Su Huan and Gu Wan rolled sheets on this matter did not care. Su Huan at this moment is the age of blood. They are not ready to sleep with Su Huan. Su Huan defined Gu Wan to be stronger than other women. Zhou Xinyun also received a private detective sent over the message. Took a look at it did not care. Su Huan have needs of their own and cannot accompany Su Huan. Go to find Gu Wan does not matter thing. Anyway, Su Huan and Gu Wan together for several years. More than a few times less than a few times no difference. It was better than Su Huan going to find Yu Hongdo a few people. Zhou Xinyan could accept Su Huan going to find Gu Wan to solve his physical problems. If Su Huan went to find Yu Hongdo or other women, although he wouldn't say anything, he would be in a bad mood for a few days in a row. However, he also needed to travel to the southern city. It had been more than two months since he had seen Su Huan, and Zhou Xinyun missed Su Huan. It was only a pity that the person was on the set and couldn't leave. After filming her own scene in a few days, she must be the first to go to South City to see Su Huan, in order to ease the pain of her longing. The night passed, Su Huan woke up early to simply run and exercise, came back to take a shower and changed his clothes, ate breakfast and drove to work. Starting today, Su Huan needed to be busy for the later stages. At the moment from the global thriller horror film festival time is still early. Su Huan has enough time to prepare. Early in the morning to go to work busy. Early in the afternoon off. Baby Mo left South City and returned to Tianchang City to discuss the publication of her new poetry collection with the publisher. Taking advantage of this time. It's good to spend more time with Yu Hongdo. Yu Hongdo is a real little princess. Set of parents and brothers favor in one. Now ran to the southern city to chase Su Huan. Although Su Huan did not care about the things but still squeezed a lot of resentment in the heart. Taking advantage of this time to be free, it is necessary to accompany Yu Hongdo more to let her vent this resentment out. The next few days, Su Huan every day early from work, either in Yu Hongdo home, or Yu Hongdo to Su Huan home to eat dinner together. Although kissing was rare, the two never broke through the final step. Gu Wan, Zhou Xinyun, Mo Baby, Su Ran Ran, four people have received the report of the private detective. Su Huan and Yu Hongdo together just eat dinner kiss and hug high, never stepped out of the last step, although I know that the two step out of the last step is sooner or later things, as long as the day did not step out of this step, is still in the range of acceptance of a few women, Yu Hongdo not only gave Gu Wan great pressure, but also gave Zhou Xinyun, Mo Baby, Su Ran Ran, three people a lot of pressure, no one dared to look down on the Yu family, time passes day by day, in the blink of an eye ten days have passed, Yu Hongdo this ten days is very happy, however, today happy not up, Need to go to the imperial capital on business. This is Dad Yu Mingxing to arrange the task. You can fall in love. Business experience cannot be reduced. Yu Hongdo ran to Su Huan's home to stay for the afternoon, ate dinner and ruthlessly teased Su Huan a little bit and drove away. Remembering Su Huan's face of bitterness, Yu Hongdo's mouth cannot help but flow out of the meaning of happiness. Su Huan is really very difficult, but Yu Hongdo only managed to tease. Regardless of the problem, I have the intention to find Du Xu Eching to solve the problem. Finally Su Huan returned to the room and took two showers to hold back. Although the person began to change, carved in the bones of the principal is not so good to break. Su Huan's change still has a long way to go. Early in the morning, Su Huan woke up early to exercise, ate breakfast and went to work at the Seven Colors Entertainment Group. 
will be in the heart of the annoyance or put behind the head, wholeheartedly into the work. Let yourself busy. Busy brain will not think blindly. This is the way Su Huan came up with. Just after four days of busyness, he received a call from Zhou Xingyun, and the plane arrived at Nandu City at more than 11 o'clock in the evening, and Su Huan's heart, which had not been easy to calm down, began to heat up again. Immediately calling Du Xueqing, he asked Du Xueqing to make arrangements for Zhou Xingyun to come back at night to have a midnight snack. Zhou Xingyun's agent, Sister Hong, had secretly sent money to the director to speed up the filming of the scenes belonging to Zhou Xingyun, so that Zhou Xingyun could find the time to complete a few announcements. For the sake of money, for the majority of the month, the filming was basically for Zhou Xingyun's scenes. After today's shooting was completed, Zhou Xingyun had half a month's time. Red Wine coordinated. This time Zhou Xingyun could stay on Su Huan's site for five days. Without delay, Zhou Xingyun booked a plane ticket on the day of the end of the shooting to run overnight to the southern city to see Su Huan. Time passed slowly, and at night, after 11 o'clock, Zhou Xingyun, Sister Hong, with her bodyguards and a few assistants got off the plane. Assistants and bodyguards immediately get on the car to the hotel. Red Sister with Zhou Xingyun directly left, said Zhou Xingyun's father Zhou Hao in the southern city to buy a villa. These days Zhou Xingyun lived there to relax. The crowd did not doubt that he was on the car and left, sent the crowd away. Zhou Xingyun only with Red Sister carrying suitcases quickly arrived at the location of Su Huan vehicle parking. The two quickly get on the car. Su Huan start the car to leave. More than 30 minutes later, the vehicle in the eastern suburbs of a four-star hotel stopped in front of the door. Red Sister carrying suitcases out of the car with two people to say hello into the hotel. The last few days will live here. Su Huan has already opened a good room for Sister Hong. Sister Hong can go to the bar to complete the formalities. After seeing Sister Hong enter the hotel, Su Huan restarted the car and left, taking Zhou Xinyun back home. Du Xueqing had already made arrangements, and the two of them went upstairs to put away their belongings so that they could eat directly, all of which were Zhou Xinyun's favorite dishes. Zhou Xinyun was also really hungry, leaving the crew to eat a little bit of food near the airport. The food at the airport was definitely not much good, and she ate very little. At this moment, seeing that they were all her favorite dishes, she couldn't care less about the injunction of maintaining her figure, and began to gorge herself on them as Su Huan frequently pinched food for her. Looking at Zhou Xinyun's appetite for food, Su Huan's eyes showed a doting smile, which Zhou Xinyun could see very clearly, and her heart was very sweet. This kind of scene had appeared many times in her dreams, and today it became a reality. After eating and drinking enough, the two of them left the restaurant, ran into Du Xueqing, exchanged a good night, and Su Huan took Zhou Xinyun upstairs. Tonight, it was another exceptionally intense cat and mouse battle. The roar of the battle echoed within the main building. Early in the morning when it was almost 7 o'clock, Su Huan got up with Zhou Xinyun and changed into his sportswear to go for a morning run. Running for a while and then walking for a while, or playing badminton together. At around 8.40, they returned to the main building. Du Xueqing saw it and couldn't help but skim. Zhou Xinyun's face is flushed at the moment. There is a little bit of sweat on her forehead. Her skin is white and beautiful, and she exudes youthful vitality from the inside out. Last night, she was moisturized like a flower blooming towards the sun, exuding delicate beauty, swinging against the wind. Eyes looking at Su Huan's eyes are pulling at all times, worthy of being a big star, acting skills online, not to mention Su Huan cannot carry, himself if a man, also cannot carry such a Zhou Xinyun. The two of them said hello to Du Xueqing, and went upstairs to take a shower and change clothes. Du Xueqing was very self-conscious to let a few old moms leave the main floor, and in her heart, she was very clear that the two of them would have something happen. Sure enough, the time is not very long. If anything, the sound of a cat purring came down from upstairs. Young people, really poor self-control Du Xueqing muttered to herself and finished standing up and walked towards the outside, not in the living room to drink tea, and then listened to the estimation that they will have to go to change their underwear. 30 minutes or so, Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun down from upstairs. Now look at Zhou Xinyun, skin more moist and bright. The two went to the restaurant to eat breakfast. Talking and laughing soon finished. Zhou Xinyan to Su Huan to organize the clothes, and sent Su Huan car to go to work. Not long, Zhou Xinyan pulled a book to the outdoor swing, sat on the swing and began to read. The whole person looks very quiet. Gu Wan received a phone call from a private detective in her office, and hung up the phone after chatting for a few sentences, looking a bit forlorn. Yu Hongdo left their own just relieved. Zhou Xinyan came, but also living in Su Huan's home in a dignified manner, even if there is enough psychological preparation. At the moment, the heart is also blocked. Guan stood up in the office walked back and forth a few times deep breath for a while, adjusted the mind into the work, in order to future.
This is not the moment to fight for the night and day. South Metropolis College of the Arts. Outside the library in a remote corner, Wei Yutong spoke to the phone with a smile on her face, and after the phone hung up, Wei Yutong immediately frowned tightly. The whole person seemed to be under tremendous pressure. Just now this phone call was made by Du Xueqing, saying that Su Huan's girlfriend had come over, and that she didn't have time for fitness workouts in the near future, so she wouldn't be going to pick her up tomorrow, and the cost would be calculated as usual. I urge Wei Yutong to take the exam well. Self-improvement is the root of everything. Wei Yutong thanked Du Xueqing before hanging up the phone. Su Huan girlfriend lives in the home this news, which makes Wei Yutong in her bear a great pressure. A person walking back and forth on the body surging out of the rich atmosphere of annoyance. Previously heard Du Xueqing said, Su Huan around several confidants. These confidants are Su Huan's girlfriend. Wei Yutong has only seen the ink baby one. There was also one that was Wei Qianhan who had a scandal with Su Huan. These two alone brought Wei Yutong great pressure. Now that another one had appeared and was living in Su Huan's house in a dignified manner, Wei Yutong became even more uneasy inwardly, feeling that she was moving away from her desires. Wei Yutong has never given up her ambition to target Su Huan. The huge wealth gap makes Wei Yutong feel inferior in front of Su Huan, putting aside all her part-time jobs to desperately study for her license. She also wanted to make herself a little bit better, so that she could appear to be worthy of Su Huan. Walking back and forth, her mouth kept muttering to herself, No, you can't give up like this. Seize the opportunity. Tong Tong, you can do it. Wei Yutong in their own to give themselves a boost, said half a day. Wei Yutong body irritation slowly disappeared. Wei Yutong stopped and took a few deep breaths, so that he accelerated calm. Already made up her mind, cannot follow Du Xu Etching said step by step to go, must quickly sleep Su Huan to do. The kind-hearted Su Huan was different from those scumbags, and definitely wouldn't leave himself alone. One must take a shot. Having made up her mind, Wei Yutong murmured in a low voice brother Huan, I truly like you, I will treat you with all my heart. After saying these words, she raised her hands and rubbed her face, turned around and returned to the library to continue reading. Wei Yutong no longer had any confusion in her eyes. Seven Colors Entertainment Group, 11.30, Su Huan ended his work for the day, explaining something to Ding Xiuhua and drove home from work. At noon, he had to accompany Zhou Xinyun for dinner, which was something he had arranged last night, and he had also explained that Du Xueqing had cooked his own meal, and that he would be back home for dinner at noon. Su Huan drove to the home. Zhou Xinyan in a white dress in the parking lot waiting, see Su Huan immediately show a bright smile, eyes inside only Su Huan. Su Huan walked over to Zhou Xinyan's waist and kissed her. Zhou Xinyan's face showed happiness, holding Su Huan's arm towards the main building, into the main building straight to the dining room. Lunch has been prepared, now eat just right. After the meal, the two took a nap, a pure lunch break, an honest hug and sleep, get up and wash up and change clothes. Zhou Xinyan began to make up, as a star. Zhou Xinyun camouflage is still a certain level, to their own face to clean up more than 20 minutes. That stunning face disappeared, replaced by a kind of plain and ordinary face. Su Huan saw on the sidelines gave a thumbs up. Zhou Xinyun white Su Huan a glance, which is to clean up some arm Su Huan arm downstairs. Soon, the two drove out. Has been to the sky almost dark time to come back. Zhou Xinyun big bag carrying a lot of bags. A trace of fatigue on the body of the breath are not. Instead, there is a kind of spirit of the spirit of the unfulfilled. This afternoon's reckless shopping this kind of pleasure to let Zhou Xingyun very happy. But whenever he showed his favorite look on a certain item, Su Huan immediately let the waiter bag up. Do not even ask how much the price. When the two went upstairs and put the items downstairs, Zhou Xingyun was carrying a small bag in his hand. And when he saw Du Xu etching, Zhou Xingyun smiled and said, Du Butler, this is my gift to you. I hope you like it. Du Xu etching froze for a moment. Not understanding how Zhou Xinyan would suddenly send himself a gift, could it be that he had found something? Standing there with a the look of being at a loss for words, Zhou Xinyan saw Du Xu Eching's behavior and said with a smile you take care of brother Huan's daily life. You have worked hard. This is my little gift of thanks. Don't be polite. After saying that, he stuffed the bag into Du Xu Eching's hand. Du Xu Eching instinctively said thank you ma'am. Hearing these words, the smile on Zhou Xinyan's face became even more intense. Saying that the trick that Sister Hong said was really good. Is this butler do very knowledgeable? Su Huan saw through Zhou Xinyun's small mind at a glance. Smiled and slightly shook her head. Zhou Xinyun immediately saw it and looked at Su Huan and said what do you mean by shaking your head? Is it not okay for me to give butler do a gift? Yes, of course. You can make all the decisions. Su Huan immediately said. Looking at Zhou Xinyun's eyes with a doting meaning. Zhou Xinyun is the first woman who loves herself despite everything after Su Huan crossed over. When she learned of her divorce, 
she came to visit her at the first time, leaving everything behind to accompany herself to the vacation island. Her love for Su Huan is unreserved and open. In Su Huan's heart, Zhou Xinyun's weight is slowly increasing. Perhaps Su Huan himself did not think that he did not forcefully take Yu Hongdo, baby M.O., and so on. Zhou Xinyun's reason occupies not a small portion. With a loved one, instinctively away from other women, this is one of the natures rooted within Su Huan's genes. Although Su Huan was now trying to change this nature, it would take time, and perhaps it wouldn't be long before this nature would be the first to be changed. After hearing Su Huan's words, Zhou Xinyun was satisfied and anxious, holding Su Huan's arm and walking towards the restaurant. Du Xueqing looked at Zhou Xinyun and Su Huan's back, and then looked at the bag in her hand, and at the moment felt that the bag in her hand was very hot. At the restaurant, Su Huan frequently pinched Zhou Xinyun's food, and Zhou Xinyun enjoyed Su Huan's behavior so much that she started to talk to Su Huan about the few pieces of clothing she purchased today. It didn't take long for the two of them to finish dinner, and after sitting in the living room for a while, they went out for a walk, returning in 20 minutes or so to go straight upstairs. Du Xueqing has arranged for people to clean up the dining room with the departure, set up the tasks for tomorrow morning, arranged for security personnel to patrol the matter, and returned to his room to rest, took a bath, wearing a silk pajamas lying on the bed, take over a side when the bag to take out the gift inside, is a four square gift box, after opening Du Xueqing shocked, there is a necklace, silver white metal wrapped in three colors of gemstones, these gemstones and the light irradiation exudes a unique point of light. Du Xueqing had been a housekeeper for many years, although she did not earn much money, she had seen quite a lot of expensive jewelry and jewels, and at a glance she decided that this necklace was definitely worth a lot of money, immediately took over the bag flipped a bit, and really found the invoice and jewelry introduction maintenance manual inside, after reading the invoice amount again shocked, Zhou Xinyan gave Du Xueqing this necklace is in the Cartier store to buy, worth more than 30,000, using the term little rich woman to describe Zhou Xinyan is not an exaggeration at all, Income from filming, endorsement income, income from participating in variety shows, income from attending commercial activities, and income from financial products. These are Zhou Xinyun's five major economic sources. In the entertainment industry, as long as you were popular enough and diligent enough, earning a small goal a year was no problem at all. At the moment, in order to win the Qianghua Award for the Queen of the Movie, Zhou Xinyun is still shooting TV dramas very hard. This year's goal is four big investment TV dramas. Just the filming fee this piece of income is more than $30 million. A year down the line, the money Zhou Xinyun earned definitely surpassed Baby M.O. Gu Wan, Su Ran Ran, three people, second only to Yu Hongdo. Du Xueqing is Su Huan Manor housekeeper, with red sister words, with Du Xueqing good relations no harm, housekeeper and employer mutual trust is very high. When you have a good relationship with Du Xueqing, when Su Huan is not at home, you can ask Du Xueqing if you want to know anything, or, when you are out of town, you can just give Du Xueqing a call if you want to know any news about Su Huan. These words let Zhou Xinyun moved, would have liked to buy a gift out of their own pocket. The results of today's shopping expenses are all Su Huan to pay the bill. Zhou Xinyun deliberately picked this necklace. The price is low. The price is high and inappropriate. The price of more than 30,000 is just right. One night passed. Like yesterday, Su Huan woke up early with Zhou Xinyun to work out, ate breakfast and drove to work. At noon. Zhou Xinyun met Du Xueqing while walking in the garden. Du Xueqing expressed her gratitude to Zhou Xinyun. It's good that you like it. Let's take a walk together. For Zhou Xinyun's invitation, Du Xueqing definitely had no way to refuse. Having received a gift from someone only last night, it would be unseemly to refuse the invitation today. The two walked and chatted about things within the manor. And after 10 minutes or so, Zhou Xinyun snapped and asked, In addition to me, are there any other women who have stayed here? The only woman who can come to the third floor to rest in Mr.'s room is M.S. Zhou. In addition, Mr. S. Fitness instructor stayed in the guest room for one night on Friday night, and I left him on Saturday afternoon. Du Xueqing truthfully, Su Huan has explained. A few women ask you about me. You truthfully say well. There is nothing to hide. Zhou Xinyun listened to the satisfied nodded, walked forward a few steps violently asked again Gu Wan did not live in this side? No. As far as I can remember, M.S. Gu has only been here once, and you were there that time, M.S. Zhou, Du Xueqing honestly said that Gu Wan did not come over again after she came once? Inwardly it was clear that Su Huan did not want Gu Wan to appear within the manor. After listening to this sentence Zhou Xinyun reassured a lot, to Zhou Xinyun's understanding of Su Huan, can also guess that Gu Bol is not to come to this side of the manor is definitely Su Huan's intention. Gu Wan can't even live in Su Huan's manor, enough to show that Su Huan's heart already doesn't have much position for her. Not enough to worry about. 
The mood is good to continue to go forward. Zhou Xinyun is not worried about you Hongdo. M.O. baby, Su ran ran three people, because the three people at the moment is still a little bit unable to let go. In Zhou Xinyun's opinion, these three women are hesitant to do things and did not learn the lessons of the failure of the university period. And so on this year, he obtained the Cheong Hua Award to become the queen of the audience. There is no need to fight so hard again. Completely free up time to be with brother Huan. Even if the romance with brother Huan is exposed, it does not matter. Once he is pregnant with brother Huan's child, in order for the child to have an honorable identity, Su Huan must pull the license with himself. At that time, the kingdom of heaven and earth will have been decided. Even if Yu Hongdo, baby Mo, and Su Ran Ran also slept with Su Huan, it wouldn't help. Zhou Xinyun has filmed a lot of palace drama. The harem of those women fighting all kinds of vicious means out. Is not to compete for the emperor this a man? Of course, they compete with Yu Hongdo and others to compete for Su Huan cannot play vicious means. But the means of favor themselves are not for nothing. Have not eaten pork have not seen a pig run? Substitute a little bit. Immediately dial the clouds to see the sun. Zhou Xinyun Inner also has its own strategic planning. Is not so simple. Mind trick wrist is not simple at all. Now the only weakness is too busy with Su Huan get together less and more. When Zhou Xinyun completed their own ideals to become the Qianghua Prize site, will certainly kill back to the South Metropolitan City, living in Su Huan's manner. At that time, the Su Huan battle will enter a whole new stage. Time day by day, Zhou Xinyun live in Su Huan's side every day is very happy. Su Huan morning to go to work busy to noon to come back home to eat. In the afternoon and evening, he accompanied himself, pampered himself with crazy shopping, gentle and considerate to make himself physically and mentally happy, nourished from the inside out. If possible, Zhou Xinyun really hoped that these days can be eternal. This day after lunch, Su Huan and Zhou Xinyun in the living room drinking tea, Sister Hong drove into the manor. Five days of happy times passed. Not long after, Su Huan carried two large suitcases, Zhou Xinyun carried one large suitcase. Together they walked out of the main building to the parking lot, putting the three suitcases into the car. Zhou Xinyun fiercely hugged Su Huan's waist, with a look of reluctance to leave. Su Huan also hugged Zhou Xinyun, raising his hand to stroke Zhou Xinyun's hair to comfort her. Sister Hong in the car to see very clearly, helplessly shook her head. Zhou Xinyun hopeless, completely sunk in Su Huan's body. After a while, Su Huan patted Zhou Xinyun's back and said in a low voice, If two love is a long time, it is not in the morning and evening. After hearing these words, Zhou Xinyun leaned on Su Huan's shoulder head up, looking at Su Huan's face, a tiptoe red lips gently kissed Su Huan on the separation, opened the door directly to the car. The red sister immediately started the car began to reverse. Su Huan is to the side back a few steps. Zhou Xinyun rolled down the window to Su Huan constantly waving. Su Huan is also the same and waving. Soon, Sister Hong drove towards the entrance of the manor. Su Huan stood there until he couldn't see the vehicle before he turned around and returned to the main building. After the vehicle drove out of Su Huan's manor, Sister Hong smiled and said, Look at you. These days should be very good. Body fatigue breath, irritable breath, have disappeared without a trace. Zhou Xinyun face a red. No red sister in flirting with their own. Pouted and shouted a red sister. Sister Hong smiled and put away to continue to flirt with Zhou Xinyun's mind. Digressing from the topic to ask a sentence that three boxes are loaded with what? Zhou Xinyun and Su Huan left with nothing to bring. Empty handed on the Su Huan car. And now left even more than three large suitcases. What gifts can be loaded so? Hearing these words. Zhou Xinyun face exudes a happy look and said Sister Hong. These three suitcases containing items. Even when secondhand items to sell, but also enough to pay you three years of salary. Sent away Zhou Xinyun. Su Huan returned to the living room to see Du Xu etching. To sit aside and picked up a cup of tea and took a sip and said you call Wei Yutong the day after tomorrow. Cancel this week's class. The cost of calculating the good. I've been recovering well for the last few days Su Huan. Du Xu etching smiled after hearing this sentence. Su Huan a person to recover properly for a few days to be considered normal. The means of this big star is not so simple. Good. I will arrange it. In these few days, M.S. Joe asked me quite a few things about Mr. And also asked. Do Xu Eching said all of Zhou Xinyun's inquiries one by one? Su Huan was his employer and the owner of the manor. As a housekeeper, he definitely had to be mindful of his employer. Su Huan listened to a look of indifference attitude said she sent you a gift when I guessed. When Du Xu Eching saw Su Huan's indifferent attitude, she put down her cup of tea and said, Sir, I think you can now consider how to live with your confidants. I see from the sidelines that they are all in love with you, and all have their hearts tied to Mr. One bad response could set them off for the rest of their lives, or, all sorts of anxiety could make them do something stupid. All things come to an end when they are foreseen, 
but not when they are not foreseen. After listening to these words, the relaxed look on Su Huan's face disappeared, and the indifferent attitude on his body disappeared as well. His eyebrows raised and he began to seriously think about this issue. This was the first time that Su Huan seriously thought about his relationship with Zhou Xinyun, Yu Hongdo, and the others. Seeing Su Huan sitting there without speaking with a serious thinking look, Du Xu Eching raised her hand and drank the tea in the cup and slowly put down the cup, stood up and lightly left. Letting Su Huan be alone at this moment was the best choice. About 30 minutes passed, Su Huan came back to his senses before realizing that Du Xu Eching had already left, picked up the teapot and poured a cup of tea and slowly tasted it. Not long before he stood up and went upstairs. Time passed little by little. Soon it was time to eat dinner. Today dinner had changed. Zhou Xinyun in the past few days, the morning, noon and night were all based on Zhou Xinyun's favorite food, but at the moment it had turned into tonic food. Du Xu Eching had arranged it very well. Su Huan returned upstairs to rest after eating and drinking enough. At night, Gu Wan lay in bed and saw the report of Zhou Xinyun's departure, calmly placing her cell phone aside to charge it, then laying down to rest. Acting calmly, there was no sadness or joy as if these things did not have any effect on Gu Wan. Early the next morning, after breakfast, he drove to Seven Colors Entertainment Group to work, not coming back at noon, and then coming back at night. Su Huan was busy again, going to work in the morning and coming back in the evening, behaving very regularly. This state of Su Huan put all women at ease. On this day, South Metropolis, west of the city, Wei Jiao Yuan, living room, Wei Qianhan was drinking tea and chatting with her father, Wei Feng Yin, and mother, Jin Jinyu, and the topic unconsciously turned to Su Huan. Wei Fingyan looked at his daughter who had a calm face and asked, What is your relationship with that ex-husband of Gu Wan's? Ordinary friend relationship. He shot to the Dino Diamond commercials you have also seen. After that to now we have not seen each other. Also did not pass the phone. Wei Qianhan said these words very calmly. Wei Fingyan and Jin Jinyu looked at each other, knowing that their daughter's words were true, and that talking to Wei Qianhan about this matter today was just a precautionary measure. There was no other purpose. Don't talk to your father with this kind of attitude. Your father is also doing this for your own good. He doesn't want you to marry a soft eater. Jin Jin Yu finished looking at her daughter with great meaning. Wei Qian Han smiled after hearing this. Su Huan is a soft eater? Really ignorant people fearless. He is not considered to eat soft rice. If he has the intention to make money, just shooting commercials, a year down to earn a few tens of millions of dollars is still very easy. If he's not a soft eater, what about the two guys Uncle and Uncle Sam introduced to him? Don't say you don't know that those two are their illegitimate children. Wei Qianhan nonchalantly retorted back. Wei Fingyan and Jin Jin Yu's faces appeared embarrassed. There was really no way to refute their daughter's words on this matter. This period of time, Wei Qianhan experienced two blind dates, out of prudent habits. Wei Qianhan secretly arranged for people will be these two people carefully investigated. After reading the information, Wei Qianhan almost did not hold back to give the order to the killer group. Let them destroy the eldest uncle and the third uncle. Uncle Wei Fengsheng introduced himself to a young man named Xiang Feiyu, graduated from Chang'an University, currently working and living in Chang'an City. These are all show information. The real information is, Xiang Feiyu is Wei Fengsheng's illegitimate son. On the university is Wei Fengsheng take money to buy a place. Working in Chang'an City is worried about the home of the great aunt to find out about this matter. This is intended to pack some Xiang Feiyu so that Xiang Feiyu know some of Wei Qianhan's preferences and habits in advance, so as to take Wei Qianhan in one fell swoop, took Wei Qianhan, Wei Qianhan body 12% of the shares of the Mingyue group is their own family, then let Xiang Feiyu change back to the family name to recognize their ancestors can be, the third uncle Wei Fengtian is also so intended, illegitimate son called Lin Zhuo, arranged to work and live in Chaoyang city, Lin Zhuo then Xiang Feiyu a little better, relying on their own strength to get into the University of Shanghai city, Wei Fengtian family of the two sons of the original spouse is a good hand. The ability to work is equivalent to waste. In this case, Wei Fengtian secretly recognized with Lin Zhu, began to secretly support Lin Zhu to send money to Lin Zhu. Lin Zhu and Wei Fengtian's support in Shanghai City opened a game studio. On the surface of the business is good. In fact, the loss is very serious. All the losses are by Wei Fengtian to pay the bill. In order to get the shares of Mingyue Group, Wei Feng Tian also learns from his elder brother to secretly inform Lin Zhu of Wei Qianhan's habits and preferences in advance, and when Lin Zhu grasps almost all of them, he arranges for Lin Zhu and Wei Qianhan to meet each other. In the beginning, Wei Feng Shang and Wei Feng Tian in the new year mentioned a mouth, said it is out of the business trip when met the young handsome, back to let Wei Qianhan meet. Wei Feng Yin, Jin Jin Yu, Wei Qianhan did not care, because the two said are not from the city of Nandu. More than two months ago, 
Wei Qianhan met Xiang Feiyu under the arrangement of his family and had a meal together. Xiang Feiyu gave Wei Qianhan a sense of perception that was still okay, except that Wei Qianhan habitually began to arrange for people to investigate Xiang Feiyu. A week later, in the arrangement of the third uncle Wei Feng Tian met Lin Zhe, the same meal, the senses are good. Wei Qianhan likewise secretly arranged for people to investigate Lin Zhe. Investigation of the two did not use the power of the Wei family in the South Metropolis, but the private detective over in Shanghai, as long as the money is in place, the investigation accuracy is very high. The results of the investigation came out. Wei Qianhan directly fumed, took the investigation information and mom and dad had a big fight, so that the two see clearly, this is what you have in mind a good big brother good brother to do things. Wei Fingyan and Jin Jin you embarrassed for a moment. Know that the daughter's heart is angry. At that time to see the investigation report, the husband and wife how the heart is not angry. If you want to blame it on your great-grandfather, it was your great-grandfather who made a mistake back then, letting several children hold shares, with the intention of keeping the family united. How did he know that it would now turn into a situation where they are secretly trying to get each other's shares? Han Han, mom understands your feelings, it's just that. Is that Su Huan willing to join the family for you? Jin Jin you finished looking at her daughter Wei Qianhan. Wei Qianhan raised her eyebrows and didn't say anything. In order to prevent the outflow of shares of the Mingyue group, Wei Qianhan would not marry and would only recruit a family member, which was something Wei Qianhan knew before she took over the Mingyue group. Su Huan was definitely not going to join the family. There was no doubt about that. Another, whether he can be with Su Huan together is still a two-way street. It is a bit early to consider this issue. Only, the yoke of shares must be broken. Wei Qianhan lowered her head to ponder this problem. Want to solve this problem? There is only. Wei Qianhan's mind appeared the appearance of the eldest uncle Wei Fengsheng and the third uncle Wei Fengtian. A hint of murderous intent flashed within his eyes. Time unknowingly passed a week. Su Huan this week is very full. The company began to busy post-production of the film. Every day early in the morning to go to work in the dark to go home. Even put off this week's fitness guidance. Did not let Wei Yutong over. Gu Wan arranged for people to keep an eye on Su Huan 24 hours a day, and seeing that Su Huan was busy working without meeting with any women, his mood smoothed out a lot, and he put his mind on his work. Seeing Su Huan's face can't be frequent, once a month is enough. This is the result of repeated discussions between Gu Wan and Zhang Inhua, doing so may initially reduce the presence on Su Huan's side, but if it persists for more than a year, it will definitely have results beyond expectation. Therefore, the mindset was very stable. In Shanghai City, Zhou Xinyun returned to his hotel room after today's activities, and Sister Hong came over with two cups of tea, discussing tomorrow's arrangements with Zhou Xinyun. At this moment, Sister Hong no longer blamed Zhou Xinyun for liking Su Huan. When Zhou Xinyun left, Zhou Xinyun said that the items inside the three boxes were enough to pay Sister Hong's salary for three years even if they were sold secondhand, but Sister Hong didn't believe her at first. As Zhou Xinyun's agent, a year down the income of 800,000 is still guaranteed. Three years is about two and a half million, but when the two took the plane to the destination to check into the hotel, Zhou Xinyun in front of Sister Hong's face to open the three boxes, looking at the box inside the large and small with a complete shock, inside loaded with all the luxury items, the value is not expensive. At this time, the Red Sister realized Zhou Xinyun did not joke with himself, three boxes of items sold, pay their own three-year salary is not at all, there is a love for themselves and willing to spend money for their boyfriend, not to mention Zhou Xinyun sink change into their own, also have to sink, two people are chatting, Zhou Xinyun's cell phone came a beep, Zhou Xinyun picked up and clicked to see a little, a smile on his face put down the phone, continue to talk to sister Hong things, this is the private detective sent over the information, with the same as in the past, Su Huan went to work in the morning to come back in the dark, did not see any women, this is the place where Zhou Xinyun is most satisfied, everyone does not know, Zhou Xinyun this time from Su Huan's side when leaving, and did not ruthlessly tortured Su Huan, Su Huan completely have the spare capacity to deal with other women, but now that Su Huan was acting so honestly, how could Zhou Xinyun not be happy, unconsciously another week has passed, the ink baby in the sky city side did not come back, Yu Hongdo busy imperial capital side of the matter flew back to Shangjiang to visit his parents, today is Friday, Du Xu Weqing drove to the south city art school to pick up Wei Yutong, and returned home to eat with Su Huan, after the meal in the living room drinking flower tea and chatting for a while, Du Xu Eching took Wei Yutong to the guest room to rest, Su Huan went out for a walk, the night passed, the next morning, Wei Yutong accompanied Su Huan to start running exercise, talking and laughing as usual, Su Huan did not notice anything wrong, 9 o'clock after breakfast, Su Huan went upstairs to the study busy, Wei Yutong out for a walk, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, 
Su Huan woke up and went to the gym to work out. Wei Yutong followed in the past. Only half an hour passed. Su Huan felt wrong. The frequency of Wei Yutong's body touching herself rockets up, almost directly hugging you and kissing. Su Huan knows Wei Yutong's mind. Feel the need to talk to Wei Yutong. Some words do not speak through these troubles will always continue. Su Huan threw the barbell onto the mat in front of him with a force, making a bang sound, and said with two breaths, Tong Tong, sit down over there. Let's talk about it. Hearing Su Huan's words, Wei Yutong's eyes darkened, and she understood in her heart that Su Huan wanted to show her cards. After following Su Huan to the gym to sit down on a simple seat, Su Huan took a sip of water, put down the water and said Tong Tong, Du Butler should have told you that I already have several girlfriends around me. When I get married in the future, the bride will only be one of them, not another. I understand what you're thinking, but I can tell you for sure that even if something happens, I won't be able to marry you, and I won't let you affect my relationship with them. In the end, it's you who will suffer. Understand? After saying that, Su Huan looked at Wei Yutong, hoping that this little girl would think clearly. Impulsive momentary pleasure. Nine times out of ten ends up with a lifetime of regret. When you become a lover, don't think of playing tricks to get to the top. Wei Yutong lowered her head and bit her lips, suddenly raised her head. Her eyes showed a serious look and looked at Su Huan and said, Brother Huan, I am serious. I want to be your woman. I don't ask you to give me a name. I am willing to be your woman silently. After Su Huan heard these words, his eyes looked deeply at Wei Yutong and said calmly being my woman you won't live over here. My arrangement for you is to arrange a house for you to live in outside and give you a living expense every month. It's impossible for me to have affection for you. Do you still want to insist now? After listening to Su Huan's words, Wei Yutong's heart thumped. This kind of arrangement Su Huan said was no different from those women who were being adopted. When she was hesitating, Su Huan said again, Follow me this period of time. You must not be ambiguous with any man. You must not exceed the red line that I have drawn for you. The result of betrayal is to disappear from this world. You know, there are a lot of companies as well as people who serve the rich. As long as the money is in place, it's a very simple thing to make a person disappear. Are you sure you want to? Su Huan further pressured Wei Yutong, to make Wei Yutong understand that things are not as simple as you think, getting down to earth and finding a lover to work together is the way to go, I have no regrets, Wei Yutong spoke these words with determination, Su Huan's eyes narrowed after hearing this, words have been made clear to you and you still want to insist on this, so be it, this is your own choice of road, don't blame anyone in the future, picked up the water bottle again drank a mouthful, put down the water bottle stood up since you decided, I will no longer say anything, now continue to fitness. Finished walking towards the side. Wei Yutong took a deep breath and stood up to follow the past. Soon, Su Huan put on the boxing gloves, came to the target in front of the beginning of hitting. Wei Yutong is watching from the side. Soon, Wei Yutong said, anger swinging will aggravate physical exertion. Easy to cause muscle strain. Su Huan was already a bit irritated. And when he heard this sentence, a sentence appeared in his head. I will strain my muscles if I punch in an exasperated manner but I won't strain my muscles if I flirt with you? Indecisiveness is not his own nature. It is the nature of this body. If you want to change it, change it completely. Thinking of this, Su Huan said without saying a word to take down the full set of follow me, said turned around and walked. Wei Yutong in the back followed. Time is not long. The two went upstairs, into Wei Yutong live in the guest room. For a while, a sound meow meow, meow meow meow, meow. The sound of a cat purring came out from within the room. Inside the guest room's restroom, the shower sprayed gentle clear water, starting from Su Huan's head and flowing downwards. On the side, Wei Yutong's upper body was lying on the wash basin and huffing and puffing. At this moment, Wei Yutong completed the transformation from a young girl to a young woman. Time is not long. Wei Yutong recovered some strength, straightened up the waist turn around to come behind Su Huan holding Su Huan's waist. The body is slowly squirming. This is Wei Yutong from some small movie learn tricks. This way can let the lover more pleasure. The first time to use slightly rusty, time passes slowly, after cleaning the two out of the restroom, Su Huan said, you rest, said with the hands of the towel and the waist around, and left the guest room, upstairs to return to their own rooms, Wei Yutong looked at the closed door of the room, the expression on the face changed a few times to restore calm, to one side of the bed to lie down and closed his eyes, time is not long, the corner of the eye slowly appeared a tear, 10 minutes later, Su Huan changed clothes downstairs, out of the main building to see over the Du Xu etching, said follow me, Du Xu etching followed Su Huan towards the front, the two of them walked in the garden, Su Huan will weigh Yutong's things in every detail with Du Xu etching said, Du Xu etching face is very calm, Du Xu etching's face was very calm, but in her heart, she secretly sighed, 
Wei Yutong still doesn't understand Su Huan. If she follows her own words and builds up some feelings with Su Huan for a period of time before she takes this step, then it will be a different ending. If you take this step now, it will only lower Su Huan's favorability towards you. This silly girl, should I say you're smart or stupid? How do I need to place her Dushu etching finished looking at Su Huan? Everything is based on Su Huan's opinion. Su Huan looked at the distant sky and said, I have a vacant house in the Guiyuan neighborhood. This is the key. You will arrange her over there. By the way, talk to her. Let her understand that those red lines cannot be crossed. Hearing Su Huan's words, Du Xu Etching took the key and nodded. I'll go for it. Su Huan nodded and waved his hand. Du Xu Etching turned around and left. Su Huan strolled alone in the garden. His gait slowed towards the front. Not long after, Du Xu Etching appeared in Wei Yutan's room. Wei Yutan looked at Du Xu Etching with her head lowered. Du Xu Etching walked over and sat down on the bedside, looking at Wei Yutong slowly shook her head and said, The reality is not different from what you expected. Sister Du, I, Wei Yutong couldn't go on. She had thought of many kinds of scenarios where Su Huan had collected herself, and there was absolutely no today's scenario in there. Just as Su Huan said, reality is different from what you imagine. Pack up and come with me. Let's talk about it when we get to the place Du Xu Eching calmly said these words. Wei Yutong nodded and lifted the covers to get dressed. It didn't take long to get dressed. Du Xu Eching looked at Wei Yutong, compared to yesterday. Wei Yutong had a slight change. Yesterday's Wei Yutong was still a flower flower. Today Wei Yutong this flower 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 bloomed a trace, revealing the delicate and brightly colored petals. Looking at Wei Yutong, Du Xu Eching thought of the days just after she and her ex-husband had a fling, and the way many people looked at her had changed, with more than a hint of aggression in her eyes. Taking Wei Yutong downstairs, it didn't take long to drive away from the manor. Without words along the way, the vehicle first drove to the entrance of the art school. Du Xu Eching accompanied Wei Yutong into the school to reach the dormitory and helped Wei Yutong pack up her belongings to take away. From today onwards, Wei Yutong doesn't need to live in the school. The vehicle restarted and drove to the Guiyuan neighborhood in about 40 minutes. Building number 5, 11th floor. Du Xu Eching used the key to open the door to room 022. This was a three room, two bedroom house. The furniture and appliances were already complete. At the moment, many of the furniture were covered with sheets. There was quite a bit of dust on the sheets. Obviously, this place hadn't been inhabited for a long time. Let's clean it up. You'll be living here in the future. Du Xu Eching looked at Wei Yutong and uttered these words. Wei Yutong nodded seriously. The two of them started to get their hands dirty, carefully putting away all those bed sheets, and then started to clean up. The two are both handy people. After a few minutes it was almost cleaned up. Some of the places that were not in place let Wei Yutong slowly clean up. Du Xu Eching sat down on the sofa and let out a long breath. It's been a long time since I've done so much work, and said to Wei Yutong, who was still busy, Tong Tong, I'll clean it up later, let's talk about your future arrangements. When Wei Yutong heard this, she immediately said, I'm going to wash my hands. After saying this, she walked towards the restroom, quickly washed her hands, and then came back and sat down opposite Du Xu Eching. Du Xu Eching looked at Wei Yutong and asked, do you regret it? She said, I don't know, I don't know. Wei Yutong face expression of darkness said to say a little bit do not regret is certainly false. Very system, there is a point of regret. After listening to this sentence Du Xu Eching nodded, good, with their own guess is about the same. Calmly said Tong Tong, some words I did not say before. Now, these words must be said to you. From this month onwards, you will have 20, 000 dollars a month to live on, and this money will be given to you by me before the third of each month. You don't have to worry about the utilities of this house such as electricity, water, gas, internet, etc. You don't need to worry about any of the expenses. They will also be taken care of by me. You're now Mr. Woman. There are some things you can't do that I must make clear to you in advance. Du Xu Eching talked to Wei Yutong for more than 30 minutes, during which she confirmed with Wei Yutong several times to make sure that she had heard everything she said. What should be said must be said. And in the future, Wei Yutong can't blame anyone for being punished for breaking the rules. Wei Yutong stood up to the side from the bag out of two bottles of water back, handed Du Xu Eching a bottle, came back to sit down and open the hand of water to drink a few mouths, putting down the bottle of water. She looked at Du Xu Eching and said, Sister Du, will Brother Huan's attitude towards me change? It won't change in the short term. Mr. This person is kind-hearted and emotional, but that doesn't mean he is a love brain. He's a very sensible person. Without that he wouldn't have been able to build such a large family fortune, if you follow what I said and contact with Mr. For a while to cultivate your feelings, then it will be a different story with Mr. That's all I can do for now. Du Xu Eching finished giving Wei Yutong a look, conveying a meaning that it was you who made this road bumpy. 
The brightness in Wei Yutan's eyes dimmed a lot. Seeing Wei Yutan's performance, Du Xueqing was satisfied and continued it's up to you what attitude Mr. Future treats you with. You've been to the manor many times, you should be able to tell that Mr. Future is a man of rules. If you really have the idea to make Mr. Change his attitude towards you, then follow the rules and do your job well. As long as you don't make any mistakes in a year or two, Mr. Will have a change in his opinion of you. On the contrary, you won't end up much better. When your existence affects Mr.'s family harmony, as Mr.'s housekeeper, I can only make you disappear. Du Xueqing had a serious expression on her face when she said these words. Wei Yutong's heart thumped when she saw this look on Du Xueqing's face, realizing that Du Xueqing wasn't joking with herself. Saying this was not a joke with Wei Yutong. Once Wei Yutong crossed the line, there was no need for Su Huan to speak. Du Xueqing would absolutely make Wei Yutong disappear? For one thing, this was something that one should do as a housekeeper. Secondly, he himself was also Su Huan's woman, and would never allow a woman like Wei Yutong to affect Su Huan's family harmony. Wei Yutong took a deep breath and said with a serious expression I understand. I won't let brother Huan have a hard time. In the future if brother Huan doesn't want me, just need him to say one word. I will leave immediately. Never entangle. Hearing Wei Yutong's words, Du Xueqing's serious expression on her face disappeared and was replaced by a smile, raising her hand to pa 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 Tong Tong, you are a smart woman. The reason why you made a mistake this time is because you have less social experience. It's okay. Social experience can slowly increase. Will let you slowly become mature. Remember your original intention at this moment. If you can stick to it, the future may not be unable to harvest a good ending. I'm not going to say much about how to do it. You're on your own. When you encounter something, call me at the first time. Du Xueqing finished speaking and stood up. Now it's time to let Wei Yutong alone. I hope Wei Yutong can figure out these things on her own. Wei Yutong stood up with a sincere expression and said thank you sister Du for your guidance. I will remember my part. Du Xueqing smiled and nodded before walking towards the door. Wei Yutong sent Du Xueqing out to the elevator. Du Xueqing paused before entering the elevator, turning her head. She looked at Wei Yutong and said, go get a driver's license. After saying that, she entered the elevator and the door slowly closed. Back to the room and closed the door. Wei Yutong walked to the sofa and sat down. The body leaned back and let out a long sigh. Hey, the first time I saw her, I was so happy to see her. Du Xueqing went downstairs and drove away, all the way back to the manor without words. Saw Su Huan and the tea went over. Will be things one by one with Su Huan did a detailed report. Su Huan put down the teacup and looked at Du Xueqing and said, Xueqing, I can understand those women in the entertainment industry in order to get to the top of the things done, but Wei Yutong's choice at the moment makes me a little confused. I admit that it's hard to work in society. It's tough, and it's very tiring. But Wei Yutong he has taken a lot of documents. She can use these documents to find a good job. All the way to work hard in the future is definitely a happy ending. Why put the bright road not go? Must take the shortcut? Du Xueqing looked at Su Huan and said calmly she's tired. She's exhausted from working part-time during school as well as taking the exams. I understand what Mr. means. Wei Yutong will definitely be a happy family in the future if she finds a boyfriend who is equally motivated to fight together. But sir, you have to understand. For us women, it's too hard to find a boyfriend who is motivated and won't change his mind. Isn't my example obvious enough? What do you get in return for years of hard work with your lover? Today's society is fast-paced. The pressure on ordinary people to survive is too great. Wei Yutong is fearful of the uncertainty of the future. And this fear brings too much pressure on her, which makes her make the wrong choice. After listening to Du Xueqing's words, Su Huan did not know what to say for a while, feeling that the atmosphere is not right. Du Xueqing picked up the teapot to Su Huan teacups full, and poured himself a cup of tea. Putting down the teapot, she looked at Su Huan and said, I still say, Mr. Received her better than outsiders. She is also considered to have a vision. No to pick Mr. Down. Than I had vision back then. After hearing Du Xueqing's words, Su Huan didn't hold back as a smile, followed by a helpless shake of the head. Let's eat. Let's not talk about these things. Accompany me for a drink. Su Huan said and stood up. Du Xueqing raised her hand and drank the tea and also stood up. Her eyes with deep love looked at Su Huan and said I'm honored. The two went to the restaurant to eat, drinking white wine. This is Du Xueqing proposed. Su Huan did not dial Du Xueqing's interest. Eating and drinking a little wine more than an hour before the end. Su Huan staggered back to his room to rest. Du Xueqing also staggered back to his own place to rest. In Du Xueqing's heart, Su Huan was not only a physical partner, but also a support for her soul. And when the two of them chatted, they could always produce some spiritual resonance. This feeling was marvelous. At night, Gu Wan, 
Zhou Xinyun, Yu Hongdo, Baby Mo, and Su Ran Ran, all five of them received the stakeout report, which did not record anything about Wei Yutong. The matter of Du Xueqing driving Wei Yutong away was recorded, not the matter of Du Xueqing arranging for Wei Yutong to live in the Guiyuan neighborhood. These people had made an empirical mistake. They all thought that it was customary for Du Xueqing to send Wei Yutong away, and for such a long time, Du Xueqing would send Wei Yutong away every Saturday, completely unaware that Su Huan had already taken Wei Yutong. One night passed, and Su Huan returned to normal. In his heart, he was no longer confused over Wei Yutong's matter, and his mind had completely recovered. He was not a saint, he was just an ordinary traveler. The number of people he could save was limited. Just protect the people who loved him, and save the fated people he encountered as much as he could. There was no need to put too much moral pressure on himself. Bound hands and feet, head and tail tangled living, which is the same as not changing what difference, do a good job, the other everything is fate well. Woke up early to run and exercise, ate breakfast and drove to work at the Seven Colors Entertainment Group, busy with the movie post-production editing and soundtrack. Small cost movie should not be so busy, but Su Huan shot this chainsaw thriller is different. Although the same small cost, in props, actors, lighting, the movie has been perfected in terms of props, actors, lighting, and so on, the degree of refinement is more than double that of the Earth version. Unconsciously another week had passed, and on Friday, Du Xueqing drove out or picked up Wei Yutong to continue instructing Su Huan in fitness tomorrow, the stalker only stared at Su Huan, Du Xueqing drove out as long as there was no Su Huan in the car, she didn't care about it, not to mention that today is Friday. They all know what way Yutong came over today. When it was almost dark, Su Huan returned home from work, spoke to Wei Yutong in a softer tone, and called on Du Xueqing to eat dinner together. After dinner, he drank some tea and took Wei Yutong out for a walk. Su Huan can already treat Wei Yutong with a normal heart, categorizing Wei Yutong as a level of Gu Wan and giving her the treatment of an ordinary lover. While walking and chatting, Wei Yutong's nervousness has been eased, and her hand on Su Huan's arm has also become much more relaxed. It was only after 40 minutes or so that the two of them came back from their walk to rest. Du Xueqing had already arranged her work to go back to her own place to rest. Su Huan didn't go back to his bedroom but stayed in the guest room on the second floor, staying with Wei Yutong at night. This night is different from the last time, the day he took Wei Yutong. Su Huan was sadistic, but this night is a lot more gentle. Wei Yutong is performing exceptionally meek. Those actions can make Su Huan comfortable on the use of what action? Wholeheartedly devoted to the silky smooth. Early in the morning, the two got up early to work out together. Only, the amount of exercise was Wei Yutong to reduce half. Listen to Wei Yutong red-faced reason. Su Huan smiled and lifted his hand to pinch Wei Yutong's face. The amount of exercise is reduced on the lower it. Does not matter the thing? Early end of breakfast, Su Huan with the usual to study busy. Wei Yutong was fine, drinking tea and chatting with Du Xu Etching in the living room. And by the way, consulting with Du Xu Etching about some social matters. Although Wei Yutong didn't listen to her own arrangement to take a wrong step, but Du Xueqing didn't blame her, and Du Xueqing can always see the shadow of her own when she was young. Therefore, she was also happy to give some pointers to avoid Wei Yutong taking more wrong steps. Inside the study, Su Huan is looking at the computer. Martial arts history book has been finished for a period of time. At this moment can still receive a lot of monthly votes and reward. There are a lot of people leaving messages in the comment section. Most of them are Chui's new book uploads. After thinking for a while, he began to create a new book title just Generation Double Pride. When writing the introduction Su Huan paused for a moment. Think a bit in the introduction wrote there is no girl in the world who can resist Jiang Feng's slight smile, and there is no hero who can resist Yan Nanshan's sword. After writing, I smiled with satisfaction. The reader will never know. Yan Nantian and Jiang Feng are not the protagonist. Mr. Gulong's book, The Greatest Generation, is the one that has sold the most number of copies of all his works, which shows the charm of this novel. After creating and uploading three chapters, I shut down the computer, picked up a book to the side of the free chair and sat down to read. Under the influence of the licking dog soul, Su Huan at the moment also developed the habit of studying and charging every now and then. This habit is a habit that Su Huan is very happy to accept. Su Huan is relaxed. The editorial department of Dasha Literary Novel Network are beginning to get excited. The book of the absolute double pride once uploaded. The data began to fluctuate. Collection. Bounty. Likes. Three data rose in unison. The big sword saw the data after more than an hour. Immediately start the publicity strategy. The first step is to pre-collection. To all readers bookshelf inside the book stuffing this book. Send a pop-up window to all members. Play Ticket Brothers new work. Absolute double pride. Uploaded. Emotion to the first time to read. At noon when Su Huan went downstairs to eat. 
The absolute generation of double pride has become undisputed new book list first, a variety of data is seven or eight times the second place, reward income is more than a hundred times the second place, this was only half a day's achievement. After eating and drinking, Su Huan returned to his bedroom on the third floor to take a nap, and it was only when it was almost three o'clock in the afternoon that he headed to the gym with Wei Yutong to work out. At this moment, Wei Yutong did not have the slightest bit of avoidance, first feeling Su Huan's muscles in detail, and then based on the muscle sense to formulate a new training program. The amount of exercise was arranged not too big, to adapt to the main. More than an hour later, the two left the gym each went back to their rooms to wash and change clothes. As always, after eating dinner, or do Xueqing drove Wei Yutong away, the people who were staking out the car found out about it and didn't care about it. Time slowly passed two days. This day afternoon went off work. Su Huan just got into the car on the phone rang, picked up a look as Gu Wan called. Without much hesitation, he pressed the answer button and said, What's the matter? In the living room sitting Gu Wan heard Su Huan voice, immediately sat up straight body, eyes with a hopeful look said friends gave me some fine flour gum, I do you like the flour gum soup, can come back? Su Huan heard a frown and asked now, Su Huan had already asked Du Xu Eching to prepare her own dinner, so if she went over now, the dinner at home would be prepared for nothing. Hearing Su Huan's inquiry, Gu Wan's breathless moon sound, the phone was suddenly quiet, Gu Wan started to get entangled. At this time, Su Huan's voice came out from the phone okay, I'll go over there in a while. You say it earlier next time. I just explained in the morning that I want soup at home at night. After saying this, he hung up the phone. Gu Wan on the other end of the phone listening to the sound of disconnection face a happy. As long as Su Huan is willing to come over. Hang up the phone this thing is not a thing. Today, Gu Wan's side really stewed gelatin soup. But also really fine gelatin. But also a customer in Guangdong province to send. As soon as Gu Wan returned home, she let her mom start to make soup. According to the standard of four people, worrying that Su Huan will not come over, Gu Wan sat in the living room and hesitated for more than 20 minutes before she called Su Huan. See Gu Wan energetic and busy. Bodyguards, two old moms, all guess that Su Huan will be back in a while, and only Su Huan over to let Gu Wan so, are very cooperative. All the way without words, Su Huan to the time when the two mothers have been off work left. Zhou Mengxia also led the team members in the surrounding hidden defense, not to disturb Gu Wan and Su Huan's good thing. Nearly to 12 o'clock at night, Su Huan from Gu Wan's villa out of the car after lighting a cigarette leaning against the seat. The flour gum soup is very good, but the nutritional benefits of the flour gum soup is definitely not as much as the nutrition that Su Huan lost tonight. As usual, Gu Wan was very wild, easily able to tickle Su Huan's other side, leaving Su Huan in a state of frenzy. This feeling is very exciting, very cool, very comfortable, very sound. It would be addictive. It would tickle out Su Huan's other side. Thinking of this word, Su Huan raised his eyebrows and looked up at the darkened second floor. Could it be? This was Gu Wan's intention? Thinking for a moment and then shook his head. This kind of wildness of Gu Wan should have been formed by calculating himself after the divorce, and himself venting his anger on his body. Could it be that he had developed another side of Gu Wan? Not long, Su Huan threw the cigarette away and drove away. He did not meet with Gu Bols many times. It should not affect him. Not to think about this matter. One night time passed. The next day at noon, Zhou Xinyun, Yu Hongdo, Baby M.O., Su Ran Ran, the four saw the report, all expressionless, put down the phone, on this point has not the slightest concern, what to do is what to do, especially Su Ran Ran, at this moment, she was so busy that she had no time to care about Su Huan's matter, ever since the decision was made to relocate the headquarters of Su's food group to the southern metropolis, Su's food group was spending money at a rapid pace, with all expenses rising abruptly. After paying for the promised road repairs, the funds became even more strained. What made it even more difficult was that the cattle raised at home got sick, which was the most feared thing in farming. Immediately began to quarantine. Even if the response in time, there are still more than 2,000 cows hit. Su Ran Ran ordered direct slaughter and burning. Paid a lot of money to reach an understanding with foreign buyers. The original precarious financial chain has become more tense. All kinds of things appear to make Su Ran Ran is very tired. Originally thought there are more than 2,000 head of cattle sold back to a sum of money, so also can be a little respite, but she didn't know that she would encounter the sudden illness of the cattle. Not only did she not get back the money, but she spent a large amount of extra money instead. In the afternoon, Su Ran Ran finished talking with several banks and returned home exhausted. Her mother had already prepared food and told Su Ran Ran to take a bath and rest after eating. Before going to bed Su Ran Ran made a phone call to Astrid, chatted for a while, and told Astrid to bring Zhang Wenyuan to Baiyun County the day after tomorrow, and that she had things to discuss with the two. Astrid agreed. 
Zhang Wenyuan will come to see himself tomorrow, and there is no problem to meet with Su Ran Ran the day after tomorrow. The night passed, Su Ran Ran woke up early and ate a few bites of food and drove away. Today she also had to go to the bank to communicate with the personnel, hoping to get a loan. If there is not a sum of money into the company's account this month, the company's capital chain will be broken. Time slowly passes. Su Ran Ran talked to all four banks today. The situation is not very optimistic. The core problem is that Su's food group still has a large loan outstanding on it. Returning home and taking a shower and lying down, Su Ran Ran rubbed her brow. It seems that she can only borrow money from Zhang Wenyuan as well as Astrid. Noon, Baiyun County, Krajmo Restaurant, Su Ran Ran, Astrid, and Zhang Wenyuan, the three of them ate together. The food they ate was simple. Roasted lamb. After eating a few mouthfuls of lamb and drinking a few mouthfuls of wine, Astrid and Zhang Wenyuan looked at each other, and Astrid spoke, Ran Ran, if there are things that you can say, as long as I can do it, I won't excuse myself. When Zhang Wenyuan heard his fiancé's words, he nodded to Su Ran Ran and said, as long as I can do it, I won't say no. When Zhang Wenyuan's financial turnover was difficult, Su Ran Ran borrowed tens of millions of dollars for her own turnover. This is all a favor that needs to be returned. Su Ran Ran heard Astrid's words, raised her hand and dried the wine in the cup in one gulp, put down the glass and said I'll get right to the point. I urgently need a sum of money to turn over. At least six months time. The more the better. How much can you lend me? Finished looking at the two. Astrid hesitated and said Ran Ran sister. If you use the time more than six months, my side can provide you with up to seven million funds. Su Ran Ran nodded. Astily enough sister righteousness. He originally expected Astily side to lend himself up to four million. This amount of money should contain all of Astrid's personal money. Zhang Wenyuan looked at Su Ran Ran and said calmly, I don't borrow. Su Ran Ran froze, aside the Astrid is a big change in face. After the reaction eyes staring at Zhang Wenyuan said Zhang Wenyuan, you, the first time I saw you, I was so angry that I couldn't say anything. Angry a little speechless. Su Ran Ran also had a gloomy face and looked deeply at Zhang Wenyuan without saying anything else. Seeing the face of the two people, Zhang Wenyuan smiled and said again you don't look at me like this. My family's oldest four explained to me, when you need money, let me call him directly about this matter, and also let me keep an eye on, not allow you to go to the bank loan, also not allow me to lend you money, if I dare to borrow money, he'll bring Lin Yide and Zhao Kai Fong to beat me up, your lack of money is something that he has already anticipated, and has long been prepared for, and is waiting for your phone call with eager eyes, hearing Zhang Wenyuan's words, Su Ran Ran and Astrid realized what was going on, Su Ran Ran's face immediately turned red, Astrid also had a relieved smile, and even raised her hand to hit Zhang Wenyuan. Just now, she was really exasperated by Zhang Wenyuan's words. Looking at the shy Su Ran Ran, Astrid asked how did he know that sister Ran Ran lacked money. Zhang Wenyuan cozily picked up a small knife and cut a piece of meat to his mouth and ate it before speaking when the four of us gathered years ago. I privately told Su Huan about Ran Ran's plan. Su Huan judged at that time, Ran Ran so play is very dangerous. We'll make the enterprise cash chain tension situation. If anything happens during this period, the capital chain will be 100% broken. Ran ran this period of time to run loans this thing I know. Originally intended to call the old four in two days. I really did not think that your side of the situation has been bad to the point of borrowing money with me. Finished a glance at the two girls. The two only then realized. Did not expect Su Huan also have this vision. Able to see Su Ran Ran's crisis in advance. Zhang Wan Yuan will Su Ran Ran's plan and Su Huan told one by one. Su Huan carefully analyzed and immediately judged that Su Ran Ran's plan is too big. The financial chain will be very tight. Once a problem arises in one of the links, Su Ran Ran's capital chain will immediately be broken. At that time, Su Ran Ran would either have to find Zhang Wenyuan to borrow money, or find a bank loan, whichever was not acceptable to Su Huan. Su Ran Ran's love for himself was as deep as the sea. How could he let Su Ran Ran go for a loan to share out most of the profits? Therefore has long been prepared a sum of money. Let Zhang Wenyuan stare. Once Su Ran ran this side of the need, Su Ran ran cannot wipe the face to contact their own. You must also be the first time to call me. After listening to Zhang Wenyuan's words Astrid laughed, Su Ran ran's face appeared a scarlet red. Inside is very sweet. However, Astrid asked another question how could an ordinary person like him have this kind of vision? Su Ran ran turned her head to look at Zhang Wenyuan, curious about this question. How could Su Huan know about corporate capital operations? With her understanding of Su Huan, he had not been exposed to corporate management knowledge at all. Zhang Wenyuan saw Su Ran Ran's eyes in his heart to Su Huan's admiration deepened a few points. The old four this goods is really too well hidden. It was estimated that only himself, Lin Yide and Zhao Kai Feng knew the bottom line of this bastard. You guys don't have much contact with Su Huan, so you really don't know his skills. 
Su Huan's ability to manage a business is very strong. It's just that this bastard is lazy and is not willing to show his ability in this area. Zhang Wenyuan did not say more. This is something that Su Huan repeatedly explained. So, so far, people who know Su Huan do not know the real side of Su Huan. Looking at the shy Su Ran Ran, Zhang Wenyuan smiled and said another flirtatious word is this phone call yours or mine? A side of Astrid knows Su Ran Ran in this aspect of thin skin. Raised his hand and Zhang Wenyuan waist twisted. Zhang Wenyuan's face immediately changed. Immediately said I hit. I hit. I'm wrong wife. Very painful. Zhang Wenyuan began to beg for mercy. While Su Ran Ran gave Astrid a thumbs up. Worthy of being her own sister. This attitude deserves recognition. When Astrid let go of her hand. Zhang Wenyuan rubbed his waist. Su Ran Ran said I'll call him at night. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Astrid and Zhang Wenyuan both froze for a moment after hearing this. Zhang Wenyuan frowned and said Ran Ran. It's better for me to make this call. No. I'll make the call. Everything I have in the future is his. I don't have any psychological pressure to ask him for money. Su Ran Ran finished her face once again more a trace of redness. See Astrid and Zhang Wenyuan surprised eyes. Spare Su Ran Ran always valiant at the moment also a little embarrassed. Zhang Wenyuan looked at Su Ran Ran, clasped his hands and said I am impressed. I am truly impressed. Now I am even more optimistic about your ultimate victory. Don't look at you Hongdo and Baby Mo have already arrived in the southern city, but these two have not let go. Su Ran Ran can say this sentence at this moment, indicating that she has already let go of everything to Su Huan. Once Su Ran Ran arrives in Nandu to take down Su Huan, if Su Huan dares to disown himself, he will force him to admit it. Su Ran Ran glanced at Zhang Wenyuan, already reading the meaning conveyed by Zhang Wenyuan's eyes, slightly shook her head and said you don't need to force him, he will handle this matter perfectly, although I don't know what approach he will take. I have confidence in him. After hearing these words Zhang Wenyuan's face expression once again, his eyes showed a look of disbelief. Su Ran Ran actually thought that Su Huan could perfectly handle the matter of several women. How is this possible? Not to mention others, just Yu Hongdo is not a good deal. The Yu family will be enlightened not to interfere in Yu Hongdo's marriage. But how will not agree to Yu Hongdo share a husband with other women? Su Ran Ran could see that Zhang Wenyuan wanted to inquire about the meaning. Immediately added do not ask. I am guessing. Zhang Wenyuan slowly nodded his head. In his heart he thought this was Su Ran Ran reassuring herself. Since Su Ran Ran had made up her mind, Zhang Wenyuan digressed to talk about other topics. Before the meal, Su Ran Ran was under tremendous pressure, and by the end of the meal, the pressure on Su Ran Ran had been reduced by half. Su Ran Ran firmly believed that since Su Huan knew that his capital chain would be strained, he would definitely prepare a sum of money that would be enough to solve his own crisis. This intuition was very strong. Time slowly to the evening, Su Huan bath lying down to brush the phone. The phone drip 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 rang. A look as Su Ran Ran called immediately picked up Ran Ran. How this time to me on the phone at the moment has been almost 10 o'clock. Su Ran Ran never in this time to their phone. Did you already know that I will be nervous about the amount of funds? And even cut off Su Ran Ran opened the door and asked the question. Su Huan said with a smile yes. Wen Yuan told me about your plan. I analyzed it and found that your plan is not a problem. Staged step by step implementation. Want to complete the industry chain at once. The funds in your hand will definitely be insufficient. I specially explained the old three. After listening to Su Huan's explanation, Su Ran Ran's happiness in her heart came up at once. Although the two did not pick through that layer of window paper, but Su Huan this heart is really sweet. Your analysis is good. My capital chain is really broken. Today I went to find Zhang Wenyuan to borrow money. He truthfully explained Su Ran Ran tenderly said this sentence. Su Huan knew that Zhang Wenyuan would definitely tell Su Ran Ran the truth. And calmly asked how much money do you need to stabilize? Cattle and sheep farming as well as a sound industrial chain infrastructure investment capital needs are great. If you want to stabilize through this period of time, you need $330 million of capital. Su Ran Ran said the amount of funds needed. Su Huan nodded with his own projections about the same. Will account bank as well as the account number sent to my cell phone. I will give you tomorrow morning to transfer 400 million. The enterprise for the time being do not expand again. You stabilize is victory. Su Huan instructed some. Su Ran Ran listened to the words of Su Huan eyes turned a few flashes of cunning said you are not afraid that I do not return your money? I'm not afraid of that. Not afraid. You in my heart is priceless treasure. A few hundred million is not worthy of you. Su Huan head did not bring consideration to say these words. Finished and regretted. This sentence is too provocative. Su Ran Ran heard the face once again red. Inside was filled with happiness. This is still the first time Su Huan used words to tease himself. With a shy expression on her face, she said, I won't talk to you anymore. After saying this, she hung up the phone, her small hand patted the part of her heart. Her heart was beating rapidly. 
and her cheeks began to heat up. Huan this root of wood with whom to learn the witticisms, that woman can top this sentence. Su Huan saw the call was hung up smile did not care. No Su Ran Ran thin skinned, do not look at Su Ran Ran usually valiant greatly grinning. In fact, Su Huan has long seen that Su Ran Ran is a very conservative treasure girl inside. Put the phone aside and turn off the lights and start to sleep. 10 minutes or so cell phone out ding sound. Su Huan did not care about the closed eyes did not open. The night has passed. Woke up early to run for exercise. Came back to take a shower and change clothes to go downstairs to eat. After dinner and back upstairs. Did not go to the bedroom but went to the study. Open the study computer. Insert the universe bank online banking USB flash drive. Open the cell phone to call up the text message sent by Su Ran Ran last night. Enter the account opening bank. Bank account and start to make a transfer. 400 million. Really transferred. For the traveler Su Huan, spending money on a woman who was deeply in love with him didn't hurt at all. Before crossing over, Su Huan's yearly income as a hundred variety director and a talented musician was considerable. But before crossing over, Su Huan's bank account only had a little over $800,000. Most of the money was spent by Su Huan, and it was still spent on women. After two lifetimes, I'm afraid I can't change this habit. The country of Dasha practiced a domestic financial freedom policy. As long as you were transferring money between domestic accounts and had passed the three verifications, basically you wouldn't be stuck. It is much more convenient than a certain country on earth before traveling. Su Huan 3 verification or random SMS code verification. 6 digit password verification. The day of the transfer amount amount more than 10 million for 16 digit password verification. As long as these three verification all pass, everything is okay. After completing the transfer, Su Huan sent a text message to Su Ran Ran. After the arrival of funds to themselves back to a text message, they immediately have to go to work will not return the text message. After doing all this, he left the study and went downstairs to the parking lot. Got in the car and started the vehicle to leave the house to go to the Seven Colors Entertainment Group. Movie editing can be completed today. Starting tomorrow, you need to focus on the soundtrack. The next week cannot be easy. After arriving at the company, Su Huan went to the director's office and asked Ding Xiuhua about the news of the Global Horror Film Festival in June. Ding Xiuhua reported to Su Huan about the news he had gathered one by one. The Global Horror Film Festival is scheduled for the end of June in Colorado, inviting filmmakers from all over the world to bring their horror films to the exhibition. The exhibition fee is $500, and the winning film will receive a $10,000 prize after being voted on by 100 famous horror film critics from 31 countries around the world. Registration is now available. After hearing this, Su Huan immediately asked Ding Xiuhua to prepare the exhibition materials, and then formally submit the materials after he had completely finished the film. After the explanation, Su Huan went to the editing room, went in and put his cell phone on silent and got busy. Noon, more than 10 o'clock, Ladassa City, Baiyun County, Su family, Su Ran Ran's father, Su Jingshan, his mother, Alitalam, Su Ran Ran, the three of them are in the living room of the house discussing the issue of funding. Su Huan sent over a text message Su Ran Ran has already seen, and did not tell her parents, because the funds have not yet arrived, knowing that Su Huan would not lie to himself, but Su Ran Ran was very stable in the company matters, waiting for the funds to arrive and then showdown with her parents is not too late, why don't we dispose of the more than 3, 000 cows at home, and exchange the funds for them to last through this year without a problem Su Jingshan finished with a glance at his daughter, Su Ran Ran didn't say anything, but slowly savored the milk tea with her hands, her mother Astrum couldn't help but speak when she saw her daughter's calm expression. The cows have not grown yet. Selling them now is too much of a loss. Selling the 2,000 grown sheep first is good. The cows wait until the second half of the year to sell them is good. This way we can lose less. Finished. The same looked at Su Ran Ran. Su Ran Ran very calmly said cattle and sheep do not need to sell. Wait and say. What are you waiting for? A bank loan? I'll be honest with you. The bank is not going to give us a loan. We currently owe the bank more than 70 million dollars in loans. Su Jingshan said this sentence very nonchalantly. This more than 70 million dollars loan was only last year. Part of it was used to buy pasture. Part of it was used to stock up on grass for the winter. The family's cattle and sheep add up to more than 10. 000 heads. And the grass consumed every day is a not so small number. Su Jingshan knows that there is a connection between the banks. You carry a loan on your body. Without special assistance there will not be a bank to give you a loan. I know all of what you said, Su Ran Ran calmly said this sentence, sparing no words. Su Jingshan looked at the moment so smooth daughter violently do not know what to say. Daughter is talented, but this time the risk of expansion of their own is not supported. Su Ran Ran graduated from college when the family's ranch is only more than 10, 000 acres, cattle and sheep add up to more than a thousand heads, 
Su Ran Ran graduated the year of the loan to buy more than 10, 000 acres of pasture. The cattle and sheep born in the second half of the year will not be sold, and all of them will be used to increase the number of livestock in their own pastures. A year ago to sell a number of cattle and sheep will loan all finished, followed by a loan of tens of millions of dollars to buy a large number of calves and sheep, purchased a new pasture. It can be said that after Su Ran Ran took over the family's business, the expansion has not stopped. The number of cows and sheep has increased exponentially, the pasture area has doubled in size, and the workers have doubled in size, so the cost has risen extremely fast. If not for Su Ran Ran opening up foreign sales channels, the financial pressure from rapid expansion would have appeared long ago. Su Jingshan want to speak again. Su Ran Ran's cell phone top 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 rang. Su Ran Ran picked up a look. Is the company finance call? Already guessed what is the matter. The corner of the mouth more than a trace of smile. Pressed the answer button and said funds to the account? Yes. 400 million funds have entered the company's account. The financial fast report. Received Su Ran Ran's call early this morning. There will be 400 million funds into the company's account. Funds into the account to give yourself a call. At the moment the funds have entered the company's account. The financial immediately call over to report. Starting today without my signature. Shall not give any project disbursement of funds Su Ran Ran calmly gave the order. Finance immediately returned a sentence to the Su total number of signatures is the main. Su Ran Ran said calmly 3. Understood. I will immediately implement the finance replied. And Su Ran Ran chatted for a few sentences before hanging up the phone. Su Ran Ran negotiated with the company's finance for signature formats which are frequently replaced, and every time they are replaced, the finance will make internal records. At the same time, Su Ran Ran must also go to the bank within 24 hours to make a note. If the signature does not match, even if the company side of the procedures are complete, the bank side will not release the money. This is a financial risk control mechanism. After the phone down Su Ran Ran looked at her father Su Jingshan said the capital problem has been solved. 400 million funds have entered the company account. Su Jingshan and A is Tylemer's silly face. 400 million. Su Ran Ran from where to get this money? Su Jingshan reacted with a narrowing of the eyes, looked at Su Ran Ran and said Ran Ran, some money cannot be borrowed. The tone of the reminder meaning is very strong. In Su Jingshan's opinion, Su Ran Ran borrowed 400 million funds must have promised high interest, or asset collateral high interest loans. Either way, it was not a good thing. No interest. Su Huan called me Su Ran Ran finished, her eyes calmly looking at her parents. Su Jingshan and Astrum were once again shocked. Su Huan, the man that his daughter couldn't let go of in her heart. The husband and wife looked at each other. And when they turned their heads to look at Su Ran Ran, their eyes showed a complicated look. Seeing her parents' eyes, Su Ran Ran simply told her parents. He heard about my expansion plan from Zhang Wenyuan, and judged that I would have problems with my capital chain. So he prepared the money early. I only found out about it yesterday when I asked Zhang Wenyuan for a loan. I called him at night, and you saw the result. 400 million dollars came over, without any borrowing procedures, no matter what happens in the future, I must marry him, I can't find a better man than him in my life, after listening to Su Ran Ran's words, Astrum who was originally very opposed to Su Ran Ran being with Su Huan didn't say anything, not that he didn't want to speak, but he didn't know what to say, daughter a word, Su Huan called over 400 million funds, but also any borrowing formalities did not, Astrum originally thought that the daughter is beautiful, but the daughter is beautiful. The world will not have a man willing to spend 400 million funds to pursue the daughter. At this moment, Su Huan really smashed 400 million. All opposing excuses pale in front of 400 million dollars. Su Jingshan did not know nothing about Su Huan at this moment, but had some understanding. Last year, after Su Huan, Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi De, the three of them left. Su Jingshan had a serious talk with Zhang Wenyuan. Zhang Wenyuan honestly told Su Jingshan about Su Huan's past. Of course, how many assets Su Huan had, how heavenly the financial operation, these things were not told. He only talked about Su Huan's achievements during his university years, and the reasons for his divorce from Gu Wan, and guaranteed that Su Huan was definitely a good match for Su Ran Ran. Su Huan will definitely treat Su Ran Ran well. If the two really became a couple, Su Ran Ran would definitely live a very happy life. Now it seems that Zhang Wenyuan did not tell lies. There are not many men in the world who are willing to unconditionally take out 400 million dollars for a woman. Su Huan is definitely one of them. This shows the weight of his daughter in Su Huan's heart. Immediately after, the head has remembered Zhang Wenyuan said some other things. Thought for a while and said Ran Ran, if possible, dad really do not want you to choose Su Huan. Su Huan is very good to you. As you said, it's hard to find a better man in this world than Su Huan, but he's too good. There are a lot of women who pursue him. Can you really beat these women to be with Su Huan? 
Even if you get together in the future, do you dare to guarantee that you're the only one in Su Huan's heart? Dad doesn't want you to regret being sad in the future. Su Huan had already saved Su Ran Ran's life during college, and today he even gave his daughter $400 million without blinking an eye to come through this fatal juncture. This was equivalent to saving his daughter's life for the second time. Therefore, the words to break up his daughter and Su Huan, Su Jingshan could not say. Su Ran Ran felt her father's love and care from his words, looked at her father's eyes and said seriously dad, I have seriously thought about what you have said, I have no regrets. Huan is not that kind of promiscuous person, who is currently chasing Huan I know exactly, those women are the same as me, they're all losers who chased after Huan in college, they're not bad women, they all have a certain emotional foundation with brother Huan, I believe I'll win in the end, and I'm even more confident that brother Huan can handle this matter perfectly in the end. I swore an oath to everlasting sky, I recognize him in this life. After listening to his daughter's words, Su Jingshan helplessly glanced at his lover astrum. Each other saw the helplessness within the other's eyes. Each other understand that persuasion is ineffective. The daughter's mind is made up. There is no need to say anything else. The daughter is already big. This is the daughter's own choice. Do parents can only bless? Su Jingshan waved his hand breathlessly and said, You go and get busy. Good. You guys just stay home today and rest and relax. I'll go to the bank and come back soon Su Ran Ran said and stood up and left the house. When Su Ran Ran drove away, Astrum looked at her husband Su Jingshan with a difficult expression and said we just let go of the matter? Su Jingshan asked in return how are you going to manage it? Can you introduce Ran to a man who will willingly pay 400 million for her without asking for anything in return? At this point Su Jingshan paused for a moment, followed by a feeble voice Ran Ran is not young. If she can't make it with this Su Huan, it will be hard to find a lover to spend the rest of her life with. Astrum is unable to refute her husband's words. If Su Ran Ran cannot be with Su Huan together, in the future, even if the family to arrange a blind date, Su Ran Ran will unconsciously take the blind date with Su Huan comparison. There is no harm without comparison. Not to mention an amount as large as 400 million. This harm is really big. Husband and wife don't talk anymore. At this moment is really big head. Su Huan do things that make you hit also not. Hate also not. A day passed. Su Ran Ran. Astrid. Jiang Wan Yuan, three people together to eat dinner. Astrid asked Duran's sister, that would lend you money? In Astrid's mind, even if Su Huan lent Su Ran Ran funds, the amount should not be a lot. 10 million tops. This was based on what Jiang Wan Yuan said about Su Huan's information. Su Huan didn't have a job and didn't have his own business. Plus he had purchased a manor that was worth a lot of money. Therefore, Astrid analyzed that Su Huan would not have much cash on hand. Su Ran Ran said with a slight blush on her face, he transferred money to me yesterday morning, 400 million dollars. When Astrid heard the figure of 400 million, she looked at Su Ran Ran with wide eyes and open mouth, her face full of disbelief. After Zhang Wanyuan heard Su Ran Ran say that Su Huan transferred 400 million, the whole person stood there for a while without moving, really shocked by Su Huan's large sum of money. After a while, he reacted and looked at Su Ran Ran, saying he is really a saint of love. Astrid also recovered at this time, hearing Zhang Wanyuan's words, her little head nodded like a chicken eating rice. The eyes that looked towards Su Ran Ran exuded a look of envy. In the past, if he didn't say it on his lips, he really didn't see Su Huan in his heart, thinking that Su Huan wasn't worthy of Su Ran Ran's affectionate treatment. But now do not look at it this way. Regardless of how Su Huan this money, Su Huan dare to 400 million funds to Su Ran Ran, absolutely is a man. A pure man with love and justice. Astrid said very seriously Sister Ran Ran, this wood is indeed worth chasing after him. Su Ran Ran's face was once again red, but her heart was very flattered. She glanced at Zhang Wen Yuan and said in a calm tone, You can tell this matter to Zhao Kaifeng and Lin Ida. After hearing this, Zhang Wen Yuan froze for a moment, and then understood what Su Ran Ran meant, and said with a tangled expression on his face, This is not good, is it? If you let Zhao Kaifeng and Lin Ida know, Yu Hong Do and Imo Bao Bao will definitely know, and at that time, these two women will definitely not stop. Both of them were about to return to South City. Once they learned of this news, it would definitely be enough for Su Huan to drink a pot of water. There's nothing bad about it. They are my love rivals. The war for brother Huan has already begun. It's necessary to fight the enemy every now and then. They will definitely go to Huan's side to make trouble under jealousy. I'm just letting them go to Huan's side to make trouble. When they make trouble to the point that Huan gets annoyed and sick of them, my chances of winning will increase greatly. Su Ran Ran uttered these words with a serious expression on her face. After hearing Su Ran Ran's words, Zhang Wenyuan couldn't control his eyes from narrowing a bit when he looked at Su Ran Ran. It was really unexpected that Su Ran Ran would come up with such a ruthless move, killing and decisive, really underestimated her. 
At this moment, Su Ran Ran in Zhang Wanyuan's eyes, changed her gentle image from the past, as if she had unsheathed a sharp sword. The blade of the sword pointed directly at Yu Hongdo, Baby Mo, Zhou Xinyun, and the four Gubols. After dinner, Zhang Wanyuan sent Su Ran Ran and Astrid home, returned to his own place to make a cup of tea and light a cigarette. Today is to see Su Ran Ran another side. I really did not expect Su Ran Ran this beauty and wisdom of the woman. A shot is so ruthless moves. Previously really underestimated Su Ran Ran, Zhang Wan Yuan began to introspect, or rather, Zhao Kai Feng, Lin Yi De, Su Huan, they all had the habit of introspecting when they were alone. It didn't take long for Zhang Wan Yuan to realize the problem. This matter is not Su Ran Ran's problem, but he himself didn't analyze it properly, or rather, he had never seriously analyzed Su Ran Ran. When Su Ran Ran took over the family farming industry, the Su family farming industry in Baiyun County is not at all conspicuous. The scale of Baiyun County in the top 30 are not ranked in. When Su Ran Ran took over, the Su family's farming industry has been in the midst of expansion. Every once in a while expanding the ranch, expanding the scale of farming, expanding the farming workers, expansion of the scale of Su's food company. Back then, Su Ran Ran even went to Europe single-handedly to promote the family farming cattle and sheep, opened up the European market to establish a stable sales channel, thus laying the foundation for a stable and profitable farm laying the foundation for the rapid growth of Su's food company. Su family farming jumped to become the first Baiyun County. Su's food group jumped to become the first big enterprise in Baiyun County. There is not enough management ability. Scheming, wrist, is not able to achieve this kind of results. Su Ran Ran can come up with such a handful of ruthless tricks also in reason. As Su Ran Ran said, Yu Hongdo and I are love rivals. It is necessary to fight the enemy at all times. Thinking of this Zhang Wen Yuan smiled, picked up the teacup and took a sip of tea put down the cup and extinguished the cigarette in his hand, picked up the phone and started dialing. This call was to Zhao Kai Feng. Now things have basically become clear. Zhao Kai Feng is supporting Yu Hongdo. Lin Yi Dei is supporting Baby Mo. No matter from that perspective, one had to support Su Ran Ran in order to do so. Lao San, why are you calling me at this time? Zhao Kai Feng's slightly tired voice came out. Zhang Wenyuan said with a smile you're speaking breathlessly did you just finish doing something bad? Go aside. Dad I just got out of the bath and fell asleep during the massage. Zhao Kai Feng directly disliked it. Listening to Zhao Kai Feng's words Zhang Wenyuan was not angry. I just got a message. I feel the need to tell you about it Zhang Wenyuan said nonchalantly. Zhao Kai Feng said without thinking what's your big deal. Just say it. Some time ago, Su Ran Ran Su's food group expanded too quickly causing the capital chain to be tense and precarious with the risk of breaking off at any time. I prepared 20 million dollars of funds on my side with the intention of lending it to her for emergencies. But as a result, today at dinner, she told me she didn't need it anymore. The day before yesterday, she called Su Huan, and Su Huan, the great lover, directly gave Su Ran Ran $400 million. I think Su Ran Ran is Su Huan's true love. As Zhang Wan Yuan finished speaking, the corners of his mouth unconsciously turned upwards as a smile filled his face. What? Zhao Kai Feng's yelling voice came out from within the phone, and the smirk on Zhang Wan Yuan's face became even more intense. This matter is confirmed. Su Huan did give Su Ran Ran $400 million. Any loan contracts are not available Zhang Wen Yuan said this with a sense of adding fuel to the fire. Zhao Kai Feng on the other end of the phone has sat up. A face of taste to the phone said he can really a great lover. 400 million smashed down. That woman can resist. When he was with Gu Wan, he supported Gu Wan's successful business venture and invested more than $200 million. But now he even gave Su Ran Ran over $400 million. What a madman. Zhao Kai Feng is really a bit incoherent. Zhang Wen Yuan regardless of that, with a few words to rouse Zhao Kai Feng's anger and hung up the phone. Zhang Wen Yuan hung up the phone with a smile on his face and started dialing. There is still a Lin Ida waiting to flirt with himself. Such a good thing can only be enjoyed by himself. What a pity. Zhao Kai Feng at the moment is a little sleepy. He so philandering also did not spend so much for that woman. Su Huan even dared to throw 400 million for a woman. Zhang Wen Yuan said that you are a great lover. Really not wronged you at all. Angry Zhao Kai Feng got out of bed wearing slippers to walk back and forth. The heart has an evil fire in the gathering. Walked back and forth a few laps suddenly stood still. A thoughtful expression on his face. Walked to the side of the sofa chair and sat down. Picked up the table to drink the rest of their own drinks open gulp 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 two mouths. Lit a cigarette and began to gulp clouds and smoke. Zhao Kai Feng is not angry at the moment. His mind is thinking about the women he has dated. Which woman can let himself throw 400 million? One by one. The appearance of the woman appeared in the mind, and one by one, the dissipation of the disappearance. A good while, Zhao Kai Feng will have dated the woman all over again. 
he couldn't find a single woman who was worth throwing away $400 million. These women's affection for themselves couldn't even be compared to Su Ran Ran's deep affection for Su Huan. With a puff of smoke, Zhao Kaifeng was a bit jealous of Su Huan. Jealous that Su Huan had this kind of superb woman beside him who was deeply in love with him. In the eyes of Zhou Xinyun, Yu Hongdo, Baby Mo, and Su Ran Ran, although Su Huan is not a poor man, he is definitely not a rich man. In the eyes of Zhou Xinyun, Yu Hongdo, Mo Baby, Su Ran Ran, these four women, although they were not poor, they were also definitely not rich. No interests were mixed in. Zhao Kaifeng's face appeared bitter look, muttering to himself, I'm really a failure as a human being. He knew so many girls, but could not find one with himself not for the sake of interests. This point alone is lost to Su Huan. The high-minded and proud Zhao Kaifeng was unwilling to accept this reality. Zhao Kaifeng raised his hand to extinguish the cigarette in his hand, and sat there with an air of fatigue on his body. I don't know how long it took, but the ringing of the phone woke Zhao Kaifeng up and brought him back to his senses. He picked up the phone and saw that it was Lin Ida, and without thinking, he pressed the connect button and said breathlessly, What is it? Lin Ida's voice came out from the phone. Are you alright? Why do you give me a feeling of being breathless? Zhao Kaifeng raised his hand and rubbed his face. I'm really not in the mood. I was hit by Lao San's words. He also called you about the matter of Lao Si transferring 400 million to Su Ran Ran Lin Ida's voice was a bit louder. Zhao Kaifeng held the phone away from his ear a little bit, only to retrieve it and reset yes. Looking at you you were also stimulated. Lao Si this bastard is really a big fucking lover. Lin Ida said after hearing a slap on his forehead boss. Sober up a little. You seriously think about it. Lao San gave me this phone call is it most flirting with us. His target is not us. Zhao Kaifeng froze after hearing Lin Ida's words. A thoughtful expression appeared on his face. Just as he was thinking Lin Ida spoke again I analyzed that his target is Yu Hongdo and Baby Mo. You think, we two men hear this news are angry. Yu Hongdo and Mo Baby hear this news. Must be angry to go to find Su Huan trouble. Su Huan is what nature we are clear. The two of them were stimulated by the dizzy head. Make any irreparable misunderstanding. Lin Ida said here not to say. If Zhao Kaifeng could not analyze the latter result it would be too idiotic. Zhao Kaifeng reacted and yelled out holy shit. Lao San this move is poisonous ah. I really fucking underestimated him. Already completely figured out that he and Lin Ida knew about this matter. And would definitely talk to Yu Hongdo as well as Baby Mo about this matter. Lin Ida's analysis is too right. Men can't stand this kind of stimulation. Let alone women. Yu Hongdo and Mo Baby again have sense. Will also be stimulated by the number of 400 million to go crazy. Once the two of them make irrational things and Su Huan conflict. In the end, only Su Ran Ran will benefit. Zhao Kaifeng did not consider Zhou Xinyun. Even if Zhou Xinyun is already Su Huan's woman. Really something happened. Su Huan will not simply smash out 400 million. Su Huan and Su Ran Ran's feelings are not so simple. Back then, Su Huan kept a distance from women other than Gu Wan. Resisting contact with other women. But Su Huan Su Ran Ran did not have any resistance. Look at Su Ran Ran's eyes also with a doting look. Before that is a brother to sister's doting. But last year when the party to see out. This doting is not so simple. This point alone could tell a thing or two. Zhao Kaifeng yelled into the phone. We can't let this bastard Lao San succeed in his calculations. When Lin Yi heard Zhao Kaifeng's roar. He immediately replied. I also mean the same thing. Zhao Kaifeng finally returned to normal. The two of them began to discuss how to break the situation. This matter can't be hidden. If they don't talk to Mo Bao Bao and Yu Hongdo today, they will definitely talk to the two girls about this matter tomorrow. How to let the two women treat this matter with a normal heart. This is the most important thing. Tonight, Zhang Wenyuan was in a good mood and was able to have a beautiful dream while sleeping. Lin Yide and Zhao Kai Feng two people can be difficult. The two people threw the phone discussion for almost an hour, and finally decided to delay a few days and then talk to Yu Hongdo as well as Baby Mo seriously. Let the two women treat this matter with a normal heart. The end of the call. Lin Ida and Zhao Kaifeng is tossing and turning cannot sleep. The heart holds a breath very unhappy. Zhang Wenyuan this move is really too ruthless. Everything how did not see Zhang Wenyuan this kid has such a strategy. The two of them absolutely cannot imagine. This move is Su Ran Ran planning. Su Huan, at this moment is holding the quilt whistling sleep. These two days really too tired. The night passed. Su Huan woke up early in the morning to run and exercise. Ate breakfast and went to work. Continue to be busy with the soundtrack of the movie. Also today. Yu Hongdo got off the plane with her bodyguards and returned to Nandu City from Shangjiang City. In the afternoon, Baby Yamo walked out of the airport with her suitcase and took Mo Shushur's car to return home. The two of them unexpectedly returned to Nancheng City on the same day, and neither of them had called Su Huan to say that they were coming back today, intending to give Su Huan a surprise in a couple of days. 
The two did not know that a surprise that would drive them crazy was waiting for them. One day passed, the next day at noon, Su Huan, Pang Qingji, Dong Qi Qi, Ding Qiu Hua, the four of them were having dinner together outside. The topic of conversation was the matter of Delner Diamonds under the Mingyue Group. The three short advertisements filmed by Su Huan had already started to land on the top 10 TV stations in the country of Dasha, and the effect was very obvious, as the sales of Delner Diamonds had increased significantly for two consecutive months. This month was not yet over, and without any surprises, the sales would reach a new high. Dang Sisi, Lu Mimi, Tishri, the three actresses' fame has increased greatly, and it is said that they are now receiving notices that are soft. With the commercials being aired, Su Huan's fame has also begun to rise. Many companies have contacted Seven Colors Entertainment Group, naming Su Huan to be in charge of commercial filming at a good price. Normally, the cost of a commercial shoot is only a few million. If you let Su Huan shoot, the starting price of 5 million did not scare off these corporate brand managers. One by one, they promised that as long as Su Huan was willing to shoot, the cost would be negotiable. Pang Xingji has recently been busy acquiring the South Metropolis TV station. This morning was blocked in the office by a few executives. After figuring out what is going on Pang Xingji also began to head. Su Huan is not an ordinary person. You simply cannot force Su Huan to shoot commercials. That day during dinner Su Huan has expressed, will not shoot commercials again. At the moment is busy shooting that small movie post-production. Mr. Pang, you should talk to director Su. I've told you that director Su charges $5 million for shooting a commercial. And other expenses will be calculated separately. Those brand managers have all agreed. If Mr. Su can take these orders, the company's net profit won't be less than $100 million. Chang Jian, the minister of the advertising business department, began to persuade Pang Qingji. Pang Qingji looked helplessly at a few people and said, Su Huan is what you know very well. He came to work for fun, and has clearly told me that he won't shoot any more commercials. He's still our boss. How can I tell him? After listening to Pang Qingji's words several people also had a hard look on their faces. Su Huan's identity makes them helpless. They can't deal with Su Huan with the same means they use for other directors. Su Huan also does not care at all. Whether it is famous or not is not important to Su Huan. Su Huan entered the entertainment industry is to play. Besides, Su Huan and the company signed a contract with the company's liquidated damages of $1,000. Pissed off Su Huan, directly dumped $1,000 to your face to terminate the contract. The big deal is to pat his ass and go away and not play. You dry eyes no trick. A few people in the office, wide-eyed, on such a Su Huan simply cannot do. Discuss a number of final decision Pang Qingji to talk to Su Huan, can talk about the best, really cannot talk together and then think of other tricks good. In this way, Pang Qingji will Su Huan about lunch out, but also deliberately called on Dong Shishich and Ding Xiuhua as a companion. Dong Chek Chek has already heard Pang Qingji speak, on this matter do not hold much hope, think Su Huan will not agree. After a glass of wine, Pang Qingji stiffly told this matter and Su Huan simply refused. Old Pang, I really don't have the time to ponder over the matter of making commercials. After a few days of completing the movie soundtrack and other post-production, I'll be leaving the country, going to Nevada, USA to attend the Global Horror Film Festival. Su Huan told his next arrangement truthfully, Pang Qingji, Dong Qiqi, Ding Qiuhua, all three of them were shocked. I didn't expect Su Huan to be so optimistic about his horror film that he had already considered the European and American markets. Su Huan's plan is very simple. Saw, to participate in the thriller horror movie exhibition. Awards are certain. Currently, the global thriller horror movies are all based on ghosts, psychopaths, perverts, and other cruel torture people mainly. Then who is more bloody, more inhuman? The own shot of this, Saw, in the horror of the atmosphere added to the human nature of the thinking. The current global thriller horror film is a downward strike. So that the thriller horror film completely sublimated. As long as the judges are not blind the award is a sure thing. After winning the award, there will definitely be a distribution company to contact themselves. When the time comes to negotiate the Americas, Europe, the distribution rights, to engage in a synchronized global release is not an impossible thing. Are you really confident of winning the award? Pang Qingji looked at Su Huan with a skeptical expression. In recent years, there weren't any directors from the country of Dasha who had brought their own movies to those international film festivals. But unfortunately, all of them had returned in defeat. If you want to win an award for a movie with an investment of less than $8 million, it's a bit unrealistic. Su Huan looked at Pang Qingji with an unhappy face and asked rhetorically, Before shooting Wei Qianhan's commercials, you and the company's executives have this attitude. And now, one sentence, let Pang Qingji, Dong Qi Qi, the two are speechless. Before Su Huan shot the commercials, Seven Colors Entertainment Group, 
from Pang Qingji down to the people behind the scenes, all thought that Su Huan was playing around, and that the commercials that were shot would definitely be inferior to Sean Hongtao. And now, the company's waving checks and begging Su Huan to shoot commercials are more than 50. All of them are big enterprises that are not poor in money. Su Huan chattered a mouthful of food to eat, looked at Pang Qingji said old Pang, have you ever thought of my film once the award over there will bring the company what? After hearing this Pang Qingji pondered, and Dong Chi Chi on the side followed suit. Other people can't do it to make their movie win awards. Why can't I? Excellent films never lack market recognition. As long as they can bring benefits to themselves, the film and television companies over in Europe and America won't let go of this piece of fat meat. The company will get the TV station this year, and when the profits increase next year, and the company goes public the year after that, the company won't be short of capital. Do we still need to be half dead in the movie and TV industry? The domestic entertainment market is so big, if you take more than one bite, other companies will take less. If you don't save for a rainy day, you'll be in a mess next year. This time my movie will go to the U.S. Is an opportunity, if it can win, you can use this opportunity to deal with global entertainment companies to expand distribution channels. Some movies that do poorly at the box office in Disya are not necessarily poor at the box office in other countries. By then, you'll realize that it's a different world. Su Huan had to point out Pang Qingji. Pang Qingji is qualified in the domestic market. If he puts it on the international level, he is not a qualified business helmsman. This world is different from the earth. In the past life, the earth speaks Chinese language in one country. This world will be the Dasha national language positioning official language of the country. There are more than 20 countries. The international environment is also completely different from the earth. This world's Dasha country and the international are very powerful. Such a favorable environment. Pang Qingji's vision is always limited to the domestic acreage is not appropriate. Of course, this cannot be blamed on Pang Qingji. At the moment, all the people at the helm of the entertainment companies in Xia are like this. They do not have the courage and determination to enter the world. One of the biggest reasons is the lack of good works. Pang Qingji did not get annoyed with what Su Huan said. In terms of doing business, Su Huan is definitely better than himself. Not a little bit better, but very much better. Without a forward-looking vision, it is very difficult for you to achieve such results as Su Huan. I have long wanted to talk to Su Huan seriously about the development strategy of the Seven Color Entertainment Group. Just has not been able to find the right opportunity. Take advantage of this meal to talk to Su Huan. You a word I began to discuss the development plan of the Seven Color Entertainment Group. Su Huan thought so on what to say. As a major shareholder, Su Huan does not care how much profit the Seven Color Entertainment Group each year. As a major shareholder, Su Huan doesn't care how much profit the group makes every year. What he cares about is whether the group has a complete development plan, whether it has made actions to compensate for its weaknesses, and whether it has the determination to make timely adjustments according to market changes. This meal has been eaten until 2 o'clock in the afternoon before the end. Pang Qingji today's harvest is not small, and did not mention with Su Huan shooting advertisement film things. As Su Huan said, I'm purely playing. Playing well is considered to give you points. Playing badly does not have any effect on you. If you focus the company's profitability on me, then it would appear that you are too incompetent. Pang Qingji recognized Su Huan's words. After separating Su Huan and Ding Xiuhua went home separately, his head was dizzy. A big sleep was the right thing to do. Su Huan does not know. At this moment Yu Hongdo has been angry will be his cell phone shattered. Yu Hongdo received a call from Zhao Kaifeng and heard that Su Huan had transferred 400 million to Su Ran Ran to help her get through the crisis of the broken capital chain. The fire in her heart couldn't be controlled. All the items on the desk were pushed to the ground. And then a person lying on the table crying, began to hate Su Huan promiscuous. I have no regard for the face from the Xiangjiang run to the south metropolis to chase you. I let you kiss and hug high up you are still not satisfied. Is not that you did not let you that I? You even took out 400 million to help other women through the hard times. Have you considered my feelings? You a dead wood. You dead scum. While crying, she smashed things and cursed Su Huan. The assistant and the others heard Yu Hongdo crying and cursing out the word scum, and immediately realized that the boss might have been scummed by a scum, and that this was not something that a small person like himself could know about. Immediately began to block the way, so that people do not come to bother Yu Hongdo. A good while time, Yu Hongdo red eyes out of the office re asked for a cell phone to return to the office, will be inserted into the phone card, the phone immediately rang, is Zhao Kai phone called, Yu Hongdo pressed the answer button, voice with choking said is me, Hongdo. Don't be angry. If you're angry, you've been tricked. Zhao Kaifeng said this sentence in a loud voice. Yu Hongdo froze for a moment after hearing this, and then said in a heartbroken tone what did I fall for? I'll just stay away from him in the future. Let him hug his Ran Ran sister to death. Zhao Kaifeng heard Yu Hongdo this sentence, 
No Yu Hongdo at the moment has been on the head. This matter cannot blame Yu Hongdo. He heard the matter that day is not also on the head. Immediately began to patiently explain up with Yu Hongdo. Talking about Zhang Wenyu and sinister intentions. This time can only let Zhang Wenyu on to take this black pot. Yu Hongdo while crying while listening. Until Zhao Kai Feng will thoroughly analyze this matter clearly. Listen. Yu Hongdo heart of fire did not go down much. At the moment, Yu Hongdo not only hates Su Huan, but also hates Zhang Wenyuan. Hearing the cries coming out of the phone is small. Zhao Kai Feng secretly relieved continued to say don't be angry. The more angry you are on this side, the more happy the old three side of the. If you need money to get through this, he said. Do not say 400 million, is 500 million. Su Huan the head of this goods must not say a word to you to send over. Hearing this, Yu Hongdo was in a better mood. Knowing that what Zhao Kaifeng said was not false, Su Huan is really able to do these things. The fire in his heart dropped quite a bit again. Don't worry, I won't mess with him. However, I can't just spare him so easily either. I will grasp the balance. Yu Hongdo hatefully uttered these words. Zhao Kaifeng on the other end of the phone listened and exhaled a long breath. Knowing that Yu Hongdo's sanity had returned. Lao Si this guy is too slow in terms of feelings. You, Zhou Xin Yun, Baby Mo, Su Ran Ran. The four of you are not the same as other women in his heart. No matter which one of you is in trouble and needs money urgently, this kid will send you as much as he has on hand. All he thinks about is getting you through. He doesn't even think about whether or not it'll break other people's hearts. If you don't want to be angry, I'll give you a suggestion. Zhou Xin Yun has already slept with Lao Si. You go to find Zhou Xin Yun. Tell her about this matter. Let Zhou Xin Yun go to mess with Lao Si well. Zhao Kai Feng gave Yu Hong Do a bad idea. Yu Hong Do listened to it and a thoughtful expression appeared on her face. A little moved by Zhao Kai Feng's proposal. Thinking did not say. Zhao Kai Feng also did not urge. A good while. The phone came out Yu Hong Do's voice I cannot do this. Once let Su Huan know that I told Zhou Xin Yun. He will be disgusted with me. I have an idea of how to do it. Don't worry. I won't let Zhang Wen Yuan and Su Ran Ran have their way. Zhao Kai Feng said calmly after hearing this. You have a clear idea in your heart. And you need me to cooperate with you directly. To tell you the truth. I am also holding a fire in my heart at the moment. I'm also holding a fire in my heart. Yu Hongdo believed Zhao Kaifeng said this sentence is true. And Zhao Kaifeng chat a few sentences on the end of the call. Thinking a bit out of the office looked at the assistant Chen Yun said I'm off duty. You will be my office to tidy up a bit finish towards the elevator to go. Chen Yun watched Yu Hongdo with bodyguards into the elevator. The elevator door closed. Only then a long sigh of relief. For Yu Hongdo, Chen Yun inwardly really a little afraid. Or rather, the whole branch of the people were Yu Hongdo killing decisive means to convince. When the branch was first established, there were a total of nine patriarchs. And now, there are only three left. The other six were all fired by Yu Hongdo, including the original branch general manager Wu Xiaoli. The method used is not right for the matter. You are not capable enough to get out. The company is not a place for you to retire. You make achievements will give you a bonus. Reward and punishment clearly let all the people are obedient. On the other hand, baby Mo is now crying in the arms of her cousin Mo Shershur. Today, Mo Shershur came to see Mo Baby. Mo Baby mood is still very good. The result of Lin Ida's phone call over. Mo Baby can't hold it after listening to it. She dropped the phone and fell into Mo Shershur's arms, bawling her eyes out. Mo Shershur after clarifying the situation began to comfort baby Mo. The heart of this called Su Ran Ran's extreme jealousy. If a man also with 400 million to smash the old lady, I can't top it either. I also have to fall in love with him. How come I can't meet this kind of man who is willing to smash money? Comforted Baby Ink half an hour. Went downstairs to repurchase a cell phone back to give Baby Ink. Baby Ink at the moment has broken the phone within the cell phone card out. Mo Shershur came back and unpacked the package. Inserted the cell phone card into the new cell phone. And then sat there and continued to sob. Before Mo Shershur could think of a way to persuade her. The phone rang. And after picking it up and seeing that it was Lin Ida calling, she handed the phone to Baby Mo. Baby Mo picked up the phone and said hello in a crying voice. Hearing this word, Lin Ida guessed that Baby Mo was crying, and understood this state of Baby Mo. Baby don't be angry. If you get angry and go to Su Huan to make trouble, Zhang Wen Yuan's calculation will be successful. Listen to me. I just thought carefully. Zhang Wen Yuan called me as well as Zhao Kai Feng to say this matter. The real target is you and Yu Hongdo. Lin Ida heatedly narrated the analysis. Just called without finishing Mobile was angry and slammed the phone. Lin Ida could only dial M Mobile's phone every 10 minutes. Now that the phone is open, the follow-up analysis will be told one by one. And Zhao Kai Feng said about the same. Finally comforted baby M O. If you need money, not to mention 400 million, or even 500 million, Su Huan will also be the ass to send you over. 
The four of you are very special in Su Huan's heart. Let baby Yamo never go to find Su Huan to make trouble. If you go to make trouble with Su Huan, Zhang Wan Yuan and Su Ran Ran's calculations will be successful. You must not be fooled. After listening to Lin Ida's analysis and persuasion, baby Mo's aggression in her heart dissipated partially. There was still quite a bit of bottled up discomfort in her heart. Don't worry. I won't go and mess with Su Huan. I won't let Zhang Wan Yuan succeed in his evil plan. Baby Yemo said these words through gritted teeth with tears on her face. Her heart's hatred towards Zhang Wan Yuan began to soar. Lin Ida was able to hear Baby Mo's hatred towards Zhang Wan Yuan. He didn't blame Baby Mo. He could only blame Zhang Wan Yuan for being too ruthless with this hand. If it wasn't for himself and Zhao Kaifeng staying calm and persuading Yu Hondo and Baby Mo, Zhang Wan Yuan would have succeeded in this calculation. And Zhou Xinyun and Su Ran Ran's chances of achieving ultimate victory would have increased greatly. Zhou Xinyun and Gu Wan are the only ones who don't know about this. So should I think of a way to let these two know about it as well? If they messed up with Su Huan, it would also be beneficial to Baby Mo and Yu Hongdo. Thinking of this, Lin Yi comforted Baby Mo for a few moments and ended the call. Starting to think about this matter. At Seven Colors Entertainment Group, after Su Huan went to work, he started to work on the post-production of the movie, while Pang Qingji started to talk to some of the executives in his office. After talking to Su Huan yesterday, Pang Qingji didn't go back to rest but went to the tea house with Dong Chi Chi to drink tea, and while drinking tea, he discussed the company's future strategic development, finally agreed that the company needs to be fine-tuned internally, kicking out a group of people with insufficient ability and absorbing a group of more powerful management, adjustment action cannot be too big, you can first give these people pressure, you carry the pressure to achieve results on the stay, cannot carry the pressure to do nothing on the launch of the cleanup, colorful entertainment group, a morning passed, a lot of executives talked to Pang Qingji have felt a lot of pressure. Wei Changxin is no exception. Pang Qingji and Wei Changxin said very clearly, Su Huan is a vote of confidence. His achievements can only be used as icing on the cake. Not within the scope of your assessment. You cannot bear to kick out those bumbling people. In the future you are adjusted do not blame anyone. It is you who have to take the blame for them. This was not only said to Wei Changxin, but also to the heads of other departments. Pang Qingji said something very blunt. I do not give you pressure. The board of directors will have to clean me up. I am just a little higher than your position of wage earners. A day down, Pang Qingji talked to more than 20 executives. The rest depends on the performance of these people. Acting well everyone continue to play with bonuses. Acting bad you can only leave. Don't say you won't be given a chance. Seven Colors Entertainment Group small-scale turbulence began. Wei Changxin's action is the fastest. In the afternoon to talk to the two mixed directors. You can leave. Go to the personnel department tomorrow for formalities. The company will give you more than one month's salary settlement. These two people in Wei Changxin flipped out of trouble. A day passed. The next day at work, many executives know Wei Changxin's action. One by one, they have made up their minds. Dead friends do not die poor. You do not die after a period of time to die is me. Don't blame me. Blame it on your lack of ability. One day down the line, all departments were fine-tuned. A total of 17 managers with insufficient ability were reported to the personnel department to leave. See the action of the departments, Pang Qingji expressionless any action no, at the moment you do not change, the next step is that I let you get out of the hard hand, this afternoon, Pang Qingji, the director of the department of Wei Changxin, the theater channel department minister Lei Mingshan, the department of publicity and development minister Fu Changhai, Su Huan, Dong Qi Qi, Ding Qiu Hua, seven people in the screening room to watch the entire film, Chainsaw Scar, when the crowd saw Qian Mingtang, who played the role of the firm saw, climbed up from the ground and tore off the camouflage on his head. They were shocked. God gave you healthy bodies, but you do not know how to be thankful, do not know how to give back to society. I'm here to punish you, the scum of the earth, the scum of society. A classic line makes the whole movie sublimated and makes people's ideology higher. Immediately after seeing the end, Xian Mingtang said, game over, at the moment of closing the iron door. Once again was shocked. The whole movie in this moment completely sublimated. Everyone is mixed in the entertainment industry. What level of thriller horror film is currently in the country of Dashia are aware of. Su Huan this, saw, on the domestic horror film, completely is a downward strike. In the past, the exploration of human nature is the exclusive literary film. At the moment Su Huan this thriller horror film also began to explore human nature. The crowd can't imagine that a horror movie can still be played this way. Pang Qingji led the way and began to applaud. One by one, they looked at Su Huan with different eyes. At this moment, everyone began to look squarely at Su Huan's creative talent and Hua directing talent. Director Su, I'm confident that your movie will win awards at the American Horror Film Festival. 
This movie can definitely open up the European and American horror movie markets. Pang Qingji uttered these words with heartfelt sincerity, and the crowd nodded their heads along with him. All of them could see that this movie definitely meets the appetite of European and American horror movie lovers. With a smile on his face, Su Huan calmly said, As long as you guys are satisfied, when I go to the United States after a while, you arrange for the personnel to go with me. After saying this, he glanced at Pang Qingji with deep meaning, and Pang Qingji understood what was going on. Su Huan is supporting himself, letting himself send people to go with him. Once this movie is a big seller, there is also some credit for himself. Pang Qingji nodded to Su Huan and said with a serious expression, Don't worry, Director Su, I will arrange this matter in advance, including the domestic release of the matter will also be arranged. The people in the screening room talked for a while, saw, the film is temporarily confidential. The release plan can be formulated first, everything waiting for the United States side of the film festival after the results before starting. At that time, saw, the film with the power of the international awards in the domestic release, absolutely can sweep the domestic box office. If it does not win the award, it will change another mode of operation. Prepared in advance will not be in a hurry. The people left the screening room. The film by Pang Qingji arranged for people to seal. These things Su Huan does not worry about. These days are too tired. Must take a good rest for a few days. Bai Yun County, Su's food group. Su Ran Ran has allocated several funds in the past few days. The project started in the southern city did not stop work to continue to run. Yesterday, European meat buyers sent people over to buy a thousand sheep and a thousand cows. The price is a lot higher than the domestic price of Dasha, allowing Su Ran Ran to have another income in hand. Today, several hills purchased by Su's food group in the mountains of southern metropolis began to be planted with pasture grasses, spraying all kinds of nutrient solutions to promote the rapid growth of pasture grasses. A batch can be grown in a month. The entire breeding area was sealed in four pieces three of which were used as cattle and sheep free to nibble on the pasture, and the last piece was under the mountain with flat terrain, covering an area of more than 500 acres. This piece of land is all planted with pasture grass, as a base for pasture grass reserve. When the pasture grass grows to a certain extent it will be harvested and stocked up to prepare for the winter. This alone can save more than $100,000 in the cost of buying grass. The highway has already begun construction under the leadership of the local government, and it will be put into use next year and the transportation of beef and mutton will be very convenient in the future. As long as the current situation is maintained and no new projects are started, Su Ran Ran Su's food group will not have the problem of a tight capital chain. Two days passed without realizing it. Early this morning, Su Huan woke up early to go for a run and work out. Du Xueqing drove away from the manor to purchase ingredients? Today Yu Hongdo would come over for dinner. Su Huan had already explained. At 10.30 minutes past noon, Yu Hongdo drove her sports car to Su Huan's manor and the gate guard saw the license plate number and immediately released the car. Yu Hongdo, baby M.O., Gu Wan, the license plate number of the person has been made a record. See these cars over to the direct release do not stop. Vehicles into the manor a little deceleration signs are not. Skilled parked in the parking lot location. Yu Hongdo got off. Su Huan, who was waiting at the side, immediately greeted the past, just walked two steps, saw Yu Hongdo carrying two pairs of boxing gloves in his hands and froze. Su Huan inquired curiously. Hongdo, what are you carrying boxing gloves for? Go to your gym. Fight with me Yu Hongdo finished glaring at Su Huan and walked towards the gym. Su Huan froze. What the hell? Fight with me? Fight with you? I fucking dare to fight back? He had the heart to ask the reason. But saw Yu Hongdo that unquestionable eyes did not dare to ask. Can only honestly follow Yu Hongdo behind towards the gym.